Hi, I would like to invite you to the platform where more than 250 hours of different audiobooks are uploaded per week, link in the video description. Chapter, 121. Eight Seal Formation Diagram Remnant, Red Brave Level Special Equipment. After use, a space confinement array can be formed within a specific range. Within 30 minutes, it cannot be broken or offset. Cooling time, one year. Seeing the properties of the things Xing Mu took out, Jiang Guixing, who was standing behind him, shrank his pupils. A terrifying suspicion emerged from his mind. Jing Mu, you didn't mean to fuck you. Before the question was asked, Jing Mu had already used the gold turning hand, on the broken array in his opponent's hand. Seeing the broken array disc transformed into a dark golden metal disc with the Tai Chi logo in the blink of an eye, Jiang Guomile felt his head buzzing in the bursts of light. At this moment, he didn't know yet. Zheng Mu was upgrading his mechanical creation. However, just equipping Optimus Prime with the Sword of Judgment, gave him a rather thick and dangerous aura. Looking at the attributes of the array just now, Jiang Guixing could not even imagine it. If this thing is installed on the opponent's body, to what extent will Optimus Prime be improved? And this problem is also what Zheng Mu is looking forward to. Along with the crackling electric current, Ruben Optimus Prime's whole body and the metal plate in Zheng Mu Yang flew directly into the latter's body. It started and ended with a mechanical roar. Optimus Prime's skill panel has been updated again. Skill 7, War Stand, Optimus Prime, which is integrated with the Red Brave Level Mechanical Component Aerial Array Drive Core, can forcefully pull multiple targets within the range, limiting the target's range of movement, and will consume its own durability when used. No cooling time. Hiss. Zheng Mu gasped, and the expression on his face was distorted by ecstasy. There is no doubt that Optimus Prime at this moment has transformed into a real war machine. The war stance skill makes Optimus Prime not just a simple strong output warrior, but also a powerful field control. Imagine that a large group of enemies faced the charging Optimus Prime, and they all chose to evacuate when they felt they were outmatched. However, under the control of the skill war stand, they could not escape from the skill range at all, and could only watch Optimus Prime coming in front of them. Wielding the sword of judgment that was enough to turn them into pulp. Thinking about it, the picture can't be summed up by just two words, sour and refreshing. At this moment, Jiang Guixing looked at the terrifying Optimus Prime in front of him, and at these behemoths in the factory, he swallowed hard, feeling a little unconfident in his heart, but he couldn't help but think about it. This guy can't really transform these terrifying alien spacetime secret realm monsters into mechanical creations, can he? With such doubts, Jiang Guixing left the factory area amid Jing Mu's urging for payment. At the Southwest Military Attaché University, Zheng Mu has not appeared for a week, which makes the members of the Wheel of Truth Guild a little absent-minded. Although here at the Guild headquarters, there are various counters that can redeem high-end potions and equipment every day. Attracted a large number of new people to join. However, Kai Shinkuan and the others followed Jing Mu and experienced so many exciting wild battles. Let them hone their combat experience with monsters in the wild under the leadership of instructors. They are really boring. In the most dangerous battles, their ability to unleash their skills is no longer comparable to that of these new recruits. Hey, why aren't there any troubles over there in Bangzi country? If Bangzi country continues to jump up, the boss will definitely be the first to find trouble over there. San Luo, who was squatting boredly on the edge of the beach, muttered quietly. Beside him, Gu Feng and Kai Shinkuan were also squatting there, watching Bordley as a newcomer in the same class as them used his two skills in succession, both of which were blocked or dodged by the crab monster in front of them. Another bored sigh. However, San Luo would never have expected it. At this moment, he was in the Xingyue snow domain where he had killed thirteen people. At the foot of a snow-capped mountain, several elite professionals from Bangzi country are carefully observing something here. Chui Jingyi and others all have purple rare-level concealment talismans activated on their bodies, so that they don't have to worry about being discovered even if they walk around in front of the monster. Captain, these Dragon Nation people really came to our Xinyue snow region with ulterior motives. If we hadn't had someone disappear nearby, we really wouldn't have found these damn Dragon Nation people. Humph, 
the professional strength of Dragon Kingdom is rubbish and can't even compare to our new recruit from professional university, Captain Chui Jingyi. Let's go in and see what their purpose is. Yes, with our strength, there will definitely be no problem. After hearing his subordinate's suggestion, Chui Jingyi pondered for two seconds and then nodded. Everyone walked cautiously towards the snow-capped mountains, and soon found traces of the Dragon Kingdom professional team again on the mountainside. They came out of a cave, carrying storage backpacks one by one. Chui Jingyi looked at the hands of the leader, and his excellent eyesight allowed him to see what was in the hands of the Dragon Kingdom officer at a glance. Star and Moon Metal He added a small amount of star and moon metal to his weapon, which cost him a lot of savings. It was impossible for him to forget. Shiba. These bastards from the Dragon Kingdom are really uneasy and kind-hearted. Chui Jingyi looked cold, but he did not rush out immediately. After silently riding down this place, he led the people to evacuate quickly. On that day, the top management of Bangzi Kingdom learned about the Xinyue metal mine. Boom! Aksiba. These weak dragon country professionals are suddenly so bold, they dare to enter the territory of our Bangzi kingdom at this time. Sure enough, Shiba, it is a good idea to have an entire purple rare star moon medal. Or vain. Those damn bastards are trying to take advantage of the situation. We must report it to the monarch immediately. We will put aside the investigation in the snowy area for the time being. Our first task is to seize the metal vein as soon as possible. Nishihachi. A purple rare metal mine, it will definitely make the overall strength of our professionals from Bangzi country surpass that of those little dwarfs from Sakura country. Soon, there was fierce public rebuke from the officials of Bangzi country. The appearance of purple rare grade metal veins in the Star Moon Snow territory was quickly announced by Bangzi country. At the same time, the officials of Bangzi kingdom immediately launched a verbal and written attack on Long Kingdom. In just one day, Surrounding countries, and even the United States, the most powerful country across the vast sea, paid attention to this matter. As for the senior officials of Sakura country who had colluded with Bangzi country before, they were drooling with envy. We have already sent manpower to Bangzi country, hoping to get a share of the pie. The center of the divine capital. Mr. Lee, the current situation is like this. The Bangzi kingdom has been mobilizing manpower domestically recently. Even according to the investigation of our warriors from the different time and space secret realm, the defenses in various areas of the Bangzi kingdom are deliberately shrinking. We suspect that they may be preparing to send powerful men of the protector god level back to Blue Star to directly intervene in the fight for the Star Moon metal mine. In the main hall. After hearing Lin Guanyong's report, Mr. Li's expression was also uncertain. The situation developed in the direction they least expected. This matter was directly brought to light, so if they still want to get involved in the mineral vein, a national war will be inevitable. However, once they start fighting, it is obvious that Bengziguo is not the only enemy they will face. Mr. Li looked at Gu Xingdong who was standing aside. What's going on in the secret realm of different time and space recently? I really want to hear about it. What good results have been achieved recently? Gu Xingdong nodded but his eyes were directed at the generals of the logistics department headed by Jiang Guixing who were present. General Jiang suddenly provided a large number of high-end supplies recently, which greatly increased the combat effectiveness of our soldiers in the secret realm of different time and space. Taking advantage of this opportunity, General Lin and the others captured an area of the Bangzi kingdom. Mr. Li glanced at Jiang Guixing in surprise, and the latter immediately stood up and took out a document. Mr. Li, this matter should have been reported to you before, but considering that this kind of thing still needs to stabilize before I can report to you, we recently established a factory called Shindu Military Industry. Jiang Guixing's face was filled with a proud smile. While handing the document to Mr. Li, he told the horror of the logistical machinery created by Zheng Mu. When everyone heard that mechanical creations had replaced daily workers and could provide stable and low-cost high-end supplies to the military. Even Lin Guanyong, who was a little unhappy with Jiang Guixing, couldn't help but sit up straight. Recently, not only him, but also the military generals in the entire battle order were wondering why the tough guys in the logistics department suddenly became so wealthy. 
Now it seems that it was actually the handiwork of the previous junior named Xing Mu. Mechanical creations replace daily life professionals. This thing is so impactful. Let alone in the Dragon Kingdom, even in the whole world and the entire Blue Star, such a thing has never happened. Can the summoner's summons replace life-type professionals? Okay. Can the puppet master's puppet replace the life-type professional? Or are the professions that play zombies able to let zombies build weapons and potions for them? Nothing. However, the mechanic Xing Mu did it. And there is no burden or consumption, and there is no need to worry about failure and fatigue. Mr. Li also beamed with joy, and all the melancholy caused by the incident in Bangzi country was swept away in an instant. Ha ha ha, this kid can always bring surprises to people. Hiss, even purple rare level props can be produced by mechanical creations. Doesn't that mean that given time, red brave level props can also be produced by mechanical creations? Everyone fell into a dreamlike ecstasy. After a long while, Mr. Li looked at Jiang Guixing solemnly. Xiao Jiang, Mr. Zheng has helped the country so much, you can't let him suffer. As soon as he finished speaking, Jiang Guixing nodded hurriedly with a smile on his face. Don't worry, Mr. Li, everything has been settled. 15% of the total value of the goods will be settled in the form of contribution points from Southwest Military Attaché University. That boy Zheng is very happy. Mr. Li nodded, but then he suddenly raised his head and asked in shock. You mean, everything will be paid according to contribution points? Jiang Guixing nodded. Mr. Li and Gu Xingdong looked at each other and were speechless. MMP, is there really nothing you can do about this kid? Chapter, 122 Mr. Li and Gu Xingdong looked at each other in silence. Especially Mr. Li, who originally thought of making Zheng Mu's path more solid through slight restrictions and tempering his temperament. Be less impulsive and more calm. However, even after experiencing the ups and downs for most of my life, I have watched the clouds roll and the clouds relax for decades. He had never thought that Zheng Mu could actually allow mechanical creation to replace daily life professionals and produce props that could be recognized by heaven. That is to say, the facts are now in front of him. Otherwise, if someone says such things to him, he will have to be dragged down and interrogated by Wolf Wolf. Hey, how many contribution points can this guy earn by producing a batch of props? When Jiang Guixing heard this, he immediately replied without thinking. Because the supply of raw materials can't keep up, there were only 2, 5 billion in the first week. But our logistics department has recently reworked the raw material supply plan. In the future, Shindu military industry's total production per week will be worth about 30 billion contribution points. According to the 15% allocation, Zheng Mu will be able to get about 4, 5 billion per week in the future. Contribution points. Hiss. At this time, Gu Xingdong on the side scratched his head and ears with a headache, and looked at Jiang Guixing with uncertain eyes. If I remember correctly, among the Red Warrior level materials in the treasure house, the one with the highest value does not exceed 400 million contribution points, right? Jiang Guixing seemed to realize something at this moment, and nodded with a slightly stiff expression. Mr. Li shook his head and smiled bitterly, put the document in his hand on the table and sighed. That boy actually made me look away from the old man several times. If we follow this plan, wouldn't that boy be able to retrieve at least dozens or hundreds of Red Warrior level materials from the treasure factory every month? Mr. Li looked helplessly at Gu Xingdong aside. 593 now. I'm afraid the old man will be in trouble again. Gu Xingdong naturally understood what Mr. Li meant. There was a large amount of wealth accumulated in the Dragon Kingdom's treasury, and more treasures were obtained from the secret realm of different time and space every day. However, this is not just in and out. The Dragon Kingdom has also raised many top-notch life professionals, who serve as enshrinements to the country and provide the country with top-notch equipment, medicines and props. The explosion rate of something at the level of the Red Brave class is pitifully low. If these people knew about Jing Mu's large-scale transfer, they would probably come to Mr. Li to protest or something. Jiang Guixing obviously thought of this and asked with some anxiety. Then, Mr. Li, should I discuss with Jing Mu and reduce his share? However, 
As soon as he finished speaking, Mr. Lee waved his hand to stop him. The face that was still smiling quickly turned serious. It's settled that we're leaving. How can a general of a country, who represents our entire dragon kingdom, let alone a rising star like Xing Mu, break his word? Give him. The sound was not loud, but it reached the ears of everyone present clearly. These generals who were fighting in the secret realm of different time and space couldn't help but straighten their backs. Their eyes were filled with pride. At the same time, they couldn't help but envy the younger generation Jing Mu. What Mr. Li said today is a sufficient statement. Jing Mu has become a key training target for the military and even the Dragon Kingdom in the future. It must be heading towards the level of the protector of the country. Some people with lively thoughts and a good impression of Zheng Mu are thinking about making friends with him in advance. This person must be one of the new generation of protectors of the Dragon Kingdom in the future. Having a good relationship will also be of great benefit to your family and descendants in the future. Among them, Lin Guanyong looked at Jiang Guixing who was proud of the spring breeze, and secretly made up his mind. At this moment, Zheng Mu still doesn't know that his potential in the minds of senior management has once again surged. After finishing the stud consumption at the resource management office once again, I was very happy. I waved goodbye to the staff here with a smile on my face. Even though he couldn't wait to return to his factory. Ha ha ha, as expected, it's better to be a boss than to work part-time. Looking at the dozen or so red hero-level monster materials in front of him, Zheng Mu murmured excitedly. I even wanted to go to the factory next door and say a few words of encouragement to the logistics T-100s who were working tirelessly to process chemicals and equipment. You work hard and help your master find more beautiful ladies. There is still a lot of work at hand. It took a long time to convert the newly exchanged materials on hand today into mechanical components. Zheng Mu finally looked formally at the behemoths in front of him. Optimus Prime, you will have a new partner soon. Zheng Mu murmured, carrying the Sword of Judgment on his back, and Optimus Prime, who stood behind Zheng Mu, heard the words. The metallic sound also clearly revealed expectations. You are the great master. You have given us life and everything. The Transformers will fight to the death to kill all enemies for you. Zheng Mu smiled faintly and walked up to the largest earthquake Tyrannosaurus body, in the factory. At this moment, there are more than a dozen mechanical components placed around the earth-shaking Tyrannosaurus body. Most of them are red brave level components, and the lowest level ones are also purple rare level components. Synthesis As Zheng Mu selected the drawing Transformers Optimus Prime, the voice of the system in his mind immediately came. It does not match the established drawings, and the assembly verification is being reset. Discovered reference type drawings. The drawing transformer's base is added to the deduction sequence. Assembling according to unknown path, feasibility is 90%, please note the risk of damage. The systematic voices in my mind continued one after another. The body of the earth-shaking Tyrannosaurus that was originally supported by steel brackets in front of him was enveloped by a rotating storm in the blink of an eye. Amidst the crackling sound of thunder, the surrounding mechanical components flew up one after another. The main body of Earthquake Tyrannosaurus, loaded. Fire Source Body Energy Core, loading completed. Hellfire Thrower, loaded. Defense System Crash Armor, loading completed. Advanced Intelligent Core Dinosaur King Kong Steel Cable, loading completed. Weapon System Meteorite Hammer, loading completed. Firepower System Jurassic, loading completed. Nano Self-Healing System, loading completed. Roar. The deafening roar of the beast instantly came from the factory where Xing Mu was located. The terrifying sound directly frightened the soldiers guarding the Shindu military factory area and entered a state of combat readiness. When the person in charge led an elite to the place where the sound occurred. When they saw the building, which looked like it was shaking slightly from the outside, their expressions changed drastically. They all knew very well who was inside. It can be said that if this place is really attacked by an enemy today, everyone present including the general in charge will die, but Cheng Mu, the mechanic, must not cause any problems. Just when everyone was about to rush in, the door of the factory suddenly opened. Zheng Mu walked out of it. Um, General Zhang, 
I'm studying a big guy here, so don't be offended by some small movements, don't be nervous. General Zhang raised his head and looked at the shaking factory building. Is this the little noise you're talking about? He wanted to take a look inside, but was blocked by Zheng Mu with a smile. After slapping his mouth, General Zhang had no choice but to give up. After signaling everyone to lift their guard, he couldn't help but vomit his bitterness to Zheng Mu. General Zheng, you must pay attention to your own safety. There has been a lot of trouble in Bangzi country recently. Even Sakura country got involved and wanted to prevent us from taking that metal vein. If they know your existence at this time, they will definitely try their best to get rid of you. If anything happens, you must inform us immediately. Even if we, the seniors, risk our lives, we will definitely protect you. Seeing General Zhang's solemn expression, Zheng Mu felt warm in his heart. Smile and nod to show that you understand. Returning to the factory, a huge black metal giant was already standing here. Optimus Prime stood next to the opponent, only as high as the opponent's waist. Tightrope, I have seen the Lord. The sound of urn and urn came from the top of the head, like exploding thunder. Zheng Mu nodded slightly. General Zhang's words just now made him have some restless thoughts. The metal veins were discovered by the other party. However, this is something that is difficult to avoid. After all, the Xinyue snow region is now at the cusp of the storm. If the people of the Dragon Kingdom suddenly enter and do not arouse suspicion and alert, then there is a problem. However, it seems that we can't occupy it secretly, so we can only rob it openly. The corners of Zheng Mu's mouth raised slightly. In today's Xinyue snow territory, in addition to the professionals from Bangzi country, there is also the existence of Xiao Baga. When I think of how much I neglected them before. Zheng Mu also plans to give these little beasts several times more care this time. Zheng Mu looked at the huge figure in the factory that had not yet completed assembly. The smile in his eyes was cold and evil. This love from Father Zheng will definitely be real, as deep as a father's love, and will be unforgettable for them forever. Night. With no one paying special attention, Zheng Mu left Shindu military industry alone as usual. But he did not go towards Southwest Military Attaché University. Silently arrived at a teleportation array square in Shindu. A burst of white light bloomed, and the entire figure disappeared. At the same time, in the small town on the edge of the goblin forest, Zheng Mu opened his eyes and looked at the familiar town, the smile on his face getting stronger. Mr. Li, you may have to be more cautious this time. I'm afraid it's not easy to control your strength. Chapter 123 General, the Bangzi Kingdom has increased its troops again. According to our investigation, the levels of those who came this time are basically above level 35. Except for a small number of troops stationed in Hanching, the rest should have been urgently transferred from other places. There are about 1, 50, 0, 0 people. In addition, according to our information, the three first-class guilds coming to Bangzi country this time to help out are Sakura country, Mitsui guild, Qingshui guild and Xinxia guild. The total number of people is about 800, and the minimum level is IV40. On a snow-covered hillside. After hearing the report from his subordinates, the general who was responsible for leading the professionals who entered the dragon country in the Star Moon snow domain suddenly frowned. If Sheng Mu were here, he would definitely be able to recognize him immediately. It was General Xiong who had met once in the Bone Swallowing Desert. We only have three zero zero people at the moment. We are on the other side's home court and trying to rob the mine it's not going to be easy. General Xiong sighed. When Bangzi Kingdom discovered the mine and took action, it was very sudden. Summoning so many troops at once made it difficult for the Dragon Kingdom professionals, who only had three zero zero people and the average level was IV-40, to start. If it were a life-and-death fight between two armies, none of them would be able to tell the difference. However, the purpose of their coming here is to capture the purple rare mine. If you can't take the mine, it will be useless no matter how many sticks and baga you kill. And just when General Xiong frowned and thought about how he could temporarily delay the stick here before the follow-up troops from the Dragon Kingdom arrived. An assassin-type professional ran over quickly. General. 
unidentified people appeared in the rear. There are quite a few of them. Suddenly, everyone was shocked. Behind you is the Goblin Forest area, and beyond that is the Dragon Kingdom. The identity of the person coming is still unknown. And when General Shion led his people to the rear, he saw a huge base vehicle that he would never forget. Damn it! Why is this kid here? No. General Shion's head suddenly became big. Why is this kid here again? Only General Xiong himself knows how much shock and importance he attaches to Zheng Mu in this word. As a veteran with a high status in the military, although he has been relegated to the second line due to injuries and disabilities, he can no longer enter the secret realm of different time and space to fight for the country. But he still participated in the management of the Blue Star Dragon Kingdom military. More than half a month ago, Zheng Mu led his people to kill 100 stick professionals in the Xinyue snow region in the Goblin Forest. He was very familiar with it. The most important thing is that this kid even did this. Bangzi country has not yet found out why. In fact, they don't even know the person Zheng Mu. General Xiong hurriedly ran towards the base vehicle, but Zheng Mu, who was sitting in the base vehicle, had already discovered the existence of General Xiong and the others during the Patrol Eagle's reconnaissance. Hi, General Xiong, long time no see. Seeing the smiling face and walking out of the car with a box of Odin Zheng Mu in his hand, General Xiong swallowed the angry question on his lips. It's really the same as it was in the bone-swallowing desert, a place where monsters may spawn at any time. But it's like driving it out for a trip. Taking a deep breath, General Xiong stopped in front of Zheng Mu. I can guess why you came here. You have potential. I already know what you did before, but this time it's different a purple rare grade metal vein is enough for Bangzi country more advanced warriors have been dispatched. It is not even impossible to urgently bring back the protector god who is in the secret realm of different time and space. Those gadgets you are flying in the sky are really nothing to people at this level. Listening to General Xiong's earnest persuasion, Zheng Mu still had a smile on her face and felt warm in her heart. Over this period of time, he has really become more and more fond of this country and its soldiers. These people have the determination and belief to sacrifice themselves for the country at any time, and they also have the mission of passing on the fire to the next generation, protecting the younger generations and allowing them to thrive. The General Xiong in front of him was obviously a respectable senior. Seeing the worried look on General Xiong's face, Zheng Mu took a deep breath and suddenly said solemnly. General, thank you for your love and care for me as a junior, but I really have the ability to become a Dragon Kingdom warrior, please believe me. General Xiong opened his mouth and looked at Zheng Mu's determined eyes. In the end, I still couldn't continue to dial and leave. But I still added something. I will have people report to Mr. Li and General Gu. If a fight really breaks out, you kid, please control it. If you feel the situation is not right, leave immediately. This is an order from our Lieutenant General Xiong Weishan of the Dragon Kingdom to you, Zheng Mu, a reserve officer of Southwest Military Attaché University. Understand? Zheng Mu's expression became serious and he immediately saluted Xiao Ran. Yes. At this time, the atmosphere finally calmed down. Zheng Mu smiled and handed the Odin in his hand to the other party. Xiong Weishan was not polite either. Your previous group really hurt Bangzi country. Logically speaking, they secretly mobilized their forces. At least there are 30 to 40 professionals without any problem, but because of you TSK TSK TSK. When Xiong Weishan said this, he opened a big smile. Zheng Mu also laughed. If General Qin hadn't stopped me at that time and ordered me to evacuate urgently, I would have prepared to go to other areas of the Bangzi Kingdom to make waves, trying hard to prevent their professionals from even leaving the city gates. Ha ha ha. This suits me. We, the soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom, have to consider the honor and disgrace of the country and the safety of our teammates, but the only thing we don't need to consider is the feelings of the enemy. Ha ha ha, okay. Xiong Weishan looked at Zheng Mu with admiration, becoming more and more satisfied with him. Hey, if you don't behave like a monster, I, Lao Xiong, can shamelessly transfer you from General Gu and serve as my soldier. Unfortunately, you are too big. 
this small temple of mine cannot accommodate you. Your future stage must be in the secret realm of different time and space. After chatting here for a while, everyone finally talked about the big event at hand. With the reconnaissance images provided by Zheng Mu Patrol Eagle, everyone has a clearer understanding of the current situation. However, precisely because of this, the faces of Xiong Weishan and others became even more ugly. Damn, these Xiao Shiba are really cautious. Even if they have the numerical advantage, they don't intend to take action against us at all. They directly start to explore the mineral veins. If they really find out the specific scale, we are afraid that the pressure will be even greater. Big. Xiong Weishan cursed and Lu Ran looked wolfish. We can't control that much anymore. Send a request for help to the country again, and we will take action directly. Suddenly. Xiong Weishan looked at Qing Mu with a solemn expression. Since you said you are a qualified Dragon Kingdom warrior, now have a task for you. Zheng Mu immediately raised his chest and raised his head. Xiong Weishan pointed to the projection sand table, which represented the three major guilds of Sakura Country. You can bring your mechanical creations to hold back these professionals from Sakura Country, can you do it? Zero request flowers, zero. He knew the strength of Zheng Mu's mechanical creations. Although the T-800 and liquor were not good enough to deal with these people, it was really possible for the big guy behind him to cooperate with the patrol eagle to achieve extraordinary results. However, Xi's brows raised slightly. General Xiong, you mean that you are going to take 3-0-0 men to fight against 15-0-0 men? Xiong Weishan took a deep breath and nodded. Together with some of the surrounding officers, their faces looked as if they were dead. He didn't say too much, just said it lightly. Dragon Kingdom needs this mineral vein. Zheng Mu looked stern. The Dragon Kingdom needs it, so they, the warriors of the Dragon Kingdom, must never look back even if they know that the outcome will be death in battle. We must try our best to buy time for the arrival of the follow-up forces of the Dragon Kingdom. However, the more this happened, the more Zheng Mu couldn't let General Xiong and the others choose this path of no return. He gritted his teeth and took a step forward. General, do you believe me? What I mean is, you go deal with those Japanese slaves, and I'll take care of those little Shiba on the snow mountain. Xiong Weishan looked shocked, as if he was looking at a madman. Do you know what you are talking about? These people are not idle professionals from some guild. They are the elites of Bangzi country and professional soldiers. However, after hearing the other party's words, Zheng Mu's face was not only not timid at all, but also full of excitement and eagerness to try. Hey hey hey, elite. My special mother is fighting elites. Zheng Mu said and snapped his fingers. Then, under the stunned gaze of everyone, a strong airflow, accompanied by a roaring fighter plane, appeared behind Zheng Mu. As soon as the fighter plane appeared, the next moment it coolly transformed into a violent black iron giant amidst bursts of mechanical sound. Looking at the astonished Xiong Weishan, Zheng Mu had a thick smile on his face. General Xiong, I have prepared several big guys for these sticks and Japanese slaves this time. As a senior, you should help me and let me experiment with the limits of my work, right? Xiong Weishan. At this moment, Information about this strange mechanical creation appeared in front of him. Name, Transformers Megatron. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Red Brave Level. Durability, 2W2W. Defense, 3300. Skill 1, Transformation, can transform from fighter form into Decepticon form, no cooling time. Skill 2, Fusion Cannon, used to activate the fusion cannon, causing huge destructive damage to long-distance targets, cooling time, 20 minutes. Skill 3, Mountain Shattering Meteor Hammer. Use the Mountain Shattering Meteor Hammer to cause huge damage to the target and at the same time cause a shock effect to surrounding targets. There is a chance of shooting down the target's weapons within the range. There is no cooling time. Skill 4, Silicon-Based Life, after the battle, the damaged parts can be slowly repaired. Skill 5, 
superintelligence, Decepticons have independent intelligence, do not occupy the machinist's computing power space, and have the ability to group and respond. Skill 6, Polymer Hand Cannon, use the Polymer Hand Cannon to cause a range attack on a small range of targets, with a load of 20 rounds. Skill 7, Leader's Sword and Axe. Equipped with the Leader's Sword and Axe, Megatron's attack power, defense power, agility and other attributes are greatly improved, and he can use the Leader's Sword and Axe to deal super damage. Damn it! Another Red Hero Level Mechanical Creation. 10. Chapter, 124. Watching Zheng Mu flying into the clouds and disappearing on the fighter plane transformed by Megatron. The base vehicle also started at this moment, slowly heading towards the snow-capped mountains where the Xinyue metal veins are located. General, General, are you really going to let him deal with those more than 15-00 professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom alone? Isn't it too risky? The officer's question made Xiong Weishan ponder for a long time, and he could only shake his head. Contact the country as soon as possible. What we can do now is to deal with the 8,000 Japanese slave workers as quickly as possible, and then we have the opportunity to support him. Above the thick clouds, Zheng Mu sat in Megatron's cockpit, looking at the buttons and mechanisms full of technology inside, his face flushed with intense excitement. What figure boss? What is a one-to-one -one restoration? I'll just make a real Megatron. Lord Master, we have reached the target. Do you want to attack immediately? As worthy of being a Decepticon, as the Hawk Warrior in Transformers, Zheng Mu could hear the violent emotions when Megatron said this. However, he was not in a hurry. After looking at the location of the base vehicle at the moment, he chose to wait temporarily. When Megatron hovered high in the sky for more than half an hour, Zheng Mu felt slightly sleepy. The Red Queen finally controlled the base vehicle and arrived at the established attack position. Lord Lord, I have prepared my ministers due to the flow of the three levels of Chiu calendar system. Hit me hard right away. Pick a place with lots of people and hit me. Zheng Mu, who was sitting in the cab, heard the sound and immediately gave the order excitedly. Accompanied by hundreds of sharp whistling sounds, it rose from the ground, and white air currents crossed a parabola, rushed into the clouds, and then turned sharply downwards, heading straight towards the snow-capped mountains filled with professionals from Bangzi country. Boo-hoo! The whistling sound immediately alerted these professionals. As Xiong Weishan said, these people are the elites of the Bangzi kingdom, and the professionals of the Dragon Kingdom are still in the Xinyue snow region, coveting their minds. The vigilance of these people is quite high. No matter how vigilant you are, facing this blanket bombing of the base, it will all be in vain. What is that? Enemy attack. Hurry up and defend yourself. The hysterical roar had just spread, and the next moment hundreds of artillery shells above their heads had crashed to the ground. Boom! The terrifying bombing sound directly alerted Xiong Weishan and other areas who were heading towards the professionals in Sakura country. From a distance, looking at the mountain shrouded in billowing black smoke, most of the snow on the mountain was melted and shaking, it looked like a scene of the end of the snow-capped mountains. Xiong Weishan couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva. How strong the firepower of the base vehicle was at the beginning, he, the person who entered and exited several times and almost lost his life in it, had the most say. NND, how come my mother-in-law suddenly feels sympathy for those little Shibao? Xiong Weishan murmured. In the attack just now, without the opponent even thinking about taking precautions, those little Shiba suffered heavy casualties in just one attack. Needless to say, Looking at several rounds of firepower that did not give the opponent a chance to breathe, it once again covered the vast snow-capped mountains. All the soldiers who had never seen the horror of the base vehicle before opened their mouths in horror. Even from such a distance, you can feel the terrifying wave of air coming towards your face. They could almost imagine the result if such an attack fell on their heads. Suddenly, more people sympathized with Xiao Shiba. These guys really encountered an evil star. At the same time, looking at the snow-capped mountains that had been ravaged and filled with rising fog, the corners of Zheng Mu's mouth curved slightly into a cruel arc. Megatron. It's time for you to perform. As soon as he finished speaking, Megatron, 
who had been hovering high in the sky, suddenly pierced downwards. Amidst the bursts of screams and calls for help, the huge body began to bizarrely transform in midair. Amidst the boom, the huge sound of landing instantly attracted Shao Shiba, who was on the scene who was undergoing emergency treatment and rescuing others. A priest professional who was restoring the blood volume of the team members had not yet reacted. When he looked up, he saw the ferocious and cold figure of Megatron. Energy condensed in a muzzle several times larger than her face. Without waiting for them to have the slightest chance to react. Boom! A cannon shot out, come on! In an instant, several people were turned into powder. Even beings above level 35, at such a close range, are completely unable to withstand Megatron's move. Chui Jingyi and others who were not far from here shrank their pupils when they saw this scene. As one of the officers who initially conducted the investigation in the Xinyue snow region, the continuous bombings just now reminded him of something. At this moment, I saw the man who was obviously from the Dragon Kingdom jumping down from the steel monster. Chui Jingyi's expression changed drastically. It's him. It's this guy who massacred 100 of us before. He is the intruder boss. Shiba. All this is the conspiracy of the people of the Dragon Kingdom. The huge sound reached the ears of everyone present. Looking at the surrounding scene, which was no different from the Valley of the End, a surge of anger burst out from the hearts of these Bangzi country professionals. Kill him. Shiba. Damn Dragon Kingdom guy. Surround him, don't let him escape. Looking at the hundreds of figures rushing towards him in an instant, Cheng Mu smiled and waved casually. The next moment, he took out a thousand T-100s and a thousand liquors led by Black Claw from his storage backpack. Seeing these steel monsters suddenly appearing in front of them, the faces of the Bangzi country professionals who were rushing towards Cheng Mu changed. However, at this time Cheng Mu roared cruelly. Kill them all. Wow. As soon as the words fell, on the top of the snow-capped mountains with rising white mist, T-100 and Liquor rushed towards each other like a torrent of steel. Pursuing Chi Slash A soldier from the Bangzi kingdom waved a long knife in his hand, and a sharp sword beam was instantly emitted, and he came to a T-100 in the blink of an eye. Humph, it's nothing more than that. It looks like it's just some low-level puppet of a puppet master. The professional looked at the T-100, which couldn't even dodge, and sneered in his heart. There was wind under his feet, as if his whole body had been injected with strong self-confidence, and his charging speed increased. However, the next moment his confident expression turned into one of shock. Wow! Facing the oncoming attack, T-100 did not dodge or dodge, but its body suddenly split apart, leaving a perfect hole in the middle of its body. Dao Gang passes directly through this opening. T-100's health bar showed no movement at all. At this time, the T-100 had already reached the professional, its hands turned into cold and sharp blades, and chopped off his head. When? The man resisted instinctively, but the next moment, there was a chill on his chest. HP-3597 Shiba What kind of monster is this? The man was very anxious and hurriedly started to use his skills to fight with the T-100 in front of him. However, the more he fought, the more ugly his face became. In just three to five minutes, his health bar had dropped to one-third. His attacks can be accurately avoided by the T-100 in front of him every time, and every flaw in his body will be accurately caught by the opponent. Under the attack of knife after knife, if it weren't for the priest behind him who was still giving him buffs and treatments. This man has already died no less than three or five times. There's something wrong with these guys, please give me treatment quickly. Ask for help. Asaba. My, my attacks can't harm them at all, they are physically immune. Where's the mage? Mage, hurry up and release your skills. Zheng Mu's face was filled with disdain as he looked at the Bangzi Nation professionals who were instantly knocked to pieces by his own T-100. Elite? That's it. No matter how elite you are, after a few rounds of firepower from Grandpa and I, you are still a bunch of weaklings with weak blood. Not to mention facing a red warrior level mechanical creation like Megatron. Even these T-100s under his command, 
when Zheng Mu himself is here. With the blessing of the skill combat analysis, if you know the enemy's movements one second in advance, it is simply a matter of killing someone if you block them, and killing a Buddha if you block them. In just a few minutes, these Bangzi country professionals occupying the mineral veins showed signs of defeat and retreat. At this moment, several sharp whistling sounds flew towards Xing Mu. Shi Ba. Go to hell. Ding 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 ding. Amid the fierce collision, Megatron stopped in front of Zheng Mu in time, watching the ice shards flying and the figure flying towards Zheng Mu from a distance on an icy sword. Zheng Mu's eyelids raised. The leaders of these Bangzi country professionals finally arrived here. Amidst the sounds that broke through the air, seven figures arrived one after another. Zheng Mu glanced around and saw that it was also the configuration of a small team. Warriors, assassins, shooters and other standard professions are all included. The man who led the attack on Zheng Mu just now saw that his attack was just barely enough to make the steel giant in front of him tremble twice. He then recovered naturally in the blink of an eye. The pupils couldn't help but shrink to two, six. This level of defense, as well as the speed of blood bar recovery, are not necessarily available to ordinary IV-50 bosses. Are you the one who massacred our compatriots in the Star Moon snowy region of Bangzi country? The man asked coldly. He originally thought that Jing Mu would shake his head and refuse to admit it. Unexpectedly, the person who responded to him was a smiling face full of smiles and sincerity. Yes, with 100 zero, zero people, to be honest, it is quite difficult to kill. After all, they are not pigs. It always requires careful planning. The man was startled, and then not only him, but everyone behind him was instantly angered by Zheng Mu's frivolous words. Shi Ba. Are you a devil? 100,000 people, that's 100,000 people. What's their fault? You want to kill like this? Hearing the loud questions from these Bangzi country professionals and seeing some of the female professionals' eyes turn red, the smile on Zheng Mu's face became even brighter. He spread his hands. Wow, I just killed 100 zero, zero of you. Why are you so serious? If I hadn't been in trouble at that time, I would have prepared to kill another 100,000 people. After all, seeing these people shaking with anger, Zheng Mu laughed wildly. The expressions on your little Shiba's faces when you are about to die really please me. Chapter 125 The expressions on your little Shiba's faces when you are about to die really please me. Behind him are his men who are fighting hard against T-100 and the others. However, at this moment, these senior professionals from Bangzi country were all trembling with anger at Zheng Mu's cruel and inhumane perverted remarks. The smile on this guy's face showed no trace of guilt after killing 100 zero, zero people, but it was just like what he said. Full of pleasure, and can't stop. Bitch, no matter what happens next, even if we risk our own lives, we will definitely smash every bone of this guy like you to pieces. Even your teeth, we must grind them into powder. The captain of the Bangzi kingdom's eyes were filled with ferocious murderous intent. The next moment, two ice birds appeared on his body. With a wave of his staff and knife, they rushed towards Zheng Mu. The people behind him also immediately became furious and took action. The assassin young man instantly transformed into seven or eight clones, his red swords flying in his hands. Large waves emerged out of thin air around the mage's body, turning into a water dragon and heading towards Xing Mu. As for the priest, he also activated the staff in his hand one after another. In the blink of an eye, four or five group buffs were applied to all his teammates. However, Xing Mu was unmoved when he saw these rushing figures. Just when the attack was about to come, Uchiha Musen's figure suddenly appeared. Boom! As soon as the powerful Susanoo appeared, the Budo Tamashii in his hand was already waved out. With the powerful sword, it instantly hit the captain who was rushing at the front. Boom! Seeing the captain flying out like a cannonball in an instant, spanning more than a hundred meters, and hitting the mountain wall in the distance heavily, these sticks were all frightened by the terrifying Uchiha Musen in front of them. However, Uchiha Mukai killed decisively, slashing away the opponent's captain with one strike. The next moment, Susanoo's sword suddenly burned with a blazing black flame. 
but it was a buff skill that the other party copied from a certain professional at some unknown time. The black flame broadsword came towards his face with an overwhelming and ferocious aura. The people who were shouting and killing Zheng Mu one moment were being pinned down and rubbed on the ground by Uchiha Musen alone the next moment. Damn it, what is the profession of this damn dragon countryer? Why can't I see anything? I can't see it either, Asaba. Jean N, you guy, just hold on. I've been debuffed by my family, I'm weak, priest. Looking at the messy scene, Zheng Mu shook his head disdainfully, even though thousands of professionals from Bangzi country had already arrived halfway up the mountain to support him. But Zheng Mu no longer takes these guys seriously. With a wave of his hand, Optimus Prime, who had been strengthened and promoted to the Red Warrior level, appeared in huge form. You and the T-100 will deal with those guys at the bottom of the mountain. Hearing this, Megatron took a deep look at his own kind, Optimus Prime, and an invisible competition and confrontation between the two had already begun. Nishiba. Stop. You bastard. In the distance, the captain of the Bangzi kingdom, who had just gotten up, looked furious. The blood bar on his head was directly cut off by one-third from the previous hit. At the same time, he looked at the dark aura of ruin on the opponent's body. Zheng Mu shook his head. When Uchiha Muzai was created, the biggest plus point for it as a whole was not actually the Sharingan that could copy functions and cast Susanu. Instead, it was Breath of Destruction, obtained by using Blood of the Evil God, to transform it. This debuff effect is definitely the most terrifying skill on Uchiha Muzan. There is no consumption, and once it is hit, it is basically difficult to cancel. So, seeing that the captain of the Bangzi kingdom was contaminated with the breath of ruin, Jing Mu suddenly lost the idea of talking nonsense with him. One thought, the next moment. Miss Milaj, dressed as a good girl and wearing an elegant long dress, also appeared one after another. De Gio, if you are so rude to Lord Master, you will end up in a miserable place. Hearing Mira Jane's words that suddenly appeared, the man was stunned. Sakura country people. Zheng Mu had a smile on his face. Of course Miss Mira Jane is not from Sakura country, but as to why she knows Sakura language, Zheng Mu can only say. Some games don't have that flavor in simplified Chinese. What the hell are you? The head of the captain of the Bangzi kingdom was completely exhausted. He didn't know Zheng Mu's profession, he didn't know Zheng Mu's level, and he didn't know that these seemed like puppets at the moment, but there were things that couldn't be used as puppets at all. What is it again? The other party seems to be intelligent and has the ability to communicate with others normally. Especially the Mira Jane in front of him looked like a standard human being. However, the way of appearing was too weird, and the captain of the Bangzi kingdom still used thing as a description. However, this just made Miss Mira Jane's beautiful brows wrinkle slightly. Even she is imperfect now. She is still a mechanical creature, even though she can do many things for Lord Overlord and play various games. But Mira Jane had a thorn in her heart. She cannot give birth to offspring for him like the human girls around Lord Dominator. The word thing is definitely Mira Jane's weakness. Then. The guy who is despised by all the masters is indeed a complete scumbag. The terrifying magical energy is activated along with the devil's heart in Mira Jane's body. A powerful magical energy instantly burst out from the device, exploding throughout Mira Jane's body. The dark purple evil magic power rose into the sky and turned into an energy pillar that penetrated the thick clouds. In a thick and violent voice. In an instant, she transformed from a good girl, Miss Mira Jane, into a satanic witch form. Almost as fast as instantaneous movement. In the blink of an eye, he came behind this man and kicked out with a fierce wind. Boom! Looking at the figure who was kicked out by Mira Jane and then hit hard again in the hole in the mountain wall that he just climbed out of. Zheng Mu grinned slightly. Who can blame this? It can only be said that this guy's luck is really bad. With so many words, he was able to accurately step on Miss Milaj's minefield. After taking a look at Mira Jane's message at the moment, Zheng Mu nodded again in his heart. This guy's luck is really bad. Magic Battle Robot Mira Jane Satan Form Remaining 2 Hours, 43 Minutes and 18 Seconds 
Looking at the witch Mira Jane standing in the void, the next moment she disappeared in a burst of sonic boom. There were roars from the mountains in the distance. Zheng Mu silently gave these unlucky Xiao Shiba a thumbs up in his heart. When Mira Jane transformed before, the total time did not exceed 20 minutes. After all, the setting of the devil's heart instantly generating magic power was simply too flattering. If luck is really bad, the transformation can only last for more than 10 seconds. It is not unheard of. However, this time, the bad-mouthed captain of the Bangzi kingdom directly doubled Mirajane's demon heart's highest record. Being in the transformed state for nearly three hours means that Mirajane can unleash magical attacks unscrupulously during this period of time, and carry out inhumane ravages on all enemies around her. Ah! Amidst a scream, Uchiha Muzan suddenly slashed away an assassin who was trying to be cautious about Jing Mu. And just when the opponent was about to land, a whistling sound came from the other side. It was a round thing, and I couldn't see what it was exactly. Almost instantly, it hit the chest of the Bangzi country assassin. Vomit. At level 58, the blood bar above his head dropped sharply. With a heavy sound, it hit the mountain wall. Instinctively, he took out two bottles of blood-restoring potions from his pocket and wanted to pour them into his mouth. However, the next moment, when the man saw the round thing in his arms, his face instantly turned pale. Team Leader In shock, full of anger and fear, the attention of several other people came. When they saw the familiar head in the other person's arms, everyone's heart twitched violently. Zheng Mu stood aside with his chest crossed as if he were watching a show. Seeing the shock on these people's faces, I asked with some surprise and curiosity. Ah, you are very surprised. It seems that your captain's strength is not low. Is he an S-class professional? Zheng Mu tilted his head and raised his eyebrows as he looked at the head in the assassin's arms, slightly weighing it down. No, there shouldn't be such a number one figure among the S-level professionals in your country, right? When one of the team members heard Jing Mu's words full of contempt and disdain, he gritted his teeth and was frightened and angry at the same time. Shi Ba! How dare this bastard kill our captain! How dare he kill Major General Yin Suping of our Big Bang country! I am going to kill you! However, before this guy could launch an attack on Jing Mu, the next moment he was suddenly approached by Muzan Uchiha, who gave him a heart wrenching blow. On the dark red Buddha Yuhuan, blood dripped. The latter also stared blankly at the position where his heart was penetrated, and the blood bar above his head disappeared in the blink of an eye. Before finally losing consciousness. Zheng Mu's obviously smiling voice reached his ears. Oh. He is actually a serious major general. Come on, come on, save this head for me. I am just a student major general. Student. The young man could not believe it until he died. What was equally unbelievable were the remaining mages present. Everyone looked at Uchiha Muzan who was pressing forward step by step, and retreated continuously. Among them, the priest girl looked at Jing Mu with a look of shock and anger. Who are you? What is your identity in the Dragon Kingdom? You can't be a student. How is this possible? You Long Kingdom people are all liars. Chapter, 126 Who are you? What is your identity in the Dragon Kingdom? You can't be a student. How is this possible? You Long Kingdom people are all liars. To be honest, this girl's figure is really good, but it's a pity the traces of acquired hard work on her face are a bit too obvious, which is really unacceptable to Zheng Mu, a master of pinching faces. Tears were shed as he watched the other party collapse, but Zheng Mu had no intention of explaining or talking nonsense. He waved his hand. Let's fight quickly. There are still a lot of little ants at the bottom of the mountain to deal with. As soon as he finished speaking, Mira Jane and Uchiha Muzan suddenly took action. Susano. Dark Stream. Ah. Although the mage tried his best to hold up the magic shield, even though the priest also activated his trench defense. However, Along with a burst of terrifying energy, several people were swallowed up. Except for the remaining weapons of a few people, not even some dregs were left in the place. 
At this point, all the strongest members of the professional army urgently organized by the Bangzi kingdom were killed by the mechanical creations under Xing Mu's command. At the same time, the T-100 and the Lickers, led by the two huge beasts Optimus Prime and Megatron, had reached the halfway point of the mountain in just a few dozen minutes. Seeing this, Zheng Mu's eyes moved slightly, and he waved to Mira Jane, who could fly quickly. Mira Chan, we no longer need so many people in the battle here. Please help General Xiong in the battle as soon as possible. After all, there are many Japanese slaves, and their average level is much higher than ours. Mira Jane nodded, but when he was about to leave, he seemed to think of something. With an evil and fiery smile on his face, he moved slightly closer to Zheng Mu. He whispered in Zheng Mu's ear. After this Lord Master thing is over, do you want to play a game with me in my accepting state? BX. Feeling the itching sensation coming from his ears, Zheng Mu was all alert. When he came back to his senses, he found that Mira Jane had already rushed into the thick clouds in the blink of an eye and disappeared amid a burst of narrow laughter. Hey, Mira Chan in her witch state is really quite bold. Zheng Mu looked around and saw that except for the corpses of Bangzi country professionals, there was no one alive. But the boldness of the other party just now still made him feel a little embarrassed, and he couldn't help but start thinking about it. I didn't know that Mira Chan seems to have a tail and devil wings when she transforms, uh, I'm so perverted. While Optimus Prime and the others were doing their best to clear out the Bangzi nation professionals within the mine, Cheng Mu curiously walked into a mine with Black Claw and several T-100s. At the same time, the Dragon Kingdom Divine Capital. I knew it. I fucking knew it. This kid has been there for so long without any movement. How is this possible? Jiang Guixing, what do your people do for food? Don't you know what Jing Mu means to our Dragon Kingdom now and what he represents? How can he be allowed to do such nonsense? In the main hall. This time, it was no longer Lin Guanyong who was pointing fingers at Jiang Guixing, but General Gu and Mr. Li. Precisely, those civil servants who value peace every day. These people are really anxious. When they learned that Zheng Mu could actually make mechanical creations replace daily life professionals, they had already begun to designate the division of military and civilian logistics. It is planned that in the future, the mechanical creations under Zheng Mu and some higher level life professionals supported by the state will be responsible for the logistic supply of the future military. Cancel the original shopping spree in the Dragon Country professional market. Give private professionals more growth resources. After working tirelessly for several days, all the plans have been made. They have already thought of the great future in the Dragon Kingdom where everyone is like a dragon. As a result, just when they were about to go to Zheng Mu to discuss the matter in detail, they were notified by Jiang Guixing. Zheng Mu left Kyoto and went to the Xingyue Snow region again, and this time he went alone, without bringing any of the newcomers from the Wheel of Truth Guild. He looked like he was going to challenge the two forces of Bangzi country and Sakura country. This fucking scared the shit out of them. Seeing the submissive Jiang Guixing, Mr. Xiang, the leader, was so angry that he slapped the table. Why are you still standing there? Go and get someone to bring him back, even if it means tying him up. You have to kidnap him back for me. The several civil servants sitting here at this moment all have bloodshot eyes. There are stacks of information and plan details they have prepared in front of them, and everyone's fists are tightly clenched. He stared at Jiang Guixing as if he would pounce on him and tear this guy alive in the next moment. Under such circumstances, even Lin Guanyong, who has always been fearless, silently chose to shut up and play. In the end, Mr. Li, who was still sitting in the front seat, pinched his eyebrows and waved his hand. Well, since General Xiong can agree to let him stay, it at least proves that there is no problem for the boy to protect himself. However, this self-protection is obviously only temporary self-protection. Once the Bangzi Kingdom or the Sakura Kingdom is dispatched, a more powerful professional general, I'm afraid that kid will also fall. Hearing this, Gu Xingdong on the side side. Now I have no idea about the Xingyue metal mine. Instead, that kid Jing Mu has used that huge base again. In this way, it will be easy for Bangzi country to think of that 100 causes of death for professionals. 
Gu Xingdong looked worriedly at Mr. Li, who had a solemn gaze, and said quietly. Now that the blood debt of 100-00 people has a source, why do you think the high-level officials in Bangzi country are going crazy? As soon as these words came out, the faces of everyone present turned gloomy. Mr. Xiang looked at Lin Guanyong hurriedly. General Lin, can you bring back one or two of the protector gods? At this time, we must do everything we can to bring back Xing Mu before the Bangzi kingdom finds out. However, the bad guy suddenly raised his hand. No. The protector of the country cannot be transferred back. Mr. Xiang suddenly became anxious, but Mr. Li waved his hand and looked at Lin Guanyong. Order the troops stationed in the secret realm of different time and space to immediately attack the areas of Bangzi country and Sakura country with all your strength, and try your best to put on a posture to drive them out of the secret realm of different time and space. Everyone's eyes immediately flashed slightly, and they understood Mr. Li's plan. Instead of calling back a strong person with the level of the protector of the country, let's put the battle on the front of Blue Star. It would be better to start the fight directly in the secret realm of different time and space. Mr. Lee looked at everyone and took a deep breath. If a conflict really breaks out, I will mobilize all the other time and space-time secret realm garrison and the Blue Star garrison. How will Zheng Mu deal with it when he comes back? That's a story for later. What we have to do now is. We want to bring people back alive and kicking. Minds. We want them too. Everyone looked stern, but nodded in agreement without hesitation. Everyone knows that now, the Dragon Kingdom is on top of Blue Star, and it is afraid that a national war will break out with the Bangzi Kingdom, or even the Sakura Kingdom. However, with Shindu Military Industries large-scale production of logistics materials to support the military, the senior officials of Dragon Kingdom are not weak at all. As soon as the meeting ended, they began to mobilize their strength like crazy. For this reason, Mr. Lee directly negotiated with several other top figures and transferred an elite force of three zero zero people from the Dragon Kingdom responsible for the garrison of Shindu to the Star Moon Snow region. However, Jing Mu, who was in the mine, was unaware of all this. Crack! Seeing the huge or easily dug out by the transformation of T-100's body, Jing Mu looked at it seriously. Star Moon Iron, purple rare material, which can be dropped from monsters or collected in specific areas in the wild. It has extremely high energy conductivity and can greatly assist weapons and equipment and enhance the skill amplification effect of equipment. Reduce the cost of using skills. It is indeed Xingyue Iron. Zheng Mu looked around and saw that the mine was very leaky. It was just a temporary exploration and digging field. However, just by asking Black Claw to use Dark Crypt, to explore the surroundings, Zheng Mu confirmed that the reserves of this vein were not low. The Red Queen's voice came from the mouth of AT-100. Based on the estimated resource reserves currently owned by the Bangzi Kingdom, even if a national war breaks out with the Dragon Kingdom, they will never give up this huge mine at their doorstep. Moreover, if a fight really breaks out and the Bangzi country and Sakura country negotiate Zhao Zhao, on the distribution of benefits, the pressure on the dragon country will probably be great. Zheng Mu frowned slightly, but had to nod in recognition. There is no problem with Red Queen's analysis. The use of the teleportation array requires resources. Even if it can save a lot of time, the vast dragon kingdom wants to mobilize more troops from all over the country to start a national war against the Bangzi kingdom. The subsequent consumption will also be a big problem. Zheng Mu pondered for a long time, and his eyes gradually became cold. The Bangzi country must already know what happened here, and it is very likely that they already know the truth about the Valley of the End. Soon there will be a large number of civilian and military professionals who will enter Xingyue Snow or come to seek revenge from me. Zheng Mu looked at the huge metal or veins in front of him and thought of the reason why General Xiong and the others regarded death as death. The Dragon Kingdom needs this fertile mine. Zheng Mu suddenly turned his head and looked at the T-100 possessed by the Red Queen. Red Queen, you said that if I go directly to Hancheng and capture the Hancheng of Bangzi Kingdom, will that be equivalent to imposing a barrier on this mine? Red Queen. Can one person shake a city? And also when the whole country wants to tear you apart? 
The powerful computing power of the Red Queen was overwhelmed by Zheng Mu's crazy idea at this moment, causing it to shut down on the spot. Chapter 127 I don't think this idea has anything to do with reason. The Red Queen's voice came from T-100's mouth, and this time, there was obvious anxiety. Master Overlord, if you want to take over and occupy the ownership of a city with the recognition of heavenly law, as a siege party, you not only need to rush into the city, but also need to occupy the official buildings recognized by heavenly law in the city. Even if you capture the entire city in the end, you still need to withstand possible counterattacks and ensure stable possession of the city for seven days. Only in this way can your ownership of this city be recognized at the level of heaven. With your current strength I don't recommend you to do this. However, it doesn't matter. As soon as he walked out of the mine, he immediately opened the surrounding sand table map under the patrol eagle's reconnaissance. As he continued to change directions, Zheng Mu soon saw the 3D sand table of Hanching in front of him. Zheng Mu focused his attention on the two teleportation squares in Hanching. One north and one south. If you really want to capture Hanching, the first thing you should do after entering the city is to capture these two places immediately and close the teleportation array. This made Hancheng an isolated city isolated from the outside world. However, these two places will definitely be the hardest bones to crack. Whether it is the subsequent reinforcements sent from other surrounding cities, or the professionals defending the city, they will definitely try their best to protect these two teleportation arrays. Zheng Mu frowned and thought, his eyes constantly wandering around the streets and urban layout of Hancheng. Suddenly, an idea flashed through his mind. Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly lit up, he immediately took out a communicator and dialed a series of numbers. Bangzi Kingdom, Hancheng. At this moment, Hancheng was not just filled with people's voices. Just at 830, a piece of breaking news, which could even be said to be crazy, spread throughout Hancheng at the speed of light. It even spread throughout the whole country. The person who killed their 100 professionals from Bangzi country more than half a month ago was not some random boss. He was basically a professional from the Dragon Kingdom. When the news first came out, everyone, including the top management of Hancheng, didn't believe it. However, when the familiar video of artillery bombardment in the mining area in the Xinyue snow domain was transmitted back, the entire Bangzi Kingdom's senior officials had to make serious comparisons. However, after comparison by specialized personnel, it was discovered that the on-site traces of the Valley of the End were consistent with the current situation of the mine area by more than 80%. Moreover, at this moment, in the area where the Xinyue snow mine is located, a lot of scenes of battles broke out, plus descriptions of professionals who rushed back to seek help. Even if they don't want to believe it, everyone has to accept a cruel and absurd reality. There is really only one person who killed their 100 professionals. It's just that this person has many very powerful summons with different abilities. The occupation of the mining area has recently shocked the management of Hancheng. Since there is a serious shortage of professionals who can be mobilized in the city, the senior officials of Hancheng have to turn their attention to the major guilds in the city. In Hancheng Mansion, among the pavilions and pavilions, there are obvious traces of the culture of the Dragon Kingdom. However, at this moment in a main hall, the presidents of various guilds have already become a mess. City Lord Jiang, you are completely treating us like fools. You want us to deal with the guy who can kill a hundred thousand people by himself. You don't even provide any medicines or props. In the end, you even provide some of the mines. Akba, are you not willing to give us your fur share? Shiba. Jiang Mingxiong, do you really think of yourself as the lord of a city? If you guys hadn't been supported by our guilds and your candidacy for city lord, would you be able to sit here with us today? Open your eyes and see who is in front of you, bastard. It is extremely rare to curse the lord of a city with such rude words in Long International. But this situation is very normal in some countries such as Bangzi country and Sakura country. Different from the official positions in the Dragon Kingdom, two factors are required one's own strength and national contribution in order to hold the position. The position of city lord of Bangzi Kingdom is jointly recommended by the major guilds in the city. Some city lords have certain strength, but there are also some people. For example, 
Jiang Mingxiong at this moment is just a C-level professional. The level is only 436, which has been piled up for a long time and has no physical combat experience. This level is not even comparable to the vast majority of new professionals who have graduated from professional universities. Therefore, facing the accusations from these guild presidents, Jiang Mingxiong could only continue to explain aggrievedly. Presidently, President Park, it's really not that I don't want to give you some allocation quotas. If you get some shares of the purple rare grade metal veins, as the local guild of Hanchen, for our entire city there is also a big improvement. But. Jiang Mingxiong looked constipated. The entire mineral vein has been distributed without our intervention. The first class guilds and national nobles above have already divided the cake long ago, and we have no share at all. Then why are we recommending you, this idiot? We have to pay so much harvesting materials and supplies every month, you waste, we don't care about this. Chen Doxian sat in the seat of the Tailong Guild President, although like the quarreling guild presidents, they were all second-rate guild presidents. He tried his best to keep a low profile. Until a communicator he kept close to his body suddenly heard a slight vibration. Chen Doxian's body trembled, he glanced around, exited the hall without leaving a trace, and came to a corner where no one was paying attention. Lord, Lord Lord, what are your orders? Chen Doxian's voice was full of humility and humility. Over the communicator, Zheng Mu directly stated his purpose. Send me the specific coordinates of the place where a large amount of monster materials and supplies are stored inside Hanqing, please. Chen Doxian was stunned, even though he was confused as to why Zheng Mu wanted this thing. But he still quickly sent all the information he knew. After hearing that Zheng Mu had received it, he asked carefully. Lord Lord, now the senior officials of Hanqing have summoned all the professional guilds in our city to prepare to jointly leave the city to eliminate you. What are you going to do? On the mountains and mountains of the Xingyue snow domain, Zheng Mu could no longer see any fighting in the distance. Anyone who didn't have time to escape was buried in the vast snow. After hearing the situation on Chen Doxian's side, Zheng Mu smiled lightly. However, he immediately rolled his eyes. Chen Doxian, I'm going to attack Hanqing soon. In the chaos, you, the S-level space inspector, will have a place to come into play. Seize the opportunity. This is when you lead the Tai Long Guild to Bangzi country. Great opportunity in front of the stage. He looked at the communicator in his hand and wondered if he had heard wrongly. Lord Lord, you, you just said attack Hanqing. Zheng Mu responded without explaining too much. After telling the other party to be smarter, he hung up the communicator. Looking at the several coordinates that were quickly marked in the hand under the operation of the Red Queen. Hanqing Professional Exchange Treasure House. Hanqing Treasury. As well as the Qinghua Hanqing Sub-Treasury. According to Qin Doxian's description, these three places store more than 60% of Hanqing's monster materials and pharmaceutical props. Among them, the Qinghua Hanqing branch owned by the monarch family of Bangzi Kingdom has many high-level equipment. Treasure. Although Zheng Mu has never seen it, he already has a quite exciting picture in his mind. His saliva was secreted uncontrollably. Looking at the 3D sand table projection in front of him, Zheng Mu couldn't help but murmur. Oldly, oldly, I'm not kidding, this rare purple mine was snatched by me as a junior for the Dragon Kingdom, but I can't return empty-handed. Speaking of this, Zheng Mu's face showed unabashed greed. The supplies of the 100 people before were probably not as exciting as one-third of these treasure troves. After all, many people don't carry high-end things with them. Professionals who can carry high-end equipment probably look down on the treasure chest that 100 people rushed to grab. Soon, a figure flew quickly from the sky. But it was Mira Jane who rushed back. Lord Lord, there were some casualties on General Xiong's side, but they were not serious. The three major guilds of Sakura Kingdom evacuated from the sea after paying half of their casualties. Zheng Mu nodded, thought for a while, and after sending a message to Xiong Weishan, he immediately led thousands of mechanical creations under his command and rushed towards Hanqing. Boom! The roar of Megatron's engine in the sky caused the expressions of the professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom who were escaping hastily towards Han City to change greatly. Shiba. 
we are almost reaching Hanching, and that guy still dares to chase. Aren't you worried that our monarch will order the dispatch of the God of Protection? It's so scary. What kind of profession does this guy have? I used purple rare level items to investigate, but I didn't get any information. Those who have a contact device, hurry up and call Hanching for help. Since this guy dares to come here, let the strong man in our city keep this damn bitch forever. In the main hall of Hanching Mansion. Originally Jiang Mingxiong was still arguing with the presidents of these guilds, but when a subordinate quickly ran over with a look of horror on his face and said something in his ear, he was so shocked that he almost knocked over the tea bowl in front of him. Why do you want gold? Really? He looked at his subordinates nodding with cold sweat on their faces. Lord City Lord, I have had someone confirm it. General Shue has indeed reported that the guy who massacred 100 of our professionals is coming towards Hancheng. In twenty minutes at most, we can open our south city gate. Hearing this person's words, Chen Doxian, who was sitting in his seat, instantly sweated on his palms and his eyes were full of shock and disbelief. And the same expression appeared on the faces of other people present. That murderer really doesn't want his life. He dares to knock on the door. Chapter 128 Boom 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 On the city wall of Hancheng, a large-scale city defense formation has been activated, like a huge energy shield, covering this prosperous city. However, at this moment, the senior officials of Hancheng and the senior members of the major guild standing on the city wall all looked at the huge figure appearing from the snowy horizon outside the city with complicated expressions. Help me! Help me! More than a dozen figures running in embarrassment were running in front of them. They were members of the professional army that their country had sent to the mining area. However, at this moment, they can definitely be regarded as losing their helmets. Each one's MP has obviously bottomed out, and the health bar has dropped by more than half. Behind them, there are hundreds of human-like figures, but their bodies have obvious metallic luster. Just like a cat playing with a mouse, chasing and teasing them. It seemed that he was about to reach the foot of Hanching City. Suddenly, AT-100 burst out with a powerful speed, as if ejected from the spot. Under the gaze of everyone on the city wall with splitting eyes. Pfft. The arm turned into a sharp blade and instantly penetrated the body of the fleeing Bangzi country professional in front of him. Ah! Save us, save us! This scene frightened the other people who were running for their lives. They all yelled for help frantically at the people on the city wall, with tears and runny noses streaming down their faces. They all secretly hated their parents for not giving them two extra legs. Shiba! Stop! On the city wall, Shui Zhanli, the highest military attaché in Hancheng, was wearing heavy armor. Using his charging skills, he rushed out of the city wall in an instant, like a chariot burning with golden flames. Heading in the direction of Xing Mu, he roared and charged away. Behind him, dozens of Hanqing's professional military attaches also roared angrily, following closely behind. If Xing Mu kills someone in front of them, what's the difference between putting his face in front of them and slapping him? However, Xing Mu, who was standing behind Optimus Prime at this moment, had the corners of his mouth raised slightly. With a thought, T-100 exploded instantly at such a distance. The next moment, those Bangzi country professionals who were fleeing in panic were already surrounded by T-100. Poof! Punctures from all directions, front, rear, left, and right, instantly turned them into blood gourds. Reluctantly and hatefully, he looked back at Jing Mu, who was standing on the shoulders of the giant behind him. His eyes were completely dark. Asshole! I'm going to kill you! Xue Zhanli, who was charging, just watched helplessly as their men were killed by Zheng Mu in front of his own city. His death was so miserable. The whole person can be said to be furious. However, before he could rush in front of Zheng Mu, a terrifying and sharp black shadow struck towards him. Boom! Just after narrowly escaping the attack from above, he took a closer look and saw that a one meter wide crack had appeared where he had been a second ago. A huge weapon that looked like an axe or a sword was standing in front of him. In his stunned moment, the sword suddenly swept across. Boom! The terrifying force instantly hit Shui Zhanli's body, 
and his whole body flew backwards towards the men behind him like a flying bowling ball. Ah! Looking at the crowd that instantly rolled into a ball, the legs of city lord Jiang Mingxiong, who was standing on the city wall, became weak. With just one blow, Megatron killed one-tenth of Shui Zhongli, who had a good defense level of IV-64. This level of damage is completely equivalent to a level 60 boss. Quick, ask for help from Qinghua Mansion immediately. Ask for help from the nearest city. The enemy is stronger than we expected. General Shui and the others are no match for us. Jiang Mingxiong is very timid, which he himself has never shied away from. However, after seeing Shui Zhongli's tragic situation, the several guild presidents standing next to him also frowned and looked at Jing Mu who was standing on Optimus Prime's shoulder in horror. They were almost sure at a glance that there were monsters outside the city that no information could detect. They are all headed by this young man. What is this guy's profession? Moreover, he doesn't look very old. When did the Dragon Kingdom have such a guy? It's really scary. In addition to those normal-sized monsters, these two steel giants have terrifying strength comparable to level IV-60 bosses. Could they also be puppets? He is indeed a powerful guy. Although he doesn't know exactly how he destroyed 100-00 of us, he dared to come to the door so openly. Didn't he think about it? Will the strong men from our country of Bangzi be able to pass through the teleportation array soon and rush to support us urgently? Shui Zhongli was helped up, and his health bar was restored in the blink of an eye under the control of a priest above level V50 behind him. And buff halos appeared one after another on everyone present. Who are you? Are you really the one who killed the 100 00 people in Bangzi country? Shui Zhongli was about to lead his team to attack Xing Mu. However, at this time, Jiang Mingxiong on the city wall suddenly asked loudly. Everyone's eyes focused on Jing Mu. At the same time, the scenes outside the city were also played on the panels of professionals. But someone is live broadcasting it in real time. When they heard Jiang Mingxiong's question, some people in the family who were one of the 100 00 Bangzi people clenched their fists nervously. Although they do not believe that one person can kill 100 00 of them, it is another matter if they admit it. Zheng Mu stood on Optimus Prime's body with a smile, quite heroic as one man taking charge. Looking around, he saw that the lineup of Bangzi country professionals was clearly missing a lot. The smile on Zheng Mu's face became more intense. Huh, when most of the elites, like the Dragon Kingdom, have invested in the secret realm of different time and space, their 100 00 record has directly caused them to suffer a lot of losses. Zheng Mu looked at the city lord Jiang Mingxiong on the city wall and nodded directly amid the uproar of the people in Hancheng. Yes, I did it. I killed 100 00 people, but I'm not here to discuss these meaningless things with you. Killed 100 00 of them, and they were all professionals. This guy can actually say without any emotion that this is meaningless. At this moment, Zheng Mu's behavior of dancing in the national minefield of Bangzi country instantly ignited the anger of the entire Hancheng. Wailing and cursing sounds were already heard in the streets and alleys of Hancheng. Even Zheng Mu, who was becoming a man, could vaguely hear sounds like kill that devil and revenge. However, this only made the smile on his face grow stronger. Looking at the ugly people on the city wall, their heads were spinning. Zero please give me flowers. Let me introduce myself, my name is Zheng Mu, an A-level mechanic who has never been on the stage. Ignoring everyone's actions of frowning and wondering what profession a mechanic is, Zheng Mu then made a surprising statement. In front of the attention of millions of people, a bombshell was dropped. I've taken a liking to the purple rare-grade metal veins in the Xinyue snow region, and I've also taken a liking to Hancheng in your Bangzi kingdom. If you don't want me to kill you until you bleed like a river, then just abandon the city and get out. Dead silence. The sound of hunting disappeared in an instant. At the foot of Hanching Mountain, which was still filled with cries and curses, everyone stared blankly at Jing Mu who said astonishing words in the live broadcast in front of them. My brain seemed to have shut down. Are you crazy? In the Xinyue snow mine area, with the joy of victory, they led the remaining troops to the Xiongwei mountain of the mine and were about to praise Xingmu. Show how powerful Mira Jane is in combat. 
As a result, Zhen Mu himself did not see it, and there was only one T-100 at the scene, and this T-100 was obviously left to deliver a message. However, when he heard what Zheng Mu said, Xiong Weishan almost fainted. His hands were like iron pliers, firmly grasping the T-100 in front of him. If it weren't for the T-100 now, and it was the previous T-800, most of its durability would have been lost due to the opponent's catch. Are you really crazy? That's Hancheng, that's a city. Are you out of your mind when you attack it alone? Come back. Come back right away, you hear me? This is an order. Zheng Mu. Hysterical roars echoed above the snowy mountains. However, T-100 spoke calmly with an expressionless expression. General Xiong, Lord Master did not leave any more words. Now he has arrived outside Hancheng. Please let me go. I have to return to the sequence to participate in the next one. Wei Shan, W. Bear. The center of the divine capital. As Mr. Li and other high-level officials decided to seize the mine resolutely and protect Qing Mu, they would bring him back. Gu Xingdong, a big shot in the military, rushed in quickly. His face was full of panic and shock. It is absolutely unimaginable to see such a look on a high-level person like him. However, at this moment, Gu Xingdong couldn't restrain himself at all. In a tea room, Mr. Li was reviewing documents while handling the matters at hand. Seeing Gu Xingdong rushing in, he hadn't even recovered from the other party's twisted expression. He was so shocked by the news from the other party that he dropped the teacup in his hand to the ground. Old Li. Something bad has happened. That kid Jing Mu is crazy. He brought the mechanical creation alone because he attacked Han Qing. Crack. Mr. Li suddenly stood up in shock. The voice directly rose a lot. What are you talking about? Attacking Han Qing alone. However, this time, before Gu Xingdong could say anything, a voice from the sky suddenly sounded over the entire Dragon Kingdom. At the same time, the same voice also sounded over the Bangzi Kingdom at this moment. Zheng Mu, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom camp, launched an offensive against Han Qing, the city of the Bangzi Kingdom camp. The Bangzi Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism. Chapter 129. Zheng Mu, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom camp, launched an offensive against Hancheng, the city of the Bangzi Kingdom camp. The Bangzi Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism, and you will receive special rewards by killing the declarer mechanic Zheng Mu. Mechanic Zheng Mu triggers the national war mechanism and kills members of the Bangzi Kingdom camp to receive random rewards. Mechanic Zheng Mu's combat goal has been confirmed. Kill more than 80% of Hanqing Bangziguo professionals and officially occupy Hanqing. The combat goal of the Bangzi Kingdom camp has been confirmed. Kill the mechanic Xing Mu before Hanqing is captured. Participants in the national war are being confirmed. Bangziguo Hanqing professionals, 15, 79, 25 W people support permission. Mechanic Xing Mu, one person no support permission. Fuck. Mr. Li has not said this classic national curse for many years. Thirty years, forty years, or even longer. But these are no longer important. He feels that despite his age, he must be pissed to death by this junior Zheng Mu today. Ah! That stinky boy Zheng Mu. I'm going to beat him to death. I'm going to beat him to death. Is that kid crazy? Challenging a city by himself? Not even a pig can do such a stupid thing, 273. Mr. Li broke his defense. What Qi nurturing Kung Fu, what city government, with the announcement from Tian Dao that resounded throughout the Blue Star, it was already too late. Why beat him to death? It would only have a chance if Zheng Mu came back alive. Nowadays. Mr. Li looked at his own panel, which had been opened by Tian Dao to a live broadcast window. The figure of Zheng Mu outside Hancheng looked so clear at the moment, but it gave Mr. Li a heart attack. Looking at the no support permission mark on the side of the panel, Mr. Li's heart was trembling. He was still angry at Zheng Mu's impulsiveness a moment ago, but now he was suddenly shouting in despair with tears streaming down his face. The ways of heaven are unfair. The ways of heaven are unfair. 
There is no support permission, so in other words, even if Xing Mu is possessed by a god or blessed by an SS level professional, he defeats the professionals from the Bangzi country in front of him in various incredible ways. The opponent can pass through the teleportation array in a steady stream. Teleport the professionals over. As for Xing Mu, even though their Dragon Kingdom has organized an emergency military force and has entered the Xingyue Snow Domain, they cannot intervene in the Battle of Hancheng between Zheng Mu and Bangzi Kingdom. Gu Xingdong on the side was also as anxious as a headless fly, spinning back and forth, thinking of ways to deal with this situation. 2. In the entire Blue Star, one person like Zheng Mu launched a challenge to the entire country, and it was also a siege. But it is unique, only this one. Without any precedent, even if they wanted to help, they had no idea how to help. Several figures have appeared urgently next to Mr. Li at this moment, and they are using their skills to adjust Mr. G's condition. He was also an old man who came down from the battlefield back then. Mr. Li suffered a lot of hidden injuries, which kept him in a weak state all year round. Even advanced medicines could not solve it. However, at this moment, when he looked at everything in the picture, he suddenly gritted his teeth. Get ready, I'm going to the Star Moon Snow region. Also, Take my secret order and go and bring out that treasure. Gu Xingdong was stunned for a moment, and then his expression changed drastically. Mr. Li, that's for you and the other elders. However, before he could finish speaking, he was rudely interrupted by Mr. Li. This old man's broken body will be dead if he dies. It would be a waste to use that kind of treasure on me, but that kid Jing Mu is different. I can see it from his body. That's an opportunity. He is an opportunity for our entire Dragon Kingdom. An opportunity to completely get rid of oppression and stand on the Blue Star again. Mr. Li's eyes were red, and the expressions of several priests on the side changed one after another. It was obvious that the other party's condition had deteriorated again at this moment. Everyone kept trying to persuade Mr. Li not to get excited. However, Mr. Li was breathing heavily and staring at Gu Xingdong solemnly. Zheng Mu's potential, throughout the entire Blue Star for hundreds of years, there have been so many SS-level geniuses. In my opinion, no one can match him. The A-level mechanic profession has always appeared in this world in the form of worthless and useless waste. No one has been able to reverse it for hundreds of years, but now that kid has done it. He is like a loophole in the way of heaven. With a mere strength of more than twenty levels, he can do shocking things one after another. He must be a being that even heaven is afraid of. Otherwise, why wouldn't we be allowed to provide support? Fortunately among misfortunes, our dragon kingdom has been suppressed for hundreds of years, and now we have this gifted person. General Gu, do what you should do. Gu Xingdong swallowed a sip of saliva. Mr. Li was the weakest among the elders of the dragon kingdom, but his overall view and vision were beyond the reach of the other elders. Therefore, even if Mr. Li's strength is damaged to this extent, he can still control most of the power of the Dragon Kingdom. And Gu Xingdong has always known that Mr. Li values Xing Mu. But looking at Mr. Li's firm eyes that were ready to give everything at this moment, Gu Xingdong was still shocked to find out. He still underestimated the importance of Xing Mu in Mr. Li's heart. Seeing Gu Xingdong's back quickly leaving, Mr. Li finally let out a long sigh. While receiving emergency treatment from the surrounding priests, he stared blankly up at the blue sky of the divine capital. Boy, you are growing up too fast. Old man, I can't even hold you down. I hope this somersault can make you temper your edge. This is all I can do. At the same time, there was another magnificent mansion in the divine capital. Just a moment ago, I was explaining to my old man that Zheng Mu is a great young man with good potential and a strong sense of belonging to the country. Trying hard to improve Zheng Mu's rating with his old man. Jiang Guixing saw that his old man seemed to agree. Before he could be happy, he heard the heavenly announcement that shook the world. In an instant, the small pavilion by the stream became deathly silent. Mr. Jiang, who seemed to agree and nodded slightly one moment, suddenly stood up after a brief moment of astonishment. Is this the great young man you call a great young man? Taking on the entire Bangzi kingdom by himself? Do you think this is courage? As he spoke, 
Mr. Jiang released a horrified general's evil aura from his tiger eyes, and he kicked Jiang Guishing away without mercy. He didn't even look at his son who fell into the stream in a panic, with a dull look on his face. Mr. Jiang walked quickly outside the mansion. This matter was so big that the upper echelons of the Dragon Kingdom might not be able to sit still. In the Southwest Military Attaché University, Kai Shinkuen and others, who were receiving guidance from instructors and practicing the accuracy of this skill with other new professionals one by one, heard the siren sound of Tiandao. They were all in an uproar. What the hell? Boss, what are you doing? Challenge an entire country by yourself? Did I hear wrongly? My panel, damn, it's really the boss. Why did the president go to Bangzi country alone? What is he going to do? Leng Binyue and several other Jing Mu's girlfriends all had dull eyes when they heard the sudden news. Among them, when Jiang Lanlan saw the familiar figure of Jing Mu in the live broadcast, her legs went weak. If it weren't for He Shang Yun's quick eyesight and quick hands, she would have fallen to the ground. Jiang Lanlan looked confused, as if she wanted people around her to tell her that everything was an illusion. However, at this moment, let alone them, the entire Dragon Kingdom was already in an uproar. Zheng Mu's teachers in Yun Tongqing's middle school, as well as people who knew him, were all looking at the panel at the moment, where Zheng Mu stood on the shoulders of the steel giant, facing hundreds of thousands of professionals in Hanqing, the entire country of Bangzi. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Mechanic Zheng Mu, the information on the panel is very clear, he is the new student from Yun Tong Middle School. However, they couldn't figure it out. Didn't Cheng Mu go to Southwest Military Attaché University? If you don't improve yourself properly, why would you do such a ridiculous thing? At Lang Bingyue's home, Lang Qingya, who was taking care of flowers and plants, saw the picture that popped up on the panel. Her body softened and she almost collapsed on the ground. How could it be, how could it be like this? That boy Zheng Mu shouldn't be so impulsive. She trembled and hurriedly called her daughter Leng Binyue. The entire Dragon Kingdom, no matter what they were doing at this moment, immediately focused their attention on the current announcement from heaven. God informed me that this situation is even experienced by many people for the first time. On major professional forums, a large number of discussions immediately poured in. Mechanic Sheng Mu, does anyone know the information about this guy? Damn it, he's challenging a city by himself. No novel would dare to write about this kind of thing. To correct you, it's not a challenge to a city. Bangzi Guahan City has two large teleportation arrays. Professionals from the surrounding cities can provide support to Han City. This guy is completely challenging a country by himself. Let's not talk about whether this behavior is stupid or not. We don't know the specific reasons, but in short, it's awesome. Machinist, isn't this a useless profession? Your information above is lagging behind. The profession of mechanic is not useless, but the people who obtain this profession are useless. They can't produce the blueprints of mechanical creations that can be approved by heaven. Obviously this Zheng Mu has done it. TCH, what's the use of doing it? It won't be cool soon. While everyone was having a heated discussion, but all of them were unfavorable to Zheng Mu, a post suddenly appeared. Damn it, guess what I saw on the forum over there in Bangzi country? Pictures attached, pictures attached, video. The deaths of the hundreds of thousands of professionals in Bangzi country in the Xingyue snow region more than half a month ago were caused by this mechanic Xing Mu. Chapter, 130. Fuck. This post was like a bombshell, instantly setting off huge waves throughout the Dragon Kingdom and even surrounding countries. Almost everyone's first reaction is that it's impossible. However, videos of Zheng Mu nodding his head in public outside Hanqing appeared one after another. Suddenly, everyone in the Dragon Kingdom, Stick Country, Sakura Country, Monkey Country, White Elephant Country and other countries who were paying attention to this matter all gasped. This man from the Dragon Kingdom is simply a god of death, Tian Wan Wan. That's a hundred thousand people. Hiss, it's too scary and how on earth did he do it? Bang Ziguo had been investigating for so long after that incident happened, but nothing was gained. Yeah, even if he makes A-level mechanics no longer useless and can create mechanical creations, that's 100-0-0 people. 
even if it's 100 zero, zero pigs, that one person will be exhausted to death. Those guys in Bangsi country are probably going crazy now. If such people are alive, it will be an eternal shame to their Bangsi country. I am in Bangsi country now. In the city where I am, several guilds have already mobilized and headed towards the teleportation array. Now, this Dragon Kingdom mechanic is definitely dead. Shiba. This guy will definitely die. If he dares to be so unscrupulous in our Bangsi country, we will definitely crush him to ashes, and his family and friends will also pay a heavy price. But at this time, different voices suddenly appeared on major forums. How could Jingmu be so cruel? That's 100,000 people, and these 100,000 people didn't provoke him in any way. Why would he kill these people? These people also have families and children. That's right, this guy Jingmu has simply disgraced us Longwa people. He's so cruel. It's simply, no, you can't treat him as a human being at all. Strongly recommend that Jingmu be permanently expelled from our Dragon Kingdom camp. We cannot allow national war to break out in our Dragon Kingdom and other surrounding countries just because of this guy Jingmu. I protest. One after another, severe accusations and abuses were like floods gushing out of a dam, flooding all major forums in an instant. The Holy Mother, the White Lotus, and all kinds of cute little things that are true, good, and beautiful all jumped out. I don't know if it's because I really feel that Jing Mu is cruel, or if I simply think that Jing Mu will definitely die. At this time, I jumped out and used Jing Mu's death to highlight my kindness and beauty. Southwest Military Attaché University, in the Wheel of Truth Guild. As soon as the incident happened, it immediately aroused the anger of the guild members. Damn it! These guys who sit in the back and enjoy peace all day long, how can they accuse our boss? Damn it, I remember every one of these guys who posted these posts. Damn it. There is a grandson here, and he dares to ask our boss to bear all the consequences. They really should let them know that these professionals from Bangsi country will become an army of professionals from Bangsi country in a few years. The best among them. Damn it, I can't stand it anymore. Everyone was cursing, and among them, people like Kai Shinkuan and Sang Luo, who had already regarded Cheng Mu as their idols to follow for life, even killed him personally. Controlling the panel, he started recording the video publicly to speak for Jing Mu. San Luo spitted like stars, his eyes filled with undisguised murderous intent. Fuck you little cutie, a bunch of rice bugs hiding behind, what right do you have to bark here? I, the S-class yellow wind master San Luo, really said it publicly here today. From now on, Shao Shiba from Bangzi Kingdom, I will kill one of them every time I see them. I will kill a pair of them if I see two of them. In addition, I would like to correct the remarks made by our boss on the forum. San Luo's slap in the face was magnified on the light screen, and he pointed at the people watching the video and cursed. Not all of the 100 people were killed by our boss. There were at least 20 Shao Shiba who died in the hands of me, San Luo. Twenty of them were crushed to death by me after I used yellow sand. You don't know that your stick daddy is dead. How cool it is when you win, ha 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 ha. Almost all the other members of the Wheel of Truth Guild have already caught on to Jing Mu's fearless character, and one by one, just like San Luo, they began to speak out on major forums. Some people even directly took out their commemorative photos taken at that time. Without any intention of coding myself, I just posted it on the forum in a very provocative way. In an instant, the entire blue star was in an uproar. At the same time, the professionals in Bangzi country felt the strange looks from the surrounding areas. Some professionals from other countries who were in Bangzi country looked at them with very strange expressions. The look in their eyes clearly showed that they were surprised that 100 people couldn't defeat a group of new professionals led by Zheng Mu. Doesn't your country, Bangzi, boast that even the way of heaven was created by your ancestors. Although I know you have a tendency to brag, but isn't your reputation as a world power a bit too watery? Immediately, everyone in Bangsi Kingdom was completely defeated. Mr. Li, these brats are also messing around. I'll ask Qin Ji to control him immediately. Isn't he irritating the people in Bangsi Kingdom? Isn't it chaotic enough? 
Over the goblin forest, flying cloud boats were flying rapidly towards the Star Moon Snow Domain. At this moment, after Gu Xingdong saw the news on the forum, his expression suddenly changed and he was ready to get angry. However, Mr. Li waved his hand lightly. It's not necessary. That kid Jing Mu said it himself. With the intelligence power of Bangzi country, he will be able to find out something very quickly. There is no point in covering up this kind of thing. What we have to ensure now is that only a little. Mr. Li looked at the white world in the distance and murmured. After that kid Jing Mu is defeated, immediately use all your strength to seize his body within an hour, and also occupy the Xingyue metal mine. Everyone in the Dragon Kingdom is obviously determined to win this rare purple metal vein. At this moment, in the sky, thousands of flying cloud boats were marching toward the Xingyue snow domain. However, the Dragon Kingdom is determined to win the purple rare grade metal veins, and the same Bangzi Kingdom has agreed to get a share of the Sakura Kingdom, so how can it give up? Previously, Sakura Kingdom had only mobilized the power of the three major guilds. When this happened, the army of professionals from the Dragon Kingdom began to move out. The country's professional army, after finally obtaining the permission to use the teleportation array in a city in Bangzi country, began to teleport troops here in a big way. Just after Zheng Mu declared war on Hancheng, the country of Bangzi. The entire Hancheng and Xingyue snow territory became turbulent and strange. Almost all professionals in the entire Blue Star countries are watching the live broadcast situation here in real time through their own panel windows. Outside Hancheng. Just after the alarm on Tiandao's side sounded, Zheng Mu suddenly realized that the world in front of him was different. On the city wall, there was a professional health bar that could only be seen using the detection technique. At this moment, he was open to himself without reservation. Shui Zhanli, IV-64, HP, 35W-35W. Li Zhongzheng, 461, HP, 18W-18W. Park Young Jun, IV-62. HP, 21W-21W. Chen Doxin. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu's eyes flashed with surprise. He took another look at Shui Zhanli. He is indeed the defender responsible for the defense of Han City. After applying various buffs, his blood volume has reached a terrifying 35000. This number is outstanding even among professionals such as tank warriors. S existence. It's just a pity. It can only be said to be remarkable. In the face of the more powerful transformers such as Optimus Prime, the so-called human shield warriors are more appropriately called sandbags. If you are more precise, it will be a sandbag that is more resistant to beating. Jiang Mingxiong, the lord of Han City, who was standing on the city wall, heard the news from his subordinates behind him that a large amount of support was coming soon. The panic caused by Shui Zhanli being knocked away by a move dissipated instantly. Cleared his throat. Looking at Zheng Mu outside the city, he shouted with a solemn face and full of majesty. Mechanic Zheng Mu. Do you know how much of a crime you have committed? Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, not understanding what this guy was planning to do. The next moment I heard Jiang Mingxiong speak in a condescending tone. Although you have the support of thousands of new professionals from the Dragon Kingdom Military Academy, with your power, it is absolutely impossible to kill so many powerful professionals from our Bangzi Kingdom. Accept it. You are here today just because you can't bear the huge psychological pressure and you are here to atone for your sins, right? Zheng Mu, black question mark face. However, looking at Zheng Mu who was speechless, Jiang Mingxiong seemed to have seen through everything, holding on to his hands. Quite definitely hit the nail on the head. The person who really killed so many professionals in our Bangzi kingdom must be the elite professionals from the Dragon Kingdom, right? You are just an unlucky guy who was pushed out. After all, a useless chess piece like a mechanic is not something that the Dragon Kingdom even wants to come to. It would be interesting to see, but they overlooked one thing after all. Jiang Mingxiong felt as if he was a god who redeemed people in distress at this moment, with a holy light behind him and a gentle smile on his face. Mechanic Zheng Mu, as long as you can admit here that all the culprits are the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom, Jiang Mingxiong, dare to promise you as the city lord that I will definitely protect you so that you will not be assassinated by the Dragon Kingdom. 
We, the citizens of Bangzi country, who know right from wrong, do not believe that you can cause the tragic situation in the valley of the end. Zheng Mu was numb, and the sound of the Red Queen's position coming from Optimus Prime finally made him recover from the shock. Suddenly, with the whole world watching, he suddenly started clapping loudly. Looking at Jiang Mingxiong on the city wall, he had a look of admiration. City Lord Jiang Mingxiong, I really admire your shamelessness and cleverness, and I will spare your life. As he said that, he looked at more and more figures on the city wall, and a smile appeared on his face. You must be curious, how can a useless mechanic like me be able to destroy so many people in the valley of the end at once? Language is pale after all, you'd better experience it for yourself. Above the vast sky, hundreds of white air currents were roaring sharply. Chapter 131 Boo-hoo! A sharp whistling sound came from overhead. All the professionals from the Bangzi kingdom on the city wall were still wondering what Jing Mu meant by what he just said. The next moment, I saw the white air flow whistling overhead and falling straight towards Hancheng. The expressions of several Bangzi country professionals who luckily ran back from the mining area and saved their lives changed drastically. Watch the attack. This is the thing that destroyed us all. As soon as these words came out, the whole audience was shocked. However, it was obviously too late. After the Red Queen has taken aim early, it is not easy to directly bomb the fixed target. Boom, 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 boom. In almost an instant, under the gaze of the entire blue star, Hanchen, which was protected by a translucent protective shield, was engulfed by the terrifying torrent of the base vehicle's firepower system in the next ten seconds. Billowing black smoke rose. The translucent shield that seemed so weak turned out to be miraculously strong. In Hancheng, many Bangzi people who were so frightened just a second ago that they almost squatted on the ground with their heads in their hands looked up and saw the strong city protection formation blocking their heads, and they all burst into laughter instantly. Ah ha ha! Shiba! Do you really think that our city of Han is a wilderness with nothing? With this attack, even our city defense array cannot be broken. Shiba, I'm shocked, ha ha ha, is it this kind of attack that killed so many of our professionals? It seems like this guy is relying on this thing to attack our entire city by himself. Ha ha ha, it's useless. If this kind of attack can't break through our city defense, that bastard from the Dragon Kingdom will definitely be doomed. My poor child, soon the city lord orders an attack out of the city. I must be the first to rush out. I want to tear that damn devil to pieces. Kill out. Fight out. Fight out. When Jiang Mingxiong heard the cheering shouts coming from the city behind him, the brief panic on his face flashed away, and his waist that had just fallen straight straightened up in an instant. At this moment, professionals from other Blue Star countries who saw this scene shook their heads and sighed. What? Seeing how awesome that guy is, I really thought he had some powerful abilities, but this is what happened. That's it. Huh, as we all know, machinist is a useless profession. Although this Zheng Mu somehow managed to create these mechanical creations, after all, they are only things created by A-level professions. You can't get on the stage. Just a clown who thinks he is invincible after killing so many people with sneak attacks and field attacks. Ha ha ha, I'm really looking forward to seeing what those citizens of the Bangzi Kingdom who have killed their families by this Dragon Kingdom guy will rush out to deal with him. TSK TSK TSK, how pitiful, those guys from Bangzi country are just merciful if there is even a piece of meat left. On top of the city wall, Jiang Mingxiong immediately shouted angrily when he saw Zheng Mu dare to take action against them. Our country, Bangzi, has received such a shame and humiliation, which shows your dignity as a human being. Mechanic Xing Mu, since you are determined to fight to the end, Jiang Mingxiong, can't protect you. For the sake of those innocent Chinese people you killed, please apologize. Seeing Jiang Mingxiong's excited look, as if he was about to rush out in the next second, the corners of Xing Mu's mouth raised slightly. There was a roaring sound in the sky, but it had already struck again. Everyone's expressions changed, but this time they were obviously calmer than before. As the explosion and black smoke exploded over Hanching again, the protective formation trembled violently again. However, in the end, 
he stood firm under the nervous gazes of the people in Bangzi country. Ha ha ha! Is this all you can do? Get out of the way, get out of my way. I want to be the first to rush out of the city gate and twist off the head of that dragon kingdom bastard. Go away. The special reward from heaven belongs to me. Ah ah ah, get out of my way. He killed our family Daeong. I want to kill him. Let me kill him. At the south gate of Hancheng, huge crowds of people were rushing towards this side with weapons raised. As if waiting for the city gate to open at any time, he would be the first to rush out. These people have different levels. A professional guild member with a fierce look and high momentum. There are auxiliary professions that take up arms, and even life professions. There are even ordinary people holding white ordinary level weapons in their hands who have been dazzled by hatred and rewards. Most of these people were people who rushed over after hearing that mechanics were useless and their combat effectiveness was not even comparable to life-type professions. Above their heads, round after round of bombardments continued to explode over Hanchen. Jiang Mingxiong clasped his hands behind his back, sweating faintly. Nervous. As rounds of bombardments came, the shield above the head was obviously vibrating much more violently, and there were signs that it might collapse at any time. At the same time, several people responsible for the maintenance of the city's magic circle were also nervously guarding a huge palace in Hanching Mansion. On top of a huge crystal ball that supports the entire city's defense formation, a panel has emerged at this moment. Durability of Hanching City Protection Formation, 187, 3W, 300W. And with every bombing attack from the outside world, it will drop sharply. Hold on, you can definitely hold on, right? You can definitely do it. At this moment, these people can't do anything at all. At this moment, they can only place their hopes on invisible metaphysics. One by one, they knelt in front of the crystal ball, rubbing their hands nervously and praying for God's blessing. And heaven seems to have received their prayers. Rumble, rumble. After another violent bombardment, a full ten rounds of bombardment ended, and the continuous explosions made the heads of the citizens of the Bangzi kingdom in the city buzz. Seeing that the bombardment had stopped at this moment, everyone shook their heads and became excited. The professionals guarding the city gate even made a gesture of sprinting out. One by one, they are gearing up, just like athletes who are full of fighting spirit at the starting point of a marathon. Seeing that there was no movement in the sky for a long time, Jiang Mingxiong suddenly raised his head again and sneered disdainfully. What? In the words of our Bangzi country people, Guizhou Donkey is exhausted? You arrogantly misestimated your own strength, and also underestimated the strength of our Bangzi country professionals. You have a decent chance. It's a pity you didn't seize this opportunity. Jiang Mingxiong shook his head, glanced at Jing Mu from the sidelines with a pity expression, and was about to directly order the city gate to be opened, killing Jing Mu, and ending this farce that was watched by the whole world. However, the next moment. Wow! A dark purple energy beam suddenly came to Hanching in a form that no one expected. The terrifying energy aura hasn't had time to spread yet. The city's protective formation suddenly began to tremble violently. A second ago, they were still in the city lord's palace, high-fiving each other excitedly, knowing clearly that the core of the city protection array in front of them had survived this disaster. The next second, the crystal ball seemed to have suddenly received some stimulation. Buzz buzz. A fierce light, accompanied by a clicking sound that made everyone present feel like they were struck by lightning, appeared in front of several people. When they turned around, several people saw a scene that made their souls escape. Durability of Hanching City Protection Formation, 135, 9W300W. Durability of Hanching City Protection Formation, 125, 9W300W. Durability of Hanching City Protection Formation, 115, 9W300W. Durability of Hanching City Defense Formation. In just the blink of an eye, in one second, the durability of the formation, which had withstood ten rounds of Zheng Mu's bombardment, dropped by two to three hundred thousand in an instant. Moreover, this speed is still increasing crazily. After a few breaths, they watched helplessly as the durability of the city defense array dropped to less than one hundred zero zero. Only then did he finally stop. 
However, several people were immediately wet with cold sweat as if they had just been fished out of the pool. Quick, go and report to the city lord, quick. The leading man wanted to stand up, but his body staggered and he couldn't stand at all. At this moment, he shouted excitedly to the others. There was no joy on their faces. They didn't know what kind of attack they had just experienced outside, but they looked at the durability which was finally fixed at around 8W. They understand. Even if it is blocked, it is not blocked. With the current 8000 durability, not to mention blocking the previous attacks, even the ordinary skill attacks of some high-level professionals can completely shatter the defensive formation. A professional rushed towards the south of the city in a hurry. At the same time, Jiang Mingxiong's legs were shaking, and he swallowed hard as he looked at the huge trench outside the city that stretched for dozens of kilometers and extended to places they couldn't see. Xue Zhanli's face was pale, and his lips trembled as he looked at the trench with hot air waves rising. This is the ditch in the valley of the end. Those 100 00 people are actually led by just this guy. When all the facts were put in front of them, no matter how reluctant everyone was to believe it, they had to accept this absurd fact. But immediately, Shui Goli's eyes suddenly revealed a fierce murderous intention. This guy must not be kept. Even if we all die in battle. We must keep this guy in haunching forever. Jiang Mingxiong took a deep breath and looked at the almost thin energy shield. His tense heart finally relaxed completely. Open the city gate. Rush out and kill the demon who massacred our citizens. The impassioned order was passed out, and with a creak, the south gate of Hanching slowly opened a gap. The excited crowd began to crowd this way, as if they were going to redeem tens of millions of lottery tickets. However, at this time, waves of heavy sounds coming from far and near, with some special pattern, suddenly came from the direction behind Xingmu. Jiang Mingxiong narrowed his eyes slightly, but his pupils suddenly shrank. It was a triceratops that was more than 10 meters tall and full of metallic muscles. With its head lowered at the moment, it was like an out-of-control locomotive, rushing towards their city gate. From behind, an anxious and desperate voice shouted. Don't open the door. Chapter, 132 Don't open the door. Jiang Mingxiong heard the hysterical roar. The professionals from Bangzi country who were swarming and trying to rush out of the city gate all heard it. Zheng Mu, who was outside the city at the moment, also heard it. However, upon hearing this frightened roar, the corners of Zheng Mu's lips raised slightly. A terrifying steel triceratops had already charged past him, and the air flow it stirred up made a whining sound, causing some trees outside the city to shake violently, as if they would be uprooted by the air wave in the next moment. The heavy steps of rumble, rumble, rumble made the earth make a dull sound of being abused every time. When this terrifying steel prehistoric beast rushed toward the city gate, Jiang Mingxiong and others' expressions changed drastically. Xue Zhanli's face was distorted, and he had realized something when he saw the man wearing the uniform of the city lord's mansion, who was obviously responsible for the defense of the formation, rushing towards him. At this moment, I saw the triceratops close at hand. He hurriedly shouted at the top of his lungs to the crowd swarming at the city gate. Quickly retreat. However, it is all in vain. With a roar, the Triceratops continued to accelerate and charge for more than 10 kilometers, and with its terrifying kinetic energy, it collided with the Hanching Gate that had just opened the gap. With his face full of ecstasy, the professional from Bangzi country who rushed to the front looked up and saw the terrifying black shadow coming like a mountain, and his brain could not even react at all. Boom! The terrifying shock wave, accompanied by the enlargement of the black shadow, left these Bangzi country professionals at the city gate with no time to react. The next moment, the health bar was completely cleared. The screams were accompanied by rumbling sounds, which instantly shocked all Blue Star professionals who were paying attention to the situation here. You killed Sun Min Hell V42, a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 8, 6 W experience points, and obtained the assassin skill book Toxin Deepening. You killed Song Baimu LV37, a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 4, 9 W experience points, and obtained the blue elite weapon, Broken Thorn, 977. You killed Xiao Shifeng LV40, 
a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 7, 2 W experience points, and obtained the blacksmith skill book medal bonus points. You killed. You have been upgraded, your current level is 427. You have been upgraded, your current level is 428. The various physical attributes suddenly improved, making the smile on Jing Mu's face become even stronger. In this siege approved by Tian Dao, although he could not get support from the Dragon Kingdom, with the intervention of Tian Dao, he was able to kill these Shao Shiba professionals. Gain experience points. Moreover, every professional will reveal something more or less. Some are skill books, some are equipment, and some are potions and the like. Zheng Mu looked at the terrifying triceratops that had rushed into Hanqing in an instant, and the momentum of the charge did not slow down at all. Amidst the screams and wails, it headed towards the teleportation array square in the south of the city. There was an excited smile on his face. One of my latest works. Name, Dinosaur King Kong Iron Block. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Red Brave Level. Durability, 40W40W. Defense, 8300. Skill 1, Transformation, can change from Triceratops form to Dinosaur King Kong fighting form, no cooling time. Skill 2, Kinetic Energy Superposition Engine, the Iron Block has a terrifying kinetic energy superposition engine, which can accelerate through long-distance charges, infinitely increase the kinetic energy contained in itself, and have a super-doubling effect on the next attack, with no cooling time. Skill 3, Iron Mountain Shattering, the kinetic energy carried by itself is exploded in a short period of time, and is focused on a certain target, causing huge damage. When this skill is activated, the iron block will ignore the effects of all anti-injury skills. Cooling Time Skill 4, Silicon-Based Life, after the battle, the damaged parts can be slowly repaired. Skill 5, Super Intelligence, the iron block has independent intelligence, does not occupy the machinist's computing power, and has the ability to organize and respond. Skill 6, Gravity Rampage, the iron block has a built-in overlapping center, which can double the surrounding gravity position in a short time, up to 270 times instantaneously, cooling time, 1 hour. The strongest defense. It is also the most powerful offensive mechanical creation under Zheng Mu. The tragic situation in Hanqing was broadcast live all over the world under the influence of heaven. Waterfa. What kind of monster is this? Damn it, should a charge of this level really be a mechanical creation? God, look at Zheng Mu's information column. He is really only level 28, and he has just been upgraded. It is unimaginable that a mechanic can be so terrifying. Hiss, those professionals from Bangzi country at the city gate who thought they could pick up a bargain didn't even have a chance to react. All their health bars were cleared in an instant, Shete. I'm going to vomit. The city gate is full of meat. Under the intervention of Heavenly Dao, it is impossible for the Dragon Kingdom to give any force help to this mechanic named Xing Mu. In other words, the previous rounds of bombings and the last terrifying ray were all done by this guy. He also hides an even more terrifying mechanical creation in the wild. Attack. Look, this mechanic is about to attack the city. How can Bengziguo stop it? Above the sky of the White World, on the Feiyun boat of the Dragon Kingdom that had entered the Star Moon Snow Domain, in a Feiyun boat protected in the middle, Gu Xingdong saw in the light curtain Zheng Mu unexpectedly breaking through the city defense of Hancheng. Even the mechanical creations rushed in all at once. Gu Xingdong laughed loudly on the spot. Ha ha ha. Shame, now the shame of Bangzi country has been completely nailed. A mechanic of only over 20 levels broke through the city defense formation. This kind of thing has never happened in the entire Blue Star. Of. However, after a brief moment of happiness, Gu Xingdong's smile suddenly stopped. He seemed to have thought of something and looked at Mr. Li beside him with some sadness. Seeing this guy's gaze, Mr. Li rolled his eyes. Even without that thing, I will have no problem living in this body for another three to five years. What's that expression on your face? Gu Xingdong didn't speak and was silent. However, Mr. Li looked at Han Cheng who was already in a state of panic in the light curtain and suddenly spoke. 
Instruct Lin Guanyong to immediately lead people into the secret realm of different time and space, and inform all the guardian gods of Dragon Kingdom to launch an all-out attack on the areas of Bangzi Kingdom and Sakura Kingdom, especially Akp, Bangzi Kingdom, and those who cannot give them any breathing space. Mr. Li stared coldly at the bright no support permission behind the Zhengmu information displayed on the panel. In the Battle of Hancheng, we seniors can't help that kid with anything, but in the secret realm of different time and space, we are not subject to this restriction. Hearing this, Gu Xingdong immediately understood. Soon, in the Lin family's mansion in the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. Lin Guanyong received the notice from above and urgently put on his military uniform to go out urgently. However, a figure suddenly stopped in front of him. Sister, what's the matter with you? I'm very anxious now. If you don't tell me when I come back, I... A graceful woman stopped in front of him. Before he could finish his words, she interrupted him anxiously. Is Shengmu hopeless? I think God won't allow you to support him. Is he going to die? The woman's eyes were red, as if she had cried. Seeing his sister like this, when he heard the other party suddenly mention Zheng Mu's name, which he had never mentioned at home before, he suddenly seemed to think of something. Eyes widened. Sister, you mean Zheng Mu is. Seeing the woman burst into tears instantly, Lin Guanyong's brain was buzzing at the moment. He turned around and looked inside his mansion. What happened back then was kept secret within the Lin family. Although they, the younger generation, were dissatisfied with their old man's arrangements, none of them dared to object. In the end, the only one who was harmed was his sister Lin Muyu. He opened his mouth and looked at his sister who was already in tears, but he didn't know how to deal with this problem. Will Zheng Mu die? In the eyes of the entire Dragon Kingdom's senior leadership, this is a sure thing. Certain death. It is a country after all. No matter how genius or monster a person is, Zheng Mu is just a district after all. But what he has to face is the professionals from Bangzi country who are coming one after another. An existence that can mobilize professionals from all over the country to continuously provide support to Hancheng. Under this level of attack, defeat is only a matter of time. In the end, Lin Guanyong didn't know how he walked out of the mansion. The tearful sister behind him made him dare not look directly, let alone face it. I can only vent all the anger in my heart on those little Shiba from the stick country in the secret realm of different time and space. The secret realm of different time and space. When Lin Guanyong summoned all the ten protector gods of the Dragon Kingdom and told them what was happening in Hancheng at this moment, everyone's reaction was one of surprise. As a being who stands at the pinnacle of the Dragon Kingdom's strength, there are several people in the entire Blue Star professional pyramid level. To their surprise, they had to say that what Cheng Mu did this time was too shocking. Hiss. Are today's young people so arrogant? One person can attack a whole city. One person scratched his head and felt his scalp was a little numb. Everyone present, who can become the protector of the country, all have a common characteristic. SS level professional. The attribute improvements brought about by their own upgrades are much greater than those of other levels of professions. And the skills, effects and damage unlocked by the skill tree of the same level are also more concentrated. However, it is impossible for them to kill the 100 0 strong Goxaba when they are in their twenties, let alone start a national war against the entire country by one person like Xing Mu is doing now. However, Lin Guanyong dropped another bombshell next. Generals, didn't you ask me before why our logistics suddenly became rich? What I want to say today is that this was also caused by the whole Zheng Mu. He can produce a mechanical creation that can replace living things. Professional. After hearing what Lin Guanyong said, everyone gasped. They all looked at each other and asked a question. We in the Dragon Kingdom must save such people. Lin Guanyong smiled bitterly, save, of course I won't give up if I can save them. But, can it be saved? This is beyond the scope of Lin Guanyong's role. Everything depends on the decision of the senior citizens of the country. At the same time, in Bangzi Guozaki City, the city guard General Shui Zhanli roared hysterically. Professionals from all guilds in the city are surrounding and killing the mechanical creations. Everyone in the city defense army. 
follow me to kill Zheng Mu. Seeing the crowd rushing out with crazy roars, the corners of Zheng Mu's mouth raised slightly. In a snap of the fingers, a sharp dragon roar suddenly came from the sky. Chapter 133 Cracking Amidst the sharp neighing sound, a terrifying black shadow instantly enveloped Xue Zhanli and others who had just rushed out of the city gate. It was a terrifying pterosaur with a wingspan of only 20 to 30 meters, and its entire body reflected a faint blue metallic luster. It had two ferocious dragon heads and a dragon tail. As soon as he appeared in the sky above these people, he looked up and saw thunder burst out all over his body. It was as if a star surrounded by thunder appeared above their heads. In just an instant, the overwhelming thunder attack enveloped everyone with crackling sounds. Kacha Kacha. In the blink of an eye, more than a hundred thunderbolts hit the haunching city defense troops at the same time. Ah! Resist! Put a shield on me quickly! Pastor! Shiba, I'm going to die! Even professionals like Shui Zhanli, who had outstanding defense and health, could only struggle to hold on under the cover of this terrifying thunder. He watched helplessly as his companions around him screamed, and their health bars were cleared one by one. Xue Zhanli's eyes were about to burst. Zheng Mu, this bitch. He has the guts to confront us head on. The incompetent and furious roar reached Zheng Mu's ears, and also reached the ears of all the professionals in Blue Star who were paying attention to this battle. However, at this moment, no one laughed at Xue Zhanli's incompetence. They all looked at the terrifying mechanical creation that appeared again with shock on their faces. Although Zheng Mu blocked the information about these mechanical creations, they didn't even know what the names of these things were. However, in the picture, there were charred corpses on the ground outside the city. But it has already shown how powerful the other party is. Even if you can't see the attributes, it is at least around IV-60 boss. When Zheng Mu heard Xue Zhanli's angry roar, he was stunned for a moment. Then in front of the whole world, he suddenly burst into laughter. It's really strange, a head-on confrontation. Am I not going to face to face with you? If you want to confront me head-on, shouldn't you at least stand in front of me? Come on, get closer. The unabashed ridicule and disdain made the Bangzi country professionals in other cities tremble with anger. Shiba. That guy Shui Zhanli is such a waste. Why can such a person achieve the position of a dignified lieutenant general and be the general responsible for the defense of a city? That's too arrogant. That bitch from the Dragon Kingdom doesn't take our great Bangzi kingdom seriously at all. No, I'm going to Hanching to support Hanching. Kill the people from the Dragon Kingdom. No, count me in. Those professionals in Hanching are such a disgrace to our big stick nation. Go, go, go. Regardless of how many people there were, Zheng Mu aroused his anger and aggressively planned to take the teleportation array to support Han Cheng. As the thunder ended, one looked at the devastated scene. As soon as Zheng Mu raised his hand, the slender tail of the mechanical pterosaur in the sky immediately rolled him up. Instantly soared into the sky. Looking at Xue Zhanli who was lying on the ground with a grey face and a potion bottle he had just finished drinking in his mouth, his face was full of a joking smile. Aren't you going to confront me head on? Come on, I'll be waiting for you in your haunching. Below, Xue Zhanli, whose health bar quickly recovered, was so angry that veins popped out on his forehead. However, just when he got up with difficulty and was about to pursue, a pair of eyes suddenly widened, as if they had seen some incredible hell scene. Zereshet. Besides, this mechanic is too foul, isn't he? It's so scary, so scary. Is this guy really a new professional in the same class as me? Why do I feel like an SS level professional is not even worthy of carrying his shoes in front of this mechanic? In the middle of the screen. Under the leadership of the mechanical pterosaur, the whole person was sent directly to the sky above the city of Hancheng. Under the horrifying gaze of the Bangzi country professionals who were in chaos below, he waved casually. The next moment, Densely packed humanoid mechanical creations like raindrops fell from the sky. They are all T-100s, and there are also a lot of small ones that look like beetles. As soon as the black spot hit the ground. Next moment. 
boom boom boom. Continuous explosions instantly enveloped the neighborhood in the south of Hancheng. The screams of fear, accompanied by the abuse and yelling of professionals from the Bangzi kingdom, created a scene of unilateral oppression that attracted the attention of the whole world. In the black smoke, the T-100 fell from a height of tens of meters and landed gracefully. His hands flowed like liquid, and the next moment they turned into two sharp blades, stabbing at the confused Bangzi man in front of him. The crisp movements didn't even give the opponent a chance to suffer. The health bar is cleared instantly. Just less than a minute. Thousands of T-100s descended on the south block of the city, causing the death of at least two people from the Bangzi kingdom. In the picture, the T-100's skillful and unhesitating killing posture shocked professionals all over the world. Cruel. So cruel. If Sheng Mu killed 100-00 professionals from Bangzi country before, no one alive saw the scene. As for Zheng Mu killing 100-00 professionals by himself. If you are still in a hazy state of fantasy. The tragic scene in Hanqing at this moment made everyone understand that the handsome young man was flying in one direction of Hanqing under the leadership of the mechanical pterosaur. What a terrifying existence it is. The T-100s that descended did not check whether the person in front of them had the power to resist. It is completely executing the extermination order to destroy Hanqing. However, just leaving these T-100s and explosive mechanical creations is not the end. Just here in Hanqing, senior professionals from various guilds, led by their presidents, were chasing Zheng Mu in the sky. But when the other party was about to arrive at the teleportation square in the south of the city, he waved his hand again. Hu ho ho! The heavy object fell from the sky, and the terrifying whistling sound caused the professionals from the Bangzi country who were chasing below to instinctively raise their heads. Ah! Hurry and hide! Shiba! Is this guy really just a mechanic in his twenties? Is he really an A-level profession? Zero please give me flowers! The leaders of several major guilds immediately burst out with all their speed and horror and dodged to one side. The next moment, they were on the roof of a three- or four-story building in front of them. Suddenly, a terrifying mechanical Tyrannosaurus that was more than ten or twenty meters high suddenly fell down. Roar! The terrifying body fell heavily on the top of the high-rise building, instantly crushing most of the entire building. From the outside, you can still see the citizens of the Bangzi Kingdom who are screaming in surprise like struggling ants. Before the presidents of the major guilds could give orders for rescue or something, a terrifying burst of flames spurted out from the mouth of the mechanical Tyrannosaurus. Boom! The entire building was instantly enveloped in flames, and the people inside didn't even hold on for more than two seconds. Under the shocked and angry gazes of everyone, it turned into a wisp of black smoke in the flames. That's hellfire! Li Zhongzheng, the president of Qingmu Guild, one of the second-rate guilds in Hanqing, showed a trace of unconcealable fear in his expression. Hellfire, the standard equipment of the demon clan among wild monsters, has a damage intensity that far exceeds that of ordinary fire magic, and has special effects that can ignore some of the opponent's magic resistance. Many warriors with high fire magic resistance must also deal with it with caution. Just when everyone's hands and feet were cold, looking at the Tyrannosaurus raging in Hanqing, they didn't know how to start. A violent bombardment suddenly spread from the direction of the teleportation array square in the south of the city. Suddenly, all the Bangzi country professionals present were in an uproar. No. Teleportation array. Hanqing South Teleport Square. Amidst the violent tremors that shook the ground and the mountains, in the distance, there was a street that directly ran through the south gate of the city and the south teleportation array square. Dinosaur King Kong Iron Block, along the way, it looks like a millstone rolling down from a high mountain. Unstoppable. Hundreds of professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom tried their best to jointly release attack and control skills, but in the face of the terrifying kinetic energy of the Iron Block, they were like a mantis trying to use their arms as a chariot. Ah! Stop it, you bastard! Hysterical roars came from the huge iron body. However, more than a dozen elite professionals from the Bangzi country jumped on the opponent when they charged. However, the defense attribute of the iron block is nearly over 10 0, 0, 
and the increase brought by the release of skills. Even if these people release their secret skills, they will not be able to cause any obstacles to them. The weapons in each hand were chopping on the iron body, making a clanging sound. But the blood bar on the iron block didn't move at all. Finally, under the desperate gazes of all the Bangsi people, Dinosaur King Kong Iron Block, crushed all the way and rushed directly in front of the teleportation array. The teleportation array erupted with intense white light, and it was obvious that someone was teleporting towards this side. Seeing this scene, the expressions of those professionals from the Bangsi country who stood on the back of the iron block changed wildly. Don't come over. One after another figures gradually appeared in the white light, and at the same time, the iron block had already raised its thick, blood-stained metal front hooves. The sound of the engine roaring was accompanied by the heat rising all over the other party's body. An invisible majestic pressure suddenly fell from the sky. Gravity runaway, and... Chapter, 134 Gravity Rampage In the white light, hundreds of heavily armed professionals from the Bangsi country, who had even applied buffs to their bodies in advance, slowly opened their eyes. However, what does not give them the opportunity to see clearly everything around them? A terrifying pressure suddenly acted on them. Kacha kacha. The ground suddenly cracked. They didn't even figure out what happened, but they felt their minds go black and their whole bodies fell to the ground in an instant. The tremendous pressure made them unable to scream even if they wanted to. Some professionals whose level was only around LV30 had their health bars cleared instantly. As for the people with a slightly higher level, they all stared angrily, and their whole bodies felt as if they were being pressed down by hundreds of themselves, let alone shouting. Even breathing has become a luxury. You have been attacked by the skill gravity rampage and continue to enter the hundred times gravity state. You cannot break free with your current attributes. You were attacked by the skill gravity rampage and continue to enter the state of severe internal bleeding. You were attacked by the skill gravity rampage and continued to enter the imprisonment state. Prompts appeared on the panel. However, the brains of these people have already become dysfunctional due to the imbalance of blood flow in their bodies. After two short breaths. Being carried by dinosaur King Kong Boomerang, and flying over Hancheng, Zheng Mu's aura surged again. He has upgraded again. LV-29 this speed of upgrading is simply a hundred times more comfortable than killing monsters in the wild. Looking at the chaotic south of Hanching below, Zheng Mu's eyes flickered, and after flying to a planned location, he immediately waved his hand. The next moment, the dinosaur King Kong Howl, which he put in his storage backpack and was made with the black bone thorn dragon as the main body, fell from the sky in an instant. The terrifying body was still in mid-air, and it suddenly let out a deafening howl at the chaotic Bangsi country professionals below. Roar! Terrifying sound waves fell from the sky, as if they were possessed of magic power, instantly immobilizing hundreds of Bangsi country professionals below. Howling horror's body covered with metal blades suddenly twisted in midair. Boom! When the howling huge body directly hit the broad street with a roar, like a mountain bearing down on top. All the Blue Star professionals who were watching the live broadcast twitched their brows. With Howl's terrifying figure, even if he ignores the sharp blade on his opponent's back, he can easily cut a groove on the ground. The body alone, which is at least a thousand tons, is enough to crush a person with level IV 50 or below into a pulp on the spot. No matter how miserable this guy from the Dragon Kingdom is in his final death, the name Jing Mu will definitely be remembered by the world. This guy has made a profession recognized around the world as a useless profession explode with unimaginable terrifying power. If he is less impulsive and more rational and patient, can he stand in the world as a mechanic in the future? The top of the world. It's still unknown. Why is there no information about these mechanical creations? Oh my god, it is unimaginable that those mechanics who have appeared for hundreds of years can't get the approval of the drawings from Tian Dao even if they want to build a robot that can fly by itself. This man from the Dragon Kingdom has created so many terrifying masterpieces. No matter how he ends up, he will be regarded as a god by the newcomers who will awaken as mechanics in the future, and even by all A-level professionals. 
On the major forums, they watched the T-100s under Zheng Mu's command that were killing everyone in Hanching City, as well as Optimus Prime and Megatron who had already entered from outside the city and started a killing competition. There are also Dinosaur King Kongs released by Zheng Mu at this moment. There was already a touch of unabashed admiration on the originally shocked face. After all, this world is a world where strength is respected. Let's not talk about Zheng Mu's behavior today. From a rational level, what kind of ending will he enter? But the strength he has shown alone is beyond the reach of blue star countries, new professionals, and even the old people who are still famous today. A LV-26A level mechanic, one person fought against hundreds of thousands of professionals from the Bangzi kingdom, and even successfully broke into Hancheng. This is destined to be an existence that cannot be forgotten. The Fayanzhu fleet of the Dragon Kingdom has arrived in a mighty manner more than 10 miles outside Hancheng. From a high altitude, you can see the city that is being ravaged by artillery fire and Zheng Mu's mechanical creations. Optimus Prime and Megatron are like two indomitable steel giants. At the Red Warrior level, every attack they make at this moment will definitely take away a large amount of the health bar of the professionals from the Bangzi country. Large swaths of long-range skills from mages and shooters were launched overwhelmingly towards the two of them. However, with the resistance of the strengthened main structure, these attacks, apart from causing slight damage to the two of them, did not pose any threat to their actions at all. Unable to help but do so, Optimus Prime and Megatron were attacked by concentrated fire. The next moment, the two of them were like warriors working in tacit understanding. They immediately raised the energy cannon in their hands, locked it accurately, and fought all the way from the city gate to the vicinity of the teleportation square in the south of the city. I can't remember how many high-rise buildings were destroyed. Wherever he passed, there were ruins, mountains of corpses, and seas of blood. Ordinary people, guild professionals, or the city defense army of Bangzi Kingdom are all within their attack range. Mr. Li, it seems that Zheng Mu has the upper hand in the current situation, but the teleportation array in the north of the city is probably about to attract a large number of high-level professionals. Xiong Wei Shan, who had also boarded Fai Yunzu at this moment, looked worried and remorseful. With his brows furrowed, the joy of repelling the three major guilds of Sakura country was completely washed away by Zheng Mu's move. Obviously, Mr. Li had already realized the situation on Zheng Mu's side. He frowned and looked at Jing Mu, who was being carried around by the mechanical pterosaur, and looked behind him. A man wearing a dragon-patterned mask and a pair of swords behind him, whose identity is unclear. At this moment, the other party was holding a sandalwood box in his hand. Looking at the vigilant eyes of the other party on everyone around him, one can also see the preciousness of the things in this wooden box. Mr. Li stared at the man. Once Jing Mu is in danger of dying, you take action immediately. You must snatch his intact body back safely the next second his health bar is cleared. The masked man immediately nodded slightly in respect. Over haunching. Ha ha ha, beat me hard, that's it, smash all the buildings, kill all the little Shiba, ha ha ha. Zheng Mu laughed wildly. He looked at the several dinosaur King Kongs in the field. Name, Dinosaur King Kong Steel Rope. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Red Brave Level. Durability, 38W38W. Defense, 8300. Skill 1, Transformation, can change from Tyrannosaurus Rex form to Dinosaur King Kong fighting form, no cooling time. Skill 2, Hellfire Thrower, a Hellfire that explodes with super burning damage in a very short time Hellfire damage set ignores the effect of some magic resistance d cooling time, 20 minute factory. Skill 3, Tyrannosaurus King, at the cost of reducing one's own agility, greatly improves one's own defense attributes and increases magic damage resistance, no cooldown time. Skill 4, Silicon Based Life, after the battle, the damaged parts can be slowly repaired. Skill 5, the super-intelligent steel cable has independent intelligence, does not occupy the machinist's computing power, and has the ability to organize and respond. Skill 6, Meteorite Hammer, equipped with a steel cable with a meteorite hammer, the attack power, defense power, agility and other attributes are greatly improved, and you can use the meteorite hammer to cause super damage. 
Skill 7, Fire Power System, Jurassic, instantly explodes the small missile group launcher on the back, and carries out carpet bombing to an area with a range of no more than 30 kilometers, causing horrific damage. Bomb Load, B3 While Zheng Mu was looking at the information on the steel cable, this guy was frantically spitting hellfire around him. Although this skill has a 20-minute cooldown. But don't forget, Zheng Mu is not useless at all. The new skill load actuation, opened during the upgrade some time ago just solves this skill cooling problem. Load activation V1, it can make the mechanical creations under your command shorten the skill cooling time of the mechanical creations by continuously reducing their durability. Cooling time, none. Calculated occupation, 30 calculated to enhance the reduction of 50%. Although it will reduce the durability of the mechanical creation to a certain extent, it relies on the opponent's durability of more than 300 and its own durability self-recovery ability. This is all a minor issue. And the same, like the Triceratops iron block, rushing left and right in Hancheng, the Spinosaurus howling, rolling crazily everywhere, and among the five dragons, the assassin-type dinosaur based on the Velociraptor. King Kong beheading, is all four, eight in Hancheng, killing heavily. It only took ten minutes to enter the city, but most of the southern part of the city was destroyed. Wherever they went, all the professionals from Bangzi country who were targeted by them hated the northwest. While Zheng Mu was admiring the incredible scenery, the voice of the Red Queen suddenly came from the pterosaur booming dart, above his head. Lord Master, the scan has been completed and the location of the Hanching Professional Exchange's treasure house located in the south of the city has been confirmed. As soon as the voice fell, a small light and shadow sand table appeared in front of Zheng Mu. Among them, an ordinary, church-like building in the south of the city was marked by the Red Queen. At the same time, an angry roar suddenly came from the north of the city, followed by Bangzi Mandarin's counterattack. Zheng Mu chuckled and looked at the steel cable and other mechanical creations heading that way. Without hesitation, he let Fei Dart place himself at the coordinates of the treasure house. Zheng Mu's landing figure was instantly noticed by a series of eyes. Covered in blood and looking embarrassed, Xue Zhanli's eyes suddenly froze, and then his expression became stern. That's the treasure house of the exchange. This guy is still greedy for money at this time, ha <laughs> ha, everyone gather, ignore those mechanical creations, and follow me to surround and kill Zheng Mu himself. Chapter, 135 Holy Love Church in Hancheng Looking at the plaque that was already crumbling amid the tremors around it, Zheng Mu smiled coldly. After the dart sent him here, they were bathed in a terrifying thunderstorm and headed towards the north of the city amidst a burst of screams and cries from professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom. Over there, Bangzi Kingdom support from other cities finally arrived. Ha, huh, it's well hidden. If that guy Chen Doxian hadn't given him the approximate direction, it wouldn't have been easy to find it. Zheng Mu murmured to himself and took the lead in walking towards the interior of the church. Uchiha Musen and Miss Mira Jane appeared beside him at some unknown time, protecting him on the left and right. Although, in a sense, Zheng Mu doesn't really need their protection. All the people outside the church had already fled, and when Zheng Mu and the others followed the route scanned by the Red Queen, they entered the underground of the church. Go to hell! A rude voice followed by a sharp sword flash. Before Zheng Mu could see the man's appearance clearly, the next moment, Uchiha Musen was already standing in front of him. Click. Above the ground, a dead head was rolling on the ground. Underground of the church where the treasure house is housed is not the dimly lit, catacomb-like scene you imagined. A long corridor winds down, with Uchiha Musen's figure flashing and disappearing in front of Zheng Mu. From time to time on the winding stairs, shrill O sounds can be heard. And that loud roar filled with fear. Shiba. That man from the Dragon Kingdom actually came to the treasure house of our exchange. Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. When Zheng Mu arrived at the bottom floor, what he saw was a huge and thick door that was ten meters high. The code roulette wheels made people's scalp numb. At this moment, several Bengziguo professionals who were still struggling to support the scene changed their expressions when they saw Zheng Mu's figure. A jade token in the hand of one of them was instantly crushed. Woo woo! 
a sharp siren suddenly came from above the head. Uchiha Musen's eyes suddenly turned cold. Lord Master, it was my subordinate who made a mistake. Zheng Mu waved his hand, but did not even look at the professionals from the Bangzi kingdom in front of him who were already stained with the breath of ruin. He stared at the heavy treasure house door in front of him, frowning in thought, and said lightly. Get rid of them quickly, we have a lot of things to deal with next. The stickman country professional's face was pale as his health bar continued to drop at a speed visible to the naked eye. His heart was full of doubts about his own strength. At level 58, he could only survive in Uchiha Musen, and under the influence of the other party's strange power, he could only wait for death step by step. Without the city lord's warrant and the exchange's secret order, you can't open the treasure house of our exchange in Bengzi country. The alarm has sounded, Zheng Mu, you can't run away. Looking at the Bangzi kingdom officer who was yelling at him with a ferocious face, Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows and walked slowly to the door, stroking it with one hand. Seeing this, the officer who had lost all thoughts of resistance looked at his men lying on the ground, his face covered in blood, and his eyes filled with malice and schadenfreude. Leaning on the corner, looking at his slowly declining blood bar, he murmured over and over again. You will come soon to accompany us, and you will soon be buried with us, buried with us. Lord Master, why don't you step back and let me transform and try? Miss Mira Jane volunteered in a soft voice. Zheng Mu, however, shook his head and turned to look at the Bangziguo officer in the corner who was staring at him with a strange look on his face, his face full of ridicule and teasing. Let me introduce myself, I am a mechanic. As he spoke, a strong light suddenly bloomed in his hand. The red brave level material disordered iron wall is being mechanically transformed. You have obtained, the red brave level mechanical creation dimensional treasure house barrier device. Watching the golden light instantly cover the entire wall, it only took a few breaths. The treasure house door, which originally contained a large number of mechanism codes, turned into an iron wall full of technology, with metal lines and grooves in the next second. The expression of the Bangzi Kingdom officer changed drastically in an instant. What made him even more unimaginable was that Zheng Mu's hand gently pressed on the changed wall. There was a click. The wall in front of him automatically opened a door, revealing neat treasure boxes and shelves filled with various treasures. VR, KR The eyes of this Bangzi Kingdom officer suddenly widened, blood spurted from his mouth, and the black breath of ruin lingered around his body. He wanted to say something, but at this moment, his health bar was finally invaded by the breath of ruin. Disappeared. Lord Lord, I am here to guard the door for you. Looking at Uchiha Musen, who was standing at the door like a door god holding Buddha Yuhuan, Zheng Mu looked up at the spiral staircase leading upwards and nodded. Quickly walk into the treasure house. What comes into view are the excellent areas allocated one by one. The Bangzi Country Exchange places all the stored items in storage treasure chests by first classifying them into grades and then into categories. White Ordinary Level Equipment Area, White Ordinary Level Material Area. Green Excellent Material Area, Green Excellent Equipment Area. Blue Elite Material Area, Blue Elite Potion Area, Blue Elite Equipment Area. Purple Rare Potion Area, Purple Rare Material Area, Purple Rare Equipment. Zheng Mu paused in his steps. There is no red brave level area here, but in just a moment, Zheng Mu figured it out. The situation in Dragon Kingdom is similar. At the exchange in Yuntongcheng, there were no red warrior level items for sale. Moreover, even the quantity and types of purple rare grade materials in the Yuntong city exchange at that time could not compare with the small treasure house in Hanqing today. In an environment like Bangzi country, where resources are highly concentrated among upper-class nobles and representatives of high-level professionals, it is not just the treasure trove of this exchange that contains anything red and thin. Even in the treasury of the Lord of Hancheng, there is a high probability that there will not be such high-end goods. On the other hand, there is a high possibility that the Qinghua Hancheng sub-treasury belonging to the Bangzi King's royal family possesses red hero-level materials. However, the Qinghua Hancheng branch is located in the north of the city. Huh, although the quality is completely comparable to the treasure trove of the Dragon Kingdom's resource management center, what kind of bicycle do you need for something you picked up for free? Zheng Mu murmured excitedly. 
It is just a rough estimate that the purple rare level materials in this treasury are enough for him to assemble at least three zero zero T one hundreds. In addition, the blue elite level materials are enough for him to assemble more than ten zero zero T eight hundreds. And liquors. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu had no intention of wasting time. Even then I started to get busy. Mira Chan, you don't have to do anything. Just help me keep an eye on Muzin's durability. Once it drops below 30%, notify me immediately. Mira Jane was startled, but still nodded silently. Here, just when Zheng Mu quickly started to collect the materials he needed in the purple rare material area. At the end of the corridor, Amidst bursts of hurried footsteps, Shui Zhanli rushed down with a bloody and fierce professional from the Bangzi country. He saw Muzan Uchiha blocking the door and the corpses lying all over the ground. Shui Zhanli's eyes were splitting, especially after seeing the dead-faced Bangzi army officer in the corner, he became completely crazy. Shi Ba. Rush in. Kick him to death. Damn dragon kingdom bastard. Looking at the people swarming towards him, Uchiha 423's eyes suddenly turned into the Mangiki Sharingan mode, and Susanoo rose in the underground space here. Although Shui Zhanli and others were also shocked, after all, they were elite professional soldiers of the Bangzi kingdom. The next moment, buff skills exploded one after another, and they charged towards Uchiha Muzin. Boom! With one slash of the knife, Shui Zhanli was at the forefront and the auras given by the priests on his body were superimposed to the maximum, causing his HP to soar directly from 35W to 55W. Roaring, a sword with a sound like the roar of a vicious wolf slashed out. Mysterious Blood Wolf Sacred Sword. Boom! A violent energy impact exploded with the two people as the center. Behind them, several priests suddenly saw the health bar above Uchiha Muzin's head suddenly dropped by a level, losing more than 10 zero, zero HP, and they all shouted with joy. Come on, General Shui. That guy can't handle it. Kill this guy, and we can capture Zheng Mu alive, that Dragon Kingdom bastard. Let's do it all at once. Looking at all the professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom who were instantly pumped, Uchiha Muzin smiled helplessly in his heart. Hey, Lord Master, can't you change the blood pack? Among the lost durability, the maximum loss against Shui Zhanli's skills was only one or two thousand, and the greater amount was due to Zheng Mu who was in the treasure house behind him at the moment. In the treasure house, Zheng Mu is already completely excited. Gold turning hand, intelligent component upgrade, the curse of the world's rejection. His skills and equipment were used until he flew up. Even Zheng Mu couldn't stop feeling this satisfying using the materials and resources of Bangzi country to create his own soldiers. Just outside, Shui Zhanli and the others saw that Uchiha Muzin's health bar was constantly shortening, and they were all attacking like chickens. In the treasure house, T-100s were produced and assembled one after another by Zheng Mu. Chapter, 136 Holy Shield Wall Under the haunching exchange treasure house, a chorus of low shouts came from the mouths of the priests and professionals present. The next moment, a series of light golden barriers of light stood in front of everyone, but the next second, accompanied by ten large knives surrounded by billowing black energy, they slashed across. The defensive skills with an average durability of around 10, 0, 0 were all shattered on the spot. However, this short period of time also gave Shui Zhanli and others the opportunity to fight back. Kill. Mysterious Blood Wolf Sacred Sword. Mysterious Art, Spearman's Will. Mysterious meaning, dark flower remains. Facing a monster like Uchiha Muzin, those present did not dare to use ordinary skills to deal with the opponent, and directly use their own secret skills. The Roaring Blood Wolf Sword. The Roaring Sharp Spear Light. And the poisonous flying knife wielded by the assassin. Facing Uchiha Muzin, who could not dodge these attacks at all, there was no suspense whatsoever as the attacks hit the opponent. HP 2 1W. HP 1 6W. HP 1 9W. HP. Seeing Uchiha Muzin's health bar shrinking rapidly during their fierce attack, the terrifying black skeleton electric man was visibly trembling during their attack. Shui Zhanli and others were greatly refreshed. 
this guy still has half of his health bar, everyone, work harder. The priest continues to give us status. The mage focuses fire to suppress him. Hurry up. Everyone was nervous and full of excitement. They clearly knew that Jing Mu was in the treasure house behind Uchiha Musen, and that the opponent's mechanical creations were now fighting in Hanqing with the supporting professionals from Bangzi country. I can't get away at all. In other words, as long as Uchiha Musen is defeated, Jing Mu will be a turtle in the jar. Not to mention what killed the opponent, if you operate it properly, capturing the opponent alive is not a problem. The professionals from Bangzi country present couldn't help but fantasize. As the only person in hundreds of years who has produced mechanical creation blueprints approved by heaven, Jing Mu must have his own secret, once this secret is known to their country. In the future, if there is an A-level mechanic in their Bangzi country, they will definitely become an existence comparable to SS-level professionals. Everything you do today will be remembered by the entire Bangzi kingdom. Thinking of this, the faces of all the professionals standing behind Shui Zhanli turned red, and they threw all the skills in their hands towards Uchiha Muhan in front of them without hesitation. Mystery Fire Dragon Dance Mystery Self-Destruction Ghost Shadow Mystery Thunder Strangulation Mysterious Meaning Boom 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 Uchiha Musen's face was gloomy. Although there were more than a dozen professionals lying in front of him at this moment, there were professionals running down the spiral staircase behind him. Faced with such intensive skill suppression, if his breath of destruction effect hadn't made these guys fearful, they would have already rushed forward in a swarm. However, these are not the main point, the main point is. Lord Overlord, please change the blood pack. There is no such thing as a mechanical creation. Uchiha Musen is about to break his defense at this moment. His defense and various attributes will be temporarily increased in Susanoo's state. People like Shui Zhanli are very strong, and the damage caused in a focused fire state should not be underestimated. However, no matter how he should not be underestimated, it would not cause Uchiha Musen's health bar to drop below 50% in less than 10 minutes. Most of the loss of his health bar came from the Lord Master in the treasure house behind him. Because Cheng Mu's unimaginably long skill cooldown needs to be offset by the curse of the world's rejection, and the latter obviously requires HP. Work harder. Work harder, my MP will be restored soon. Priest, put on defense quickly. As the mages spent a lot of MP to play the secret skills, once again cutting off Uchiha Musen's health bar, Chue Zhanli became a little uneasy. While commanding loudly and excitedly, he frantically poured MP recovery potion into his mouth. At the same time, in the treasury, Mira Jane, who was ordered to stare at Uchiha's innocent HP, suddenly changed her pretty face and looked at Jing Mu, who had already produced dozens of T-100s in a short period of time. Lord Master, Wuhan's durability has dropped below 30%. As a burst of light lit up, a bunch of transformed mechanical components in front of him were condensed and assembled together, and the light dissipated. Another T-100 appears. As soon as he appeared, without Jing Mu's instructions, he immediately joined the team of other T-100s and helped Sheng Mu organize and distribute the required T-100 production material packages. Oh! Is it already 30%? Wu Han's durability is still a bit unbearable. Sheng Mu murmured, and Mira Jane on the side was speechless. When Sheng Mu created the mechanical creation, the terrifying speed of HP consumption caused her to commit suicide. With her durability, she can only sustain Jing Mu's high-intensity consumption for about 15 minutes at most. Uchiha Musen is now bearing the concentrated fire attack from the professionals from outside, and at the same time, he has to bear Jing Mu's terrifying HP demand. Being able to persist until now, Mira Jane has to admire the other party's powerful performance. Go, tell Wu Han and ask him to use super speed regeneration immediately. When Mira Jane conveyed Jing Mu's order, Uchiha Mu's expression condensed slightly. Super speed regeneration is one of his abilities. It can quickly recover body damage in a very short period of time, that is, quickly restore its own durability. But the one hour cooling time condition makes him dare not use it easily even now. After getting Zheng Mu's order, Uchiha Musen took a deep breath, and the next moment. 
under the stunned gaze of Shui Zhanli and other Bangzi country professionals. Uchi Hamuzin's health bar, which had dropped below 20%, suddenly rose crazily as if on steroids. In just a few breaths, they had spent a lot of effort to cut off the blood bar. In an instant, it has returned to full value. Shiba. What on earth is going on? Impossible, how could it be possible to recover so quickly? Are there still SS level priests on site to help that Dragon Kingdom bitch? Ah. What happened? Shui Zhanli's head was also buzzing, and he was completely unable to understand what was happening in front of him. As for Uchiha Muzin, whose health bar had returned to full value, a ferocious smile immediately broke out on his face. Jet black flames rose up from Susanoo's sword, and when no one had time to resist, it suddenly swung out. Boom! Ah! Priest! Priest, I have been contaminated by the breath of ruin. Purify me quickly. Shiba! Purification is useless. My purification is useless. Hearing the chaos outside, inside the treasure house, the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth slightly raised a wicked arc. Suddenly he snapped his fingers. The skill load actuation, which had just been upgraded to IV3 with experience points, was applied directly to Uchi Hamuzin. Uchi Hamuzin, who had just chopped down the little Zahachi of the Bangzi kingdom in front of him, suddenly moved his eyes slightly. The durability suddenly decreased by about 10%, and at the same time the one-hour cooldown of the skill super speed regeneration, instantly returned to zero. In other words, as long as he wants, he can use this skill again now. Load activation IV3, it can make the mechanical creations under your command shorten the skill cooling time of the mechanical creations by quickly reducing their durability. Cooling time, none. Calculated occupation, 30 calculated to enhance the reduction of 50%. Reaching IV3 load activation, not only the effect is fast, but the durability consumption is also greatly shortened. The smile on Uchiha Muzin's face suddenly became wild. He, who had been standing guard at the door without moving an inch, suddenly took a step forward. Sa, if that's the case, I think the rules of the game may need to be changed. The buff status on Shui Zhanli's body flickered non-stop, making his various attributes improve again. However, looking at Uchi Hamume who was suddenly resurrected with full health, his face was also twitching due to the strong shock at this moment. Suddenly something seemed to occur to him. Looking at Uchi Hamuzin, he suddenly dropped one level of his health bar good for getting money, without anyone attacking him. It was as if he suddenly grasped some key point. That's a skill. It must be a skill that can restore his HP. Don't panic, this skill can't be used all the time. Keep attacking. Those who are contaminated with the breath of ruin, rush to the front. Our great king will not forget your sacrifice, and your family will be taken care of by the entire country. Come forward. Let's kill him again. A group of professionals from the Bangzi kingdom roared wildly and launched another attack on Uchi Hamuzin. However, half an hour later. Seeing a flash of metallic luster on his body, the health bar instantly returned from 25% to about 90% again, Uchi Hamuzin with a joking smile on his face. Shui Zhanli's hand holding the weapon was trembling violently. There was reason for being tired, but more importantly it was the fear of Uchi Hamume. Impossible, how could there be such a perverted guy in this world? Impossible. Heaven will not allow you to exist. The MP recovery potions carried by the priests behind them have been used up, and the buffs on them are disappearing one after another, and the HP potions on them are. It's almost consumed. Watching Uchiha Muzin holding the knife, he took another step forward. The faces of all the Bangzi country professionals present were extremely pale. Chapter, 137 You killed Jiang Haojuan 448, a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 12, 6 W of experience points, and obtained the purple rare potion essence of the petrified demonic snake. You killed Zhou Guanqing LV39, a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 5, 2 W experience points, and obtained the blue elite material Snow Wolf King's Fangs. You killed Song Dongyue IV40, a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 7, 2 W experience points, and obtained the warrior skill book Courage Amplification. 
you killed. When the mechanical creations under his command were wreaking havoc throughout Hanchen, the messages on Zheng Mu's panel were like a snowflake waterfall, pulling crazily. Although less than two hours have passed since the siege of the city. Zheng Mu has been upgraded three levels in a row, from the original 426 to the current 429. The level 29 upgrade requires experience points, which has reached a terrifying 3-8 million. However, at this moment, on Zheng Mu's panel, the long bar representing the experience value was rising rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. Finally, just above the Zheng Mu panel, a familiar name appeared, and a new prompt suddenly appeared from the panel. You killed Shui Zhanli IV-64, a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 39, 2W experience points, and obtained the purple rare weapon blood pattern sword. You have been upgraded, your current level is 430. The level conditions are met and you have triggered the career promotion task. Mechanic LV30 promotion task, please complete more than 10, 0, 0 mechanical creations of any level within 3 hours. Mission completed, unlock the skill mechanical mystery steel group. Mechanical Mystery Steel Group, Mechanics LV30 Secret Skill. After use, it can give all mechanical creations under its command an extra shield equivalent to 20% of its own durability for a short period of time. Cooling Time, 24 hours. Pen Power Occupation, Non-Mysterious Skills Do Not Occupy Any Computing Power. Zheng Mu, who was just about to transform the materials in front of him into corresponding mechanical components, was suddenly startled. Secret skills. Have you finally reached this level? Although any professional who reaches level 430 will trigger such a promotion task. But you must know that it has only been about three months since Cheng Mu awakened. Others like Kai Shinkuan and others are only around 425 at most at this time, which is still a very fast upgrade speed. However, Cheng Mu sighed in his heart that for him, this promotion task was as easy as eating and drinking. The next moment, the system, which had been silent for a long time without any movement, suddenly responded. It is detected that the host has triggered a career promotion task, and the system releases a secret upgrade task. Please produce more than one zero zero mechanical creations of at least purple rare level within three hours. Reward, Mechanic 430 Secret Skill Upgrade. Hiss. System, can you still upgrade the skills set by Tiandao? Zheng Mu took a breath and his eyes widened. The system has always provided him with blueprints, allowing him to create so many mechanical creations, which is already very impressive, but he never expected it. The professional skill trees set by the heavens in this world can actually be changed and upgraded when they come to the system. The system did not respond, nor did it announce to Zheng Mu how far the secret skills could be upgraded. However, Zheng Mu immediately focused on the task requirements in front of him. Three hours, a thousand metal creations of at least purple rare grade. If you put it on him, it means that he can make a T-100 worth 10,000 gold in one hour. At present, the materials in the Hanqing Exchange's treasure house happen to be very sufficient. Ak is 1,000 units in three hours, which means on average. Holy shit! Assemble five in one minute. Zheng Mu instantly felt his scalp numb and did not dare to think too much. He immediately ordered the more than 200 T, 100 units that had just been manufactured by his subordinates to be put into the intense work of sorting materials. A set of monster materials used to produce T, 100 was delivered to Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu even became anxious continuously. He released the skill golden hand, in his hand and assembled it immediately. Before the T-100 appeared in front of him, he hurriedly activated the Windbreaker Curse of the World's Rejection, to clear the skill's cooldown time. Kacha Kacha Outside the treasure house, after a frenzied killing spree, all the professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom in front of them were slaughtered. When no more professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom came down the stairs, Uchiha Muzin didn't have time to breathe a sigh of relief. The next moment, his body suddenly trembled. Stinging electric sparks burst out from his body, as if he suddenly fell into some unprecedented serious malfunction. The durability of the top of the head dropped to one level at the speed of a blink of an eye. The original level of more than 70% dropped to 50% in an instant. And the rate of decline is accelerating. 
This scene was so frightening that Uchiha Muzen did not dare to hesitate at all, and instantly used the skill super speed regeneration. As the body lit up with a metallic light, the health bar began to pull back and forth. And looking at his skill that had just been used and the cooldown time was instantly cleared, Uchiha Muzen still didn't know what the reason for the current situation was. My lord, what on earth are you doing inside? I will be ruined by you. Uchiha Muzen was about to cry but had no tears. At this moment, he could only stand stiffly at the door of the treasure house. Electric sparks crackled all over his body. Work hard to maintain your own durability and not be emptied by Zheng Mu. Outside, in Hanqing. A few hours after the war started, the entire city of Han had already been completely changed beyond recognition. President Chen, please open the teleportation gate immediately and teleport the current group of citizens out first. This place is too dangerous. Once we are targeted by those terrifying mechanical creations, we will all be doomed. Jiang Mingxiong's face was pale, and he hid in a corner of a building with two to three hundred Bangzi people who were obviously not high-level professionals. At this moment, when he saw a door of light appearing in front of him, Chen Doxian walked out of it and spoke hurriedly. As soon as he finished speaking, a scream that disappeared quickly flew out from above his head. Everyone suddenly looked up in horror, only to see a terrifying mechanical creature not far away, resembling a velociraptor, which had just thrown a professional from their country into its mouth and torn it into flesh. As if sensing something, Dinosaur King Kong Slash, suddenly turned his head. He instantly discovered the people hiding here, roared, and walked towards this side with heavy steps. Suddenly, everyone's legs went weak. At the scene, there were many people whose families had died at the hands of Zheng Mu's mechanical creations. However, after seeing the horror of mechanical creations, the hatred in these people's hearts has long been suppressed by the mountain called fear. President Chen, go quickly. Go quickly. Please, please save us, please. I don't want to die. Shiba. Where is the support? Didn't it say that support is coming? Why haven't I seen it yet? Amid the chaotic sounds, Chen Doxian quickly drank a bottle of MP recovery potion. The next moment, the door to Sundao space was opened by him. No need for him to greet them at all, these people immediately rushed in like crazy. Chief Jiang, please evacuate quickly. I am not strong enough, but I can still save people. Although you are not suitable for fighting like me, you are the backbone of the people of Hanqing today. Nothing can happen to you. Please evacuate to the north of the city immediately. Jiang Mingxiong's legs have long been weak. If it weren't for his power-hungry personality that prevented him from moving his legs, he would definitely be the first person to rush into the portal. But when he heard the true words of this young man, Chen Doxian, and a step was placed in front of him, he would not hesitate. President Chen, we will never forget what your Tai Long Guild has done for the people of Hanqing. Seeing the light door disappear, a look of disdain flashed across Chen Doxian's face. He glanced at Dinosaur King Kong Slash, which had hit a large building and rushed in front of him. At this moment, his eyes no longer had any resentment towards Xing Mu, but were filled with admiration and fanaticism. It's not just Baga who worships the strong, but also Xiao Shibao. After witnessing the horror of Uchiha Muzen, Chen Doxian would never think like others that Xing Mu was stupid and only allowed people to attack Han Cheng. Although he didn't know what other methods Xing Mu had, but this Hanqing will definitely fall into your hands soon. After muttering, Chen Doxian instantly disappeared from the spot as he used his teleportation skills. He wanted to follow the mission given to him by Zheng Mu and try his best to win a good reputation and capital for himself and the guild in this Hanqing catastrophe, so that he could enter the eyes of the upper class. Better serve Mr. Zheng Mu in the future. In the north of the city, Teleport Square. As a burst of light lit up, a dozen men with high momentum and a special mark on their chests walked out one after another. Seeing the leading man, some of the officers from the Bangzi kingdom who were guarding the teleportation formation all changed their expressions. He instantly raised his chest and raised his head. See General Li. On this man's chest, there is the symbol of the Admiral of Bangzi kingdom. Li Zihan, a famous ever-victorious general of the Bangzi kingdom, is a powerful professional SS-level professional blood dragon knight who retired from the Bangzi kingdom due to injury. 
when this scene was broadcast live by Tian Dao and was seen by all the professionals in Blue Star. Everyone's expressions suddenly changed. Blood Dragon Knightly Zihan. It turns out that this guy had one of his arms permanently cut off by a protector of the Dragon Kingdom. His strength was greatly reduced. I didn't expect that he can still be used today. After all, the person we are dealing with is not the god of protection, but the mechanic Xing Mu. One of the former protector gods of the Bangzi kingdom, even if his strength is greatly reduced, he can't deal with a mere level 20 person, Nanny. That guy Xing Mu is already level 30. WH, it's just level 30. If the blood dragon knight takes action, that kid will go to see God soon. When Long Guo Fei Yun Zhou saw Li Zihan actually dispatched. Mr. Li's body shook, and his eyes were filled with blood as he turned to look at the masked man behind him. Are you sure you can get the body back from this guy? The man was silent for a long time, shaking his head slightly. Chapter 138 Seeing the masked man shaking his head, Mr. Li felt dizzy. Amidst the exclamations of everyone around him, if Gu Xingdong hadn't helped him up in time, he would have fainted on the deck at this moment. Mr. Li, take care of yourself. If you fall down, what will we do? Yes, Mr. Li, that boy Zheng Mu kept trying to persuade me to get to this point. This is God's will. Mr. Li, you have tried your best. You must take care of yourself. Pastor, get the potion quickly. The Feiyin boat was in a mess, and Li Yuan's eyes became hollow at this moment. Both they and Bangzi country misjudged Xing Mu's strength. So much so that they prepared to quickly take action after Xing Mu's defeat to snatch Xing Mu's body from the hands of haunching professionals. And could it be that Bangzi Guo misjudged Xing Mu's strength? At this moment, haunching, because of their contempt and understanding of Xing Mu, has been mostly reduced to ruins. Not to mention things like economic losses, in terms of personnel alone, at least 70, 00 to 80, 00 people have died. Here dash. However, after realizing the terrifying situation of Zheng Mu's strength, the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom immediately made remedial measures. He directly dispatched Li Zihan, the former protector of the country. Although Li Jiehyung's strength has seriously declined, as an IV-70 SS level blood dragon knight, his own fighting ability can at least compete with an IV-80 professional when facing an ordinary A-level professional. In the eyes of professionals in Bangzi country and even the world, Jing Mu, a new mechanic, is no longer taken seriously. It's like a cannon to swat flies. Bangzi country, Qingyin city. In order to be able to safely capture the Xingyue metal veins, the Bangzi kingdom opened the teleportation array city to its ally Sakura kingdom. At this moment, more than 20 elite professionals from Sakura country have been teleported. General, the Bangzi kingdom even dispatched Li Zihin this time. That dragon kingdom mechanic will not survive for long. Should we be prepared to deal with the dragon kingdom army next? Upon hearing the question from his adjutant, Sakura Kingdom General Sakurai Sake's guard frowned slightly. After pondering for a long time, he suddenly asked. Liang Tai, do you think it would be possible if we used the 20% share of the mine in exchange for the Bangzi Kingdom to hand over Jing Mu's body to us intact? As soon as these words came out, not to mention the adjutant, several other generals around him looked shocked. General, that is 20% of the purple rare grade metal veins. You must be aware of how scarce our domestic resources are now. Yes, General, I am sorry that I cannot agree with your unclear idea. The Sakura Empire needs this 20% share, and His Majesty the Emperor needs this 20% share even more. Seeing that everyone was unanimously against him, Sakuraki Shuman did not insist. This idea only appeared in an instant, and he himself found it absurd. However, Zheng Mu's body did have a certain value in his opinion. Once there is a way to detect the solution to the mechanic's dilemma from the opponent, in the future, anyone from Sakura country who changes jobs and becomes a mechanic will no longer be useless. Instead, he became the mainstay of the Empire's campaign against Blue Star and the secret realm of different time and space. But everyone's opinion is correct, Sakura country is too short of resources. This is why, when purple rare-grade metal veins were discovered in Bangzi country, 
they came over like wild dogs asking about the smell of meat. Once Li Zihang takes action, there is absolutely no chance for the Dragon Kingdom man to survive. Once we receive the news from the Sakura Kingdom, we will immediately set off for the mine. Hi. At the same time, the Dragon Kingdom Divine Capital. Because of Zheng Mu's incident, Southwest Military Attaché University, and even several other first-class universities in Shindu, have all suspended classes, and all the new professionals who were fighting monsters and upgrading in the wild have also withdrawn. Everyone was nervously paying attention to the battle situation in Hancheng. What's the situation, where is Mr. Zheng Mu? Why haven't you seen him for a long time? I don't know, I guess he's hiding, after all, that's Li Jie Hyung. Humph, how long can I hide for? When those stick professionals destroy all his mechanical creations in the city, Tian Dao will broadcast his location live. What are you happy about? Zheng Mu, as a native of the Dragon Kingdom, is about to be surrounded and killed by those Xiao Shiba from the Bangzi Kingdom. What are you doing here? If you can't speak, just sew my mouth shut. I'm going to tease you here today. Once Zheng Mu dies in Hanchen, you'll have to stay in bed for a fucking year and a half. I'm the military commander in Shindu. It's up to the school to see if they can stop me. In the Wheel of Truth Guild, a large number of new professionals have gathered at this moment. They are all people who have passed the assessment with Zheng Mu in the bone swallowing desert this time and were conquered by the opponent's strength. When they heard a few imbeciles whose brains had been blasted speak, a group of people immediately stood up and surrounded each other tightly. However, when they saw this scene, no one like Kuei Shinkuen and others wanted to pay attention. They all frowned and looked at the live broadcast on the panel at this moment. Along with this live broadcast, Li Jiehyung's resume has been widely circulated on major professional forums. The WSS level professional Blood Dragon Knight not only has a LV-72 Blood Dragon monster as a mount, but the Blood Dragon Knight itself also takes into account the area of effect damage skills of the mage, the high defense of the tank warrior, and the buff skills of the priest. The comprehensiveness of SS level professionals is fully demonstrated. If the opponent hadn't lost an arm, and all attributes had been severely damaged by a certain dragon country's protector, leaving irreparable attribute damage, the real combat effectiveness would have been even more terrifying. How will the president deal with such an opponent? Sang Luo murmured, his hair had been scratched into a bird's nest. Kai Shinkuen clenched his fists tightly and gritted his teeth in secret regret. It's all because of my low strength. If I am also an SS level professional, I will definitely be able to help the boss. At least the boss is definitely willing to take us to Hanching to have a try. His heart was full of self blame for himself. The two grew up together, not as brothers, but as brothers. But now it is obvious that he can no longer stand by Zheng Mu's side as his backing. On the side, Leng Bingyue, Jiang Lanlan and He Shang Yun had pale faces and red eyes. It was obvious that he had been crying for a long time. In the live broadcast, as soon as Li Jiehyang appeared, a dark door lit up in the sky. Accompanied by a roar of dragons that shook Hancheng. A blood-red dragon nearly a hundred meters in size rushed out. With the appearance of the other party, bursts of dark clouds appeared in the sky above Hancheng, as if something ominous was coming. It's Mr. Li Zihan. It's Mr. Blood Dragon God of War. The Blood Dragon God of War is here to help us. Ha ha ha, Shiba, that piece of shit from the Dragon Kingdom destroyed our home, we absolutely can't just let it go. Lord Blood Dragon God of War, Wu Wu, please avenge our Mujuan. Please, I will definitely live a long life. Zero please give me flowers. When Li Zihang jumped tens of meters deep and jumped directly onto the back of the blood dragon, and was seen by the people of Bangzi Kingdom, the entire north of Hancheng in Bangzi Kingdom suddenly fell into an unprecedented heated atmosphere. Just after opening the door of light, Chen Doxian, who sent back a group of survivors from the south of the city, did not even have time to set up his own character amid the grateful voice of a famous Bangzi country citizen. After seeing the terrifying figure covering the sky above his head, his pupils suddenly shrank. As an S-level professional, how could he not know about those high-level professionals in Bangzi country who were even more powerful than him? Blood Dragon Knight Li Jiehyang, even though he was his stern bastard father, he was still regarded as an idol. 
Not only is he powerful, but he is also a standard figure with a strong pride in the big stick nation. It is said that this person has killed at least 70 000 to 80 000 professionals from other countries, especially the Dragon Kingdom. Shiba, are those guys at the Blue House Palace so frightened by Lord Master? Send out someone like Lee Jae Hyun directly. Chen Doshian tried his best to maintain the excited expression on his face, but his eyes were full of haze and worries about things. He suddenly realized that he had trusted Zheng Mu too much before. Level 30 A Level Mechanic No matter how he looked, he didn't look like he could survive the hands of IV-70, SS Level Blood Dragon Knight Li Jae Hyung. When Optimus Prime and other mechanical creations saw Li Zaihang in the sky north of the city, they looked at each other and continued to launch an active attack without hesitation. Dinosaur King Kong Iron Block and Dinosaur King Kong Howl, charge at the front, the former's terrifying charging potential continues to increase, coupled with the sound wave control skills of the howling on the side. Along the way, it was like entering a deserted land. When he saw Optimus Prime and other metal monsters aggressively attacking the north of the city, the coldness in Li Zaihang's eyes suddenly flashed. The only arm holding a big sword suddenly pointed at the dinosaur King Kong iron block, rushing in front. Next moment. Roar. Along with a scarlet energy condensed from the blood dragon's mouth at the speed of light, the terrifying dragon's breath fell from the sky and hit the iron body heavily. Boom. The huge energy fluctuations directly knocked the howling people on the side to the ground. The sharp body full of sharp blades rolled several times in the surrounding blocks. The smoke and dust dispersed, and the figure of the iron block appeared in the live broadcast screen. Only a quarter of the blood bar was left, and everyone who saw this scene gasped. Flying on the Yunzhou of Longwa, when they saw the strongest defensive mechanical creation under Mu, they were instantly disabled. Mr. Li finally closed his eyes in despair and took a deep breath. Turn around and seize the mineral veins. In today's haunching, after touching a being like Li Zihan, it would be impossible for them to even snatch corpses. Mr. Li could only suppress the intense pain in his heart and issue the most rational order. Give up the irreversible Zheng Mu. Seize the mineral veins that Dragon Kingdom needs. However, just when the entire Blue Star professionals believed that Zheng Mu was destined to fail. In the treasure house of Hanqing Exchange. Mechanic 430 Promotion Task, Complete the Job. Mysterious Iron Group has been unlocked. Skills Upgrading. Congratulations on unlocking the new skilled Mysterious Mechanical Era Mountain. Chapter, 139. Mechanic 430 Promotion Task, Completed. Mysterious Iron Group has been unlocked. Skill Upgrade. Congratulations on unlocking the new skill mystery, Mechanical Era. In the treasure house, three hours of high-intensity assembly work without slacking off for even a second made Zheng move slightly unable to react when he heard the reminder in his mind that the task was completed. After a brief period of confusion, Zheng couldn't wait to open his skill tree. At this moment, a skill icon flashing brightly has been lit. However, this skill icon is obviously different from other skill icons. Zheng Mu didn't have time to care about this detail and immediately checked the information about his upgraded secret skills. Mystery, Mechanical Era Max, Mechanic 430 Secret Skill, after use, it can randomly increase the attributes of all mechanical creations under your command by 20% to 50%, duration, 1 hour. Cooling time, 24 hours. Computing power occupied, non-mysterious skills do not occupy any computing power. Note, Mysterious skill cooling time cannot be reduced or accelerated. Fuck. Zheng Mu instantly jumped up in excitement. Sure enough, it seems to be the usual situation in this profession. Even his own secret skills have nothing to do with attack skills. What is completely 907 is a super large buff skill. However, seeing the terrifying information about this skill, he was excited and waving his fists on the spot. Cool although it can only be used once a day. However, the awesome thing about this skill is that it can increase the attributes of all the mechanical creations under its command. Just these two advantages are already unmatched by the secret skills of other professionals. You know, a mechanic never fights on his own. 
Zheng Mu can even say that he basically does not need any attack skills. Simply continuously strengthening the mechanical creations under his command and expanding the scale of his mechanical creations are the most direct and effective representation of his strength. And this secret skill is a terrifying improvement at the level of overall strength. For example, if he has a thousand T100s, after using this skill, even these T100s will only be improved by 20% of the lowest level attributes. Then Zheng Mu can also say that his combat effectiveness has reached 1200 T100s. And if this number is 10,000, what about Tian Wan? Just when Zheng Mu was almost in a state of self euphoria, Miss Milaj suddenly walked over with a solemn expression as if she sensed something. Lord Lord, Miss Red Queen wants to speak to you urgently. Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, but then nodded. The next moment, the anxious voice of the Red Queen came from Miss Mirajane's mouth. Lord Lord, the Bangzi Kingdom has dispatched a very powerful professional, the former SS level blood dragon Knight Li Jae Hyung, the protector of the Bangzi Kingdom. Optimus Prime and the others are in a bad situation. Hearing this, Zheng Mu's brows instantly wrinkled. After taking a look behind him, he had already packed the contents of the treasure house and carried them all in the storage backpack behind him. He immediately walked outside with the vast mechanical creations. Lord Master, are you finished here? Seeing Achiha Muzin's embarrassed look, Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, then stepped forward and patted the other party's shoulder. Thank you for your hard work, but our tough battle is coming next. As he stepped over Xiao Shiba's corpses and walked up the building, Zheng Mu had already received information about Li Zihan from the Red Queen. After knowing the other party's level and occupation, Zheng Mu also put away his previous playful and unruly attitude. If he didn't need to take haunching defenders like Xue Zhanli seriously in the past, now Li Zihan must be taken seriously. He opened his panel and looked at the situation of the mechanical creation outside. At this sight, his brows instantly wrinkled. The five dinosaur King Kongs he created, as well as the strengthened Optimus Prime and Megatron, have all suffered varying degrees of damage. Among them, the iron block like the Triceratops has been gradually retreating under the cover of other Transformers. Wait for the health bar to slowly recover. Zheng Mu himself's treasure trove at the Hanqing Exchange was already known to the professionals in Bangzi country when he was about to come out. When Zheng Mu walked out of the church, what he saw was a dense crowd of professionals from the Bangzi kingdom who were already waiting for him. The moment he just appeared. Focus on the attack. Hysterical roars came from the mouths of Bangzi state officers who came from unknown cities for reinforcements. The next moment, dense fire, thunder and other magical attacks, coupled with the guns and bullets of shooters and archers, bows, arrows and crossbows were shot at him. It seemed as if it would swallow him up instantly. Boom! Terrifying energy fluctuations exploded in front of him. Zheng Mu didn't even move his brows. He didn't even look at the chickens and dogs in front of him, and looked directly towards the north of the city. At this glance, he saw Megatron transforming into a fighter plane in mid-air, firing wildly at a scarlet western dragon-looking monster. The missiles exploded on the opponent's body one after another, but they could only make the bloody skin on the opponent's head sink slightly to an undetectable degree. The man from the Dragon Kingdom has appeared. Similar exclamations were heard from various places in Blue Star. Professionals from all over the world who had almost thought that Jing Mu was hiding and wanted to hide until the end, all paid attention to the live broadcast again. Oh my god, is that a human being in a mechanical creation? Hiss, this one looks more than a little stronger than those guys who can transform into liquid metal. Oh god, that skill of summoning skeletons is so powerful. Thousands of people focused fire attacks on him, but it couldn't break his defense. Is that person's blood bar due to convulsions? Amidst various exclamations, the Feiyun boat group of the Dragon Kingdom had already turned around and headed towards the Xinyue metal mine. Mr. Li looked at Zheng Mu in the picture with complex eyes. He just walked out of the church, ignored the blockers in front of him, and walked towards the north of the city. While sighing in his heart, in the picture, a raging black flame suddenly burned above Achiha Muzan and Susanu. Accompanied by the opponent's swing of a broadsword that could cut off a building. A large black flame instantly filled the entire place. 
The horror of Breath of Ruin is that the priest's purification skills are completely ineffective. This power comes from the blood of the unknown evil god. Even after wielding these swords, Uchiha Musen immediately followed Jing Mu. Instead of waiting for these professionals from Bangzi country to howl in terror due to the effect of the Breath of Destruction, the next moment. Under the stunned gaze of professionals all over the world. Thousands of T-100s, whose hands turned into sharp blades, instantly emerged from the church like a tide of beasts. Without giving these Bangzi country professionals a chance to react, they rushed into the crowd in the blink of an eye. Pft. Click. Ah. Shiba. Stop them. Soldier. Pft. Flesh and flesh being punctured, sticky blood splattering, bones breaking, screams and chaotic collisions instantly caused these professionals from the Bangzi country to become a mess. But everyone who had been paying attention to Zheng Mu's situation took a breath and figured something out at this moment. Hiss. He's looking for the treasure trove of the Bangzi kingdom. It's not greedy for money at all. He's clearly just going to make mechanical creations. Damn it, with everything like this outside, he still has the intention to explode troops on the opponent's territory. This is no longer an awesome act, this is an awesome plus. I would like to ask, is it easy for a machinist to make mechanical creations? If I remember correctly, it didn't take more than four hours from the time he entered this church to the time he came out now, right? For hours there are at least a thousand humanoid mechanical creations here, right? Hiss, God, this is simply an ability that only gods should possess. This boy from the Dragon Kingdom is the creator of these mechanical creations. This is a pity. If he can endure it, as long as he stays in one place and develops silently for a few years, he will have a place in the entire Blue Star. Professionals from all over the world expressed admiration and regret at the same time, frantically flooding the major professional forums. At this moment, in Hancheng, the batch of T-100 newly manufactured by Zheng Mu joined the battle. Qingnan finally fell completely under the gaze of the whole world. Boom! When Zheng Mu appeared here, a dark figure rolled in the sky. After collapsing several buildings, it rolled awkwardly on the street. The health bar on Megatron's head dropped a bit, and as soon as he stood up, an angry voice came into Zheng Mu's ears. Optimus Prime, is your combat system damaged or is your core flooded? Attack. Why didn't you attack when I attracted his attention? You value that broken sword so much that you are reluctant to use it. Are you here to poke that beast in the ass? Watching sparks flicker on the other person's face, and some kind of liquid spurting out from time to time. Zheng Mu couldn't help but look at Optimus Prime, who was not far away. The other party wanted to say something, but he immediately shut up after seeing Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu shook his head speechlessly. When he made Megatron's core, 5, 3, he made it exactly according to the character and behavioral habits of the other person in his previous life. And what we got in the end was this, two people who were born to be unable to deal with each other. At this time, Li Zihan, who was completely suppressing Zheng Mu's mechanical creations in the sky, also saw the culprit that caused these tragedies today. Mechanic Zheng Mu Even though he already knew what Zheng Mu looked like, seeing his young appearance, Li Zihan couldn't help but ask. Zheng Mu smiled slightly and nodded. But his eyes were looking directly at the other party's incomplete left arm, the sarcasm in his eyes undisguised. After so many years, I wonder if Senior Li Jiehyung will feel some psychological pressure when he faces the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom again? As soon as these words came out, the Blue Star professionals immediately covered their faces and exclaimed. Is this guy really not afraid of death? Now I don't want to beg for mercy, I want to talk about the conditions, and try to see if I can save my life. How dare I provoke the other party? Sure enough, Li Jiehyung's face instantly darkened. He glanced at his empty left arm and gritted his teeth. Boy, I will let you watch your body being smashed to pieces by me. Zheng Mu smiled slightly, showing his strong white teeth, his face full of provocation. Our seniors from the Dragon Kingdom can cripple you, but I can kill you today. At this moment, I lost my voice. Chapter, 140 Our seniors from the Dragon Kingdom can cripple you, but I can kill you today. These words coming from the mouth of Zheng Mu, 
a new professional, can be said to be quite encouraging. However, at this moment, all the professionals in Long Kingdom are watching this Tian Dao live broadcast. But they all turn their heads away in pain. Shocked by its power, angry by its impulsiveness. This is the common mentality of most people in the Dragon Kingdom today. It has only been four or five hours since the declaration of war, but Zheng Mu has already demonstrated his terrifying strength to the whole world. In the capital of the gods, in the Lin family's mansion, in a deserted garden, low-pitched cries kept coming. When Mr. Lin walked here on crutches, he saw his daughter Lin Muyu, who was obviously watching the Tian Dao live broadcast at the moment. He hesitated for a moment and walked over. Girl. An old voice came from behind, but Lin Muyu did not stand up to greet and salute as usual, but sat there quietly, wiping tears. In the picture, the person who is facing the National Protector God in front of Bangzi Kingdom at this moment is none other than Lin Muyu's biological son. She gritted her teeth and asked coldly. How did you make him choose to leave me in the first place? Inducement? Or threat? The old man of the Lin family was speechless and his mouth moved twice. That man is just an ordinary person. He has not even awakened to a D-level profession. As one of the few S-level lifestyle professions in the entire Blue Star, your significant other should not be an ordinary person. If you choose to marry him, you will not be happy. However, as soon as he finished speaking, Lin Muyu sneered. Happiness? So father, do you think I am happy now? Old man of the Lin family. Lin Muyu's eyes were red, he looked up at the sky and gritted his teeth. The father who gave birth to me took away my man, and now Tao wants to take away my child is this happiness. Tian Dao live broadcast continues. When he heard Jing Mu's provocative words, a sarcastic smile appeared on Li Zihang's cold face. Kill me. You Dragon Kingdom people really like to talk big. The guy who caused all this to me also said that he wanted to kill me at the beginning. Ha <laughs> ha. But I'm living well now. Zheng Mu chuckled, and the Transformers behind him began to gather in his direction, looking at Li Shi's empty left arm with teasing eyes. Living well. Are you really sure that you are living well and not living a life worse than death? Suddenly, the expression on Li Zihang's face completely froze. The professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom who were present in Qingbei and looked excited at first, now looked at Li Zihang's dark face, which was as dark as the bottom of a pot, and began to retreat towards the rear. Although he couldn't help shouting in his heart that Zheng Mu was looking for death, the speed on his legs was not slow at all. They didn't dare to stay here. They didn't dare to bet on whether the furious blood dragon Knightly Zihang would take them away in a wave. The blood-red energy surging around his body clearly indicated that he had entered some kind of buff state. The terrifying blood dragon flapped its wings and set off strong winds in the messy city. You bitch, if you dared to provoke me like this because you wanted to make your body more broken, then I have to tell you that you did it. It's okay to deal with ordinary professionals with your junk. Do you really think that I, Lee Jae Hyung, am one of those ordinary people? Angry roars came from high in the sky. Looking at the opponent's raised sword, Uchiha Muzan blocked him in an instant, and Zheng Mu himself immediately used Conservation Plus. Clear all the strength attributes and double the agility attributes. Zheng Mu likes to show off, especially in front of these little Shiba, but showing off does not mean that he is here to commit suicide. This man from the Dragon Kingdom can face a strong man like Li Zihang head on and still maintain his fighting spirit. After this battle, even if he dies, his name will be remembered by professionals all over the world. As long as the city of Hanqing still exists, and as long as Bangzi Kingdom still exists in this world, the deeds of Dragon Kingdom's A level mechanic Xing Mu, who destroyed most of Hanqing with one man's power, will never be forgotten. A real man is just a pity. Don't those guys in the Black Palace like to recruit all kinds of geniuses? This guy from the Dragon Kingdom is definitely a super genius, right? Why hasn't anyone come out to protect him yet? Our free country needs such geniuses to protect it. Didn't the Shogunate send a general to the Bangzi Kingdom? Bagya Road, if we rush to rescue Zheng Mu at this time, he will definitely kneel before His Majesty the Emperor and surrender. Professionals from various countries became excited. 
watching Jing Mu gather all those terrifying mechanical creations, everyone had already seen that he was planning to have one last vigorous frontal charge. They all anxiously spoke to their country's officials, hoping that they could recruit Jing over. At this moment, people all over the world may not be able to recognize the power of the machinist profession, but they definitely recognized the power of the machinist Jing Mu. However, just when some professionals couldn't bear to see the next scene. Behind Jing Mu, the Transformers gathered together suddenly began to click and change their forms. The parts on Megatron's body continued to deform, and a warning sound came from his mouth. Optimus Prime, if you don't know how to fight and miss the Master's important event, I will tear you apart with my own hands, and then take all your parts to prove the strength of my Transformers to the Great Master. As soon as he finished speaking, the whole world watched in stunned silence. Various parts that were precise and full of industrial beauty were disassembled one after another. Under the guidance of some invisible force, they suddenly converged towards Optimus Prime. The fighter's jet engine, Megatron's fusion cannon, and the thick black armor and other components all converged on Optimus Prime's body. In the blink of an eye, the latter's size expanded. Zyrek it. Can it still change? How can a human be able to come up with a mechanical creation of this level? I finally understand why for hundreds of years, no mechanic has produced a drawing of a mechanical creation that can be approved by heaven. What they are doing is really too low level. Oh God, your authority was taken away by a man from the Dragon Kingdom. He created a new race. Holy shit. Look at those mechanical dinosaurs. They can also transform and assemble them. In the forum, densely packed posts surged crazily, and everyone stared at Tiendao's live broadcast with wide eyes. In the north of Hancheng, amid the clanging sound of mechanical assembly, Optimus Prime and Megatron had already completed the fusion first. As soon as they were completed, the next moment, the surging thrusters erupted into terrifying energy fluctuations. In an instant, Optimus Prime, who was more powerful and domineering than before, was already soaring into the sky like a rocket. He rushed towards the blood dragon figure high in the sky. Boom! The terrifying impact force caught Li Zihang off guard, his expression changed, and his pupils shrank slightly when he looked at the blood bar of his mount blood dragon. Such a violent knife actually succeeded in killing him, leaving him with a health bar of about 0,5%. Although it is only 0,5%, this level of damage is something that the previous Transformer simply could not achieve. Blood dragons are extremely resistant to physical and magical damage. Coupled with the fact that he has thick health and high defense, from the time he appeared until now, Li Zihang has never thought about avoiding the attacks of the mechanical creations under Jing Mu. After all, the skill that was enough to destroy the city was no different from tickling in front of his blood dragon. Humph. You do have some skills. Dragon Breath. The terrifying scarlet dragon's breath spurted out from the blood dragon's mouth in an instant, like a bloody sharp blade cutting through the sky. However, in this terrifying blow, Optimus Prime's huge body was pushed forward from behind and supported by the mechanical wings. Like a flexible kite, it nimbly dodged away and reached Li Zihang's side in the blink of an eye. Crane Shadow Strike A sharp sword gleam swung out from Li Jiehyung's giant sword. However, before this move hit Optimus Prime, Xia Bei's whistling sound made Li Nanheng's expression change with horror. When he turned around to look, he only saw hundreds of missiles 873 with blazing tail flames exploding in front of him. Boom boom boom. A violent explosion appeared in the sky, black smoke billowed, and the roar of the blood dragon shocked professionals all over the world. Having arrived at the Feiyun boat above the mining area, Mr. Lee leaned on crutches and stood motionless staring at the live broadcast on his panel. He had been doing this for some time. When he saw that Optimus Prime and Megatron, assembled together, were actually able to cause effective damage to Lee Zihang, the old face could not help but twitch. The wrinkles are trembling at this moment. And when he saw the fully integrated dinosaur King Kong below, his hand holding the cane couldn't help but tremble with excitement. Mr. Lee. Maybe it can happen. That kid may really survive. General Xiong Wei Shan shouted excitedly, while Gu Xingdong frowned. Mr. Li gritted his teeth and jerked his crutches. 
send the order to the entire army in the secret realm of different time and space. Mr. Li stared in the direction of Han Cheng with unprecedented fierce flames in his eyes, and his decisive voice spread throughout Fa Yunzu. Comprehensive attack on the area where Bangzi country is located. Without my order, the attack cannot be stopped. Let that boy Lin Guanyong show the strength that our Dragon Kingdom elites should have if a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom withdraws from the secret realm of different time and space, I will ask him. Yes. North of Hanqing. Zheng Mu stepped on ghost steps, like a ghost wandering in the city, but his eyes were full of fire as he looked at the huge figure that had already risen into the sky amid a roar. Name, Combination King Kong Tianhu Optimus Prime. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Red Brave Level. Durability, 20W20W. Name, Combination King Kong Shura King. Durability, 370W370W. Zheng Mu couldn't help but look up to the sky and laugh. Ha ha ha, Li Jie Hyung. I'm going to kill you today. Chapter, 141. Combination King Kong. This is a trump card that Zheng Mu has been hiding. After so many mechanical creations of the Transformer series were created at once, I learned about this ability from the system. The skills of the combo King Kong have not changed much, except that the attack power has been greatly increased due to the doubling of various attributes. The skills of the combined King Kong are also a collection of all the King Kong skills of the combination. And because all the Transformers under Zheng Mu have the ability to repair themselves, with the combination of each other, this skill has also been superimposed and upgraded. From the original skill, Silicon Based Life, after the battle is over, the damaged parts can be slowly repaired. It directly turned into a more terrifying Silicon Based Core. Although the repair speed is not as fast as Uchiha Musen Super Speed Regeneration, it is enough to deal with the current situation. King Shura is composed of Tyrannosaurus Rex steel cable, as the main body, and several other mechanical dinosaurs as other parts of the body 10 appears and becomes the largest mechanical creation under Zheng Mu's command. The height and body shape of hundreds of meters, under the influence of the driving force behind it, soared into the sky, no less than a steel mountain flying into the sky. When the black smoke in the sky dispersed, he was already in front of Li Zihan. From his thick metal arm, a serrated sword popped out and stabbed the blood dragon instantly. Boom! Sparks flew and crashes roared. The terrifying power made the blood dragon hang unbalanced in the sky under the horrified gaze of professionals from all over the world. Although Li Zihang immediately used his skills to block King Shura's second attack, the next moment Tianhu Optimus Prime flew over again with a roar. The Sword of Judgment struck at the head of the blood dragon under him. Roar! Raging dragon breath spurted out. In the eyes of all professionals at the original scene, Li Jiehyung should have easily defeated Zheng Mu and ended this national war that was destined to become a humiliation for Bangzi country. At this moment, with the emergence of the combination King Kong, it suddenly became a back and forth that shocked the whole world. Hellfire. Thunderstorm clouds. Gravity runaway. When King Shura's combined diamond skills were launched one after another, the huge knight's shadow that had just condensed on Li Zihang's body suddenly became more visible. When the terrifying gravity position fell from the sky, the blood dragon under the seat suddenly let out a shrill scream and plummeted towards the skyscraper below. Ah! Some Bangzi people in the building who had not yet had time to evacuate suffered disaster instantly. In front of the blood dragon's terrifying body, the hundreds of meters tall building seemed to be made of foam and fell straight to one side. Professionals from all over the world who watched the live broadcast took a deep breath. At the same time, in the Qinghua Palace in the capital of Bangzi Kingdom, when the monarch saw the battle in Hanqing that completely exceeded their expectations, he stood up in an instant in shock and anger. Angry roars echoed in the hall. Didn't you say that guy Li Jiehyung can make this Dragon Kingdom piece of shit easier? Is this what you call an easy solution? As a former protector of the country, Letting him go out to deal with a newcomer who has only been awakened for two or three months is already a shame to our country. Open your eyes and see, this is the person you recommended. The royal family of King Bangzi has been completely disgraced by you bunch of losers. 
in the Tian Dao live broadcast screen. In its single state, the gravity runaway skill of Triceratops Iron Block is not even enough to have any impact on the blood dragon in the sky. However, after being combined, the attributes are greatly increased, causing the damage coefficient of the skills to rise linearly. In just an instant, he caught the opponent from the sky. Li Zihan was shocked and angry. He finally realized the difficulty of fighting Zheng Mu. The terrifying mechanical creation in front of him was about the same size as a blood dragon, with a blood volume as high as 370 Although his attack caused considerable damage to the opponent, the damaged parts of the opponent were also recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. Coupled with the Hellfire attack that can ignore certain defensive effects, and Optimus Prime's sort of judgment from time to time. As soon as he landed, he fell into a crazy attack between the two. The Blood Dragon roared angrily. Its IV-72 attribute allowed it to face a flanking attack, and its health bar was also quite strong. However, the intense pain and the frustration of being suppressed by the enemy made the Blood Dragon, who was not low in intelligence, furious. Frantically waving the sharp and strong dragon claws, he launched a counterattack against King Shura and Tianhu Optimus Prime. Kacha Kacha. Boom Boom Boom. In the back and forth attacks, the Blood Dragon hit Optimus Prime with one claw, and the latter's health dropped by more than 10 0, 0. At this time, King Shura also struck the Blood Dragon with a sword, and the latter's health dropped by more than 10 0, 0. Just when the Blood Dragon turned around and spit out a dragon's breath towards King Shura, Optimus Prime, who had just flown out, raised the fusion cannon again. A terrifying energy bombard accurately hit the Blood Dragon's head. Seven or eight dragon teeth the size of a rockery blurted out instantly and were flying in the air. At this scene, Li Zihan, who was so angry that he had been slashing at King Shura with his skills, roared angrily. Mystery Roaring Dragon When the secret skills were activated, King Shura and Tianhu Optimus Prime, who were frantically besieging them, were directly knocked away by a burst of terrifying energy from each other. Buildings with a radius of several hundred meters were instantly raised to the ground in this terrifying energy. The smoke and dust filled the air, as if to once again declare to the world the power of the SS-level profession. However, not to mention the professionals from other countries who were watching the live broadcast, even the senior management of Bangzi country felt blushing and aggrieved. You, Lee Jae-hyung, are a state-level protector of the country. To deal with a newcomer who is 40 levels lower than you, even if he is suppressed, he is even forced to release his secret skills. In Hancheng, Li Zihan took advantage of this opportunity to get rid of the suppression of gravity and fly into the sky again. However, when everyone in Bangzi Kingdom saw this scene, their faces could not be happy at all. In the Qinghua Palace, the king of Bangzi Kingdom looked at the generals on the side with gloomy eyes. General Sun, we can't let this farce go on any longer. Please urgently bring back some manpower from the secret realm of different time and space. Even if you bring back a protector of the country, we must end this war of national humiliation as soon as possible. Upon hearing this, the latter immediately bowed respectfully and walked outside. However, when he rode a special teleportation array and entered the secret realm of different time and space, he was shocked to find that something was wrong with the situation here. The portal through which the Bangzi Kingdom entered the secret realm of different time and space was linked to an area called the Dragon Man Ruins in the secret realm of different time and space. This is the base camp of the Bangzi Kingdom's garrison in the secret realm of different time and space. It was impossible to hear the sound of fierce fighting as soon as he came over, but as soon as he looked up. General Sun was horrified to find that above the scorching sun, three or four figures were fighting fiercely in the sky. Two of them were apparently the protector-level powerhouses of their Bangzi kingdom. What happened? What happened? General Sun grabbed a garrison officer who looked panicked. The latter's eyes widened when he saw the military rank on the other's chest. Report quickly. Crazy. Everyone in the Dragon Kingdom is crazy. General Sun frowned, his eyes filled with cold murderous intent. When this intention to kill appeared, the officer immediately shivered and his head became much clearer. The Dragon Kingdom suddenly launched a large-scale attack on us. Not only our base camp, 
but also the misty forest, the swamp of the disaster, the bone burial mountain and the poison canyon outside us are all attacking. My subordinates heard that the Dragon Kingdom directly dispatched seven national guardian gods this time to attack our area of Bangzi Kingdom. All other personnel were dispatched. Crazy, they are all crazy. General Sun was stunned. He had already figured out the key in his mind instantly. He also saw through the purpose of Longwa at once. It is to contain all their power and prevent them from being able to mobilize their power to defend Blue Star's homeland. Shiba. These despicable bastards. General Sun gritted his teeth and glanced at the thunder and wind roaring above his head, which looked like a scene of gods fighting, but his eyes were piercing. With a roar, the next moment it turned into a ferocious red devil. It spread its wings behind its back and soared into the sky the next moment. Ha ha ha. As expected, old Go Sun, you are here. Let me ask you whether our descendants from the Dragon Kingdom are brave or not. Amidst the wild and heroic laughter, the strong man with muscles all over his body and thunder light lingering on his fists, punched to the flesh and knocked away a protector god of the Bangzi Kingdom. Seeing General Sun arriving, his eyes suddenly lit up. The body roared out in an instant, and the fierce fist wind was accompanied by fierce thunder, and it was swung out towards the opponent's big face. Another professional from the Binglong Kingdom was holding a tiger-headed spear. Seeing that the protector god on the Bangzi Kingdom was preparing to evacuate, he waved the spear in his hand. Along with it, void cages composed of spears appeared in the sky. Several people were instantly enveloped. You guys from Bangzi country should really learn from your wives. How can you just leave the place when the guests are not satisfied yet? The man with the gun laughed wildly, waved the gun in his hand, and came to a person in the blink of an eye. A violent explosion of skills. General Sun's face instantly turned pale. At this moment he was filled with regret. If he had known this, he would have simply thrown the face of General Bangzi into the ground and gone to Hanching in person to support him. Now we are transferring people from the secret realm of different time and space, but instead of transferring people back, we have moved in ourselves. Shiba. Do you really want to break out into a national war with my country, Bangzi, for the sake of a newcomer? Your enemies are not just ours. Chapter, 142. Kill, kill kill. Here's the chance to avenge those brothers who sacrificed their lives. If the result is less than three heads, don't say it's our company when you go out. Take down the misty forest. The props and potions on you are so damn good for me to use. NND, I can't even remember the last time I fought such a rich battle. Assassins don't need to kill the enemy, they just need to mark their tracks rush, rush, kill all these little Shiba. In the secret realm of different time and space, the professional soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom, who had always been defensive as their main style, no matter what they were doing that day, suddenly received a battle order directly from above. Not only that, the combat materials and props distributed by the above were so rich that they were all drooling. There are three bottles of purple rare level potions per person, two bottles of recovery potions, one bottle of status buff potions, as well as at least blue elite level detoxification potions, abnormality removal potions and other props. There are many purple rare level talismans. I'm sorry, I'm going to have a hard time. The equipment I'm wearing has just been replaced by a set of purple rare level standard equipment, and now I'm so arrogant even in terms of supplies. In the misty forest, Shao Shiba begged for mercy and Smekta before he died, and the knowledge gained by the elites of the Dragon Kingdom cleared the blood bar neatly. As the Bangzi Kingdom outpost in the forest was uprooted, the elites of the Dragon Kingdom present seemed to be in a dream. Their team had less than 20 people, but they easily killed a Bangzi country sentry stationed with 50 people. Hearing his teammates murmuring to themselves, the captain on the side glanced at his subordinates with the same expression, thought for a while and cleared his throat. Finally, he told some of the information he knew from above. Shangfeng didn't ask us to hide this matter. Seeing that you are all curious about why 520 suddenly made such a big move, you haven't paid attention to the information about your equipment and potion props. Originally, it was either the pharmacist so-and-so, or the blacksmith so-and-so now. Pharmacist no. Talisman master no. And what else? 
Blacksmith no. Hearing the obviously complicated emotions in the captain's tone, everyone looked at him quietly. Take a deep breath. The captain spoke again. We are all in a secret realm of different time and space, and we don't know anything about the situation of Blue Star. The current situation is that a super genius from our Dragon Kingdom has launched a national war against the Bangzi Kingdom by himself, and wants to capture one of the opponent's cities. Seeing all the teammates' eyes widening, they were about to exclaim, but the captain raised his hand and interrupted them. This is the situation. Let's not talk about whether this behavior is impulsive or anything else. What I want to say is that the above means that the super genius may really be able to capture that city by himself. Hiss. Everyone gasped in horror. Although he is said to be a super genius, in everyone's opinion, super geniuses are at best equated with SS level professionals. However, can an SS level professional attack a city in another country alone when he is still a newcomer? The captain waited for everyone to digest it for a while before speaking again. Another thing is that the new equipment you are wearing now, as well as the medicines and props on your body, are all related to this super genius. If he is alive, brothers who fight against these damn gringos will always be rich. If he is gone, you should make up your own mind. Suddenly, everyone's breathing became rapid. One of the team members suddenly asked as if he understood something. So now we are going to hold back the Bangsy Kingdom's power in the secret realm of different time and space and prevent them from returning to support. The captain nodded. At this time, everyone's eyes became hot, and they realized in a daze that although the national war recognized by Tian Dao was even between the super genius and the Bangsy Kingdom. But these seniors also have other ways to participate. Let's do it. Take this opportunity to fight against those little Shiba from the Bangsy Kingdom. These grandsons and those little Japanese dwarfs are causing trouble for us. Ha ha ha, the national war is really exciting. I really want to meet that super genius. What level of professional is he? Kill, 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 my sword is already thirsty. Blue Star, Green Wa Palace of Bangzi Country. In the live broadcast, Li Zihang was fighting with Optimus Prime and the others with unprecedented intensity. Attacks came one after another. Amidst the sound of metal collisions, parts of Optimus Prime and King Shura were flying everywhere. However, the situation of Li Zihang and Shui Long was equally embarrassing. The Blood Dragon Knight's restorative skill Dragon Chi Awakening has been used by him. However, King Shura faced the fire of hell, thunder, gravity rampage, sonic attacks and many other means, as well as Optimus Prime, who would hit his Blood Dragon from behind from time to time. Li Jiehyung was furious. Ah! Shiba! Are you willing to confront me head on? Are all of you Dragon Kingdom professionals such insidious villains who cannot stand up to the stage? The angry roar was mixed with thick hatred. It seems that this old guy is still quite unconvinced by the battle in which he lost an arm and his strength was greatly reduced. However, this roar made the King of Bangzi Kingdom turn as black as the bottom of a pot. Does this trash have no sense of national honor and disgrace? The support from the secret realm of different time and space, why haven't you come back yet? The return of the protector of the country is enough to solve everything right now. Hearing the monarch's loud questioning, all the senior officials looked at each other. But at this moment, a man in military uniform walked in quickly. Your Majesty, the Dragon Kingdom's army in the secret realm of different time and space has launched a full-scale attack on all the occupied areas of our Bangzi Kingdom. All our forces are restrained their general son is also restrained and cannot be transferred back. Troops. As soon as these words came out, everyone present felt their heads suddenly become dizzy. The expressions of some senior officials changed drastically. With such a sudden attack on us ACDC, doesn't the Dragon Kingdom not care about the casualties? Isn't it afraid that the Sakura Kingdom will launch an attack on their station at this time? It's not good. This damn Longwa man can actually do this for Zheng Mu. Although Zheng Mu's value is indeed not low, but if they do this, they will lose Song. It's bigger. After hearing the confused discussions from one official to another, the officer lowered his head slightly and spoke nervously in a low voice. Because the Dragon Kingdom's attack was too sudden, we suffered heavy losses. 
The battle situation in the Mist Forest area and the Demonic Poison Canyon area is extremely unoptimistic. Hearing this, the King of Bangzi Kingdom, who was already in an extremely bad mood, became even more ugly. What do you mean? If I remember correctly, we have a fixed guardian deity in every occupied area, stationed there for a long time, right? Have they already been defeated? Hearing the angry roar from above, the officer turned pale and shook his head hurriedly. Although the protector god of the dragon kingdom was still able to suppress our protector god, several adults were able to persist it was our garrisoned army that lost to the professionals of the dragon kingdom in terms of combat effectiveness. Everyone's eyes widened, and everyone looked in disbelief. How long had it been since the dragon kingdom suddenly attacked? Even if they admit in their hearts that the professional soldiers of the dragon kingdom are all lunatics who are not afraid of death when they fight. But so soon, both areas will fall. It all sounds incredible and unimaginable. But soon, the report from the secret realm of different time and space came back. As the image crystals were activated one by one, the battle scenes in various major regions appeared in the eyes of the senior officials of Bangzi country. In the picture, the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom seemed to have been given a shot of blood, and they were fearless and fearless. They were like madmen, chasing the professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom, killing like crazy. The situation of one person chasing three or four professionals and slashing them can be seen everywhere in the images at this moment. What made the high-level officials of the Bangzi Kingdom gasp the most was that the equipment and various supplies on these people were obviously not what they thought the professional soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom should look like. What's going on? Didn't Dragon Kingdom's previous supplies have been exhausted? How come they can still be so wasteful now? Shiba, it's dangerous. Your Majesty, if this continues, we may no longer be called Han City, and even our secret realm of time and space may be snatched away by the Dragon Kingdom. Your Majesty, we must fight back as soon as possible, we. Deploying troops from various cities in Blue Star. No, all our elites are in the secret realm of different time and space. There are not enough professionals in each city to fight for Hanching. How can we support the secret realm of different time and space? Looking at the chaos below, a hint of vague worry and fear finally appeared on the face of the King of Bangzi Kingdom. The situation is somewhat beyond their control. The addition of the Dragon Kingdom's army turned the battle, which was originally confined to Hanching, into a war targeting the entire country. If they don't do it right, their country will be in danger of being destroyed. At this moment, an unprecedented sense of crisis swept through the entire top management of Bangzi Country. A senior official from Bangzi Kingdom suddenly stood up. Your Majesty, why don't we ask for help from our ally Sakura country? They now have a force in our Qingin city. As long as they take the teleportation array, they can come to Hancheng quickly. In addition, Sakura country is in urgent need of various rare materials. We can give them more share of the Xingyue metal mine and let them support us with their troops in the secret realm of different time and space. As long as we can contain part of the Dragon Kingdom's forces, the war situation will become favorable to us again. When the request for help from the Bangzi Kingdom's military was sent to Sakurai Shuman, all the Sakura Kingdom generals present were confused. Is Bangzi country actually so cool? He was beaten to the point of almost destroying the country by Zhengmu alone. At the same time, Zhengmu still didn't know about the high-level affairs of Bangzi Kingdom. With the help of the Red Queen, he once again found the location of the treasury of the Lord of Hanching City. Looking at the familiar heavy door in front of him, Zheng Mu showed a crazy smile on his face. Trading without capital is really becoming more and more addictive the more you do it. Chapter, 143 When Zheng Mu appeared at the entrance of Hanching Mansion's treasury, the faces of everyone in Bangzi Kingdom who saw this scene from the Tian Dao live broadcast suddenly changed wildly. At this moment, Tens of thousands of Bangzi people in the city have not yet been successfully evacuated. Chased by a large number of T-100s, T-800s and liquors, they fled in all directions. The rebels were quickly torn into pieces by these mechanical creations. The scene was extremely bloody, and it was unknown how many professionals from Blue Star were vomited. However, this situation was still under control before Zheng Mu entered Hanching. 
Although the losses of professionals in Bangzi country were also very serious, they were able to barely control all T-100 in the northern area of the city. Until Zheng Mu walked out of the exchange's treasure house and brought out more than a thousand T-100. The professionals from the Bangzi kingdom who were fighting on their own in the city ushered in a massacre. However, at this moment Zheng Mu appeared in front of one of their large treasure houses again. Shiba. Stop it quickly. Order all professionals in Hanqing to go to Hanqing's treasury immediately. Immediately. The king of Bangzi kingdom has obviously lost his composure. However, he was not the only one who lost his temper. The person negotiating with Sakura country came back, and the news he brought back was not good either. Add another 40%. The Sakura kingdom royal family doesn't care whether they are allies or not. They have so many outstanding masters of life-related professions in the country, but they are extremely short of high-end materials. What kind of friendship as allies, what kind of face as the king of a stick country? No one in the top management of Sakura Kingdom takes Bangzi Kingdom seriously, especially because Zheng Mu alone can bring Bangzi Kingdom to the brink of collapse. Counting the 20% share promised to them before, add 40%. Sakura country opened its mouth to take 60% of the purple rare grade metal vein. This request made the king of Bangzi country almost so angry that he gritted his teeth, but he had to wave his hand with difficulty after struggling for a long time. It was agreed. This battle continues until now, and it is about to fight from day to night. Lee Jae-hyung is indeed an SS level professional, and the battery life of this profession is also quite powerful. He was beaten by King Shura and others several times until his health bar dropped below 50%, but with the help of recovery skills, his health bar was quickly brought back. As for King Shura and Tianhu Optimus Prime, this is not the case. Rumbling explosions and the roar of the blood dragon raged throughout the city. When the sky gradually darkened, the northern part of Hanqing was finally completely reduced to ruins, even worse than the situation in the southern part of the city. When Sakurai Shuman received instructions from the top management of his country, he came here by teleportation array. They were all shocked and speechless by the miserable sight in front of them. Kwai watching the live broadcast is one thing. Only when you come here in person can you find out that the actual situation is far worse than what is shown in the live broadcast. An officer from the Sakura Kingdom looked at the mess around him. He couldn't even see a perfect building on the scene. The ground has also been completely destroyed, exposing the emperor's pipes and wiring. There are various smectas around, and the smectas' cries for help seem to never stop. Even though many priests have arrived from other cities in Bangzi Kingdom to support them, there are still a large number of wounded people who need emergency treatment. General Sakurai. Please take your people to the direction of our city lord's palace immediately. The mechanic Zheng Mu himself is right there. Jiang Mingxiong ran over in disgrace. Anyone who had less desire for power had been frightened by everything here and ran away early. But he really didn't want to lose the power of the city lord. As long as he survives this wave and lets everyone in Bangzi kingdom see that he, the city lord, is not afraid of danger, they can try to recover some losses for themselves. Sakurai Shuman nodded, took a deep breath of the air with the rich smell of blood, and rushed towards the city lord's palace with twenty zero zero elite professionals from the Bangzi kingdom. Along the way, Li Jae-hyung was still fighting against the two behemoths. From time to time, a skill that hits the air falls on the city. The professionals from Sakura country were so frightened that their faces turned pale. If an attack of this level was thrown at them, they would definitely tell the truth on the spot. Charge over. Shiba, if we can't take this guy down again, all of us will be doomed. Charge over. Our descendants, our king is watching us, warriors of Bangzi kingdom, kill. When I first came to this generation, I heard the hysterical shouts from the Bangzi kingdom. The hysterical roar just reached my ears, followed by bursts of shrill sounds. In the city lord's mansion with blue bricks and red tiles, there is the main entrance of the treasury. At this moment, the bright red blood has dyed the carefully tended grass on the ground red. Corpses in miserable death shapes are swaying to the ground, and the dark flames are burning everything. The dim city lord's mansion was filled with an atmosphere of unprecedented terror. Just standing on the outside, 
it feels like the gate is like a huge mouth of an abyss ready to swallow everything. When these elite professionals with standard equipment with obvious Sakura style entered the city lord's mansion, they quickly saw the initiator of all this. It was the Uchiha Muzen who instantly wiped out hundreds of Bangzi country professionals at the door of the church. It looks like some different characters have arrived. Uchiha Muzen looked at Sakurai Shuman, who was dressed as a samurai, and slowly raised the Budo Tamashii in his hand. As a red warrior level growth weapon, it was baptized with the blood of nearly 10,000 Bangzi country professionals for one day, making it capable of giving Uchiha unparalleled attacks and skill increases, which has reached a terrifying level. Sakurai Sakiman and others were swept by Uchiha Muzen's cold eyes, and for an instant they felt like they were sweating. Crack. Almost as a conditioned reflex, all the professionals from Sakura Kingdom drew their weapons one after another. Behind, the wizard-looking professionals also shook their staffs. Colorful buffs were superimposed on Sakurai Shuman and others in front. In the dim city lord's mansion at this moment, it looked so dazzling. However, taking care of the hundreds of corpses on the ground could not give these people the slightest sense of security. General, General, why do I feel like this guy is more terrifying than that guy Lee Jae Hyung? Hearing the nervous words of the adjutant beside him, Sakurai Shuman did not speak. As an S-class professional ghost warrior, he has already used the skill Fatal Lock, and began to look for flaws in Uchiha Muzen's body. However, looking at Uchiha Muzen, who in his own eyes showed weaknesses everywhere. Beads of sweat instantly dripped from Sakurai Shuman's face. The adjutant's feeling was correct. At this moment, Uchiha was innocent. Although the blood bar on his head kept pulling back and forth without knowing the situation, just standing at the door made them unable to find any way to break the situation. Nishapachi. We spent 60% of the mineral vein, and Sakura country sent us this waste. The enemy is right in front of us, why don't they attack yet? Shiba. These shameless Japanese dwarves. In the Qinghua Palace, the king of the Bangzi kingdom smashed things crazily. This kind of thing, being played in front of the whole world, made him feel that he had lost the face of several generations of the royal family. Zero please give me flowers. In major forums, professionals from various countries are also talking about it. People who have not faced Uchiha Mukai directly without being present at the scene can basically feel the same as Sakurai Shimon and the others at this moment. And just when Sakurai Shimon was gritting his teeth, he was preparing to launch a regular attack like those professionals from the country who had turned into corpses on the ground. Uchiha Muzen kept pulling the blood bar of the big saw on his head, and suddenly stopped moving. As Sakurai Shuman and others watched nervously, a figure slowly walked out from the treasure house door behind him. Xiao Baga. Zheng Mu looked at how these people were dressed, and a cold light flashed in his eyes. You Japanese slaves are really not afraid of death. How dare you come into troubled waters? Hearing the deep contempt in Zheng Mu's tone, Sakurai Shuman and others felt their hearts tightening. When they saw that Zheng Mu had reached level 35, everyone's expressions tightened. One day no, strictly speaking, it is only a dozen hours. Zheng Mu's level has soared from 426 at the beginning to LV35 today. Everyone seemed to have imagined how many Bangzi people had died in his hands during this period. Entrusted by others in a matter of loyalty, Your Excellency Zheng Mu, now our Sakura Kingdom has launched an attack on the Dragon Kingdom in the secret realm of different time and space. The Dragon Kingdom will soon be unable to completely contain the main force of the Bangzi Kingdom. In other words, your time is running out. Sakurai Shuman's words made Zheng Mu raise his eyebrows slightly. No wonder no other protector gods and senior generals from Bangzi Kingdom have come to support him. It turned out that he was restrained by the main force of the Dragon Kingdom. However, when he heard Sakurai Shuman said that the Sakura Kingdom had taken action against the Dragon Kingdom, Zheng Mu's face instantly turned pale. Looking directly at each other, it seems that he is looking directly at all the professionals in Sakura country at this moment. You choose the road yourself. In this case, when my mechanical army appears on your land, put away your useless begging for mercy and fear I will not let go of any of you Japanese people. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a roar. It was as if a dam behind him was instantly washed away. 
the surging T-100, liquor, and T-800, either stacked or crowded, suddenly rushed out from behind Jingmu. Nanny. The terrifying mechanical frenzy arrived in front of Sakurai Shuman and the others in an instant. Several T-100's hands turned into sharp blades, their eyes were cold, and they cooperated rigorously. In a flash of lightning, they launched an attack on the fatal part of the body of the leader Sakurai Shu guard. Ah! Bagia Road. Attack! Yabailu, stop them, stop them! Darth Kaitai. Amidst the shrill howls and the continuous sounds of fighting, Zheng Mu walked leisurely towards the direction of the Japanese reinforcements. Wherever he passed, even strong men like Sakurai Shuman could only retreat in horror. Many. Too much. Looking at the endless T-100 surging outside, the professionals from various countries watching the Tian Dao live broadcast fell into dead silence. One thousand. Two thousand. No, it seems like more than five thousand. Or tens of thousands. In the Qinghua Palace, everyone seemed to be frozen, staring blankly at the live broadcast of their own panels. The terrifying mechanical frenzy centered on the city lord's palace quickly spread across the entire city of Han. Zheng Mu stood casually on the spot, but seemed to have become the center of the world. Chapter, 144 This boy, this boy. Gu Xingdong was so excited that he couldn't express clearly at this moment. Just now when he knew that Bangzi country was asking for help from Sakura country, he was sweating for Zheng Mu, but Zheng Mu slapped him in the face too fast. Sakurai Shuman and his men didn't even have time to take action. This side has been swallowed up by the mechanical creations that are constantly rushing out of Hunching's treasury. Obviously, even when faced with mechanical creations of this level, the support from Sakura country still has an advantage in terms of numbers, but looking at the T-100s that were like liquids and were not harmed at all when they were struck by knives and axes. The professionals all over the world who watched this scene all had shocked expressions on their faces. Fear. Horror. Led by T-100, a mechanical creation that can be immune to most physical damage, bravely rushed into the team of professionals in Sakura country without fear of death. Turning a blind eye to the surrounding attacks, his body constantly transformed into various weapons, slashing wildly among the crowd. Almost in the blink of an eye, Sakurai Shuman and the others had suffered heavy losses. This kid is really terrifying. Even if an ordinary mechanic is recognized by heaven and creates a mechanical 0-50 creation, the mechanical creation he can drive cannot be driven at all due to a limitation called computing power. To be able to become an army by one person like this. Mr. Lee murmured, and most of the sadness and anxiety in his eyes seemed to have been wiped away. Looking at the live broadcast, Zheng Mu, who was clearly focused on cleaning up the Bangzi people in the city, his eyes flickered for a while, and then he suddenly gritted his teeth. Tell that boy Jiang wishing that our Dragon Kingdom will not survive. Isn't Sakura Country also going to join in the fun? Then let's fight. Everyone was shocked. However, Gu Xingdong, a general of the Dragon Kingdom, nodded immediately. Staring at the Tian Dao live broadcast, Li Zihan, who had been completely restrained by the two mechanical creations under Xing Mu, had solemn eyes. We didn't expect that the battle had reached this point, and the Bangzi Kingdom definitely didn't expect it. They definitely paid a lot of money to get the Sakura Kingdom to take action. And all of this was done to bring back some power from the secret realm of different time and space. They want to free up their hands to resolve the Battle of Hanching first, but we cannot let them do so. What we are fighting now is who can persevere better. In the secret realm of different time and space. One moment, Lin Guanyong and other generals were under great pressure due to the intervention of the Sakura Kingdom, and they were still studying ways to break the situation. The next moment, Jiang Guixing personally came to the secret realm of different time and space with a large amount of supplies. After receiving the decision from Mr. Li and the others, Lin Jiong and others suddenly looked at each other with astonishment. Bang! Now that we've decided to go to the peak, we don't have any worries at all. Damn it, whether this wave will succeed or not, we'll just go for it. Order the entire army to hold on. Fight to the death. This battle is a battle for the destiny of our country, the Dragon Kingdom. 
Even if we fight to the death with only one soldier left, we must still attack the main force of the Bangzi Kingdom. In the huge secret realm of different time and space, terrifying monsters are rampant. However, now it has been completely transformed into a Shura field between the three kingdoms of Dragon Kingdom, Bangzi Kingdom and Sakura Kingdom. On the mountains, in the forests, beside the rivers. In all areas occupied by the Bangzi Kingdom, you can see the crazy-looking elite professionals of the Dragon Kingdom everywhere. Their already strong combat effectiveness has been enhanced by absolute orders and huge material support from above. Everyone has put life and death aside. Kill. Keep killing. Kill all the professionals from Bangzi country. Although support from the Sakura Kingdom has arrived, the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom are clinging to the professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom who want to stop. The potion buff, talisman buff, equipment buff and skill buff on the body have all been activated. Even though they were besieged by three or five professionals from Bangzi country and Sakura country of the same level, they all moved forward without hesitation. Your Majesty General, something is wrong, very wrong. On the side of Sakura country, the samurai officer had just been pulled back from the death line by the priest, and the samurai officer ran back in disgrace. These people from the dragon country are crazy. In the past, when they met people from the Bangzi country and our Sakura country, they prioritized our Sakura country. But now when they see the professionals from the Bangzi country, they are like seeing the enemy who killed their father. Generally. Even though we have fully supported the fighting in Bangzi country's occupied areas, they are still advancing. However, there was no need for him to come to report, Sakura Kingdom's General Yamato Sai had already seen the whole battlefield in his eyes at this moment. He has seen more than once that when faced with the attacks from behind by the professionals from the Sakura Kingdom, the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom slashed out the health bar clearing knife of the professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom in front of them without any hesitation. Although on the one hand, they are very confident in the various protections they have, on the other hand, is it not that the Bangzi Kingdom has been completely targeted by the Dragon Kingdom? How can it be repaired? What kind of crazy nation have those little Shiba gang provoked? There was a deep solemn look on Santose's expression. Now it is obvious that Longua has completely given up. They don't want casualty numbers, they just want the Bangzi Kingdom's garrison in the secret realm of different time and space, and they can't evacuate even a single soldier. It seems that even if they die, they will drag these little Shiba to hell together. Kill, kill, kill. Push forward. Push forward. Don't let these little Shiba escape. Press them all on me. On a mountain ridge, on a tragic battlefield, the explosion and roar of skills were overwhelming, and an officer of the Dragon Kingdom had already lost one arm. At this moment, while receiving emergency treatment from the priest, he had no intention of stopping. The purple rare level armor and weapons on his body seemed to be much dimmed even after the high intensity battle. On the mountains, the corpses of Dragon Kingdom professionals can be seen everywhere. However, next to each Dragon Kingdom professional, there are at least seven or eight enemy corpses, lying here staggering. The officer's fierce eyes, as if he wanted to eat human flesh, glanced at the officers from the Bangzi kingdom, and the latter's pupils suddenly shrank. The battle in the secret realm of different time and space was very fierce, and all countries sent elite troops to station. But they have never experienced such a brutal battle. Facing this Dragon Kingdom officer who had lost an arm, the Bangzi Kingdom turned around and ran away in panic under the angry gaze of the Sakura Kingdom reinforcements. Bagya Road. These trash. Come back, where can you run to? How can it be repaired? We are just supporting. How can you let us deal with these madmen alone? Damn Shao Shiba, get back here. Attack. Ordinary professionals from various countries have no idea about the tragic scene in the secret realm of different time and space. As the center of this storm, Jing Mu frowned. The intervention of Sakura country made Jing Mu aware of the critical nature of the situation. Without even looking at the Sakura country reinforcements that were completely overwhelmed, Jing Mu stepped on his feet, spread out his ghost step, and flew directly into the air. Taking Uchiha Musen and Miss Mira Jane with them, they headed in one direction without hesitation. Your Majesty, this is bad. That guy went to the Qinghua Hanching sub-treasury this time. 
That guy is targeting the Qinghua sub-treasury. In the Greenhua Palace, an official's expression changed drastically when he saw the direction Zheng Mu was heading. Hearing this, the high-ranking officials of the Bangzi Kingdom who were present changed their expressions. The king of Bangzi Kingdom, who was sitting on the throne, frowned. Does the Hanqing branch have a lot of material storage? He looked at a chamberlain chief responsible for the management of royal property, who looked pale. When he heard the question, he fell to his knees on the ground. The number of items stored in the Qinghua Hanqing branch is only about one-tenth of that in the Hanqing treasury, but they are all items that are at least purple rare level, including materials, potions, equipment, and various props. The largest number of materials. Hearing this, the face of the king of Bangzi kingdom turned a little ugly. In one day, Zheng Mu went from seeing hundreds of mechanical creations entering the city to now half a day later. It directly grew to tens of thousands. If he continues to get more materials, the result will be. However, when the king of Bangzi kingdom looked at the chief chamberlain who was still lying there tremblingly, seemingly wanting to say something but not daring to say anything, he frowned, and an ominous premonition came over him. Besides these, what else is there? The chief chamberlain lowered his head for zero three seconds, and after a long while, he tremblingly said something that made everyone in the audience stunned. Your Majesty, where is your Qing Huang number kept? Bangzi National Army, a group of high-ranking officials. Qing Huang. The most powerful flying warship in the Bangzi kingdom was built by the royal family, which spent a lot of resources and manpower, and was jointly built by hundreds of skilled blacksmiths, formation masters and other life-related professions. Heavenly rating, red brave level. But actually test the above performance and the damage of the formation cannon. The official evaluation of Bangzi country is that it is the best among the red warriors. It is not an exaggeration to say that it is half a step into the orange legend. Why is the Qinghuang there? The king of Bangzi kingdom was in disbelief and lifted up the chief chamberlain on the ground. The latter was trembling and dared not look at his face. It's your majesty's order. Your majesty said that after taking over the mining area, you want to take the Qinghuang to demonstrate. The king of Bangzi kingdom. He stared blankly at the high-ranking officials in the audience and murmured numbly. The Qinghuang, shouldn't it be transformed into a mechanical creation by that guy? Chapter, 145 Fuck! In the north of Hancheng, even though it was already late at night, in the sky above the north of the city, King Shura and Tianhu Optimus Prime were still tirelessly and crazily besieging Li Zihang. During this period, many generals from the Bangzi Kingdom came to support. However, when faced with the Transformers in their combined state, at levels 50 or 60, they were simply not enough to watch. With one move of hell fire, King Shura burned them until they cried for their fathers and mothers, and their health bars were cleared in mid-air in an instant. The rumbling battle sound above his head did not affect Cheng Mu at all, but just as he did before, he used Turn Gold Hand, to open the protective gate of King Wuhan City Branch. In the antique treasure house, the information about a spaceship that looked like a toy model was grandly placed at the door. As soon as Zheng Mu walked in, it popped up. Zheng Mu, who didn't take it seriously at first, started swearing on the spot. His eyes widened in surprise. Qing Huang, a red brave level special prop jointly manufactured by 317 formation masters and 498 blacksmiths from the Bangzi Kingdom camp. It can fly quickly in high-altitude areas and is a comprehensive aerial military palace with built-in various life-related facilities. It has Tai Chi Tianyun protective formation and Huang Ling Xian Jin cannon. Damn it, this grandma's car isn't the car of the king of Bangzi country, is it? Zheng Mu waved his hand and asked the T-800s around him to sort out the supplies in the treasure house, while he looked at the small model in front of him with joy. It is shaped like an ancient building ship, with a large number of displays and decorations on it. At the moment, this is just a prop. Once released, the scale will definitely be large. After all, it is the result of the joint efforts of so many people. TSK, 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 the king of Bangzi country really knows how to enjoy it, but his ambition is not small. 02, uh, King Huangho. Zheng Mu looked at the King Huangho's message and curled his lips with disdain. 
But then, as if he thought of something, the smile on his face suddenly turned weird. What a surprise! Immediately, Jing Mu notified the Red Queen, who was still in the Xinyue snow region, and asked her to control the base vehicle and enter Hanqing. Jing Mu had previously complained about the slow speed of the base car. Now looking at the Qing Huang in front of him, he suddenly had a new idea. Perhaps it is because of the different systems and forms of the country. Although Zheng Mu has also seen the Feiyun boat specially used by Mr. Li, its scale is much smaller than the Qinghuang boat. It's completely the difference between a small fishing boat and a battleship. And coincidentally, after I upgraded to level 35, I also unlocked several new skills. Brain Development LV1, Passive Skill, activates and develops the mechanic's own brain, and increases the amount of computing power expansion that can be obtained after each upgrade. The current upgrade computing power increase amount is, 40. Cooling time, none. Computing power occupied, 30 computing enhancement reduced by 50%. Permissions opening level 1, the permissions to use mechanical creations can be selectively opened, so that other professionals have the authority to command and use the mechanical creations. Current skill level limit, mechanical creations below green excellent level. Cooling time, none. Computing power occupied, 30 computing enhancement reduced by 50%. Mechanical blessing LV1, the mechanic temporarily merges with the mechanical creation, controls and displays some skills of the mechanical creation, and obtains the attribute blessing of the mechanical creation, duration, 1 hour. Cooling time, 24 hours. Computing power occupied, 50 computing enhancement reduced by 50%. Machine factory max, select a large mechanical creation to be modified so that it can produce mechanical creations with drawing authority. The number of factory cores that can be opened currently, 1. No cooldown time. Computing power occupied, 100 computing enhancement reduced by 50%. The first three skills are very simple. A skill that increases the amount of computing power each upgrade. A skill that allows others to use mechanical creations made by oneself. As well as the ability to equip mechanical creations with new weapons. Applicable, but not the focus today. The focus is on Zheng Mu's last skill. Mechanical Factory Max, as the name suggests, Zheng Mu currently manufactures blue elite level mechanical creations such as the T-800. He still needs to manufacture the corresponding mechanical creations one by one and then assemble them. This caused a lot of waste of time and made Jing Mu miserable. However, with the emergence of this skill, Jing Mu can choose a mechanical creation such as a base vehicle and turn it into his own small machinery factory. As long as there are enough materials, he doesn't have to make large scale mechanical creations one by one. Outside World the upper management of Bangzi Kingdom finally issued a mandatory order, requiring every guild in other cities to send at least half of their professionals to support Hancheng. The terrifying expansion speed of Zheng Mu's mechanical creation made them feel that something was wrong. One side of the live broadcast screen. Regarding the strength of both sides in the national war, it was clearly arranged by heaven. Bangzigyo Hancheng Professionals, 18, 16, 29 W People Support Permission. Mechanic Zheng Mu, one person no support permission. The war has been going on for a day, and the number of manpower on Bangzi country's side has not decreased but increased because of the support factor. However, professionals all over the world can already feel that the pressure in Bangzi country is really not small at the moment. They were unable to mobilize elite soldiers from the secret realm of different time and space. The final result was that they could only let these members of the Bangzi guild, who were like wandering soldiers, join the battle. However, in the absence of overall command, each other is wary of each other. The number of 18000 can only keep jumping under the crazy slaughter of mechanical creations such as T-100. Almost every minute, hundreds of people died in the ruins of Kanching. Just as the whole world was nervously watching the direction of this absurd national war, suddenly, in the live broadcast, a dark, slow-moving building was slowly approaching outside the south of Hanqing. If the live broadcast screen could not be enlarged, almost no one would be able to connect it with the vehicle. Here it comes. The boss's big killer weapon is here. 
Ha ha ha. With the addition of base vehicles, those professionals from Bangzi country will become more or less cannon fodder. NND, when this thing was in the bone swallowing desert, it scared the shit out of me. When this year's first class university freshmen from the Dragon Kingdom saw the rumbling behemoth, they all stood up excitedly. Some people exclaimed excitedly, some raised their arms and waved, and some looked frightened. The senior executives and professionals from other countries also widened their eyes. They had already thought of something from the direction of the base vehicle. This big guy is obviously the mechanical creation that destroyed the haunching defense formation before. However, the other party has no intention of continuing to attack at this moment. Under the gaze of pairs of eyes, they arrived at the treasure house where Jin Mu was. At the same time, in the treasure house, Jin Mu has completed sorting out the various materials inside. The whole person was so happy that he couldn't find the north. As expected, he is indeed the most powerful person in Bangzi Kingdom. The treasure trove of Bangzi King's royal family is simply too fat. Just the purple rare level materials are enough to fill three or four storage backpacks. You must know that the internal storage space of a standard storage backpack is as large as a football field. Although most of the materials are used to forge equipment and make potions, the remaining materials that can be used to transform mechanical components are enough for Zheng Mu to arm 7 or 8,000 T100s again. As for T-800 and liquors, these are just blue elite-level mechanical creations, and there are tens of thousands of them. In addition, in addition to these, he also converted the few red brave-level materials in the treasure house into mechanical components. The red hero-level material, the great stomach of the sea demonic whale, was transformed by him into a red hero-level mechanical component dimensional expansion warehouse core. The red brave-level material storm octopus crystal core, was transformed by him into a red brave level mechanical component storm generation drive core. In addition, there is another red brave level material produced by Ocean Monsters Calamity Tortoise Scales, which he transformed into a red brave level mechanical component Xuan Wu Shield Defense Core. After receiving the notification of the Red Queen's arrival, Zheng Mu immediately walked out with these things. The battle between Li Zaiheng and King Shura was immediately thrown aside by professionals all over the world. Hundreds of millions of eyes looked at Zheng Mu walking out of the treasure house without blinking. Among them, when the king of Bangzi Kingdom saw what Zheng Mu was holding in his hands, he immediately sat down on the throne and looked at his own panel with a look of despair and numbness. Machinists can transform various materials into mechanical components with corresponding functions. This is no secret in the world. However, these mechanical components cannot be assembled without corresponding drawings. 870 How long has it been? It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible for this bastard to transform my Qinghuang into a mechanical creation. It's absolutely impossible. The king of Bangzi kingdom said through gritted teeth. However, his voice, which had become somewhat hoarse due to a day of roaring, made him look particularly embarrassed and powerless at this moment. In the Xingyue Snow Land, Mr. Li and the others also sat upright and looked nervously at Zheng Mu in the picture. Because the base vehicle was too large, Zheng Mu had to complete the transformation under the watchful eyes of the world. Just throw it away. As the small spaceship model of the Qinghuang flew into the sky, with a violent energy tide, it suddenly transformed into a luxurious Feiyan ancient ship that was over a kilometer long. The King of Bangzi Kingdom almost broke his own teeth. A storm suddenly appeared around the Qinghuang, shrouding it. The base vehicle below also suddenly flew into the air, flying into the sky together with the red brave level mechanical creations behind Zheng Mu in the storm circle with a radius of several thousand meters. The violent hurricane made Zheng Mu's windbreaker rustle. However, at this moment, a jet black energy ball condensed in his hand, turned into a stream of light, and shot into the core area of the storm. It is the only factory core condensed by his skill mechanical factory. For the transformation of the Qinghuang, Zheng Mu still used the drawings from the previous production of the base vehicle. It does not match the established drawings, and the assembly verification is being reset. Discover the core of the factory and change the transformation plan. Assembling according to unknown path, feasibility is 83%, please note the risk of damage. The rumbling storm made Li Zaiheng's expression change, and the fighting stopped briefly. 
all the mechanical creations in Hancheng and the professionals from Bangzi Kingdom suddenly stopped moving and looked up at the center of the dark storm above their heads. Something seemed to be gestating in the crackling sound of thunder. Zheng Mu stands with his hands behind his back. This will be the first time for professionals around the world to witness the assembly of mechanical creations, and it is an absolutely terrifying existence. The main body of Qing Huang, loading completed. Transformers base main body, loading completed. Dimensional expansion warehouse core. Chapter, 146. The main body of Qing Huang, loading completed. Transformers base main body, loading completed. Dimensional expansion warehouse core, loading completed. Storm generation drive core, loading completed. Xuanwu shield defense core, loaded. Factory core is locked, corresponding transformation is in progress. In the sky, crackling lightning, accompanied by a dark tornado, unfolded in the center of the ruined Hanshan, looking like the end of the world. Under the pursuit of T-100, some panic-stricken citizens of Bangzi country, seeing this scene of world destruction, instinctively weakened their legs without them even expecting it. He knelt directly in front of the storm. The humble body was crawling there amid the strong storm and flying sand and rocks, not daring to move. Sakurai Shuman was covered in blood, and the 20 elite professionals from the Sakura Kingdom under his command were also losing most of their lives in the battle with the mechanical creations under Zheng Mu. Everyone has either a stab wound or a disability. All the MP recovery potions in the team had already been handed over to priests. Amaterasu, have you really given up on us? How can it be repaired? Why should this kind of monster appear in this world? This kind of monster. Sakurai Shuman's hand holding the knife was trembling. I couldn't help but think of my own life. Born into a poor man, he was lucky enough to awaken the S-class professional ghost warrior. From then on, he had the opportunity to step into the upper-class society, and he went crazy killing monsters in the wild to improve his level. Under the guidance of his master, he was beaten and bruised time and time again during sword training. Then he entered the secret realm of different time and space, and went through life and death for the Sakura Kingdom. After decades and countless life and death crises, the regiment finally achieved its current level and status. However, the emergence of Zheng Mu directly shattered all his previous pride and crushed his proud will to fight into the dirt. He had to pay the price of life and death again and again to gain the strength. In front of Zheng Mu, a newcomer who has only been awakened for two or three months. Nothing. The crackling thunder stirred in the sky above Hanqing. Unknowingly, it shattered the inner beliefs of many professionals. Perhaps it is due to the addition of the factory core, or simply the mechanical creation assembled this time is too powerful. The terrifying storm stirred up for a full five minutes, with no sign of ending. As a result, all Blue Star professionals stared blankly at the live broadcast for five minutes, not daring to blink, as if they were afraid of missing any details. Ancestors bless, ancestors bless, he must fail, he must fail. The King of Bangzi put his hands together and rubbed them continuously. All he was mumbling were words of prayer, praying to his ancestors, praying to gods, and even to ghosts and gods. He just hoped that Jing Mu's creation of this mechanical creation would fail. Even if it is not clear what this mechanical creation will look like. It was the terrifying power of the Qing Huang, but he was always aware of it. However, it was obvious that the gods he prayed to had nothing to do with Jing Mu, the mechanic. Just when Jing Mu was getting a little anxious, the thunder above his head suddenly became intense. When he looked up, he saw forest white thunder shooting out from the core of the storm. The dazzling day suddenly fell in the darkness. Wait until everyone comes to their senses. A huge city that exuded white-blue light in the darkness appeared above everyone's heads. That's right. It's the city. Although the outline of the opponent's spacecraft can still be clearly seen from below. But looking at it as a whole, the behemoth that Zheng Mu has built now is completely a flying fortress city with a sense of science fiction. There were clearly door-like places on both sides and below of the spacecraft, which made people immediately think of bomb bays and the like. The huge body covering an area of at least 10 square kilometers made everyone in Bangzi Kingdom swallow hard as soon as it appeared. 
Even the king of Bangzi kingdom was shocked and speechless when he saw that his appearance had changed drastically. He was completely different from his former Qing Huanghao. The whole world is in deathly silence at this moment. Buzz. Suddenly, a light golden beam of light shot down from below the air fortress in front of him, just covering Zheng Mu and Uchi Hamuzin. Looking at the Tian Dao live broadcast, Zheng Mu and the others were attracted by the guiding beam and slowly rose into the sky. Professionals all over the world looked at Jing Mu, who was bathing in divine light, with dazed expressions. This, what on earth is this mechanic, this is too foul. Oh God, I suddenly understand why Jing Mu, who is in the Dragon Kingdom camp, declared war on Bangzi Kingdom, but Dragon Kingdom could not provide support. If support was given, Bangzi Kingdom would probably be destroyed in a month. A month? Look at their meager fighting power. Unless heaven counts their thick skin as a defensive attribute, let alone a month, I can see this dragon in at most three days. Chinese people appeared in the sky above the blue house of Bangzi country. Ah! Am I the only one curious about the attributes of this scary big guy? Damn it, it feels so uncomfortable. Why can't we see the attributes of these mechanical creations? They are already so powerful, why do we still need to hide ourselves like this? The professional forums from various countries exploded instantly, and a large number of posts began to pour in crazily. However, at this moment, Zheng Mu had already entered the inside of his latest mechanical creation. The Silver White Hall full of technology is the command center of this behemoth. When Zheng Mu and others appeared here, the Red Queen was already standing here with a charming smile. Behind her, a huge light screen estimated to be more than 100 square meters was showing everything going on in Hancheng. Lord Master, welcome to your arrival, because of you, I have been upgraded once again. The Red Queen's eyes were full of joy and she took a step forward. However, Zheng Mu waved his hand and hurriedly called up the information about this big guy. Name, Extinction Level Air Fortress. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Zheng Mu. Level, Orange Legendary Level. Durability, 1200W-1200W. Defense, 12600. Skill 1, Non-Falling Fortress, the Extinction Level Air Fortress has never-ending battery life, can never land, and has no cooling time. Skill 2, Destroy Atomic Cannon, use the fortress main gun to destroy the atomic cannon, lock the target and cause horrific damage to it, cooling time, 24 hours. Skill 3, Mechanical Factory, an extinction-level aerial fortress with a built-in mechanical factory that can automatically transform mechanical components and fully automatically mass-produce mechanical creations based on the drawings possessed by the mechanic Xingmu, with no cooling time. Skill 4, Xuanwu Shield Defense Core can instantly generate an energy shield with a durability of 100W, effectively protecting against all physical and magical damage, with a cooling time of 24 hours. Skill 5, Red Queen Core, the Sky Fortress has the super-intelligent core Red Queen, which can intelligently and synchronously handle tasks such as machine factory operation, fortress life logistics, battlefield deployment, etc. Without cooling time. Skill 6, Necrotic Laser Cannon, use it to open the fortress secondary battery, use 300 necrotic laser cannons to carry out high damage precision strikes on target units, cooling time, 20 minutes. Skill 7, Firepower System, Torrent, used to open 100 missile launchers to carry out a covering strike within the target range, cooling time, 20 minutes. Note, the cooling time of all components of the fortress-type mechanical creation cannot be reset using skills or equipment. I'm so sorry. Zheng Mu was immediately stunned. Orange Legendary Mechanical Creation 1200W Durability there is also a 100W durable defense shield that can be turned on instantly. Zheng Mu froze on the spot. Happiness came so suddenly, so sudden that he felt like he was in a dream. The Red Queen could obviously see Zheng Mu's shock at this moment, and stood aside with a smile. When Zheng Mu gradually came back to his senses, she finally opened her mouth to introduce some details. Master Overlord, the information you see is only part of it. The Sky Fortress is extremely malleable. It has a super-huge internal storage dimension space. It can not only store a large amount of materials and supplies, 
but also store the products produced by the machinery factory. Mechanical Creation When there is a need for combat, we can use the air fortress to directly launch mechanical creations in the air. And depending on the performance of the mechanical creations it carries, our air fortress can also improve itself in many aspects. For example, the Sky Fortress does not have the ability to self-repair, but we can produce small body repair robots for daily damage repairs in the fortress. Also, the main control performance of the Sky Fortress is more powerful than that of the previous base vehicle. Even if we produce hundreds of thousands of patrol eagles and release them at the same time, we can still control them accurately and without pressure. The Red Queen opened and closed her red lips. If the information she spoke was known to the outside world, she would be frightened to death. However, Zheng Mu's face flushed with excitement and he no longer had the patience to listen. Pointing at Li Zihan who was riding a blood dragon in the light curtain, his eyes showed cold murderous intent. Expand the atomic destruction cannon. Kill him for me. The Red Queen smiled slightly, but she didn't see any movement. The main gun barrel, which was several hundred meters long, suddenly lit up with rays of light. As the buzzing sound gradually increased, Li Jiehyung, who had looked dull just a moment ago, suddenly changed his expression. You have been locked by the main gun of the Extinction Level Air Fortress. The message on the panel popped up, and the scarlet alarm scared him so much that he wanted to run away and buy it. However, the next moment, silver-white barriers suddenly blocked him. Another prompt popped up instantly. You have been locked by the skill war stand and cannot leave the 500-meter range of Tianhu Optimus Prime. In the air fortress, Zheng Mu sneered when he saw Li Zihen who was escaping in a hurry and was blocked. Do you still want to run away at this time? In the outside world, the exaggerated sound of the condensed energy of the annihilation atomic cannon gradually became sharper. At this moment, professionals from various countries who watched this scene gritted their teeth because of nervousness. No. Zheng Mu, I was wrong. I surrender. I surrender. Boom. Chapter, 147. Boom. A silver-white light beam with a diameter of at least 70 or 80 meters suddenly shot out at the moment when the energy gathered at its peak. The dazzling white light shot out for dozens of kilometers in an instant, directly rushing out of Tiendao's live broadcast screen. From the sky above Hancheng, it was shot directly towards the north of Bangzi Kingdom. Li Zihan, who was riding the Blood Dragon one millisecond, hurriedly hitting the space barrier of Optimus Prime, shouting for surrender in fear, was instantly submerged in the terrifying light pillar in the next millisecond. And at the moment when the other party was swallowed up, Mu's panel appeared. You killed Li Zihang IV-70, a professional from the Bangzi Kingdom camp, gained 59,6W of experience points, and obtained the inheritance stone of the SS-level Blood Dragon Knight. You killed an SS-level professional and received a special reward from heaven. Congratulations on getting Tiandao points 3. Congratulations on getting the Blueprint Steel Winged Angel Flying Device. Congratulations on increasing the awakening probability of SS-level professionals in your camp by 100%. Several messages in succession made Jing Mu's pupils shrink, but all his attention was on his own reward. Outside, in Qingyan City north of Bangzi Guahan City, in the dark night, almost everyone in the entire city was awake and nervously watching the Tiandao live broadcast. Sir, sir, can we stop him? The royal family and those powerful people must have ways to deal with this Dragon Kingdom man, right? They probably won't call, right? As the city closest to Hancheng, when they saw the sky fortress that stretched over Hancheng, seeming to suppress everything, some ordinary people who had failed to awaken looked at the light curtain of these professional sky slayers. He asked quietly. If it were in the past, these professionals from Bangzi country would have slapped each other directly without even looking at each other. Shiba. How dare you question 893 powerful professionals like us? Are low-level crawlers like you worthy? However, at this moment, the professional who was asked this question looked at the terrifying aerial fortress, and his pupils were shaking violently. Tian opened his mouth, but nothing came out. If Sheng Mu, a useless mechanic, dared to provoke them from the Bangzi kingdom like this before, the first reaction of these people would be anger. When the mechanical creations under Zheng Mu were massacred in Hancheng, 
even former protectors like Li Zihan were unable to do anything to them and poured cold water on them. So now, looking at the aerial fortress that dominates the world, they can no longer feel any resistance. And while they were still shocked by the enormity of Zheng Mu's mechanical creation, Tiendao's live broadcast came into view. Amidst bursts of sharp buzzing sounds, silver-white light beams burst out from the main cannon. Just half a day ago, Li Zihan, who was cheered and praised by them, was swallowed up in an instant along with the blood dragon under the opponent's seat. Amidst the rumbling roar, the live broadcast screen seemed to be cut in half by the terrifying light beam. Kacha Kacha! The ground was shaking more and more obviously, making everyone in Qingyan City look panicked. They all raised their heads in horror, as if they were afraid that the terrifying behemoth would arrive in the sky above Qingyan City in the next second. However, the night was still dark and the sky was quiet. The tremors on the ground became stronger and stronger. Finally, just when everyone was in an inexplicable panic, a dazzling white light suddenly came from the west direction of Qingyan City, illuminating half of the sky in the entire city. Boom boom boom. The terrifying energy fluctuations instantly alerted Qingyan City's garrison. However, when they rushed to the west of the city at top speed SF. Seeing the unspeakable horrific scene outside the city, even the leading general trembled with his hands. Clang! A purple rare-grade long sword slipped from the man's hand and fell on the city wall. A white beam of light streaked across the ground, like a giant silver-white dragon, coming from the south and heading west with no end in sight. Wherever it passed, a neat and smooth long pit was directly blasted out of the ground. It's forty to fifty meters deep. This is a lie. Sweat broke out on the forehead of the general who defended Qingyan City. While looking blankly at the silver-white light beam released by the aerial fortress in the Tiandao live broadcast in front of him. Some stared blankly at the terrifying light pillar that was only two or three hundred meters away from their Qingyan city. Not to mention this general, all the professionals who saw this scene at this moment were all weak, and some people lay directly on the city wall, their faces as pale as paper. Are you kidding? Hancheng is more than 40 kilometers away from Qingyan city in a straight line. The Green Wa Palace, the capital of Bangzi Kingdom. The monarch of Bangzi Kingdom had not yet recovered from the scene where the Qinghuang had turned into an aerial fortress, but an interior officer suddenly ran into the hall in a rolling motion. This scene made all the senior officials look coldly. However, the next moment. Your Majesty is in serious trouble. That attack. That attack went too far. It penetrated our Han River all the way. What? The scene was in an uproar, and some generals immediately got up in anger. You guy, do you know what you are talking about? Amid hysterical roars, the Chamberlain officer was directly lifted up by the general. However, the latter looked panicked, and several image crystals fell out of his arms. The moment he landed, pictures suddenly appeared from the crystal. Looking at the silver-white light pillars in the picture that almost stick to the city wall, as well as the names of the cities. Everyone froze in place. Qingyan City, Shijianqing City, Shuetong City, Yuanzhou City, Danyang City. All the way to the Han River. Ho ho ho. When the king of Bangzi Kingdom saw this scene, he suddenly covered his chest, made a difficult sound in his mouth, and his face instantly turned pale. Seeing the monarch slumped on the throne with his body twitching, the shocked people finally came to their senses. Suddenly, the Blue House Palace was in a state of uproar. While the priests and pharmacists employed by the royal family were carrying out treatment, the senior officials from the Bangzi Kingdom looked at each other in a daze. A long while. An old man shivered and took off his glasses, talking to himself in a trembling voice. It's at least 200 kilometers from Hanqing to Hanjiang, right? In this world, is there an attack that can hit such a distance? No one can answer this question, everyone has already denied it in their hearts. Even the strongest skills of SS-level professionals are not something they have never seen before. However, although that kind of skill has powerful power to destroy the world, it is nothing compared to the main gun of the air fortress. A member of Bangzi King's royal family looked pale and looked at everyone in panic. My lords, then, do we still have hope of winning the battle in Hanqing? Win. Everyone looked at him, 
although they didn't want to admit the fact that they were pressed to the ground and rubbed by Zheng Mu alone. However, now that they were standing in the Blue House Palace, there was already a faint feeling of vibration on the ground. If you continue to fight. With their protector god unable to escape from the secret realm of different time and space, Blue Star's existing reserve manpower is simply not enough to defeat Zheng Mu at this moment. Zheng Mu himself was so shocked that he could not even imagine the terrifying power of the atomic cannon, let alone the people from Bangzi country. When he passed the professional forum and saw the terrifying beam of light that wiped seven cities and reached Hanjiang River in Bangzi country, his scalp went numb. At this moment, the forums of various countries have already exploded. Jerashite. A friend of mine is in Bangzi country now. He just told me that the mechanics attack can reach more than 70 kilometers. A river was opened directly outside the Shijian city where he was. I didn't believe it at first, until picture, picture, video, I didn't understand. Did God think that mechanics are so underestimated and looked down upon by us, so he sent down such a terrifying guy like Sheng Mu? The embankment of the Han River was shot through. Mazefak. I can't believe my eyes, it's more than 200 kilometers away. This attack has been hitting a place more than 200 kilometers away. Now the Hanjiang River has begun to fill the river with water. It's unbelievable, unbelievable, and I protest to heaven. This is not a power that humans should have. Even an SS level professional can never do it. When Long Guo saw the scene on the forum, Mr. Li's eyes were dazed for a while, and he suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed. Ha ha ha. God bless our dragon kingdom. God bless our dragon kingdom. Mr. Lee's face turned red, and the crutch in his hand thumped on the deck. His face was a little distorted because of the intense emotions. He looked around, his eyes revealing an unprecedented sparkle. This battle. Our dragon kingdom has won. The Bangzi kingdom will definitely not be able to hold on. Gu Xingdong rubbed his head back and forth with one hand, feeling his scalp numb. I stared blankly at the scene in the forum where the surging water of the Han River turned into a straight river at a speed visible to the naked eye, and my brain had completely stopped functioning. Mr. Li shouted excitedly for a long time, but he didn't even react. However, there are many people who behave like him and are present at this moment. One shot created a straight river channel of more than 200 kilometers my dear, Compared to Xing Mu, we people are no different from ordinary people. Han Qing. The beam of the atomic annihilation cannon gradually dissipated, and the daytime sky became pitch black again. However, at this moment, it suddenly started to rain heavily. Above the sky, Yin Dao's majestic voice without any emotion came again. Xing Mu, a mechanic from the Dragon Kingdom camp, has killed more than 80% of the professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom camp in Han Qing, and the sovereignty of Hanqing has entered the stage of changing ownership. Guarantee that there will be no change in sovereignty within seven days, and the mechanics of the Dragon Kingdom camp will gain sovereignty over Hanqing. Professionals from all over the world who were still in a daze came to their senses in shock. It's less than a day. It has already reached the stage of determining whether sovereignty will change hands. But in the command room of the extinction level air fortress, Zheng Mu's eyes were full of coldness. Guard the city for seven days. Keep you paralyzed. Collect all the remaining Bangzi nation professionals in the city. At dawn tomorrow we will head to Qing'an city. Chapter, 148 Hanqing was lost. City Lord Jiang Mingxiong stared blankly at the behemoth in the sky. Behind him, the remaining Bangzi country professionals and ordinary people all looked desperate. Suddenly, a series of heavy footsteps came. When everyone heard this voice, they all trembled instinctively. When they looked up, they saw that on top of the collapsed buildings, T-100S, which were still reflecting the cold color in the dark night, had already arrived. Boom! The ground shook violently again, and everyone stiffly turned their heads to look to the other side. The crack is no longer at the end of the street. The city gate that once smashed into their Han city, the Triceratops iron block, that rushed all the way from the south of the city to the north of the city, accompanied by the disintegration of King Shura, appeared in front of everyone again. Every step he took with his heavy footsteps caused a burst of rustling dust from the surrounding ruins. 
Roar! In the dark night, the Tyrannosaurus Rex steel cable, suddenly roared, and a mouthful of blazing hellfire instantly sprayed out and bombarded ten buildings that looked like they had collapsed. The next moment, a shrill scream came from the building. The people on Jiang Mingxiong's side were so frightened that they huddled together. The gate to the north of the city behind him has been blocked by T-100. The two teleportation arrays in the city have also been shut down by the mechanical creations under Zheng Mu. Unless the Bangzi Kingdom sends support from other cities and crosses the wilderness full of monsters to come for support. Otherwise, the city would have been completely separated from Bangzi Kingdom. Cracking. A sharp neighing sound came from the dark night sky, and the next moment the terrifying thunder suddenly fell, hitting the west side of the city hard. Along with it, the number of surviving professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom in Hancheng, and another lowered one section at a time. Lord City Lord, what should we do? Lord City Lord, I, I don't want to die. Please, please think of a way. You 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 your majesty, will he send someone to rescue us? I am the only one left in my family. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. There are too many. Those humanoid mechanical creations are too strong and cannot be killed or charged out. We will all die here. Oh oh oh, Haji Magu. Jiang Mingxiong listened to the thousands of people behind him, composed of ordinary people and low-level professionals. The chaotic scene made him want to say something to boost morale and praise the king several times. I opened my mouth but nothing came out. His face was grey and his body was soaked in water due to the sudden rain. At this moment, even though he still has no intention of stopping the pursuit of power in his heart, the huge gap in strength makes it impossible for people like them who can be easily crushed to resist. Even a breakout is impossible. The sound of stomping footsteps was getting closer and closer, causing these Bangzi people to crowd into the crowd in panic. Zheng Mu stood in the command room of the air fortress, looking calmly at these inferior and arrogant ants. Today, they no longer have the arrogance they had before. They were all hunched over in the pouring rain. Like old dogs with their spines broken coming together. Ordinary people have become numb in the face of the fear of death. The professional's legs are also trembling, and he can't stand firm even to fight, let alone pick up a weapon and fight his mechanical creations. In the picture, the familiar figure of Jiang Mingxiong appeared, but Zheng Mu shook his head boredly. The other party's eloquent appearance before gave him some ideas of playing around, but now. The unexpected joy of getting the Sky Fortress made him lose interest in these Shao Shiba from Bangzi country. He waved his hand and left the matters here to the Queen. He took steps and arrived at the machinery factory area of the Sky Fortress. In a place like an assembly line, there are countless robotic arms here. Zheng Mu directly took out all the trophies he had obtained from the professionals in Bangzi country during this period, as well as the materials in the treasure house. Except for the parts that cannot be processed temporarily and are placed in the warehouse by T-800, the materials used to produce T-100, T-800 and liquors are sent to the conveyor belt one by one. Under Zheng Mu's watchful eye, he originally needed to transform the materials himself. But under the laser irradiation from each mechanical arm, it began to change and twist rapidly. In the blink of an eye, they turned into mechanical components needed for various mechanical creations. After passing through the long sorting line, they are assigned to different assembly areas. In about 10 minutes, AT-100 walked off the assembly line of the machinery factory. While Zheng Mu was looking at the other party's information, the other side. T-800 and liquor's production lines have also begun shipping. In addition, hundreds of low-level mechanical creations such as the Patrol Eagle were produced in just 10 minutes. This scene made Zheng Mu let out a long sigh of relief. However, as relieved as Zheng Mu was Uchiha Muzin who had been following him. Zheng Mu got rid of the high-intensity work of making mechanical creations, and naturally he no longer had to experience the sour blood bar tug-of-war game. Zheng Mu naturally noticed Uchiha Mu's reaction, laughed, and asked the other party to go to Hancheng to do business. Now, although Tian Dao has judged that he has occupied Hancheng, there are still many remaining professionals from the Bangzi Kingdom and Sakura Kingdom here. Among these people, there are indeed many that the T-100 cannot solve. 
If Uchiha Musen is allowed to take action, everything will calm down quickly. As soon as Uchiha Musen left, Jing Mu immediately looked at Miss Mira Jane on the side. Mira Chan, the Red Queen said that my residence has a large bathtub and simulates a volcanic hot spring, he 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 17. It rained non-stop in Hanching that night. However, despite the heavy pouring of rain, it still could not wash away the bloody smell of the entire city. That night, more than half of the people in Blue Star could not sleep. As if they were afraid that the terrifying aerial fortress would appear above the city where they were at the next moment. And the most frightening ones are undoubtedly the current Bangzi Kingdom and Sakura Kingdom. Although the Bangzi Kingdom is the protagonist of the National War, the Sakura Kingdom, who joined later, has definitely offended Jing Mu without any surprise. Sakura Country Your Majesty the Emperor, I request that you immediately stop the attack on the Dragon Kingdom's army in the secret realm of different time and space. The Empire's current defensive strength is not much better than that of the Bangzi Kingdom. If Sheng Mu retaliates against our Sakura Kingdom, we will I'm afraid the locals won't be able to resist. Tokugawa Palace still follows the ancient palace style of the Dragon Kingdom. Zero please give me flowers. As the residence of the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom, the defense here is extremely tight, and today, this strict protection has once again been upgraded to a higher level. Emperor Sakura was stroking a small fan in her hand, staring at her own light curtain with uncertain eyes. Above, it represented Hanshin, which was like hell and was undergoing a massacre by Zheng Mu's mechanical creation, making his hands tremble slightly unconsciously. Hearing the words of the chief minister who was kneeling in front of him, the emperor raised his eyelids. Yu Yu said. So, Prime Minister, do you think that as long as we withdraw our troops, the Dragon Kingdom will not hold us accountable for this matter? The situation has changed drastically. The emperor sighed and shook his head, continuing to look at the aerial fortress emitting dense light over Hanching. His eyes were full of fire and greed. Why can't such talents come from our Sakura country? If Sakura country has such talents, why worry about the empire's hegemony? When the prime minister, who was kneeling in prostrations, heard this, he raised his head and glanced carefully at the distressed emperor, hesitated for a moment, and suddenly spoke in a low voice. Your majesty, I don't think the dragon kingdom will necessarily hold us accountable. Seeing the emperor looking at him, the prime minister coughed dryly. Your majesty, your highness Kagaya seems to have reached the age of marriage. Emperor. The dragon kingdom flies above the cloud boat. How's it going? Is there support mobilization of troops from Bangzi country? Seeing the adjutant return, Xiong Weishan asked hurriedly. Under the gazes of Mr. Li and others, the adjutant shook his head. Sir, our intelligence shows that the defense force of the capital of Bangzi kingdom has been reduced, and there has been no mobilization of the city defense troops in each city. However, from the Blue House, there has been another request for guild professionals. The order to go to support Hancheng. It's just that no one has paid attention to this order. Ha ha ha. At this time, on the Feiyun boat, all the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom laughed heartily. Mr. Li's laughter was the heartiest. Okay, okay, Bangzi Kingdom has obviously given in. They seem to have decided to wait quietly for seven days to pass, and tacitly accepted the loss of Hancheng, ha ha ha, okay. That brat Cheng Mu, you are opening up new territories and expanding your territory. This is how you are opening up your territory and expanding your territory. This is the young hero of our Dragon Kingdom. Seeing Mr. Li who seemed to be smiling even with the wrinkles on his happy face, everyone felt much more relaxed. On the side, Gu Xingdong also relaxed and joked with a smile. Mr. Li, you were shouting to beat that boy Jing Mu to death, and now you have become a young hero. Mr. Li immediately pointed at him and started laughing and scolding. The metal mines in the Xingyue Snow region have now been occupied by the Dragon Kingdom, together with the capture of Hancheng. Their Dragon Kingdom is equivalent to the King of Monster Areas that has expanded the entire Xingyue Snow region and Goblin Forest into their own country. More leveling places also mean more monster materials and equipment resources. How can these people be unhappy? However, just when the whole world thought that this farce-like national war would end with the Dragon Kingdom occupying a large area of Bangzi Kingdom's territory after seven peaceful days. 
The next day, the Green Wa Palace of Bangzi Kingdom. Early in the morning, the King of Labangzi Kingdom's roar of shock and anger could be heard in the palace. Shi Ba. What did you say? That bastard actually sent troops to Qing'an city? Corpse. Chapter, 149. The King of Bangzi Kingdom feels like he is going crazy. I woke up early in the morning and had not done anything, when suddenly someone brought me some big-eared melon seeds. I thought about it all night, but I still didn't understand why Zheng Mu could be so perverted and take over their city by himself. He was still thinking that in order to deal with Zheng Mu's unscheduled bomb in the future, he would need to bring back two powerful men at the level of protector of the country from the secret realm of different time and space. However, everyone on their side has already admitted defeat. Not a single soldier was sent to Hanqing to support him all night. Anyone who knows how to give up when things are good should be secretly enjoying the benefits of this wave at this moment. As a result, when I came together, I received an anxious report from the chief chamberlain. Early in the morning, after Zheng Mu thoroughly cleaned up all the Bangzi people in Hanqing, he activated the air fortress that had been parked above Hanqing. Heading towards Qing'an city, which is more than 40 kilometers away to the north. Quick! Summon the ministers. Also prepare a communication for me. I want to talk to those old guys from the Dragon Kingdom. When the communication from Bangzi country reached Mr. Li, Mr. Li and the others had already discovered Jing Mu's actions early in the morning. Especially after seeing Jing Mu really slaughter all the citizens and professionals of the Bangzi Kingdom in Han City. Even Mr. Li felt a slight headache. At least some of the old, weak, eight five year old and disabled people are left to show off, right? Even if Blue Star now preys on the weak, such actions in the national city will still be subject to many taboos. What made Mr. Li and the others even more aching when they arrived was that Jing Mu was not ready to stop yet. Headed directly towards Qing'an city. Mr. Li, the king of Bangzi country wants to speak to you. Hearing this, Mr. Li also sighed helplessly. After all, it was the Dragon Kingdom that robbed other people's minds, and now they have slaughtered a city. In addition, the other king personally called, so he still had to answer the call. Soon, a Guangxia appeared in front of Mr. Li. The gloomy-looking king of the Bangzi Kingdom breathed out with an angry and trembling voice. Mr. Li, your country is going to completely quarrel with our Bangzi country, right? Mr. Li coughed and raised his eyebrows. So, your majesty, are you willing to put to death all the citizens and professionals whose family members died in Hanqing? The king of Bangzi kingdom suddenly frowned. Have you been drinking? Shiba, are you talking nonsense again? Mr. Li sneered when he looked at the irritable king of Bangzi kingdom. It should be your majesty the king who is talking nonsense, right? During this period, at least 300 people from your Bangzi country have died in our hands. Things have reached this point. What are you talking about? Is it possible that there is a conflict between our two countries now? Is there anything good that can be said about it? Calm down. Your Majesty, this is just a fight between the weak and the strong between countries. Just like when your late emperor betrayed us first, he united with the Sakura Kingdom and caused irreversible damage to our Dragon Kingdom. All of this now is just what you have to endure because of your own weakness. In the light curtain, Mr. Li's tough and contemptuous words made the king of Bangzi country tremble with anger. Judging from the other party's appearance, it was obvious that he wanted to close the call on the spot. However, Mr. Li and others had already heard some whispers of persuasion, asking the king of Bangzi kingdom to calm down. After a while, just when Mr. Li was about to hang up the call, the king of Bangzi kingdom finally spoke again. What do you want? Tell me the terms of your ceasefire. The corners of Mr. Li's mouth curved in an infuriating way, but he said a word without saltiness and hung up the phone directly. The young man is a little impulsive. As an old guy, I still need to ask him to see what his requirements are, and I will give you an answer later. In the Blue House Palace, I looked at the call screen that was suddenly closed in front of me. The King of Bangzi, who was sitting on the throne, stared blankly, clenched his hands on his thighs, and the muscles on his face were trembling. The intense anger made his teeth chatter. Shiba, Shiba. You killed 300 of us, and you actually said youthful impulsiveness. 
Upon hearing the monarch's cold murmur filled with murderous intent, all the high-ranking officials of the Bangzi kingdom in the main hall bowed their heads deeply and remained silent. The king of Bangzi kingdom looked at a senior official with a pale face, his eyes were cold. President Kwan, your immortal guild is the first-class guild in our country, what do you say? The support resources your immortal guild receives from the royal family every year are quite a lot. The old man whose name was called suddenly broke out in cold sweat on his forehead. However, before he could speak, the king of Bangzi country looked at the people on the side again. Presently, and your three-star guild, now I give you a task, kill that dragon kingdom mechanic, can you do it? Whether it's an assassination or a strong attack, can you do it? Seeing President Lee's name being called, he also knelt on the ground in silence, not daring to say a word. The king of Bangzi's eyes became even colder. Don't these people have any strength? No, the first-class professional guilds in Bangzi country are very strong. Among the first-class guilds in the world, their strength can be ranked at the front. However, these guys will never put themselves in danger. Except when they get benefits, one will be more positive than the other. If they really encounter a problem, it is like this situation now. After glancing around the main hall, no one dared to speak out. The king of Bangzi kingdom finally couldn't control it anymore. He suddenly stood up in anger, and the imperial case in front of him was thrown away. Shiba. Damn the people of the dragon kingdom. Sooner or later, I will kill all the people of the dragon kingdom. Ah. The other side. Although the air fortress is huge, its flying speed is really good. It takes only a few minutes to reach the destination after more than 40 kilometers. When the air fortress blocked the morning sun and cast a shadow over Qing'an city, the entire Qing'an city exploded. Teleport Square, like refugees fleeing for their lives, a large number of people are crazily crowded here. Shiba, let us go over, let us go over, bastard. We are from Sakura country. Let us pass, Bagaya Road, don't be crowded. Yuori, that demon is coming, he's going to massacre the city, open the teleportation array. God, I don't want to die in a ghost place like this. In the messy scene, the teleportation array has been severely loaded. However, even so, those who can use the teleportation array at this time are all the dignitaries in the city or the family members of the defenders. As for those ordinary citizens and low-level professionals, on the city wall of Qing'an city, the general who defended the city was pale and could not say anything to encourage morale at this time. All we can do is nervously keep an eye on the durability of the city defense formation, and at the same time have people urgently report to the capital for help. Shiba, why hasn't our protector god come yet? In the air fortress. Wearing a nightgown, Jing Mu, who had just woken up refreshed, held a half-bitten apple in his hand. When he came to the control hall, the Red Queen was already waiting here. Lord Lord, we have arrived at the sky above Bangzi Guqingan City. Zheng Mu nodded, looking at the chaotic scene in Qingyan City within the huge light curtain, with a smile of enjoyment on his face. He laughed, shook his head and sighed. This is really a beautiful scenery. Without the slightest hesitation, Zheng Mu was directly prepared to order the Red Queen to launch an attack. However, the next moment the Red Queen was suddenly startled. Lord Master, we have received a call request from the top of the Dragon Kingdom. According to the detection, the call unit should be located near the Xingyue metal mine. Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, then thought of something, nodded and connected directly. The next moment, Mr. Li's familiar face appeared on the light screen in front of him, but he seemed a little haggard. But his face was full of smiles. As soon as he saw Jing Mu, he immediately smiled kindly. Ha ha ha, we actually got in touch. Boy, have you had enough fun? Just stop it. Jing Mu scratched his head in embarrassment. He must have killed first and played later no, he didn't even play. Mr. Li, aren't I just looking for a place to experiment with new mechanical creations? Why do I still alarm you? Mr. Li immediately laughed out loud at Zheng Mu's way of pretending to be confused. You boy, the king of Bangzi country is going crazy. Everyone has given up. Han Cheng has given you the tacit consent. You are still so aggressive. 
If this continues, Bangzi country may just give up a large area of the secret realm of different time and space and withdraw its troops. Come back and take care of you. Okay, tell me what you want, old man, I'll talk to you personally. Our dragon kingdom has made a lot of money this time, so we'll stop when we're good. Hearing this, Mu took a bite of the apple, rubbed his chin and pondered. As if he thought of something interesting, he laughed. The laughter reached Mr. Lee, and everyone felt an inexplicable chill. Good guy, this laughter is definitely not friendly. Sure enough, the next moment Zheng Mu opened his mouth. A defeat is a defeat. What's wrong with being a special girl by default? The defeated side should act like the defeated side. In this way, let their monarch come to my air fortress in person and submit to me a declaration of defeat and cessation of war in front of the whole world. Mr. Li, Gu Xingdong and other generals. Also, the city of Han was conquered by my own ability. It cannot be regarded as a condition for their surrender. Let them cut off ten more cities for me. It must be a big city. Don't fool me with those shabby places like villages. Mr. Li and the others were all breathing cold air in discomfort at this moment. This boy really dared to speak. By the way, there is also compensation. I don't ask for much. I want ten treasure troves of the size of Qinghua Hanqing branch. Of course, Mr. Li, if you are sure, the more you can ask for, the better. As for the rest. Zheng Mu pondered, and suddenly the smile on his lips became even more evil. Do those princes of the country have any beautiful princesses? Send seven or eight of them to come over and get married. If I suffer a little loss, I will sacrifice my life for the country. When the call was hung up, everyone was still immersed in the horror of Zheng Mu's lion's mouth. Mr. Li was also stroking his crutches and frowning. Gu Xingdong scratched his head. I'm a good boy. Do young people today have such a big appetite? How can this country of sticks agree to this? However, when he turned to look at Mr. Li and saw his frown, his heart suddenly skipped a beat. Mr. Li, that kid was just joking, he couldn't take it seriously, could he? Chapter, 150 Mr. Li, that kid was just joking, you don't take it seriously, right? After hearing Gu Xingdong's words, other people on Feiyun boat looked at Mr. Li. But at this moment, Mr. Li's brows were furrowed, obviously thinking about something. At this time, everyone was not calm anymore. Zheng Mu asked the king to submit a truce and admit defeat in public. This kind of thing must be impossible with the attitude of the king of Bangzi country just now. Not to mention, they still have to cede land. How big is the entire Bangzi kingdom? Just cede away ten big cities. Then they can cede almost half of their land directly. As for the compensation for the Ten Qinghua Hanqing sub-treasury, it directly requires the flesh and blood of the Bangzi kingdom. It is a sub-treasury, which seems to be almost the same as the main treasury of the capital, right? Just wipe out everyone's wealth. The last step was to marry someone else's princess, which gave all the generals present a full understanding of Zheng Mu's temper. They knew that this man was really bold when it came to women. He even got the apple of Mr. Zhang's eye, and he did it with two other girls. Everyone looked at Mr. Li in astonishment, and the latter glanced around. But he asked suddenly. When was the last time our Dragon Kingdom expanded its territory? Everyone was stunned for a moment and then thought about it. Without waiting for their reply, Mr. Li sighed ten times. 845 years ago. When our Dragon Kingdom was still an ancient dynasty, we achieved some results in the Monkey Kingdom, expanded our territory, and harvested ten cities. However, after the coming of heaven, the world underwent great changes, and the era of professionals came. The senior officials of the ancient dynasty were bent on preserving their ancestral foundations and investing all their national power in local development. However, they ignored the huge opportunities in the secret realm of different time and space. The Eagle Kingdom was the first to enter the secret realm of different time and space. Although it paid a huge price, in just one year, the different time and space and the heavenly path were settled, and the local resources and monster experience value of the Eagle Kingdom soared five times. Other countries in Blue Star have joined in, but our ancient Dragon Kingdom still focuses on our homeland, 
known as the country of the boss of Blue Star Hop. Mr. Lee stood up, walked to the side of the ship, and looked at the purple rare-grade metal mine that had begun construction below, with joy and sadness in his eyes. Everyone also lowered their heads in shame. From the country of the boss to the country of ordinary people, it only took two hundred years. The ancient dynasty was gone. Our great civilization of Great Xia entered a century of misery. Even the Bangzi country and the Sakura country, which were once just our vassal countries, also they have become independent one after another, grinding their teeth and sucking our blood, bullying us wantonly. Mr. Li's voice was trembling, and the moment he turned around, his eyes were filled with angry tears. If it weren't for how many of our ancestors and how many protectors of the country had spilled their blood on the battlefield and lost their lives in the mysterious realm of different time and space, before we could establish a foothold on its periphery and preserve the foundation of the Dragon Kingdom, it is unknown whether our Dashia civilization would still exist. You should know what this battle with Zheng Mu means to our Dragon Kingdom. Gu Xingdong hesitated for a moment and asked in a low voice. Mr. Li, the king of Bangzi Kingdom will definitely not agree to such harsh conditions. If he agrees, I am afraid that their royal family and other senior officials will force him to step down. Mr. Li snorted coldly. Back when our ancestors raised their arms and shouted in this land to revive the Dragon Kingdom's foundation and enter the secret realm of different time and space, which country and Blue Star didn't say it was impossible. What about now? He stared at the crowd, his old voice revealing an indomitable and tough attitude. If he doesn't agree, we'll make him agree. If he doesn't accept it, we'll make him accept it. The juniors have won the battle, but we seniors don't even have the guts to support them. Mr. Lee's cloudy eyes were filled with blazing fire. Order to station troops in different time and space, increase the intensity of the attack, and continue to advance towards the core area of Bangzi country. Without my order, anyone who dares to stop and retreat will be punished according to military law. Looking at the busy people, Mr. Lee stood on the side of the ship and looked in the direction of Hancheng. He suddenly sighed and let out a hearty sigh. Ha ha ha, after taking down Hancheng, the two monster areas still have purple rare level metal veins that are not enough. But I am really old. I am afraid that I will eat until my belly is full with you this time. Bangzi Country Qinghua Palace. When the communication from Mr. Li came over, the King of Bangzi State immediately connected it. Have we discussed it? Tell us your conditions. But I want to warn you Dragon Kingdom in advance, don't go too far. When Mr. Li heard this, he had a gentle smile on his face, but his eyes were as hot as looking at fish on a chopping board. Huh, your majesty is worried, but our Dragon Kingdom has indeed determined the conditions for a truce. Hearing this, all the high-ranking officials of Bangzi Kingdom in the main hall of Qinghua Palace pricked up their ears. Soon, Mr. Li's voice was heard throughout the hall. First of all, it is also the first prerequisite for the armistice. We do not accept your so-called default defeat. If you want to armistice, your majesty, the king, needs to come in person and submit the armistice to us in front of the entire blue star. Bang! Shiba! Are you crazy? Do you really think that your dragon kingdom will win? Just the first condition is to make the king of Bangzi country furious in an instant. In the audience, the senior officials of Bangzi country also gasped. However, on the other side of the light curtain, Mr. Lee turned a blind eye to the reactions of these people and continued to talk about the next condition. Secondly, since the land of Hancheng has been conquered by our dragon kingdom, it is already the inherent territory of our dragon kingdom. It cannot be used as a condition for this armistice and peace talks. Your country needs to cede twenty cities to our Dragon Kingdom. And these twenty cities must be large cities and border on Hancheng in our country. Third, our country has suffered heavy losses in this conflict. The military and civilians of our country are absolutely unable to accept peace talks without compensation. Your country needs to divide half of its treasury reserves under the supervision of our personnel as a reward to us. Military Compensation The King of Bangzi Kingdom was already stunned, and all the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom in the audience were also dumbfounded. In the main hall, except for Mr. Lee's voice that was still echoing, everyone's breathing was paused at this moment. In the light curtain, the smile on Mr. Lee's face was still gentle. 
At this point, his voice paused slightly and then continued. The last one, in order to maintain the stability of this peace negotiation, and considering the future friendly neighbor relationship between our Dragon Kingdom and your country, our Dragon Kingdom can allow you to marry the Princess of Bangzi Kingdom, and also consider quelling the hatred between the citizens of the two countries. We think nine princesses is a very appropriate number. After all, it will last forever. I also wish that the relationship between our two countries can maintain harmony and develop together for a long time in the future, for the peaceful future of Blue Star. After hearing these ridiculous conditions stated by Mr. Lee, the King of Bangzi Kingdom finally broke out completely. Shut up! Shiba! You damn Dragon Kingdom people, it seems that you have really forgotten the lesson you learned back then. Don't forget your miserable experience in the secret realm of different time and space. Behind our Bangzi country is not only our ally Sakura country. The Monkey country and the White Elephant country are all our allies. Behind us is the superpower of the United States, which humiliates and provokes us so much. Your dragon kingdom will only destroy itself because of a mechanic. Hearing the angry roar of the king of Bangzi kingdom, the smile on Mr. Lee's face turned cold. However, he could not help but not be frightened by the other party. Instead, he said calmly with an indifferent expression. It seems that your country has no idea of peace talks. In that case, we can only wait and see. However your majesty, you must know that the next time you want to negotiate, it will not be on these conditions. As soon as he finished speaking, the light curtain in front of Mr. Lee disappeared directly. Raising his eyebrows, Mr. Lee couldn't help but curl his lips. He was quite angry, but he hadn't said it out yet. Zheng Mu, that kid, was so angry that he would sacrifice his life for the country. On the side, Gu Xingdong was already a little numb. Murmured. Li, Mr. Li, Zheng Mu's conditions are already outrageous. You can just double them this is obviously not the attitude of peace talks. However, Mr. Li sneered. Peace talks. That guy Zheng Mu has already arrived in Qingyan City. With his temper, do you think he will go back without saying anything? Gu Xingdong was speechless, but Mr. Li shook his head with a smile and directly connected the communication with Zheng Mu again. Boy, Bangzi country refused. Well, they were very decisive. If you want to sleep with their princess, then you have to look at your own abilities. In the air fortress, Zheng Mu couldn't help but blush when he heard Mr. Li's straightforward words. Correct it. Mr. Li, this is called sacrificing one's life for one's country, sacrificing one's life for one's country. I don't mind what others say. You always understand me. I am a very innocent young man from the Dragon Kingdom. I have been awakened as a professional for so long. There are only a handful of monsters in my hands. Mr. Lee directly filtered this kid's shameless words in an instant. You are a monster who died in your hands. There are only a handful of monsters who died in your hands, but those who died in the hands of your mechanical creations are just like Zhongshan Irai. Okay, don't be stupid here with the old man. You have to pay attention to one thing. Pay attention to the heat this time. Try not to kill anyone if you can. Hearing this, Zheng Mu nodded. It is true that we should do as little as possible to massacre the city. Even if these little Shiba are killed, it is really pleasurable. After hanging up the communication, Zheng Mu looked at Qingyan City on the screen with a wicked smile on his lips. Red Queen, come on, come on, let's try the effect of the necrotic laser cannon. Is it more powerful than when we were on the base? The other side. Mr. Li, who had just finished communicating with Zheng Mu, was about to have breakfast or something. At this time, an officer came in a hurry. Mr. Li, the king of Sakura country would like to speak to you. Chapter, 151 Qingyan City From the moment the air fortress appeared, it caused a huge panic in Qingyan City, with citizens of the Bangzi kingdom running towards the teleportation array and outside the city for their lives everywhere. However, under the nervous gaze of the Qingyan City Defense Army, there was no movement in the air fortress for more than half an hour. However, this kind of tranquility not only did not make these city defense troops feel a little bit relaxed. On the contrary, there is a strong sense of torture, 
like waiting for seconds to go to the execution ground. A large amount of sweat continued to break out from the head of the city defense army general. The surrounding professionals from the Bangzi kingdom were also trembling with fear, nervously raising their necks and looking at the behemoth above their heads. General, General, will we have support? A clearly crying voice came from beside him, and he felt the gazes gathered around him, but the general of the Bangzi kingdom had no idea how to speak. Even with reinforcements, the secret realm of different time and space has held back almost all the elites of their country. For reinforcements, do you expect His Majesty the King to send over the Imperial Guards to protect the capital? He wanted to write some morale-boosting words, but before he could open his mouth, a slight roar suddenly came from the ten-level silent air fortress above his head. Buzz buzz. Click, 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 click. There were bursts of mechanical movement sounds, and everyone looked up and saw silver-white gun barrels suddenly protruding from the bottom of the aerial fortress, and they were densely aimed at Qingyan city below. That dragon countryman is going to attack. Run quickly. Shiba, don't get in the way. Ah, uh, don't step on me, don't step on my mother, woo-woo. In Qingyan city, the people in the city who saw this scene were immediately filled with souls. The already chaotic environment in the city instantly felt like it was caught in the flames of war. A large number of crazy professionals from the Bangzi kingdom drew their weapons against the foreigners blocking the road in front of them. People rushed madly towards the teleportation array and the city gate. The devastating scene last night was seen by everyone. The former protector of the country, Li Zihan, was instantly wiped out, and not a single scum was left. With such a small number of people, how could they resist such a terrifying guy like Xing Mu? The frantically fleeing crowd surged like a tide in the city. Under Xing Mu's watch, just by showing the muzzle of the necrotic laser cannon, at least hundreds of people died in chaos in Qingyan city. Ha, huh, the scenery is getting more and more beautiful. In the control hall, Xing Mu looked at the chaotic scene on the screen, and the smile on his face became more and more cheerful. Not only did he not feel guilty at all for the loss of these people, but he was full of joy. It was like watching a wonderful drama performance. On the other side, the Red Queen had already activated the energy storage of the necrotic cannon according to Zheng Mu's order. The sound of buzzing sounded in the sky above Qingyan City. All the professionals in Blue Star watched this scene nervously. Oh God, this madman, this devil. Does he actually want to massacre the city? Is the Bangzi kingdom really such a waste? Where is their national guardian god? Why hasn't it appeared yet? At least more than 300 000 people have died in Hanchen, right? You keep saying that our Sakura kingdom samurai are lunatics, look at this guy, he is a lunatic, no, he is simply an evil ghost who should go to the 18th level of hell. Sakura country, Imperial Palace Tokugawa residence. The emperor was negotiating with Mr. Lee. Suddenly, a chamberlain carefully said something in his ear, and the emperor's eyes suddenly moved slightly. From an angle that Mr. Li couldn't see, the Tiandao live broadcast had appeared in front of the emperor. However, Mr. Li, who had been paying attention to the situation in Qingyan City, looked at the other party's changing expression and immediately understood what the other party was looking at now. A gentle smile. Your Majesty, one thing you are right about is that the dispute between Sakura Kingdom and Dragon Kingdom is just a very ordinary resource dispute. There is no need to escalate it to the level of a national war. It is all because Bangzi Kingdom did not protect its own resources. The Emperor didn't speak, but the expression on his face was slightly frozen. In the live broadcast in front of him, the buzzing sound of energy accumulation was like the howl of the God of Death when he came to claim his life. On the city wall of Qingyan City, the garrison generals and city defense troops were already in a panic. They could only hold on to their weapons while deploying their strongest defensive skills. There are lessons learned from Hanching, and the terrifying destruction atomic cannon is ahead. No one present thought that their Qingyan City defense formation could withstand Zheng Mu's terrifying attack. And at the next moment, the sharp sound of energy accumulation reached its peak. Under the nervous gaze of the whole world, booming dark purple energy beams were emitted from the muzzle of the air fortress. Boom boom boom. A pale golden energy shield instantly appeared over Qingyan city. 
However, the energy shield began to tremble violently after encountering such terrifying energy fluctuations. Strong energy ripples spread out on the energy shield. At the same time, in the palace of the city lord of Qingyan City. The lord of Qingyan City looked at the city defense crystal ball that was crackling and arcing in front of him, and his face was as pale as paper. Durability of Qingyan City's City Defense Array, 255-9W300W Durability of Qingyan City's City Defense Array, 194-1W300W Durability of Qingyan City's City Defense Array, 117-4W300W Durability of Qingyan City's City Defense Array In almost the effort of breathing, the city's defense durability, which was still at full value one moment, was cut in half in a frenzy the next moment. The durability of hundreds of thousands and hundreds of thousands dropped like crazy. Accompanied by a violent explosion, it came from the direction of the city lord's mansion. Boom! The pale golden city defense formation that shrouded the sky over Qingyan City instantly turned into little golden lights amidst a burst of explosions and dissipated in midair. Boom, boom, boom! Several deep purple energy cannons hit several buildings in Qingyan City. In an instant, several buildings, together with the Bangzi people who might be inside, disappeared turning into a sky full of grey. Ah! At this moment, panicked shouts could no longer be restrained from the mouths of these city defense army professionals, and the defending general's voice trembled to encourage morale. And behind them were the citizens of Bangzi country who were running away even more crazily. Show your courage. Show your pride as Bangzi people. You are all the most elite and brave soldiers. Today is the moment for us to sacrifice our lives for our country. His Majesty, the Great Monarch, will never forget us, and the people we protect will never forget us. Us. Despite saying this, there were city defense soldiers constantly on the city wall, retreating in fear. Some people behind them suddenly rolled down the city wall without paying attention. In an instant, the soldiers on the city wall also collapsed and fled towards the bottom of the city. No matter how hard he tried, the general who defended the city couldn't stop him. With a clang, the weapon in his hand fell to the ground feebly. The general guarding the city stared blankly at the cannon barrels protruding above his head. There are hundreds of densely packed gates, and it looks like only a dozen gates were activated just now. If all started. Qingyan City should disappear in an instant just like those buildings just now, right? The expression of the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom had completely frozen, and his mustache was trembling violently. He was obviously shocked and speechless by Zheng Mu's terrifying air fortress. After a while, a forced smile formed on his face and he nodded. Yes, Mr. Li, you are right. The matter between our Sakura country and your country is just a small friction caused by some misunderstandings between neighboring countries. It is far from reaching the point of starting a national war. We, the Sakura Congress, will stop all military operations against your country in the secret realm of different time and space, and withdraw all troops from the areas occupied by your country. Finally, Tian added something as if he thought of something. As for the compensation for losses, I will also send the Prime Minister of our country to discuss with you. Mr. Li nodded with a smile, and after saying some official words, the matter with Sakura country was temporarily over. Looking at the excited Gu Xingdong and others present, Mr. Li smiled faintly. Now, Bangzi country has really become a piece of fish on our chopping board. Ha ha ha. It's so cool. Those little guys in Sakura country were obviously frightened by that kid Jingmu. Oh my god, this bitch is definitely a wolf killer. More than that, this is what Mr. Li asked him to control, otherwise Qingyan city would have disappeared from the map. Quick, 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 once Sakura country stops supporting Bangzi country in the secret realm of different time and space, then our people will definitely be able to crush the grandsons of Bangzi country and expand their territory. We will also open up territory and expand our territory in the secret realm of different time and space. Everyone was excited here. However, in the sky above Qingyan City, the air fortress that smashed the city defense array suddenly put away its cannons. Under the blank gaze of the citizens of the Bangzi Kingdom in the city, they roared and headed north. Qinghua Palace The king of Bangzi, 
who had just been about to breathe a sigh of relief because of the air fortress's withdrawal just a moment ago, suddenly thought of something when he saw the direction in which the air fortress was heading. The chief chamberlain on the side screamed in surprise. Your Majesty, Shi Jiancheng, the direction that the Dragon Kingdom man went is the direction of our Shi Jiancheng. The expressions of all the senior officials suddenly changed. However, a few minutes later, the scene of the Sky Fortress appearing above Shi Jiancheng was broadcast live by Tian Dao. Looking at the cannon barrel that started to charge again, the King of Bangzi looked pale and had already thought about what Cheng Mu was going to do. Just before the bad news had time to digest, a general in military uniform suddenly ran in. Your Majesty, something bad has happened. Sakura Country informed us that they will no longer provide support for us in the secret realm of different time and space. We have to face the Dragon Kingdom's attack alone. Chapter, 152 We have to face the Dragon Kingdom's attack alone. The bad news that followed one after another made the already chaotic brain of the King of Bangzi Kingdom feel like it was hit hard. His body shook and he fainted directly on the throne. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Quick, call the Imperial Doctor. Recovery Potion, bring the potion. After a lot of frantic treatment, the King of Bangzi Kingdom finally opened his eyes in confusion. Looking at the ministers surrounding him, tears of grievance shone in his eyes. What on earth is going on? Am I really incompetent? Why can a small A-level mechanic bring me to this place in the country of Bangzi? Ah! The hoarse voice made everyone present lower their heads in shame. The king of Bangzi Kingdom ignored their reactions. For such a level of matter, these losers couldn't give him any help at all. After being helped to sit up slowly, the king of Bangzi Kingdom murmured numbly. The elites of the Dragon Kingdom in the secret realm of different time and space are already powerful in combat. If it weren't for the Sakura Kingdom to contain a certain amount of power, our manpower would not be enough to withstand the opponent's full attack now even the Sakura Kingdom is abandoning us as allies. He looked up blankly at the dome of the palace. Are we just going to have to accept those shameful conditions? The scene was still silent. The King of Bangzi knew it was a shame, so why didn't they? If anyone dares to take the initiative to support the peace talks at this time, no matter what status or identity he has, he will be labeled as a traitor on the spot. Everyone's eyes were testing each other. However, 037 at this moment, the outside world of Bangzi country has become completely chaotic. In the sky above Shijianqing, the gun barrels of the air fortress shrilly condense the energy of destroying the world, accompanied by a roar. Shi Jianqing city defense formation only lasted less than two seconds. In an instant, it exploded in the air. Several more dark purple light pillars unfortunately landed on several buildings. The latter instantly turned into ashes and disappeared like the previous buildings in Qingyan city. Large craters were left on the ground, filled with scorching waves of air. Is this guy from the Dragon Kingdom planning to destroy all the city defense formations in the Bangzi Kingdom one after another? God, what's the difference between this and letting the king of Bangzi country eat shit in public? Losing Hancheng is just a loss of territory. If the defense arrays of all the cities in the country are destroyed, then Bangzi country will simply be spiritually destroyed. How can it be repaired? Why do I suddenly feel that if this person from the Dragon Kingdom did this, it would be better to kill these people from the Bangzi Kingdom? If this kind of thing happened in our Sakura Kingdom, the samurai families responsible for guarding the city for His Majesty the Emperor would probably commit seppuku. Committed suicide. Tai Mialu, you guy upstairs, don't give me a crow's mouth. Balu Yalu. At the same time, after destroying Shi Jianqing city defense formation, the air fortress was activated again and headed towards the next city. Next, Shuetong city, Yuanzhou city, Danyang city, Munyao city and other cities suffered disaster one after another. Although the citizens of Bangzi country already know that Jing Mu will no longer continue to massacre the city, but every time they visit their city, they always randomly select a few super lucky buildings. Become a super lucky person in the city and reincarnate on the spot. The result of this is that even though they know that they will not massacre the city, the professionals and citizens of Bangzi country are even more frightened. Shiba, where is our army? Where is the God of Protection? 
Aren't we a world power? Why are we forced to this point by a small dragon kingdom mechanic? Why? A young man from Bangzi country roared angrily on the street, and next to him were things that had just been moved out of his home. People like him can be seen everywhere in the major cities of Bangzi kingdom. The originally wide streets and squares were immediately occupied by a large number of people. No one dares to stay in their own house, for fear that they did too many good things in their previous life and this life will end prematurely. Even the city defense troops in major cities no longer cared about guarding the city. They returned home one after another, greeted their families, and moved their precious belongings out of the house. As a result, the entire Bangzi kingdom soon became filled with complaints. Various attacks began on the ability and character of the current king of Bangzi kingdom, and no one of the high-ranking officials were spared. They were unable to cause any resistance to the behemoths that appeared in the sky, but they were able to verbally and physically criticize these officers and officials who did not act. The Capital of Bangzi Kingdom In just half a day, Zheng Mu and his aerial fortress visited most of their city one after another. And, as if to deliberately put pressure on them, they have been circling the cities in the surrounding areas of the capital. Your Majesty, no, General Sun and the others cannot withdraw at all. Without the support of the Sakura Kingdom, we have now lost the two outer areas of the Misty Forest and the Demonic Poison Canyon under the attack of the Dragon Kingdom. If the situation continues, we may even lose the Bone Burial Mountain, the Swamp of the Doomed and even the Base Camp. In the Blue House Palace, I looked at the Chief Chamberlain who had obvious traces of battle on his body at this moment. The faces of everyone present were twitching. Looking at the situation, has even the Base Camp turned into a battlefield? I just went in to investigate the situation, but everything was affected. The king of Bangzi kingdom looked pale, and he was obviously a little confused. At this moment, he was pacing back and forth on the edge of the throne. The dragon kingdom wants our twenty big cities. How can we get half of the national treasury reserves? If we really agree to this, our Bangzi kingdom will definitely act, become the laughing stock of the whole world. All the ministers looked at each other. Today's Bangzi country seems to have become the laughing stock of the whole world, right? The country's face has long been swollen and swollen by Zheng Mu and the Dragon Kingdom behind him. What's even more outrageous is that they actually want nine princesses. Where did I get so many princesses? The king of Bangzi kingdom shouted in the hall with anger and despair. However, several senior officials present suddenly looked at each other, and one of them slowly walked out after nodding slightly. Your Majesty, the Dragon Kingdom doesn't dare to go too far. This is why their senior leaders immediately agreed when we proposed peace talks. They don't want to fight with us at this moment to completely destroy the country. After all if we completely abandon the secret realm of different time and space and transfer all our troops back to Blue Star, the neighbor that will suffer the most will definitely be the Dragon Kingdom. Seeing the King of Bangzi Kingdom looking over, the senior official lowered his head slightly. But he continued. I believe that the conditions proposed by the Dragon Kingdom are meant for us to negotiate for. There is room for negotiation on the city and compensation. As for the princess. The minister pondered for a moment and looked at the president of the Three Star Guild aside with a faint look. There are not enough princesses in the royal family. Your majesty can also select some people with suitable status and grant the title of princess. For example, Chairman Lee's eldest daughter. I heard that she is a very outstanding and beautiful girl. Suddenly, the president of the Three Star Guild, who was still pretending to be his grandson, suddenly changed his expression. Just as he was about to argue something, several ministers made exceptions one after another. They all shouted in support of the minister's proposal and started negotiations with the Dragon Kingdom. When he looked up, he happened to meet the king of Bangzi kingdom with a pair of obviously cold eyes, and his heart suddenly sank. Already realized that the situation was not good. However, the king of Bangzi country did not give him a chance to object and nodded directly. This is indeed a way to solve the problem. In this case Mr. Liu, it is up to you to start negotiations with the dragon kingdom. You must protect the interests of the Tianpeng kingdom as much as possible. When the time came in the afternoon, Zheng Mu was thinking about whether to go directly to the capital of Bangbangzi Kingdom. 
the official side of Bangzi country finally responded. In order to stabilize the country and surrounding areas, and eliminate conflicts and misunderstandings between Drun and the Dragon Kingdom, we will send an envoy to start peace talks and consultations with the Dragon Kingdom. During this period, we kindly ask both parties to exercise restraint for the sake of peaceful negotiations. This statement appeared, and Zheng Mu's air fortress did not continue to take any extraordinary actions. It was quietly spread over a city in Bangzi Kingdom. He has no intention of leaving. Bangzi Kingdom's statement of concession and resignation was issued, and instantly, the entire Dragon Kingdom fell into an unprecedented and fierce celebration. Everyone understands that this is considered a win. Next is the time to reap the benefits. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck all. Southwest Military Attaché University, Kai Shinkuan of the Wheel of Truth Guild roared loudly and excitedly, his face turned red and purple due to excessive excitement. However, the others in this child did not care about the ridiculous appearance of the other person's shirtless appearance. They hugged each other excitedly. The president is awesome. One person has brought down a whole country. How dare you believe this? Who the hell dares believe this? I swear by my strength, I will always follow the boss in this life. I will do whatever the boss asks me to do. Damn it, if I were stronger, I would follow the boss and expand the territory. Some people were so excited that they couldn't help themselves, some were so happy that they cried with joy, and some were beating their chests and feet in frustration. As for He Guang, who originally admitted Cheng Mu and the others to Southwest Military Attaché University, he was already in Qin Ji's office, too excited to find Bei. He grabbed a veteran who was teaching and repeated it excitedly. Zheng Mu. I recruited that one, ha ha ha. I recruited that one. Did you hear that? I, He Guang, recruited you here. Qin Ji rolled his eyes speechlessly, but the hands behind him were trembling with excitement. Looking at everything outside the window, the haze that had always been in his eyes was swept away at this moment. Dragon Kingdom. It's about to take off. Chapter, 153. Bangzi Country, the Capital. A luxurious and majestic mansion is located in the wealthy area in the west of the capital. To be able to own such a huge piece of land in the capital of the Bangzi Kingdom, where every inch of land is precious, is destined that the owner here is not immortal. However, even when faced with ordinary people, even some professionals are high-ranking big shots. At this moment, Li Jinxi frowned. In the villa's living room, which was as magnificent as a royal palace, all the members of the Li family of the Three Star Guild gathered here. On the table in front of them, there was a pile of luxurious jewelry, clothes and a canonization edict from the royal family of Bangzi. As soon as Li Jianxi returned home today, people from the royal family's Zongli department came to the door with these things. There is no intention to negotiate with the other party at all. Li Fujian, the eldest daughter of the Three Stars Guild, was canonized as Princess Xinyu and prepared to marry the Dragon Kingdom. Oh, 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 Abuji, that Jing Mu is a murderer. If my sister marries him, won't she even be able to survive? You think of a way, Abuji, my sister is an S-class professional. She is obviously so good. Why did your majesty marry her off? Numbo husband, is there really no room for improvement in this matter? You are the president of the three-star guild, can't even you refuse? Hearing the anxious inquiries from his youngest daughter and wife, Li Jianxi also frowned with anger on his face. He stared blankly at his eldest daughter Li Fujian. As the daughter of his Li Jianxi, Li Fujian received top-notch elite education since she was a child. Later, when she awakened as an S-level mage professional, Ling Meng Sage, she became the best spouse in the eyes of men in the entire Bangzi kingdom. The country is beautiful and fragrant, and the temperament is elegant. More than once, someone even said secretly that their Li Fujian looked more like a princess than a royal princess. Over the years, there have been countless people who wanted to marry the Li family of the Three Star Guild, including many young talents and high-level professionals, but they were all rejected by Li Jianxi at a glance. Looking at his father with a painful look on his face, Li Fujian had to force a smile to comfort her father, even though her heart was full of fear of Zheng Mu. Abji, don't be like this. 
since it is an order from His Majesty the King, then naturally we as ministers can only obey the order. All this is for the peace of Bangzi country, isn't it? Li Jianxi let out a long sigh. He, who was known as the Three Star King by the major guilds, was unable to oppose the royal family's order at this moment. On the side, Li Zirong, the eldest son of Li, gritted his teeth and looked angry. Why is it for Bangzi country? Bangzi country belongs to the royal family and the nobles. What does it have to do with our Three Star Li family? The monarch is completely targeting and suppressing our three-star guild. Not to mention anything else, I have heard more than once from Princess Su Yu of the royal family that she wanted to assassinate Fu Zhen. That insidious and vicious woman, and the Zongli secretary came so quickly, there must be something to do with her. It is different from the dull atmosphere of the three-star Li family. At the same time, in the Qinghua Palace, the palace of Princess Su Yu that Li Zairo mentioned, the proud laughter of Princess Suyu could be heard. Ha ha ha, that bitch Li Fujin, if she falls into the hands of that Dragon Kingdom demon, her life will definitely be worse than death. Ha ha ha, haven't you always wanted to be a princess? Now I'm full of it. Princess Suyu looks good, but in the mirror she is full of insidiousness and jealousy that a villain should have. When the palace maid on the side heard this, she immediately bowed to flatter him. What princess? Apart from you, your highness Su Yu, no one in our entire Bangzi kingdom can be called a princess. Even those from other palaces are just bitches who need to be dealt with. Su Yu smiled when he heard such rebellious words. Looking at her beautiful self in the mirror, her eyes were full of arrogance and conceit. Ha ha, how could it be that none of them were favored by his highness Zeref in the first place? It is also destined that they will be thrown out like objects today, and Suyu is the future concubine of the second prince of the United States. How can you be like those lowly guys? The palace ladies nodded and flattered again. Suddenly, one of the palace maids seemed to have thought of something, and a sinister smile appeared on her face. Your Highness, I wonder if you want to make that bitch of the Sanching family even more miserable. Hearing this, Suyu's eyes lit up. The latter also smiled. Your Highness, I heard that Major General Lewis of the U.S. Army is very interested in the womanly fusion, but he has been rejected by President Sanching several times. If we tell him quietly, Li Fujin asked him for help. Suddenly, Princess Suyu's eyes lit up. She also knew the Lewis the palace made mentioned, an S-class professional who came to the Bangzi country to be stationed for two years and was about to return home after being gilded. He had a bright future. If he hadn't had a better choice like Xerif, he would have chosen him as his husband. Lewis's infatuation with Li Fujin is obvious to all. If he really contacted the other party with Li Fujin's tone of asking for help, the other party would definitely not give up. When Lewis and the devil from the Dragon Kingdom come together, the people from the Dragon Kingdom will definitely not dare to do anything to Lewis, and they will have no choice but to vent their anger on that bitch Li Fujin. As his thoughts became clearer, so you couldn't help but get excited, as if he was sending someone to do something. The conference negotiations took place in Jing Mu's air fortress. When Mr. Li and others set foot here, they couldn't help but admire the power and superbness of this mechanical creation. Huh, you are really enjoying yourself more and more. Old man, I just listened to General Gu and the others saying how luxurious your base car is, and I couldn't think of a specific picture. But it turns out that you are better, and you just completely destroyed such a big car. Guy. Hearing Mr. Li's words full of praise, Jing Mu also flattered him with a smile. After taking a group of people responsible for negotiations from the Dragon Kingdom to visit the Air Fortress, the people from the Bangzi Kingdom finally arrived. When they passed the Air Bridge, entered the Air Fortress from a flying cloud boat, everyone's movements became much stiffer. Jing Mu has no intention of taking these little Shiba around. When a conference room was arranged, the subject of negotiation entered. The person in charge of the negotiations on Longwa's side was Gu Xingdong. Zheng Mu and Mr. Li were sitting in the next room, watching quietly. However, the feeling of the two unknown old men sitting next to Mr. Li staring at him made Zheng Mu particularly uncomfortable. Um, who are these two old gentlemen? Hearing Zheng Mu's question, before Mr. Li had time to introduce it, an old man with an obvious military temperament snorted coldly. It's really cool. 
If you sleep with someone else's daughter, are you really not worried about others coming to your door? Jing Mu's expression froze, and when he looked at the other person's face, he had some imagination of Jiang Guixing, but it was unclear. Jiang Lanlin's father, the old man of the Jiang family. Seeing Mr. Li's gloating look, Jing Mu sighed and looked at the other old man beside him. Then this old man's surname is he. The old man shook his head, my surname is Lin. The boy at home, Lin Guanyong, has talked about you. I came here to have a look if I was curious. Jing Mu breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, He Shang Yun didn't seem to be from a big family. Just when Jing Mu was about to explain something to Mr. Jiang, a fierce quarrel suddenly came from the negotiation conference room. Shiba. You are blackmailing. Without your negotiation, you Longwa people have no sincerity in negotiating at all. Sincerity. The fact that you are sitting here is the greatest sincerity of our Dragon Kingdom. We can't even submit the armistice as stated in Article 1. Who has no sincerity? That's unreasonable. That's our king. How could the king submit a truce? Impossible. Huh, if he submits the armistice now, he may still be the king of the country. If he refuses to submit the armistice, he will be the king of the country tomorrow. Shiba. Presumptuous. Hearing Gu Xingdong's violent voice, Zheng Mu's attention was immediately attracted to him. In the white curtain in front of him, the situation in the conference room was completely played out. Mr. Li shook his head slightly. Don't worry, we have used intelligence to check the bottom line of Bangzi country. Now it is just a test by both sides. Negotiations between the two countries, especially those involving large amounts of war compensation, will take a lot of time. Woolen cloth. Mr. Li looked like he was used to it, with a smile on his face all the time. Regardless of whether he was slow or not, Longhua had made a lot of money this time. However, Jing Mu was a little dissatisfied. After pondering for a moment, he seemed to have thought of something and laughed. Mr. Li, do you want me to put some more pressure on them? Mr. Lin frowned. Are you still planning to attack those cities in the Bangzi kingdom? Doing so will probably backfire on the negotiations. Young people, don't be so impatient. The food has already been cooked, and it won't take long before it's served. Zheng Mu shook his head, glanced at the three of them, and said meaningfully. Three seniors, our current negotiation with Bangzi country should be regarded as an alliance under the city, right? Mr. Li and the others nodded. Zheng Mu's smile gradually became wicked. He pointed at the screen in front of him that turned into an image of the capital of Bangzi kingdom. If there is no army at the city, what kind of alliance is it? Chapter, 154 If there is no army at the city gate, what kind of alliance is it? Hearing Zheng Mu's meaningful words, several people present were stunned. Zheng Mu didn't explain, and headed towards his machinery factory with a few people. When Mr. Li and the others saw that this place was densely packed with dense assembly lines that were producing mechanical creations one after another, even though they had already briefly visited this sky fortress under the leadership of Zheng Mu. At this moment, Mr. Li and the others opened their mouths in horror. I, this Mr. Jiang, who had complained a lot about Zheng Mu, was now standing on a high platform, looking at the busy machinery factory below, and his hands on the railings were all affectionate. Model Shocking. Fear. My scalp is numb. Looking around, on the assembly lines, T-100, T-800, liquors, and some mechanical creations that look like various beasts are coming off the assembly line one after another. Mr. Lee and others looked at this scene in shock. Even big shots like them were shocked by the scene in front of them. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, smiled and scolded Fang Chiu with a relaxed look on his face. Seniors, do you think it's okay for me to have my hands free? As long as there are enough monster materials, my sky fortress can convert these monster materials into my drawing 250 without stopping. The mechanical components are finally assembled. Mr. Li, Mr. Lin, Mr. Jiang. The three of them were silent for a long time, and finally Mr. Lin exhaled a long, trembling breath and sighed in a low voice. I made a mistake. Zheng Mu didn't know why. Somehow, 
he seemed to hear a strong feeling of regret in the tone of the old man in front of him. Elder Li and Elder Jiang on the side knew the reason. They glanced sympathetically at Elder Lin, who was secretly feeling sad, and then looked at Jing Mu again. So, what are you going to do next? During the negotiation, neither party can take action against each other. Now even in the secret realm of different time and space, the fighting has been temporarily stopped. Zheng Mu nodded confidently. Of course I know this, but if I remember correctly, the Blue Star countries have issued a joint declaration, right? Regardless of the professionals of any camp, as long as they do not actively cause harm to professionals of other camps, you can freely move around in monster areas in other countries. At this moment, Mr. Li and the others immediately realized something. They looked at the factory behind them where dozens of mechanical creations of various models came down the assembly line in just a short while. At this moment, Mr. Jiang, who had criticized Jing Mu, had to sigh. The country of Bangzi has done so many evil things in the past life when it comes across a bad guy like you. Mr. Li and Mr. Lin also nodded. Everyone here has been forced to start an alliance under the city, but Zheng Mu actually thinks that bloodletting is too laborious and continues to force him. It's so so cool. None of the big shots in the Dragon Kingdom had any objections. Zheng Mu immediately asked the Red Queen to fly the air fortress in the direction of the capital of the Bangzi Kingdom. Along the way, the action trajectory of the air fortress was watched by professionals all over the world under Tiandao's live broadcast. Zarishite. What is this Dragon Nation man going to do? Haven't they already started negotiating? Didn't they already collapse after just how long they started? Look in this direction, that is the capital of the Bangzi Kingdom. Will this mechanic still dare to attack the capital of the ten countries? Aren't you afraid that the Bangzi Kingdom will completely start a national war? Up to now, the Bangzi Kingdom has not dispatched a national protector god. It is just the former national protector Li Zihang. The kind of existence that has been eliminated from the pyramid cannot be compared with the real national protector god. Ha ha ha, let's fight. It's best to bomb the Qinghua Palace. Dogs and dogs from the Bangzi Kingdom and the Dragon Kingdom will bite each other. It's time for our army from the White Elephant Kingdom to clean up the mess and save lives. It turned out to be a fierce man from the White Elephant Kingdom. I heard that a powerful warrior appeared in your country. Using dry land stick skills, he forcibly humiliated a level 20 lizard monster to death. Ugh, that's disgusting. And ignore how lively the major forums have become because of the actions of the air fortress. Soon, when the air fortress appeared in the sky near the capital of Bangzi Kingdom, the entire Bangzi Kingdom panicked. Shiba, what's going on? Haven't I already sent an envoy to negotiate? What on earth are those damn Long Kingdom people going to do? The king of Bangzi Kingdom looked at the air fortress descending from the clouds in the distance, and stood outside the palace angrily, roaring angrily. The surrounding high-ranking officials of Bangzi country also looked gloomy. They are not without temper. They have decided to make such huge concessions. If the Dragon Kingdom continues to press, they, the Bangzi Kingdom, will have to completely give up all their ideas. Directly call back the army from the secret realm of different time and space, and have a real showdown with Dragon Kingdom on the Blue Star mainland. And just when these high-level officials of Bangzi Kingdom had already prepared the idea of starting a complete war once Xing Mu attacked their capital in a flash of their eyes. In the distance, large black spots suddenly appeared from the air fortress flying in mid-air outside the city. Like dark clouds that are raining, they are descending densely toward the outside of the city. Suddenly, everyone's brows wrinkled. What happened? Did that damn mechanic use any means to attack us? The king of Bangzi Kingdom asked loudly, and soon, the defender responsible for the defense of Bangzi Kingdom's capital rushed to the palace like lightning, but his face looked a little strange. Your Majesty, the Dragon Kingdom has not launched any attack on us. The Air Fortress is releasing a large number of mechanical creations into the monster areas around our capital. It seems that Zheng Mu is preparing to fight monsters and upgrade here. Hearing this, all the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom frowned. Soon, everyone, led by the king of Bangzi Kingdom, appeared on the city wall of the capital. 
From a distance, when he saw the air fortress with his own eyes, the king of Bangzi kingdom clenched his fists in anger. This includes the Qing Huang, which I spent a huge amount of money to build. However, he didn't care about the Qing Huang number anymore. As the skill is used, the situation in the distance gradually becomes larger. Everyone's expressions changed instantly. A large number of mechanical creations that had wreaked havoc in Han City were released by Zheng Mu from the Air Fortress. Densely like a swarm of locusts, they spread in the monster area around the capital of their country. The large area outside the capital of Bangzi Kingdom is called Luanbandangang. There are a large number of humanoid monsters active here, and their levels are between 420-40. In addition, there are also a large number of beast-type monsters, and the number is also quite large. It is an important area in Bangzi country for new professionals to fight monsters and upgrade. However, after the T-100 and other mechanical creations arrived, they immediately attacked these monsters. Large areas of bandits were killed in an instant, and balls of light exploded one by one. The face of the king of Bangzi kingdom was as black as the bottom of a pot. Shiba. With the speed of killing monsters on this scale, the speed at which that bitch Cheng Mu is growing is simply unstoppable. If he wants to, he can soar to a very high level in a very short time. And at this moment, it's like what the king of Bangzi said. After just putting down more than 20 00 mechanical creations, including all the transformers under his command, within an hour or so, Cheng Mu suddenly bloomed with 10 formations. You have upgraded, your current level is 436. Seeing this scene, Mr. Li and the others who were sitting in front of the floor to ceiling windows on one side, looking at the crazy scene of mechanical creations dominating the monster area outside, all had their eyes fixed. Have you leveled up again? Mr. Li looked at his panel, next to the column of the Tiandao live broadcast screen, and in the Zheng Mu information, for 36 was clearly visible, and he no longer knew how to evaluate it. Only two or three days had passed since the opponent launched an attack on Hanqing. But this kid's level has soared directly from 426 to the current level of 36. The amount of experience required to win 10 levels in a row is definitely a very scary number. In Southwest Military Attaché University, freshmen are particularly diligent and have good abilities, so it will take one to two years. However, this kid only needs two or three days. Moreover, they understand that Zheng Mu doesn't seem to be very enthusiastic about killing monsters and upgrading. Otherwise, if he puts out mechanical creations like he does now, he will be able to make a car a long time ago. Your kid's soaring speed really puts us older generations to shame. Mr. Li sighed, and Mr. Jiang on the side looked at Zheng Mu with a complicated expression in front of him with a smile on his face. This kid is strong, talented, and has a strong sense of belonging to the Dragon Kingdom. He is also a real hawk like himself, but he is so scumbag. Thinking of his precious daughter, forget it because she was harmed by this brat, maybe she will be with other girls in the future. Mr. Jiang touched his heart, silently sat at the tea table nearby and drank tea. Mr. Lin looked at Jing Mu with a complicated expression again and sighed. I regret it so much. Although they were quite dissatisfied with Jing Mu's behavior of killing monsters around their capital, after knowing that Jing Mu had no intention of continuing the attack, the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom pinched their noses and admitted it. However, in 2 2, they endured it. The major guilds and professionals in the capital felt extremely uncomfortable. Chaos Bandit Post Due to concerns about Jing Mu's sudden attack on the capital, there were obviously many more Bangziguo professionals who went out hunting, killing monsters, and upgrading during this period. At this moment, a team of professionals armed to the teeth with the Three Star Guild logo had just targeted a gathering place of small scale gangsters. We are still formulating a battle plan. Next moment. Amidst the rumbling sound, as the earth shook and the mountains shook, the figure of Dinosaur King Kong Iron Block, suddenly rushed out from the woods on the side. The terrifying power instantly flattened a large area of trees, and at the same time, the huge body rushed into the gathering place of the gangsters they were looking for. Boom! A burst of invisible power burst out from the opponent's body. In just the blink of an eye, the gangster, whose average level was around LV-30, was instantly crushed into a pulp by the majestic force. 
There was not even a scream from the spot, but the trophies of the light ball scattered all over the place. While everyone was stunned, a steel eagle as tall as a man landed from the sky. He grabbed the light ball on the ground and flew towards the huge aerial fortress in the sky in the distance. Everyone in the Sanchin Guild, Shiba, what is this? Robbery of Monsters Chapter 155 As Mr. Lee said, negotiation can be said to be quite time-consuming. For several days, Gu Xingdong and the others were arguing fiercely. There was progress, but it was very difficult. However, Jing Mu is not worried at all about this. Well. When they heard Jing Mu next door moaning comfortably under the massage of the beautiful mechanical creature, the eyes of Mr. Li and the others who were soaking in the hot spring were all empty-eyed. The war has temporarily stopped, and Gu Xingdong is in charge of the current negotiations in the Dragon Kingdom. Mr. Li soaked in the hot spring, and every pore in his body relaxed. He had not experienced this state of extreme relaxation and comfort for countless years. His strength was damaged and he had little fighting ability. He was in a high position and it could be said that he was thinking about the future of the Dragon Kingdom every day. Now I don't know whether it was because he could tear off a piece of meat from Beng Ziguo right away, or because Longwa showed up with Zheng Mu, which made him relax in a rare way. While soaking in the comfortable hot spring water, my eyelids began to fight unconsciously. On the side, Mr. Jiang raised his head and was at the edge of the hot spring pool. Ah, this guy is good at everything, but he is too good at enjoying himself. He doesn't have the hard-working and pragmatic advantages of our old-timers at all. As he spoke, one hand uncontrollably picked up the wine brought by the service robot on the side. This thing was taken from the treasury of Chong Hua Hanxiong in Bangzi Kingdom. It is something that only the royal family and the elite can enjoy in Bangzi Kingdom. It is made by a lifestyle professional brewer. The wine entered his throat, and the hard and pragmatic words in Jiang Lao's mouth were suddenly blocked. It's so comfortable. Mr. Jiang noticed that Mr. Lin beside Zero Two looked increasingly bitter, and suddenly laughed. Old Lin, you deserve it. Children and grandchildren will have their own blessings. The bad things you said you did back then were spread throughout the entire Shindu circle. Now it's better. None of Zhang's descendants know you, uh. Looking at Mr. Jiang who shook his head with a sneer on his face, Mr. Lin's eyes flashed with haze, but on the surface he curled his lips with a smile on his face. Really, old man Jiang, you are so sympathetic to me, but you are overly worried. I just want to think about what we should call this girl Zheng Mu after our family named Lan Lan. Old Jiang clenched his fists. The senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom are living more and more comfortably these days. However, something is obviously wrong with the atmosphere in the capital of the Bangzi Kingdom. One after another, shops and hotels run by lifestyle professionals have put up signs of suspension of operations. An air of depression filled the streets and alleys. At the gate of the city, a large number of professionals were coming in and out in groups. There were also many Bangzi Chinese who looked like businessmen guarding the gate. Seeing the self-employed professionals who came back with their heads down and empty-handed, the anxious look on their faces became more intense. Captain Tongjing, haven't you harvested anything today? It's been three or four days. We don't have the freshest Heian pork. Our restaurant has been closed for so many days. If it continues like this. I'm afraid there's going to be a big problem. Sorry, Manager Chui, we have already gone to the area where the Black Cloud Wild Boar is active to guard the monster spawn time, but. The captain of a professional team was stopped, but he looked distressed and angry. That mechanic Zheng Mu has occupied all the monster areas within 20 or 30 kilometers of our capital. His mechanical creations are everywhere. As soon as the monster appears, more than a dozen mechanical creations will immediately come to besiege him. Sorry, we have no chance to take action. Hearing this, not to mention this store manager Chui, all the other merchants running shops in the capital also showed anger and distress on their faces. Shiba, how can this Dragon Kingdom bastard be so shameless? The entire area around the capital has been reserved. If we purchase materials from other cities, the cost will be too high. Not only is the cost high, 
the price of high-grade talisman paper and monster blood that our six-stone talisman shop needs recently has tripled. This is a talisman industry with a limited success rate. Now that the cost of materials has tripled, this is a complete loss-making business. The rent of our store is also extremely high, and those powerful people will not lower the rent for us at all. Shiba, how can we live like this? Early in the morning, when a negotiating delegation from the Bangzi country boarded the air fortress after undergoing a scan and inspection, there was an extra big shot in the delegation. But it was Sun Mingao, the general of the Bangzi kingdom who had withdrawn from the secret realm of different time and space. Your Excellency, General Gu, please immediately order Mr. Jing Mu from your country to immediately stop booking the monster area near the capital of our Bangzi kingdom. This is aggression. It is shameless oppression. Gu Xingdong also enjoyed a massage service from a service robot last night. When he woke up early in the morning, he felt really refreshed. As soon as he sat down, he heard Li Mingdo's angry protest, which was well-meaning. In response, Gu Xingdong glanced at the other party indifferently and asked silently. Among the countries in Blue Star that swore a consensus on the freedom of monster areas in the past, your country should also be among the ranks, right? Moreover, in the monster areas of our dragon kingdom, there are also many professionals from the Bangzi kingdom who hunt monsters. How could General Sun Mingao express such a shameless protest? Aren't you worried that your country's national character will be damaged as a result? Hearing this, Sun Mingao slapped the table angrily. Shiba. Gu Xingdong, don't act like a rogue here. The consensus of all countries allows you to act shamelessly. The monster area belongs to all mankind. Even if there are differences between national camps, normal hunting cannot be hindered. Your dragon kingdom has now occupied all the monster areas more than 20 kilometers around the capital of our Bangzi kingdom. How can you have the nerve to say the words of the Blue Star Consensus? If you don't stop this behavior immediately, then we will have no choice but to make the details of the negotiations public. Our Bangzi country suffered a temporary defeat, but it can never be bullied by others. However, looking at the extremely angry look of the other party, Gu Xingdong sneered and pointed to the floor-to-ceiling window beside him. Since you said so, General Sun, you might as well explain how the reservation is explained in the Blue Star Consensus. Without waiting for the other party to answer, Gu Xingdong had a sneer on his lips. Use force to force non-professionals from this camp not to enter a certain monster area, which means the whole area is reserved. He spread his hands. Jing Mu doesn't seem to have used force against your professionals from Bangzi country, right? He didn't even drive away your people. If you can't hunt monsters, that's entirely your own people's problem. How can this be blamed on us? Sun Min Gao was so angry that he was shaking all over, and several negotiators around him also looked angry. If they didn't think of the purpose of doing this when they said it, there's no need to think about it now. Without the opportunity to go hunting, all industries in their country that involve professionals will basically come to a standstill. This has had a considerable impact on the security and stability of the capital. After all, the monarch of Bangzi country is currently engaged in a humiliating armistice negotiation. Now, if even the professionals in the capital are affected, the consequences they least want to see may really happen. Gu Xingdong also looked at a few people. A smile on his face. Guys, if you want this situation to disappear, I think the speed of our next negotiations should be increased. After all, I don't know if you have noticed the mechanical creations operating in the area near your country. The quantity is increasing rapidly. If we continue to delay, we cannot guarantee that all monster areas in the entire Bangzi kingdom will have mechanical creations from our dragon kingdom. Suddenly, the expressions of Li Mingao and others suddenly changed. The capital of Bangzi kingdom is on the city wall. Li Jianxi looked at the mechanical creations in and out of the sky above the city, at the bottom of the air fortress, with a solemn face and didn't know what he was thinking. On the side, the eldest son Li Zhanrong had a bright look in his eyes. Abu Ji, a few days ago, the number of mechanical creations under Zheng Mu's command seemed to be only a little over 20, 0, 0, right? It's only been a few days and now there are at least 40, 0, 0 to 50, 0, 0 people hunting near the capital. The profession of mechanic can be so terrifying. 
He glanced at his father carefully, and suddenly seemed to have summoned up the courage. Abu Ji, it doesn't seem that it is necessarily all bad for my sister to marry Zheng Mu although our Sanchen guild is strong, it has been ostracized in various ways in the Bangzi kingdom. If we can catch up with the Dragon Kingdom. Enough. Before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Li Jinxi. Looking around, Li Jinxi glared at his son sternly. A cold warning. Some words just need to be thought about in your mind, not everything can be said out of your mouth. Li Zirong's expression changed slightly, but there was a flash of excitement in his eyes. It was obvious that the oppression and exclusion from the royal family and the high-level officials of Bangzi Kingdom, as well as the strong rise of Zheng Mu, made him, the father, make a decision in his heart. The subsequent negotiations with Bangzi country were obviously much smoother. With both parties having a tacit understanding of each other's bottom line, they quickly became involved in various bargains. The time for the truce resolution between Longhua and Bangziguo was determined. With less than half a day left before the seven-day defense of Hancheng, the king of Bangzi state walked up to Zheng Mu's aerial fortress with several ministers under the watchful eyes of professionals from all over the world. A table has been placed here early. Chapter 156 On the outer platform of the air fortress, when the king of the Bangzi kingdom led his people to set foot on this behemoth for the first time, in addition to the deep humiliation, he was also worried about the hundred-meter-long gun barrel above his head. Deep fear. Destroy the atomic cannon. This super weapon gave them the Bangzi kingdom a few days ago and directly drew a canal of more than 200 kilometers on the map. Your Majesty, please be patient. They in the Dragon Kingdom won't be able to be arrogant for long. Behind him, Sun Mingao, a general of the Bangzi Kingdom, had no trace of humiliation on his face at this moment. The name of the armistice will be signed by him, but our country is unwilling to give in to the final candidate submitted. They must ask their monarch to submit it in person. Call. Taking a deep breath and exhaling it slowly, the king of Bangzi country calmed himself down. Many high-ranking officials from the Bangzi kingdom followed behind them. In addition, Li Jianxi, president of the Three Star Guild, also stood in the procession with his daughter Li Fujian. They did not want to come, but the king ordered that all those in the marriage procession should be, all come. However, the only people present were the princess candidates to marry Mu. But there is still a woman. The sister of the king of Bangzi kingdom, Princess Suyu. At this moment, the other party was standing quietly behind the monarch, but his eyes were looking in the direction of Li Fujian and his daughter from time to time. The joking and gloating in his eyes made Li Jianxi frown slightly. I always feel that this look is not a simple mockery. At this moment, Tiandao Live broadcast everything here to the whole world in real time. All professionals in the entire Blue Star stopped their work and upgrades today, and they all looked seriously at this scene that was destined to be recorded in the history of Blue Star, and was designated as a national humiliation by Bangzi country. Ha ha ha, to be honest, the professionals in Bangzi country are useless, but this princess is really smarter than the last. My God, judging from the peace negotiation conditions announced by both parties before, these stick men present today all beauties in the country should be princesses to be married off. Marriage, my God, ha ha ha, who dares to believe it? These princesses are all going to marry Zheng Mu. Who can bear this special girl? The key is that the status of each of these people is not low. In addition to the princesses of the royal family, there are also several high-ranking officials from the Bangzi kingdom who have been canonized as princesses. Among them, the three-star guild leader of the strongest first-class guild in the Bangzi kingdom the princess also wants to marry Zheng Ban. God, I don't know how many men this mechanic Xing Mu will become a thorn in the side from this day on, but there is one thing I'm in need of. I'm so damn jealous of this guy for marrying so many at once. Beauty. Above the air fortress. Even though it was located hundreds of meters above the ground, no one felt the slightest bit of chill or strong wind. The king of Bangzi kingdom walked up to Mr. Li and the others with a gloomy look. But his eyes were fixed on Zheng Mu, who was sitting next to Mr. Li. The latter had no intention of getting up at this moment. Mechanic Zheng Mu is such an amazing young man. I, Bangzi country, have learned a lesson. When the king of Bangzi kingdom spoke, 
no one present thought it was a compliment. However, upon hearing this, Jing Mu's face was filled with a bright smile. You're welcome. If you need anything next time, you can still call me. I will definitely go out of my way. Click. The king of Bangzi state clenched his fists, and Jing Mu's arrogant words were clearly heard by professionals all over the world at this moment. They all gasped. Good guy, does this guy really not know what the king of a country actually represents? The king of Bangzi kingdom also burst into laughter after a brief moment of astonishment. He stared at Jing Mu with a pair of murderous eyes. His eyes looked like a dead person, which made people shudder. However, Jing Mu, however, was still sitting there with the presence of the old god. Mr. Li, your country has really produced an extraordinary young man. However, this Mr. Zheng does not seem to be a person who wants to be controlled. If he can't control it, he may suddenly fall into trouble somewhere. It's so hard to miss. Mr. Li smiled slightly. Thank you for your concern, your majesty. This boy is a little naughty, but everything is still within the tolerance of our dragon kingdom. Naughty? Can your naughty children kill three to four hundred thousand people? Can you build a man-made canal for others? Can it blast most of the city's defense formations to pieces? The king of Bangzi kingdom realized that he was a talkative. As a loser, no matter what words he said at this moment, the final result would definitely be humiliation. He snorted coldly. Let's get started. I think you guys can't wait too. Hearing this, Mr. Li winked at Gu Xingdong behind him, who took out the truce that the two countries had negotiated before. Then he read it loudly in front of the Tiandao live broadcast. In order to stabilize the peaceful environment between the Dragon Kingdom and the Bangzi Kingdom, eliminate conflicts and frictions between them, and end the current state of war. From now on, our country, the Dragon Country, accepts the armistice request made by the Bangzi Country and proposes the following peace consensus based on the current situation between the two parties. Hundreds of millions of people in the Dragon Kingdom all held their breath, nervously and excitedly looking at the scene in the light screen in front of them. As if afraid of missing even one detail. Southwest Military Attaché University and the Wheel of Truth Guild were crowded with people, not only teachers and students from the Weiguan campus, but also people from the school official campus and even the general campus. Everyone looked excitedly at the huge light curtain in front of them. Mr. Li is sitting in the middle of the Long Kingdom side, Jing Mu is sitting on his right hand side, and on his left side is Gu Xingdong who is reading the contents of the armistice loudly. Everyone knows that this newcomer has only been in school for a month or two. Soaring into the sky. Needless to say, he will become a big shot in the future. Once this battle is finalized, Jing Mu has already become a big shot in the Dragon Kingdom. In the picture, the armistice conditions of Bangzi country reached everyone's ears. From now on, the Bangzi Kingdom will cede Hanqing, Qingin City, Shijianqing, Haiji Island and its surrounding monster areas, which will belong to the Dragon Kingdom. All the original Bangzi Kingdom citizens must move out, and no damage to the existing facilities can be done. The Dragon Kingdom personnel will take over directly. In the end, only three cities were divided, but the last one, Haiji Island, made Cheng Mu slightly stunned. Mr. Li on the side smiled slightly. One Haiji Island was comparable to seven or eight Bangzi Kingdom cities. If they hadn't insisted on ceding most of the country's land to the other party at the beginning, the other party would never have taken Haiji Island out. Taking the Qinghua Hanqing sub-treasury as a unit, Bangzi Kingdom must deliver to Dragon Kingdom monster materials, equipment, props, etc. Equivalent to the reserves of eleven of this sub-treasury within ten days. Finally, in order to repair the relationship between the two countries, the Bangzi Kingdom needs to send five princesses, Princess Wenhe, Princess Yuluo, Princess Jian, Princess Jiaohe and Princess Xinyu, to marry Jingmu, a young talent from the Dragon Kingdom. At this point, everyone's eyes couldn't help but look towards Jingmu who was sitting there, only to see that the latter was already looking at several women in the crowd with bright eyes. Suddenly, everyone in Bangzi Kingdom was extremely humiliated. The other party's eyes didn't seem to be admiring some beautiful princess, but completely as if they were looking at exquisite goods. After Bangzi country nodded in approval, 
a truce in triplicate was placed on the table. Sun Min Gao looked gloomy on the side and took out his pen without saying a word, preparing to sign on it. At this moment, bursts of roaring sounds suddenly came from the distance. Everyone was startled and looked at the sound, but the expressions of Mr. Li and others changed slightly. Princess Su Yu, who was standing behind the King of Bangzi Kingdom, had a flash of joy in her eyes, and turned back to look at the Li family and her daughter behind her with a face full of teasing. Noticing the vicious and gloating eyes of the other party, they looked in the direction. When they saw the Feiyun boat flying far away, both Li Jianxi and Li Fujian's pupils shrank. On the Feiyun boat, the American symbol representing the Blue Star Overlord has appeared in front of everyone. Zheng Mu had already received the order from the Red Queen to shoot him down, but he temporarily held him down. Miss Li Fujian. I'm here to save you. As long as I, Louis Mine, am here, no one can take you away. The voice full of heroism came from the Feiyun boat of the United States in the distance. Hearing this, Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows slightly. This scene is somewhat cliché. He couldn't help but look at Li Fujian in the crowd. Among the five princesses, this person was definitely the person she was most satisfied with. When the latter heard the person calling her name, not only did she not feel happy, her pretty face even turned pale instantly. The panicked person looked towards Xing Mu. Their eyes met, and Tiao Jing got some information from the other person's eyes. He looked around well, and his eyes finally settled on the woman who was full of excitement and gloating. TSK In this kind of bloody drama in the previous life, there was always a plot between the male and female protagonists. He had seen through it in an instant. Judging from the face of the woman, she was a guy who was good at being jealous of him. Mr. Li, I will handle this matter. After saying something in a low voice, Zheng Mu stood up directly and walked towards Fa Yanzu from the United States who was approaching, with the whole world watching. My friend, you shouldn't have come, or at least you should have understood the situation before coming. The plain words he spoke made the blonde man on the Feiyun boat freeze his eyes and his face became cold. Are you the boy from the Dragon Kingdom who wants to rob Miss Li Fujian? I advise you to be smarter. There are some people you cannot satisfy. In front of our powerful rice empire, your little dragon kingdom will be destroyed at any time. He looked speechlessly at the guy who was so unfriendly and could only sigh. Along with a burst of mechanical sound, the terrifying 100-meter main gun of the air fortress suddenly began to rotate slowly, and finally settled in one direction. Listen to the white-skinned pig, think clearly about the direction that my giant hanging is facing, and then you can use your close relative's brain to organize the next words. Okay. Chapter, 157. The rumbling sound of the main gun turning caused tension around the world. Especially the citizens of Bangzi country turned pale with fear. The air fortress is now in their Bangzi country. If there is another attack. Let's not say who Zheng Mu is going to hit with this shot. Anyway, the city of Bangzi state along the line will definitely be the first to suffer. Thinking about the Grand Canal connecting Hanjiang River and Hancheng, all the citizens in the city in the direction of the terrifying atomic cannon of the Sky Fortress began to panic. No matter whether the other party will fire or not, they don't want to bet their own luck with their lives. The American professionals who were watching the show quietly saw the blonde man who suddenly appeared and instantly recognized his identity. Louise Maine Captain of the professionals stationed in the United States in the United States, an S-class professional. However, the professionals in the United States were furious about the opponent's handsome and aura-filled appearance. Zarashite. What kind of idiot is this guy? Does he think he is much better than Li Zihang from the Bangzi Kingdom? How dare he come to snatch a woman from that Dragon Kingdom mechanic at this time? Go to hell, I know this guy has a professional level of S but he is actually just a silver-like wax gun head. His level is only over 60, and his combat effectiveness is even worse. This guy just wants to rely on Army Empire's prestige makes the Dragon Kingdom mechanic retreat. Oh God, the blue star hegemony that Army Empire paid so many lives for our ancestors to gain is actually being used by this idiot to steal women for himself. Friends of the Mi Empire, 
when you are still debating whether this guy is the product of close relatives as Shang Mu said, I must interrupt and tell you the main gun of the air fortress is currently pointing at the direction is the direction of the military camp where your Mi Empire is stationed in Bangzi country. Waterfa. There are more than 800 of our elite professionals there. God, after all, this is the military camp of our Mi Empire. That Dragon Kingdom man shouldn't dare to take action, right? He should just scare this idiot named Lewis, right? In the forum, the professionals from the Mi Empire have all exploded. Even some senior military officials of the Mi Empire who had been paying attention to the situation here were so angry that they cursed when they saw that Louise Mayan was stupid enough to confront Cheng Mu for a woman. They all contacted the other party urgently, trying to stop that idiot from continuing to act stupidly. At the same time, at the signing site of the armistice, looking at the direction where the atomic annihilation cannon was pointing, whether it was the king of Bangzi Kingdom, a group of high-ranking officials of Bangzi Kingdom, or the senior officials of Dragon Kingdom on Mr. Li's side, their expressions were slightly a change. Rice Empire As the current overlord of Blue Star, there is no doubt about the strength and power of the empire that brought down the Eagle Kingdom, which was the first to enter the secret realm of different time and space and became the first generation overlord. And the other party has always paid very little attention to Blue Star. Almost 90% of the energy is spent on the expansion and development of the secret realm of different time and space. His behavior has always been domineering, and even the king of Bangzi Kingdom was unwilling to apply for intervention and support from the Mi Empire after being beaten to this point by Zheng Mu. After all, it is easier to invite gods than to send them away. The current rice army stationed there is the result of them inviting gods to come down to earth for the sake of their opponent, the Dragon Kingdom. Louis Main looked at the atomic destructor cannon above his head pointing in the direction he came from, fear flashed in his eyes, and the next moment he sneered. He raised his head directly with a look of disdain. Dragon Kingdom boy, I admit that you are a genius, but you must also understand that you are only a genius. You are no longer on the same level as me, the blue star overlord of the Mi Empire. Academic, said, disdainfully glancing at Jing Mu, who was a head shorter than his burly self, he jumped directly onto the air fortress and walked towards Li Fujian with a smile on his face. He even opened his arms with a proud look on his face. Ha ha ha, Miss Li Fujian, don't panic. After receiving your request for help, I rushed over immediately. Fortunately, I didn't miss it. Suddenly, the face of the king of Bangzi Kingdom suddenly darkened, and he looked at Li Jianxi and his daughter with cold eyes. The cold murderous intention deep in his eyes made Li Jianxi feel horrified. It has always been another taboo among the top brass of Bangzi country, or in other words, the top brass of Blue Star who follow the United States have an unspoken consensus. Unless it is a last resort situation like destroying the country, no one can speak to the Mi Empire. Otherwise, when those evil vampires arrive, they will definitely eat and tear off large pieces of flesh and blood from their bodies. In the end, even if the other party helps to get things done, these guys who ask God will definitely not be much better. Such a look full of murderous intent was not only revealed in the eyes of the King of Bangzi Kingdom, but also the General Sun Mingao and other high-level officials stared coldly at Li Jianxi and his daughter. Li Fujian's beautiful face also showed a look of panic. She stepped forward hastily. General Lewis, I think you misunderstood. I didn't ask anyone to ask you for help. Moreover, I went to get married for the future peace and friendship between our two countries, Bangzi country and Dragon country. My heart is full of honor, so why do I need to ask for help? Woolen cloth. General Lewis, I appreciate your kindness, but please be more sensible. This is a state matter. Don't do irreversible things because of personal emotions. With that said, Li Fujian hurriedly explained anxiously to Zheng Mu, who was looking calmly at the side. General Zheng, I, Li Fujian, swear on my own chastity in the honor of my three starly family that I will never do such a thing in this matter. Please believe me. Zheng Mu took a deep look at the other person and nodded. In the past life, if a woman swore her chastity, it was mostly a lie. But if it is Blue Star, and it is a daughter of a famous family like Li Fujian, it is worthy of recognition. He looked at Louis Main, who had a gloomy expression, and spoke calmly. 
So, can this gentleman from the Mi Empire make a dignified exit? I think the way you risk yourself for love has been seen by girls all over the world. However, after being silent for a long time, Louis gritted his teeth and looked directly at Jing Mu. This is all because of your persecution. Miss Li Fujin will never fall in love with you, a devil. No matter what today, I will take Miss Li Fujin away. With that said, Louis Mayan walked in the direction of Li Fujin amidst the angry curses of the Mi Empire professionals. However, Jing Mu's patience was finally worn away by this idiot. He shook his head slightly helplessly. To be honest, the combination of your white pig skin and your boiling sheep soul is really full of ridiculous dissonance. As soon as he finished speaking, bursts of sharp buzzing sound suddenly came from above everyone's heads. Buzz buzz. The intense energy fluctuations caused the expressions of the senior officials of Bangzi country and Dragon country to change drastically. Shi Ba. Are you crazy? Zheng Mu, stop it, don't be impulsive. Are you Dragon Kingdom people crazy? Amidst the roars of everyone's shock and anger, Uchiha Musen's figure suddenly appeared, a hand of lightning stretched out, and instantly pinched Louis Mayan's neck, not giving him a chance to scream. The next moment the illusion magic shackle technique was cast, the latter instantly entered a state of silence, and the skills of S-level professionals could not be activated even if they wanted to. Fark. Are you fucking crazy? Louis Mayan's face turned pale in an instant, and he was restrained by Uchiha Musen and pinned to the edge of the air fortress. The crazy energy fluctuations above his head made his heart clenched instantly. He didn't expect that Jing Mu would be so crazy that he would dare to directly attack the military camp of the Mi Empire. The sound of the accumulated energy of the Annihilation Atomic Cannon was getting louder and louder. At this moment, AT-100 appeared on top of the fortress in time, stopping everyone from the Bangzi Kingdom and the Dragon Kingdom who wanted to stop them. At the same time, as the target of the Atomic Cannon, the professionals of the Mi Empire stationed at the barracks of the Mi Empire are also watching this incident that has caused an uproar in Blue Star. In each of the military camps, the Mi Empire professionals who were still mocking the Bangzi country for being weak and vulnerable suddenly froze with smiles on their faces when they saw Louis, the idiot, appear. As their superior, the other party naturally does not need to report to them when doing things. The result was that when Louis appeared on the Tiandao live broadcast, these Mi Empire professionals were all stunned in place. And when they heard that the other party was trying to rob a woman, they became even more angry and cursed. For this gilded commander, the professionals in the military camp of the Mi Empire, whose rules for the strong were even more terrifying, had long been full of dissatisfaction with him. Fake. I want to report it to the military. This idiot has completely thrown away the regulations of our garrison here. Damn it, doesn't this idiot have a brain? That person killed three or four hundred thousand sticks, Shao Shiba, then he is a lunatic. Quickly, report this matter to the military headquarters immediately. If it's too late, I'm afraid something big will happen. However, although these professionals in the Mi Empire responded quickly. When he saw the annihilation atomic cannon that condensed silver-white energy in the Tiandao live broadcast, a chill instantly shot from the soles of his feet to the sky. After a brief second of dead silence, the entire military camp stationed in the Qin Empire instantly exploded. FAQ. Run. Get out of the barracks. Quick, quick, quick. Fake, fake, fake. Don't worry about equipment and supplies, everyone evacuate quickly. That idiot Lewis. Amid hysterical collapse and shouts, large swaths of professionals stationed in the Bangmi Empire rushed out of the military camp. At the same time, at the edge of the air fortress. Fudumithun was already on Lewis's neck and the opponent was firmly stepped on the ground by Uchiha Musen with one foot, unable to move. Zheng Mu slowly squatted down, grabbed the other person's hair, and grinned, showing his white teeth. You have a brain like a stupid pig, but you are right about one thing. Looking at Louis, whose eyes were full of shock and fear, Zheng Mu chuckled. I'm a lunatic, but unfortunately I don't like taking medicine very much. Boom. Chapter 158. Boom. Under the horrified gaze of the whole world, 
a silver-white beam of light once again erupted from Jing Mu's aerial fortress after a few days. The terrifying energy fluctuations caused the expressions of the senior officials of Bangzi country, as well as Mr. Li and others at close range to change wildly. It was one thing to watch it from the Tiandao live broadcast, but it is completely different to feel it at such a close distance. No one expected that Zheng Mu would dare to attack the Mi Empire's military camp in Bangzi after a disagreement. And look at the terrifying light beam that directly passes through the horizon and shoots in a more distant direction. The color drained from Louis Main's face. While struggling fiercely, he shouted crazily. Asshole! What have you done? How dare you, how dare you! His mind went blank. As the highest official of the professionals stationed in the Mi Empire, he naturally knew the attitude of the Mi Empire towards Blue Star and other countries. That is, when the opponent's national power is within the control range, ignore it and allow these countries to fight each other for some resources that the Mi Empire despises. And when some countries take the initiative to come to the door and ask them to help. As the overlords of Blue Star, they don't mind harvesting from both sides. If things go on like this, except Blue Star, whose position in the Mi Empire has always been stable, other countries will never be able to truly grow in the secret realm of different time and space. And his behavior today, which he acted on his own without the permission of the top management of the Mi Empire, is completely unreasonable and illegal. Even if this matter is finally settled, he will definitely enter the highest prison for professionals in the Mi Empire. Looking at the crazy Louis, the smile on Zheng Mu's face changed from the original charming one to a ferocious one. Ha ha ha, white-skinned pig, it's really funny how you look now. You were the one who brought it to your doorstep from the beginning. Ha ha, the top official of the Bangmi Empire blatantly signed the armistice agreement between our two countries. He jumped out and ignored the advice and destroyed the peace between the two countries. General Louis, on behalf of the Mi Empire, you are declaring war on our Dragon Kingdom and Bangzi Kingdom. Zheng Mu's face distorted the facts in such a way that Louis Main was so shocked that he yelled. Fake. What nonsense are you talking about, you bastard? Do you know what you are doing? Attack me and attack our military camp stationed in the Bangmi Empire. The Dragon Kingdom will also follow you and finish. Hearing the fierce roar of the other party, Zheng Mu raised his head slightly and looked at the distant horizon that was directly penetrated by the silver-white light beam. He seemed to be feeling a little emotional, but also seemed to be a little disappointed and shook his head. There must be a very beautiful scenery over there, but it's a pity that I can't see it with my own eyes. At the same time, thousands of Mi Empire professionals stationed at the Bangmi Empire military camp looked horrified. They didn't even have time to pack up their equipment and clothes, and they ran madly towards the outside of the military camp. The speed they exploded one by one made me wish my parents had given me more legs. And just as they rushed out of the military camp, the next moment behind them, they were engulfed by a silver-white light pillar dozens of meters thick. Most of the military camp buildings were instantly submerged in the beam of light from the annihilating atomic cannon. Zereshet. Oh. Shet. That bastard Lewis, I must kill him, Fark, I almost died here. Fark. This guy from Longua is indeed a lunatic, a complete lunatic. God, I didn't even have time to take out any of my equipment. You don't care about the equipment now. Contact the local military department quickly. Maybe that lunatic from the Dragon Kingdom will drive that terrifying spaceship directly towards us. With just a few people like us, we will only end up losing our lives. Fake, please ask the military for support. What happened at the Imperial military camp in Bangmi quickly appeared in the form of pictures and videos on major forums of professionals around the world. Looking at the Imperial military camp stationed in Bangmi, which was mostly destroyed in an instant, causing sea water to pour in along the coast. There are many professionals from Bangzi country who are snickering in their hearts and gloating over the misfortune. Of course, more people have gone crazy. They seem to have seen the furious Mi Empire brazenly launching a national war against the Dragon Kingdom. Mr. Li and others stared blankly at the gradually dissipating white light of the atomic cannon above their heads, but their minds were already blank. It was obviously a meat-cutting feast prepared for the Bangzi Kingdom, 
but why did they suddenly and inexplicably launch an attack on this terrifying guy called the Mi Empire? Old, oldly, what should we do now? Can you come up with a charter? Mr. Lin was also shocked by his grandson's madness and didn't know what to say. He looked at Mr. Lee aside with dull eyes. The latter fell silent. At the moment, we don't know what the situation is like at the barracks in the Mi Empire and whether there are any casualties. But no matter what, with the strength of the Mi Empire and the Tian Dao live broadcast, the Mi Empire will never give up even if it is ignored. Hiss. Old Lee gasped for breath as his head hurt. The high-level officials of Bangzi country also had pale faces. The king of Bangzi country quickly walked to the original negotiating table, not caring about any issues of national decency. Sun Min Gao didn't use his original decision, so he quickly picked up the pen on the table, signed the armistice, and stamped it with a big seal. Jiang Jiang picked up a truce, gritted his teeth, and stared angrily at Mr. Li in front of him. Mr. Li, it seems that your country is really about to run into trouble. He glanced at Jing Mu, who had walked over calmly, and said calmly. This is what you call naughty, Mr. Li. I hope Longwa can withstand the price of his naughtiness. No matter how you want to deal with the next thing with the Mi Empire, I. Towards. This matter has nothing to do with our country. With that said, he was ready to take people away directly. However, Jing Mu's voice that sounded like a smile but not a smile stopped him from behind. What your majesty said is very unreasonable. Isn't it possible that General Lewis's visit today was instigated secretly by your sister, Princess Su Yu? Let General Lewis be carried away by love, and then do things that undermine the peace between the two countries. Finally, let us in the Dragon Kingdom use this reason to help you destroy the military camp stationed in the Bangmi Empire. Although these things are not written in the armistice, they are all confirmed by both of us. How can you, your majesty the king, refuse to admit your debt at this time? Hearing this, everyone in Bangzi Kingdom turned pale with horror, and the expression of the king of Bangzi Kingdom changed even more. Zero please give me flowers. Shiba, what nonsense are you talking about, you crazy boy? Don't involve our Bangzi country because you are crazy. This matter was entirely your own doing. However, Jing Mu smiled coldly. Isn't it okay to ask Princess Suyu next to you? I hope she hasn't been frightened. Everyone's eyes then turned to Princess Suyu, who was standing shivering in the crowd. If she was a proud white swan when she first walked onto the air fortress. The trembling and frightened look on his face at that moment was the most lifelike drowned rat. Just by looking at the other party's expression, the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom, who were not fools, had already believed some of the information in Jing Mu's mouth. What on earth did you do? Nishiba. What on earth did you do? Looking at her furious brother, Princess Suyu grabbed her brother's arm in fear, with tears and snot flowing down her face. Appa, no, your majesty, I. However, before she could say anything, Sun Mingao on the side seemed to realize something, and instantly stepped forward and covered the other person's mouth. The King of Bangzi Kingdom and other senior officials also realized something. However, Jing Mu's sarcastic voice came next. Don't say that you covered her mouth. Even if you kill someone and silence her, our General Lewis of the Mi Empire, who has neglected his duties, is still alive. Do you think you will have evidence that Princess Suyu contacted him? In other words, can the Mi Empire find out? At this time, all the high-ranking officials of Bangzi Kingdom present were so angry that they were shaking all over. A sentence came to mind. Yellow mud falls off your crotch, it's either shit or shit. Even if the Mi Empire knows that it is not shit, in order to cut a piece of plump meat from their Bangzi Kingdom, they will definitely grit their teeth and insist on this matter, just like what Cheng Mu said. It is a conspiracy between the two countries. As for the reason, Bangzi country wants to get rid of the control of their Mi Empire, is that enough? The king of Bangzi kingdom gritted his teeth and walked back again, staring at Jing Mu with cold eyes for a long time, and finally squeezed out a sentence through his teeth with some reluctance. What on earth are you going to do? This crazy boy doesn't know how powerful our country is, but the top leaders of your dragon kingdom should also understand that even if our two countries unite, they will never be able to compete. 
Zheng Mu had a smile on his face. After hearing the soft words of the king of Bangzi kingdom, Mr. Li and others who were standing aside looked at Zheng Mu with eyes that looked like monsters. This kid seems to be crazy, but not completely. Otherwise, the knife just now could have directly killed Louis Mayan. Now, with just a few words, Bang Ziguo, who was eager to jump off the ship, was temporarily tied to them. The few people who were originally a little worried felt inexplicably relieved when they looked at Cheng Mu with a smile on his face. Mr. Li pondered for a long time, and then glanced at Cheng Mu slightly. Spoke suddenly. The main forces of the Mi Empire are all located in the secret realm of different time and space. In a short period of time, even if they want to touch us, it is unlikely. Instead, we can take advantage of this opportunity to find friends and people around us. Chapter, 159 The King of Bangzi Kingdom left with his people. However, he, who had already signed a flesh-cutting agreement, felt even more uncomfortable because of Louis Mine's interference. The five princesses, including Li Fujian, who are getting married, will also complete the ceremony according to the stipulated time and the etiquette process given by the Dragon Kingdom. During this period, they will stay in Bangzi Kingdom for the time being. As for Princess Su Yu, judging from the faces of the senior officials of Bangzi country, this poisonous woman will definitely not end well. Okay, stop looking at them and tell me about you. What do you want me to say about you, kid? Mr. Li looked at Cheng Mu, who was smiling and waving to the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom who were leaving in Fai Yunzhu, with a look of hatred on his face. For the time being, Bangzi country looked like they were tied to a warship. But with this bunch of soft-legged shrimps, there is no way they can pose any threat or warning to the Mi Empire. The next pressure from the Mi Empire will still have to be shouldered by the Dragon Kingdom itself. Hearing this, Zheng Mu also quickly put on a flattering smile on his face, stepped forward and helped Mr. Li back to the inside of the air fortress. As for Louis Main on the tenth side. This kid is now a rope that binds the Dragon Kingdom to the Bangzi Kingdom. He must be looked at carefully before he dies. Mr. Li, you have wronged me. Did that white-skinned pig snatch my woman? No, it snatched our woman from the Dragon Kingdom. Li Fujian will marry soon. He has entered our Dragon Kingdom, and robbing people at this time is obviously a slap in the face of our Dragon Kingdom people. Do you think I can tolerate this tone? The whole country is still watching. Looking at Jing Mu who looked like you can't scold me, but also reward me, Mr. Li was so angry that his teeth started to itch. He pointed at the other person's nose for a long time without cursing a word. Finally, he still snorted coldly. That's all, if our Dragon Kingdom wants to rise again, sooner or later the Mi Empire will have to run into it. It's just a matter of time, but... Speaking of this, Mr. Li suddenly paused, and a sly smile appeared on his face. Zheng Mu's heart skipped a beat when he saw it. It's your fault that you broke in, so now your status as a student major general is obviously not suitable for you, and it's time to put more burdens on you. Mr. Jiang on the side also had a smile on his face. You are 19 years old. Serving as a general at such an age is very rare even in this era of professionals. However, your strength and ability are far more than that. After staring deeply at Cheng Mu for a while, Mr. Li seemed to be well prepared. He waved to Gu Xingdong behind him. From today on, you, the mechanic Cheng Mu, will officially become the lieutenant general of our Dragon Kingdom Shindu Garrison. You will be responsible for the logistics and equipment management of the National Professional Army. If necessary, you will also need to participate in the battle. Lieutenant General The Lieutenant General in charge of the defense of the Divine Capital. And it was the Lieutenant General who was directly appointed to the position. Zheng Mu originally thought that he might be a Major General directly as a trainee, but changed to a major general with a military rank. He did not expect that Mr. Li and the others would dare to put more burdens on him. He looked at the pitch black lieutenant general uniform handed over by Gu Xingdong, as well as the new ID that was also prepared in advance. The strong sense of mission and the recognition of his seniors made him feel as if there were flames rising in his chest, and he saluted a standard military salute to Mr. G and the others with a solemn expression. He solemnly took over his new military uniform with both hands. 
just at this time. A rumbling sound suddenly came from the sky. Zheng Mu, a mechanic from the Dragon Kingdom camp, successfully defended Hanqing for seven days without changing ownership. Zheng Mu, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom camp, attacked Hanqing, the city of the Bangzi Kingdom camp, ended. Zheng Mu, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom camp, officially obtained the sovereignty of Hanqing. The Dragon Kingdom and the Bangzi Kingdom completed the armistice negotiations. From the date of the agreement taking effect, the two countries entered a period of prohibition of national war for one year. The territory and regional sovereignty of the agreement are changing. The next moment, the entire Dragon Kingdom professional suddenly and uncontrollably popped up an image of the Dragon Kingdom map on the panel in front of them, along with a stretch of the northern area. The three large cities that originally belonged to the Bangzi Kingdom, Haiji Island, and the surrounding monster areas were all assigned to the Dragon Kingdom. All of a sudden, the entire Dragon Kingdom fell into an unprecedentedly intense celebration. Create new territory and expand the territory. The testimony of Chun Chun in his lifetime, Wu Wu, I can't control it. From now on, General Zheng Mu will be my idol. An idol that will not change even after death. Oh my god, the mechanics are so awesome. I have always said that mechanics are useless. Oh dear. These are clearly the garbage of the previous mechanics. General Zheng Mu is the real mechanic. Don't talk about mechanics, this is a fucking god of war. General Zheng Mu must be one of the future protectors of our dragon kingdom. Southwest Military Attaché University, Zheng Mu's hometown Yun Tongcheng, those new professionals who were ravaged by him in the bone swallowing desert. At this moment, everyone who knew Zheng Mu was excitedly talking about Zheng Mu to the people around him. The city lord of Yuntong City quickly summoned the senior officials to discuss casting a statue for Zheng Mu. Of course, these are all things for later. Nationwide celebration Zheng Mu and the others just got to know each other a little bit. They have more important things to do now. People from the Mi Empire will definitely come to visit in person in a while and ask for an explanation from the Dragon Kingdom. Long Gua, who is determined to fight to the end, also needs to seriously improve its strength. So, Zheng Mu didn't even have time to return to God's capital to have a good time with his little girlfriends, and there was no award ceremony. He was directly dragged back to God's capital by Mr. Li and the others. The air fortress deployed its camouflage system, and no one noticed it even when it stopped over the city of God. Even after the Tiandao live broadcast ended, no one knew where Zheng Mu had gone. Mr. Li, this is our casualty situation in the secret realm of different time and space this time. In the original meeting hall of the Shindu Center, Zheng Mu was also here, but unlike before, he also had his own seat at this moment. Next to his uncle Jiang Guixing, he sat close to Mr. Li. After hearing Lin Guanyong's words, Zheng Mu stared at the document in Mr. Li's hand. Seeing this, Mr. Li sighed and handed the document to him. There is no need to feel any psychological pressure. This time, in addition to expanding our territory in Blue Star, we also captured two areas of Bangzi country in the secret realm of different time and space. The sacrificed soldiers will not blame you. Zheng Mu said nothing, but his hands couldn't help but tremble after seeing the number of casualties on the document. Dragon Kingdom garrisoned in a secret realm of time and space, 36,871 people died, 79,162 people were seriously injured and disabled, and 189,263 people were slightly injured. On the side, Jiang Guixing heard Zheng Mu's obviously trembling breathing, reached out and patted his shoulder, sighing. Mr. Li is right. This casualty can be regarded as an unprecedented victory for us. The sacrifice of 3600 people can be said to be the largest loss of our dragon kingdom in the secret realm of different time and space every year. The minimum number of sacrifices. That's just the sacrifice necessary to stabilize our current occupied area. On the side, Lin Guanyong also nodded. When he knew that Jing Mu turned out to be his nephew, he didn't know what to say. What happened back then was too difficult to talk about. As an uncle, he was embarrassed to admit his nephew. Our soldiers will not blame you, on the contrary, they admire you and are grateful to you. Many of my generals who are stationed in the secret realm of different time and space are clamoring to see you. 
Zheng Mu's eyes were slightly red and he nodded. Suddenly, he seemed to notice something, looking at the number of disability and serious injuries as high as about 80 on the document. General Lin, how many disabled soldiers are there in our Dragon Kingdom who have returned from the secret realm of different time and space? What is their current situation? In response to this question, Lin Guanyong immediately blurted out. There are a lot of them, they should be around 900 Basically, their original strength was above IV-40, but due to disability, their strength was judged to have dropped sharply due to the Heavenly Tao. Now their levels are probably around LV-20 to 430, and most of them are working in some places. The situation. Not that good. Zheng Mu nodded and said nothing more. The meeting lasted for a long time, from day to night. However, everything involved in it is full of important and serious matters, and not a single word is nonsense. The entire senior management of Dragon Kingdom can now feel a strong sense of urgency, and there is a feeling that the storm is about to come. During the meeting, Mr. Li directly ordered Jing Mu to go all out to build a large-scale and unlimited-scale mechanical creation logistics factory like Shindu military industry and directly ordered the military to mobilize all the life-related vocational skill books, related materials and other materials that can be mobilized across the country to fully support Zheng Mu's affairs. Not only that, when they learned from Zheng Mu that he could now authorize mechanical creations to other professionals, the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom were even more overjoyed. There is no doubt that with the addition of those T-100s under Zheng Mu, we only need to equip the professional team here in Longguo. When facing the enemy, whether it is reconnaissance or combat, they will be rare. Of assistance. As for low-level mechanical creations such as patrol eagles, their effects are not small at all when used properly. When Zheng Mu walked out of the Shindu Center. Behind him, Mr. Jiang also walked out with Jiang Guixing. Looking at Zheng Mu with a solemn expression, Mr. Jiang suddenly patted him on the shoulder. Looking at what you have done for the Dragon Kingdom, I won't care about Lanlin's affairs with you. As long as she is willing, I won't care about you young people's affairs. He looked at Zheng Mu solemnly, said do a good job and left with Jiang Guixing. Zheng Mu stood at the door of the center and thought about it for a while. In the end, he did not go to the Southwest Military Attaché University. He came outside the city and entered the aerial fortress above the sky in a burst of light that others could not see. The Red Queen, using the authority of the military, sent an order to Chi Tai, the defender of Huangsha City we want to establish a real military industry of the Dragon Kingdom in the bone-swallowing desert. Chapter, 160 Yellow sand is flying all over the sky. Since the end of this year's first-class professional assessment, Huangsha City, which was originally bustling with people, has once again returned to its previous boring state. Guard Chi Taiha worships Qin Yun Lao Dao. Looking at this boring daily routine, he feels that his whole spirit is being drained day by day. However, with Zheng Mu's successive big moves in Bangzi country during this period, they felt like they were alive while watching the Tian Dao live broadcast. Seeing Zheng Mu attacking Han Qing alone, they also yelled at Zheng Mu for being impulsive. When they saw Zheng Mu actually going in, they shouted excitedly that it was awesome. The subsequent appearance of Li Jie Hyung, and then the battle scenes such as the support from various cities, made them feel that the blood of the soldiers buried in the yellow sand seemed to be reactivated at this moment. Bangzi country surrendered, Tian Dao redivided the territory, and the live broadcast stopped. However, Qi and Tai had an inexplicable impulse in their hearts. Otherwise, let's apply for transfer. The Mi Empire is definitely going to cause trouble. Whether it's our area near the Sakura country, the White Elephant Country, the Monkey Country, or the secret realm of different time and space, there's a lot to do. There's nothing better than being stuck here in this yellow country. Sha Cheng is much stronger. Chi Tai finally couldn't hold back and took the initiative to speak out. Old Taoist Qin Yun also pondered for a moment and was about to nod. Suddenly, an officer looked excited and his face flushed and suddenly ran over to report. Report General we have received a communication from General Zheng Mu. General Zheng Mu is about to drive the air fortress to Huangsha City. As soon as these words came out, Chi Tai and Qin Yun Laodao both froze on the spot in astonishment. 
What did you say? Zheng Mu is coming. Seeing the officer nodding excitedly, the two looked at each other and jumped up from where they were, so excited that they were a little incoherent. Quick, quick, quick. Order the entire army to prepare to meet us. Ha ha ha, now the pressure from the Mi Empire is about to come, but Cheng Mu suddenly comes to us. It's obviously something big. When Chi Tai heard Cheng Mu's name, he felt as if he had been injected with blood on the spot. The speed of the air fortress was very fast. In just one or two hours, it had crossed most of the Dragon Kingdom and reached the sky above Huangsha City. When they saw the terrifying behemoth appearing, blocking out the sky and the sun, everyone present immediately felt the same sense of powerlessness that those Bangzi people had. Let's not talk about the power that the opponent's attack can cause. Just this terrifying size can make people uncontrollably fearful. When Zheng Mu was teleported down in a burst of light, Qi Tai stepped forward excitedly and solemnly saluted Zheng Mu. Qi Tai, the defender of Huangsha City, please see General Zheng. Our department has received the highest order from the military and will fully cooperate with you to complete all tasks. Zheng Mu also returned a military salute. There was no time for small talk, so he just dragged Qi Tai and the others into the conference room and told them the purpose of their trip. Shangfeng asked me to expand Shindu's military industry. Shindu's existing conditions cannot afford larger scale mechanical logistics and military production, so I chose Huangsha City. Hearing this, Chi Tai immediately nodded excitedly. Don't worry, General Zheng. Just give the order. All our soldiers in Huangsha City will serve to the death. Zheng Mu nodded, no nonsense, and immediately waved his hand, and a huge steel city projection appeared in front of him. When I came here, I had already applied to Mr. Li to mobilize several major military construction companies in our Dragon Kingdom. Their relevant personnel and construction materials will be delivered here soon. Side. Our task is very heavy. Based on the existing foundation in Huangsha City, we will expand and complete the construction of the Dragon Kingdom Military Industry Headquarters. You need to coordinate the personnel and material mobilization here. Chi Tai and others nodded immediately. In addition, I will also go all out to produce the logistics T-100 during this period. While the headquarters construction is going on at full speed, logistics production will also be carried out here simultaneously. The mechanical creations under my command will be responsible for this matter, but for you need to be responsible for the confidentiality around this. Although I don't know what the logistics T-100 does, Lao Tai and others nodded immediately. Zheng Mu pondered for a final moment and spoke out his last order. General Qi, you should know that there are many disabled veterans who were discharged from the army. Mobilize a hundred severely disabled veterans for me. Qi Tai didn't ask what he wanted to do and nodded directly. And as Zheng Mu said, when the Long Kingdom gathers all the power of the military to do one thing, the efficiency of the state machine is quite terrifying. Less than half a day after arriving at Qingmu, senior engineers from the seven major military construction enterprises in the Dragon Kingdom and a large amount of building materials were transported over like crazy through the teleportation array. There is no need for Mu to worry about things here. He is already busy with his own affairs in the air fortress. Drawing Goblin Machine Violent Demonic Ape King records the manufacturing method of each component at the manufacturing material level of the Red Brave Level Mechanical Creation Violent Demonic Ape King. Conditions of use, LV35 or above mechanic. Looking at this mechanical blueprint that was originally opened in the treasure chest in the Goblin Forest. Although Zheng Mu has reached the level now, he does not want to create it. In his opinion, the value of this mechanical creation is far inferior to the mechanical creations he made. In the machinery factory, as Zheng Mu waved his hands in the air, the huge prototype of the violent demon ape king in the light curtain was instantly dismembered and turned into parts in the blink of an eye. Zheng Mu looked deeply at the limbs and body parts in the light curtain and murmured. I hope it can succeed. Not long after, Chi Tai boarded the air fortress with a hundred Dragon Kingdom veterans with varying degrees of disability. When these people knew that it was General Zheng Mu who wanted to see them, they agreed without asking what they wanted to do. Looking at the veterans who were looking around excitedly, Zheng Mu's eyes were filled with a deliberate military salute to everyone. 
The situation of these people was even worse than that of the retired officers they met at Southwest Military Attaché University. Half of them were sitting in wheelchairs, and one of them had lost all his limbs. However, even so, their weathered eyes burst out with bright and intense light after seeing Zheng Mu. After nodding towards Qi Tai, Zheng Mu looked at everyone. I don't have time to talk nonsense with my seniors. I just want to say, I need you to cooperate with me to complete a task. As soon as these words came out, everyone nodded in agreement without hesitation. General Zheng, you're welcome. It's just a disabled body. Don't mention what the mission is. If you need this life, just take it. That's right, the country has supported us for so many years, and everything is enough. General, just give us your orders. Zheng Mu nodded and led everyone to the machinery factory. There is no doubt that the dense assembly line once again shocked everyone. Zheng Mu asked Qi Tai to push the veteran who had all his limbs chopped off in front of him. Hong Ho, who was standing aside, waved his hand, and the next moment the various parameters of the opponent's body were scanned. Looking at the image of themselves with a complete body structure in the light curtain in front of them, these veterans thought of something, and their breathing became rapid. Chi Tai on the side also widened his eyes and wanted to ask something anxiously. However, looking at Zheng Mu who was already busy, he opened his mouth and finally suppressed the excitement in his heart. Zheng Mu is very serious. In the light curtain in front of him, the mechanical components of the limbs of the violent demon ape king have been decomposed, and on the other side, the mechanical blueprint of AT-800 has also been decomposed. Coupled with the data scanned by the Red Queen, a brand new set of drawings of the limbs of mechanical creations soon appeared in front of Zheng Mu. The new limbs are entirely made of machinery, reflecting a deep silvery white color, and are very similar to a certain creation of Zheng Mu's previous life. This is another new skill that he has activated after reaching level 39. Component Assembly Max, existing mechanical creation drawings can be combined with each other and constructed in parts to generate new partial mechanical creation components. No cooldown time. Computing power occupied, 50 counting the enhancement and reduction of 50%. It was precisely because of this that he had this plan. Make mechanical prosthetics for those veterans of the Dragon Kingdom. Soon, the latest batch of Xinyue metal mined from the Xinyue metal veins was taken out from the fortress's space warehouse by several T-807300. I also brought some blue rare-level intelligent control cores. Then under the expectant gaze of everyone, the materials in front of Zheng Mu began to fuse and assemble with each other in a burst of light. A brand new set of mechanical prosthetics appeared in front of everyone. Zheng Mu did not breathe a sigh of relief. He solemnly picked up a mechanical left leg and came to the veteran. He squatted down and pressed the mechanical left leg into the missing position of the veteran. Click. Amidst the sound of mechanical puncture, the veteran's face twitched, but he didn't say a word. As everyone watched nervously, the installed mechanical left leg suddenly began to experience a burst of intensive mechanical movement. The small and precise structure kept bullying, as if it was making some kind of adjustment. Suddenly, the veteran, whose face was already covered in cold sweat, suddenly widened his eyes. As if he saw something incredible, he suddenly shouted. My condition. My condition has changed. From super severe disability to severe disability, my condition has changed. Hearing this, the veterans behind him came over excitedly, and Zheng Mu couldn't help but waved his fist in excitement. Although the country cannot produce mechanical prostheses with attributes recognized by heaven. But there is no problem with ordinary prosthetics. However, in this world of professionals, ordinary prosthetics cannot save these veterans at all. What they need is to relieve the disability status on their panels at the level of the state of heaven. Allowing them to continue to improve their levels and restore their combat effectiveness. This is also what Zheng Mu is worried about. He is afraid that the mechanical prosthesis he has built will not be recognized by heaven. However, now looking at the excited veteran, all the worries instantly turned into unprecedented excitement. The pressure from the coming Mi Empire was mostly wiped out in an instant. In a happy mood, Zheng Mu couldn't help but laugh and read out a poem from his previous life. Ha ha ha. 
I'm going to Quan Tai to recruit the old troops, and I will kill Yama with a hundred thousand banners. Okay. Ha 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 ha. I, a veteran of the Dragon Kingdom, will never die. Chapter, 161. Sky Fortress. After having the mechanical drawings of the mechanical prosthesis, Jing Mu does not need to do everything next. The Red Queen scans the physical parameters of these veterans, and then the assembly line of the machine factory will produce mechanical prostheses that suit the individual's physical conditions based on the parameters. The veteran who had lost all his limbs and was taken care of by Zheng Mu himself had now left the wheelchair and was excitedly walking back and forth in a training ground in the air fortress, pumping his fists. Tears were streaming down his face unsatisfactorily. I'm not disabled, I'm not crippled, I can stand up again, I can fight again, woo woo, this feeling, woo woo. Looking at the excited and crying man, Chi Tai, who was standing next to Zheng Mu, also had red eyes. Zheng Mu's eyes were also full of excitement. He had already seen the man's message just now. His name is Lu Jing, an A-level explosive boxer, and He Guang, who is an acquaintance of the same profession as Zheng Mu. During a battle with professionals from Sakura country in a secret realm of different time and space, in order to cover the retreat of his teammates, one person restrained seven people. The elite professionals of Sakura country. When his teammates arrived with reinforcements, Lu Jing became the same as before. He was chopped into human sticks by professionals from Sakura country in such a humiliating way. Tian Dao placed the super severe disability debuff. The level also plummeted from the original 448 to IV-18. However, now on the opponent's panel, the debuff representing disability has been eliminated. Although the level is still LV-18, the previously unlocked skill levels have not changed. It's just temporarily unavailable. As long as you raise your level, nothing will be a problem. For these professionals who were re-upgraded after being downgraded, the experience points given to them by Tian Dao were all one-tenth of the original level, which made it much easier. Looking around, in the training ground at this moment, the 100 disabled veterans brought by Chi Tai have all returned to their normal state with excitement. They were surprised to find that although the mechanical prostheses on their bodies were not their original limbs. But in terms of sensitivity, there is no hindrance or clumsiness at all, it is just like using a finger with an arm. Seeing that there were no abnormal reactions from these people, Zheng Mu was relieved and at the same time, the corners of his mouth were slightly raised. Queen Hong, please send the situation here to Mr. Li and the others. I think these old men will be unable to sit still soon. There is nothing wrong with what Zheng Mu said. When he was still in Shindu, he was negotiating with the senior officials of Sakura country. Li Lao and the others, who wanted to persuade them to stand with the Dragon Kingdom and fight against the oppression of the Mi Empire, heard that Zheng Mu actually asked those veterans who were judged to be disabled by heaven and whose strength was greatly reduced to stand up. All of them felt a numbness in their scalps. On the side of the Sakura Kingdom Emperor, after learning that the Dragon Kingdom had provoked the Mi Empire, the original agreement to marry the princess became ambiguous. This made Mr. Li and the others very angry. I don't know how many times they cursed the Japanese slaves for being shameless after hanging up the communication. The news of Zheng Mu's good news made them suddenly realize the horror of this matter. The elite professionals of the Dragon Kingdom are fierce in combat, which is well known even in the army of the Mi Empire. If there weren't too many enemies around, the Dragon Kingdom would never have been suppressed to this point. And once those disabled veterans regain their combat effectiveness, their dragon kingdom will be equivalent to having millions of extra soldiers in an instant. These are all people who have survived countless life and death battles in the secret realm of different time and space. Definitely the best among the best. Quickly. Go to Huangsha City. If that boy Jingmu really succeeds, then the little cherry blossom kingdom will be better off. If they don't like it, what kind of rice empire will start fighting against the Sakura kingdom? Mr. Li was so excited that he was obviously a bit arrogant in his words. However, Mr. Jiang and Mr. Lin are not the same. When we took the teleportation array and arrived at Huangsha City, we could see that the original Huangsha City had undergone a lot of changes in just a few days. There were Dragon Kingdom engineers busy with construction everywhere, as well as tired machinery. Creation 
In a secret training ground in Huangsha City, when Mr. Li and the others saw the 100 warriors who were reacquainting themselves with their skills in the training ground, each and every one of them was so powerful. His eyes suddenly turned red. These people's arms or thighs, in different parts, have all been replaced by a mechanical prosthetic limb with a very cool shape. The mechanical prosthetic limbs showed no trace of discomfort when these warriors used their skills or moved to dodge. Old Li called a soldier over. Coincidentally, Lu Jing, who had all his limbs replaced with mechanical prostheses, came over. Seeing the warrior's appearance, Mr. Li patted his shoulder solemnly. Young man, you have suffered so much these years. The country owes you. However, Lu Jing shook his head hastily, his eyes full of sincerity for this country. Shangfen, please don't say that. Even if I am disabled and at home, the country has not forgotten me. I have someone to take care of me every day, and there are state subsidies, that is Lu Jing gritted his teeth. Shangfen, I have restored my combat effectiveness now. As long as I work harder in the bone-swallowing desert during this period, it will only be a matter of time before my level is restored. Can you please let me return to the combat unit? The Mi Empire is definitely looking for trouble, and I want to continue fighting for the country. Hearing this, everyone present smiled movedly, and Mr. Lee also had red eyes and laughed. My heart is so heroic. He waved his hand and said loudly without hesitation. Fight. In the past, when our dragon kingdom was bullied by our neighbors, we would not bow down. Now that our dragon kingdom has millions of tigers like you crawling out of hell, what do we have to fear? Don't say it's a rice empire. Even if the surrounding countries are itchy, let's clean it up together. Zheng Mu, who came after hearing the news, happened to hear Mr. Li's heroic words to boost morale. The excited smile was beyond words. When Mr. Li and the others saw Zheng Mu appearing, their eyes lit up. Putting on the jet black lieutenant general uniform, Zheng Mu's already bad image was directly improved to a perfect score. Mr. Li patted Zheng Mu's arm, his eyes full of appreciation and admiration. He opened his mouth, but in the end he only said one sentence. Here you go. He no longer knows what to say about Zheng Mu's excellence. This is really the luck of the Dragon Kingdom. Everyone came to the air fortress, and as soon as they sat down, Mr. Li couldn't wait to ask. Boy, tell me what your plan is, and what are the restrictions on that thing? Hearing this, Zheng Mu took a deep breath and spoke out his plan. Now the computing power of the Red Queen, the master controller of the Sky Fortress, is very powerful. It is enough to process the information of disabled veterans across the country and organize factory production. What I mean is that there is no need to bother driving the Sky Fortress across the country and let my mechanical creations disperse. They data collection on those veterans. After the data is compiled, the corresponding prosthetic limbs will be produced by the machinery factory of the Sky Fortress. Once produced, they can be installed directly. Hearing this, everyone's eyes lit up. However, Gu Xingdong frowned and asked worriedly. General Zheng, are these mechanical prostheses likely to be stolen? Everyone's eyes turned to Zheng Mu again. The latter chuckled and did not answer directly, but looked at Xiong Weishan in the crowd who was obviously trying his best to endure something. If you have any questions, why don't we take a look for ourselves? General Xiong can try out our mechanical prosthetics right now, right? Immediately, Xiong Weishan stood up excitedly and looked at Zheng Mu, his eyes full of gratitude. He was originally a general stationed in the army stationed in the secret realm of different time and space. At that time, his level was still over 70. Due to the loss of a leg, his level dropped to over 60, and he could not be upgraded. Hearing this, everyone's eyes lit up, and soon, under the leadership of Zheng Mu, everyone came to the machinery factory again. After completing some scanning and data collection. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, a metallic leg prosthesis was quickly produced. Zheng Mu did not rush to install it for Xiong Wei Shan who was sitting there looking at him. Instead, he handed the things to Ji and others. Vibranium Zhao Maheo, prosthesis left leg, purple rare level functional mechanical component, which can be equipped on disabled professionals to eliminate their own disability and provide combat auxiliary functions. 
Note, the permissions are locked, and Xiong Wei Shan, an A-level ice magician from the Dragon Kingdom camp, can use Liang. After seeing the last message above, everyone's eyes lit up and they felt relieved. You must know that disabled professionals are not unique to the Dragon Kingdom. If there are no restrictions on this kind of thing, if it is seized by other countries and used on former national protectors like Li Zihan, it will definitely not be of any benefit to their Dragon Kingdom. After everyone finished watching, Mu installed the mechanical prosthesis on Xiong Wei Shan, who was already looking at it. As the disabled debuff on the opponent's board disappeared, Xiong Wei Shan, a tough guy, suddenly burst into tears in front of everyone. If Sheng Mu hadn't been able to hide quickly, he might have been covered in tears and snot by this old guy. Just when everyone was immersed in joy, an officer who seemed to have received some message suddenly whispered something in Gu Xingdong's ear. Gu Xingdong looked at Mr. Li and Zheng Mu with a solemn expression. The Mi Empire sent people here, claiming that they want us to hand over that Louis Mayan and Zheng Mu. Chapter, 162 Hand over Zheng Mu When they heard Gu Xingdong tell the Mi Empire's request, everyone looked at everything around them, and then at Xiong Wei Shan, who was already excitedly running back and forth in the aisle. Do people in this rice empire eat fried cakes? The whole world can see the potential and value that Zheng Mu represents. Even the logistics T-100 that Zheng Mu has developed, as well as the current mechanical prosthetics, are still unknown to the outside world. Even so, even a character like Bang Ziguo who was beaten down by them had to admit the horror of Zheng Mu, the mechanic. With such a super genius, the Mi Empire dares to let them leave the Dragon Kingdom directly. Hearing this, Mr. Li also sneered. He refused without hesitation. Exactly tell those white-skinned pigs to eat shit. Hearing Mr. Li's vulgar words, Zheng Mu laughed directly, but this is the greatest confidence that Long Gua has now after settling the issue of combat soldiers. Suddenly, Ji seemed to think of something and asked. Mr. Li, there is a crippled national protector like Li Zihang in the Bangzi Kingdom. Do we have any in the Dragon Kingdom? If so, I. However, before he finished speaking, Gu Xingdong interrupted directly with a serious look on his face. Spit out a sentence. The Dragon Kingdom's protector god, from the day he becomes the protector god, he will only end up fighting for his country. Zheng Mu suddenly fell silent. The Dragon Kingdom has ten protector level warriors, but the Bangzi Kingdom and the Sakura Kingdom, which are much smaller than the Dragon Kingdom, also have seven or eight. As for the White Elephant Kingdom, there are also five. As for relatively smaller countries such as Monkey Country, there are three or four. There is no doubt that this numerical gap is very serious, and in the face of the siege from the surroundings in recent years, one can imagine how much pressure the top ten protectors of the Dragon Kingdom are under. Otherwise, there would be no need for fighting and senior generals like Lin Guan Yong would be needed to assist. Suddenly, Zheng Mu seemed to have thought of something and his head was pounding. Damn it! How could I forget this thing? When everyone was confused, Zheng Mu immediately gestured to the Red Queen, who immediately understood. After a while, when everyone saw what AT-800 brought over, they all gasped in horror. Even Mr. Li's expression changed. Inheritance Stone of SS Level Blood Dragon Knight This thing can allow an S-level warrior professional to transform into an SS Level Blood Dragon Knight. If it weren't for this, I would have forgotten about it. Seeing Zheng Mu's slightly embarrassed look, everyone was speechless. If the information about the thing in front of them was not deceptive, they would not believe that there is such a thing in this world. Did you drop this when you killed Li Zihang? Mr. Li asked. Seeing Zheng Mu nodding, everyone could only consider the drop of this thing and the level gap between Zheng Mu and Li Zaiko as the reason. Mr. Li shook his head slightly. Since this thing belongs to you, you naturally decide who uses it. However, after finishing speaking, Zheng Mu interrupted with a smile. Mr. Li, when you took out the resurrected treasure for me to use, didn't you care about what's yours and mine? Mr. Li was stunned for a moment, then looked at Gu Xingdong aside, who immediately turned his head to the other side. Now, it is obvious why Zheng Mu knew about this. However, Mr. Li shook his head again when he looked at the quota in front of him which meant he was a quasi-protector of the country's god. I take out that thing, that's why you deserve my investment. 
Jing Mu, then I now feel that Dragon Kingdom is worthy of my investment. This time, without waiting for Mr. Li to say anything, Jing Mu directly stuffed the thing into the opponent's hand. He really didn't need to keep it for himself. Although there were S-level professionals around him, there was really no warrior type at all. It is obviously most appropriate to leave it to Mr. Li and the others. Seeing this, Mr. Li also showed a happy smile on his face and nodded solemnly. I will personally keep an eye on this thing and make sure it is used on the strongest S-class warrior in our Dragon Kingdom. After confirming the feasibility of Zheng Mu's mechanical prosthesis, Mr. Li and the others got up and returned to the capital. At the same time, there were a large number of Zheng Mu's T-800s. With the assistance of the military, they traveled to the big cities and towns of the Dragon Kingdom through the teleportation array. Under the leadership of military personnel, they will scan and enter the physical information of disabled veterans, transmit it to the air fortress, and then sort it out before producing it in the machinery factory. According to the terrifying production speed of the machine factory, as long as the materials are supplied, tens of thousands of mechanical prostheses can be produced in a day easily. And these veterans equipped with mechanical prostheses will also quickly begin to enter the major monster areas under the arrangement of the military to restore their levels. The center of the divine capital. Mr. Lee had just returned, and the joy on his face could not be concealed. At this time, the official responsible for receiving outsiders came over. Mr. Lee, Wilson, the ambassador of the American Empire, wants to see you. Hearing this, Mr. Lee snorted coldly and nodded casually. What rice empire? As long as the Dragon Kingdom grasps Xing Mu, the Mi Empire will become a thing of the past in just a few years. Soon, led by an official, a white man with a beard and an arrogant look walked in. After a very rough courtesy, he directly stated the purpose of his visit. Mr. Li, your country's mechanic Xing Mu, in front of professionals from all over the world, attacked the military camp of Army Empire in Bangzi country. This is a provocation and declaration of war against Army Empire. But considering that this is just the mechanic's own personal behavior, Our Majesty only asks your country to hand over our General Louis and the mechanic Xing Mu, and this matter will be put aside for the time being. How? Listening to the strong confidence in the other party's tone, Mr. Na couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. Seeing this, Wilson frowned immediately. Mr. Lee, this is already a very sincere solution for our Mi Empire. This matter is being watched by professionals all over the world. We will never give up. If your country does not make friends, then I am sorry the powerful Mi Empire will have to show its barbaric side. We can't guarantee what you will be like by then. The naked threat not only did not frighten Mr. Lee at this moment, but made him laugh even louder. Ha ha ha. Looking at Mr. Lee who was laughing happily, Wilson felt uncomfortable all over. He didn't know why, but he felt inexplicably at the moment that the officials of the Dragon Kingdom around him, especially the generals. The way he looked at himself was as if he were looking at a clown. Mr. Lee, do you have any health problems? Seeing the other party's suppressed anger, Li Laoxiao burst into tears. He waved his hands, took a deep breath, and finally calmed himself down. Zero please give me flowers. My body is very good, at least it's normal. However, I think the emperor of your country should think about it and look at his own mind. Wilson was furious. Fake. What did you say? Are you provoking our me empire? The smile on Mr. Lee's face slowly faded. If you are not mentally ill, how can you think that our Dragon Kingdom has given up on Jing Mu, who has great potential? I might as well open the skylight to you today and speak frankly. Mr. Lee snorted coldly, and his old body stood up slowly. At this moment, he had a heroic aura like the sun rising in the east. Our Dragon Kingdom has never been able to achieve self-reliance and self-reliance from its sufferings by bowing its head and begging for peace. The blood of the people of the Dragon Kingdom is not hot to the touch. You, the Mi Empire, can try it for yourself just like you did decades ago. You want our Dragon Kingdom to make friends? Go back and tell that dog emperor of yours. Go eat shit. When Wilson was being escorted out by two Dragon Kingdom Central Guards while vomiting sweet things all the way, his mind was filled with disbelief. This time is no ordinary provocation and blackmail. 
As the overlord of Blue Star, the Mi Empire was bombarded by Zheng Mu in front of the whole world. The Mi Empire military camp was destroyed by Zheng Mu. If this place cannot be recovered, its majesty will definitely be shaken. When necessary, it is not impossible to directly start a national war. However, he has clearly made the consequences clear, but this time, for some reason, the people of the Dragon Kingdom dare to go to war with their Mi Empire for one person. No matter how talented this person is. Can the Dragon Kingdom have the power to resist the Mi Empire in a short period of time? Wilson didn't believe it, and when he returned to the Mi Empire, he reported the matter to the Emperor of the Mi Empire. In the Holy Palace made entirely of purple rare grade white jade, the Emperor of the Rice Empire also looked confused. He looked at the officials on the left and right in shock, with stunned faces. So, it's because we haven't used force on Blue Star for so long that some people have forgotten how their fathers survived miserably in our hands? God, who can tell me what that Longwa saying means? I've seen a lot of replies like that on my personal forum since early this morning. What does eat shit mean? Hearing this, some officials present turned their heads sideways. Many people looked at each other and saw the smiles in each other's eyes. The Emperor of the Mi Empire may be very sacred in the eyes of other countries, but within the top management of the Mi Empire, it is just like that, just to balance the interests between the major forces. He is just a spokesperson jointly elected by the descendants of the royal family who originally established the Mi Empire. What is the actual strength? That's not necessarily true. Sometimes the emperor they elect is even full of comedy. For example, the person in front of me doesn't have many meetings on weekdays. If he has any questions, he posts them on his personal forum. It's a complete weirdo. An official coughed dryly and walked out of the column. Your Majesty, the first thing we have to consider now is how to deal with the Dragon Kingdom and the Bangzi Kingdom. We all agree that the current empire should still focus on the development of the secret realm of different time and space. As for the Dragon Kingdom, I think we will do what we did in the past and give the White Elephant Country and Sakura Country some benefits, and they will do things for us. Chapter, 163 When the Dragon Kingdom's tough attitude towards the Mi Empire was made public, professionals from other Blue Star countries were in an uproar. Especially someone who posted a picture of the personal forum of the current emperor of the Mi Empire. Looking at the Chinese character Eat Shit written all over the screen, professionals from various countries who knew the Chinese character Eat Shit all twitched at the corners of their mouths. Damn it, it's an ordinary person from the Dragon Kingdom who was so quick to show off on the emperor's forum of the Rice Empire. They wouldn't believe it even to death. In other words, the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom not only threw Wilson out of the center of the Divine Capital unceremoniously, but also directly and unceremoniously turned on the Emperor of the Mi Empire. This unprecedented toughness and arrogance directly refreshed the world's understanding of this established country. Although the previous Long Kingdom was tough, it was at best a stubborn duck with a tough mouth. The final result was to pay a heavy price and preserve one's integrity, which in the eyes of other countries was extremely ridiculous. Now, Longwa suddenly dared to do this, not as a force, but as an act of provocation. Bangzi Country, Qinghua Palace When the king of Bangzi Kingdom knew this, the expression on his face was extremely wonderful. Of course, the Mi Empire not only asked for an explanation from the Dragon Kingdom, but also sent people from the Bangzi Kingdom. However, the king of Bangzi Kingdom almost knelt down in front of the other party at that time, and his mouth was dry with all kinds of explanations. 887 The ambassador of the Mi Empire still insisted that their Bangzi Kingdom had united with the Dragon Kingdom to eliminate their Mi Empire's control over this area. Bangzi Country was also the initiator of this incident. And he was very direct and arrogant, demanding that Bangzi Country cede territory and pay compensation. Compared with the Dragon Kingdom, the Mi Empire's appetite is obviously greater. Let alone the area of the territory they cede, just paying compensation will completely empty their treasury. However, in the face of such a shameless and greedy Mi Empire, no one in the Bangzi Kingdom dared to stand up and tell the other party to get out. Shiba, those damn Dragon Kingdom people. Thinking of this, the King of Bangzi Kingdom was so angry that he cursed again. As for her sister, Princess Suyu, 
who had failed to achieve anything but failed, unfortunately, she committed suicide by taking poison shortly after returning to the palace because of strong self-blame. The death was extremely tragic. Even though the other party was already engaged to the second prince of the Emperor of the Mi Empire, everyone in the Bangzi Kingdom still had no intention of letting her go. Your Majesty, I believe that we mainly have to look at the situation on the Dragon Kingdom side in this matter. The Mi Empire's appetite is too big and does not give us any room for bargaining. I think, delay. Looking at the high-ranking officials who came out, the King of Bangzi Country could only nod for the time being. However, whether it was him or everyone else present, everyone felt uncertain in their hearts. It is unclear whether this ally has the strength to withstand the pressure of the Mi Empire. On the other side, there is Sakura country. Tokugawa was in the middle. The emperor frowned and looked at the people divided into two groups in front of him, with a look of difficulty making a decision. Your Majesty, after the Mi Empire's promise is fulfilled this time, we will be given a position in the central region of the Mi Empire's secret realm of different time and space. This opportunity is rare. Yes, Your Majesty, being able to get a position in the middle realm in the secret realm of different time and space will at least increase our domestic explosion rate by 50% when the heavenly law is settled. This is unparalleled wealth. Your Majesty, please make your decision. It's just the Dragon Kingdom. They already suffered a lot of losses in the battle with the Bangzi Kingdom. This is the most appropriate time to take action. Your Majesty, the Mi Empire must have contacted the White Elephant Country or even the Monkey Country this time. If they had taken action in advance, we would have really gained nothing. He looked at the Sakura Kingdom generals dressed as famous samurai, kneeling in front of him, looking excited. Before the Emperor said anything, several people on the side, led by the civil servants and prime ministers, loudly objected. Your Majesty, we must not start a war with the Dragon Kingdom. The Dragon Kingdom's attitude this time is too strange, and it is simply unprecedentedly tough. We'd better find out everything. If nothing else, we didn't know about the strange logistical supplies from the Dragon Kingdom in the previous battles. I think we should take a long-term approach. Bagaya rode. As soon as he finished speaking, a samurai general suddenly shouted angrily, and in front of the emperor, he suddenly pulled out the long sword from his waist. Old Yoshida, how many benefits have you received from the people of the Dragon Kingdom, you bastard? This is obviously a bluff deliberately made by the people of the Dragon Kingdom, just to scare rats like you. The hegemony of our great Sakura Empire is right in front of us, and I will kill you. As he said that, he was about to slash towards the opponent in an instant, but was held down by several warrior generals with sharp eyes and quick hands. Pull out your teeth. Koizumi, are you crazy? How dare you draw a sword in front of His Majesty the Emperor? I can't pull him. Stop him quickly. Looking at the chaotic scene, the Emperor's eyes flashed with anger. In recent years, as the Sakura royal family has not had strong professionals for several generations, the samurai led by the Ashikaga shogun have obviously become more and more rude to themselves. First, the generals brought swords into the palace, and now they directly drew their swords to kill the civil servants. Are we going to kill him as the emperor next time? Emperor Sakura felt cold in her heart, but on the surface, she slammed the table and shouted angrily. Stop everyone. It's not impossible to take action against the Dragon Kingdom, but as the Prime Minister said, we must at least investigate where the medicines and equipment of unknown origin come from. Hearing this, General Ashikaga, who was headed by the military attaché, finally calmed down. When everyone retreated, the Emperor looked tiredly and sadly in the direction of Dragon Kingdom. How can it be repaired? Are you, the Dragon Kingdom, just bluffing, or do you really have some trump card against the Mi Empire? The Emperor never considered this trump card against the mechanic Xing Mu. If Xing Mu and Bangzi Kingdom fight, Long Kingdom can still contain the main force of Bangzi Kingdom. But if we meet the Mi Empire, the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom fell into unprecedented internal and external entanglements. However, it is different from the entanglements at the top of these countries. When the Mi Empire told the Baixiang Kingdom about this matter, the King of the Baixiang Kingdom and a group of senior officials agreed directly without even thinking about it. 
In the splendid palace, the scantily clad dancers were dancing gracefully, and the senior officials of the White Elephant Kingdom on the stage were also changing glasses. Ha ha ha, it seems that the Dragon Kingdom has really angered the Mi Empire this time. It is even willing to give up some of its positions in the Central Territory. This is simply the gospel given to us by God. Yes, yes, the protector god of the Dragon Kingdom has been guarding the secret realm of different time and space all year round. This time, the Mi Empire is watching, and they will never dare to withdraw. This is definitely the best time for us to take action. Maybe we can even carve out a large piece of territory from the Dragon Kingdom. There was a joyful atmosphere at the scene, as if they had returned from the Dragon Kingdom with a great victory. With obvious drunkenness on his face, the White Elephant King laughed heartily amidst the flattery of the ministers. This time, taking advantage of the heavy losses suffered by the Dragon Kingdom in the last war, I decided to directly dispatch the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army, led by the Eldest Prince, to directly attack the border of the Dragon Kingdom. With troops stationed in those places in the Dragon Kingdom, this battle will be won. Thank God! As the White Elephant King raised his glass and shouted, the surrounding ministers also followed suit. And just when the Baixian Kingdom was already preparing to take advantage of the Dragon Kingdom, seven or eight days passed in the blink of an eye. During this period, the Sky Fortress has successively produced more than 100 00 mechanical prostheses. Even in order to produce more as quickly as possible, when the mining speed of the Xinyue metal veins could not keep up, the military directly transferred a large amount of materials from the treasure house and supplied them to Huangsha City. 100,000 mechanical prostheses will directly allow 100,000 Dragon Kingdom men who once fought in the secret realm of different time and space to be reborn from the ashes. In the bone-eating desert. 100,000 elite Dragon Kingdom professionals are carrying out inhumane massacres against the monsters spawned here. For these monsters in the central area, whose average level is only LV-20, each of these 100 00 Dragon Kingdom elites can be said to be a peerless killer that they cannot resist. Ha ha ha. It's so cool. It's so cool. The beast takes another punch from Grandpa. You'll all die for me, ha 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 ha, come and try my mother's barbecue feast. Boom boom boom. In the air fortress, Zhang and Mr. Li stood in the control room. These days, Mr. Li always visits Zheng Mu when he has time. At this moment, he is looking at the huge light curtain, and one by one, he is having fun slaughtering monsters in the bone-eating desert. Professionals from the Dragon Kingdom. I couldn't hold back the smile on my face. Okay, okay, this mechanical prosthesis you made is really not a hindrance to our soldiers in the battle, but it is also a lot of help. Mr. Li admired. I didn't pay attention to it before, but I discovered this time that the mechanical prosthetic limb is not just a prosthetic limb. There are some other functions added by Zheng Mu inside. For example, battlefield contact, positioning, and a very practical function. Automatically use restorative potions. Zheng Mu designed a medicine storage warehouse inside the mechanical prosthetic arm. Others need to take out the medicine and drink it with their mouths. These warriors with mechanical prosthetic arms only need the mechanical prosthetic arm to detect that the HP or MP reaches the warning position. It will directly push the recovery potion stored in the internal 2-7 into the bodies of the soldiers. It is equivalent to everyone carrying a nanny with them, always keeping an eye on them. Zheng Mu also had a smile on his face. However, the next moment, Mr. Li's words made his expression freeze instantly. Boy, tell me. If you are asked to command these 100 00 people, can you do it? Zheng Mu was stunned. He pointed at himself blankly, as if confirming something. Mr. Li smiled and nodded. Looking at the huge screen in front of me, I noticed the new things produced by your machine factory during this period. It is obvious that you have your own understanding and ideas about the army. These people have been reborn because of you. You are the only one in our Dragon Kingdom who has done this for so many years. The young hero who opened up new territories. If you come to lead them, they will definitely trust you. Seeing that Mr. Li obviously didn't look like he was joking, Mu Jin suddenly felt moved. A general with a hundred thousand elite troops. If his dead father knew this, he would probably be so excited that he would dream about it every night. 
In the future Zhang family's ancestral hall, I will have an absolute C position. This it's not impossible. Mr. Li rolled his eyes at this shameless guy in disgust, okay, don't you look like you're in a difficult position? Chapter, 164 Mr. Li suddenly raised this matter, naturally it was not a whim. In fact, before he came here today, he had already reached a consensus with other elders at the top. Seeing Zheng Mu grinning like a fool after taking the tiger talisman from him, Mr. Li shook his head speechlessly. Only at this time did the boy look like a proud 19-year-old boy. Which young man can refuse the bloody legend of leading an army of over 10, 0, 0 and marching into the enemy camp? Well, since these people are under your command, you might as well give this army a name. These people will be your General Zheng Mu's soldiers from now on. Hearing this, the smile on Zheng Mu's face faded a bit, and he looked at the soldiers who were fighting excitedly in the huge light curtain, as if they were Shura returning from hell. Thinking again of the dilemma and difficulties that Dragon Kingdom has faced in Blue Star over the years. An idea flashed in my mind. Blurted out. Heavenly AI Army. Mr. Li was stunned for a moment, savored it carefully, and the light in his eyes became more intense. Will the Divine Army of the Heavenly Dynasty and the Mournful Soldiers be victorious? Zheng Mu nodded, but then shook his head, with a cold arc at the corner of his mouth. The day when the heavenly soldiers descend will be the time when the enemy's country will be in peace. Mr. Li was silent, but the light in his eyes became brighter and brighter. Looking at the screen that was being played in real time in the light curtain, every warrior who was reborn from the ashes had a face full of evil spirits at this moment, as if they were venting the depression of these years, or in other words, they were originally a group of people with the past zero two Shura from the Dragon Kingdom lives by killing. And look at Zheng Mu who has already killed hundreds of thousands of enemies at a terrifying level. What kind of things will the god of death, who can massacre the enemy country without any guilt, lead such a group of dangerous guys in the future, do in the future? A terrifying picture already appeared in Mr. Li's mind. However, not only did he not have the slightest worry about this, he was instead full of heroism and expectation. The pride of the Dragon Kingdom has always existed. However, behind this standing proud body are the corpses of countless heroic warriors and ancestors of the Dragon Kingdom lying all over the place. In order for the Dragon Kingdom to remain standing on this blue star, too many people died. The sad scene where the whole country is in mourning should be completely reversed, so that other countries can also experience the pain of the Dragon Kingdom back then. Old Li couldn't help but clenched his fists. However, just when he was about to encourage Xing Mu, suddenly, the familiar voice that had disappeared for a few days rumbled again in the sky above the entire blue star. The White Elephant Kingdom camp launches an offensive against Patala City, the city of the Dragon Kingdom camp. The Dragon Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the White Elephant Kingdom camp will receive random rewards. The White Elephant Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism and kills members of the Dragon Kingdom camp to receive random rewards. The combat goal of Baixian Kingdom has been confirmed, occupy the city of Dragon Kingdom, force it to initiate peace talks, and both parties reach peace negotiation conditions. The combat objectives of the Dragon Kingdom camp have been confirmed, to expel the invasion of the White Elephant Kingdom, surround the territory of our own camp, force the White Elephant Kingdom to initiate peace talks, and both parties reach the terms of the peace talks. Participants in the national war are being confirmed. Professionals in the White Elephant Kingdom camp, 160, 00 people support permission. Dragon camp professionals, 30, 00 people support permission. How brave! Mr. Lee, who was smiling all the time one moment, had a frosty expression on his face the next moment, gritted his teeth and cursed. Civil War Less than half a month later, after just experiencing a war with the Bangzi Kingdom, the Baixiang Kingdom actually took the initiative to launch a national war against their Dragon Kingdom, and it was an undeclared war in the true sense. We will immediately send troops to Patala City, the largest city in the northwest of the Dragon Kingdom. Zheng Mu's eyes immediately burst out with murderous intent. Baixian Kingdom jumped out at this time, and it is self-evident who is behind it. This has been a consistent move of the Mi Empire. 
They are addicted to the development of the secret realm of different time and space, and they are not willing to take the initiative to withdraw some power to deal with a barren blue star dragon kingdom. Not to mention that it is time-consuming and labor-intensive, in the eyes of their senior officials, this behavior is no different from a well-dressed gentleman in a suit fighting a beggar on the street. Not only does he have no dignity at all, but he also loses his worth. Throwing out a piece of bread and letting another beggar go up and fight with him is what the Mi Empire wants to see most. Huangsha City is some distance away from Patala City, but in front of the air fortress, it is nothing. Zheng Mu didn't hesitate at all, and immediately asked Mr. Li for a fight with solemn eyes. Mr. Li, the White Elephant Kingdom dares to make such a jump this time. It just so happens that the monsters in the bone-eating desert can no longer improve the soldiers of the Tian AI army. I request to lead the army to counterattack. Use the blood and bones of those untouchables from the White Elephant Kingdom to pave the way for our Dragon Kingdom warriors to return to the top. Mr. Li looked at the soldiers of the Tian AI army who had also heard the voice of heaven in the light curtain, and showed ferocious murderous intent on their faces. He thought about it for a long time and finally nodded slightly. Okay, but after all, you have no experience in commanding troops. War confrontation between professionals is not an easy task. I will send you a few people here. At the same time. When Zheng Mu's side was preparing to organize his army to go to war. Tian Dao live broadcasting is once again launched all over the world. The Blue Star professionals, who had been silent for a short time just now, were once again plunged into unprecedented excitement. Ha ha ha, look, this is the price of arrogance. I don't believe there are still people who don't know why the White Elephant Kingdom suddenly attacked at this time. Oh, those unreliable White Elephant Kingdom people are very direct in doing things. I admire them very much. This is a one-step approach. In a direct national war, the White Elephant Kingdom must have received a lot of promises from the Mi Empire, otherwise it would never be possible to work so hard. The Dragon Kingdom is probably in danger. I heard that they lost a lot of combat power last time in trying to contain the Protector God and other main forces of the Bangzi Kingdom. Those damn yellow-skinned monkeys dare to provoke our Great Rice Empire, go to hell. I heard that men in the White Elephant Kingdom like to play multi-person sports. I wonder if Tian Dao Liv will follow them after they invade the city. Ha ha ha, I really want to see those lowly yellow-skinned monkeys see their women. A miserable look. The Dragon Kingdom is finished. After defeating the Bangzi Kingdom, you actually think you can challenge the powerful Rice Empire? I want to break the news here. Our Sakura Kingdom, General Ashikaga, has begun to prepare for war and can enter the Dragon Kingdom at any time. My great great Sakura Empire's hegemony will be established on the bones of the Dragon Kingdom. In all the major forums, they were all unfavorable about the situation in the Dragon Kingdom. Among them, some citizens of the Bangzi Kingdom vented their distress in the forums. Claiming that if it weren't for the truce restrictions imposed by Heaven's Law, their country, Bangzi country, would definitely fight back and take back everything they lost. The attitude of other countries in Blue Star towards Dragon Kingdom was extremely unfavorable. The overwhelming ridicule and sarcasm made the people and professionals here in Dragon Kingdom feel angry and worried at the same time. Can Patala City's garrison of only 30 00 people be able to withstand the hundreds of thousands of elites from the White Elephant Kingdom? I have seen the announcement from the White Elephant Kingdom. They have sent out the elite Holy Elephant Forbidden Army. Those are the four subordinates of the White Elephant King. The existence of one of the Great Legions. If we simply defend the city, our warriors from the Dragon Kingdom will have no problem holding on for the time being with the help of the city defense formation, but those beasts from the White Elephant Kingdom will definitely launch an attack on the small towns around Patala City. The defense and military power there are difficult to resist. For the safety of our Dragon Kingdom citizens there, the soldiers of Patala City will most likely not be able to choose to stand firm and can only go out of the city to stop the attack. Ah! Damn the Mi Empire, I really hate that I don't have strong strength, otherwise I could wipe out all these annoying fly countries around me with just a wave of my hand. The Dragon Kingdom is located in a city deep in the mountains and old forests. 
A disabled warrior who was training here and was pushed out from the secret realm of different time and space saw the scene on the Tian Dao live broadcast of the Holy Elephant Legion of the White Elephant Kingdom entering the territory of the Dragon Kingdom as if they were entering an uninhabited land. They were all furious. A bunch of monkeys who are not fully evolved dare to attack me, Yang Yang Da Xiao. Do you really think that there is no one in our Dragon Kingdom? Fuck. Help me up. Even if I only have one leg, Grandpa can kill them with a cane and make them cry for father and mother. Come here, we want to join the war. These people were excited, but at this time, General 880, who was in charge here, walked in. Quiet. With a simple order, the scene immediately became quiet. However, looking at the fierce fighting spirit in the eyes of these soldiers, the general did not agree to their request. He said calmly. It's just the White Elephant Kingdom. The top management already has a way to deal with it. Before that, what you have to do is to patiently recover and stabilize your injuries, and then return to the battlefield. After hearing the general's words, a veteran who had both legs amputated suddenly lost control of his emotions. Returning to the battlefield, general. Can I really return to the battlefield with my appearance? A soldier without even his legs? Looking at the other party's red and swollen eyes, the general not only did not offer any comfort, but instead gave him a mysterious smile. Always pay attention to Tian Dao live. Believe me, believe in our country. Each of you is the bravest warrior of our country, and today's country needs the strength of each of you. As he spoke, he gestured to the officers behind him, and then several T-800s with heavy steps appeared in front of a group of disabled soldiers. Under the astonished gaze of everyone, his eyes emitted bursts of blue rays, scanning over each of their bodies. At the same time, Huangsha City. Zheng Mu saw several lieutenants arranged for him by Mr. Li. The expression on his face can simply be described as wonderful. Xiong Wei Shan, Qin Ji, He Guang. All of them are my former bosses or seniors. However, it seemed that the three of them were serving as Zheng Mu's lieutenants. Not only were they not embarrassed at all, but they stood in the control hall of the air fortress with eager expressions on their faces. General Zheng, shall we set off now? Go directly to kill those turbaned monkeys of the elephant forbidden army. Hearing Xiong Weishan's words, the soldiers of the Tian Ai army who had gathered towards the air fortress on the Zheng Mu big screen showed meaningful smiles on their faces. Who said we are going to fight the elephant forbidden army? Do you think weapons that attack indiscriminately like air fortresses should be deployed on our own territory? Chapter, 165 Outside Huangsha City, hundreds of thousands of elites from the Dragon Kingdom were equipped with mechanical prosthetics and reborn from the ashes. When they learned that they would form a new army and be led by Zheng Mu who gave them new life, everyone accepted the order without any hesitation. Looking at the sky fortress above his head, the tall figure in a pitch-black military uniform standing on the edge, Zheng Mu had not said anything yet, but these elites of the Dragon Kingdom who were truly grateful and admired to him all unanimously shouted stand up. Long live General Zheng Mu! Long live General Zheng Mu! A huge sound spread across the bone-swallowing desert. Standing on the wall of Huangsha City, Qi Tai saw this scene, his eyes filled with excitement and envy. To be honest, he is really envious of these reborn warriors now. Because they were about to return to the battlefield, and they were still led by Zheng Mu, a young general who had recently opened up new territories. It's not like Zheng Mu has never seen what tens of thousands of people gather together, but the visual impact of tens of thousands of chaotic refugees and tens of thousands of elite soldiers is completely different. At this moment, 100 elite warriors from the Dragon Kingdom were lined up below. They were well trained and experienced in many battles, and they didn't even need Zheng Mu to manage them. They had already formed new combat teams with each other in these days of battles. All officers and soldiers already know about the order to ascend the peak. From now on, you will be led by me, Zheng Mu, and will be renamed Tianai Army. You are all warriors who emerged from the secret realm of different time and space with real swords and real guns. Although I, Zheng Mu, now bear the title of general, in front of you, I am still the undisputed junior. Zheng Mu's voice spread in the wind and dust mixed with yellow sand, reaching the ears of everyone present. 
everyone's strength is not as good as before. You should be at ease to find a monster area and recover as soon as possible, but you have also seen that the Mi Empire does not give us time, and the White Elephant Kingdom also thinks that we are weak and can be bullied. How dare you launch a national war directly against our mighty Dragon Kingdom? Can you bear it? Zheng Mu's voice was sonorous and powerful, and the hundreds of thousands of soldiers below also realized something and roared excitedly. Can't. 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 Amid the loud voice, Zheng Mu waved his hand. I can't bear it. A bunch of wild monkeys with diapers tied on their heads actually dare to poop and urinate on the head of our dragon kingdom. They think their heads can block the steel swords and axes of our dragon kingdom's warriors. Since they dare to come, do you dare to follow me to visit that damn barbarian land? Use the blood of countless people from their white elephant kingdom to build our Chinai army back to its peak. Hearing this, the people who ordered a hundred thousand dragons to be killed all became excited and their eyes turned red, and they shouted at the top of their lungs. Kill, kill, kill. Zheng Mu looked at the 100-00 soldiers of the Tian AI army who were completely boiling. His eyes were full of fighting spirit. When his eyes moved, the Red Queen on the side immediately understood. The next moment, amidst the clicking sounds of hatches opening, entrances suddenly opened under the huge aerial fortress. The soldiers of the Tianai army below did not wait until they wondered what Zheng Mu was going to do. In an instant, long and majestic things were dragged out from the hatches in an overwhelming and dense manner. The soldiers of the Tian AI army, who all had mechanical prosthetics on their bodies, heard a cold sound coming from their mechanical prostheses the next moment. The retrieval signal of the steel-winged angel flying device was found. The pairing is completed. Please stay in place and stand at attention. Everyone was startled. The next moment, a whistling sound came from above their heads, and something like a metal backpack, spraying tail flames, fell on them. Pin it accurately on their backs. Boom! The huge power caused these Tian AI armies to rise into the sky one after another. He was actually taken directly to the interior of the air fortress by the flying device. Just when the soldiers of the Tian AI army were still shocked by the awesomeness of their equipment and the magic inside the air fortress, the soldiers in Huangsha city outside were already in a state of enlightenment. Damn it! It's flying! These members of the Sky AI army actually have such equipment. Isn't this special girl a heavenly soldier and a heavenly general from now on? Hiss it's so spectacular and terrifying. These things created by General Zheng Mu simply subvert our understanding of mechanics. Will this thing be the standard for the soldiers of the Tian AI army in the future? Match it? Chi Tai and Qing Yun Lao Dao also had trembling pupils. As military personnel, both of them instantly realized the horror of this flying device. Flexibility In this era of Blue Star, if the defender can rely on the teleportation array to provide emergency reinforcement support. As an attacker, if you enter the territory of another country and cannot use the teleportation array, mobility is particularly critical if you want to win the national war. Except for a few professionals who can fly like Lee Jae Hyung, it can be said that more than 80% of professionals do not have the skills to support flying before level IV-60. Inside the Air Fortress Xiong Weishan and the others opened their eyes in excitement when they saw that Jing Mu had such a skill. Qin Ji grabbed Jing Mu eagerly. General, are we really going to directly attack the Baixiang Kingdom's homeland? Jing Mu was a little embarrassed. There seemed to be no pressure at all when the other party called him general, but he himself always felt a little awkward, but the rules in the army needed to be followed. Nod. Originally, we plan to let these soldiers find some higher-level monster areas to restore their strength. However, the grandsons of Baixian Kingdom did not know whether to live or die. If they were just invading the border, they actually dared to launch a national war directly on the level of heaven. Hee <laughs> hee. Zheng Mu had a bloodthirsty smile on his face. The experience points gained from killing monsters in the wild are far less than those gained from slaughtering the city. Massacre. Qin Ji and others' expressions tightened. Damn it, why are the words you say always so terrifying? However, they had to admit that Zheng Mu definitely had the most say. 
hundreds of thousands of Bangzi people died in his hands. Even though most of them were unarmed civilians, it still supported his level soaring by more than ten levels. Moreover, what they don't know is that the experience required for upgrading is compared to the experience required for upgrading skills. That's really incomparable. If Sheng Mu hadn't spent most of his experience on upgrading his skills, his level would be above IV-55 at least. The size of the air fortress is comparable to that of a city, and it can easily hold a hundred thousand Tian AI troops. Soon, under the gaze of everyone in Huangsha City, with a roar, the air fortress flew into the clouds and disappeared into the sky in the blink of an eye. The direction they were going was obviously the big border city between the White Elephant Kingdom and the Dragon Kingdom, the Galwansi Valley Fortress. At the same time, in the vast southwestern region of the Dragon Kingdom, a large number of ferocious beasts were roaming freely. As an indispensable monster food drop area for the Dragon Kingdom, it can produce enough monster meat and other ingredients to supply half of the Dragon Kingdom's consumption every year. It can be said to be a paradise for many life professionals. Naturally, Baixiang Kingdom has long been salivating over this. Above the sky, flying cloud boats with all the bells and whistles and even blasts of Sanskrit sounds were flying wantonly within the territory of the Dragon Kingdom. When Patala, the first big city this time, was seen from a distance, the leader of the White Elephant Kingdom, Mas Luo, the Great Prince, saw the arrival of Patala and immediately licked his lips with bloodthirsty. Ha ha ha, look at it, these Dragon Kingdom people really don't have much support. Let's take down Patala city in one go. The White Elephant generals around him all looked up. Sure enough, although the teleportation array in Patala city can be seen from a distance at this moment, it is constantly operating, but the defensive force that can be blocked is quite limited. They were still a little nervous at first, but suddenly they all looked like monkeys in heat. Howling. Your Highness, please allow our Kunkara division to help you break through the city defense formations of these Dragon Kingdom people. Several generals from the White Elephant Kingdom, with oil paint on their faces and dressed like barbarians, excitedly asked for the invitation. At this moment, professionals all over the world are all staring at the Tiandao live broadcast. In the Holy White Jade Palace of the Mi Empire, the Emperor of the Mi Empire was also muttering some words about Dragon Kingdom bastards at this moment, looking at the Tiandao live broadcast, the Feiyun boat group that had arrived from the White Elephant Kingdom. Terrible, eyes were full of excitement and gloating. He can't wait to publish some satirical and sarcastic posts about the people of Longwa on his forum. I have even thought about adding tragic pictures and videos of Patala City to these posts. In the Holy White Jade Palace, seeing the garrison strength of Patala City, the senior officials of the Mi Empire shook their heads. Sure enough, as usual in the style of the Dragon Kingdom, they were stubborn and stubborn. Obviously there are no extra troops to deploy. With these defense forces, Patala City will fall to the attack of the White Elephant Kingdom in two or three days at most. Some officials have even started talking to each other. The Emperor of Sakura Kingdom really needs to be beaten. Compared to any other emperor, he is more obedient than the Ashikaga Shogun. Everyone has completely forgotten about Long Guo. However, just as everyone was waiting for the White Elephant Kingdom to launch an attack on Patala City, suddenly the Tiandao live broadcast screen suddenly changed. The next moment, Zheng Mu's familiar sky fortress once again appeared in front of the eyes of professionals all over the world. When the professionals from the White Elephant Kingdom saw the huge city below the sky fortress, the excited smiles on their faces instantly solidified. What's going on? That's our Galvancy Valley Fortress. Force. Chapter, 166. What's going on? That's our Galwansi Valley Fortress. In an instant, professionals from all over the world were stunned. Hundreds of thousands of elite professionals from the White Elephant Kingdom have entered the territory of your Dragon Kingdom. You don't want to annihilate this force, but you are actually preparing to fight back. Some people from the White Elephant Country have brains that are a bit hard to turn around. Even the king of the White Elephant Kingdom, who was listening to the ditty in the palace and watching the Tiandao live broadcast with a contented expression, now looked incredulous. It was hard for him to believe that the Dragon Kingdom dared to fight back against them without even thinking of defending its homeland. 
However, in the Tiandao live broadcast, the city walls were covered with colorful brocades, and the familiar soldiers from the country were telling him that the Dragon Kingdom had really chosen to fight back directly. Moreover, the visitor was the mechanic Xing Mu who had knocked Bang Ziguo down. Damn it! Who is the defender of the Galwansi Valley Fortress? How many defenders are there now? The king of Baixian Kingdom was shocked and angry, and loudly questioned several senior officials around him. However, everyone looked at each other in confusion. Where would they pay attention to that kind of border area? However, Sun Jing Mu directly gave the answer to the king of Baixian Kingdom. Kacha Kacha. At the bottom of one side of the air fortress, necrotic laser cannons stretched out, and the black muzzles pointed directly at the Galvansi Valley Fortress, which was already in chaos due to the emergence of the air fortress. The cries for help could be faintly heard even at high altitudes. However, as the buzzing sound of energy accumulation came from the necrotic laser cannon, the White Elephant Kingdom Border Fortress, which has a permanent population of more than 400 and a daily workforce of more than 200 had no time to operate the teleportation array. Stand up. In the palace of the Fortress City Lord. A 500-year-old white-skinned general from the White Elephant Kingdom who was obviously of a high caste had a particularly fair complexion today. Has the call for help been sent out? Has it been sent out? He looked flustered, and without any prior precautions, he never thought that his fortress could withstand the terrifying bombardment of the Zheng Mu Air Fortress. However, his subordinates were trembling and about to cry at this moment. In the past, I couldn't help but have a humming accent when speaking, and today it was like my throat was being pinched. General, we now have a live broadcast from Tiandao. The monarch and the surrounding city lords must have known about it. No one can come. It's too urgent. We won't be able to send support for a while. Hearing this, the general from a high caste became even more desperate. He stared blankly at the huge crystal ball in front of him. How long can we hold it back? How long will it be blocked? I don't know how to answer this question at all. However, the next moment there was a violent roar outside, accompanied by the earthquake of the entire fortress, and the crystal formation behind them suddenly made an overwhelming clicking sound. Durability of Galwansi Valley Fortress Defense Formation, 735-9W800W Durability of Galwansi Valley Fortress Defense Formation, 645-9W800W Durability of Galwansi Valley Fortress Defense Formation, 495-9W800W Durability of the Galvansi Valley Fortress Defense Formation Durability of Galvansi Valley Fortress Defense Formation, 7-2W-800W Boom! Although the durability of this city's Akba City Defense Formation is much stronger than the original city defense formation of Han City in Bangzi Kingdom. However, it was only one round of bombardment. In just a few seconds, there was a loud bang and it shattered into scattered pale golden light spots. All the professionals from the White Elephant Kingdom in the city turned pale and had to pull out their weapons in despair. The officers yelled hysterically. Ready to fight. However, what responded to them was a missile launcher that was stretched out from the door. The pupils of the senior officials of Baixian Kingdom suddenly shrank, and the monarch was so angry that he flew into a rage. He angrily overturned the various delicacies of fruits and melons from the secret realm of different time and space placed in front of him. Shameless coward. However, Zheng Mu, who couldn't feel the other party's anger at all, looked at the Galwansi Valley Fortress as if his coat had been stripped off, waiting for him to ravage wantonly, and the smile on his face gradually became dangerous. Sorry, I'm in a hurry today, so we'll watch the monkey show another day. As soon as she finished speaking, the Red Queen instantly activated the firepower system torrent. This firepower system, when it was on the base vehicle, only had 300 doors of firepower. However, now it has a terrifying 100 doors on top of the air fortress. The missiles whistling sharply and trailing long tail flames were densely packed like raindrops, covering the entire Galwansi Valley fortress. In an instant, Professionals from all over the world who had been slandering and ridiculing the Dragon Kingdom in major forums all fell silent in shock. Zereshet. Oh, God. Boom, boom, boom. 
Amidst the fierce bombing, the explosion instantly covered the entire fortress. The large number of White Elephant Kingdom professionals and citizens who could still be seen in the Tiandao live broadcast were replaced by the horrific explosion scene the next moment. The capital of the White Elephant Kingdom looked at the black smoke billowing Galvancy Valley Fortress with dull eyes. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom and all the senior officials felt as if they had been struck by lightning. Half a month ago, when they saw Zheng Mu indiscriminately bombing the city of Bangzi Kingdom, they laughed at the fact that there was no one left in Bangzi Kingdom. To be beaten while standing like this is something I never expected. As things turn, this kind of VIP treatment falls on them. Suddenly, the king of Baixiang Kingdom became furious. Bring Anilopi back. Bring Anilopi back. I want to watch him tear these dragon country bastards into pieces with my own eyes. Tear them all into pieces. The roar spread throughout the White Elephant King's palace. However, just when professionals from various countries thought that the air fortress would leave directly in the next step and head towards the next city. Suddenly, hatches similar to bomb hatches opened below the air fortress. Inside the air fortress, at the foot is the Galvancy Valley Fortress with billowing black smoke. The soldiers of the Tian Ai army were fixed one by one on a chair similar to a roller coaster. Zheng Mu's voice spread across the huge troop-carrying platform. Remember my order, no matter whether you are old or young, women or children, whether you are professionals or ordinary people, no matter what country you are from, as long as they are not your comrades in arms, they are all enemies. What you have to do against your enemies is to kill them without mercy. If anyone lets me know that they have ridiculous compassion for these aliens get out of the Tian Ai army. As soon as the words fell, the next moment, the bodies of these members of the Tian Ai army were suddenly ejected, and the steel-winged angel flying device behind them automatically deployed. While they were still in mid-air, each team had completed their organizational deployment. Through the on-site scanning of the battlefield by the Air Fortress, precise delivery is made towards the location where enemies still exist. God, what is that? Is it another missile? No, my God, it's a population, a mountain of people, not a mechanical creation. They are all professionals from the Dragon Kingdom. The thing behind them can actually allow them to fly in the sky. Professionals from various countries opened their eyes wide. Looking at the live broadcast of Tiandao, I took a breath. The Galawansi Valley Fortress, which had just experienced ravages, was deploying troops. In addition, the Dragon Kingdom was dispatched this time by Zheng Mu, a murderer with a criminal record not long ago. Everyone has realized what our country is going to do. Massacred the city. In the White Elephant Kingdom, there were families who happened to be working in the Galvancy Valley Fortress or serving in the army, and they all cried and howled. That man from the Dragon Kingdom is definitely the reincarnation of Shiva. He is the source of all evil. He has brought destruction to our White Elephant Kingdom. Devils will surely fall into hell and live worse than death. You you you. City guards from all over the White Elephant Kingdom swallowed their saliva in horror. And it was located in some cities on the side of the Galvancy Valley Fortress, and it became even more chaotic in an instant. At this moment, Tian Dao Liv seemed to have forgotten the Holy Elephant Legion that had entered the Dragon Kingdom territory before, and had no intention of turning around at all. In this way, professionals all over the world watched this one-sided massacre without missing any details. With a roar, Xion Weishan held an exaggerated ice blue two-handed heavy axe. The moment it landed, cold air surged up within a radius of one or two hundred meters. Ice crystals condensed on the ground, but the heavy axe in his hand was raised again without hesitation. Under the precise delivery of the Red Queen, what was in front of him at this moment was the White Elephant Kingdom Guard who almost lost half his life in the bombing just now. Mystery Power of Ice Giant The heavy axe was raised above his head, and as the cold air surged over his body, a terrifying ice giant seemed to condense behind Xion Weishan, making the same downward slashing posture. The guard general was holding a bottle of recovery potion in his mouth, and his expression changed drastically at this moment. However, he was not given any chance to react. An ice crack that spread for dozens of meters appeared in front of him. In front of Xion Weishan, the guard couldn't even hold back a single move, so he immediately received his lunchbox. 
However, Xion Weishan immediately looked in another direction and stepped on his feet several times. Cold air surged through his body, and his whole body rushed out like an out-of-control locomotive. Ho! You bastards of the White Elephant Kingdom, you Grandpa Bear do it again. The brutal scenes not only happened here at Xion Weishan, but the terrifying combat skills displayed by the Tian AI army who had just landed in the fortress caused professionals from all over the world to change their expressions. These people are definitely not ordinary professional soldiers. Could it be that the Dragon Kingdom has transferred back the military strength of the secret realm of different time and space? Chapter 167 The Holy White Jade Palace of the Rice Empire the Emperor of the Mi Empire and all the ministers were once again surprised by the power displayed by the Dragon Kingdom. Recently, the Dragon Kingdom seemed to have suddenly changed. One after another, things beyond their expectations happened to each other. They all couldn't help but feel a little strange about today's Dragon Kingdom. Quick, ask someone immediately to ask Sakura Country and Dragon Country if they have withdrawn the power of the secret realm of different time and space back to Blue Star. Someone immediately said anxiously. But soon, someone came here to report. The Dragon Kingdom's troops stationed in the secret realm of different time and space did not have any changes. Except for those who were previously considered disabled and were sent back to Blue Star, the lightly injured elites stayed in the secret realm of different time and space and were on daily alert. Regarding this result, the top management of the Mi Empire couldn't understand it. However, the Emperor of the Mi Empire, who was always good at discovering novelties, sat on the throne, muttered, and after a burst of clattering hands, he zoomed in on the Tiendao Live broadcast. Look at what these people have in common, are they leggings and buttocks? Hearing this, everyone was stunned, and then they followed suit and enlarged the Tiandao Live broadcast in front of them. Suddenly, these people also discovered the difference between the soldiers of the Tianai army. Everyone seems to have some kind of equipment in different places on their arms or legs. Wrong. Suddenly, a military general seemed to have discovered something. He frowned and zoomed in on the screen again. It seems like these people are all equipped with prosthetic limbs. At this time, the general immediately saw clearly the difference in Tian AI's army. However, what he said made everyone present stunned. Prosthetic limb. Isn't that only useful for those who are judged to be disabled by heaven? But look at these Dragon Kingdom madmen who are wreaking havoc in the White Elephant Kingdom city. Do they look like they are disabled? Not to mention that they didn't believe it, the generals of the Mi Empire who were present to confirm the situation of the Tianai army soldiers all frowned. Nothing else, just in these short ten minutes. Not only did they see a group of elite professionals with ferocious combat power crazily massacring the people of the White Elephant Kingdom, but they also saw a sudden burst of light on the bodies of many Dragon Kingdom professionals. It's obviously a sign of an upgrade. Siete. When did people who were judged as disabled by Heaven's Law be able to upgrade? A military boss of the Mi Empire couldn't help but swore. This incident made the senior officials of the Mi Empire who didn't care much about the Dragon Kingdom become wary. Immediately obtain our intelligence information on the appearance of those Dragon Kingdom professionals in the live broadcast. We must find out the situation of these guys as soon as possible. Similar to the situation on the Mi Empire side, the Sakura country and the Bangzi country also discovered the differences among the soldiers of the Tianai army one after another, and started urgent investigations one after another. Unlike these countries, investigation is still needed. At this moment, the disabled veterans of the Dragon Kingdom are also watching the Tiandao live broadcast. When they saw the familiar figures in the picture, everyone's eyes were dull. It was like seeing a ghost. Then, is that De Biao's grandson? That should be Wang De Biao in our team who lost two arms and was injured before, right? Am I hallucinating? Damn it, did you see it too? I thought I was being blinded. Did this guy level up? Did this guy level up just now? The grandson has been upgraded. It's him. How many times have we seen those secret skills? You can't go wrong. But, wasn't that kid downgraded because of his disability, and his secret skills were locked? In a military nursing home, the originally quiet ward suddenly fell into a violent boil with the appearance of the Tian AI army. 
When the officer in charge came to the ward, he saw men who were crying extremely ugly, looking at him with eyes full of longing, which could even be said to be full of humility. Sir, have our comrades who have been disabled and retired from the army have regained their strength? Has our Dragon Kingdom found a way to solve the disability situation? Sir, please help me apply to the superiors. What if I, even if I die on the battlefield? Yes, sir, brothers, I have never been afraid of fighting seven or eight enemies alone, but now I am afraid that I will lie on this bed for the rest of my life. Looking at these tough men, each one of them was pleading to themselves with tears in their eyes. The officer's eyes turned red instantly. As the officer responsible for the follow-up work of the sanatorium, he has seen too many desolate heroes since he took this position. Although the Long Kingdom military has a very complete protection mechanism for them, there is no need to worry about no one to take care of them in life. But how can a group of warriors on the battlefield who are eager to make contributions to their country accept being disabled for the rest of their lives? In order to prevent these people from seeking short-sightedness, most of their energy is spent on psychological counseling and monitoring of these people. Someone must keep an eye on them at all times, for fear that a single attention will cause them to commit suicide. Facing the eager eyes, the officer also nodded hurriedly to comfort him, with the same happy smile on his face. No intention of hiding anything. Don't be excited, don't be excited, the country will not forget you, I am here to assure you with the honor of a soldier. You will be able to regain your combat effectiveness within a month at the latest. Not only will your disability be lifted, but you will also be able to continue fighting and leveling up as before. Hearing this, everyone opened their eyes in excitement. Under their continuous questioning, the officer finally talked about the strange guys who had scanned their bodies with lasers a few days ago. When they learned that the person who solved all these problems turned out to be the mechanic Sheng who had recently opened up territory for the Dragon Kingdom. Mu Time Everyone looked at the Tian Dao live broadcast screen, which looked like a king over the world, standing over the city of Baixian Kingdom in the sky. Their eyes changed from the original admiration and excitement to an emotion called gratitude. The center of the divine capital. How did the soldiers react? Gu Xingdong smiled and nodded when he heard Mr. Li's question. The soldiers have obviously become more respectful to that boy Jing Mu, but... Gu Xingdong pondered for a moment and asked hesitantly. Mr. Li, this is an army of nearly one million, and they are all truly elites who fought and fought in the secret realm of different time and space. Why don't you and the other elders stop studying it? Really leave everything to Jing Mu alone. Hearing this, Mr. Li glanced sideways at the other party and said calmly. Why, don't you think it's possible? Gu Xingdong took a breath, smacked his mouth, and expressed his concerns. Zero please give me flowers. That kid's behavior is too crazy. Even if you keep watching, hasn't that kid done so many things that caused a sensation in the world? It's outrageous to let him command the Tianai army of 100 zero, zero people now. If this reaches 100 zero, zero, 10,000. After hearing Gu Xingdong's concerns, Mr. Li looked at his Tian Dao live broadcast with calm eyes. In the picture, with the precise positioning of the Air Fortress scan and the Red Queen's overall control of the battlefield, the White Elephant Kingdom's gateway fortress to the Dragon Kingdom has been cleared to the end. Watching the soldiers of the Tian Ai army rising into the sky, like locusts ravaging across the fields, gathering and returning to the aerial fortress. Mr. Li faintly repeated Gu Xingdong's words. Crazy. Don't you think that our Dasha civilization, which once stood at the top of the world, has fallen into decline for hundreds of years and reached this point now, shouldn't we go crazy? Mr. Li's tone was full of resentment and he gritted his teeth. Looking at the blood-flowing rivers and the ruins of the Galwansi Valley Fortress of the White Elephant Kingdom, Gu Xingdong was shocked by the evil energy erupting from his body. Mr. Li suddenly turned his head, his originally turbid eyes filled with scarlet murderous intent. That was the murderous intention directed against the Bangzi country, the killing intention against the Sakura country, the killing intention against the White Elephant country, the Monkey country, the Eagle country, the White Bear country, and even the Rice Empire, the overlord of Blue Star. We, the Dragon Kingdom, should be the overlord of this world. After being pinned to the ground by a bunch of barbarians for so many years, we should have gone crazy long ago. 
He stared at Gu Xingdong in front of him and spoke lightly in a serious tone that he had never heard before. The countries of Blue Star say that our soldiers are all crazy, but I have to say, we are not crazy enough. Gu Xingdong opened his mouth and fell silent. Obviously, this is not just what Mr. Li means, but also the other elders of the Dragon Kingdom. They saw what they wanted to see most from Jin Mu. The potential is terrifying, and he has a strong sense of belonging to the Dragon Kingdom, and even has pride in his bones. But towards foreign races, there is naked and undisguised contempt and disdain. The Dragon Kingdom needs to rise, and Zheng Mu has obviously been positioned by several high-level elders as the leading role of the Dragon Kingdom soaring into the Nine Heavens. Even Gu Xingdong, who was used to seeing strong winds and waves, saw in the Tian Dao live broadcast that Zheng Mu, who had just led an army of 100-00, slaughtered a city of 200-00 to 300-00 in Baixian Kingdom. My hands couldn't help but tremble. 100,000 Tian AI troops have already done such crazy things. If one day Zheng Mu really takes over the command of millions of elite troops from Mr. Li and the others. At the same time, Zheng Mu looked at the Galvancy Valley Fortress in the Light Curtain, which was scanned by the Air Fortress and showed that there were zero surviving lives, and the smile on his face became more and more cold blooded. Just now, he had received a communication from his military. He didn't need to worry about the Elephant Corps. The military had sent enough support. Although it is impossible to destroy them, it can be easily done by holding on to the surrounding cities. That is to say, attacking and defending are easy. Zheng Mu calmly ordered the Red Queen to activate the fortress and go to the next city. Looking at the cities in the light curtain leading to the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, I couldn't help but lick my lips. Let's see whether you capture Patala city first, or I capture your capital first. Chapter, 168 Why hasn't that antelope guy come back yet? Let him come back quickly. In the palace of the White Elephant King, the King of the White Elephant Kingdom no longer had the same pride and confidence as before. At this moment, his face was pale and there were traces of sweat on his forehead. At this moment, in the palace, a chamberlain was sent out from time to time, frantically urging Antelope, the protector of the country, who was still in the secret realm of different time and space, to return. The officials of Baixian Kingdom were obviously anxious. The original banquet was no longer in the mood to hold at this moment, and everyone looked at it with ugly faces. During the Tiandao live broadcast, aerial fortresses came to their White Elephant Kingdom city one after another. General Dumasai has level IV-70 strength and is an S-level thundercloud mage. He can fly. As long as he is careful, he should be able to lead the soldiers in the city to deal with Long Jianren. A general looked at the air fortress and once again came to the sky above a big city in their Baixiang kingdom. He spoke his thoughts nervously, but it was more of an idea than a comfort to his anxious heart at the moment. In the live broadcast, the general Dumasai he mentioned was indeed a brave general. After also seeing the terrifying firepower of Zheng Mu's air fortress, he made a prompt decision and directly gave up on the citizens of the White Elephant Kingdom who could not evacuate. He chose to lead his troops out of the city in an attempt to disperse. In the wild, 530 and Tian AI led by Zheng Mu the army was circling. However, with a round of necrotic laser cannons that shattered the city's defense formation, the torrent of firepower system that should have poured into the city as before was instead a wolf-like bombardment of them in the wild. Just when people like Dumasai were stunned by the bombing and suffered a lot of losses. The densely packed soldiers of the Tian AI army in the sky were already killing them with bloodthirsty expressions on their faces. As for the ordinary people and ordinary professionals in the city. While putting down the soldiers of the Tian AI army, a series of cold mechanical creations also fell out of the aerial fortress. In an instant, thousands of T-100s, plus the arrival of Optimus Prime and other Transformers, Lickers, and Uchiha Muzin, Jing Mu launched a direct attack on these unarmed civilians of the White Elephant Kingdom without any mercy. Crazy Massacre If the Tian AI army on the Dragon Kingdom side faced the elderly and children, there would still be some brief hesitation. These mechanical creations under Jing Mu really bring an artistic touch to killing. Ah! Run! God, have you abandoned us? You you you! Run! 
The teleportation array is blocked. Run outside the city. Hurry. In the chaotic city, the densely packed civilians of Baishan Kingdom have simply become the best targets. From the sky, the dinosaur King Kong Thunder Dart, in the form of a pterosaur fell like a thunderous waterfall, just like the thunder god these ignorant white elephant people believed in, lowering the thunder of destruction. The thunder instantly engulfed large swathes of white elephant people, leaving behind a stinking black charcoal on the ground. In the end, all the old people and children were just indistinguishable corpses on the ground. What could be distinguished might be the different body shapes of the charred bodies. Please, don't kill my child. Please, Lord Longgua, let us go. You will be blessed in the next life, please show your mercy. In front of a teleportation array, the white light disappeared because the array was destroyed. Thousands of civilians from the White Elephant Kingdom, as well as some frightened professionals, were surrounded by groups of mechanical creations. With no way out, they could only kneel down and beg, speaking in jittery language, and use all the words they had spent in praising the gods in their lives on Jingmu. The black figure begging for combat power on top of the aerial fortress. They couldn't see clearly Zheng Mu's appearance, but that tiny figure high in the sky was the god who could control their life and death at this moment. However, under the watchful eyes of professionals from all over the world, the live broadcast has hit Zheng Mu's face. The other party was still not moved at all. With eyes that were not as cold as humans should have, looking down at the wailing white elephant kingdom city below, it was like looking at a burning ant nest. Slightly interested, seems to be a little affected. Oh God, this guy is simply a real devil. He is not even willing to let go of ordinary people who pose no threat to him. Our great me empire will never allow such demons to exist in this world. People in the dragon kingdom are also lunatics. The dragon kingdom should be completely wiped out from this world. Eradicate the dragon kingdom. Unforgivable. This lunatic from the dragon kingdom shouldn't even be called a human being. In his eyes, I can't see the slightest guilt for the loss of life. He doesn't regard the lives of these white elephant people as life at all, or even worse than ants on the roadside. I am from the Eagle Country. Although I am a professional, my parents are ordinary people. I can't imagine what terrible things will happen if this madman comes to our Eagle Country one day. I have written a petition to Her Majesty the Queen, requesting Her Majesty the Queen to declare war on the Dragon Kingdom. Either the Dragon Kingdom is destroyed, or this madman is handed over and executed in front of the whole world. Bangzi Country, Qinghua Palace Even though the King of Bangzi Kingdom was sitting on the throne at this moment, his legs could not help but tremble. In the Tiandao live broadcast, Zheng Mu's eyes, which were staring at the massacre in the city, seemed to be looking at him right now. Not to mention the King of the Bangzi Kingdom, even Sun Mingao, the general of the Bangzi Kingdom who was present, looked pale at the moment and his lips were blue. He cursed words like madman over and over again through gritted teeth. The other officials present also had grey faces, as if they had seen ghosts and gods standing in front of them. There was deathly silence in the main hall. Among the people present, Li Jianxi, the president of the Three Star Guild, although his pupils were constricted at this moment, he couldn't help but think of Zheng Mu commanding a hundred thousand elites of the Dragon Kingdom. To be able to rule ten thousand people at this age. It is obviously impossible for the hardcore elders of the Long Kingdom to hand over Zheng Mu. In other words Zheng Mu's power in the Dragon Kingdom will become even more terrifying in the future. Li Jianxi's hands under his official uniform clenched tightly, and his eyes couldn't help but wander around the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom. After all, Bangzi country is too small, and in such a small place, there are still so many people fighting for power here. Now his daughter Li Fujin is already one of Zheng Mu's nominal wives, and as long as his Sanqing guild is willing to spend a lot of money, maybe he can really join the line of the Dragon Kingdom. No one paid attention to Li Jianxi's thoughts. Everyone was frightened and dizzy by Zheng Mu's ferocity. And the same, Sakura country. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Seeing the Emperor staggering and almost sitting on the ground, the Chamberlain on the side hurriedly supported him. However, the latter did not care about this at all at this moment. Like a frightened bird, he anxiously raised his hand to the Prime Minister Yoshida Shiro who was kneeling below. 
Prime Minister Yoshida, our Sakura Kingdom must not go to war with the Dragon Kingdom. Absolutely not. Unless the Mi Empire personally sends a large army to launch a national war against the Dragon Kingdom, our Sakura Kingdom must not provoke these madmen, especially the mechanic named Xing Mu. He is not a human. He is the reincarnation of an evil spirit. The emperor was so frightened that he lost control, and it could even be said that he was not far from becoming incontinent. And when he thought that those bastards from the Ashikaga shogunate in their country were still sparing no effort to propagate the idea of launching troops against the dragon kingdom in the country, his legs couldn't help but become weak. Looking at the emperor who was trembling all over and dripping with cold sweat. However, Yoshida Shiro can also deeply understand the fear of the other party at this moment. In fact, it is not only the emperor who is afraid, but his juniors are also wet with cold sweat at this moment. I couldn't help but think of some time ago, when the Ashikaga shogunate requested to launch a national war against the Dragon Kingdom, if I had not persuaded the emperor, or the emperor's attitude would have relaxed. Now, it is very likely that the 100-00 lunatic Tian AI army led by Zheng Mu have descended on their Sakura Kingdom. Your Majesty the Emperor, what the Dragon Kingdom is showing right now is not only beyond our expectations, the Mi Empire has definitely realized that something is wrong it is very likely that they will force us to use force against our country. Hearing this, the Emperor's complexion turned a little whiter. He couldn't afford to offend the Mi Empire, and they didn't want to offend this madman from the Long Kingdom. Prime Minister, what should we do? Before Yoshida Shiro said anything, suddenly a spy commander from the Sakura Kingdom royal family walked in quickly with a gloomy face. His Majesty the Emperor, we have an idea of the identity of the Dragon Kingdom soldiers who attacked the White Elephant Kingdom. Hearing this, the Emperor hurriedly asked someone to hand over the information in the other party's hands. After seeing the above content, the emperor's already trembling hand softened, and the information in his hands fell to the ground. Master, Prime Minister, how many elite soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom have been disabled in the battles over the years? Prime Minister Yoshida was confused and hurriedly picked up the piece of information from the ground. As soon as he took a look, his pupils suddenly shrank in disbelief. Nanny! Impossible! He anxiously held up the information in his hand and looked at the royal spy beside him, who had his head lowered and sweat on his face. Your Excellency, the Prime Minister, in order to investigate the situation of these people as quickly as possible, we, Meijuju, lost a lot of manpower in the Dragon Kingdom. Only then did we investigate this information from the Dragon Kingdom's military. The content is absolutely correct. Hearing this, Yoshida Shiro, who was sitting on his knees with his straight back, suddenly softened. The attention he paid to the Dragon Kingdom over the years in his mind made him instantly think of the number of disabled soldiers in the Dragon Kingdom, more than 40 to 50 million. Ouch, I'll kill you no wonder you dare to be so tough on the Mi Empire suddenly, no wonder you dare to directly let people counterattack the White Elephant Kingdom, no wonder. Suddenly there are millions more elites. Why is it necessary for Longwa to do passive defense? Even at this time, their Sakura country, and even the surrounding monkey country and other countries launched a United Nations war against the Dragon Country. The Dragon Kingdom has absolute power and can counterattack at the same time. He opened his mouth, but in the end he had to sigh hoarsely. Your Majesty the Emperor you'd better have a new negotiation with the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom. The current Dragon Kingdom, we Sakura Kingdom really cannot afford to offend. Chapter 169. Patala City. Attack. Keep attacking. Hysterical roars came from the mouth of the great prince of the White Elephant Kingdom, Masiro. However, even though they had a strength of 160 00 in the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army this time. At this moment, the battle lasted for half a day, but no effective results were achieved. The Dragon Kingdom is completely on guard. Not to mention Patala, the largest city in the southwest of the Dragon Kingdom, and even in the surrounding small cities, the White Elephant Kingdom's army has not achieved any actual results. Masher Lua's face was extremely ugly. At this moment, he was frantically ordering the professionals on his side to attack the Dragon Kingdom's city defense formation. On the other hand, his eyes were fixed on his own panel. 
In the Tiandao live broadcast screen, except for the situation on their side that was still live broadcast at the beginning, they never appeared again. They were all scenes of Zheng Mu and the Tian AI army, madly slaughtering one city after another in their Baixiang kingdom. On the sidelines, the legs of the supervisor sent by the King of Elephant Kingdom were already weak. His Royal Highness, let's withdraw our troops. We can't capture it. The soldiers have really worked hard. We must rush back to kill that demon now. These guys from the Dragon Kingdom are too cunning. They don't want to face us head on. They are all long range attack professionals. They are constantly releasing their skills. We won't be able to win here in a short time. When he heard the supervisor's words, Ma Shirlua's eyes turned red. Asshole. You guy, don't waver in the morale of the army. My father didn't even order us to come back for reinforcements. Is it possible that with so many people in the Baixiang Kingdom, we can't stop a little mechanic? Ma Shirluo had obviously lost his mind. As the eldest prince, this expedition itself was fought for by his zero two mother in law. He originally thought that he would definitely bend down and take the credit. I didn't expect Long Gui to have such terrifying power. He must at least capture Patala City in front of him. Only in this way can he reluctantly make a deal. However, it is obvious that the White Elephant Kingdom is not as strong as Masuluo imagined. They launched another attack on Patala City. It seems that if they are given some more time, they will be able to break through Patala City. During the city defense formation, the order from the King of Baixiang Kingdom was passed on. Order the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army to withdraw from the Dragon Kingdom immediately and return to the mainland without any delay. This order directly made Masiro's face extremely ugly. However, with the monarch's order, the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army, which was originally obeying the monarch's orders, immediately became under the command of the generals. They evacuated without hesitation. Seeing the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army boarding the Feiyun boat and leaving in the direction of the White Elephant Kingdom, the general in charge of the defense wiped the sweat from his forehead. Seeing that the durability of his own defensive formation was only a few hundred thousand. He couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief, and everyone around him also relaxed. Ha ha ha, these grandsons of Baixiang Kingdom can't hold on any longer. Their homes are about to be stolen by General Zheng. Obviously they took the initiative to attack our Dragon Kingdom, but in less than half a day, they were directly forced to counterattack. Ha ha ha, painful. It's such a joy. General Zheng and the others have massacred another city. Damn it, they have massacred seven cities in a row. The generals guarding the city of Patala looked at the Tiandao live broadcast, and the aerial fortress started again from the ruins of one city and headed towards the next city. But his expression suddenly changed. He looked anxiously at Gu Xingdong aside. General Gu, we can't continue to advance. The protector god from Baixiang Kingdom must be withdrawing from the secret realm of different time and space soon. General Zhang and the others may be in danger by then. As soon as these words came out, the surrounding generals also changed their expressions. However, Gu Xingdong shook his head lightly. Don't worry, you are not the only ones to see the value of Zheng Mu. Shangfeng has already made arrangements in advance. Sky Fortress Control Hall When Xiong Weishan and the three men, who were covered in blood, came over, they were shocked to find that Zheng Mu was actually here fighting against the landlord with Miss Milaj and the Red Queen. King Jia. Zheng Mu held a card excitedly, looked at the two speechless women in front of him, laughed and threw out the last card in his hand. Ha ha ha, are you willing to become a serf and sing? Master Zheng is not someone you can easily defeat. Miss Mira Jane pursed her lips and smiled, but the Red Queen beside her rolled her eyes. Master Dominator's card skills are not very good, but his face is unparalleled in the world. In this round, you just let go three times. However, Zheng Mu smiled and was not ashamed at all. Damn it, if I play cards with you guys with supercomputing power, can I win if I don't show some real human skills? Seeing Xiong Weishan and others coming back, Mu's eyes glanced at Uchiha Musen behind these people. Well, stronger. With the blessing of the breath of ruin and the soul of Budu in his hand, 
Achiha Musin participated in the massacre of seven white elephant kingdom cities one after another. The evil and terrifying aura on his body had already undergone earth-shaking changes. Even a being like Xiong Weishan was obviously very wary of Achiha Musin beside him at this moment. As we move forward, we will soon reach the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. By then, I am afraid that the other party will dispatch a being at the level of the protector of the country. General, do we want to continue moving forward? He Guang, who was standing aside, asked worriedly. Zheng Mu smiled faintly. The God of National Protection? If they don't send the God of National Protection, I'd be really disappointed. Seeing the eagerness in Zheng Mu's eyes, as if expecting the arrival of prey, everyone couldn't help but look at each other, Xiong Weishan hesitated for a moment, and whispered to persuade. General, the God of National Protection and the former God of National Protection, although there is only one word difference, they are not on the same level at all. Oj Oj. Zheng Mu smiled slightly, without explaining, but took out a dark golden dragon head token from his arms. Hiss. Seeing this token, the lower level Higuang didn't know why, but Xiong Weishan and Qin Ji both changed their expressions in shock and took a breath of cold air. Seeing Zheng Mu quickly take the token back, both of them were trembling with excitement. Mr. Li actually gave you this thing. Xiong Weishan's tone became a little shrill, but Qin Ji was shocked and speechless. Zheng Mu smiled and slapped his mouth. Although I don't know what the use of this thing is, judging from Mr. Li's reaction at that time and your expressions now, it should be a very great thing. Mr. Li said that there is something there, so there is no need to worry about the enemy dispatching to protect the country. God! Hearing this, Xiong Wei Shan immediately nodded excitedly. Absolutely nothing to worry about. It can even be said that with this token, the White Elephant Kingdom will not be able to keep us here unless it dispatches more than three guardian gods. Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows in surprise. This thing is just a very ordinary, simple-looking token. It doesn't even have the attributes of heaven, it's just an ordinary metal token. Can it actually be equivalent to three protector gods? Suddenly, Shou couldn't help but look forward to the token becoming more effective. In the air fortress, on the troop platform carrying the soldiers of the Tian Ai army, everyone had a warm smile on their face at this moment, sharing the gains of this massacre with each other. Ha ha ha, sure enough, it's much faster to level up by killing these bullies from the White Elephant Kingdom than killing monsters. I'm still three levels short of returning to my peak level. Hee hee, I only have one level left. One more wave in the next city, man, and I will officially be back to my peak state, Ha 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 ha. TCH, Master, you are amazing. In the seven cities along this route, I killed at least twenty or thirty school level officers. In the next city, I will definitely kill a major general for fun. Ha ha ha, look at how proud you are. Can these professional armies stationed on Blue Star compare with those of other countries in the secret realm of different time and space? What's the matter? With General Zhang's ability, we can quickly lead our brothers back to the secret realm of different time and space. Haha <laughs> 957 hectares, okay. Fight back to the secret realm of different time and space. Take all the positions in the central region. The Dragon Kingdom is invincible. The soldiers of Tianai army were excited. However, at this moment, the senior officials of Baixian Kingdom were completely panicked. Your Majesty, we can't stop them. The troops we organized can't stop those Dragon Kingdom people at all. Our city defense formation is like paper in front of that aerial fortress. Your Majesty, the capital is no longer safe. You'd better take the royal family members with you as soon as possible. That mechanic Zheng Mu is obviously coming to our capital. With three more cities, they will reach our capital. Your Majesty, retreat, it's still too late to retreat at this time. Seeing these ministers persuading each other, the king of the White Elephant Kingdom, who was already worried, suddenly swallowed his saliva with some hesitation. He looked at the Tian Dao live broadcast and saw that it had once again appeared in the sky above a city in their White Elephant Kingdom, extending the terrifying secondary artillery group's aerial fortress, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. It was obviously the Dragon Kingdom that they, the White Elephant Kingdom, took the initiative to attack. In less than half a day, 
they were beaten to the point where they abandoned the capital and fled for their lives. Then how can he, the king of the White Elephant Kingdom, have the dignity to sit in this position in the future? However, if you don't run, look at the air fortress that has begun to accumulate energy. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom could not think of any way to restrict the continued advancement of the air fortress at this moment. And just when he opened his mouth, he was finally ready to abandon the capital. Suddenly, in the live broadcast, a flaming meteorite with a diameter of hundreds of meters suddenly rushed out from the clouds above the aerial fortress. The terrifying meteorite dragged its long majesty and rumbled towards the fortress in the sky below. A figure made of golden light, standing in the sky among the clouds, as if a god had descended. Seeing this figure, professionals all over the world sat up straight. One of the protector gods of the White Elephant Kingdom, SS Level Chaos Walker, IV-92 Analopi. Chapter, 170. Analopi. Lord Analopi is back. Great, the overall situation is now stable. Master Analopi is among the top protectors of our White Elephant Kingdom. The other party has a group of Dragon Kingdom people whose highest level has not exceeded level 70. It's simply it couldn't be easier. Ha ha ha. Your Majesty, capture that mechanic alive. We must let Master Analopi capture that mechanic alive. That mechanic is definitely worth a lot in the Mi Empire. We will make a fortune this time. In the palace of the White Elephant King. The White Elephant Kingdom officials, who had been in panic a moment ago as if their parents were dead, suddenly cheered with excitement. Some people even started to twist their bodies in excitement and sang dance music. The originally tense body of the King of White Elephant Kingdom suddenly relaxed and sat on the throne with the appearance of Analopi, the protector of the country. Looking at the meteorites whizzing towards the aerial fortress from the sky. His eyes were full of excitement and hatred, and he cursed through gritted teeth. Damn Dragon Kingdom bastards! They have massacred so many cities in our White Elephant Kingdom. If we don't kill you Dragon Kingdom people to extinction this time, we, the White Elephant Kingdom, will never retreat. The previous scenes of cities being slaughtered were broadcast live by Tian Dao and spread around the world. Previously, the Bangzi Kingdom was massacred, and the main force was dragged away by the elites of the Dragon Kingdom in the secret realm of different time and space. This time, although the White Elephant Kingdom could not bring back too many troops, one protector god Analopi was enough to solve all the problems the problem. Seeing Analopi's shining golden look in the Tiandao live broadcast, professionals from other countries started talking excitedly at this moment. It turned out to be Chaos Walker Analopi. This guy is extremely difficult to deal with among the protectors of the entire White Elephant Kingdom. He not only has powerful single-target magic damage, but also has many group attack skills. What is this? Back then, the protector god of the White Bear Kingdom, Sanav, the Bear King of the Mountain, was known as the strongest warrior among the protector gods of the White Bear Kingdom. But what happened? In the end, he was fought fiercely by Analopi for seven days and seven nights had no choice but to flee. Although the guardian gods of the Dragon Kingdom are also ferocious in combat, they will not be Analyuang's opponents. Indeed, Analopi's professional passive skills are so disgusting. During the day, he enters the Sun God state and enjoys the recovery and health buffs. At night, he enters the Moon God state and enjoys the speed and strength buffs it is said to be battery life. The most capable SS level professional cannot be overemphasized. In the forums of professionals from various countries, information is flooding the screen like a snowflake waterfall. Even Mr. Lee and others who were in the center of the divine capital looked solemnly. The professional dispatch turned out to be Analopi, a nugget. Mr. Jiang was so angry that he stamped his feet, but there was nothing he could do. Now their country's protector gods were all in the secret realm of different time and space, guarding against the intrusion of the Mi Empire, or the neighboring countries such as the Sakura Kingdom. No longer at all. Mr. Lin on the side also sighed and shook his head. Hey, miscalculation. If it was this guy, I'm afraid this counterattack can only stop here. Let that kid Jemu withdraw. The people we send over can barely contain this guy, but if we want to defeat difficult. Several other old men in the palace also nodded and sighed with some disappointment. 
The magic strength of the Chaos Walker profession is extremely terrifying, and it also has some skills that can be immune to physical damage. With our people, we can temporarily hold the opponent back, but if we want to do it like other protectors, we will be exhausted. The other party is unlikely. Inform Jingmu that boy to withdraw. This time we have slaughtered so many cities in the White Elephant Kingdom and have made a lot of money. With our current strength, we don't need to worry about the White Elephant Kingdom's counterattack. Just when everyone nodded in agreement with this point of view, Mr. Lee, who was the least powerful among the people present, squinted his eyes and pondered for a moment. Let's take a look first. It's not too late to retreat if something goes wrong. While he was talking, in the Tiandao live broadcast, a huge meteorite fell from the sky with a loud bang and hit the air fortress hard. The latter's size is too large, and it is unrealistic to dodge such an attack in a short time. In other words, I never thought about hiding. Boom! The air fortress in the outside world, after being hit by the terrifying meteorite, immediately began to shake violently in midair. The light golden energy shields on the surface, shaped like turtle scales, unfolded instantly. As for the inside, Zheng Mu and the others could hardly feel any strong shock at this moment. In the control hall, in the huge light curtain, the figure standing in the clouds made Zheng Mu narrow his eyes slightly. Is this a strong man at the level of the protector of the country? Although Zheng Mu sometimes seems very arrogant, that is only when things are still within his control. A strong man at the level of the protector of the country, said that if Mr. Li hadn't sworn to assure himself that the power arranged secretly was definitely enough, he would have been a little unsure. It's Analopi. When Xiong Weishan and others saw the figure that looked like a human-shaped light element in the light curtain, their expressions changed. Looking at the confused Jing Mu, Xiong Weishan and others were about to explain something when suddenly, a panel popped up in front of them. However, the air fortress showed a health bar because it was attacked. Name, Extinction Level Air Fortress. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Orange Legendary Level. Durability, 1200W-1200W. Xuan Wu Shield Defense Core Durability, 830W-100W. What the hell? The three of them were dazzled by the long list of numbers as they looked at the terrifying defense durability of the aerial fortress. But those who had the same reaction were the elites of the Tian AI army who were on the troop carrying platform, preparing to launch an attack on the city below. They looked at each other with dull eyes. Well, watching the Tian Dao live broadcast, we should have been attacked by the protector god of Baixiang Kingdom, right? Everyone was speechless. If they hadn't been able to see the Tian Dao live broadcast, the terrifying meteorite had indeed hit the air fortress where they were, and with the slight shock just now, no one would have thought that they had really been hit. But when these soldiers saw part of the information about the air fortress that also popped up, they all opened their mouths in shock. Damn it! More than 20 million durability. Also with a dull expression was Chaos Walker Analopi, who was posing confidently above the clouds. At this moment, the opponent's expression froze, and he looked down in disbelief at the aerial fortress whose main body was not damaged at all during his attack. The terrifying durability and defensive attributes made him almost think that he was facing a super large monster with different attributes in a different time and space. When he was momentarily stunned, there were sudden sounds of chains breaking through the air around his body. Amidst the distortion of the space, seven figures in black and gold armor appeared out of thin air. Instantly surrounded. The chains shot by two of them wrapped his left and right hands with precision. Seeing these seven figures, the expressions of senior officials from various countries who were their old rivals all changed. Dragon Scale Guard. In the Sakura country, in the Salamashikaga Shogunate, I saw those familiar figures in the Tiandao live broadcast, even though these people were wearing masks. With such a dress and that mysterious attack coordination, there is no doubt that they are the Dragon Kingdom's central secret guards and dragon scale guards who had fought against them many times. When the fight between various countries and the Dragon Kingdom was at its fiercest, it was natural that they had not thought of sending elites to behead several elders of the Dragon Kingdom. But the final outcome of each operation was a complete defeat. Since then, the Dragon Kingdom's central privy guard organization has appeared in the sight of senior officials from various countries. 
The Dragon Scale Guard is one of the three secret guards. There were not many of them, but they were all equipped with Red Warrior level equipment, and they were armed to the teeth. No country in the world has been able to detect the intelligence of these seven people, but they have already made certain inferences. All seven of them have the same profession, and there is a high probability that they are S level. As for their levels, they are all above IV 80. But. The senior officials of various countries couldn't understand that such an important secret guard, used to ensure the safety of the Dragon Kingdom's senior officials, was actually used to protect the mechanic Shengmu. As countries with different cultures, the top leaders of countries such as the Mi Empire and the Eagle Kingdom cannot understand such behavior. However, as soon as the seven dragon scale guards appeared, Antelope was instantly trapped in the formation of seven people. One chain after another is tied to each other's body, and the other side is connected to each of the seven people. Amazing, as the chain stretched straight, Antelope was instantly restrained in the middle by several people. You guys from the Dragon Kingdom can only do sneak attacks. Amid the angry roar, Antelope's golden light became more intense, and as the scorching air surged, the opponent had the tendency to turn into a scorching sun in the sky on the spot. Looking at the jingling chains in the picture, as well as the blood bars above the heads of the seven dragon scale guards, the tug of war has begun. Zheng Mu's expression changed. Wuxi. Go and help them. Hearing this, Uchiha Muzan instantly disappeared into the air fortress. But Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly turned, looking at the city below, and without hesitation, he continued to massacre the city of Baishan Kingdom. Red Queen, give me a hard blow. Also, Zheng Mu wanted to say something else, but he suddenly frowned after blushing. Lord Lord, the White Elephant Kingdom's Holy Elephant Forbidden Army will arrive here soon. In addition White Elephant's boudoir du Leli has been mobilized. The faces of Xiong Weishan and others changed, and they looked at the huge light curtain aside. Not only the army of the White Elephant Capital, but also the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army, there are obvious signs of troop deployment in the surrounding cities. Everyone's expressions became solemn. The Baixian Kingdom has made up its mind and wants to keep us all here. Now we just need to bring back the troops from the secret realm of different time and space. Chapter, 171 Obviously, now the White Elephant Kingdom is trying to mobilize the whole country to keep us here forever. Zheng Mu spoke calmly. However, there was not only no fear in his words, but also full of excitement. Come. Come on, everyone. Can save a lot of trouble. As for the problem of insufficient troops. Now the machinery factory in the air fortress has no intention of stopping for a moment. Yuan Dao T-100 is being produced non-stop. Now in the fortress's warehouse, the number of mechanical creations under Zheng Mu's command that can be put into war has exceeded a terrifying 100,000. After receiving strong support from the senior leaders of the Dragon Kingdom, Zheng Mu, a mechanic, has gone further and further on the road to becoming an army by himself. The mechanical creations under his command can just be rebuilt after they die. Anyway, they are war weapons transformed and assembled from some monster materials. But what about these professionals in Baixian Kingdom? Not to mention that not everyone in Blue Star can become a professional, these people are really dead when they die. Zheng Mu could exchange ten mechanical creations for the life of a professional from the White Elephant Kingdom. That's a guaranteed profit. After hearing Zheng Mu's excited words, everyone said nothing more and just fought. The soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom had never been afraid of any professional from the enemy country. Not to mention, they are all a bunch of garbage from the White Elephant Kingdom that can't even enter the secret realm of different time and space. Amidst the angry roar of Chaos Walker Antelope in the sky, the necrotic laser cannon group of the Air Fortress was fully charged. Amidst the fierce bombardment of rumbling, the fragile city defense formation of the city below was instantly shattered. A large number of buildings in the city, along with the angry white elephant people, were vaporized in an instant. His Majesty's support will arrive soon. People of the Great God, attack. Don't succumb to the ferocity of the devil. Those with courage will be blessed by God and will be invincible. 260 kill. Kill all these dragon country bastards who don't know whether to live or die. 
Perhaps the appearance of the protector god gave these people of the White Elephant Nation great courage. Even if the city defense formation was broken, the citizens of the White Elephant Nation in the city all roared and joined the battle. Dang dang! Amidst the heavy sound of metal falling to the ground, dozens of T-100s and the soldiers of the Tianai army just landed. Immediately, a group of crazy White Elephant Kingdom professionals rushed over. There are various levels of them. There are people at level 30 or 40, people at level 10 or 20, and there are even a lot of ordinary people who are rushed towards them because of their ignorant thoughts. For these people, T-100's hands instantly turned into two sharp and slender blades. The terrifying explosive power left deep footprints on the ground instantly. Pft, pft, pft. The silver-white body seemed to instantly transform into the most elegant god of death among the crowd. Wherever it passed, it left a fatal wound on both professionals and ordinary people. Behind them, these Dragon Kingdom professionals, who were already excited, roared and rushed into the crowd in teams one by one. In an instant, the city of Baishan Kingdom immediately turned into a terrifying Shura hell. You killed, Samirahan IV-42, a professional from the Elephant Kingdom camp, gained 1, 6 W of experience points, and obtained the Flame Mage Skillbook Fire Resistance Ring. You killed Sanjay LV-37, a professional from the White Elephant Kingdom camp, gained 9,520 experience points, and obtained the Blue Elite Weapon Decapitation Knife. You killed Xiao Shi LV-40, a professional from the White Elephant Kingdom camp, gained 1, 1 W experience points, and obtained the Tailoring Skillbook Golden Thread Clothes. You killed. You have been upgraded, your current level is IV-40. You have new skills to learn. Standing in the control hall, looking at the fierce battles everywhere in the sky and underground, the information on Zheng Mu's panel also flashed quickly. After there were no new skills that needed to be upgraded, his experience value reached full value again, and it had only been three or four months since he had awakened his profession. Upgraded to IV-4P. Hearing that new skills were unlocked, Zheng Mu immediately opened his skill tree. Two in total. Forced Golden Hand LV-1, can be used on living professionals to compress their professional core of original power and condense it into an energy source core that can be used for mechanical assembly. The current skill level success rate is, 15%. Cooling time, 24 hours. Computing power occupied, 50 counting the enhancement and reduction of 50%. Active scrapping LV1, actively unbind the mechanic's HP from the total durability of the entire mechanical creation, and achieve an independent binding with a specific type of mechanical creation. After the mechanic suffers fatal damage, he can automatically scrap the binding. Model creation, achieve damage immunity, no cooldown. Computing power occupied, 50 counting the enhancement and reduction of 50%. Note, mechanical creation that currently meets the binding conditions, purple rare level or above. Hiss. Looking at his two new skills, Zheng Mu felt like his whole body was going numb. Not only is he tough, he is so tough that he has no friends. He was so powerful that even heaven would probably be unable to stand it. Forced golden hand, needless to say, it is nothing more than a tool that can treat living professionals as monster materials and transform them into some kind of mechanical components. What is truly powerful is the subsequent active scrapping. If you don't know the name of this skill, you might think it is a suicide skill. After reading the specific content, I realized that this skill is completely a stand-in doll, similar to Izanagi's Sharingan in a certain anime in his previous life. At the cost of scrapping a purple rare level mechanical creation, you will be exempted from all fatal damage. It's equivalent to being resurrected on the spot. And how many T-100s does Jing Mu have now? Nearly 40 0, 0 to 50 0, 0, and the machinery factory is still producing at a rate of tens of thousands of units per day. Ah! Bastard, what a bunch of annoying flies! Jing Mu
and even any dragon scale guard present will pick him out after finding out the information about Uchiha Muzen. Can be easily solved. However, Uchiha Muzen also has an extremely powerful ability. Breath of Ruin. For Chaos Walkers who have various passive buffs during the day and night, the buff feature definitely accounts for a large part of the value of this profession. However, the appearance of the Breath of Ruin caused the opponent's buff to be instantly offset. Having lost its battery life advantage, Antelope finally felt a deep crisis. Crack, click, click golden beams of light emitted from the opponent's body. It hit the dragon scale guards around them hard, causing another burst of blood bars to pull. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu's eyes narrowed slightly, as if he had thought of something fun, and Yaren grabbed Miss Milaj who was standing nearby. Mirachan, let's become one. Not only did Mirajane fail to react to the sudden words, but the Red Queen on the side also looked at Zheng Mu as if she was a pervert. Master, what are you doing outside now? At this time, you are still thinking of doing that kind of thing? Does that kind of monotonous repetitive exercise that consumes the body have any practical significance? Mirajane's pretty face turned red instantly, and she didn't know how to answer. But Zheng Mu obviously didn't mean what they thought. He picked up the dizzy Mira Jane. With a thought, the floor beneath his feet suddenly opened. The next moment, a strong force of falling was accompanied by the high altitude airflow, which brought Mira Jane, who was still in a shy state, back to his senses. Looking at Zheng Mu's half smiling expression, he immediately realized that he was being teased. Mira Chan, lend me your power. Hearing this, Mira Jane nodded and then the Tiandao live broadcast in front of professionals all over the world suddenly changed. After a blink of an eye, Zheng Mu's figure appeared in the live broadcast screen. However, Zheng Mu's image has changed drastically at this moment. Wearing a scarlet torn cloak, a ferocious black battle armor with golden lines, and a helmet with devilish horns on his head. Mechanic Zheng Mu, Mechanical Blessing Magical War Puppet Robot Mira Jane Strauss Feeling the changes coming from his body, Zheng Mu couldn't help but clenched his fists, and his falling body suddenly stopped in midair. Amidst the strong wind hundreds of meters above the ground, Zheng Mu's image at this moment directly shocked the professionals around the world who were watching the Tiandao live broadcast. Jireshite, can anyone tell me, is there anything about this guy that looks like a mechanic? This is like some kind of transformation skill. Seeing that he still has armor on his body, could it be that this Dragon Kingdom mechanic wants to join the battle himself? This must be a joke, right? When we fought against Bangzi Country, I didn't even see this guy. He took action once from beginning to end. What is going on now? Oh. God. That guy actually rushed towards the protector of the White Elephant Kingdom. Under the shocked gaze of the whole world, Zheng Mu's body instantly turned into a roaring afterimage, and in the blink of an eye he arrived at the scene of the battle on Long Scale Guard's side. Seeing this scene, Anilopi, who was still struggling a moment ago to break free of the blockade, flashed a fierce light in his eyes. When the Dragon Scale Guards were distracted, a jet-black energy suddenly shot out from their chests. Anilopi's excited killing cry came from the black energy. Ha ha ha, you dare to approach me. Go to hell, you little devil of our country. Zheng Mu's complexion changed, and the pitch black energy actually twisted in mid-air and turned into another antelope. Seeing this scene, the king of Baixiang Kingdom suddenly shouted excitedly. Kill him. Chapter, 172. Kill him. The king of Baixiang Kingdom shouted excitedly. The brains of other senior officials of the White Elephant Kingdom in the palace have lost the ability to manage facial expressions. They all opened their eyes wide, stuck out their tongues, and were a little dizzy from the sudden happiness. They never expected that Cheng Mu, who had always been hiding behind mechanical creations and people from the Dragon Kingdom, would inexplicably suffer from cerebral palsy and rush to the front of their White Elephant Kingdom's protector god. This is simply because God can't bear to see this bastard continuing to cause evil in Baixiang's country. In the center of the Dragon Kingdom Divine Capital, Mr. Li and the others were so shocked that they stood up on the spot. However, Anilopi's speed was too fast and did not give them a chance to be anxious at the next moment. Crack! The whole world stared blankly at Jingmu, 
whose body was instantly pierced by a black shadow, with a big hole opening directly in front and back, and they all felt that their brains were completely blank. Is this is he going to die? That was the all-powerful mechanic Xing Mu. When they saw the other party rushing out, everyone couldn't help but scold him for being stupid. He was simply asking for death. However, when they actually saw the scene of Zheng Mu being penetrated through the chest, everyone's first reaction was that they were unwilling to believe it. Ah! In the Southwest Military Attaché University, the members of the Wheel of Truth Guild all looked horrified, as if they had seen the end of the world. They held their heads in anger and suddenly screamed. Leng Binyue and the others, who had just breathed a sigh of relief because of the appearance of the dragon scale guard that had restrained the protector god of the White Elephant Kingdom, saw in the Tian Dao live broadcast that Jing Mu, who had been pierced through the front and back chest, was falling downwards. Go! He Shan Yun finally looked at him and suddenly fell backward. Impossible! How could the boss be so easy fuck? Kai Shinkuan roared hysterically and shook his head crazily. However, before he could finish his words, in the Tiandao live broadcast, the dark form Analopi who had just penetrated Jing Mu's body suddenly appeared behind him. Figure. Street boy. Let's do a sneak attack. Boom. The huge power, accompanied by a jet black magic attack, hit Analopi's back like a heavy hammer from the sky. In an instant, it was smashed downwards. Vomit. After Zheng Mu applied the conservation double, skill, he merged the physical attacks in Mirajane's state, all of which were temporarily converted into magic damage. This powerful attack caught Analopi off guard and made him vomit a mouthful of blood on the spot. In his dark form, the blood bar above his head suddenly dropped by a small amount. He turned his head in disbelief, but what he saw in his sight was a huge iron fist wrapped in black armor, which instantly enlarged. This punch is also a conservation double, skill increase, but it is a purely physical increase. In an instant, in the Tiandao live broadcast, Analapin's already ugly, ape-like face was instantly distorted in front of this powerful force, and his whole body was like a cannonball moving away from here. Boom! Amidst the sonic boom, Zheng Mu instantly turned into an afterimage and followed him. Looking at Zheng Mu, who was chasing Analopi's dark clone and beating him up like crazy, all the professionals around the world felt as if something was making a fragile collapse sound. That was their worldview that was fairly solid to begin with. Ah! You bastard! After being chased and beaten by Zheng Mu, and losing blood several times, Analopi finally came to his senses and roared angrily. The next moment, a jet black energy in his hands instantly enveloped Xing Mu, who was rushing over again. Moon Shadow Erosion Seeing Xing Mu who was instantly wrapped in it, the professionals in Long Kingdom felt their hearts tightening again. Accompanied by a roar. Jet black energy exploded in the sky instantly. On the other side, Analopi's sun god clone, who was fighting with dragon scale guards and others, suddenly burst out laughing. Let's see what you do this time. Laughter was accompanied by a violent explosion not far away, and his moon god clone screamed and flew out upside down again, ending abruptly. He looked at it with an incredulous look on his face. Zheng Mu, who had been instantly reduced to ashes just now, was now filled with awe-inspiring magical energy. After a successful blow, he was followed by another magical attack in his hand. Watching the jet black light bullets chasing his clone in the sky. Not to mention Analopi himself couldn't react, all the professionals watching the live broadcast at this moment had dull expressions on their faces. That bag of Ludo is great. I heard before that the mechanic's HP is not only bound to the total durability of the mechanical creation. Once the mechanic himself is restrained and continues to receive damage, all mechanical creations will also be affected. Attack. Yes, I recently checked in the database of our eagle country. Once the mechanic himself is caught, as long as the durability of the mechanical creation has not been cleared, no matter how many injuries he has, he will not be injured. Die immediately. Logically speaking, this Dragon Kingdom mechanic has such a terrifying durability in the air fortress. It is absolutely impossible to die after being penetrated through the chest. He should remain in that state of serious injury and dying. 
Then all the mechanical creations started to go crazy. Damaged. Shiba, look below, the Zheng Mu who was killed first just now. That guy's body is still there. Amid a heated discussion, a message from a sharp-eyed professional from Bangzi country was sent out on the forum. Immediately, a large number of professionals turned to the Tian Dao live broadcast screen, which was ignored by them and the body of Zheng Mu that had been solved first. As the picture zoomed in, everyone could clearly see Zheng Mu above the ground. Then what is Zheng Mu? It's just a scrapped T-100, tingling and sparking. And at this moment, after Zheng Mu successfully knocked down 1% of the HP of Analopi's Moon God clone, he was once again caught in the gap by the opponent, punched his chest to pieces, and then tore it into pieces directly from the middle. Two halves. This time, everyone clearly saw it clearly. The body splattered with blood suddenly changed as the health bar above Zheng Mu's head cleared. It turned into a scrapped T-100 on the spot. But Zheng Mu's figure appeared behind Analopi again out of thin air, and the magic attack condensed in his hand hit the opponent with a heavy cannon on the back of the head. Looking at Analyo's April God clone, it flew away in an instant, and its health bar dropped by about 0-2% again. Zheng Mu did not continue to pursue this time, but looked at the opponent with a playful expression as he stabilized his body and turned his head. I heard that you are called the most durable man. I'm sorry, but I'm determined to challenge you. In this state, I can play with you for a whole month. Analopi's face twitched. In his clone state, all aspects of his attributes are weakened to a certain extent, and his body is already stained with the aura of ruin. Although due to my level, the effect of this debuff has been limited to the lowest point. However, it still had a considerable impact on his recovery buff. Now, he doesn't dare to claim to have the best battery life. However, Zheng Mu doesn't care what this guy thinks. After temporarily integrating and receiving Mirajane's ability, he has finally experienced the fun of being a master and a warrior. In addition, I don't have to worry about being played to death at all, so I have no worries. After a brief respite, the next moment he launched another attack on Analopi. Thirty seconds later, another T-100 was blown up by Analopi, and this time the damage caused by Zheng Mu was a little small, only a few tenths of a percent. However, even so, Analopi and the senior officials of the White Elephant Kingdom who were paying attention here all realized that the situation was not good. Zheng Mu was like a cockroach that couldn't be killed. One after another, T-100s were torn into pieces by Analopi in the form of avatars. However, this situation seemed to be unable to end. Just when the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army and the reinforcements from other cities in the White Elephant Kingdom arrived, the imagined scene of their national protectors killing all directions and the Dragon Kingdom professionals struggling to resist did not appear. On the contrary, as soon as they appeared here, they were targeted by a wave of firepower from the Red Queen who was already prepared. Amidst the rumbling and indiscriminate bombardment, ten of the Tian Ai army, who had already killed most of the White Elephant Kingdom professionals in the city, rushed in with ferocious looks. Facing the flying cloud boats flying from the horizon, the steel-winged angel flying device behind them took them and instantly launched an attack on these flying cloud boats. Trash, quickly mobilized manpower from another time and space. When the king of the White Elephant Kingdom gave such an order, he felt full of absurdity. How many troops did the Dragon Kingdom dispatch this time? 100,000. However, the White Elephant Kingdom has now invested nearly 1,5 million professionals in order to resist the Dragon Kingdom's army. He also mobilized a powerful person who was at the level of the protector of the country. However, even so, the White Elephant Kingdom still undoubtedly fell at a disadvantage in this battle with a number of people several times that of the Dragon Kingdom. Finally, as the battle continued, the April God clone of Analyo's HP in the sky soon could not be restored, and its health bar was reduced to less than 20% by Zheng Mu. Looking at the clone of the Sun God on the other side, the situation was also extremely bad. Once both clones are destroyed, even if he will not die, he will still be in a weak state for a long time. Finally, unprecedented madness appeared in Analopi's eyes. Damn Longwa people, you forced me to do this. Amidst the angry roar, something suddenly appeared in the hand of the Moon God clone in front of Zheng Mu. Before Zheng Mu could see it clearly, 
the latter suddenly swallowed it into his mouth. The next moment, a familiar gloomy aura suddenly burst out from the other party's body. Zheng Mu's pupils shrank. Mira Jane, whose consciousness was in the same body as Zheng Mu at the moment, also reacted instantly. Lord Master, it was the Aspia cult that was so powerful back then. Chapter, 173 Lord Master, was the power of the Aspia cult back then. Without Mira Jane's reminder, Zheng Mu had already immediately thought of the origin of this aura. At this moment, in the city below, Black Claw, who was leading the group of liquors and slaughtering the reinforcements of the White Elephant Kingdom like a crazy beast tide, seemed to sense something. He raised his head suddenly. When he saw Antelope's moon god clone in the sky, his body had expanded several times in an instant and turned into a little giant, he suddenly roared. The next moment, when everyone's attention was still focused on Antelope, there was a sudden surge of black fluid on Black Claw. With a clatter, two wings stretched out. But it is a new harvest of animal mimicry, skills in the recent period. Damn people from the Dragon Kingdom, you can actually use this thing better than me, you should be proud of it, ho ho. Hearing the other party's laughter that changed his voice, Zheng Mu's eyes narrowed. The opponent's breath of destruction effect was actually exempted. Seeing the health bar begin to rise rapidly, Zheng Mu couldn't help but think of the monster he encountered in the secret realm and its terrifying health recovery speed. Even if you dare not stay, continue to attack. However, at this moment, a fierce roar suddenly came from below. Miraculously, even Antelope did not notice the black claws that were covered in pitch black fluid. He suddenly jumped on the opponent's body. Ah! Damn it, what is this? I, ah! Amidst the painful howl, Black Claw clearly did not make any substantial attack movements, but Antelope's clone seemed to have been severely injured. It fell straight down. With a roar, a huge pit was opened in the wilderness outside the city. Antelope's clone let out heartrending screams, and the other side was surrounded by dragon scale guards. The struggling sun god clone suddenly began to tremble violently as if struck by lightning. After a low roar like a wild beast came from the other party's mouth. Just a few breaths. Boom. With a violent roar above the ground, the moon god clone suddenly exploded, turning into little stars and disappearing in place. The clones of the sun god that were successively attacked by the dragon scale guards suddenly exploded. After the two clones, one light and one dark, were destroyed one after another, Antelope's body finally appeared out of thin air, but he looked at the figure of the opponent falling directly downwards. The expressions of high-level officials from various countries all changed. Is this a coma? Zheng Mu looked at a loss, the senior officials of Baixian Kingdom looked at a loss, and even Mr. Li from the Dragon Kingdom looked blankly at Antelope, who was falling straight down, with dull expressions. The situation was obviously beyond their expectations. Antelope's combat power should not be limited to this. Even if the two clones are destroyed, this kind of thing has happened in the past battles with the Dragon Kingdom's protector god. Weakness is inevitable, but it won't lead to a coma. Fortunately, Uchiha Musen reacted quickly. Susanoo's huge black energy wings spread out behind him, and the next moment he easily grabbed Antelope in his hands. Go to the rescue. In the distance, the eldest prince of the Baixian kingdom, Mo Shirluo, who was fighting fiercely with Xiong Weishan and the others, suddenly changed his expression when he saw this scene. The secret skill was released instantly, forcing Xiong Weishan in front of him to retreat. Yelling hysterically, he took the lead in rushing towards Uchiha Muzen. At this time, Xiong Weishan and the others were shocked to discover that the protector of the Baixian kingdom had been eliminated so quickly. Moreover, they captured him alive. Stop them. Qin Ji's face turned red with excitement, and the sword in his hand reached to the sky. Mysterious meaning invite God's thunder to cast down a spell. With a click, terrifying thunder suddenly fell from the sky, engulfing several generals from the White Elephant Kingdom who were rushing to rescue them. At the same time that the shrill screams came from the thunder falls, everyone in the Dragon Kingdom finally reacted. Zheng Mu shouted without hesitation. Tian AI Army. Use all your strength to wipe out the remnants of the White Elephant Kingdom on the scene. The sound of clicking came from the air fortress above the sky, 
but it was the 20-minute cooling of the torrent of necrotic laser cannons and firepower systems that had ended. Fuck. Did we win? Is this what we fucking won? I, I don't know either, that guy from the White Elephant Kingdom suddenly blew himself up out of nowhere. Counterattack, Zheng Mu and the others are already counterattacking, ha ha ha, they won, damn it. What exactly happened during the battle is no longer the concern of the Dragon Kingdom professionals at this moment. When he saw Antelope being captured alive by the Dragon Kingdom, he was chained several times on the spot. All the professionals in the Dragon Kingdom are excited. Without the restraint of the Protector God, the Tian Ai army on the Dragon Kingdom side, which was already blocking the God of Killing, suddenly looked like tigers breaking out of their cage one by one. Chasing the Elephant Forbidden Army is a crazy attack. The fierce skills are constantly unleashed, and the cooperation between the personnel makes these members of the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army overwhelmed. Accompanying the eldest Prince Mo Shirluo, he was hit hard by Xiong Wei Shan with an axe, and he almost lost his life on the spot. The entire Holy Elephant Forbidden Army finally began to collapse and retreat. At the same time, Zheng Mu frowned as he looked at the dark claws that were covered in pitch black energy. After he stumbled and fell to the ground, he went directly into his own shadow and no longer moved. There was obvious doubt in his expression. He was not worried about Black Claw's condition, but found that he knew too little about Aspia. The protector god of the White Elephant Kingdom stays in the secret realm of different time and space all year round. Logically speaking, certain parts of such an evil god should not be obtained by the other party. However, the fact was right in front of him. After the opponent's moon god clone swallowed something, when his body changed, there was obviously something abnormal beating in the heart. The appearance of the black claw directly caused that thing to be peeled off the opponent's body. Not only did it make the other party's plan go to waste, but it also directly affected Antelope's books. The battle here ended quickly. The Sky Fortress set off again, heading directly towards the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom under the watchful eye of the Tiandao live broadcast. Zheng Mu and the others' target this time was directly on the King of Baixiang Kingdom. Just as the Air Fortress was speeding towards the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom was already in unprecedented turmoil. The tragic defeat of the Holy Elephant Forbidden Army in the inexplicable capture of Antelope, the protector of the country, caused the psychological defense of the entire White Elephant Kingdom to completely collapse. Your Majesty, we can't fight. Our power in the secret realm of different time and space cannot be transferred back in a short time. If the capital cannot be defended, withdraw. Evacuate. Where to retreat? Unless we use the teleportation array, we all hide in a remote city. Otherwise, we will not be able to escape at all. Your Majesty, how about we ask for peace from the Dragon Kingdom? Amidst the anxious quarrels, these ministers of the White Elephant Kingdom were spitting wildly, but even at this moment, they looked like they were still standing with the King of the White Elephant Kingdom to the death. At this moment, their families and families had already boarded the teleportation array and arrived in other cities with a large amount of belongings. I heard the word summation. The king of Baixiang Kingdom 127 almost didn't even think about it and wanted to refuse immediately. After all, the painful price paid by Bangzi Country and Long Country in signing the Armistice Agreement is still vivid in our minds. Now they, the White Elephant Kingdom, took the initiative to attack the Dragon Kingdom, but they were beaten so thoroughly by the Dragon Kingdom all at once. As you can imagine, the conditions for facing them are definitely more harsh and terrifying. However, when he thought that the fallen protector Antelope was still in the hands of the people of the Dragon Kingdom, the King of the White Elephant Kingdom had no choice but to grit his teeth and apply for communication negotiations with the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom after struggling for a while. After waiting quietly for a while, Mr. Lee's figure appeared in the light curtain still smiling. However, in the other party's eyes, there was no shyness, as if looking at fish on a chopping board with indifference, which made the king of the white elephant kingdom almost turn over the table in anger. But when I think about it, in a few dozen minutes, that terrifying air fortress may appear above the capital of their white elephant kingdom. He also had to hold back the aggrievedness in his heart and raised a shameless, apologetic smile. Mr. Lee, regarding the national war against your country, 
this is completely a misunderstanding. Snapped. Before he finished speaking, Bai Xiang was face turned red instantly as he looked at the call in front of him that was instantly disconnected. My chest rose and fell violently like a bellows, and finally I gritted my teeth and applied for connection again. The waiting time seemed particularly long at this moment. From time to time, everyone could not help but look at the sky outside the window, for fear that the aerial fortress would arrive in the next second. This time, when the communication was connected again, the king of the White Elephant Kingdom no longer dared to say even a single word of nonsense. Mr. Li, our country, Bai Xiang, acknowledges its defeat in this national war and implores your country to stop attacking our country. How about we start armistice negotiations? Chapter 174 This time, when the king of the White Elephant Kingdom stopped talking about him and said there was a misunderstanding, Mr. Li on the other side of Mr. Li's communication nodded with satisfaction. We have an old saying in the Dragon Kingdom. This sentence can be applied to the Dragon Kingdom decades ago, and it can also be applied to your country today. Mr. Li smiled slightly, and the coldness in his eyes made his smile at this moment not show the slightest kindness or gentleness, but instead was filled with the banter of a predator. The winner is the king and the loser is the bandit. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom and the senior officials of the White Elephant Kingdom who heard this voice gritted their teeth. Humiliation. Unprecedented humiliation. Not to mention that they didn't expect that a good-looking robbery would turn into a crisis of national annihilation for their white elephant kingdom in less than a day. At this moment, facing such straightforward cynicism from the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom, the king of the white elephant kingdom could only break his teeth and swallow it in his stomach. A protector god was captured inexplicably, and more than a dozen cities were massacred. Now the air fortress is about to arrive at the capital of their white elephant kingdom. There is no use saying anything. Mr. Li, tell me the conditions for your country's ceasefire. I, the Baishan kingdom, have admitted defeat this time. A ceasefire at this time will be good for both you and me. Hearing this, Mr. Li smiled faintly, but as if he couldn't see the anxiety on the other side. He calmly took a sip of tea and made a rather comfortable sound. As for the conditions for the armistice, our dragon kingdom has indeed made a decision, but we don't think your country will agree to it easily, so we want to discuss it again. After all, as his majesty the king said, neither of us wants this war to continue. Listening to the other party's endless nonsense, the senior officials of Baishan kingdom were all anxious. Everyone was restless and winked at their monarch anxiously. They all looked towards the sky outside the window in panic. The king of Baixian kingdom was obviously anxious. Okay, Mr. Li, stop beating around the bush, stop wasting our time, tell us your country's conditions. Hearing this, Mr. Li smiled slightly. Soon the voice of a young officer rang out from the screen of light. The king of the white elephant kingdom needs to lead a delegation and come to the divine capital of the dragon kingdom in person to hand over a truce under the witness of the whole world. The face of the king of Baixiang kingdom changed slightly, but he didn't say anything. This is only the first point. Even if it is anger, it is too early. Next, the young officer's voice continued. The White Elephant Kingdom needs to cede twelve large cities and twenty-eight small cities to the west of the Galwins Valley Fortress and within three hundred and fifty kilometers of the White Elephant Kingdom's capital, including the monster areas around these cities. Hiss. Just for the second condition, the senior officials of Baishan Kingdom turned pale with anger, and the king of Baishan Kingdom also gritted his teeth and roared in shock and anger. Damn it! Do you really think that our White Elephant Kingdom is really incapable of fighting? Our White Elephant Kingdom still has more than 300 elites in the secret realm of different time and space. If we withdraw all these troops, your Dragon Kingdom will never be able to withstand it. It's just a chance to win this victory while we underestimate the enemy. Do you really think that our White Elephant Kingdom will really be destroyed by your mere Dragon Kingdom? Angry roars echoed in the palace at the center of the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. However, several elders from the Dragon Kingdom present looked at each other and smiled. He didn't mean to be angry at all, but continued to enjoy the tea in front of him as if he was an old god. Leisurely and contented. If it were in the past, they would have to carefully consider the possibility of this threat from the King of White Elephant Kingdom. 
But now. Ha, huh, 300,000 elites. We, the Dragon Kingdom, have added millions of elites, and are blessed by perverted mechanics like Jing Mu. If a fight really breaks out, you, the White Elephant Kingdom, will not even have a chance to rub against the ground. I'll bury everything I can for you. The Long Kingdom did not show any reaction to the reaction of the senior officials of the White Elephant Kingdom and continued to think about their conditions. Based on the total output value of monster resources in the White Elephant Kingdom and Blue Star last year, we will compensate the Dragon Kingdom five times for its military losses, and it needs to be repaid in one go. Seed the Golden Stone Valley and Wanshi Mountain areas of the White Elephant Kingdom in the secret realm of different time and space. From now on, the Dragon Kingdom needs to participate in the supervision of the professional awakening ceremony every year. The number of S-level professionals that can be retained in the country shall not exceed 100, and the total number of new SS-level professionals shall not exceed 10. The excess personnel must be sent to the Dragon State. The country will be handed over to the Dragon Kingdom. When professionals from the Dragon Kingdom enter any monster area within the territory of the White Elephant Kingdom, the professionals from the White Elephant Kingdom have the obligation to ensure the safety of the lives and property of our professionals. When the Secret Realm is witnessed by a Dragon Kingdom professional, the first right to enter the Secret Realm will be given priority to the Dragon Kingdom professional. In the future, when the Armistice Agreement is signed every year, the White Elephant Kingdom must pay tribute to our Dragon Kingdom at least three pieces of orange legendary materials, five, zero, zero pieces of red warrior level equipment, ten, zero, zero pieces of red warrior level materials, and fifty, zero, zero pieces of purple rare level equipment. In order to stabilize the relationship between the two countries in the future and strengthen the understanding and familiarity between the two countries, the White Elephant Kingdom needs to send its eldest Prince Mo Shirluo to our Dragon Kingdom for further study and serve as the ambassador of the White Elephant Kingdom. Conditions came from the other end of the communication one after another. The King of Baixiang Kingdom was so angry that his whole body was shaking, and he couldn't help but cover his chest with one hand. Extreme anger made his face turn pale and blue. All the senior officials of Baixiang Kingdom present were also very angry, and some of them even started to curse on the spot. All kinds of unpleasant words came into the ears of Mr. Li and the others. However, the senior officials of Long Kingdom did not care at all. Mr. Li looked calmly at the King of the White Elephant Kingdom who was so angry that his heart ached. This is the condition for the armistice of our Dragon Kingdom. Lord of the White Elephant Kingdom, I wonder what your country's opinion is. What's your opinion? I fuck your grandma. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom's chest rose and fell violently. Cede to them nearly one third of the territory of the White Elephant Kingdom. Ask them to spend five years worth of the country's wealth. They also need to limit the number of their high level professionals and limit the activities of their national professionals in their own monster areas. Even the attention from the secret realm of different time and space dared to fight. As for the fact that he was asked to send protons to the Dragon Kingdom in the end, it was nothing compared to the previous harsh conditions. It seems that your Dragon Kingdom is really going to fight with me, the White Elephant Kingdom. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom said through gritted teeth. Mr. Lee shrugged and sneered without any worry. It seems that your White Elephant Kingdom really won't agree to this armistice condition, but it doesn't matter. Give our Dragon Kingdom some more time. If our Dragon Kingdom wants to be peace-loving, we will definitely negotiate a result that satisfies both of us. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom was so angry that he wanted to curse. Peace-loving. How can you old dogs say such shameless things? Your people massacred more than a dozen of our big cities in succession. The dead and injured White Elephant people are directly worth millions. With such cruel methods, how dare you say that you love peace? However, before he could say anything, suddenly there was a roar from the sky outside that made everyone tremble. Everyone turned to look out the window with pale faces, and then saw the huge behemoth descending from the clouds, like a city in the sky. The clicking group of necrotic laser cannons stretched out from one side as soon as they came to rest in the air fortress. The sound of energy accumulation that made everyone in the entire White Elephant Kingdom despair, with weak legs, could be heard in the sky. Buzz buzz. Hearing a familiar voice, Mr. Lee's smile on the other end of the communication was full of joking. 
His Majesty the King should be busy with something now, so we won't delay you here. After all, we also have to study the contents of the armistice agreement with your country. With that said, Mr. Li was about to hang up the communication. The King of Baixian Kingdom was anxious. Asshole. We have clearly started negotiations now, and our troops on both sides should stop moving. People of the Dragon Kingdom, you are unethical. In the sky outside, the sound of energy accumulation that started without any hesitation almost made him collapse. It was also the first time in my heart that I regretted having obeyed the Mi Empire. They, the White Elephant Kingdom, are so well behaved, so why do they have to provoke the gang dogs of the Dragon Kingdom? Shameless, cruel, King Lee's, no bottom line, extremely greedy. This was the new impression given to him by the suddenly changed Long Kingdom. In response, Mr. Lee smiled lightly. I'm sorry, the armistice peace talks are just the temporary intentions of both of us. Before a negotiation framework is reached, the two sides are still at war. As he spoke, Mr. Lee suddenly paused as if he had thought of something. By the way, there is one thing we want to tell your country in advance. General Zheng Mu is the commander-in-chief of our Dragon Kingdom's counterattack against your country. He is fully responsible for this military operation. Even we, under General Zheng Mu unless it goes beyond the scope of military operations, one cannot object to his military orders. All the senior officials of Baixian Kingdom were stunned. You, what do you mean by this? Mr. Li's smile was inexplicably a bit like Zheng Mu's wicked look. What do you mean? The meaning is very simple. If your country chooses to resist with force at this time, causing General Zheng Mu to increase the scale of the war, we will have to re-examine the possibility of continuing this negotiation. Upon hearing this, there was a sudden silence in the palace of the White Elephant King. Everyone looked at each other with blank expressions. What does Long Guo mean? If they want peace talks, they must first endure the attack of the Tian AI army without being able to fight back. Chapter, 175. What do you mean by this? Don't you, the people of the Dragon Kingdom, rush into our capital, burn, kill and loot, so we can't resist? The King of the White Elephant Kingdom roared angrily, and the loud sound seemed to shake the displays in the palace. However, Mr. Lee smiled and said nothing, but there was a violent roar outside. Boom! The terrifying energy bombarded the capital of Baixian Kingdom and was blocked by a powerful external force. However, when everyone rushed out of the hall in panic, they saw that the durability of their capital city's city defense formation had been obviously weakened by more than half. Ten of them had no pride at all in blocking the opponent's sun bombardment. As another burst of sound came over the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, the missile launching device of the air fortress also stretched out. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom immediately did not dare to hesitate any more, and anxiously and decadently chose to grit his teeth and give in. We, the White Elephant Kingdom, accept the negotiation conditions you proposed and can conduct detailed negotiations within the framework of this truce content. Please ask your country to stop your people immediately. The center of the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. After hearing the words of the King of the White Elephant Kingdom, the elders looked at each other and saw a trace of surprise flashing in each other's eyes. It seemed that the softness was growing much faster than they imagined. However, the King of Baixian Kingdom finally said it was too late. In the Air Fortress, in order to seize the initiative as much as possible before the other guardian gods of the White Elephant Kingdom rushed back, Zheng Mu had no intention of wasting a second. When a round of necrotic laser cannons was blocked by the enemy's capital city defense formation, the Red Queen without hesitation directly activated the torrent of firepower system. The sharp whistling sound, just a few seconds after the roar of the necrotic laser cannon, was strung up in the pale golden city defense formation under the horrified gaze of the entire White Elephant Kingdom. Amidst the horrific explosions, even the 557 city defense formation of a country's capital was unable to survive such horrific instantaneous damage. There was a boom. Look at the energy shield that breaks apart, turns into little bits of starlight and dissipates in mid-air. The citizens and professionals of the White Elephant Kingdom who had no time to evacuate from the city suddenly turned pale. 
Some even felt their legs weaken after seeing the Tian AI army and mechanical creations pouring out crazily from below the aerial fortress. He collapsed directly on the ground. When these Dragon Kingdom people massacred the cities in front of them before. They saw it with their own eyes. Not to mention old, young, women and children, even a passing dog that smelled like curry would be blasted to pieces by these brutal guys on the spot. You will die if you beg for mercy, but you will die if you resist. Just when the whole city was in despair and the teleportation square was plunged into terrifying turmoil, an anxious shout followed a figure flying high into the sky of Baishan Kingdom. It spread instantly throughout the White Elephant Kingdom. Stop! General Zheng Mu, our monarch has started peace talks with the senior officials of your country. Please stop immediately. Seeing this scene, the originally desperate citizens of the White Elephant Kingdom suddenly fell silent in the capital. Zheng Mu, the reincarnation of Shiva, the god of destruction, came to them. The fear of death has already wiped away all their shame. At this time, everyone is thinking about saving their lives. As for why their proud and powerful country, the White Elephant Kingdom, was beaten to the capital in just one day. No one cares about this problem anymore. The sky above the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. A Baixian Kingdom general with a diaper wrapped around his head stood in mid-air, looking at the densely packed Tianyuan army above his head. Even if the level is IV-70 or above, being stared at by tens of thousands of pairs of eyes full of murderous intent Akbi, at this moment is still terrifying for a while. Each of these people present had climbed out from the pile of dead people in the secret realm of different time and space, and they had just experienced a series of killings today. When the blood energy and evil energy in the body are the most intense. The steel-winged angel flying device behind Xiong Wei Shan was spitting out airflow, and he was holding a heavy axe and was about to slash down, but he was stopped by the diaper head. A pair of tiger eyes full of fierce light showed an undisguised murderous look. Meaning. However, he had to think about what the other party said. At this moment, with the whole world watching, Zheng Mu's figure suddenly appeared above the air fortress and waved to him calmly. Immediately, the soldiers of the Tianai army in mid-air made way for a passage. Seeing this, the general of Baixiang Kingdom swallowed a mouthful of saliva, then hesitated for a moment before flying down to report. Soon, a flying cloud boat flew into the sky over the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. Zheng Mu finally saw the king of the White Elephant Kingdom who dared to attack the Dragon Kingdom. Facing one of the figures at the top of the entire Blue Star Pyramid, Zheng Mu's face was full of contempt without any concealment at this moment. The king of Baixiang Kingdom glanced at the distance between them, and then at the senior generals of Baixiang Kingdom behind him. In the end, he still did not have the guts to issue an order for a sudden attack on Zheng Mu. After all, they have not been able to get along with each other to get rid of Zheng Mu's nearly immortal operation before. If Zheng Mu wanted to now, he could even come up and slap each of them. In the end, no matter how angry they were, they could only kill a few of Yi Mu's T-100 stand-ins. Elder of your country, Mr. Li wants to speak to you, General Zheng. Listening to the lame curry-flavored dragon Mandarin, Zheng Mu curled up his lips in disdain. However, immediately, Mr. Li's communication screen appeared in front of him. However, at this moment, Mr. Li was not as casual and kind as he used to be when talking to Zheng Mu. He gave orders with a stiff and official look on his face. General Zheng Mu, we have started truce negotiations with the Baixian Kingdom. We hope that you can strictly control the behavior of your soldiers and not initiate any physical conflicts with the Baixian Kingdom. Hearing the voice over there, doubt flashed in Jing Mu's eyes. However, when he saw the cunning look that suddenly flashed across Mr. Li's face in the light screen, he felt blessed and nodded repeatedly with a smile on his face. Salute to the communication screen. Elderly, don't worry. I will strictly restrain the officers and soldiers under my command. I will never take the initiative to undermine the peace talks unless Baixian Kingdom takes the initiative to provoke or use force. Hearing this, Mr. Li had obviously seen that Zheng Mu understood the situation. He nodded with satisfaction and hung up the communication. The king of Baixian Kingdom was also temporarily relieved. Riding the Feiyun boat headed towards the palace below. 
Next, he must summon high-level officials and start fierce negotiations with the Dragon Kingdom. In the end, he may even have to resort to some help from the Mi Empire behind him. General, we have already broken through the city defense formation, are we just going to watch it like this? Xiong Weishan looked at the splendid palaces everywhere below, his eyes full of unwillingness. As a heavily classed white elephant kingdom, it is no exaggeration to say that the capital of the country is home to the wealth of the entire country. The combined treasury of the cities they slaughtered along the way was less than one-tenth of the capital. On the side, Qin Ji and He Guang also frowned. Zheng Mu chuckled and suddenly asked Xiong Weishan. General Xiong, you just said, what happened to us? Xiong Weishan was stunned and scratched his head, break through the city defense formation. Zheng Mu nodded and smiled meaningfully. In Blue Star's national war practices, what are the conditions for a city to be classified as a war zone? Hearing this, Qin Ji, who was standing by, was the first to react. He took a deep breath, but his face was filled with excitement. As long as the city defense formation is broken, the city will officially become a war zone, which means. Zheng Mu smiled and nodded, pointing downward. Then why are you still standing there? Clean the battlefield and collect the loot. Xiong Weishan and He Guang immediately looked at Zheng Mu as if they were looking at gods. No wonder he can become the boss of generals like them who have fought many battles at such a young age. In terms of this shameless skill alone, it is not something that ordinary civil servants can match. In the palace of the White Elephant King The King of the White Elephant Kingdom and a group of senior officials gathered here. The air fortress was parked above the capital, forcing them to immediately start negotiations and enter the city. At this moment, the Prime Minister of Baixiang Kingdom stood up and spoke righteously. Mr. Li, our King of the White Elephant Kingdom can submit a truce to your country, but the location must not be in the sacred capital of your country. This makes it impossible for us to guarantee the safety of our king. Our opinion is that the two parties will set the location for signing the agreement in Patala City, which borders your country and our Baixiang Kingdom. The Prime Minister of Baixiang Kingdom said this, and the senior officials of Baixiang Kingdom and the monarch on the side also nodded repeatedly. If nothing else, he himself would be afraid of letting the King of White Elephant Kingdom go to the divine capital of Dragon Kingdom. It is not impossible to respond to Long Guo's shameless spirit and find a reason to detain them on the spot and put them under house arrest in the divine capital forever. However, the Prime Minister of Baixiang Kingdom had just finished speaking. Suddenly, a huge explosion suddenly came from outside, and everyone was frightened and stood up on the spot. What's going on? Hasn't the war already ceased? The King of the White Elephant Kingdom looked anxiously towards the aerial fortress outside. A general looked aggrieved and rushed over with an angry look on his face. Your Majesty, the mechanic Xing Mu, led his men to attack our treasure houses in the city. Your lord's mansions were also attacked. What? Suddenly, all the senior officials of Baixiang Kingdom stood up suddenly. Does that mechanic dare to disobey the orders of their superiors in the Dragon Kingdom? The King of the White Elephant Kingdom also looked at the communication light screen in front of him with cold eyes and gritted his teeth. Beside him, the general lowered his head, his body trembling with anger. Those people from the Dragon Kingdom said that our country has been conquered and has become a war zone as usual. Although the two sides have ceased fighting, this does not affect them from cleaning the battlefield and collecting spoils of war. Loot the top brass of Baixiang Kingdom almost fell to the ground in shock as they were shamelessly beaten by Zheng Mu. On the other side of the communication light curtain, Mr. Li also looked apologetic after hearing the voice there. Then hit the target. Well, it's true that both of us have ignored this issue, but our General Zheng Mu's reasons are quite good, aren't they? Your country's capital city defense formation was breached. With the whole world watching, this is a mistake. It won't work. The King of Baixiang Kingdom. Chapter, 176. Mr. Li's rogue words almost made the King of Baixiang Kingdom faint on the spot. Looking at Mr. Li's expression without blushing in the light curtain, the King of the White Elephant Kingdom had blue veins popping out on his forehead and gritted his teeth. You have no sincerity in peace talks at all. You shameless dragon country people. You never thought about peace talks from the beginning. 
However, Mr. Lee spread his hands with an innocent look. Your Majesty, there are certain things you should not say nonsense. If we were not sincere in the peace talks, do you think your country's capital would still be like this? Furthermore, His Majesty the King and all the adults of the White Elephant Kingdom should also know what kind of temper our young General Zheng Mu has. Right now, just cleaning the battlefield and taking away the trophies that belong to you is already a great deal of face to the member states. Such shameless words made the senior officials of Baixiang Kingdom very angry. Without any care at all, the King of Baixiang Kingdom led a group of people and aggressively approached Cheng Mu and others who were at the entrance of the treasure house of the Baixiang Professional Exchange. General Zheng, don't you have any sense of shame as a soldier? We have obviously started peace talks, but your current behavior is completely provoking us, the White Elephant Kingdom. Do you know what the consequences will be in the end because of your rude behavior? Hearing the angry questioning of the King of the White Elephant Kingdom, he, who was clearly able to open the door easily, was now looking at his soldiers with his arms crossed, using brute force to forcibly destroy the treasure house door in front of him. Hearing this, Zheng Mu looked around the King of Baixiang Kingdom. All the senior officials and generals of Baixiang Kingdom were staring at him with cannibalistic eyes. However, Zheng Mu sneered at this. Under the live broadcast gaze of professionals from all over the world, take a step forward. Facing the majestic king of the White Elephant Kingdom, he actually put on a condescending expression at this moment, just like the other party's attitude towards the Dragon Kingdom after he followed the father of the Mi Empire. Consequences What consequences does your majesty think will happen that we cannot bear? Is your White Elephant Kingdom withdrawing your mere 300-00 elite troops on the front line? Or are you saying that your majesty, your majesty, is going to lead the millions of people in the White Elephant Kingdom to fight us in a heroic fight to the death. Zheng Mu had a look of contempt and walked directly in front of the opponent without the slightest hint of defense. The provocation and ridicule in his eyes were watched by professional fans all over the world under the real-time broadcast of Tiandao Live. Hey, Shiba, does this arrogant guy really have no respect for the royal power? He is obviously emboldened. I investigated the information about the machinist profession in our Eagle Kingdom. Unfortunately, in our records of this profession, at most, we only record the content before reaching level 35, something similar the skills for the stand-in should be those after level 35. Fake, I have watched the previous video of the Dragon Kingdom man's battle many times. That skill seems to have no other restrictions except that it requires consuming that kind of humanoid mechanical creation. I can't imagine why a mechanic with such terrifying skills would Tian Dao is only rated as Class A. Upstairs, then you should help those collapsed mechanics to ask God why they haven't produced the blueprints of mechanical creations for hundreds of years, here in this Dragon Kingdom people. It's as easy as a sow giving birth. How can it be repaired? This person from the Dragon Kingdom is so provocative to the King of the White Elephant Kingdom. Isn't he really worried that they will completely break up? Ha, huh, haven't they broken up now? While professionals from various countries were arguing constantly, Zheng Mu sneered in the live broadcast. Under the gaze of everyone, he walked straight towards the treasure house gate of the White Elephant Kingdom Capital Professional Exchange. He waved away several people from Xion Wei Shan who were violently demolishing it, and pressed one hand on it. With the use of the skill transferring gold hand, the next moment, the treasure house door in front of him, which in the eyes of the senior officials of Baixian Kingdom, was absolutely impossible to break, was instantly transformed by Zheng Mu into a red warrior-level mechanical creation. Dimensional Treasure House Barrier Device Zheng Mu already has four or five of these things, all of which were left behind by lock picking. Seeing Zheng Mu wave his hand and instantly opening his legs to the treasure house gate towards the soldiers of the Tian Ai army, the ministers and generals standing behind the king of Baixiang kingdom were instantly anxious. No. You can't do this. You are robbing. Damn it, you robbers, stop it all and get out. Looking at the people who were roaring and about to rush forward, Zheng Mu stopped Xiong Wei Shan and the others who were about to attack but he suddenly opened his arms and moved towards the swords in the hands of these people. What are you going to do? Do you want to assassinate me, the general of the Dragon Kingdom, and give up on the truce negotiations with my Dragon Kingdom? Come, stab me in the heart, 
and heroically thrust out the most powerful sword for the subsequent subjugation of the country. If there are still history books in the White Elephant Kingdom, your actions today will remain at the end of the history of the White Elephant Kingdom. Next page is the most indelible page. Qingxia left his name, right in front of me, ha ha ha, come and stab me in the heart. Of course, if you also want to chop off my head, you can do that. Come on, chop it here. I believe my head will be able to fly a good parabola in the air, uh. The senior officials of Baixian Kingdom who were angry one moment and were about to rush forward were all panicked and forced back by the rogue-looking Zheng Mu the next moment. When these people saw that Zheng Mu actually took the initiative to attack their weapons, they all hurriedly put their weapons behind them and backed away one by one. Every hair on the body of the king of Baixian Kingdom was shaking violently with anger because of Zheng Mu's shamelessness. You crazy person! Seeing Zheng Mu unabashedly and provocatively handing her neck to him, the king of Baixian Kingdom couldn't help but break down and yelled angrily. However, looking at the neck of a living person, the king of the White Elephant Kingdom couldn't help but take a step back. What kills him, what makes his head go parabola? This guy is simply unkillable. On the contrary, if someone's weapon at the scene accidentally hit the opponent, the aerial fortress above their head was obviously in a state of preparation and could fire at any time, and they would not hesitate to pour terrifying firepower on their capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. Middle The King of the White Elephant Kingdom firmly believes in this. The ministers of Baixian Kingdom also firmly believe that this madman Jing Mu can definitely do it. At the same time, professionals and senior officials from various countries who were watching the absurd scene all believed that Jing Mu, a lunatic, really dared to act in such a shameless and rogue way. Continuing this war will bring more death. Hearing Bai Xiang was angry rebuke, Jing Mu raised his head. There was another sneer on his face. When your white elephant kingdom invaded our dragon kingdom, wasn't it the same way? You could find an excuse casually. Now you can actually say such things as a victim. Zheng Mu's words instantly attracted a burst of support from all over the Dragon Kingdom. Relieve anger. Words like awesome. Were heard in excitement wherever there were professionals in the entire Dragon Kingdom. Zheng Mu, however, waved his hand and gave the order directly to the soldiers of the Tianai army under his command. Zero please give me flowers. You are all doing this in a daze. These are all our trophies. Move them all away from me. If I find out that anyone has left behind a piece of white ordinary grade material, I will question him. Yes. General. After a neat and excited shout, more than a thousand soldiers of the Tian AI army rushed into the treasure house. In a few minutes, storage boxes of different colors were moved out. There are also various information and labels corresponding to the item levels on it. Compared with the treasure trove of the Hanqing exchange that Jingmu had seen, it was much more advanced. Under the gaze of the top management of Baixian Kingdom with splitting eyes, one T-800 equipped with the steel-winged angel flying device flew down, picked up the boxes one by one, and then rose into the sky again. In the eyes of the whole world, he flew directly to the air fortress in the sky above his head. Asshole, bastard. Seeing the king of the White Elephant Kingdom who was going crazy with anger, Zheng Mu and Xiong Weishan and the others were a little at a loss. General, what about us? There are so many brothers, do we all have no mission? Hearing this, Zheng Mu immediately rolled his eyes. Our Dragon Kingdom is very poor and lacks everything we need. How can you do anything in our Tianyuan army in the future with your kind of ideological consciousness? Seeing the awkward expressions on their faces, Zheng Mu pointed in one direction. Over there, there is the General Association of Professionals of the White Elephant Kingdom, and next to it there is the General Association of Pharmacists, Blacksmiths, and Tailors. Since they are all in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, their treasure troves are naturally our spoils. Damn Dragon Nation people! Don't go too far! At this time, the King of the White Elephant Kingdom finally could no longer restrain himself. With a roar, Chisho dodged a long sword from the hands of the general on the side. In an instant, he rushed in front of Zheng Mu and chopped off his neck. However, in response, Zheng Mu suddenly raised a hand. Stupid Dandan. There was a mechanical sound above the head, 
and it was accompanied by the long sword of the king of the white elephant kingdom that had reached Cheng Mu's neck and suddenly stopped. Go on, the majestic king of the white elephant kingdom, don't you have the courage to do so when the whole world is watching? Zheng Mu sneered, and the sarcastic words were like a slap in the face of the king of white elephant kingdom. The ministers of the Baixiang kingdom at the back, looking at the air fortress weapons above their heads that were already aiming at the city, suddenly shuddered, and hurriedly rushed forward to pull their king away. Your majesty, you can't be impulsive, you can't be impulsive. You 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 this damn guy is just provoking us in the white elephant kingdom. He just wants this national war to continue. Your majesty, we can't fight anymore. Our country will be doomed before our elite troops on the front lines are withdrawn. Looking at the pale-faced king of the white elephant kingdom who was surrounded by everyone. Zheng Mu swaggered forward again and rudely pushed away several Baixian kingdom ministers who were blocking the way. There was a gasp of cold air among professionals all over the world. The palm of his hand slapped the face of the king of white elephant kingdom with a crisp sound. If I give you a chance, you don't have to use it. As a king, you don't even have the courage to act impulsively. Then what makes you dare to launch a national war against our dragon kingdom? Even your country has been conquered by us. Where is your me empire father? Why haven't I seen it yet? The sound of Pa Pa echoed around the world. Everyone looked at Zheng Mu with dull eyes, with only one thought in their mind. Crazy Earthy. Chapter, 177. Longwa, Southwest Military Attaché University. Looking at the Tian Dao live broadcast, Zheng Mu's extremely arrogant face, and the crisp slaps that flashed on the face of the King of White Elephant Kingdom. The force was not strong, but the snapping sound caused the entire blue star to fall into a deathly tranquility. Kai Shinkuan's mouth widened, and his throat seemed to be stuck. He wanted to say something, but couldn't. On the side, Gu Ming, who had always been calm, was shocked and gasped at this moment. His face management had been completely sent to the hospital. In front of the whole world, the president of the White Elephant Kingdom is able to slap the king of the White Elephant Kingdom in the face. Damn it if the White Elephant Kingdom didn't make the whole country crazy, I would look down on them. More than that, look at the soldiers of the Tianai army. They are really not polite at all. They don't even want to let go of those white ordinary level item storage boxes. They really want to move the entire White Elephant Kingdom. It's empty. Hey, am I the only one paying attention to the president and provoking the Mi Empire from a distance? Slapping the King of White Elephant Kingdom in the face is nothing compared to slapping the Mi Empire in the face, right? Hearing everyone talking, everyone around them was praising and admiring Xing Mu. However, Leng Binyue and the three 297 people were not happy at all. Seeing the King of the White Elephant Kingdom looking like he wanted to eat people in the Heavenly Dao scene, his heart suddenly rose. Concern leads to chaos. They had even forgotten Zheng Mu's incredible mechanical stand-in method at this moment. Even if the Baixiang Kingdom's army in the secret realm of different time and space rushes back, Zheng Mu can lead his people to wreak havoc and retreat calmly. Will the Mi Empire send the Protector God to attack Zheng Mu and the others? Lan Lan, your family is a high-ranking official. Do you have any news? Zheng Mu is just a newcomer who has only been awakened for less than half a year. How come he has assumed such a big position all of a sudden? Leng Bingyue had a sad look on her face, and her hands were soaked in sweat. He Shan Yun on the side was not much better. After Zheng Mu finished the incident in Bangzi country, they originally thought that Zheng Mu would finally come back, and that a little separation between young lovers would be better than a wedding or something. However, it turned out that Zheng Mu seemed to have suddenly disappeared. I haven't been able to contact him for half a month. It wasn't until the White Elephant Kingdom launched a national war against the Dragon Kingdom that their classmates were shocked to know that Zheng Mu had become a real general of the Dragon Kingdom with a hundred thousand elites. And as soon as he appeared, he led the newly formed Tianai army to launch a wild counterattack against Baixiang Kingdom. After hearing the two people's questions, Jiang Lanlan also looked sad. She can't contact her family at all now. She can't contact Mr. Jiang. Her eldest brother Jiang Guixing has also lost contact directly. It's obvious that they are busy with important things. 
If the whole Dragon Kingdom is surprised and happy because of the strength shown by Zheng Mu and the fighting power displayed by the Tian AI army, as a neighbor of the Dragon Kingdom at this moment. Whether it was the Bangzi Kingdom or the senior officials of the Sakura Kingdom, everything was dead silent. The sound of Papa Papa was broadcast live through Tian Dao and reached the ears of the King of Bangzi Kingdom. The latter's head was shaking slightly following the sound of slaps. A pair of wide eyes stared at the King of the White Elephant Kingdom in the picture, and in a trance, it seemed as if that person had become himself. Shiba, this guy is it really true that no one can control him? Shiba. In a country as big as Baixian country, there is not even one person who can kill that guy. That damn antelope, isn't it said that he is the protector of the country with the strongest endurance? Why? Ah. Shiba. Why was he killed in just a short time? Can that kind of trash be called the strongest? The face of the king of Bangzi kingdom was full of anger, but the panic and fear in his eyes were even more obvious. At this moment, his body was trembling with cold sweat, and he was anxiously walking back and forth in front of the throne, cursing excitedly. General Sun Mingao also looked pale, and he also couldn't understand Anilopi's situation. But looking at the strength displayed by the Dragon Kingdom, the monarch, who was so frightened that he lost his ability, still swallowed a mouthful of saliva and hurriedly got out of the queue. Your Majesty, we in Bangzi country don't need to worry at this time. Your Majesty, please relax. Not only do we not need to worry, but we can just wait and see for a while. After all, in the eyes of other countries in Blue Star, we are allies of the Dragon Kingdom. As soon as these words came out, the whole place was silent. Pairs of eyes stared at each other. Sun Min Gao looked determined. Zheng Mu dares to shamelessly humiliate the White Elephant Kingdom in front of the whole world, and directly shouts at the Mi Empire from a distance. In addition, with the destruction of the Mi Empire's military camp in Bang Bang, the Mi Empire will never give up. According to their behavior, it is very likely that they will go out to the people in person this time. Everyone looked at each other and slowly calmed down. The king of Bangzi kingdom also frowned at Sun Mingao. The latter glanced at Li Jianxi, the president of the Three Stars Guild who was silent on the side. Your majesty, the one who should be most worried about his situation right now should not be us, but the Sakura country. According to our intelligence, the Ashikaga shogun of the Sakura country is a staunch spokesperson for the Rice Empire. Now even though Longgua has shown strength beyond everyone's expectations, he has not changed his mind about taking action against Longgua. The one who should be worried most right now should be the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom. His Majesty the Emperor, as the ruler of my great Sakura Empire and the reincarnation of a god, how can you become fearful just because of a mere victory in the Dragon Kingdom? All battles are undertaken by our Ashikaga shogunate. You only need to issue combat orders to us in the name of the Emperor. Our Ashikaga shogunate, with a total of 300 elites, is determined to fight for our great Sakura Empire from the body of the Dragon Kingdom. Tear off a piece of the fattest flesh and blood. Listening to Ashikaga shogun's words that seemed very loyal and generous on the surface, but behind them were words full of threats. The emperor's face now looked extremely ugly. Prime Minister Yoshida Shiro immediately stood up angrily. Hagaga Road. Ashikaga, you rude guy, what kind of place do you think this is? You dare to shout in front of His Majesty the Emperor. Is the shogunate already so out of order? Since His Majesty the Emperor is the reincarnation of the god you call him, why did you, Ashikaga Nobuo, turn a blind eye to His Majesty's order asking the Ashikaga shogunate to reduce its troops and armed forces. However, in the face of such an irrefutable rebuke, the Ashikaga shogunate did not even raise his eyelids, and looked directly at the Emperor sitting on the throne without any respect in his eyes. Your Majesty, the Emperor of the Mi Empire is extremely dissatisfied with us because of our previous delays and hesitations. If we don't make a decision at this time, our great Sakura belt may have uncontrollable changes. The emperor, whose face was ashen, looked even more gloomy. The surrounding samurai from the Sakura kingdom royal family even angrily rebuked him. Presumptuous. Hagagaji, Ashikaga Nobuo, are you threatening his majesty the emperor? Under the sleeves of the emperor's robe, a pair of hands clenched loudly, 
and his breathing was trembling at this moment. Not a word was spoken. However, Ashikaga Nobuo has already been inflated because of the support from the Rice Empire behind him. There was ambition in his eyes. His Majesty the Emperor, I am just stating a fact. Please be clear-headed and ask yourself why our great Sakura Empire can exist in this world. This world is one in which the strong are respected. I'm sorry, but I can't see what a strong person should look like from the mere Dragon Kingdom, and I believe that this kind of thinking is also the thinking of other countries in Blue Star today. Monkey Country, Siam Country, Philippines and other countries surrounding the Dragon Country definitely have this idea too. Please His Majesty the Emperor, please consider it carefully. Ashikaga Nobuo, who had such a tough attitude, immediately made the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom and the Prime Minister look at each other, and they saw the shock, anger, and deep anxiety in each other's eyes. Looking at the situation, the Mi Empire is definitely going to die personally. It is even very likely that a strong man of the level of the God of Protection will be dispatched. Otherwise, no matter how arrogant Ashikaga Nobuo is, he will never do anything like directly threatening the Emperor face to face. After another reluctant delay, at night, the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom and the Prime Minister conspired. Without anyone knowing, remote communication was started late at night. White Elephant Country In the end, even though the King of the White Elephant Kingdom was slapped and humiliated, he did not give the order to take action. However, Zheng Mu then received news from Mr. Li. Although the King of Baixiang Kingdom continued the truce negotiations, he was obviously no longer anxious as before. Add 4, 6 to the mobilization of those personnel in the city, as well as the mobilization of professional troops in surrounding cities. There is no doubt that this guy still has some backbone. Huh, do you want to wait until the support from the secret realm of different time and space comes back? It's a good plan, but it's a pity. Zheng Mu sneered and looked around. The 100-00 Tian Ai army under his command had already returned to their peak strength after several rounds of massacres, stepping on the bones of countless citizens of the White Elephant Kingdom. There are 100-00 people, and the average level is around IV-43. Plus its own mechanical creations and their fortress support. Zheng Mu is full of expectations for the battle with the elites from the secret realm of Baixian Kingdom in different time and space. But before that, since the top management of Baixiang Kingdom has been ruined, Zheng Mu no longer means to be polite. There was a boom. Accompanied by a violent explosion, a large hole was opened by the necrotic laser cannon of the Sky Fortress, a sacred palace protected by a special defensive formation located in the central area of the White Elephant King's Palace. Pantheon the highest level treasure house of the White Elephant Kingdom in Blue Star is owned by the royal family of the White Elephant King. It is said that there is even an orange legendary treasure inside. Chapter, 178 Boom! Feeling the direction of the explosion coming from the palace, the faces of the King of the White Elephant Kingdom and the senior officials were gloomy and terrifying. The ferocious murderous intent in his eyes flickered uncertainly. The noise outside and the shouts of the palace guards entered the hall, and everyone naturally knew that the direction of the sound was coming from the highest pantheon of their White Elephant Kingdom. As the White Elephant Kingdom's largest and most advanced treasure house in Blue Star. There are not many things stored in it, but the lowest level items are all purple rare items, and they must also be rare items in the purple rare level. As for the highest one, it has reached the orange legendary level. However, looking at the general who looked pale and shook his head, the king of the White Elephant Kingdom and the senior officials could only endure the pain of bleeding in their hearts, and continued to have sex with the Dragon Kingdom with ugly faces. Negotiation looks like. There are still too many people in the capital who have not evacuated. It would be fine if the people here are just ordinary people. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom and a group of high-ranking officials had a way to move themselves away instantly, leaving their capital to evacuate and turn it into a hellish battlefield. But. These people who have not had time to evacuate are actually the families behind these people present, as well as the family forces of various confidants. In the presence of these people, even the king of the White Elephant Kingdom would not dare to break up with the Dragon Kingdom on the spot. Mr. Lee, the conditions for ceding territory required by your country are too harsh. Your appetite is too great. 
We, the Baixiang Kingdom, cannot accept the loss of one-third of our territory. We also ask that your country make certain concessions. Looking at the extremely ugly face of the King of White Elephant Kingdom in the center of the Dragon Kingdom Divine Capital, Mr. Li suddenly asked with a smile. Your Majesty, are you feeling unwell? I always feel that your face looks ugly now. It must be caused by lack of sleep. As the ruler of our neighboring country, the Dragon Kingdom, your majesty also needs to take care of his health. After all, only with your good health can the White Elephant Kingdom have a better future, and the friendship between our two countries can continue to develop in the long run, right? Isn't it? What kind of shame does this damn old man from the Dragon Kingdom have to say such shameless words in front of the whole world and even make him feel unwell? Why do I look so ugly? Don't you people from the Dragon Kingdom know it? Ha, huh, thank you Mr. Lee for your relationship. However, I think the most important thing for us right now is to reach armistice negotiations between you and me as soon as possible. After all, I think your country does not want more people to lose their lives on both sides. Minister of Conflict Mr. Lee looked at the King of the White Elephant Kingdom who was smiling but not smiling, but the smile on his face was very bright. Oh! Does His Majesty the King really want to reach an armistice agreement so soon? The King of Baixian Kingdom Due to too much force, the nails of his hands directly scratched his legs with blood marks at this moment. The blood stained the golden robe. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom once again looked at the general guarding the gate of the palace. The latter shook his head dejectedly. The roar in the direction of the Pantheon became more and more intense, and the eyes of the King of the White Elephant Kingdom finally showed an anxious look. If you want to withdraw the troops in the secret realm of different time and space at once on a large scale, especially those who are at the level of the protector of the country, it cannot be done in a short while. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom could only silently accept the outcome of the Pantheon being looted. Damn Dragon Kingdom people, when my army withdraws, all of you will be buried here forever. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom roared madly in his heart. But at this moment, Zheng Mu, led Uchiha Muzin and Miss Mira Jane, walked into the Pantheon under the protection of a large number of mechanical creations and soldiers of the Tianai army outside. There is nothing particularly strange about the so-called Pantheon as soon as you walk in. Inside are the golden statues of various gods in the mythology of the White Elephant Kingdom. The dazzling gems on them are at least purple and rare. And even the tributes here are obviously things that Zheng Mu has never heard of in Blue Star. They are obviously produced in the secret realm of different time and space. However, these statues of high value were ignored by Zheng Mu who walked in. Although the golden body of the god statue can be melted to forge high-level equipment. Gems can also be embedded in equipment and weapons to improve the quality and attributes of the weapons. For Zheng Mu, a mechanic, these are not even remotely attractive. As soon as he walked in, his eyes were immediately fixed on the highest point of the temple, where a huge light door was rotating with silver-white light. It's like a space portal in a science fiction movie. Faction Core Treasure Trove White Elephant Kingdom, heaven has come and given to the Core Treasure Trove of the certified camp. It has endless space inside and no concept of time passage. In theory, all items can be recommended and retained. It cannot be destroyed and cannot be transferred. It will be in after the Baixian Kingdom camp is destroyed, it will automatically disappear. The buzzing light door rotated, and the fiery color in Zheng Mu's eyes became more intense. During this time, he had already learned from Xiong Weishan and the others where the space he entered when he was at the Resource Management Institute of Southwest Military Attaché University was. That is the core treasure trove of the Dragon Kingdom's camp. It contains hundreds of years of accumulation and heritage of the Dragon Kingdom. The things inside are not low-grade at all. But at this moment, he was targeting the core treasure house of Baixian Kingdom. You guys stay here. With a faint command, Zheng Mu rushed towards the light door in an instant. Without any hindrance, the moment he passed through the light door, his body immediately entered a familiar sense of weightlessness. When he opened his eyes again, he saw that it was the same special space as the one where he collected the Red Warrior level materials. However, the starlight here is obviously more brilliant. Sure enough, the population of the White Elephant Kingdom is comparable to that of the Dragon Kingdom, 
but the system of the White Elephant Kingdom has a more pyramidal effect than the Dragon Kingdom. The advanced monster materials and equipment props have obviously caused a more serious resource consolidation. Suddenly, Zheng Mu was admiring the vast starry sky and thinking about where to start picking it up. A violent suction force suddenly came from one direction of the treasure house. When he turned around, Zheng Mu saw a terrifying black hole that seemed to be able to swallow everything. A stream of light, either purple or red, whizzed and was sucked in by it. Damn it! Is there really a way to deal with the invasion? Zheng Mu was shocked and immediately looked towards the surging galaxy. It seemed as if he had received some kind of induction, and streams of light flew towards him. However, this time there were a few golden lights and an overwhelming red light. The black hole obviously cannot choose what to attract on its own, but Zheng Mu can. Just start with the most valuable things in the treasure house space. Orange Legendary Material Purple Fire Molten Dragon Body Orange Legendary Material Heart of Thunder King Orange Legendary Material Dimensional Disintegration Essence Orange Legendary Material Sigh of Incorruptible Bones Orange Legendary Each item, with its bright light, rushed towards Sheng Mu's palm. The moment it came into contact, it disappeared in a burst of white light. Come on, come on, baby, come all to me. Come all to me. Ha ha ha, diaper head, I accept your precious grandpa today. In the treasure house space, Zheng Mu's wild and excited laughter seemed to be reaching an unknown place through the terrifying black hole at this moment. In a place similar to the space of the treasure house, an old man with blonde hair and blue eyes, with obvious characteristics of a high-level white elephant, looked at the black hole in front of him that was rapidly spewing out the treasures of the treasure house. Suddenly bursts of young laughter came to my ears. Suddenly, the whole person was so angry that he cursed loudly. Damn the people of the Dragon Kingdom, that guy Ailu is also a waste. Even the core treasure house can be invaded. The old man waved his hands furiously, his face turned red as if he had exerted all his strength. Following 897's movements, the speed at which the black hole in front of him spat out a ball of light instantly became much faster. Most of the things spit out before were just purple light groups, but as the old man exerted his strength, there were suddenly more red light groups. However, a full ten minutes passed, but not a single golden light appeared. The old man's face suddenly became so ugly that he could no longer contain it. Crazy roars echoed in this strange space. Dragon Kingdom. You must pay a heavy price in the secret realm of different time and space. Boom. There was a violent vibration, and the whole person was instantly ejected by a huge force. However, before Uchiha Muzan and the two came forward to help him, he suddenly stepped forward and ran towards the light door that crackled with thunder. His face was full of ferocious smiles, and his eyes were full of expectations. A hand pressed on it momentarily. Grandma, if you don't let me seize the treasure happily, we won't let you go. In an instant, golden light burst out from Zheng Mu's hand, instantly covering the light door in front of him. It is his mechanic skill golden hand. There was no level information in this light gate information, and Zheng Mu just rushed over with the idea of giving it a try. However, just when the golden skill light on his side covered the light door. Outside the pantheon, the sky across the white elephant kingdom was suddenly covered with dark clouds. The crackling thunder shocked the whole world. The majestic voice of heaven suddenly spread throughout the world in a situation that no one expected. The core treasure trove of the Baixian kingdom camp was lost, and heaven judged a major loss to the national destiny. Starting from today, the experience gained by professionals in the White Elephant Kingdom camp will be reduced by 20%, and the chance of dropping various monster materials, equipment, and props will be reduced by 50%. Zheng Mu, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom camp, completed a major achievement in the camp and received the title of Heavenly Dao Lucky Luck. The Effect of the Title Prosperous Luck Chapter 179 the core treasure trove of the Baixian Kingdom camp was lost, and heaven judged a major loss to the national destiny. Starting from today, the experience gained by professionals in the White Elephant Kingdom camp will be reduced by 20%, and the chance of dropping various monster materials, equipment, and props will be reduced by 50%. Zheng Mu, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom camp, 
completed a major achievement in the camp and received the title of Heavenly Dao Lucky Luck. Rumbling sounds were heard throughout the sky above Blue Star. Not only that, all the professionals in the entire Blue Star suddenly had golden subtitle announcements popping up on the light screen in front of them that was playing the Tian Dao live broadcast. While repeating the voice from the sky, he also displayed the title bonus attributes that Cheng Mu received at this moment, indicating the Chu clan. In the Holy White Jade Palace of the Rice Empire. Waterfa. Are you sure that what you have investigated is true? This is incredible, and has God abandoned our Mi Empire? Why would something like this appear in a place as backward and ignorant as Dragon Kingdom, full of lack of freedom? This should belong to our Mi Empire. Turning the pages too quickly caused some of the documents in the hands of the Emperor of the Mi Empire to fall to the ground, scattered everywhere. It was a mess. Just like the mood of the high-level elites of the Mi Empire present at this moment, they were completely confused. The military general responsible for the investigation of this document gritted his teeth. Your Majesty, for this investigation, our CIA has directly exposed the nails we have planted in the Dragon Kingdom for more than ten years. Among them, two S-class elite assassin-type professionals were killed by the people of the Dragon Kingdom. In addition, we also compared the intelligence with our intelligence network in Sakura Country, and finally showed that the content above does exist, and this is also the reason why Dragon Kingdom suddenly dared to use force directly against neighboring countries recently, and even dared to take the initiative the reason for provoking army empire. This special prosthetic limb can restore the disabled professionals in the Dragon Kingdom to a state of combat effectiveness and continue to upgrade. After going around in circles for several days, the Dragon Kingdom had already captured the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, and the Mi Empire finally investigated what happened in the Dragon Kingdom recently. Nearly one million disabled elite professionals have regained their combat effectiveness. This incident is very shocking, and it is also extremely difficult to hide it in the Dragon Kingdom. After losing some intelligence power, the Mi Empire not only completed the investigation of this matter, but also used force to plunder a batch of mechanical prostheses shipped by the Dragon Kingdom to disabled soldiers. Although in the end, only two were successfully transported out of the Dragon Kingdom. However, when everyone saw the two mechanical prostheses in front of them, they all gasped. Vibranium prosthetic limb right leg, purple rare level functional mechanical component, which can be equipped on disabled professionals to eliminate their own disability and provide combat auxiliary functions. Note. Permissions are locked, Dragon Sierra Ren, the National Camp's B-level Shadow Sword Walker, can use it. Vibranium Prosthetic Arm Left Arm, Purple Rare Level Functional Mechanical Component, which can be equipped on disabled professionals to eliminate their own disability and provide combat auxiliary functions. Note, permissions are locked in Dragon Kingdom it can be used by Wang Dong, a level A blood warrior in the camp. The Emperor of the Mi Empire scratched his head, which had become a golden bird's nest, and stepped down from the throne. Looking at the two black mechanical prostheses on the tray in front of him, he opened his mouth, but in the end he could only hold back one sentence. Masterpiece. The general from the CIA on the side suddenly spoke anxiously. Your Majesty, this thing is indeed a masterpiece, but it belongs to the Dragon Kingdom. For our Mi Empire, it is no different from the curse of Satan. The Dragon Kingdom has nearly a million elite professionals who are disabled, and the Tianai army led by the mechanic Sheng Mu is composed of a hundred thousand such characters. Once the Dragon Kingdom fully rolls out this kind of mechanical prosthetic limbs, we have maintained the pattern across the entire Blue Star for hundreds of years. There will be an unprecedented shock, and even shake our dominance of the Blue Star. Aha! If it is said that when the general said what he said before, the senior officials of the Mi Empire, including the Emperor of the Mi Empire, still nodded in agreement. As soon as the other party's last words shaking the dominance of the Mi Empire were spoken, the atmosphere at the scene suddenly became much more relaxed. Ha ha ha, Shet, Jolson, do you know what you are talking about? Even if you have only taken over the CIA for a short time, such mindless words should not come out of your mouth, right? That's it. You guys had too much fun with those beautiful girls last night, do you think you have returned to the primitive era? Our Mi Empire is the overlord, and will be the overlord forever. Don't forget, more than 70% of the secret realm of different time and space is under the control of our Mi Empire. 
even in the middle region that no country in the world has reached, we, the Mi Empire, have broken through. Ha ha ha, this guy obviously wants to get more resources for the CIA this year, but obviously his family has not told him since he was a child, so why does he lie without a blushing face and a heartbeat? Ha ha ha. The CIA general named Jolson, after hearing the ridicule from the people around him, instantly realized that he had gone too far in advocating the threat of the Dragon Kingdom. His old face suddenly turned red. But he couldn't say anything. A dignitary of the Mi Empire stepped forward, picked up a mechanical prosthesis and looked at it again and again, and finally looked at Jolson. Is there any way we can remove the user restrictions on this thing? Hearing this, Jolson shook his head slightly inside. Before we came here, we had Master Bragg take a look at it. He said that the blacksmith profession cannot be broken, and it is estimated that the restrictions on the use of this mechanical creation will most likely require a mechanic to break it. Suddenly, the smiles on everyone's faces slowly disappeared. Need a mechanic to break out? When was the last time there was news about mechanics in their empire? It was more than ten years ago, right? Even many people present were completely unaware of this matter. It wasn't that the mechanic was attracting attention at the time, it was just that this mechanic from the Mi Empire chose a very entertaining way to commit suicide. Based on their nationwide screening some time ago. It is a pity that the profession of mechanic has become extinct in their empire. Doesn't that mean that unless Cheng Mu takes the initiative, they will never be able to let the disabled professionals in their Mi Empire use this kind of thing? Everyone looked aggrieved. The two mechanical prostheses in front of them represented two professionals who had returned to their peak state. Their Mi Empire now has several former protectors of the country, such as Li Zihin of the Bangzi Kingdom. They were all disabled by those terrifying monsters while exploring the middle realm of another world. No, our Mi Empire needs this. The core treasure trove of the Baixian Kingdom camp is lost undetermined to be a major loss to the national destiny. The Emperor of the Mi Empire was about to say something, when suddenly the rumbling voice of heaven suddenly came from the sky outside. The next moment, some information about Cheng Mu at this moment was revealed on everyone's panel. Lucky Luck Title Effects, 20% experience gained from killing monsters, 20% chance of high-level loot drops, 50% chance of encounter in special secret realms. The awakening probability of SS-level professionals in your camp is 100%, and the offspring will be 100% awakened to become A-level mechanics. Emperor of the Mi Empire The heads of major forces in the Mi Empire. Dead silence. Everyone in the Holy White Jade Palace stared blankly at the light curtain in front of them. After a while, the elites of the Mi Empire, who were in suits and leather shoes and dressed like noble gentlemen, instantly burst into a roar like gangsters. Zereshet the camp's core treasure trove was lost. Shit. How could such a thing happen? Has the White Elephant Kingdom been destroyed? Fake. What happened to this damn Tiandao? If the country was not destroyed, how could the core treasure trove of the camp be lost? What on earth did those idiots from the White Elephant Kingdom with diapers on their heads do? It's that mechanic Xingmu again. Damn it, we haven't thought of a way to restrict this guy yet. Damn it, heaven has given him such a big reward. This person from the Dragon Kingdom must die. He must die immediately. We will directly dispatch our powerful national protector level experts, and then summon the surrounding countries of the Dragon Kingdom to completely eliminate these damn yellow skinned monkeys. God, one mechanic Xing Mu has already plunged the entire Blue Star into such a terrifying turmoil. If this guy has a son, fake, in the future. This guy must die. The voice of Heaven Qian Liao Zhao spread throughout the world. When the senior officials of Bangzi Kingdom saw the content on their light screen, they almost unanimously turned their eyes towards Li Jianqi, the president of the Three Star Guild who had been silent. Judging from the way Zheng Mu looked at the other party's daughter Li Fujian that day, it was obvious that he was quite interested in the Three Star Princess. Sun Mingao stood up suddenly with excitement. Your Majesty, what an opportunity. This is an opportunity for our country. If the princess of our Bangzi kingdom gave birth to Zheng Mu's heir, as the same mechanic, Zheng Mu's mechanical blueprints would definitely be usable, and our Bangzi kingdom might have a mechanic as powerful as Zheng Mu. Ah! 
Hearing this, the king of Bangzi kingdom, who originally had a sad look on his face, instantly widened his eyes. Asaba. It seems like this is really the case. Tokugawa residence in Sakura country. Longwa has never given us a clear attitude, we can't wait any longer. The emperor looked at the white screen in front of him, then looked at the recent actions of the Ashikaga shogunate on his desk, and finally looked at Prime Minister Yoshida who was kneeling in front of him with a gloomy face. Prime Minister, you personally go to the Dragon Kingdom and take Kagaya's child with you. You must directly finalize her marriage to Mu. If our Tokugawa family can have a terrifying mechanic like Mu. Chapter 180 Zheng Mu could no longer hear the rumbling announcements from the heavenly world. Just when the whole world was shocked and horrified by his glory at this moment, the same voice was stirring in his mind at this moment. Transfer Gold Hand LV3 was used successfully. The special item White Elephant Kingdom Camp Core Treasure House is being mechanically transformed. You have obtained the Golden Epic Mechanical Component Origin of the Dimension World. Just as the information on the panel ended, the system voice that had been silent in my mind for a while suddenly sounded. Ding, it is detected that the host successfully transformed the first golden epic mechanical component, and the hidden achievement is completed. System Reward, Golden Epic Blueprint Treasure House of the King Selecting the mechanical components owned by the current host completing the components required for creation. You have obtained the Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Alpha Space Wall Maintenance Core. You have obtained the Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Horse Space Distortion Device Core. You have obtained the Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Beta Space Node Link Core. You got a series of voices echoed in my mind. Accompanied by the shocked gazes of professionals around the world, the portal that originally represented the entrance to the core treasure house of the White Elephant Kingdom suddenly turned into a golden glazed bead the size of a basketball in a burst of golden light. Floating slowly in front of Zheng Mu. The surrounding silvery white light seemed to be able to distort the space. No. Damn the Dragon Kingdom people. Hysterical roars and roars came from one direction of the palace, and everyone could hear that it was the voice of the King of the White Elephant Kingdom. At this moment, in the Tiandao live broadcast, the King of the White Elephant Kingdom was furious, and his figure flashed at the door of the Pantheon. Behind him were all the senior officials of Baixian Kingdom who looked crazy. All 510 people were stunned after seeing the core treasure house that had disappeared. No one thought that it was just a temporary compromise to delay time. At most, these damn Dragon Kingdom people would snatch some treasures. When their army from the secret realm of different time and space arrived, everything could be snatched back. However, they couldn't accept it. The core of the treasure house, which was obviously indestructible, was actually destroyed by Zheng Mu, a damn mechanic. Looking at Xiong Weishan and others, the King of White Elephant Kingdom and others who were standing in front of him, they could no longer contain the crazy murderous intention in their hearts. At this moment, although there are still some high-level family members in the capital who have not yet had time to evacuate. But there isn't much left. Kill them all. As soon as the hysterical order came from the mouth of the King of Baixiang Kingdom, the next moment, dozens of senior generals of Baixiang Kingdom behind him roared angrily instantly rushed towards Xiong Weishan and others. Roar! The leader, the senior general who had spoken to Zheng Mu before, roared and his body swelled instantly. In an instant, he transformed into an orc with the body of a lion and the head of a lion. An exaggerated halberd in his hand was fired towards Xiong Weishan. And in the sky outside the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom just after the battle, flying cloud boats filled with scars finally appeared in the sky. But it was the eldest prince who finally arrived at the capital with the remaining elephant forbidden army. The damage caused to everyone by the damage to the national destiny made these professionals of the holy elephant forbidden army forget the terror of Yuan's army being attacked by the air fortress. One by one, under the leadership of the eldest prince Mo Shirluo, they headed towards the air fortress. Without Qing Mu's order, the Red Queen, who had been on alert, immediately launched an attack. The rumbling roar instantly resounded over the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. Accompanied by it, there are mechanical creations that are as dense as raindrops, pouring out crazily. 
Amidst the deafening roars, several Transformers and Dinosaur King Kongs under Jing Mu also fell to the ground with heavy weights in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. Ah! Run for your life! Escape to the city gate and run to the city gate quickly! Fight! Everyone fight for me! The Dan Dragon Kingdom people have taken control of the city gate. Only by killing these guys can we survive. People from the Monkey God Guild, follow me to kill the enemy. For our sacred white elephant kingdom, God will bless the devout believers. In just a moment, the capital of the white elephant kingdom, which was still in a delicate state before, finally exploded as the powder keg between the two countries. As soon as the mechanical creation landed, it immediately started killing the surrounding white elephant people indiscriminately. The officers and soldiers of the Tian Ai army who were still looting the major professional guilds in the White Elephant Kingdom instantly showed a ferocious smile after seeing the aerial fortress in the sky starting to fight. The box filled with various treasures in his hand was thrown away as if it were trash. Pulling out the weapon in his hand, he instantly made the nearest White Elephant man's head fly with his sword. Ha ha ha, brothers, let's get to work. Kill. Don't spare any of these sons of bitches. Today is the day when the White Elephant Kingdom will be destroyed. The battle instantly swept through the entire capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. The center of the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. The faces of Mr. Lee and others also turned grim, and they all stared closely at the Tian Dao live broadcast at this moment. Fifty thousand elites have gathered in Patala City now. When the White Elephant Kingdom's army from the secret realm of time and space withdraws, we will be able to provide support immediately, but they still have five guardians of the country. Where is God? Mr. Zhang's expression was full of worry. Mr. Lin also pondered for a moment and suggested to Mr. Li. We have won a great victory so far in the battle. We must tell that boy not to fight forcefully. When it is time to withdraw, we must withdraw from the White Elephant Kingdom immediately. Mr. Lee nodded silently. If it is said that the last war between the Dragon Kingdom and the Bangzi country made the Blue Star countries once again realize the toughness of the people of the Dragon Kingdom. So this time the Tian Ai army led by Zheng Mu's counterattack against the Baixian Kingdom definitely made the world see the ferocity of the Dragon Kingdom. The purpose of deterrence has been achieved and a buff given by heaven has been obtained for the Dragon Kingdom camp. It's already a bloody prophet. Let's take another look. The Dragon Scale Guards are absolutely sure of fighting and can protect Xing Mu and retreat. Judging from this kid's expression now, his gains will definitely be greater. Hearing this, everyone looked at Xing Mu who was holding a golden glazed ball in the Tiandao live broadcast. Sure enough, just as Mr. Lee said, the kings of the White Elephant Kingdom outside had personally gone into battle to fight with Qin Ji and the others, but the smile on Zheng Mu's face did not disappear at all. It was as if he had won a huge reward. However, it was just as Mr. Ji and the others thought. Zheng Mu didn't just win the jackpot. It's simply a super jackpot. The king's treasure house, a golden epic mechanical creation worked by mechanic Zheng Mu. There is a separate world inside, which can store unlimited treasures, mechanical creations, and materials. It also has a life preservation space that can store living things. Damaged mechanical creations can be automatically repaired when placed in them. Note, this mechanical creation is of a special category. Once manufactured, it will be completely bound to the mechanic Xing Mu. It can ignore space, skills and other limiting factors and can be used on all terrains without consumption. Golden Epic Mechanical Creation Although it is not something used for combat, there is a separate world inside. This can definitely be described as bursting. The most important thing is that the system can directly assemble this thing by itself, and all the required materials are ready. Glancing at the pot of porridge outside, the smile in Jing Mu's eyes turned cold. Even if they massacred more than a dozen of their cities and killed millions of people. These things with diapers on their heads still don't accept it. Without any hesitation, Zheng Mu directly chose to assemble it on the spot. As the order was issued, with the whole world watching, storms suddenly broke out with Zheng Mu as the core. The familiar tornado and the crackling thunder made everyone in Bangzi Kingdom stand up in horror. All of them will never forget. 
A scene like this appeared on their monarch's Qinghuang in the sky over Hancheng in Bangzi Kingdom. After that, Bangzi Kingdom ushered in their nightmare. At this moment, in the sky above the White Elephant Kingdom, the terrifying extinction level air fortress appeared in this world. Oh God! What kind of new mechanical creation is this man from the Dragon Kingdom making? Is there no one who can stop him? Mazefak! After being so provoked by this guy, why haven't there been any reactions from the top of the Mi Empire? Is the Kai Empire afraid? If the people of the Dragon Kingdom build an aerial fortress, no city in any country in the world can withstand such an attack. However, the huge monster that was supposed to appear in the imagination did not appear from the beginning of the storm to the end. He looked at Cheng Mu, who was surrounded by golden light and gradually fell to the ground from midair. High level officials from all over the world have expressed confusion. Is it difficult to lead the way to Western University? Did you fail? What's so great about this Dragon Nation man this time? What's going on? Could it be that he's invisible? It seems has it really failed? Even the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom looked with pity on their faces, thinking that Jing Mu had failed in making mechanical creations. A few hundred meters away from the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, a large beam of light suddenly fell from the sky. Among the sounds of rumbling. Hundreds of White Elephant Kingdom professionals wearing standard golden armor and holding weapons appeared in the white light. In the blink of an eye, there were already tens of thousands of people. Suddenly, the professionals from Baixian Kingdom who saw this scene were overjoyed. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom, who felt the familiar movement, even though he was in a state of embarrassment, still laughed wildly and roared. Damn the Dragon Kingdom people! You will all be buried here today. Chapter, 181 Pillars of light fell from the sky. It was as if those strange gods that the people of Baixiang country believed in came to help these sad believers in suffering. Seeing this scene through the Tiandao live broadcast, people in various cities in Baixiang kingdom knelt down on the ground in excitement, crying and laughing, kneeling and kowtowing at the figures in the picture. Some people with even more ignorant thoughts spread their hands above their heads and muttered various words to praise the gods. As for the professionals in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom who were currently experiencing the ravages of the Tian AI army and Zheng Mu's mechanical creations, they all started to cry in excitement after seeing the divine light coming from the sky outside the city. Here we come. Our most elite warriors are here. Damn the Dragon Nation people, don't let any of them go. Surround them, don't let them escape. Amidst the hysterical roars, the professionals in the entire White Elephant Kingdom capital seemed to be in a state of panic. In the live broadcast, they were in front of such powerful elites as the Tian AI army. Even though he had just rushed forward, with the skills of these Tianai army soldiers, his health bar was quickly cleared. But they are one after another. It was seen that the other professionals and citizens in the city of White Elephant Kingdom had tears in their eyes. At this moment, they seemed to be transformed into righteous men who resisted evil in the world. General Zheng, the elites of the White Elephant Kingdom in the secret realm of different time and space have been transferred back. The current number is at least 15000. In addition, it is very likely that there will be strong ones at the level of the protector of the country. You should return to the air fortress to avoid the edge for the time being. As soon as he walked out of the dilapidated pantheon, which was almost like a ruin, seven figures appeared in front of him in an instant. It was the seven dragon scale guards sent by Mr. Li to Zheng Mu. However, when the leading masked man spoke, this time his tone was obviously respectful. However, when Zheng Mu heard this, he glanced at the white lights on the horizon in the distance and snorted coldly. A mere elite member of the White Elephant Kingdom is worthy of allowing me to temporarily avoid the edge. Humph. Even if an ant has wings, it's still an ant. With that said, Zheng Mu waved his hand, interrupting their attempts to continue persuading, and said calmly. You don't need to take more care. As long as you do your best, if the other party has multiple guardian gods coming, you can contain one or two of them, and the rest will be restrained. Come and deal with it. Hearing this, the seven dragon scale guards were all shocked. Are you going to deal with it? Do you think that you have inexplicably defeated a clone of Antelope, 
and do you really think that you can compete with a strong person at the level of the God of Protection? However, Jing Mu had no intention of paying attention to these people. Although his eyes were still looking at the falling white light on the horizon in the distance, his attention was actually on his own lord's treasure house. Just like what was introduced in the message. Jing Mu felt a flash of light before his eyes, and the next moment he was in the sky of a new world, overlooking the upgraded mountains, rivers, and forests below. With a thought, he realized that although there were no animals or other life forms, there was no doubt that this was the so-called king's treasure house, a special space that could preserve living things. Turning his eyes again, the scene in front of Zheng Mu suddenly changed in the next moment. It turned into an endless space that could not be seen at a glance. The ground is made up of metal floors, and above this endless space, streams of light are floating and swimming irregularly. Looking at the purple, red, and even orange light, there was no doubt that it was what he snatched from the White Elephant National Treasure House. When he saw the several orange legendary materials, the smile on Zheng Mu's face suddenly became dangerous. Ha, huh, I didn't pay attention at the time, but I didn't expect another unexpected surprise. Looking at the materials fluttering in front of him, Zheng Mu murmured to himself with flashing eyes. What an unexpected gain! From the information point of view, the current materials are completely consistent with the image prototype in my mind. The abilities in various aspects and the general direction of the required materials are also here. Immediately, Zheng Mu smiled coldly. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom and a group of senior officials from the outside world have withdrawn from the battle and are gradually evacuating towards the edge of the battlefield, and their attitudes have become obviously arrogant. It seemed that he was determined that he would not be able to escape from this wave. Then the other party will definitely bring back more than one protector of the god-level powerhouse this time, at least two or more. And only in this way can we explain clearly why the other party suddenly dared to give it a go. But it's a pity. Their enemy is none other than Zheng Mu, the mechanic. Zheng Mu's combat effectiveness has never had much to do with his level, but all depends on his mechanical creations. And right now, he can just create an extremely terrifying mechanical creation. As soon as his thoughts moved, orange rays of light came towards him one after another. The skill transferring gold hand LV3, is used. The orange legendary material Heart of Thunder King, is transformed into atomic pump pressure generation core. The orange legendary material Dimensional Disintegration Essence, is converted into energy decomposition external device. The orange legendary material Psy of Incorruptible Bones, was transformed into the Blade Edge Mountain external armor. The orange legendary material Volcano Elf King Crystal Core, is transformed into Fire Lotus Explosion Core. And just when Zheng Mu was quietly dazed. At this moment, in the Tiandao live broadcast, outside the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, three special golden lights came. Three powerful figures appeared in front of professionals from all over the world. Seeing these three figures, even the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom who had prepared in advance had their expressions change at this moment. Hiss. You actually transferred three of them back. And you even transferred back that guy from Labensa. That guy from Zheng Mu has really made those guys in the White Elephant Country crazy. Mr. Li's face was serene, and his eyes were fixed on the picture. A man dressed like a primitive tribal chief, with a string of bone necklaces around his neck and holding a sheephead staff. Compared to this man, the other two people who should not be underestimated seemed less important. LV-91, SS Meridian Walker Hrithik. LV-90, SS Nightmare Follower, Dillman. Although these two people are also the protector gods of the White Elephant Kingdom, in terms of actual combat power, they are much inferior to the previous Antelope. They are at the bottom of the list of protector gods from all over the world. Exist. The only one who really made Mr. Lee and the others feel solemn was the unkempt guy among the three. LV-90, SS Strange Summoner, Labentia. When the Dragon Kingdom and the White Elephant Kingdom were at war, this guy had not yet reached the level of the protector god, but he destroyed and massacred several border towns of the Dragon Kingdom by himself. Of all the soldiers and civilians inside, no one survived. Mr. Lee clenched his hands tightly. Longwa had no idea how much power and conspiracy he had used to kill this bastard La Bensha secretly. 
In the end, the other party grew up. Old Li, withdraw. Baixian Kingdom has brought back so many people at once, including the bastard Lobensa. The target is obviously that boy Jing Mu. Those weird creatures summoned by this guy are really difficult to deal with. Mr. Lin stood up anxiously. Mr. Li frowned, and at this time in the Tian Dao live broadcast, the force that had just arrived from Baixian Kingdom had been divided into two forces in an instant. One was heading towards the aerial fortress in the sky, and the other was rushing directly into the capital of Baixian Kingdom. What made the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom even more solemn was that the three guardian gods all rushed into the capital. Zero please give me flowers. The clear goal is to come in the direction of Zheng Mu. Immediately notify Gu Xingdong's troops to advance to the territory of Baixian Kingdom immediately. We must ensure the safe evacuation of Zheng Mu and others, especially Zheng Mu. Even if Gu Xingdong died in the battle. We can't let Zheng Mu lose a hair. This time, Mr. Li finally gave the order directly. The intensity of the response from the Baixian Kingdom group exceeded their expectations. With so many manpower brought back at once, the White Elephant Kingdom will definitely welcome the prying eyes of bordering countries in the secret realm of different time and space. However, Baixian Kingdom still did this. And when Mr. Li urgently wanted to contact Cheng Mu to ask them to evacuate, the three guardian gods of Baixian Kingdom, headed by the young master, arrived at the palace. Looking at the messy palace that had been reduced to ruins, the three people's eyes were shocked and at the same time, they were already bursting with anger. Damn the people of the Dragon Kingdom, the lesson I gave you back then seems to have been too little. Some harsh and flavorful Longwo language came from Lebensa's mouth. When it reached Cheng Mu's ears, his smiling face suddenly turned weird. It was as if he had accidentally swallowed a fly. The other party also immediately looked at Cheng Mu's position. When they noticed his level, a look of contempt flashed across the eyes of the three Lebensa. However, this contempt was immediately discovered by Baixian Kingdom and other senior officials who evacuated outside the city. The latter immediately issued a warning to Lebensha and the others. You all should put aside your contempt. This Dragon Kingdom mechanic is no ordinary person. Kill him immediately. I want you to chop all these damn Dragon Kingdom people into pieces immediately. The urging voice of the communicator, Mr. China, made the three Lebenzas, who had originally planned to talk nonsense, immediately shrugged their shoulders. The next moment, Rabensa waved the sheep-headed staff in his hand. Amidst bursts of twisted purple-black light. In an instant, everyone in the palace felt that the sunlight above their heads was suddenly blocked. When they looked up, they saw three terrifying bloated heads, which seemed to be made of the limbs of various monsters. A hundred-meter tall monster spliced together. Appear in front of everyone. As soon as he appeared, he immediately surrounded the people from the Dragon Kingdom present. Plague of Parosa, IV-87 Strange Summon Strange Summoner Lobentia Contract, appears within two kilometers, enters a severe plague area, and continues to reduce HP. Blood Poisonous Gelance, IV-89 Strange Summons Weird Summoner Lobentia Contract, within two kilometers of its appearance, all those with HP damage will enter the blood poison state, and while their HP continues to decrease, there is a certain chance that it is the target that suffers fatal blood explosion damage. Devouring Demon Bane, IV-89 Strange Summons Weird Summoner Lobentia Contract. After locking the target, the target will enter a continuous slow state and reduce its movement speed. Seeing the three terrifying 100-meter monsters, the expressions of Mr. Lee and others changed completely. But the mad laughter of the King of the White Elephant Kingdom suddenly came out in the palace of the White Elephant King. Above a light curtain, the King of the White Elephant Kingdom looked at Jing Mu and others who were surrounded, with excitement on his face. Ha ha ha! Damn you bastards, all of you Dragon Kingdom people will die here this time. Not only that, the wrath of our White Elephant Kingdom will definitely fall on your city. You people from the Dragon Kingdom will all die. Amidst the crazy roar, a strange smile appeared on Jing Mu's face. He looked up at the disgusting face in the light curtain. Your Majesty the White Elephant King, I am very satisfied with your expression I hope you can still maintain your focus after a while. After saying that, golden ripples suddenly bloomed in the void behind him. 
Chapter, 182 Rice Empire A group of senior officials who were originally very anxious and had already begun discussions about the transfer of some elites from the secret realm of different time and space, saw that the White Elephant Kingdom went straight to the game and spent such a large sum of money. In order to deal with Xing Mu, the three guardian gods were transferred back. Their eyes flashed with brilliance. The Emperor of the Mi Empire immediately looked towards the CIA general, who immediately realized what the Emperor of the Mi Empire wanted to ask. Answer immediately. Your Majesty, according to our information, although the Dragon Kingdom has recently urgently transferred a number of troops to Patala City, they only have about 50 00 troops. In addition, none of their ten guardian gods in the secret realm of different time and space have any abnormal movement. Hearing this, the elites of the Mi Empire present immediately restrained their previous vulgar hooligan demeanor, looked at each other one by one, and straightened their collars with a smile. The Emperor of the Mi Empire also immediately winked at the Chamberlain on the side. The latter soon brought several bottles of champagne. Gentlemen, the light of freedom will never disappear over the Mi Empire. Long Gua, a hyena that barks all day long, will definitely learn to shut up in front of the great glory of our Mi Empire. Let us drink to our loyal allies of the White Zero Zero Three Elephant Kingdom. Ha ha ha, for the Great Rice Empire. Cheers. Everyone was holding a glass of champagne, and the decent smiles that had disappeared for a while reappeared on these elites. While everyone was watching the Tian Dao live broadcast, Zheng Mu was surrounded by three 100-meter tall monsters. From time to time, they chatted with the colleagues around them. They were overestimating their abilities and eventually played themselves to death. The people of Longhua are very appreciative. Haha, ha, he is such a surprising and sarcastic guy, but I have to admit that this monkey from the Dragon Kingdom really scared me. Speaker James, he is a beast after all. Facing some beasts that don't know how to be polite, it is inevitable for us who are used to seeing civilization to be frightened by them, but we are hunters after all, aren't we? Ha ha ha, George, you are very good at talking. Indeed, look at these ridiculous yellow-skinned monkeys. They were so arrogant when they took over the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. Look at them now, ha ha ha. Being surrounded by the summons of the protector god of the White Elephant Kingdom is like a group of ants that have been surrounded by a nest and can only wait to die, ha ha ha. There was a burst of laughter, and in a short time, the emperor of the Mi Empire even called the palace musicians directly. Melodious music echoed in the Holy White Jade Palace. Perhaps because the serious worries on their minds were suddenly eliminated, all the senior officials of the Mi Empire did not care that this was the main hall used for discussions, and they all laughed and started to twist their bodies with each other. If we say that the top management of the Mi Empire is in a festive party atmosphere at this moment, this side of the Dragon Kingdom can be described as gloomy and bleak. Damn it, these bastards from the White Elephant Kingdom know how to put their money where their mouth is at this time. Even if they dispatched three national guardian gods to deal with Qing Mu, that bastard Labensa actually came up and summoned the three evil gods. Mr. Jiang paced the hall angrily and anxiously. Gu Xingdong and the others had already rushed over there, but looking at the Tiandao live broadcast, Qing Mu and others were completely surrounded. At this time, even if a strong man at the level of the protector of the country was in the country, it would be too late to arrive at this time. Lao Li, can those people really save that kid Jing Mu? Mr. Lin is also anxious. His grandson has not even had time to recognize his relatives. Now he is going to watch helplessly and be buried in the White Elephant Kingdom. If his daughter knew that he was a father, it would also be part of the plan for this counterattack against Bai Xiang Kingdom. I'm afraid I can do anything. Mr. Lin is anxious, Mr. Jiang is anxious, but Mr. Li, who has watched Cheng Mu grow up with his own eyes and regards him as the leader of the future rejuvenation of the Dragon Kingdom, how can he be indifferent? At this moment, he couldn't remember how many times he urged Gu Xingdong and the others to speed up. Looking at the Tian Dao live broadcast, sweat stains appeared on his forehead. Don't worry, don't worry. That kid has life-saving skills, and the air fortress has tens of millions of durability. He definitely won't die in a while. Everyone, calm down. However, even he didn't notice that when he spoke, even his voice was trembling. 
Three Evil Gods. It is the collective name given by the Blue Star countries to the three most powerful summons of this guy Labensa. Plague Perosa, looks like a large centipede standing on two legs. Each section is shiny and shiny. It can poison targets within the range in a targeted manner, and this kind of poison does not have high-level antidote. Cannot be lifted. Blood Venom Golems, has a body that is hundreds of meters tall, red all over, with a bat head open, and looks like a demon giant. When he shows off his power, it will inevitably cause a large number of tragic casualties. Soldiers within his range must be kept at all times. Make sure your HP is at full value. However, this matter is almost impossible in the chaotic battlefield. And Blood Venom Golems, is also the summoned creature under Rebentia that has caused the most deaths of professionals. Finally, there is Devouring Demon Bane, who is responsible for the main attack. While it has terrifying physical damage, it is also very immune to magic skill attacks. Magical damage that does not cause enough damage will not only fail to cause any damage to it, but can also increase the opponent's strength attribute in a short period of time. It has always been the main force used by Robensa to attack the city's defense formation. Back then, it was these three terrifying beasts that slaughtered several cities in their dragon kingdom. Not a single soul was left alive. If several guardian gods from the dragon kingdom hadn't arrived at the last moment, Lobensa would never have stopped this crazy killing behavior. However, after many years, they faced this terrible guy again. Ha ha ha, not only can I satisfy you with your expression, but I will also definitely satisfy you with the way you die. Hearing this, Zheng Mu actually dared to provoke himself without any shame. The monarch who had withdrawn from the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom laughed crazily. He was relieved, but at the same time, this relief could not relieve the pain in his heart at the moment in the face of such a huge loss. More than a dozen cities were massacred in succession, and the capital that had been inherited for hundreds of years was now reduced to ruins. He felt like it hurt to breathe. Damn it! If the Mi Empire dares to play tricks on me this time regarding the position of the central territory, I will definitely let their useless emperor be replaced three times in a row even if I try to destroy the country. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom gritted his teeth and thought. He not only intends to get enough benefits from the Mi Empire, but also wants to tear off the fattest piece of meat from the Dragon Kingdom once it is done. And at this moment, the soldiers of the Heavenly AI Army, who were originally preparing to fight to the death with these protector gods, were finally contaminated by toxins, and they all entered a state of poisoning. Just when they were about to fight to the death, the steel-winged angel flying device behind them suddenly unfolded. Boo-hoo! Amidst the sharp sounds of piercing the air, the soldiers of the Tian AI army turned pale in shock. General! What are you doing? Xiong Weishan was shocked, but his body had already rushed into the sky under the influence of this thrust, and he easily broke out of the circle surrounded by the three evil gods. The purple rare antidote potions stored in their mechanical prostheses were also used automatically. Seeing this scene, the king of Baixiang kingdom was not in a hurry. We solved this guy Zheng Mu today. With these Tian AI army, we can't escape even if we want to. Labensha and the other three guardian gods of the White Elephant Kingdom also sneered. It's just the difference between dying early and dying later. Do you really think these people will be able to survive from the moment we return? Lobentia said, a cold light burst out in his eyes, followed by the body that was hundreds of meters tall and looked like a hatred spring pangbane suddenly moved. The thick arms, like a bridge in the air, were rounded and smashed towards Xing Mu below. A terrifying roar came from above. Xing Mu sneered. Do you think I asked them to withdraw? His eyes turned cold and he suddenly shouted loudly. All members of the Tian AI army obey the order. Use all your strength to strangle all professionals from the White Elephant Kingdom. Anyone who dares to evacuate without my order will be dealt with according to the military law. Hearing this, the Tian AI army members, who had expressions of grief just a moment ago, thinking that Jing Mu was telling them to evacuate and stayed behind to contain the enemy, were stunned for a moment. Then they all shouted excitedly, their eyes already red. The heavenly AI army has received the order. The terrifying giant fist above their heads was about to fall, 
and the expressions of the seven dragon scale guards under the masks were extremely solemn. Just when they were about to protect Cheng Mu and receive the punch forcefully, Cheng Mu's voice came again. You deal with those two diaper heads, this summoner, and these three dirty guys, I'll deal with them. As soon as these words came out, the seven people in Zero, Three were shocked. However, at this time, there was a terrifying collision sound above their heads. It was like two high-speed meteorites colliding together. The terrifying strong wind made several people breathless. When they raised their heads with difficulty, they saw a scene that made their pupils shrink. In the golden void, a pitch-black giant arm with sharp scales like strange rocks stretched out. The sharp claws firmly grasped the punch that should have been struck. Roar! Before the whole scene could be seen, the terrifying roar of the sun suddenly came from the golden void. The next moment, a terrifying behemoth that was even bigger than the three evil gods around them rushed out in an instant. The huge mouth of the abyss seemed to be able to swallow a small mountain, and the devouring devil barn did not react at all. Suddenly he bit the opponent's shoulder. Tear. Foul-smelling blood, along with some greasy tissues and organs, fell from the sky, and Zheng Mu's manic laughter echoed around him again. Do these guys with no sense of beauty actually qualify to be called weird? Today I'll show you what real monster art is. Godzilla. Chapter, 183. Godzilla. Amid Zheng Mu's roar, which was as ferocious and cruel as a terrifying roar like a prehistoric beast, a huge arm of devouring demon bane was instantly thrown away even amid the opponent's screams. Boom! The terrifying, thick arm was dozens of meters long, and like a building falling from the sky, it hit the heads of the surrounding white elephant kingdom professionals hard. In an instant, he didn't even have time to scream. In the cracked pit, there were pieces of dirt squeezed out. At least hundreds of professionals from the white elephant kingdom were killed on the spot. As soon as the terrifying Godzilla appeared on the scene, it immediately attracted uproar and exclamations from the entire audience, and even professionals from all over the world. Zershite. What kind of monster is this? Mazefak. Nanny. Professionals from various countries in the Blue Star watched the Devourer Barn, who was screaming and losing about one-tenth of his health bar in an instant, and Godzilla who seemed to become the center of the world as soon as he appeared. Everyone opened their mouths wide, and their downed brains caused them to lose more language functions besides repeating words such as God and my God over and over again. Roar. A violent roar came from Godzilla's mouth. If the Tiandao live broadcast hadn't been careful enough about the precise mechanical gear structure inside, it would be completely unimaginable that this behemoth in front of him would be like the roaring aerial fortress in the sky. They are all the work of the machinist Jing Mu. The center of the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. Mr. Li once again sent an urging order to Gu Xingdong. At this moment, he saw the devouring demon Bane screaming and retreating in the screen. In the live broadcast of Tian Dao in these years, the terrifying monster before. Completely broken. Mr. Li, have you seen it? Mr. Li, that monster, that kid actually created another big guy. Gu Xingdong's excited and incoherent voice came from the communicator. Mr. Li nodded indifferently. His eyes were originally full of worry. Now he looked again. His body was twisting, and his terrifying giant tail full of sharp scales was raised, and he directly whipped the centipede-like parosa of the plague, standing upright on the side. Godzilla flies out. His eyes widened. On the side, Mr. Lin excitedly pulled his arm with one hand. The huge force made Mr. Li finally come back to his senses from the shock due to the pain. Lao Li, that kid did it. That kid actually brought out another big guy. Damn it, beating the three evil gods is like beating a grandson. In Mr. Lin's voice, which was full of shock and self-doubt, Mr. Li couldn't care less about the old man's hand grabbing his arm. He hurriedly gave the order to Gu Xingdong over the communicator. Ignore this and rush to the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom at full speed. We don't know how strong this mechanical creation Jing Mu is, and we don't even know if he can cope with the current situation. You must arrive as quickly as possible. After hanging up the communication, Mr. Li couldn't help but wipe the cold sweat from his forehead. 
after briefly looking at each other with several elders in the hall. Finally, even he himself could no longer control himself while looking at the Tian Dao live broadcast and cursed. Oh my god! Is there anything Zheng Mu can't do that he can't do? In the live broadcast, as soon as Godzilla appeared, he first disabled an arm of devouring demon barn, in front of him, and then directly knocked Plate Perosa, to the ground with his tail. Just when he hung up the communication with Gu Xingdong, the other party finally grabbed the shoulder of blood venomous Jelens, who was in front of him. A terrifying white ray suddenly emitted from the opponent's roaring mouth at a speed that no one expected. In an instant, most of the monster's head in front of him was blown away. In the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. Just in the blink of an eye, the three evil gods were instantly overthrown in a sudden accident. Although these three guys only lost a small health bar. But the health bar of this section is at least a million damage. Zheng Mu, who was standing in the distance just a moment ago, looking at this side with a sly smile, was about to be smashed into a pulp by his own summons. Labensa was full of pride in his heart, and the smile on his face froze at this moment. In place. Impossible. His eyes widened, as if he had seen something incredible. My whole body was shaking violently at this moment. After easily blasting away the three behemoths that originally surrounded Jingmu, the terrifying behemoth finally looked at him as the summoner at this moment. Damn it! The instinct of long-term fighting made him clearly smell the smell of death at this moment. The sheep-headed staff in his hand was waved immediately without thinking, and the skills to summon the objects were unleashed. The next moment, Godzilla, who was about to walk towards him, was suddenly entangled by the centipede-like plague Perosa. Cracking dark green poisonous mist spurted out from the opponent's body, instantly covering the entire palace and spreading towards the surrounding capital. Ah! The horrified shouts finally came from the mouths of the professionals in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom at this moment. However, looking at the dark green sandstorm and plague mist rolling in, these people had no time to escape, and were swallowed up by this terrifying force in just an instant. Creepy screams came from the poisonous mist, but Rabensa couldn't care about it at all at the moment. Blood poisonous Jelens, who had just stood up, roared, and a scarlet magic attack from his mouth instantly struck the restrained Gosla. However, the citizens of the White Elephant Kingdom were not even given any chance to be happy. The scarlet energy bombarded Godzilla's body. Not only did the opponent not suffer any loss of health, but the dark white flames on his body rose, and his sharp claws grabbed the centipede body wrapped around him. The scorching atomic breath spurted out, instantly blasting the huge centipede Perosa of Plague, into two pieces. Fake. Rice Empire, Holy White Jade Palace. The Emperor of the Mi Empire was still holding a half-drunk glass of champagne in his hand, but at this moment, his face was already gloomy. In the live broadcast, in their opinion, the three evil gods were simply killers. Just four or five minutes after this Tyrannosaurus-like monster appeared, the health bar had already been cut off crazily. Big cut. Among them, the devouring demon Bane, has been dismembered by the opponent. At this moment, Robensa's skills are quickly merging the torn parts of the body. There were all kinds of things on his fat body. Damn it! Why is this monster so powerful? Even the three evil gods of the weird summoner can't stop it. The emperor of the Mi Empire is anxious. Those damn Dragon Kingdom people will definitely ridicule him in his personal forum again. This will make him, who is very proud of his face, very lose his face. On the side, an elite of the Mi Empire frowned slightly, although there was also a shocked emotion in his eyes. But it's not a complete loss of temper. Your Majesty, don't worry, this Rabin Sadu has not used his real skills yet. As soon as he finished speaking, Robensa finally realized the seriousness of the situation when he saw the plague Perosa, being brutally torn into two pieces after he had just sewed it up. With eyes full of anger, he looked towards the other two protector gods not far away who were fighting with seven dragon scale guards. Hrithik. A loud roar, no need for too many words, the next moment Labentia roared, and his MP dropped by ten times. Mystery, weird Jerson. At the same time, Hrithik, the meditator who finally managed to get a chance to breathe amidst the crazy attacks of the dragon scale guards, also saw his MP drop by a bit. 
waves of golden scripture light curtains fell on Rabensa. The next moment, a terrifying suction force came from the other party's body. The three evil gods, who had just been trampled by Godzilla and whose health bars plummeted, seemed to have been pulled by some huge force. Their remaining limbs and flesh turned into a tornado, condensing on the opponent's body. In a burst of golden light, an octopus-like monster with barbs all over its body and a golden light buff suddenly appeared. Mr. Lee and others in the main hall suddenly became nervous. Roar! Damn Longwa people, you really pissed me off. Words that sounded less like human voices came from the terrifying 100-meter octopus monster. The next moment, overwhelming terrifying tentacles suddenly stretched out towards Godzilla. The surrounding ruins seemed to be weathered in an instant, and began to break and collapse in the blink of an eye. Zheng Mu's pupils shrank. He was originally prepared to watch a show, but he immediately gained practical skills. Mechanical blessing. His whole body turned into a beam of light, which instantly shot into Godzilla's body. A skill that has not been used since it was lit up use of mysterious mechanical error instantly. In an instant, a clicking sound came from all the mechanical creations in the surrounding area. Face to face with 203, Zheng Mu, who seems to have corrosive tentacles, has taken over Godzilla's body. A fierce light flashed in his eyes. In an instant, atomic breath came out. With the blessing of mysterious mechanical error, Godzilla's various attributes were directly improved by a full 30%. The atomic breath that burst out at this moment was not comparable to before. HP 48W HP 62W HP 67W HP However, looking at the strange octopus monster that had lost nearly one-third of its health in the blink of an eye in front of this scorching torrent of atoms, there was no trace of joy on the faces of Mr. Lee and others. Mr. Li was even more anxious to get in touch with Jing Mu, but the communication could not be connected. Sure enough, along with a cunning laugh came from the octopus monster, and golden light suddenly exploded on the opponent. There were sudden bursts of huge roars from Godzilla driven by Jing Mu. HP 714W Ha ha ha, stupid dragon countryer, it seems you really don't understand our abilities at all. Jing Mu's pupils shrank, and a prompt appeared on the panel. You were attacked by the skill mystery, wheel of cause and effect and suffered double the damage of the target. But in this short period of time, Rabensa jumped up like a dark cloud, and the entire country was shaken in an instant, and Godzilla controlled by Zheng Mu was crushed under him. Amidst the sizzling sound of corrosion, Godzilla, who was already about to reach the critical point, dropped rapidly in an instant. Ha ha ha. Die, die, after all, you are just a useless trash, ha ha ha. Labensa's wild laughter came, and the dragon scale guard who was fighting with the other two guardian gods was also shocked. However, at this time, they were entangled by the opponent in front of them and unable to rescue them at all. There was darkness in his vision, and Zheng Mu's expression turned gloomy as he merged with Godzilla. What a shame! You really underestimated the enemy. Originally, this thing was reserved to deal with those grandsons of the Mi Empire. Zheng Mu cursed in his heart for underestimating his enemy, but he had to grit his teeth. Command Input Red Lotus Burst Core Activated Chapter, 184 General Outside the city of Baixian Kingdom, the soldiers of the Tianai army who were fighting crazily with the professionals of Baixian Kingdom heard the wild laughter coming from the city behind them. They all turned their heads in shock. When he saw that strange octopus with terrifying eyes, it actually suppressed the giant beast controlled by Zheng Mu, crazily weakening its health. Suddenly everyone's eyes were wide open. They paid no attention to the enemies of the White Elephant Kingdom in front of them. They roared and rushed towards the city to rescue Mu. No one has ever thought that the entire capital of the White Elephant Kingdom has become the radiation range of the strange giant octopus in front of them. As soon as the front foot enters, they will not even have a chance to rush to the palace battlefield. The health bars of these people will be emptied halfway. However, neither Xiong Wei Shan, Qin Ji, nor any soldier in the Tianai army could care about this at this moment. They roared and rushed towards Baixian Kingdom. This scene made the professionals in Baixian Kingdom laugh. 
Ha ha ha, I have some strength, but unfortunately my brain is not working well. As expected, he is a lowly dragon kingdom monkey. With his intelligence, he can only use some arrogant power like a savage. If he really encounters an opponent, he will go up to him and die. Ha ha ha, don't do anything, I want to watch these guys die like locusts in mid-air, their bodies falling all over the country. The elites of Baixian Kingdom who had withdrawn from the secret realm of different time and space laughed and stopped. However, just when they were looking at these Dragon Kingdom people with mocking faces and were about to rush into the capital, a huge roar suddenly came from the city. Have you all fucking forgotten my order? A bunch of diaper heads from the White Elephant Kingdom have not been solved yet. If I end the battle here and you haven't killed all your opponents, get out of here. Yuan Jun. Suddenly, the soldiers of the Tianai army who were controlling the steel-winged angel flying device just a moment ago rushed towards the city of Baixian Kingdom. They all felt the device behind them twist, and once again they were rushed towards the professionals from Baixian Kingdom. Xiong Weishan and other generals of Tianai army were immediately shocked. However, when he heard the roar coming from beneath him, Robensa, who had already used his strongest skill, let out a string of evil laughter. Jie Jie, you are indeed quite capable, but my Jerson is my strongest fusion summon now. Its level has even surpassed my own, and it can target any target that comes within 5 kilometers of me. We all have to endure various negative states at the same time. Poisoning, blood loss, chaos, exhaustion Jie Jie, don't worry, after I finish you off, I will soon send these monkeys under your command to meet you in hell. Rabencha smiled, and the persistence of his skills was once again strengthened. Under the gaze of professionals from all over the world, Godzilla's durability, which had already dropped below 30%, shortened a lot faster in an instant. Even with a durability worth nearly 10 million, in front of this force at this moment, HP is falling crazily at a rate of 1% per second. However, at this moment, Godzilla, who was suppressed by Weird Jerson, suddenly began to have red lights surging in his fierce eyes. A sizzling sound like magma surging suddenly began to slowly rise from his body. What followed was a terrifying high temperature that shocked even Labensa, who was still laughing wildly. Boom! Like a super-large boiler that was suddenly activated and ignited, heat suddenly began to spit out from underneath him. One moment, Robensa was holding Godzilla under him, and he was so proud. The next moment, his expression changed wildly. You have entered the range of the skill-scorching Red Lotus and will continue to enter a highly burned state. HP 11W HP 27W HP 37W HP Just by looking at the effort of breathing, the terrifying burn effect caused his blood volume to drop crazily, and the drop became even more terrifying. Robensa exclaimed and finally moved away from Godzilla. However, the huge dark cloud-like body had just moved away. Under everyone's gaze, the entire palace seemed to have suddenly risen from the ground, a terrifying volcano spewing lava. Roar! Looking at the brand new Godzilla whose whole body was burning with dazzling fire, the air in the entire White Elephant Kingdom capital instantly boiled. Professionals around the world have all watched the live broadcast and fell into a long period of stagnation. Even though I didn't appear at the scene personally, I still looked at the surrounding buildings that were melting like butter, and the weird Jerson, who was screaming and trying to escape crazily. Everyone can already feel the terrifying heat at the scene. At this moment, Godzilla's whole body was surrounded by red light, and red heat flowed between the pitch black scales. Looking at Robensa, who was screaming and running towards the outside of the capital, crashing into a large number of buildings, a touch of humanized cruelty and cruelty appeared on his Tyrannosaurus-like face. In an earth-shaking roar, terrifying red energy instantly burst out from his body. Wherever it was swept, everything turned into nothing. The accumulation of burning was accompanied by the burning air wave coming towards the face. Everyone who was watching the Tian Dao live broadcast instinctively stepped back, and their backs were instantly wet with cold sweat. Zereshet. How can there be such a terrifying monster in this world? It is absolutely impossible for a machinist to build this kind of ghost thing, Bagaya Road. That is just a machinist, an A-level professional machinist. Even if Amaterasu reincarnated and became a machinist, it would definitely not be possible. 
It's possible to do this. It's over. The protector of the White Elephant Kingdom can't hold on any longer. His blood bar is dropping too fast. Oh. Damn it. It's too scary. Is this really fire damage? Even the strongest skill of the Vulcan Knight, the protector of the Eagle Kingdom, cannot reach this level. In the picture, after being swept by the terrifying red energy, Strange Jerson, S body that was hundreds of meters high instantly emitted a series of dense explosions like firecrackers. Robensa, who had temporarily merged with him, let out a shrill, shrill howl. Ah! Hrithik! Dilman, please save me! The huge cry for help made everyone present feel the fear of Robentia, the protector of the White Elephant Kingdom. The expressions of the other two guardian gods who heard the cry for help also changed drastically. Just when the seven dragon scale guards were overjoyed and prepared to work harder to contain another wave, the sound of Zheng Mu's urn came from Gus's body. You use all your strength to deal with the other professionals from the White Elephant Kingdom. I will deal with these three guys. Hearing this, Hrithik and Dilman were also stunned, and then became furious. Asshole. How dare you deal with three of us alone? Do you really think you are invincible? Kill him. Mystery, Heavenly Demon Tribulation. Nightmare Believer Dillman was furious and waved the staff full of bells in his hand. The next moment, in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, a strange purple ring instantly unfolded above the head of Godzilla who was chasing Rabensa. Boom! The terrifying purple light beam wrapped in thunder instantly submerged Godzilla under Zheng Mu's control. And Hrithik also rushed into the capital in an instant. Under the golden light, buffs and healing skills were applied crazily towards Labunsa's body. However, here, Labensha looked at the two people who had just joined him, and he didn't have time to breathe a sigh of relief. Roar! Amidst the brutal roar, the moment he turned back, he only had time to see a golden red ray that came to him in an instant. Boom! HP 697W the terrifying burning ray instantly hit the huge octopus head of Strange Jerson, without any hindrance, just piercing it directly. It looked like a tunnel of rays was opened directly on the opponent's 100 meter high body. Hrithik and Dilman, who were beside him, turned pale. With a boom, Strange Jerson, whose health bar had been emptied instantly, fell to the side of the city wall of the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom, directly knocking down a large area of the city wall. Along with the numbing sounds of dismemberment, the octopus's body quickly split open, revealing a large mess. It is the body tissue of the three evil gods that were summoned earlier. Robensa was in a state of embarrassment at the moment, staggering and trying to stand up. But he was slipped to the ground in an instant. Not far outside the city, the king of the White Elephant Kingdom and a group of senior officials were all stunned when they saw this scene. Impossible, how could there be such a monster? That Jing Mu. Kill him. Hrithik. Come on Dilman. Get rid of this guy. If we don't kill him, our Baixiang kingdom will be finished. Hysterical roars came from the mouth of the king of the White Elephant Kingdom. At this moment, he looked like a madman, with bloodshot eyes, and the way he bared his teeth and claws attracted the sympathy of professionals all over the world. Even some people from the Dragon Kingdom, after seeing this scene, felt inexplicably sympathetic to this unfortunate guy. During his reign, a pervert like Zheng Mu appeared in his neighbor's house. Whoever you put it on will go crazy. However, when Zheng Mu looked at Lebensa, who had lost his fighting power, two streams of hot air with flames suddenly spurted out from his huge nostrils. After consuming an orange legendary mechanical component fire lotus burst core, to obtain the five-minute red lotus mode, he did not dare to waste even a second of punishment. Without hesitation, the scorching rays in his mouth roared out again, and they spurted out towards Lobensa, who had a numb face and finally stood up. Boom! Chapter, 185 Boom! Looking at the terrifying heat ray, Robensa's health bar was cleared and turned into ashes. Hrithik and Dilman, who were standing aside, had no time to care about each other. The terrifying heat flow was already sweeping towards them in an instant. Defense skills that allowed them to fight for a chance of survival in the hands of monsters in the secret realm of different time and space bloomed on their bodies one after another. 
it can be said that the two of them exerted all their abilities almost in an instant. There was no time to use the potion, but all the high-level talismans that could be activated on his body were activated instantly. The skill effects of the equipment on the body are also used one after another. In an instant, they turned into two afterimages rising into the sky. They ignored the orders of the King of White Elephant Kingdom and fled into the distance. They had seen Godzilla's terrifying range of skills before. That guy Labensa also has the shield of the summoned object. Even if the summoned object dies, he will not die immediately. But the two of them are really only one of them. If they were to use a skill that could easily cause millions of damage, it would almost kill them. Asshole. 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 The air burned their bodies. At this moment, on their panels, the two of them had also entered the burn state. The speed of their HP falling was still making their scalps itch, even under the suppression of the talismans and equipment on their bodies. Numb. Prithik cursed unconsciously, but when he heard the rumbling sound behind him, his face turned a little pale. Although he and Dilman are both the guardian gods of the White Elephant Kingdom, there are high and low guardian gods. The professional characteristics of the two are not biased towards combat sequences. Among them, Krithik has always played the position of assistant and wet nurse among the protectors of the White Elephant Kingdom. Nightmare follower Dilman has combat effectiveness, but most of the opponent's skills are mental attack type 600. When facing Godzilla, who is a mechanical creature at this moment, those who usually can always use it when facing other professionals. A skill that works wonders. In front of the other party, he was completely paralyzed. Even the strongest secret skill has magic damage, but judging from the attack just now, it can't cause any effective damage to Godzilla, a terrifying monster. The speed of the two was so fast that all the professionals in Baixian Kingdom looked at the battle with gloomy faces. But he was still able to escape Godzilla's skill attack range. The red light on his body gradually intensified, followed by another wave of range-wide red energy bursting out. Wherever the terrifying energy tide swept across, the buildings in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom instantly turned into large seas of molten magma and fire. As for the two people who were running desperately, they felt the heat getting closer and closer behind them, and they screamed in horror. Ah! No! Asshole! The terrifying temperature caused the two of them to turn into two struggling and screaming fireballs in mid-air the moment they were swept by this energy. The defensive shield formed by the talisman prevented the two of them from exploding instantly like the weird Jerson, before. However, even so, the blood bars on their heads were falling like crazy. Almost in the blink of an eye, he has millions of HP and various defense blessings. The health bars of the two of them also dropped to freezing point in an instant. After struggling in mid-air for several seconds, he was ultimately unable to fly out of the coverage of Godzilla's skills. The professionals all over the world who were watching this live broadcast from heaven saw Hrithik and Dilman hitting the ground outside the wilderness like falling assay, fireballs. Superior. The whole body was covered in flames, and there was no movement for a long time. They all gasped in horror. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom and a group of senior officials even felt their legs weaken and collapse directly on the ground. This, how is this possible? Their minds went blank, looking at the Tian Dao live broadcast, they saw the two people who were already in a state of death, and their HP was still slowly decreasing. My heart has become completely cold. Bangzi Country, Qinghua Palace. General Sun Mingao, who was standing next to the monarch, trembled when he saw Hrithik and Dilman who had obviously lost their combat effectiveness and were waiting for death. He uttered a sentence with difficulty. The White Elephant Kingdom is over. At the scene, the senior officials of Bangzi country were silent. There are only five guardian gods in Baixiang kingdom. Among them, Analopi, who was the first to be sent, was captured by the dragon kingdom in such a dramatic way in a way that the whole world could not understand. And Rabensa, who was later regarded as the main force, was also crushed by Godzilla controlled by Zheng Mu after a small explosion, and now not even a body was left. Plus Hrithik, who is still burning in the picture. The White Elephant Kingdom is a majestic country, a country that has a certain status in Blue Star. 
let alone being beaten by others in the country's capital in one day, it is not unheard of for the white elephant kingdom to be fucked instead of pretending to be cool. But now four of the five protectors of the country were directly reimbursed by Zheng Mu alone. Just relying on the last protector of the country, let alone guarding the occupied area of the secret realm of different time and space. Whether they can keep the white elephant kingdom is still a matter of debate. Too strong this Zheng Mu doesn't look like the strength we think a professional should have at all. He is only over level 40. The king of Bangzi kingdom looked up and sighed with a sad look on his face. The despair could not be contained at all. From now on, as long as Zheng Mu does not die, he will definitely be able to make the Dragon Kingdom truly rise in this world. As a neighbor of the Dragon Kingdom, it also has many festivals. If the Bangzi Kingdom makes any small moves in the future, it may even just have other thoughts. They will definitely be even worse than the White Elephant Kingdom today. After being silent for a long time, looking at the dead silence of the main hall, the King of Bangzi Kingdom finally waved his hand rudely. I am ordering that the dowry set before for the princess and her bride be doubled. After a pause, the king of Bangzi Kingdom looked at Li Jianxi of the Three Star Guild, who had been unknown in the audience. After hesitating for a moment, he closed his eyes and gave the order. Li Jianxi, the president of Sanqing Guild, has been appointed as the president of Bangzi Country Professional Management Association. The former president has retired. Although there was also a royal princess in the marriage team. However, the way Zheng Mu looked at Li Fujian was obviously different from the way he looked at other people, full of appreciation. Tokugawa residence in Sakura country. Prime Minister Yoshida is ready to take Princess Tokugawa on an emergency mission to the Dragon Kingdom. The war in Baixiang Kingdom once again ushered in great turmoil. The emperor was also anxious now. Looking at Prime Minister Yoshida who had finished cleaning up, he gritted his teeth and suddenly took out a long sword. Seeing this long sword, Prime Minister Yoshida's expression suddenly changed wildly. The body also fell to the ground instantly. The Emperor's face was ashen. If it weren't for the fact that the Tokugawa Imperial family really doesn't have any heirs who can hold a high position, I would not be able to make this decision at all costs. He looked at Prime Minister Yoshida in front of him solemnly, and solemnly handed the long sword in his hand to the other party. Tian Song Yunjian, I will hand you over and take them to the Dragon Kingdom together and tell the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom. If the Dragon Kingdom is willing to marry the two countries, and support the children of Zheng Mu and Kagaya to become the heirs of Emperor Tokugawa in the future I, the Sakura Kingdom, will become the strongest supporter of the Dragon Kingdom. As soon as these words came out, Prime Minister Yoshida's expression changed wildly. He raised his head with difficulty and met the Emperor's bloodshot eyes. Seeing that the other party was still hesitating, the Emperor took a deep breath and said something that shocked even Prime Minister Yoshida. My sons have all secretly expressed their surrender to the Ashikaga Shogunate. If we don't do this, the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom will soon change his surname to Ashikaga. As he was talking, there was a sound of footsteps, and an elegant girl wearing a purple orchid kimono walked in slowly. When he saw the other party, the emperor's eyes were filled with tears. The Mi Empire definitely can't wait, and that old guy in Ashikaga can't wait to ascend to the throne, and once the other party knows about his decision, he will definitely not hesitate. Shameless. Kagaya, you are the pearl of our Sakura kingdom, and the future honor of the Tokugawa royal family depends on you. As he spoke, he forced the Tian Songyun sword into the hands of Prime Minister Yoshida. Take a deep breath and slowly bow to him. Your Excellency, the Prime Minister, I leave the Sakura Kingdom to you. Regardless of the gamble made by the Sakura Kingdom royal family, which is destined to shock even Mr. Lee and the others, the eyes of the world have been focused on the battlefield in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom for a long time. With Hrithik and Hrithik losing their fighting power, the time has finally come for Godzilla's Red Lotus mode. Grandma, five minutes. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and with a thought, ended his control of Godzilla. After Godzilla lost control of Zheng Mu, after coming back to his senses, his fierce eyes immediately looked at the elite professionals of the White Elephant Kingdom in the distance. Roar! The ground was shaking, and the soldiers of the Tian Ai army who had recovered from the shock blushed with excitement. Seeing Godzilla join the battle, 
they, who were already so aggressive, instantly felt as if they were possessed by gods. Kill all these diaper heads. Long live General Zheng Mu. Kill, kill, kill. The general has an order, don't let anyone go. Ignoring the dragon scale guards who quickly extinguished the flames on the two black coals and packed up Rithik and the two who were still breathing. With a thought from Zheng Mu, a steel-winged angel flying device took him flying. Soon they arrived at the Feiyun boat where the king of the White Elephant Kingdom was located in the distance. Standing on the railing on one side, he looked at the king of the White Elephant Kingdom who was already slumped on the deck with a joking look on his face. Your Majesty, please maintain the expression you had before. Your expression now is really not beautiful at all. Chapter, 186 Your Majesty, please maintain your previous expression. Your expression now is really not beautiful at all. Seeing that Cheng Mu, who was at a lower level than almost everyone present and had not brought any bodyguards or mechanical creations with him, was standing casually on the railing of the Feiyun boat. Looking down at them calmly. However, facing the culprit who had completely destroyed the White Elephant Kingdom at this moment, these people present were either the King of the White Elephant Kingdom himself or the generals of the White Elephant Kingdom. All of them lacked the courage to take action. This time Zheng Mu, in a real sense, defeated the three guardian gods of their Baixian kingdom head-on. Although the opponent is still using mechanical creations. However, this is how mechanics fight, and they can't argue with anything at all. You, what are you going to do? Seeing Zheng Mu jumping lightly and walking towards him with a sly smile on his face, the king of Baixian kingdom suddenly felt cold all over his body and hurriedly wanted to hide behind the generals around him. However, among the generals, there is no one who can come out to shepherd them now. They also have families. The White Elephant Kingdom has lost its four national guardian gods, and its future direction is still unknown. At this time, if Zheng Mu was really angered, he would order a hunt for their family members. The entire White Elephant Kingdom, and even the exaggerated Blue Star, would have no place for them. Ah! Several generals from the White Elephant Kingdom were roughly pushed away. These generals, whose average level was at least 465, all bowed their heads in the face of Zheng Mu's light push. He staggered to the side in an instant. Seeing the king of the White Elephant Kingdom being grabbed by his collar and wailing like a pig being killed, Zheng Mu was also rude. Ba bang bang. Three loud slaps were slapped on the opponent's face. In an instant, Clear slap marks quickly appeared on the face of the King of White Elephant Kingdom under the gaze of the whole world. The screams of the King of White Elephant Kingdom suddenly stopped. However, when the citizens and officials of other cities in the Baixian Kingdom saw this scene, they began to cry loudly. It's not that they are so sad and angry at the humiliation of their king. However, he was also knocked back from the shock by these three loud slaps from Zheng Mu. They all realized that a terrible bad news was about to come. Their white elephant kingdom I'm afraid it's about to end. Since the advent of heaven and the era of all people changing jobs, there have been many countries that have been annihilated due to the failure of the national war. These are the citizens who are judged to have fallen in the camp on the side of heaven. It can no longer be described as miserable. Unless you are a valuable professional and a high-level professional, after the camp you originally belonged to falls, no other camp will accept you. These unaligned citizens and professionals will be directly defined as monsters by Tiandao. No matter who it is, as long as they kill it, they can gain experience and drop some things just like killing monsters in the wild. How many citizens are there in the White Elephant Kingdom? That is the most populous country in the entire Blue Star. Excluding a small number of high-level professionals, the total number of low-level professionals and ordinary people is at least measured in hundreds of millions, which is such a huge experience package. There is absolutely no country around that would give up. It is conceivable that once under the attack of the Dragon Kingdom, the White Elephant Kingdom was judged to have fallen. The entire White Elephant Country will soon become a leveling and training ground for new professionals from Blue Star countries. And all the citizens of the White Elephant Kingdom will also enter hell from now on. What a pity. In just one day, we have reached this situation. King White Elephant, how does it feel to soon become the king of a subjugated country? I really want to interview you, your majesty. 
hearing Zheng Mu's sarcastic words. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom finally came to his senses, and his face instantly turned pale. The king of subjugation. He never thought that this kind of title destined to be ridiculed by history would eventually fall on his head one day. And before today. Before he decided to launch a national war against the Dragon Kingdom for the attractive terms offered by the Mi Empire. He even kept thinking that he would become the greatest king in the history of Baixian Kingdom. Today, from when Tian Dao announced the start of the national war, to now the country has fallen. But only one day has passed. No. I am not the king of subjugation. I am not the king of subjugation. The king of the White Elephant Kingdom seemed to be greatly stimulated, struggling and roaring like crazy. However, Zheng Mu gave a ferocious smile to this. The free hand was raised again, familiar taste, familiar touch, familiar rhythm. There were three more loud slaps, and now the left and right sides of the king of the White Elephant Kingdom were slapped symmetrically. On the side, the ministers of the White Elephant Kingdom saw this and knelt down in despair. General Zheng Mu, please general, we surrender, don't kill anymore, our Baixian Kingdom has agreed to all the conditions proposed by your country. Yu 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 His Majesty, we have lost. We can't continue to fight. If we continue to fight, if the country is destroyed, we will really have nothing. Your Majesty, we are incompetent. It is all because of our incompetence. Surrender to the Dragon Kingdom. Preserving the country is the first priority. The King of the White Elephant Kingdom turned his head and looked blankly. Even the generals knelt on the ground, and their already pale faces instantly turned a bit wider. Feeling the other party's unstable aura, he smiled coldly. Whether it's vomiting blood or fainting, if you dare to do anything, I will order the massacre of your entire White Elephant Kingdom. The blood that had just reached his throat due to the surge of energy and blood was immediately suppressed by the King of White Elephant Kingdom with great difficulty. He gritted his teeth and looked at the crazy slaughter of the mechanical creations under Jing Mu and the Tian AI army. From the original number of hundreds of thousands, the number has dropped sharply to less than 30 zero zero elites from the secret realm of different time and space. Finally his body went limp. Under the gaze of professionals from all over the world, he knelt tremblingly in front of Zheng Mu. A golden sword belonging to the King of the White Elephant Kingdom was held up by his trembling hands. Bai, the White Elephant Kingdom, is willing to surrender unconditionally to the Dragon Kingdom. General, please cease the war. The cry-filled voice begging for surrender spread to the whole world through Tian Dao live broadcast. When professionals from all over the country heard this curry-flavored Longwa language, the whole country instantly fell into an unprecedented boil. Zero please give me flowers. Ha ha ha. Good. This boy. Good. Unconditional surrender, ha ha ha, now we can deal with the White Elephant Kingdom however we want. It is a great blessing for the country. We are so lucky to have such young talents. I didn't expect us old guys to be lucky enough to see our Dragon Kingdom take off again, woo woo. Dragon Kingdom, the center of the divine capital. Mr. Li and the others have completely given up on expression and image management. Mr. Jiang laughed wildly, jumped up on the table, and started dancing. Elder Lin excitedly grabbed the other elders in the hall and emphasized proudly over and over again. Zheng Mu is my grandson. He is my grandson. Ha ha ha. Rice Empire. Bang. Fake. It's just like what Longwa said, these idiots with diapers on their heads can't be trusted. Your Majesty, we can only take action personally. The explosive state of the giant beast just now should not be able to be used all the time. We directly dispatched multiple guardian gods to recruit the guys from Sakura Country and Monkey Country. Decisive Battle. In one go, we can directly remove the cancer that threatens Blue Star's stability from the Dragon Kingdom. I, the Khalifa Chable, support the declaration of war on the Dragon Kingdom. The Morgan Chable supports the declaration of war on the Dragon Kingdom. We must defend our fundamental interests. Rothschild is willing to temporarily slow down the development progress of the secret realm of different time and space to deal with the Dragon Kingdom. Us. The Emperor of the Mi Empire's eyes flickered. He looked at Jing Mu, 
who casually took the sword from the king of Baixiang Kingdom with an arrogant expression in the Tiandao live broadcast, and took a deep breath. Finally nodded. Notify the Dragon Kingdom officials. Let them hand over Zheng Mu within seven days, release all the Baixiang Kingdom's national protector gods who were captured by them, and give Baixiang Kingdom adequate compensation. If they refuse, our empire will have to launch a national war against the Dragon Kingdom for the sake of world peace and stability. The center of the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. Ha ha ha, since you don't want to take care of it, let's not waste any time and leave it to Gu Xingdong and the others. Our general Zheng Mu is now the great hero of our Dragon Kingdom, ha ha ha. Mr. Li is communicating with Zheng Mu. When he heard that the other party no longer wanted to waste time in Baixian Kingdom, he nodded directly without any hesitation. Mr. Li will definitely agree to whatever Zheng Mu says now. Even if Zheng Mu wanted to marry his granddaughter, he would have to make his son work harder. Now that the Baixian Kingdom has surrendered and four of the five national guardian gods have been reimbursed, we will basically say goodbye to bicycles from now on. Blue Star is definitely an existence that anyone who is unhappy with will be able to rub it in at will. Even without Qing Mu personally taking charge, Gu Xingdong and the others were able to suppress the situation there obediently. Hang up the communication. Mr. Li looked at the elders in the hall and suddenly couldn't hold back and burst out laughing. But at this moment, an officer walked in quickly. After saluting, he opened a light curtain with a solemn expression. Several elders, the Mi Empire issued an ultimatum to our Dragon Kingdom, requiring us to hand over General Zheng Mu and pay compensation to the Baixiang Kingdom for. Chapter, 187 Several elders, the Mi Empire has issued an ultimatum to our Dragon Kingdom, requiring us to hand over General Zheng Mu and pay compensation to the Baixiang Kingdom. Otherwise, a national war will be launched against our Dragon Kingdom in seven days. This news was sent by the highest authority of the Mi Empire, and it should have spread throughout the world by now. Looking at the light curtain, an official of the Mi Empire spoke righteously and with a compassionate face, loudly denounced the Dragon Kingdom's aggression against the White Elephant Kingdom. The kind of person who can talk nonsense in front of the whole world without going against his will. It just made Mr. Lee laugh. Ha, huh, the armistice agreement between us and the White Elephant Kingdom has not yet been finalized. Heavenly Dao is still broadcasting the follow-up of this national war. These white-skinned pigs can actually say that we are invading the White Elephant Kingdom. They are really familiar. It tastes like an empire. Mr. Lin sneered. Ask him to hand over his good grandson. Believe it or not, I photographed the face of the Emperor of Yermi Empire. Mr. Jiang looked at the light curtain and sneered, shaking his head. Seven days, uh, why do you give us seven days to think about it? It is obviously that they evacuated part of their strength from the secret realm of different time and space. It will take seven days. 280. To say that it is for the stability and peace of Blue Star is completely nonsense. Even if we do as they say, they will definitely find other reasons to launch a national war against our Dragon Kingdom. These are standard white pigs. Mr. Lee smiled coldly and shook his head. Regarding the ultimatum issued by the Mi Empire, not only could no worry or fear be seen, but the eyes were full of fighting spirit. After waving his hand to signal the officer to go out, he looked at the sky with a soft drizzle outside. Suddenly he burst out laughing. Spring rain and gentle rain, today is indeed a good day. In the main hall, several elders also had smiles on their faces, but their eyes were looking at Mr. Lee, wanting to see what his next plan was. After pondering for two seconds, Mr. Li looked at the Tian Dao live broadcast, took heavy steps, walked into the golden void behind Xing Mu, and disappeared Godzilla. Suddenly, an unprecedented bright light burst out from his eyes. With a strange smile on his lips, he turned around suddenly. Xing Mu seems to be able to create mechanical creations with no restrictions on quantity or level. Let's not talk about the big thing he created today, just the aerial fortress. Mr. Lee chuckled, his smile full of deep malice towards the Mi Empire. You think, if we help him collect enough materials, will he be able to create more aerial fortresses? If I remember correctly, our Dragon Kingdom Navy has also sealed many ships and weapons from the previous era. 
Hearing this, everyone looked at the live broadcast and took back the Tian AI army. It started up again with a roar and returned to the aerial fortress of the Dragon Kingdom. Pictures of the Mi Empire's army pressing down on the territory emerged in their minds, and the Dragon Kingdom waved their hands and saw hundreds of such aerial giants appearing in the sky. Hey! Can that kid really do it? When he created this air fortress, he upgraded it based on his base vehicle. An old man took a breath of cold air, his eyes full of emotion, but he couldn't help but asked worriedly. Hearing this, Mr. Jiang on the side laughed. Even if you can't create something as big as an aerial fortress, can't you just make it at the next level? That level is definitely a valuable weapon of the country. At this time, everyone nodded. Mr. Li also smiled slightly. The Mi Empire needs seven days to mobilize troops from the secret realm of different time and space, but we in the Dragon Kingdom can also do a lot of things in seven days. Not only can we see if that kid can build a group of air fortresses, I think our hundreds of thousands of ready warriors on the battlefield can't wait to welcome their new life. Under Mr. Lee's reminder, everyone thought of the disabled soldiers who were about to regain their combat effectiveness, and everyone laughed even more enthusiastically. At this moment, an official walked in carefully. Several elders, I wonder how we should respond to the war warning from the Mi Empire. Mr. Jiang laughed. Response. Of course you have to give them a response. I saw him pondering for two seconds, then suddenly slapped his thigh and waved. Go and tell them that if you want to declare war, hurry up and have someone send you the declaration of war. Our General Zheng Mu of the Dragon Kingdom will use it to wipe his ass recently. Suddenly, Mr. Li and others were shocked. Good guy, you old guy is so bragging that you just dragged that kid Zheng Mu. But just this tone, and this tone of voice. If that kid Jing Mu knew about it, he might even nod and praise Mr. Jiang, the strongest talker. What is the Blue Star Overlord of the Mi Empire? To give you face, I will call you Overlord. If you are in a bad mood, I will send you to your grave. No doubt. The senior leaders of Dragon Kingdom were somewhat inflated at the moment. Although the Dragon Kingdom now has a truly massive army of millions, and even has unreasonable and terrifying logistics production factories like Shindu military industry, it may be truly as powerful as a tiger when dealing with other countries. But if the opponent is the Mi Empire, there is really a big gap. It would take seven days for the Mi Empire to mobilize its troops back from the secret realm of different time and space. It was not because their professional army was disobedient or did not have enough control. And precisely, this is something that none of the Blue Star countries can do now. Their development and investigation in the secret realm of different time and space are too close to the core area. In addition, the forces among the various chables are complicated. Who withdraws how many troops, who withdraws how many troops from which region, etc. Is a very time-consuming matter. Even worse to say. Even though the Mi Empire destroyed the Dragon Kingdom, it swallowed up most of the accumulation of the Dragon Kingdom and the White Elephant Kingdom. It may not be much more than their losses in the secret realm of different time and space. When the American Empire launches a national war against any country, it is losing watermelon and picking up sesame seeds. However, Long Guo was too bold and blatantly provoked them. This made the Mi Empire want to settle the matter and let the Dragon Kingdom pay some price to get over it, but they couldn't do it. And when the Mi Empire's declaration of war against the Dragon Kingdom spread throughout the Dragon Kingdom. Officials from the Dragon Kingdom also quickly issued their own response. When professionals from all over the world saw Longwa's response, they were all stunned and couldn't help but shake their heads in horror. Shiba, do the people of the Dragon Kingdom really want to compete with the Mi Empire? Do they really have such strength? How is it possible? Absolutely not possible. An authoritative statistical organization in our Eagle Kingdom has published an estimate of the outcome of this national war. According to our calculations, in seven days, the Empire is expected to invest around 700 elite troops. In addition, we don't know about the powerful ones at the level of the God of Protection, but one thing we are sure of is that they are definitely not something that the Dragon Kingdom can resist right now. If you add in the servant armies of Sakura Country, Monkey Country, Philippines and other countries surrounding the Dragon Kingdom, 
the number of elite professionals that the Dragon Kingdom will face this time is at least 1 million, and most likely even more than 2 million. Even if the Dragon Kingdom mobilizes the strength of professionals from all over the country to fight like it did back then, I'm afraid they won't be able to hold on for more than two months. Among the major forums, a statistical estimation report from Eagle Country remains highly popular. To be honest, this report is indeed objective. However, due to too many intelligence deficiencies, the Dragon Country's national war potential was seriously underestimated by the opponent. In the Air Fortress there was laughter and laughter, accompanied by the sound of clinking wine glasses. At this moment, on the troop-carrying platform, all the soldiers of Tianai army were laughing and laughing. Although there were 100 Tian AI troops, nearly 2 people were unfortunately killed in the battles along the way, especially in the battle in the capital of the White Elephant Kingdom. But there was no sadness at all on the faces of everyone present. In their own words, not dying in a hospital bed or a wheelchair, but being able to die on the battlefield with a charging attitude is not a sad thing, but a gift from God. General, 2-0 still needs you to provide the mechanical prostheses on the remains of those fallen soldiers. Xiong Weishan walked over and was about to say something, but Zheng Mu just waved his hand. No need. From the moment those mechanical prosthetics were installed on them and they drank the blood of barbarians on the battlefield, they already belonged to them. Let's bury them alive. Hearing this, Xiong Weishan and Qin Ji and others behind him all had red eyes, and they solemnly saluted Jing Mu. Being able to bury their comrades intact is also what they want, but now the Dragon Kingdom is facing a greater crisis. In their opinion, the Dragon Kingdom may need these mechanical prostheses to be recovered and given to others for use. Zheng Mu's words immediately gave them a reassurance. Zheng Mu smiled slightly. He was also quite satisfied with the Mi Empire's threat to declare war and the Dragon Kingdom's mocking response. The Dragon Kingdom can be poor, it can be defeated, and many people can die in battle. But there is only one thing. Even if the bones of the people of the Dragon Kingdom are buried in the soil for ten years and a hundred years, they must be hard. But who came up with this response? If you want to wipe your ass with that thing, what's the point of dragging me along? Chapter, 188 The flying speed of the air fortress is very fast. Due to Mr. Li's special request to boost the morale of the Dragon Kingdom, the speed along the way was also deliberately slowed down. Traveling to other countries, you will see the rumbling air fortress appearing over the city where you are, like a dark cloud covering the sky. Even if it can directly scare people into incontinence. However, when the air fortresses flew over the cities on the way back to the divine capital one after another with such an attitude, the whole city was boiling. It's General Zheng Mu. Ha ha ha. General Zheng Mu is awesome. Damn it, hurry up and take the picture. Oh my god, I didn't realize anything when Tian Dao was broadcasting live. It turns out that the air fortress is so big. I'm sorry, this thing is bigger than our city. The era of global professional awakening has been around for hundreds of years. There are only 800 to 800 mechanics out there. Why hasn't anyone built this thing? Pass. Not to mention this terrifying air fortress, the previous mechanics couldn't even build a moving mechanical dog. Below, the cities passing by can be described as deserted. The streets were full of people waving their hands excitedly and holding the flags of the Dragon Kingdom. Seeing this scene, a smile appeared on Zheng Mu's face. Although this world is more dangerous than his previous life, the Dragon Kingdom is also equally difficult. But fortunately, people in this country always have strong hopes for the future of this country. It is this hope that makes Zheng Mu unable to leave this country. Huh, the Mi Empire wants to fight us. Just take a look around our Dragon Kingdom this time to see how many people are not afraid of death and would just follow those white-skinned pigs to jump out. Swirling the fine wine looted from the White Elephant King's palace in the wine glass, Zheng Mu had a smile on his face, but his eyes were full of cold murderous intent. If the Dragon Kingdom wants to rise, it is destined to have a huge impact on the structure of this world. You will inevitably encounter too many interest camps along the way. However, with Zheng Mu's presence in the unity of the Dragon Kingdom, 
no matter what kind of monsters or monsters they are, anyone who blocks the way will be chopped into pieces. The rise of the Dragon Kingdom is destined to trample on many bones, and Zheng Mu not only doesn't mind being the executioner of the Dragon Kingdom at the forefront, but it can also be said that he enjoys it. When the Air Fortress appeared on the outskirts of the Dragon Kingdom's Divine Capital, the city gate of the Divine Capital was already crowded with people. Even though the city defense forces with the Divine Capital maintained order here, when Zheng Mu and the others descended from the Air Fortress, they were startled by the excited shouts that erupted from the scene. General Zheng Mu! General Zheng Mu! Look at me, look at me, ah uh, ah, uh, I, I want, ah. Uh. General Zheng Mu is awesome. Show off the prestige of our country. Welcome to General Zheng and return with a great victory. Long live General Zheng Mu! Listening to the chaotic sounds, especially when Zheng Mu saw some girls in the crowd, their bodies trembled and their faces flushed after being glanced at by him, and he suddenly felt creepy. Good guy, even if Tang Seng fell into the kingdom of women, he definitely wouldn't have such power, right? Ha, huh, you kid, I don't even know how to praise you just come back. Mr. Li's eyes were slightly red. He looked at Zheng Mu who was saluting him and nodded with emotion. It had only been a day or two since the two of them had seen each other. At this moment, Mr. Li looked at Jing Mu, who seemed to be more resolute, but he felt inexplicably the emotion of an elder who saw his younger generation getting married and starting a family. Behind him, most of the military and political leaders of the Dragon Kingdom came. They all came forward excitedly and shook hands with Jing Mu. The head of the civil service, Xiang Sir, whom I had met more than once, solemnly assured Jing Mu. Don't worry, General Zheng, we will definitely handle it properly in Baixiang Kingdom. Zheng Mu nodded. He did not say anything about his opinions. He told the adults that they are not fools. Now the Mi Empire is sharpening its sword aggressively and is preparing to launch a national war against the Dragon Kingdom. Let's not talk about how much troops the Dragon Kingdom needs. The logistics alone, various monster materials, and lifelike materials are an astronomical figure. And for these things, the White Elephant Kingdom, which is currently surrendering unconditionally, must be the best source. Since it is defeated, as long as the Dragon Kingdom does not destroy the White Elephant Kingdom, it will be defeated. Even if Xing Mu wants to sleep with the concubine of the King of Baixiang Kingdom tonight, the senior officials of Baixiang Kingdom will send her to him overnight. What made Jing Mu slightly surprised was that besides Mr. Li and the others, Ling Bingyue and the others were here to greet him this time. What surprised him even more was that Leng Yenmu's mother, Leng Qingya, was actually here. Also here. And beside the other party, there was a beautiful woman who looked familiar to him. The way the other party looked at her made Zheng Mu feel inexplicably uncomfortable. Yu Yu Yu. Zheng Mu was about to say something, but Leng Bingyue and the other two people rushed forward and saved him. There were clearly whimpering sobs. Zheng Mu comforted the three of them with some shame. He could imagine that he had not contacted them in the past month and was always busy with the national war. Leng Bingyue and the others must be lying if they say they are not worried. Boss, you must take us with you next time. We will definitely level up like crazy next time. Yes, President, we can also go into battle on the sand. We can fight with the sticks. We dare to fight in the White Elephant Kingdom. Even if the professionals from the Mi Empire come, we dare to rush up with you. Kai Shinkuan and other core members of the Wheel of Truth Guild came together. Shouted excitedly. Zheng Mu smiled slightly. Here, under the arrangement of Mr. Li and others, they gave a speech and boosted their morale, and then everyone entered the City of God. Although Leng Bingyue and the others were a little reluctant to leave, it was obvious that Mr. Li and the others were looking for Zheng Mu for state affairs, so they could only turn back and head towards the Southwest Military Military University. Fortunately, Zheng Mu promised them that they would not lose contact for no reason during the next period of time. In the central hall of the Divine Capital. Ha, huh, this time you have made a great contribution to our Dragon Kingdom. It is a great victory that has not been seen in a century. We old guys have decided to continue to add more burdens to you. Listening to Mr. Li's smiling words, Zheng Mu's expression changed and he waved his hand hurriedly. Mr. Li, how long has it been since I was promoted to lieutenant general? 
I can't be promoted anymore, it's too fast. However, Mr. Li and others simply rolled their eyes. Although Mr. Jiang highly recognized his son-in-law's abilities, when he heard Jing Mu's words, he couldn't help but curl his lips and become sour. Well, others would like to be promoted faster, but you refuse. If you really want to be promoted quickly, you should do things more slowly. Jing Mu slapped his mouth and was speechless. After all, I am playing with mechanical creations, and the level can only rise at that speed. But the real combat power can be described as Ichi Juechen. Mr. Lin on the side naturally saw Jing Mu's concerns and smiled lightly. Xiao Mu, don't be so nervous. Our Dragon Kingdom has always valued talents. You have helped our Dragon Kingdom win two national wars in succession. Whether it is your personal strength or your loyalty to the country, you deserve the promotion now. With that said, Mr. Lin glanced at Mr. Li who was smiling and nodding, and continued. There are two types of generals in our Dragon Kingdom, the most powerful generals like the Ten Guardian Gods, and the outstanding commanding generals like General Gu Xingdong. Although you are still far from the standards of the two. Some, but are rare comprehensive talents. Zheng Mu took a deep breath and realized something. Sure enough, as soon as Mr. Lin finished speaking, there was a burst of neat military boots. Several central guards appeared in front of Zheng Mu and the others carrying several trays. Mr. Li stood up, picked up a thin sword with gold carvings from a tray, and came to Zheng Mu solemnly. Crack! Seeing Zheng Mu's tall and straight figure after standing up, the smile on Mr. Ji's face slowly disappeared. A military general in charge of military duties on the side immediately began to read aloud. After the decision of the Supreme Elders' meeting of the Dragon Kingdom, General Zheng Mu, the Lieutenant General of the Shindu Garrison of the Dragon Kingdom and the National Logistics Equipment General Staff, is now awarded the rank of General. While 197's original position remains unchanged, he will be granted the position of Commander-in-Chief of the new Tianai Army with a strength of 300 troops. This appointment will officially take effect from the date of conferment. This. Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he looked at Mr. Li in disbelief, his eyes full of eager expectations, and his heart was beating fast. If the conferment of the rank of general was a reward he had just guessed. The position of commander-in-chief of the 300-00, strong heavenly AI army was beyond his imagination. Now that the AI army today is only 100-00, the reason for the extra 200 zero, zero, is self-evident. This dragon abyss sword comes from the central region of the secret realm of different time and space. It is a treasure that the ancestors of Chusho desperately obtained from it. There are only three such things in our dragon kingdom so far. They don't have two powerful attack attributes, but they are with the blessing of luck, it is not an exaggeration to say that it contains the luck of our dragon kingdom. Mr. Li solemnly handed the sheathed rapier to Zheng Mu's hand. From now on, our dragon kingdom will rely on General Zheng Mu, and our Dashia civilization will overcome all obstacles. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, his red eyes full of emotion and awe, and saluted a standard military salute with a click. Anyone who dares to hinder the rise of our dragon kingdom will be killed. Later, under the smiling gaze of everyone, Zheng Mu put on the great cloak that represented the general of the Dragon Kingdom. It was still solemn and dark, with golden stars reflecting the golden light on his shoulders. The blessing of the Long Yuan sword at his waist made Zheng Mu's momentum greatly increase at this moment. He is obviously a handsome young man with a beautiful face, but at this moment he actually gives off an aura of calmness and self-respect. Seeing this scene, an elder present couldn't help but nodded with satisfaction. Ha ha ha, the princess of the Sakura kingdom's royal family is definitely blessed now. How many women in Blue Star can't be tempted by a handsome man like our General Zheng? Zheng Mu, who couldn't hold back the smile on his face, was stunned in place when he heard this. What the hell? Mr. Jiao, are you sure you are right? When did I have a relationship with the princess of Sakura country? Chapter, 189 Looking at the dumbfounded Zheng Mu Mr. Li and the others burst into laughter instantly. After the awarding was over, the atmosphere at the scene became relaxed and cheerful again. Mr. Li smiled and patted Zheng Mu's arm with a somewhat disrespectful smile on his face. 
Ha ha ha, you don't have any psychological burden. Hey, with your character, I guess you won't have any psychological burden. When you really meet the Tokugawa princess, you will definitely not refuse. In the central hall, except for Mr. Jiang, whose face was obviously unhappy, all the elders present looked at the confused Jingmu with smiles. He had more or less realized something, and it was obvious that he was completely unaware of it. By these old timers, Fu Lai sacrificed his life for the country. No, Mr. Li, you can't do this. I haven't even seen him in person. I have a very big appetite. If you come back with something I don't like, don't blame me for not being polite. Zheng Mu was aggrieved, but such a bargaining protest once again aroused laughter from the entire audience. Ha ha ha, it is indeed the case. Lao Li, let me not talk about anything else for the moment. With your pair of glasses, you can really see everyone accurately. Ha ha ha, this kid really doesn't care at all about being sold to a woman. Don't worry, the Tokugawa princess herself has already come to the Dragon Kingdom and is currently living in the Sakura Kingdom Embassy. She is definitely no worse than your little girlfriends. However, as soon as the elder finished speaking, he immediately retorted with a bad face. Fart. How can that Sakura girl be as beautiful as our Lan Lan? How can she be called a princess if she is just a princess of Sakura country? I'm afraid even the title of princess will be removed soon, right? Seeing Mr. Jiang who looked unhappy and unwilling, Zheng Mu decisively did not choose to answer the call. When they separated before, that girl Jiang Lan Lan blushed and told herself that they had prepared a surprise for her. If we go against Jiang Lao at this time, tonight's activities will directly become three or one. Ahem, um, Mr. Li heard what Mr. Jiang meant, what else happened to the Sakura Kingdom's royal family? Zheng Mu asked curiously. Mr. Li nodded, his eyes twinkling. Yes, the current Tokugawa royal family in Sakura country has not had a professional who can bear the title of royal family for many years. In addition, with the support of the Ashikaga shogunate behind the rice empire. It is growing day by day and is now on the verge of losing control. Having said this, Mr. Li paused slightly, then his eyes fell on Jing Mu with a deep meaning, and he said calmly. Originally, the Tokugawa emperor was also vacillating. Regarding the matter of marrying the Tokugawa princess and our dragon kingdom, they had already expressed their intention after the previous national war in the Bangzi kingdom, but suddenly the white elephant kingdom declared war on us. These the guy suddenly changed his tone again, but... Zheng Mu answered. But Sakura country never imagined that we could assess the troubles in white elephant country so quickly. Mr. Li nodded with a smile, and a rare look of pride appeared on the old man's face. Ha ha ha, yes, the Japanese have always bullied the weak and feared the strong. This fantasy of pushing the white elephant kingdom all the way in one day directly caused Emperor Tokugawa to completely give up supporting the Ashikaga shogunate's rice empire and fall to our current side, the Dragon Kingdom. Mr. Li patted Zheng Mu's shoulder, took out a photo from nowhere, and handed it to Zheng Mu's hand. This is the Tokugawa princess. It is no exaggeration to say that the beauty of the country is heavenly and fragrant. Coupled with the unique temperament of the Japanese women, TSK TSK, you are very lucky. Zheng Mu looked at the photo in his hand of the woman wearing a kimono standing next to a plum blossom. Just from the photo, Zheng Mu couldn't help but nod in agreement with Mr. Li's words. However, then he couldn't help but blink again. He looked at Mr. Li, who was standing beside him, with a strange look on his face. Mr. Li, I always thought you were a very serious person, but now it seems you have a lot of stories. When Zheng Mu, a junior, said this, Mr. Li laughed loudly and waved his hands with a look of pride and sadness. When you get old, a good man doesn't mention his former bravery, that's all. However, there is one thing the old man wants to tell you. There is a condition from the Sakura Kingdom royal family. Mr. Li pondered for a moment and then said. They require that your future child with Princess Tokugawa will inherit the Tokugawa surname and become the next emperor of Sakura Kingdom. Hearing this, Zheng Mu chuckled directly. What do you mean when I think Mr. Li is so solemn? Isn't it just such a small thing? Just promise them. When there is an heir between me and that princess, who has the final say on Blue Star? For sure. It's just a matter for the emperor, 
just agree to it for now. Seeing Jing Mu's unconcerned look, Mr. Li also had a smile on his face again, and looked at Jing Mu with obviously more recognition and appreciation. Okay. I'm sure you're right, kid. You know the general picture. It's just a small thing that no one can be sure about in the future. So what if I agree to them for the time being? Whether Sakura Nation will exist in the future or not is still a matter of two minds. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, there was laughter and laughter again in the central hall. The senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom present did not pay any attention to the so-called self-rescue of the Sakura Kingdom royal family. No one even thought about the duplicitous existence of supporting Sakura country. Now that the Sakura kingdom has taken the initiative to come to the door, it has fallen in the eyes of Zheng Mu and the senior officials of the Qianlong kingdom. In fact, it is just a breakthrough for the Dragon Kingdom. A breakthrough to disintegrate the subsequent terror situation of the Mi Empire. Afterwards, everyone talked to Zheng Mu about the mass production plan of the air fortress that they had discussed before. Regarding this, Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, but then he thought of the thoughts of the senior officials of Long Kingdom. Naturally, he would not have any objection to this. After all, the more of Zheng Mu's mechanical creations he produces, the first to enjoy the benefits will be him, the mechanic. This means that his blood bank is experiencing a surge again. Building an air fortress is naturally not a problem, but elders, there is one thing I want to make clear. The existence of the air fortress itself cannot be copied. Although I am confident that I can build an air vehicle that is much better than Fayanzu. But it's definitely not as good as the extinction level air fortress. Hearing this, Mr. Lee and the others nodded with satisfaction. After things here were temporarily settled, he got up and left directly. When he appeared in the building of the Wheel of Truth Guild wearing a dark cloak, the dragon abyss soared across his waist, and the stars shining brightly on his shoulders, the members of the Wheel of Truth Guild who had been waiting here gasped in horror. Gas. Some girls who had dressed themselves up early had their faces turn red. They stood up nervously, their bodies tightened, and they could not help but tremble. Wow, the president is so handsome. The sharp and excited shouts seemed to instantly ignite the atmosphere of the scene, and everyone rushed towards Jing Mu in excitement. Fortunately, he was stopped by Kai Shinkuan and several other core members of the Wheel of Truth Guild. Holy shit, boss, go upstairs quickly and leave it to us. We'll talk about anything tomorrow. With such a small body, Sang Luo almost fell to the ground when he was hit by the people around him, but fortunately he managed to steady himself and shouted at Zheng Mu. When Zheng Mu saw those crazy-looking women, a layer of cold sweat broke out on his forehead. Damn it! I used to sneer at the peach blossom disaster. I always felt that the people who said such things were all Versailles, and they were all full men who didn't know how hungry they were. Now when this happened to me, I finally felt like my scalp was numb. He nodded to several people. Zheng Mu moved around in an instant and walked towards the passage of the building on one side. On the top floor of the Wheel of Truth Guild's headquarters, these mechanical creations under Zheng Mu's command have been guarded for a long time. Unless they are authorized by Zheng Mu, they cannot get up at all. At this moment, He Shang Yun, who was wearing a nun's outfit in front of Zheng Mu, and who didn't know where to put his shy hands, was obviously one of the people who had been picked up by him. Now, it was Zheng Mu's turn to take a breath. The sound of gentle footsteps came from behind, and when I turned around, I saw Ling Binyue wearing a blue and white Chong Sam, which perfectly accentuated her figure, and the other person's temperament was obviously very suitable for this suit of clothes. Zheng Mu's eyes widened. He had not taken any special action for a while, and felt that the tip of his nose was slightly itchy. Stimulate. So exciting. However, when Jiang Lanlan appeared behind her in a Catwoman costume, Zheng Mu finally lost control completely. Zheng Mu is in his private residence on the top floor, not to mention what activities he is doing. At this moment, the atmosphere in the residence of the God Lin family was obviously a little strange. That child Xiao Mu has been a very independent person since he was a child, and he is also very independent. After his father's accident, I thought about taking him over to live with me, but he directly rejected me. So Miss Lin, if you want to get acquainted with him now, 
there is a high probability that you will not be able to get to know him based on my understanding of him. Hearing Lang Qingya's words, Lin Guanyong frowned and looked dissatisfied. Mu Yu is his mother after all. She gave birth to him, how can she deny it? Lin Mu Yu's eyes were slightly red, and Mr. Lin, who had scolded Fang Chiu back then, was also unusually silent. Leng Qingya shook her head and looked at Lin Muyu with a somewhat complicated look. It was this woman whom she had never seen a few times that completely ruined her youth. However, because of all the things that happened back then, this woman must have lost everything about herself. Leng Qingya did not deny that there was a feeling of gloating in her heart at the moment. Hearing this, he smiled faintly. Yu Yu said. Because of the fact that he was given birth, when others mention Miss Lin, he will not deny that she is his mother. But as a mother, the position that she can occupy in the heart of Xiao Mu's child is limited to this. There was a bit of sadness in her eyes, a bit of jealousy and a bit of schadenfreude. I lost to you, Miss Lin, back then, but Miss Lin you also lost to your own family, and to the man you chose, Yen. I have watched Xiao Mu's child grow up step by step with my own eyes. The man you are attracted to is just an ordinary person without professional awakening, but he has supported Xiaomu's incomplete world without you. Miss Lin Muyu, you lose. Chapter, 190 It was not until noon the next day that Cheng Mu finally woke up from the gentle countryside. Now his identity is different. After being awarded the rank of general, the burden on his shoulders is also heavier. Since the Mi Empire directly gave seven days this time, then national war is inevitable. Brother Mu, are you busy with something else? Can you take us with you? A soft and waxy voice with a strong coquettish meaning, coming from the mouth of Ling Bingyue, an arrogant woman, would have been absolutely impossible a few years ago. However, Jing Mu was too outstanding, and there were too many Yingying Yen Yen around Jing Mu, so this arrogant sister finally chose to give in. Zheng Mu's attitude and actions can be said to be full of initiative and enthusiasm. Well, it's hot. Looking at the three women with expectant faces, Zheng Mu thought about it and agreed directly. After all, he had promised them before, and if he was busy with some things, he could also be arranged to take them to some surrounding monster areas to improve their levels. Now all the professionals in Long Kingdom have been mobilized spontaneously. On his way back to the Dragon Kingdom Divine Capital from the White Elephant Kingdom yesterday, he saw many groups of Dragon Kingdom professionals who had already started urgently killing monsters and leveling up. Obviously, the threat posed by the Mi Empire at this time has successfully united the Dragon Kingdom once again. Okay, I'll have someone assign you an identity as a member of the Tianai army, but I've agreed in advance that when you join the army, you'll have to rely on your strength. I think you all understand what shouldn't happen. Seeing several people nodding happily, Jing Mu said nothing more. Even a proud daughter like Jiang Lan Lan, who comes from a wealthy family, has been influenced by the Jiang family's military family since she was a child, and she knows the ruthless rules of the military. Jing Mu doesn't have to worry about things he shouldn't do. However, Jing Mu then thought about it and directly brought in other members of the Wheel of Truth Guild. Directly formed as a reserve force of the Tian AI army, these people are somewhat inferior in strength and level, but they have already cultivated their ruthlessness and decisiveness in attacking the enemy. With Zheng Mu's current power, establishing a reserve force is just an order gone wrong. When Kai Xingkuan and other members of the Wheel of Truth Guild received the news, they all immediately became excited. Enter the Tian AI army. To say that they don't have this idea is simply a lie. But they also already know the origins of these soldiers of the Tianai army. They are all disabled soldiers who have retreated from the most brutal front line, and they are all at least 445 or above. The fighting power was already displayed in front of the whole world during the Tiandao live broadcast. And everything happened when they, led by Zheng Mu, rode the air fortress, arrived at the familiar Huangsha city, and received a set of military uniforms belonging to the Tianai army. Everyone was so excited that they couldn't help themselves. Holy shit! Damn it, I've really joined the Tianai army. I, my old man, I'm afraid I'm going to faint from excitement. This military uniform is so cool. Ha ha ha, look at me. Am I handsome now? Come on, take a picture of me. 
Looking at the messy crowd, He Guan, who was summoned by Zheng Mu, had a perceptive smile on his face. Zheng Mu didn't say much and smiled lightly. General He, there is no need to feel any pressure. Since these people are here and put on the uniforms of our Tianai army soldiers, they are just reservists of the Tianai army, and they can practice as they please. He Guan suddenly smiled confidently. General, don't worry, these people are all good seedlings, and they all have enough blood. There is a monster area suitable for them around Huangsha City. Although seven days is short, it can make them grow a lot. Zheng Mu nodded. If the next war with the Mi Empire really gets heated up, reservists like Kai Shinkuan and others, and even some local armed professionals from the Dragon Kingdom, will have to join the war. This is a national war in the true sense. When Zheng Mu came to the Huangsha City Lord's Mansion, which had been built and changed its appearance, Mr. Li and the others were already waiting here. However, for some reason, the technical manager felt that the way Mr. Lin looked at him seemed to be something even more wrong. The place where the Navy stores warships and the Fayunzhu Manufacturing Administration have already coordinated for you. According to your request, they will bring everything here. They should be there in a while. Mr. Li said with a smile, Zheng Mu nodded, and sure enough it didn't take a while. The teleportation array in Huangsha City was suddenly activated. Thousands of soldiers wearing various military uniforms came out. Everyone is also carrying a storage suitcase in their hands. Among these people, the ones with the lowest military rank were all at the school level. After seeing Zheng Mu, everyone's eyes instantly burst out with a strong light. Crack! Seeing these people saluting him in unison, Zheng Mu also smiled slightly and returned the salute immediately. Under Mr. Li's introduction, a middle-aged man with the rank of lieutenant general walked up to Zheng Mu. This is General Tu Zhengwen of our Dragon Kingdom. In addition to being an excellent S-class Fayunzhu manufacturer, I am also the chief designer of our Dragon Kingdom's Fayunzhu Manufacturing Bureau. Hearing this, a gleam suddenly flashed in Zheng Mu's eyes, and his eyes couldn't help but fall on the suitcases in the hands of these people present. If such big shots are invited directly, what they bring may not be a simple flying cloud boat. Zheng Mu couldn't help but think of the core material of his air fortress, the Akab Emperor from Bangzi King's royal family. Sure enough, just when Zheng Mu led everyone outside Huangsha City. As these people opened the suitcases one by one. One by one, high-end flying cloud boats, just like the Qinghuang, appeared in front of Zheng Mu. Since it has not been activated yet, it is just a small model that is held in the hands of everyone. When the era of professional awakening came, and when there were no strong men at the level of national protectors in various countries, Fayunzhu's formations and various weapons made it possible to achieve an era. However, as the levels of subsequent professionals became higher and higher, Fayunzhu's development fell into a bottleneck period. These things changed from their original killing weapons to costly burdens that could only be used for personnel. Transportation and Material Deployment Mr. Li sighed and said, and Tu Zhengwen, who came over holding a black and golden ship-like flying cloud boat, also sighed. After all, it's just an external force. We heard that the Mi Empire built a more terrifying Fayunzhu in the secret realm of different time and space, which is enough to pose a threat to the strong ones at the level of the protector of the country, but the things used all come from the secret realm of different time and space. Zheng Mu nodded, looked at the eight or nine hundred high-end Feiyun boats in front of him, and took a deep breath. Mr. Li, next I need to mobilize a lot of high-level monster materials. Boss Li waved his hand and laughed. Go ahead and do it. I have already asked Gu Xingdong to carry out a ruthless search in Baixiang country. I guarantee that they will completely plunder the Baixiang country. The treasury of the two countries will be completely looted. It's at your disposal. Zheng Mu smiled. If this is the case, he really has a lot to offer. Even if it is impossible to create an existence like an extinction-level air fortress, at least the next level one is not impossible. And if the Dragon Kingdom suddenly possesses nearly a thousand aerial warships with super strike capabilities, it is still uncertain who will fight whom when the Mi Empire declares war. Hee <laughs> hee. When I think of the future, the sky in the Dragon Kingdom will be filled with mechanical creations and aerial battleships made by myself. 
The smile on Zheng Mu's face couldn't help but look evil. Then I only need to develop a set of things that can repair damaged mechanical creations, these great walls in the sky of the Dragon Kingdom in the future. It will be him, the mechanic, who is the strongest immortal Iron Curtain. Damn it, I'm fighting the enemy in the front, and all these mechanical creations in the back are his Zheng Mu's blood packs. They are losing durability and repairing them at the same time. Just don't die. And when some super large battleships specially selected by the navy were delivered in storage backpacks. Zheng Mu's work has also officially begun. Just like Mr. Li said, the entire Dragon Kingdom's treasury is directly open to him. Whatever grade of materials you want, you just need to register them and use them as you like. The Dragon Kingdom instantly entered a state of emergency preparation for war. The machinery factory in the Air Fortress had also stopped other production lines and was producing mechanical prosthetics for the soldiers at full speed. Seven days itself is neither short nor long. But if it is put at the level of national war preparations, it is definitely very urgent. On the side of the White Elephant Kingdom, even though the father of the Mi Empire has issued a war warning against the Dragon Kingdom, they have also begun to mobilize their troops to return to Blue Star. But the top management of Baixian Kingdom still couldn't delay at all. Zheng Mu was able to defeat their elites blessed by four national guardian gods in one day, and he was able to destroy their White Elephant Kingdom's Wa in one day before even the Mi Empire had time to rescue them. Faced with all kinds of plundering in the Dragon Kingdom, which is almost like digging for roots, I can only lower my head and endure it silently. In just a few days, the Dragon Kingdom received countless materials from the White Elephant Kingdom for the production of pharmaceuticals, the manufacture of talismans and props, and the forging of equipment. In Huangsha City, which has been transformed into the Shindu military industry headquarters, the logistics T-100s produced by Zheng Mu are in full swing. Every day, Tens of thousands of precious materials are transported out from here and equipped to the army of the Hakka Dragon Kingdom that has received the task of preparing for war. However, the war preparations on the Dragon Kingdom side were in full swing, but Prime Minister Yoshida on the Sakura Kingdom side could no longer contain his anxiety. A piece of bad news has come from Sakura country. The Ashikaga Shogunate officially rebelled. Chapter 191 Shindu Military Industry Headquarters Zheng Mu, who was sitting and eating with his little girlfriends in the cafeteria, was stunned when he heard the news. So fast. Jiang Guixing, who rushed here, looked helpless. He glanced at his sister Jiang Lan Lan, who could only see Zheng Mu, and shook his head helplessly. The current situation of the Tokugawa royal family is far more troublesome than we imagined. There have just been some signs that the Tokugawa princess is preparing to marry us. Over there, several of the Tokugawa emperor's heirs have all reported to the Ashikaga shogunate. Surrendered and pledged allegiance dash. Hearing this, Zheng Mu couldn't help but shake his head in disdain at these disgusting things from Sakura country. Ha, huh, these princes of the Sakura kingdom have inherited the old traditions of their Sakura kingdom one by one. They pledged their allegiance to the enemies of the entire family and worked together to deal with their fathers. Ha! <laughs> Zheng Mu was immediately amused. He looked at Jiang Guixing and asked. So, what are you planning to do this time? Jiang Guixing looked slightly solemn, took out a military document and handed it to Zheng Mu's hand. That sums up the main point of coming here today. What Mr. Li and several other elders mean is that although the national war with the Mi Empire is inevitable, the war must not spread to our homeland. Zheng Mu was stunned, looking at the contents of the document in his hand, a strange smile appeared on his face. The Dragon Kingdom accepted the marriage with the Tokugawa royal family, and then announced its intervention in the current civil strife in the Sakura Kingdom in the name of the Qin Dynasty and protecting its neighbors. Once that happened, the Mi Empire, which was almost ready, would inevitably send more troops to the Sakura Kingdom. I'm very satisfied with this plan. Back then, the gang of little Baga from Sakura country caused trouble for us in Dragon Country. The situation has changed, ha ha ha. When Zheng Mu appeared in the main hall of the central city of Shindu wearing a general uniform and walking like a dragon and tiger, he just walked in and saw two people present who were obviously dressed in the Sakura Kingdom. A slightly bald man, Yoshida Shiro, Prime Minister of the Sakura Kingdom, who was obviously a civil servant. 
The other one is the Tokugawa princess, Tokugawa Kagaya, who is wearing a kimono from the Sakura kingdom, has an elegant temperament and soft eyebrows. I have met the general. As if noticing Zheng Mu's gaze, Princess Tokugawa, whose face was slightly red, stood up and saluted Mu slightly. The voice was gentle and filled with the obedience of a traditional woman from the Sakura kingdom. The royal family's teachings were indeed quite good. However, Zheng Mu looked the other person up and down and nodded lightly. Yes, but Long Guoyu still needs to learn more in the future. When Prime Minister Yoshida heard this, his eyes suddenly lit up with joy. Sure enough, the next moment Zheng Mu looked directly at Ji and I, who was sitting in the front seat. Mr. Li, let's send troops to the Sakura Kingdom. This time it is better to let our Tianai army take the lead. Later, the Mi Empire will increase its troops and our local troops will be mobilized. Mr. Li nodded with a smile, but there was a bit of amusement in his eyes. The princess of the Sakura Kingdom is very tempting. However, it is obvious that Zheng Mu is not more excited about sending troops to the Sakura Kingdom. On the side, Princess Tokugawa heard the words, her eyes suddenly turned slightly red, and she said hurriedly in a slightly stuck Longwa dialect. I implore the elders of the Dragon Kingdom and General Zheng Mu to save my father. He, he loves the Dragon Kingdom. In the future, the Sakura Kingdom will definitely be the Dragon Kingdom's strongest ally. Mr. Li and Zheng Mu looked at each other and nodded. However, the two looked at each other and reached a consensus for a short time. Ha, huh, Emperor Tokugawa loves the Dragon Kingdom. What a big joke, it seems that when so many conflicts between the Dragon Kingdom and the Sakura Kingdom occurred over the years, the person sitting in that seat was not him. The so-called heart toward the Dragon Kingdom is rather to say that the heart is toward the property and future inheritance of their Tokugawa family. As for the so-called saving the emperor. Zheng Mu and Mr. Li sneered again. The emperor of the Sakura kingdom who is controlled by their dragon kingdom is a good emperor. But now that Emperor Tokugawa has regained his position with the support of the dragon kingdom, there are still hidden dangers after all. But what if Tokugawa Kagaya, one of Mirai Maki's wives, sat in that position right in front of her? That's a different situation. Tokugawa Kagaya hasn't figured out the key yet, but Prime Minister Yoshida on the side has already keenly noticed this. When the Ashikaga Shogunate and the Rice Empire came together, they were seeking the skin of a tiger. However, if people from the Tokugawa Emperor's line came to the Dragon Kingdom, why not? When he received the Emperor's order to go on a mission to the Dragon Kingdom, Emperor Toku had already guessed this outcome. However, now Prime Minister Yoshida has to fight for one or two. He took a step forward and said with a slightly humble and flattering look on his face. Mr. Li, General Zheng Mu, I don't know when your country will be able to send troops to rescue. The rebellious officials and traitors of the Ashikaga Shogunate are about to attack the capital of our Sakura Kingdom, but I'm afraid. On the side, Tokugawa Kagaya also turned pale. Regardless of the royal etiquette of the Sakura Kingdom, he stepped forward and took Zheng Mu's hand, pleading with Zheng Mu with a pair of pitiful eyes. General, please save my father. Mr. Li smacked his lips, this His Highness Tokugawa Kagaya is even more outstanding than the princess of Sakura country whom he met by chance. Zheng Mu nodded, but looked at Mr. Li in front of him. Mr. Li, how are the guardian gods of Baixiang Kingdom doing? Hearing this, the smile on Mr. Li's face suddenly faded, and there was a coldness in his eyes. Humph. They are a bunch of idiots who don't know how to praise themselves. After I stabilized their injuries, I also asked them to negotiate with them about switching to our Dragon Kingdom camp, but these alienated barbarians. It's really uneducated. In front of the two people from the Sakura Kingdom, he openly said that the foreigners were barbarians. It can be seen that Mr. Li is really a little bloated now. However, Zheng Mu smiled in response, and his laughter was full of strange danger. Princess Tokugawa who held his hand trembled. Mr. Li, do you want me to go talk to them? Mr. Li raised his eyebrows and Zheng Mu looked confident. Anyway, if these guys are shameless, it will just be a matter of chopping off their heads with a knife, and they will be used as waste. Hearing this, Mr. Li thought about it and agreed. 
But just as a few people were preparing to go to the place where these white elephant kingdom protector gods were imprisoned, Zheng Mu nodded meaningfully to Yoshida Shiro and Tokugawa Kagaya on the side. Zero please give me flowers. Her Royal Highness the Princess and Your Excellency the Prime Minister, please come together and let them see the strength of our dragon kingdom. It's just the Ashikaga shogunate, a local chicken and a wag. The underground prison in Kowloon, the divine capital. Waves of ghostly cries and howling sounds immediately reached the ears as everyone walked out of the teleportation array. Zheng Mu smiled slightly when he felt the slight slipperiness in his hands. Your Highness, there is no need to be nervous. Although the prisoners here are some extremely vicious super criminals, in this Kowloon Earth Lock prison, even a strong man with the level of the God of Protection will. That's just a prisoner. Tokugawa Kagaya swallowed her saliva. Among the howls around her, she could vaguely hear some Sakura Mandarin sounds. The face of Yoshida Shiro on the side was also slightly pale, but he was an old fox after all, and he was still under control at the moment. Under the leadership of the guard warden here, everyone quickly arrived at a prison with tighter security. In the slightly empty underground space, cold white light shone down, allowing everyone to see three lonely cages, each suspended in mid-air by nine chains. The great formation set up here is the strongest mystical magic formation set up by our Dragon Kingdom's SS-level heaven-seizing Dao Changtian town at the cost of its own demise. Once locked into it, the skills of all professionals will be destroyed. Confined, unable to be used. The warden wearing a Taotai mask introduced calmly. And as if they heard the sound outside, the three figures in the cage sat up instantly. Damn Dragon Kingdom people, you don't need to waste any more time. The great god is protecting us, and the powerful me empire is definitely it's you. The curses full of curry flavor stopped suddenly when the three of them saw clearly Zheng Mu standing in front of everyone. Asshole, what are you doing here? I tell you, we will not give in. If you dare, kill us. Zheng Mu smiled coldly and looked at the three people in front of him. You're not afraid of death, that's a really valuable quality. There was some real joy in the laughter, but it instantly made the three people in the cage feel terrified. Using the ghost step, he floated to one of the cages like a ghost in a dungeon. Analopi, to be honest, you should be the one who is the least convinced of defeat among them, and the one who is least likely to surrender to our dragon kingdom. Analopi's eyes were full of angry fire, but before he could say anything, Zheng Mu suddenly stretched out a hand. As fast as lightning, it grabbed his throat directly. In that case, I won't waste my time on you. When Zheng Mu said this, his face was full of joy, and it was this joy that fell into Analopi's eyes, who suddenly widened his eyes. A flash of golden and red light emitted from Zheng Mu's hand. A message popped up along with the panel, making Analopi's face turn pale instantly. The body also struggled violently. I'm sorry. You have been attacked by the skill force transfer to Golden Hand, and the current SS level professional Chaos Walker skill is being stripped. The progress is 1%, 2% down. Chapter, 192 Ho ho ho! You have been attacked by the skill force turning gold hand, and the current SS level professional Chaos Walker skills are being stripped progress 1%, 2% 1. Analopi looked at the red light of alarm flashing on his panel, and the terrifying reminder made him panic instantly. However, Zheng Mu grabbed his throat with a ferocious smile on his face. At this moment, he was restrained by the cage formation and could not break free at all. The previous anger had been extinguished in an instant, replaced by deep fear of Zheng Mu. And an unabashed plea. He struggled and slapped Zheng Mu's arm, but Zheng Mu had no intention of letting go. It seemed like what he just said. I really have no idea of continuing the conversation with him. Ho ho ho. Analopi was anxious, and in the cage on the side, Hrithik and Dilki were also anxious looking at Analopi with a fearful expression on his face. Asshole, if you dare to kill us, if you dare, kill us. What did you do to Analopi? Damn it, people from the Dragon Kingdom, have the guts to let us out. The people of the Mi Empire will not let you go. 
listening to the chirping and various incomprehensible bird songs, Jinmu held Anilopi's zero baki neck with one hand and turned his head slightly to look meaningfully at the two people in the other two cages. Ha, huh, don't worry, Mr. Lee asked me to give you two a chance to reconsider. If you still don't agree after a while, you will make use of this treatment. No one understood what Zheng Mu was doing at this moment. As time passed, Zheng Mu finally let go of his hand casually after about five minutes. Crack. Like a puddle of mud, Anilopi instantly collapsed in the cage. While panting and coughing violently, he hurriedly tried to bring up his personal panel. Come out, come out, where is my panel, you bastard, what did you do to me? Looking across the cage, Anilopi roared like a madman. In Zheng Mu's hand, there were two more palm-sized metal creations that looked like fruits and hearts. Zheng Mu bumped the harvest in his hand with a sly smile, Zheng Mu's face was filled with a smile of satisfaction. Why are you so serious, Mr. Anilopi? You must know that those who do not cooperate with us often end up dead. I cherish life the most, and I appreciate your courage to die rather than surrender, so I gave you a new life. As he said that, the information about the two things in his hands suddenly emerged. Shining Fruit Long Distance Energy Core, an orange legendary mechanical component, which contains endless light attribute energy elements. It can be used in the assembly of mechanical creations, giving it the ability to perform most light attribute energy attacks. Dark Fruit Over the Range Energy Core, an orange legendary mechanical component, containing endless dark energy elements inside, which can be used in the assembly of mechanical creations, giving it the ability to perform most light energy attacks. The two pieces of information not only appeared in front of Anilopi, but were also seen by Hrithik and Dilman who were locked up on the side, as well as Mr. Lee and others behind him. Hiss. At this moment, Mr. Lee also felt as if his head had suffered a heavy blow and went blank. Everyone stared blankly at the two mechanical creations in Jing Mu's hands. Doesn't the attribute of light and darkness correspond to the professional characteristics of Anilopi, the chaos walker in the cage at the moment? Along the way, Yoshida Shiro, who saw many senior professionals from Sakura Country imprisoned here, restrained his emotions. At this moment, he saw what Zheng Mu was holding and Anna in the cage. Lopi's moment. But his body couldn't stop shaking. His feet softened and he fell to his side instantly. But he was supported by the warden on the side. A voice full of profound meaning came from under the warden's Tautai mask. His Excellency Prime Minister Yoshida, it seems that he is not feeling well, and he should also pay attention to rest. Yoshida Shiro's face was pale, and he could barely hold on to a smile that was uglier than crying. But at this time, Zheng Mu's voice came over there. Warden, now we can let our Mr. Anilopi come out. If possible, we should send someone to send this unyielding hero of the White Elephant Kingdom back to the country. He is really an admirable hero. Even as a member of the Dragon Kingdom, I applaud his spirit. Anilopi's eyes were splitting, and he called the panel for a long time, but there was no response at all. After looking at the two things in Zheng Mu's hand, he suddenly roared hysterically. Asshole! You bastard from the Dragon Kingdom, give me my career back, give me my power. You robber, devil. You are going to hell. However, after a brief roar, the hero of the White Elephant Kingdom in Zheng Mu's mouth suddenly knelt down in the cage with a plop. Tears and runny nose. General Zheng Mu, please give me your power. I was wrong. I am willing to serve the Dragon Kingdom. I am willing to fight for the great people of the Dragon Kingdom. Please give me my power back, Wu Wu, I promise to go to the battlefield and kill those damn Rice Empire white-skinned pigs. I will be obedient, please. On the side, Krithik and Dilman, who were roaring angrily, were already slumped on the ground with pale faces. Zheng Mu can really take away the power of professionals. God, how is this possible? He is just an A-level mechanic that no one has been able to master for hundreds of years. Why can he deprive others of their power, even their SS-level professions? However, watching the cage being opened, Anilopi was dragged out like a dead dog. The opponent is out of the cage, no longer restricted by the formation, but at this moment, he still has no intention of returning with any strength. 
He was dragged by two jailers, wailing in embarrassment and wailing all the way towards the outside. Asshole. None of you damn Dragon Nation people will end well. You are all going to hell, you are all going to hell. God will not let you go. The howl of collapse, as the other party left, became farther and farther away. However, the backs of everyone present were instantly wet. Yoshida Shiro's body could not help but tremble violently, being watched by so many pairs of eyes around him. He wanted to keep calm and calm his body. However, when Analopi passed by him just now, he looked like a beggar on the street in their Sakura country, but he could not get rid of it from his mind. At the same time, Zheng Mu had already weighed the two treasures in his hands and walked outside her thick's cage with a smile. He took out a piece of manuscript paper that was obviously very sloppy from his pocket. Ahem, I am a very conscientious person. I will definitely handle the things Mr. Lee has asked me to do meticulously. Well, this is the draft I prepared to persuade me to surrender. You can scold me now, and I will be very careful. Be patient and finish reading this. As he spoke, he cleared his throat as if reciting aloud. A voice full of exaggeration began to echo in the dungeon. War is the source of human suffering, and hegemony is a blasphemy to human civilization. Our dragon kingdom has been passed down to this day and has never done anything to invade its neighbors. We only want to work with people from all over the world to build a beautiful homeland, blah blah. Hearing Xing Mu's exaggerated speech that could cause strong discomfort, Mr. Li, who had no idea about this good thing, only felt a soreness in his gums. A month ago, they invaded the Xingyue metal veins belonging to the territory of Bangzi Kingdom, and they were still very close. This guy was actually able to openly say that their dragon kingdom never did anything aggressive to be honest, Mr. Li felt that he was not shameless enough at this time. Krithik and Dilman, on the other hand, stared blankly at the two mechanical creation messages Zheng Mu held in his arms, as if they were suffering from epilepsy. When Zheng Mu received this copy, he took the manuscript from Mr. Xiang's table and read it with slight modifications. Seeing that there was no reaction from Hrithik in front of him, he immediately slapped his mouth. One hand slowly stretched towards the other person's neck. And it was precisely this kind of palm that could even be described as white and tender. When it fell into the eyes of Hrithik and the two of them, it seemed like the hand of a demon covered in blood. Krithik suddenly felt like he was struck by lightning and finally reacted. While his body curled up fiercely towards the back, he roared in panic. I surrender. I am willing to surrender. Please, don't do anything, I am willing to serve the Dragon Kingdom. Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly lit up, and a satisfied smile appeared on his face, but he still put a hand on the other person's shoulder. Two gentle pats caused Hrithik's whole body to tremble and tense up. That's right. Enlarge the layout to three, two, and join the Dragon Kingdom camp. From now on, you will be a heroic warrior fighting for world peace and prosperity, and a great hero who will be remembered by the whole world. Krithik's breathing was trembling, and there was a vague heat flowing between his legs. Zheng Mu smiled slightly and looked at Dilman aside, who had already collapsed from Zheng Mu's fright. What kind of nightmare believer, Zheng Mu who smiles from now on will be his nightmare that will never go away in his life. I am willing to surrender, I am willing to surrender, General, please spare my life. Zheng Mu nodded with satisfaction, and soon under the control of Mr. Li's team, the two guardian gods who originally belonged to the Baixian kingdom changed their families one after another. After Tian Dao gave their judgment, they all switched to the Dragon Kingdom camp. Moreover, it will be under the inspection period of the Dragon Kingdom camp within five years. If there is any betrayal of the Dragon Kingdom camp in these five years, he will be directly punished by the law of heaven. Zheng Mu walked up to Mr. Li with a smile and waved the manuscript paper in his hand. Sure enough, Mr. Xiang deserves to be the leader of civil servants. One manuscript saved two lives that were confused in life. I still have a lot to learn from my predecessors. Mr. Li. Yoshida Shiro. Chapter, 193. Looking at Jing Mu with a smile on his face, he then looked behind him, after he was released from the cage. Krithik and Dilman looked like frightened mice. At this moment, 
these two people have no trace of the White Elephant Kingdom now it should be said that they are the former protectors of the White Elephant Kingdom. Mr. Li took a breath and fixed his gaze on the two mechanical creations in Zheng Mu's hands. So, this is also a mechanic skill. Zheng Mu smiled and nodded very directly. Yoshida Shiro, who looked very bad at the side, felt his head buzzing. This skill must exist after level 35. Information about mechanics from various countries around the world is retained until LV-35. For no other reason than the mysterious skill awakening task at LV-35, which requires a certain number of mechanical creations to be produced within a specified time. Even if those mechanics have the support of the state, there is nothing they can do about this. The final result is that all levels are stuck at LV-35, and these mechanics have no idea what skills they will have after that. There is no way. In other words, only Zheng Mu will be able to use it in the future. Wrong. Suddenly, Yoshida Shiro seemed to have thought of something, and a gleam of red appeared on his originally pale face. He looked aside with burning eyes, staring blankly at Princess Tokugawa who was Zheng Mu at the moment. In addition to Zheng Mu, Zheng Mu's future descendants will also be 100% awakened to become mechanics. As Zheng Mu's descendant, the drawings of mechanical creations he currently possesses can naturally be used. Mr. Li, this time our emperor asked me to come as an envoy to your country. In order to show my determination to restore peace with your country, he also asked me to bring the Tian Kanjian sword of my Sakura Zero Two country. As a gift from the royal family of Sakura Kingdom. Hearing this, Mr. Li looked at the other party with a meaningful smile and nodded. But at this time, the warden on the side suddenly spoke. I wonder if there are any restrictions on the use of General Zheng Mu's skill. Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, and then he thought about what the other party wanted to do, and shook his head with a smile. As long as the target doesn't have the power to resist. At this moment, Mr. Li on the side also instantly thought of the warden's plan. Mr. Li, the Kowloon Earthlock prison is about to reach its limit. There are only professional prisoners above level IV-70 here, and the number has reached 400. The consumption of maintaining the magic circle here is a big number of resources every day. And keeping them locked up like this is not an option, and it would be a pity to kill them. It's better to let General Zheng Mu resort to other means. Mr. Li pondered for a moment and nodded slightly. At the same time, when he looked at Zheng Mu, he was full of expectation. With the introduction from the warden, Zheng Mu also had a general understanding of this top prison in the Dragon Kingdom. Detained inside are high-level professionals who committed major crimes in the Dragon Kingdom, some spies who were caught by the Dragon Kingdom, and some elite professionals who performed secret missions in their own countries and were subsequently captured by the Dragon Kingdom. Anyway, the general meaning is that the professionals imprisoned here are all from other countries. This time, Mu no longer had any scruples or bottom line. Under the watchful eyes of several people, he quickly held a roster and arrived at a regional prison specifically for warrior-type professionals. Where did you come from, a pretty boy? Does Mazefak really think that I will be afraid of you just by relying on your methods? If you have the guts to close the restrictions here, I can fuck you until the back door blossoms. Ha ha ha, Fred, come on. Let this pretty boy from the Dragon Kingdom taste your big stick. Damn yellow-skinned monkey, you have the guts to break open the restrictions on your grandfather and me. Shiba, you look so arrogant, you could kill us. Listening to the chaotic scene, Mr. Lee and others' expressions turned ugly, and Yoshida Shiro on the side turned pale when he heard the accompanying curses from Sakura Country. His eyes were full of anxiety. They knew that Zheng Mu was a very extreme Dragon Kingdom supremacist. If he directly vented his anger on the current Sakura country because of a provocation from these damn guys, he would cry to death. However, Zheng Mu turned a deaf ear to these insults. After flipping through the roster in his hand, he quickly found the information about the strong white man in front of him. Fred Kane, deputy commander of the St. Veronia Legion of the Eagle Kingdom, level IV-74, is an S-class mountain warrior. Oh, he is also a good human shield warrior. Zheng Mu smiled slightly and said the other party's information. The strong white man named Fred suddenly smiled arrogantly, turned his back to Zheng Mu, and raised his butt provocatively. 
So, the yellow-skinned monkey is only as long as you, and it's not as satisfying as the shit I pooped out. On the side, the professionals who were locked up in prison all around burst out laughing again. Zheng Mu was also smiling, and his smile was full of the kindness of people in the Dragon Kingdom. I came here this time to invite Mr. Fred to join our Dragon Kingdom camp and fight for our Dragon Kingdom. By the way, our Dragon Kingdom will soon have a national war with the Mi Empire. If. Ha ha ha, go ahead and eat my farts, you damn yellow-skinned monkey. Before Zheng Mu finished speaking, Fred, the strong man in the prison, arrogantly extended two middle fingers to him, greeting him with a gentlemanly demeanor. At this moment, Zheng Mu, a gentleman, seemed to have found a close friend. Similar. A hand shot out as fast as lightning and pinched the opponent's neck. The latter's expression changed instantly, but the expression on his face was still arrogant. Maze fake, yellow-skinned monkey, you have the guts to kill me, otherwise when I kill you, I will kill all of you Dragon Kingdom people. The smile on Zheng Mu's face became more intense, and a look of pure surprise burst out of his eyes. Wow, Mr. Fred, to be honest, I am more and more regretful that you rejected the invitation of our Dragon Kingdom. In fact, to tell you the truth, personally, I also have an extraordinary feeling for Yongcheng. Interest I don't know if you have experienced it yourself. The surrounding prisoners seemed to have noticed something was wrong. They were still laughing, but they all looked shocked. They looked at Fred, whose face was getting more and more ugly, and the man who seemed to be excitedly sharing some interesting stories with his close friends. Zheng Mu. They all became quiet. The fun of slaughtering a city depends on each city, and the type of fun is also different. For example, in a military town, you can watch with your own eyes the enemies who were full of morale just a moment ago, kneeling down one after another before your powerful power. Down their spines their expressions of humiliation and fear were intertwined. Mr. Fred, have you ever had such an experience? Zheng Mu's smile was still gentle, but the sharp white teeth exposed made it difficult for Fred to breathe, and his heart was pounding wildly. He suddenly discovered that this man from the Dragon Kingdom seemed completely different from the previous jailers from the Dragon Kingdom. That kind of disregard for life, and even the pleasure when the enemy's life is lost, is so real and undisguised. As if he was a born devil. Of course, there are also cities with a lot of ordinary people. You know, ha ha ha, I slaughtered more than a dozen cities in the White Elephant Kingdom some time ago. They were the kind where not even a single dog survived in the city. You know, we people in the Dragon Kingdom are not interested in your contraband, but I still want to describe how I felt at the time. It was really like playing with that kind of stuff. How humble the lives of ordinary people are. Sometimes professionals really can't empathize Mr. Fred, I don't know that your wife and children, after seeing you return home safely, have become what would an ordinary person's expression be like. Zheng Mu's voice suddenly became weird, he chuckled, and a burst of gold and red light suddenly erupted from the big hand that almost suffocated Fred. And at the moment when the light appeared, Fred, whose face turned red and his eyes were a little distracted, seemed to sense something. His eyes widened in an instant, and his originally unyielding gaze was filled with horror when he looked at Jing Mu again. Bang bang bang. The violent struggle made his body collide with each other in the cage. However, being restrained by the formation, he had no capital to resist in Jing Mu's hands. A few minutes later, as Jing Mu let go, the latter instantly collapsed to the ground helplessly. Under everyone's gaze, something like a disc suddenly appeared in Jing Mu's hand. Lay Vein Force Field Amplification Core, an orange legendary mechanical component that can establish a same frequency connection with the pulse of the earth, so that a mechanical creation equipped with this mechanical component can instantly generate 94 times 100 times its own energy to the greatest extent when standing on the ground. The power of Shet Zereshet Wurt Falk What the hell did you do to me? Damn yellow-skinned monkey, you actually took away my power. Bastard, I'm going to kill you. The exclamations around him were accompanied by Fred's furious roar in the prison, but full of a different kind of fear. Zheng Mu smiled slightly, but he didn't see any specific movements. The prison door that was originally closed in front of him suddenly opened a pile. Someone, come and send our Mr. Fred home. 
I think his family must miss him very much. Fred roared angrily and rushed out of the prison. His strong arms were waved, and his huge fist roared towards Xing Mu. However. Boom. Seeing Fred being kicked out by Zheng Mu casually and unable to get up after retching for a long time, the other prisoners who were detained here all cowered back in horror. Two jailers stepped forward and lifted each other up. Zheng Mu looked at the other person's arrogant face and smiled solemnly. Mr. Fred, congratulations to you, by fury. We will not kill you. I even very much hope that you can return to your motherland and tell your wife and children about you. By the way, your daughter is very beautiful. I congratulate her here in advance and hope that she can become a professional as good as you, and then come to trouble our dragon kingdom. Zheng Mu was laughing, but Fred was so angry that he almost fainted. He has lost his power and has become an ordinary person. Even if the dragon kingdom lets him leave, how can he return to his own country? Any monster at level 4 or 5 in the wild can kill him. No. You dragon kingdom can't do this. Give me my power back and I will work for you. Please, I am willing to join the dragon kingdom camp. Please. Zheng Mu smiled slightly and walked to the second prison. When he saw the people inside, his face suddenly turned ugly. There's actually a nagel in this one. Forget it, our dragon kingdom won't accept a bitch like you, come on, stick your neck out. Chapter, 194 the Mi Empire professionals in the second prison did not even have time to react. The next moment, Zheng Mu's hand immediately grabbed his throat and pulled him to the prison door. No. 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 I surrender, I am willing to serve the Dragon Kingdom, no, I ah. Uh. The golden red light bloomed here again. Looking at the miserable appearance of the Nagel nationality professionals from the Mi Empire who screamed in terror, the professionals with the same skin color around them panicked instantly. Fake. You can't do this. Damn it, you are discriminating against us. This guy actually discriminates against us. I want to duel with you. If you have the guts to let us out, I want to duel with you. Amidst waves of curses, Zheng Mu's work finally came to an end again. Looking at the guy who fell to the ground with a splat and twitched helplessly, his body completely wet with sweat, Zheng Mu saw a diamond-shaped azure crystal in his hand. Huh, it's reasonable for an A-level star diamond warrior to come up with something like this. Zheng Mu murmured, and after everyone saw the information in his hand, their faces turned pale. Diamond Shield Defense Core, an orange legendary mechanical component that consumes energy to create a diamond layer with strong defense and solidity on the surface of the mechanical creation in a short period of time. When the little Nagel who fell in the prison looked up with difficulty, after seeing the core of the mechanical creation in Zheng Mu's hand, he fainted as if struck by lightning. TSK, 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 you are indeed a despicable Nagel. It is a waste of the world's resources for God to grant a career to such a guy. Zheng Mu said as he came to the first prison. This time, the person locked inside turned out to be a woman. Judging from the other party's information, she came from the White Bear country in the north. It's a pity that the shelf life has passed. After hearing Zheng Mu's words, the woman almost nodded. Yes, these black-skinned people are the dirtiest trash in the world. Please don't attack me. I am willing to serve the Dragon Kingdom. Please give me a chance. Zheng Mu couldn't understand the woman's tongue-licking sound, but fortunately the two jailers who were coming to deal with Little Nagel understood it and pretended to explain it to Zheng Mu. Hearing this, Zheng Mu left the other party with a satisfied expression of you are very knowledgeable and walked towards the next prison. There is no doubt that Zheng Mu's method has immediate results. Except for a few idiots who haven't understood the seriousness of the matter, as well as some Nagels who Zheng Mu didn't even intend to attack, Zheng Mu processed them all into their own mechanical components. Of the remaining four to five thousand people, not many of them could accept the outcome of becoming ordinary people. Just like what Zheng Mu said. Only after becoming professionals can we truly realize the gap between them and ordinary people. The life of ordinary people is really not life. Not to mention they are foreigners in the Dragon Kingdom. When Mr. Li saw such a smooth scene, he also smiled and raised his eyebrows. 
these people are all above level IV-70. After changing camps, they can be used with confidence and boldness. 4 to 5,000 senior professionals equivalent to Qin Ji and He Guang join in. It is definitely a force that cannot be ignored in the upcoming war with the American Empire. Hiss, but it seems that it is unlikely that there will be a guy with Nagel's skin color in our Dragon Kingdom in the future. Mr. Li smiled lightly, but there was no dissatisfaction with Jing Mu's extreme and prejudiced behavior in his words. On the side, Yoshida Shiro was already so frightened by the manipulation of the Dragon Kingdom's senior officials that he did not dare to say a word. Hearing Mr. Li's words, he nodded hurriedly and bowed his head. Yes, these Nagels are indeed not worthy of any sympathy. They have no outstanding civilization inheritance. They should have been skin diseases caused by Blue Star. They should have been completely eradicated. In the future, our Sakura country will definitely treat them these damn Nagels, start the massacre. Mr. Li smiled and said nothing. Seeing that Zheng Mu came back with a lot of gains and was obviously still unfinished, he took people back to the central hall of the City of God. Mr. Li, General Zheng Mu, I wonder when your country can send troops. Now the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom is in danger. Yoshida Shiro couldn't help but ask in a low voice. However, this time his attitude was obviously more cautious, even flattering. Princess Tokugawa on the side also looked pitiful, looking towards Jing Mu with tears in her eyes. Mr. Li also looked at the red-faced Jing Mu. The latter nodded directly. Now the AI army has 300-00 troops. Although these new members have not fully recovered their strength, this battle against the Ashikaga shogunate can be a rebirth battle for them to return to the top. When everyone heard this, they couldn't help but think of what happened a few days ago, when Zheng Mu led 100-00 soldiers of the Tianai army to massacre more than a dozen cities in the Baixiang kingdom. Princess Tokugawa's pretty face changed slightly, as if something had occurred to her, and she was about to say something, but she was hurriedly stopped by Yoshida Shiro on the side. Zheng Mu turned a blind eye to the eye contact between the two, but looked at Mr. Li with a smile. Mr. Li, the current situation is that since we are taking the initiative to send troops and it is to allow the soldiers of our Tianai army to regain their strength as soon as possible, then we need to declare war on the Sakura kingdom. Mr. Li nodded, of course it was nothing. If the two countries do not enter a state of national war, no experience points will be gained by killing each other's professionals. However, he just agreed. Zheng Mu once again made a surprising statement. Anyway, declaring war on the Sakura Kingdom is also a declaration of war. If we fight against the Ashikaga Shogunate, we will definitely encounter people from the Mi Empire. How about this declaration of war be initiated by our Dragon Kingdom? As soon as these words came out, everyone at the scene was shocked. Declare war on the American Empire? Even the arrogant Mr. Li now follows his own inherent thoughts because of the power of the Mi Empire and waits for the Mi Empire to declare war on their dragon kingdom. Then they fight back. However, Zheng Mu's proposal immediately stunned him. It's not that I was surprised by Zheng Mu's boldness, but after thinking about it for a while, I realized that there seemed to be nothing wrong with it, huh? Mr. Li frowned and pondered for two seconds. Finally, a faint smile appeared on his face again. Then declare war on those damn white-skinned pigs. It also happens to tell other countries in Blue Star that our Dragon Kingdom will not just be beaten blindly. Not only can we take the initiative against the Bangzi Kingdom, but we, the Dragon Kingdom, are unhappy with his Blue Star Overlord's Mi Empire, so we still want to touch it. Leave this matter to me and declare war on Sakura Country and the Mi Empire at the same time. If any other guy who thinks he's tough enough jumps out, let's take care of him together. With Mr. Li's nod, Zheng Mu immediately stopped staying. He immediately got up and walked towards the outside of the center. There was a rush of footsteps behind him, but Princess Tokugawa trotted after her. General, can you take me with you? I will be obedient and will never interfere with your actions. Although Long Guoyu was still stumbling, he looked at the other party's touching gesture. Zheng Mu laughed out loud, and picked him up by his waist amidst the latter's exclamations. Huangsha City, Shindu Military Industry Headquarters When Zheng Mu's urgent order came back, the Tian'ai army, 
who were always ready to enter combat status, quickly completed their deployment. When the air fortress appeared in the sky here, the steel-winged angel flying devices behind these people automatically deployed. Like wild geese returning to their nest, they swarmed into the sky and entered the interior of the aerial fortress. At the same time, the Long Kingdom's war preparation forces in other cities also received some warning and war preparation orders. The Sky Fortress headed towards the Sakura Kingdom, but Xiong Weishan and the others who boarded the Sky Fortress did not even see Xing Mu's face. Seeing this, the Red Queen standing in the control hall couldn't help but roll her eyes in her heart. It has not stopped since it started from the capital of God, and it seems that it is planned to move all the way to the sky above Sakura country. Just when Jing Mu was already flying over the sea, he would be able to reach the Cherry Blossom country in an hour or two. A rumbling voice of heaven instantly resounded through Blue Star. It's still the familiar way, but this time the protagonist has become an existence that the whole world has never thought of. The Dragon Kingdom camp launches an attack on the Mi Empire camp's base in Sakura country. The Dragon Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the Mi Empire camp will receive random rewards. The Mi Empire camp triggers the national war mechanism and kills members of the Dragon Kingdom camp to receive random rewards. The Mi Empire's combat objectives have been confirmed, occupy and defeat the Dragon Kingdom's attack, force it to initiate peace talks, and both parties reach peace talks conditions. The combat goal of the Dragon Kingdom camp has been confirmed, defeat the Mi Empire, force the White Elephant Kingdom to proactively propose peace talks, and both parties reach the terms of the peace talks. Participants in the National War are being confirmed. Professionals in the Dragon Kingdom Camp, 300 people support permission. Micro Empire Camp Professionals, 2-1-W people support permission. Rice Empire, Holy White Jade Camp. A group of high-level elites from the Mi Empire had just gathered together, preparing to formally declare war on the Dragon Kingdom because of the planned withdrawal of troops participating in the war. However, they had not yet started the topic of today's meeting. The rumbling announcement from heaven directly shocked everyone present. Emperor of the Mi Empire, Waltfa. Chapter, 195. Waterfa. The Emperor of the Mi Empire stared blankly in front of him. He spent a whole night selecting the most satisfactory one from hundreds of prepared declarations of war. When he was about to discuss the time and place of the attack with the senior management, he posted the news on his private forum first. As a result, Longwa's sudden action not only disrupted the rhythm of the top management of the Mi Empire. It was like a slap that shocked the world, loudly slapping the Mi Empire in the face in front of the whole world. All this time, ever since the blue star hegemony of the Mi Empire became unshakable. The Mi Empire has always taken the initiative to issue threats of national war against a certain country or force, and told the other party step by step that it was going to strike and attack where you were. What kind of force is going to be sent? Such general. Early before taking action, they explained their information to the person they wanted to beat up. However, with their crushing strength and one-sided results, they told the world that Blue Star was the real overlord. In this boxing ring, they will be the first to throw a punch. But now Longua, a guy who doesn't follow common sense, actually attacks them directly. However, before they even had time to say anything, another voice came. The Dragon Kingdom camp launches an attack on the Sakura Kingdom camp, the Ashikaga Shogunate. The Dragon Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the Sakura Kingdom camp will receive random rewards. The Sakura Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the Dragon Kingdom camp will receive random rewards. The combat goal of Sakura Kingdom has been confirmed, occupy and defeat the attack of Dragon Kingdom, force it to recognize the existence of the new emperor, and provide 397 compensation for defeat. The combat goal of the Dragon Kingdom camp has been confirmed, to wipe out all the forces of the Ashikaga Shogunate and establish a standard military garrison base of at least 50 people in the Sakura Kingdom. Participants in the National War are being confirmed. Professionals in the Dragon Kingdom camp, 300 people support permission. Sakura Kingdom camp professionals, 390 people support permission. Bangzi Country, Chinhua Palace. Sihachi. 
Are these Dragon Kingdom people really crazy? They actually initiated a national war against the Mi Empire and Sakura Kingdom. The King of Bangzi Kingdom was shocked and angry at the moment. He looked at the senior officials in the audience with shock in his eyes. Hearing this, General Sun Min Gao took a step forward and shook his head slightly. Your Majesty, we can't say that. Although my subordinates also think that what Long Gua did is really shocking, I have to say that it is also a clever move. Seeing everyone's gazes, Sun Min Gao took a deep breath. Your Majesty, all the countries in Blue Star can now see that the Mi Empire is determined to launch a national war against the Dragon Kingdom. The seven-day warning and consideration time for declaring war is just a troop deployment that even a fool can see. It's just an excuse. Whether it is the Mi Empire declaring war or the Dragon Kingdom taking the initiative to declare war, it will not have any impact on the outbreak of this national war. On the contrary, if it takes the initiative to declare war, the Dragon Kingdom can show an obvious national war. Initiative This will greatly improve the overall morale of the Dragon Kingdom. After hearing Sun Mingo's explanation, everyone understood instantly, but unfortunately, when they looked at each other, they still couldn't hide the shock on their faces. Even if they were given the strength of the Bangzi Kingdom and the Dragon Kingdom now, and allowed them to declare war on their own initiative before the Mi Empire declared war on them, they would never dare to have such an idea. Xiao Shiba has no backbone at all. Otherwise, how could he agree to something like stationing the Imperial Army in Bangmi? A senior official hesitated and spoke carefully. Your Majesty, the marriage between us and the Dragon Kingdom. As soon as these words came out, before the King of Bangzi Kingdom said anything on the throne, a voice suddenly sounded from below. Absolutely not. The huge sound startled everyone. Turning around, he saw Li Jianxi, who is now the president of the Professional Management Association of Bangzi Country, suddenly stood up. In the past, he basically acted as a transparent person here, but today he changed his silence from the past. He did not shy away from the glances from around him. Even when he was out of the queue, he once again spoke decisively to the King of Bangzi Kingdom on the throne. Your Majesty, now the alliance between our Bangzi Kingdom and the Dragon Kingdom, whether it is true or not, is already real in the eyes of the Mi Empire. The total number of elites that the Mi Empire has transferred back from the secret realm of different time and space this time is more than 700 This this level of military strength is definitely not only used to deal with the Dragon Kingdom. Our country, Bangzi, has long been targeted by the Mi Empire. All the adults present should not be able to refute this. After all, the diplomats we sent to the Mi Empire during this period have not received the treatment they deserve. There was a sudden silence. Li Jianxi's eyes flashed when he saw this. I believe that the marriage must not only be regretted or postponed, but must be done as soon as possible. Princess Tokugawa of the Sakura Kingdom has now arrived in the Dragon Kingdom's sacred capital. If we are slower, I am afraid that in the future, the Dragon Kingdom will whatever we really win has nothing to do with our ally, Bangzi country. Just when Li Jianxi thought that his proposal would immediately attract opposition from officials who were afraid of rice, a figure stood up again. Sun Min Gao looked solemn. Your Majesty, I agree with Chairman Li's proposal, and more than that, I request our Bangzi country to also send a force to respond to the Dragon Kingdom's declaration of war to directly participate in this national war. What? Shiba, are you crazy? The Mi Empire has taken action directly. It would be good if the Dragon Kingdom can maintain its current interests without being defeated. How can it possibly win? Your Majesty, I object. General Sun's proposal is too crazy. As soon as these words came out, the hall instantly exploded. Li Jianxi also looked at Sun Min Gao with a surprised look on his face. To be honest, he wanted to make this proposal, but he was really not sure about it, and it was very likely that he would be accused of seeking personal gain for his family. Want to climb up to the top of the Dragon Kingdom? Unexpectedly, General Sun Min Gao actually brought it up. The King of Bangzi Kingdom was also shocked by Sun Mingo's proposal. What kind of international joke are you making, declaring war with the Mi Empire? How terrifying is the Mi Empire? 
With 700 troops, there is no need to send much more troops to their Bangsi country. 100,000 is more than enough. If there are one or two more powerful people at the level of the protector of the country, then the Bangsi kingdom will have no choice but to completely abandon the secret realm of different time and space to ensure the safety of their own local camp. No, this idea is absolutely not allowed. In the national war between the Mi Empire and the Dragon Kingdom, we, the Bangsi Kingdom, only have to watch the war, and no one is allowed to interfere. The King of Bangsi Kingdom was frightened, and on the other side, the capital of Sakura Kingdom. Tokugawa is among them. With a puff sound, the sharp samurai sword penetrated Emperor Tokugawa's body, and the blood bar above his head began to drop rapidly. At this moment, among the Tokugawa residents, there were corpses lying on the ground. Beij Yalu, you guy can never become the god of this country. A despicable samurai. Listening to Emperor Tokugawa's gritted teeth and scolding, Ashikaga Nobuo sneered. What kind of god are you, the Tokugawa family, who have thrown these rubbish into the face of the Sakura kingdom? Are you worthy of claiming to be the god of the Sakura kingdom? This is ridiculous. Hearing this, Emperor Tokugawa looked at his sons kneeling at the entrance of the main hall. Only then did he realize that these guys who were dressed up like lowly warriors were actually his descendants. These people shaved off the hair on their heads and dressed in vulgar wizard garb. Ha ha ha, it seems that the law of heaven does not recognize your Tokugawa family as the royal family of our Sakura kingdom. This throne should be reserved for the strongest person in the Sakura kingdom. As he said that, he pulled out the katana in his hand from Emperor Tokugawa's body. Looking at the opponent's health bar that was about to bottom out, he ignored the blood stains on the emperor's throne and prepared to sit on it. However, at this time, clear roars suddenly came from the sky. Hearing this familiar voice, Emperor Tokugawa's eyes suddenly shone brightly. Ha ha ha, Bagagaji, you old thing Ashikaga, your end has come. The position of emperor will always belong to my Tokugawa family. Ashikaga Nobuo's expression also changed. As for the Dragon Kingdom's declaration of war against him, the shogunate, he had naturally learned about it from the Tiandao announcement just now. However, he never expected that these guys would come so quickly. The most important thing is, judging from the roar outside, the person coming is the mechanical god of war Zheng Mu who forced the White Elephant Kingdom to surrender in one day. Tokugawa lived outside. The royal samurai who were fighting hard against the Ashikaga shogunate samurai heard sounds from the sky, especially when they saw the aerial fortress falling from the clouds. The hope of life instantly appeared on each of the desperate faces. It's the mechanical god of war. What his majesty the emperor said is true. Our princess De is really married to the mechanical god of war. It's saved, we're saved. Kill. Enter the palace and rescue His Majesty the Emperor. Among the Tokugawa residents, Emperor Tokugawa's health bar was dim, and he was even more dying, but he was still muttering. Tokugawa will still be the god of the Sakura Kingdom. My Kagaya brought back the real god from the Dragon Kingdom. At the same time, in the air fortress, a refreshed Zheng Mu looked at the chaotic capital of the Sakura Kingdom below. To be honest, if he didn't have Tokugawa Kagaya, the tool to control Sakura country, he would really want to use the atomic cannon to kill him. Let's try to see if the cherry blossom country is hot or not. However, looking at the three figures suddenly appearing in the sky, a playful smile appeared on Zheng Mu's face. The protector god of Sakura country? Just right, I'll use you to try my new work. Chapter, 196 The rumbling aerial fortress came from the clouds. As if the fortress of God descended from the horizon, as the hatches below opened one after another, the soldiers of the Tianmai army, who were already hungry and thirsty, opened their steel-winged angel flying devices one after another. It was like densely packed heavenly soldiers descending. In the blink of an eye, it has spread over the entire capital of Sakura country. Zheng Mu's voice reached everyone's ears through the mechanical prostheses on these people. Since we do not have any friendly or enemy signs deployed, your mission is to kill all targets that actively attack you. Zheng Mu's cold words made her step stagger a little, and the pretty face of Tokugawa Kagaya who had just arrived suddenly changed. General, we. However, 
Before she could say anything, the Red Queen on the side had already glanced at her lightly. Now the capital of your Sakura kingdom has been completely occupied by the Ashikaga shogunate. Except for the small force that is still fighting near the Tokugawa palace, there is no one from your Tokugawa royal family. As soon as these words came out, Tokugawa Kagaya suddenly felt his body soften, and stared blankly at the huge light curtain, with the flags of the Ashikaga shogunate everywhere in the capital. At this time, she discovered that the capital had really almost changed hands. And when he thought about his father's situation, tears couldn't help but well up in his eyes. Zheng Mu glanced at her lightly and gave instructions to Tifa and Mary Rose on the side. Take Her Royal Highness to rest. Ignoring this princess of the Sakura Kingdom who came along the way and gave him a lot of different experiences, allowing him to see what it means to be royally corrupt, Zheng Mu looked at the big screen. The three people standing in the sky above the capital. They were all dressed like Sakura Kingdom warriors, armed to the teeth, and the armor on their bodies was also divided into three colors, gold, silver, and copper. The Red Queen immediately gave the information about these people. The Three Guardian Gods of Sakura Kingdom. They are triplets, known as the Three Ghost Swordsmen. They are all at IV-93 level, SS level Ghost Swordsmen. The appearance of three identical SS level professionals in triplets is extremely rare in the entire Blue Star. Not to mention, all three of them have grown to the level of the protector of the country. Glancing at the soldiers of the Tianai army below who were blocked by the city defense formation, Zheng Mu spoke calmly. Activate the atomic destruction cannon and blast the entire tortoise shell into pieces. As for these three guys. Since Zheng Mu, the mechanic, was born, the frequency of Tiandao live broadcasts is more than before combined. At this moment, looking at the three ghost warrior brothers in the sky above Sakura Kingdom, the senior officials of Dragon Kingdom could not help but narrow their eyes. This Ashikaga Nobuo really has some tricks up his sleeve. No wonder he was chosen as the spokesperson of the Mi Empire to seize the throne of Emperor Tokugawa, and even the three Tezuka brothers sacrificed their lives for him. Mr. Jiang looked solemn, these three guys were not like those parallel importers from Baixian Kingdom. In the White Elephant Kingdom, apart from Anilopi and Labentia, who still have real fighting power, the remaining few people are all guardian gods who focus on assistance and treatment. However, these three guys are real offensive warriors. The skills are also full of danger and cruelty. Even if you encounter some of the protector gods of the Mi Empire, you must be careful in dealing with them. Mr. Lin also had a worried look on his face. I heard from Kamaki that the big guy named Godzilla needs to consume an energy core to activate the explosive state like before. There doesn't seem to be any excess of that thing at the moment. Everyone was worried, but Ji, who was sitting in the first seat, smiled and said nothing. Looking expectantly at the three ghost samurai brothers of Sakura Kingdom who were facing off against the Sky Fortress at this moment. Although he didn't know what new mechanical creations Zheng Mu could come up with, he only had a huge harvest from the Jilong Dialog prison, as well as some Red Warrior level materials that he had obtained from the treasury before departure. Mr. Li has reason to believe that this kid is definitely holding something back. Sure enough, just when everyone was worried and professionals all over the world thought that Zheng Mu was going to appear and bring out the Godzilla before him, four figures suddenly walked out from above the air fortress. People. Seeing the four figures, the professionals all over the world who were paying attention to this battle were all stunned. The four figures are all wearing white cloaks, and the two big characters Justice with flying dragons and phoenixes behind them are constantly flying in the strong wind. A curly-haired young man with a lazy face, a wretched uncle with an unshaven beard, a burly man with an unsmiling Chinese character, and a man with a sinister face and a military uniform on his body. A fat man with a black face who is obviously out of place. The emergence of this combination, let alone the countries around the world, did not understand it. Even Mr. Lee was confused. What the hell, these four are also mechanical creations. There was obvious disappointment on Mr. Lee's face. Moreover, Godzilla and Sky Fortress are very difficult to mess with just by looking at their size. The four humanoid mechanical creations that Jing Mu has created obviously do not give him the shock he expected. This made Mr. Li worried and sent a message to Jing Mu. 
Boy, these four guys are also mechanical creations made by you. Can they do it? The three opposite are not easy to deal with. In our dragon kingdom, a protector of the country was killed in the battle with them. In the air fortress control hall, Zheng Mu, who originally had a smile on his face, heard that the three dwarfs in front of him had such grudges with our country. The smile on his face suddenly turned cold. Don't worry, Mr. Li, these three guys will not die easily. As soon as he finished speaking, under the gaze of the whole world, information suddenly appeared on the live broadcast screen. An information panel popped up on the four figures who could not see any information at first. The above content is very simple, but it has attracted the attention of the whole world. Name, Kizaru Porosolino. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Orange Legendary Level. Name, Qing Pheasant Kazan. Name, Akainu Sakaski. Name, Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach. Zereshet. Orange Legendary Level. What level was that Tyrannosaurus-like mechanical creation from the White Elephant Kingdom? Now I just know that the thing was named Godzilla, the King of Monsters, by that Dragon Kingdom person, but the specific level is still a secret from the Dragon Kingdom, but at least I think we all understand one thing. The current Air Fortress is an orange legendary one. God, how did this guy do it? This is definitely not something a mechanic should be able to do. The rebel general of Sakura country is probably going to die. In the forums of professionals from all over the world, the discussion information is like a snowflake waterfall, surging like crazy. Even the ordinary professionals in Sakura Kingdom are excitedly posting some photos and videos of the scene. While countries around the world were talking about it, the energy storage of the atomic cannon had been completed. With a roar, the silver-white beam of light was released. No one could resist it, and it instantly hit the Sakura country. The capital city defense formation. Zero request flowers zero. Next moment. Boom. Not even more than three seconds. With a huge explosion coming from a palace in Tokugawa Palace, the core of the city defense formation shattered, and the pale golden shield in the sky disappeared. Suddenly, the soldiers of the Tian AI army who had been blocked outside were like tigers rushing into the flock of sheep. They laughed one after another, waving their weapons, and rushed towards the guys in the city who were obviously dressed as shogunate samurai. How can you repair and kill? In front of our elite warriors, you are just a bastard from the Dragon Kingdom. Charge! Charge forward! General Ashikaga will support us soon. The elite support from the Mi Empire will arrive soon and kill all these Dragon Kingdom people. The inflammatory cheers hadn't ended yet, and the next moment a shocking skill fell from the sky. As elites who have withdrawn from the secret realm of different time and space, many of the 300 00 Tian AI army led by Zheng Mu were made like this by these abominable people. It was definitely an enemy who would be extremely jealous when they met. As soon as the two sides collided, the faces of the samurai of the Ashikaga shogunate all changed. Crazy. They felt that they were facing a group of lunatics who had completely lost their minds and only knew how to attack them wildly. The key is that these crazy girls are covered in various buffs. The attack speed and critical hit buffs brought by the potion, the defense and movement speed buffs brought by the talisman, and the purple rare level standard equipment on his body. These soldiers of the Tian AI army have just arrived, and their weapons are already stained with the blood of their Sakura Kingdom warriors. The mages and priests in the rear were dealing crazy output to the surroundings. Various group damage skills, as well as group debuffs, were thrown at them one after another, regardless of MP consumption. Bogvialu. Release the slowdown for me quickly. What do you priests do for a living? Hold on. Ninja. Go and deal with those annoying mages. Pfft. Ah. On both sides of the streets of the once prosperous Sakura Kingdom, among the buildings with obvious ancient Dragon Kingdom style, the citizens and ordinary professionals of the Sakura Kingdom saw the professionals of their country who had been directly pushed aside from the beginning. They all took a breath of cold air. How can it be repaired? Is this the strength of the Iron Army of the Dragon Kingdom that was once the enemy of the whole world? It's too terrifying. It's over, 
These guys from the Ashikaga Shogunate are no match at all. Quick. Look at the official side of the Dragon Kingdom. It's our Prime Minister Yoshida, our Princess Tokugawa, who is going to marry the mechanical god of war of the Dragon Kingdom. A large number of live videos and photos from Sakura Country spread quickly throughout the Blue Star Professional Forum. Among them, the photos from the official promotion of Sakura Country in Japan immediately aroused heated discussions around the world. In the photo is a soldier of the Dragon Kingdom Tian AI army who is fighting one against three. At this moment, he is facing three Sakura Kingdom professionals of the same level. The undisguised contempt on the opponent's face at this moment, as well as the three Sakura Kingdom warriors. Of fear. The contrast was stark at the moment. Then he looked at several Sakura Kingdom warriors lying on the ground. The name of this photo is directly named the Contempt of the Divine Soldiers of the Celestial Dynasty. At the same time, Kizaru, who looked lazy, was staring at the three Oni Takeda brothers in the void not far away. Abruptly, when no one reacted. But the other party's body suddenly appeared behind one of the three ghost warrior brothers. Have you ever been kicked at the speed of light? Chapter 197 Have you ever been kicked at the speed of light? A plain voice came from behind Tezuka Izumi, the youngest of the three Oni samurai brothers, who was wearing bronze samurai armor. Not to mention that the three Tezuka brothers failed to react to this sudden change. Professionals from all over the world who were staring at the Tian Dao live broadcast without blinking their eyes were looking at Tezuka Izumi who was instantly thrown away by a golden light with a bang. All faces were horrified. Nanny. And the three brothers, the eldest and the second, who had been staring at the air fortress on high alert, always on guard against the attacks of these Dragon Kingdom people, also turned their heads and looked sideways in horror. But they were shocked to find that the wretched uncle who should have been above the air fortress a second ago was actually behind them at this moment. Looking at the opponent's foot that kicked his brother away, there was still a dazzling golden light. The faces of the two people wearing evil ghost masks showed a look of horror. How could it be so fast? They couldn't even see clearly how the other party came here just now. I'll leave these two guys to you to divide. The one below belongs to me. So, see you later. Kizaru said with a leisurely expression. The boss, Tezuka Izumi, returned the samurai sword in his hand and suddenly a black air emitted the sound of ghosts crying and wolves howling 497. The next moment, a violent whistling sound suddenly came from behind. Big fire. A wild and rough voice came from behind, accompanied by a thick wave of heat. Brother, be careful. Next to him, the old man Zhong Quanqing roared, and instantly slashed out a jet black blade with a length of more than 10 meters in his hand. Boom! There was a violent explosion, accompanied by a burst of sulfur rain blooming over the capital of Sakura country, and lava spurted out from Akainu's body, bringing with it billowing black smoke and heat waves. In the blink of an eye, he was already rushing towards this side. An arm that also entered the magma state punched out the ghost warrior veteran Tsuka Izumi who blocked his move. Pluto. The fiery red magma fist shocked all the professionals who saw this scene. Zershet. Who the hell can tell me that this is a fucking mechanical creation? How can this guy tell that it's a mechanical creation, you bastard? That person from the Dragon Kingdom is a bug in this world, a bug that even heaven must have ignored. It's unfair. How can such a power be just an A-level? There must be something wrong with heaven. Even SS-level professions are not as perverted as him. God, hurry up and correct the loopholes in this world. Rice Empire, Holy White Jade Palace. Looking at the picture, there was an instant fight with the ghost warrior. Among them, Akainu Sakaski captured the second-in-command of the three Oni Samurai brothers, Tezuka Izumi, and Kizaru Pagliasolino captured the third-in-command, Tezuka Izumi. As for the boss Tezuka Izumi, who was wearing golden samurai armor, he just slashed out a sword in his hand and struck Sakaski who was rushing up. However, the attack had no impact at all on the opponent's body in the lava state. When he wanted to attack, a powerful attraction suddenly came from below. While his body was falling straight down uncontrollably, everyone watching the Tian Dao live broadcast could also clearly see the situation below. 
I saw Tiki with a black beard who was wearing a military uniform but looked like a bandit. Black energy surged in his hands at this moment. But the skill Dark Water has been activated. The powerful attraction made it impossible for Izumi Tezuka to break free in mid-air in a short period of time, and at this moment. A cold young man's voice came again, followed by a sharp whistling sound in a deep cold air, rushing towards his face. Two-thorn spear. With a rumble, the sound of a skill attack hitting the target was heard, causing the expressions of the senior officials of the Mi Empire to instantly darken. Fake. This guy is a breaker of rules. This kind of thing is actually a mechanical creation. Is Tian Dao blind? The emperor of the Mi Empire was scratching his head at this moment, but the golden bird's nest head could not bring any joy to the elites of the Mi Empire present. Your Majesty, in the current situation, Ashikaga Nobuo alone cannot stabilize the war situation in Sakura country. We must intervene directly. That's right, Your Majesty the Emperor, the Dragon Kingdom is obviously supporting the Emperor's faction of the Sakura Kingdom, and we are supporting the Shogunate faction. Now a civil war has broken out within the Sakura Kingdom. Since the Dragon Kingdom is involved, we, the Mi Empire, might as well put the battlefield on the battlefield. Sakura Country The horror of the mechanical creations created by the man from the Dragon Kingdom is getting more and more beyond our expectations. It has only been a week since the last Godzilla, and he has actually created four more terrifying humanoid mechanical creations. Obviously, what limits this mechanic is not the blueprint of the mechanical creation that we have always thought of, but the materials used to make the mechanical creation. The Dragon Kingdom has now collected a large amount of monster materials and other wealth from the White Elephant Kingdom, and the Bangzi Kingdom still has a batch of compensation bills that have not yet been repaid. If we let the Dragon Kingdom take control of His Majesty the Sakura Kingdom, the Dragon Kingdom will be completely out of control. In the splendid meeting hall of the Holy White Jade Palace, which is full of holiness and sacredness, the faces of these high-level elites of the Mi Empire became obviously solemn at this moment. Even when he spoke, his speaking speed was no longer as slow as before. The anxiety can be seen on the faces of everyone in the hall. The Emperor of the Mi Empire glanced around and saw that everyone had the same intention, so he nodded calmly. Okay, since everyone has unanimously decided, then inform General Minds at our base in Sakura Country to immediately activate the teleportation array between our homeland and Sakura Country at full power. He stared at the capital of Sakura Kingdom, which was already full of fighting at this moment, with a cold look in his eyes. Let our mighty militia warriors tell these damn yellow-skinned monkeys who is the king of this world. After creating Kizaru and the others, Jingmu can almost be said to have been hollowed out. With the things looted from the White Elephant Kingdom, plus the mechanical components obtained from the professionals in the prison, as well as part of the Dragon Kingdom's treasury storage, fortunately, the corresponding energy and functions in his heart were found to be transformed into corresponding monster materials. The aerial fortress moved slowly, and the entire Sakura kingdom below was visible to the naked eye. It was gradually shrouded in a shadow. The strong pressure caused the Ashikaga shogunate professionals who had been killed by the Tianai army to retreat. Immediately, morale was greatly reduced. On the streets, you can see shogunate professionals running towards the teleportation square everywhere. With such combat power, that guy named Ashikaga Nobuo still dares to call himself an elite? A beam of light was projected down, and it happened to fall on the palace of the capital of Sakura Kingdom, the King of Ju. At this moment, Tokugawa's side and the people brought by Ashikaga Nobuo have been completely defeated. When Zhengmu saw this scene, he immediately curled his lips in disdain. The small spot on his appendix is so big that it is easy to make people laugh. The vision is small, the tone is big. When he heard that the Ashikaga shogunate dispatched all elites this time, Jingmu's first thought was that the other party had withdrawn some of its power from the secret realm of different time and space. The results look at it now. What a 300-00 elite samurai from the Ashikaga shogunate. How dare he call himself an adult even after taking off his diaper. Throughout the whole process, Zhengmu did not even dispatch his army of mechanical creations, which numbered about 200 0, 0 but the battle had entered a full-scale suppression from the beginning. Charge! Charge forward, General Ashikaga will soon become the emperor, 
and all of us will be called the nobles of the Sakura kingdom for generations. Give me the glory of your warriors. In the Tokugawa residence, Xiong Weishan was holding an exaggerated giant axe. The walls and buildings he passed collapsed and froze, and the professionals of the Ashikaga shogunate who were attacked by him were instantly frozen into slag. Ha ha ha, you little baga are really going back more and more, isn't there anyone who can fight? Amidst Xiong Weishan's wild laughter, Princess Tokugawa next to Jing Mu suddenly nervously grabbed Jing Mu's arm. General, it's Ashikaga Nobuo. Hearing this, Zheng Mu looked towards the other party's fearful eyes, and sure enough, he went up a set of steps and saw an old man with flying white hair and beard, and an aura like a ferocious wolf. He stared at the people in the audience, his eyes shifted from Tokugawa Kagaya and finally to Zheng Mu. Seeing the other person opening his mouth to say something, Zheng Mu directly waved his hand and interrupted the other person. Forget the last words, I have no intention of listening to them, just do it. As soon as he finished speaking, an ominous black shadow rushed out from behind Xing Mu. Crack! Ashikaga Nobuo's pupils shrank, and he instinctively drew out his katana to resist. However, the next moment he was still instantly chopped away by Uchiha Muzan, who was no longer at the previous level. Xing Mu pouted, what kind of debate about life and power does this old guy plan to have with his four, five, year old self? He didn't even look at his dwarf-like height. Go see your father, I hope it's not too late. After hearing this, Tokugawa Kagaya immediately ran towards the stage in a hurry. Anyone who tried to stop him along the way was instantly reduced to rubbish by Miss Milaj beside Zheng Mu. In the Tokugawa residence, when Zheng Mu led people in, the ground was full of swaying corpses, and beside the throne, Emperor Tokugawa had already passed away. Mr. Lee and Yoshida Shiro, who saw this scene through the communication, immediately looked at each other. Yoshida Shiro immediately took out an edict from his arms that was obviously prepared long ago. General Zheng Mu, I sincerely ask the general to help His Highness Kagaya to succeed the emperor and take charge of the military affairs of our Sakura kingdom. Become the general of our Sakura kingdom's military affairs. Zheng Mu, who was ready to comfort the crying Tokugawa princess just a moment ago, was stunned. He stared blankly at Mr. Li, who was smiling a little strangely in the communication screen, and his eyes gradually became weird. Good guy, Mr. G, do you trust me a little too much? Forget about the 300-00 Tian AI army, now all the military power of a country is handed over to me. You make it hard for me not to think about that sentence about being ordered by God. Chapter, 198 Zheng Mu looked at Mr. Li and Yoshida Shiro who were not joking at all, and couldn't help but look outside. Although the Sakura kingdom is currently in chaos, there are constant fighting in the capital. But this is only temporary. As long as the rebellion of the Ashikaga shogunate is put down, and then the affairs of the Mi Empire are resolved, the entire country of Sakura country itself will be in the true sense, one person is superior and ten thousand people are inferior. Moreover, the person above him sometimes has the final say as to where he is, and it is determined by his preferences. Debt. Zheng Mu was moved. The smile on his face caused Mr. Li to nod repeatedly. Now that it has been decided to make Zheng Mu the leader of the rise of the Dragon Kingdom, the senior leaders of the Dragon Kingdom will not accuse him for trivial matters at this time. Not to mention the power of the Sakura Kingdom, if there was no support from the Mi Empire, relying on what Xiao Baga has done over the years, the Dragon Kingdom would have destroyed them ten times or eight times. Zheng Mu Jiyuan looked at Zheng Mu Jiyuan, who was obviously at a loss and a little distracted, and smiled faintly. About the succession of the new Tokugawa Emperor, we are temporarily announcing it, but whether it will happen or not we'll have to wait until we deal with those white-skinned pigs in the Mi Empire. Boy, don't forget about business. According to our investigation, the teleportation array at the Mi Empire's base in Sakura country has been activated. The real tough battle will begin next. Hearing this, Zheng Mu took a deep breath and nodded, his eyes becoming sharp again. After briefly comforting Princess Tokugawa, Xiong Weishan had already led Person 02 outside to clean up the remaining shogunate samurai in the center of Tokugawa. General, Ashikaga, I'm going to deal with that old guy in Ashikaga right now. This guy's head is rolling on the ground, 
and our national war is half won this time. Xiong Weishan's body was filled with cold air, and the giant axe in his hand was dripping with blood. However, just as he finished speaking, a sharp roar from Ashikaga suddenly came from outside. Damn people from the Dragon Kingdom, you ruined my big things, so you don't even want to have a better life. When the sound ended, a terrifying wave of energy came from outside. It was accompanied by a roar of a giant beast that shook the surroundings. When Zheng Mu led people out, he was instantly startled by the big guys outside. Name, Alternate Dimension, Nine-Tailed Demon Fox. Race, Monster Race. Level, IV-93. HP, 1300W, 1300W. MP, 200W, 200W. Power, 15200. Agility, 7621. Mental power, 14382. Physique, 10890. Skills, Moving Mountain Order LV3, Demonic Bullet LV3, Enchanting Demonic Array. What the hell? This exclamation came from Zhang's mouth, and at the same time, the surrounding soldiers of the Tian AI army also gasped in horror. Just when Zheng Mu was still a little confused, Xiong Weishan was already shouting anxiously. General, please hurry up and evacuate with the kilometer. The capital of Sakura Kingdom is probably in danger. Zheng Mu still looked confused. Didn't he just create a big monster out of nowhere? Even if he is the god of national protection, we are worthy of it. However, the next moment, the scarlet nine-tailed demon fox that was sixty or seventy meters tall suddenly roared. Nine tails were waving in the air, and the next moment there were sudden roars in the sky. Hu ho ho! Zheng Mu looked up and his eyes almost popped out. Fuck! I saw that the originally peaceful sky suddenly became dense with dark clouds, and meteorites with billowing flames fell directly towards the bottom. General, retreat quickly! This monster created by this old guy is the boss in the secret realm of different time and space. Xiong Weishan couldn't care about anything else and hurriedly dragged Jing Mu away. However, the meteorite fell so fast that it was simply unrealistic to escape at this time. Above the head, the firepower of the air fortress has been deployed, and attacks with long tail flames are roaring towards the meteorites in the sky. Boom! The terrifying explosion sounded fiercely in the sky without anyone expecting it. At this moment, the little Baga in the capital of Sakura Kingdom had already been completely frightened, screaming in fear, and ran towards the outside of the city. The soldiers of the Tian Ai army who had just finished the battle looked up at the ferocious nine-tailed demon fox. Their expressions changed wildly. Damn it! How could anyone bring out a monster from a secret realm in another time and space, and a boss-level guy at that? Qin Ji roared in disbelief, but it was no longer the time to care about this at this moment. Knowing the terror of the monsters in the secret realm of different time and space, he immediately ordered the soldiers of the Tian Ai army around him to disperse towards the surroundings. Although these people are elites, monsters from different time and space that have reached level IV-93 of the Nine-Tailed Demon Fox already need to mobilize the power of the God of Protection. These soldiers of the Tian Ai army who were in their forties or fifties would die if they rushed forward. And similarly, professionals all over the world will be in an uproar when they see this scene. Borscheid. Where did this monster come from? The Nine-Tailed Demon Fox. Is there such a terrifying monster in the Blue Star Monster Book? Obviously, this monster is definitely not a monster from Blue Star. I suspect that it was this damn little dwarf from Sakura Country who was brought back from the front line somehow. Mazefak. Aren't the monsters on the front line much more powerful in combat than our Blue Star monsters? Damn it, why would this lunatic bring such a thing back to Japan? Not to mention the crazy expressions of the professionals from various countries, even the Mi Empire behind Ashikaga Nobuo did not expect that the other party actually hid such a trump card. Looking at Ashikaga Nobuo in the live broadcast, a scroll in his hand has been turned into fly ash, and a silver-white talisman on his body is blooming, a cold murderous intention bursts out in the eyes of the top elites of the Mi Empire. It can be seen that the old man from Sakura country we are looking for is not a person who is willing to be lonely. 
He even has the divine hidden spirit blocking scroll that is only produced in the central region with a very low probability. If this old man is and if our holy white jade palace uses this thing, we will all suffer a lot of losses. The function of the divine hidden soul locking scroll is very simple. It can forcefully seal a monster from a secret realm in different time and space into the scroll. When necessary, the seal can be released to release it. Although this thing does not allow the monster to recognize its master, it does throw a terrifying monster into the enemy's core area at once. Even the Mi Empire couldn't bear that level of danger. After hearing the words of this senior official, the face of the Emperor of the Mi Empire, who was sitting on the throne, turned gloomy. Although the Emperor of the Mi Empire is not as big as the emperors of other countries. However, if he is asked to give up this position, there is no doubt that he will kill anyone who dares to say this. However, now this old guy from Sakura country dared to secretly hide something that could threaten his life and safety. Immediately, murderous intent was raging in the heart of the emperor of the Mi Empire. If I want to re-elect the emperor, I suddenly think that a member of the Tokugawa family is more suitable. After all, as the people of Sakura country think, the Tokugawa family is the god of Sakura country. He said calmly, and everyone present already knew what he meant. Indeed, I agree with your majesty's proposal. The sons of Emperor Tokugawa are all good candidates. They are very friendly and easy to control. At this moment, the silver-white light almost covered his whole body, and Ashikaga Nobuo, who had used the precious teleportation talisman, was laughing wildly. Ha ha ha, little Zheng Mu, try the gift I specially prepared for you. Now that you're here, stay here to accompany the Tokugawa family. As soon as he finished speaking, the whole person turned into a white light and disappeared from the place. In the capital, the raging nine-tailed demon fox caused large buildings to collapse without even moving. Seeing the aerial fortress in the sky that blocked his own skills, terrifying pressure suddenly appeared in his tyrannical eyes. The next moment, the bloody mouth opened, and a scarlet energy bomb condensed instantly. There was no imaginary skill condensation time, just a few blinks of an eye, and a terrifying demon spirit bullet burst out from its mouth in an instant. Immediately, the Xuanwu Shield Defense Core on the Air Fortress was activated, but the durability dropped instantly, causing nearly 4 million damage. Zheng Mu's whole face was twitching. At this moment, he finally realized the almost sad look on Mr. Li's face when he talked about how dangerous the secret realm of different time and space was. Damn it, he was hit head on by Enelope's secret skill, and his durability was only reduced by less than 2 million. Now the nine-tailed demon fox's attack actually caused double damage. The Red Queen was also startled by the terrifying monster below, and hurriedly launched the fortress to quickly rise upwards. At the same time, the secondary battery's necrotic laser cannons and missiles poured out towards the nine-tailed demon fox below. Boom boom boom. The explosion exploded all over the body of the nine-tailed demon fox. However, in the other party's roar, there was no trace of pain, but instead, it was full of anger. Zheng Mu looked solemn. He understands that in this situation, Xion Weishan and the others are unable to fight back at all, so they can only take action themselves. You take Princess Tokugawa and evacuate. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, and the same ferocity and madness as that of the nine-tailed demon fox appeared in his eyes. Waves of golden ripples spread out behind you. Chapter 199 After hearing Zheng Mu's decisive order and looking at the hundreds of meters high ripples in the void behind him, everyone immediately thought of the terrifying behemoth that wreaked havoc in the White Elephant Kingdom. Godzilla. And just as Xiong Weishan and the others thought, just as they started to activate the steel wing angel flying device, they flew into the sky and flew towards the outside of the city. A sharp neighing sound suddenly came from the mouth of the nine-tailed demon fox. The next moment, with the nine-tailed demon fox as the center, a dark purple energy storm suddenly spread, like a sandstorm, quickly sweeping through the surrounding high-rise buildings. And quickly swept towards the outskirts of the capital. Ah! In the deep purple storm, a jet-black energy instantly rose from the bodies of the residents of the Sakura Kingdom who had not had time to evacuate. The next moment, these citizens of Sakura Kingdom seemed to have lost control in an instant. 
he looked like a madman and started attacking the living people around him. The shrill screams were accompanied by an energy body that seemed to be the souls of some dead people, which separated from the body and gathered in the direction of the nine-tailed demon fox. Seeing this scene, all the professionals in the world, including those at the top of the Mii Empire, felt instantly terrified. Fake. That old guy, I will definitely kill him. This guy is a madman. There are so many monsters in different time and space, but this guy just chose this damn stinky fox. You can't control this old thing. If you keep it, it will be a hidden danger. After we deal with these yellow-skinned monkeys in the Dragon Kingdom, the next step is to send all the dwarfs from the Ashikaga family to see God. Fake. What a bunch of lunatics. The senior officials of the Mi Empire cursed angrily. For those of them who enjoy the treatment of the top leaders of the world's top hegemony, there is still a way to be resurrected even if their health bars are cleared. Props used for resurrection are not unfamiliar to a country like the Mi Empire that controls part of the secret realm of different time and space. Even the high-level dignitaries of the Mi Empire present basically have one in hand. However, this kind of resurrection item cannot be used on people whose souls have died. The current nine-tailed demon fox clearly has the ability to absorb the souls of dead people. This is something they absolutely cannot tolerate. Similarly, the citizens of other cities in Sakura Kingdom who saw this scene at this moment were also angered by Ashikaga's behavior. Terrifying monsters like the nine-tailed demon fox were released into the city. Not to mention high-level professionals and ordinary people. In front of this kind of monster, all living beings are equal. Hagagaji, Ashikaga, this evil thief, is so heartless that he threw everyone's lives aside in order to snatch the emperor's position. Ashikaga Nobuo is the real executioner. We, the Mitsui Guild, are announcing from now on that we are firmly opposed to the Ashikaga shogunate seizing the power of the emperor. We, the Mitsui Guild, will kill everyone from the Ashikaga shogunate. How can it be repaired? Even the people of the Dragon Kingdom cannot resist such a terrifying attack. Is our capital about to be destroyed in the hands of this old thief? Zheng Mu naturally saw this terrifying scene. Looking at the souls rising into the sky, even he couldn't help but feel chilled at this moment. Damn it! I think Zheng Shuaba learned a lot of knowledge back then and read a lot of books about professionals in this world. But I have heard of skills that target mental attacks and cause the opponent to be dizzy, confused, etc. But he had never heard of the skill of directly extracting souls. In the king's treasure house, behind him, a ferocious dragon head stretched out. Before the body came out of the treasure house, a scorching atomic ray suddenly emitted from his mouth. Boom! The terrifying speed made it impossible for the nine-tailed demon fox to avoid it. It let out a huge scream, and its body was pushed by this terrifying atomic ray and moved sideways outside the city. The sound of Karara's building falling was accompanied by the rumbling of the ground in the city. Thousands of square meters were instantly in shambles. Although accidental injuries are unavoidable, with Godzilla's blow, the ecstasy demon formation, targeting the entire city was instantly interrupted. Watching the citizens gradually regain their senses as the energy dissipated. Tokugawa Kagaya, who was forcibly taken away from the city by the steel-winged angel flying device, shouted anxiously. General, please save the people of Sakura country. Please save their lives. They will also be your people in the future. The sound reached Zheng Mu's ears, making Zheng Mu frown slightly. Even though he didn't want to care about it, he couldn't refuse Mr. Li's plan and the reasons given by Tokugawa Kagaya. When even through the communication device, he gave orders to the Tianai army that had just withdrawn from the city. I will hold this monster back while you take the opportunity to quickly rescue the living people here. As he spoke, Godzilla behind him was already taking heavy steps, like a charging mountain, rushing towards the furious nine-tailed demon fox in the distance. On the back behind him, Azure Atomic Energy gathered again. After being served by Godzilla's thick phlegm move, the nine-tailed demon fox became furious and set its target on the opponent. The demon bullets in his mouth that could cause nearly four million damage instantly began to condense again. And this time, looking at the opponent's terrifying degree of concentration, it was obvious that he planned to destroy Godzilla directly. 
No, this monster is still too much for that boy Jingmu. Quick. Order our war preparations to advance to the Sakura country immediately. At the same time, order Hrithik and the others to lead the elite team and rush to the capital of Sakura Kingdom as quickly as possible. In the central hall of the Divine Capital. Seeing that the HP on top of his head dropped by less than 5% after being forced to use Godzilla's atomic breath move, Mr. Lee and others were all in an uproar. Even in the Air Fortress, Jin Mu's Transformers mechanical creations have already joined the battle. Optimus Prime, Megatron, and the five Dinosaur King Kongs have all completed their integration. At this moment, Mr. Lee and the others still had serious expressions on their faces. Anxious orders were given, and the country's follow-up forces were urgently dispatched. At this moment, in the Tiandao live broadcast, the breath duel between the nine-tailed demon fox and Godzilla suddenly broke out. Boom! The collision of red and blue energy instantly made the sky over the Sakura country seem to darken. The surrounding environment turned into a vacuum at this moment. In the dead silence, the billowing smoke spread towards the surroundings along with the collision of hot energy. And within a few seconds of this confrontation, the information on Scylla suddenly popped up. It was instantly captured by professionals all over the world. Name, King of Monsters Godzilla. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Orange Legendary Level. Durability, 1100W1100W. Defense, 1100. Skill 1, Atomic Breath, launches high-intensity atomic rays, causing horrific damage to the target, bomb load, 2020. Skill 2, Ridge Strangulation, activates the blade's edge mountain external armor, and with atomic energy attached, causes horrific physical attribute damage to the target, with no cooling time. Skill 3, Atomic Disintegration Force Field, after Godzilla receives magic attribute damage, he will automatically activate his own energy decomposition external device, which will generate a 30% to 50% immunity against magic skill damage. Cooling time, 3 minutes. Skill 4, Red Lotus Burning Furnace, consumes a fire lotus explosion core, ignites the Red Lotus Burning Furnace, and puts Godzilla into Red Lotus Godzilla mode. There is no consumption and no skill cooling time. It spreads 200 to the surrounding area. Percent of area attack damage. Duration, 5 minutes. This sudden appearance of such detailed information would have caused an uproar among professionals all over the world if it were in the past. However, at this moment, everyone's eyes were fixed on Godzilla's durability, without even daring to blink. HP 40W. HP 73W. HP 80W. Watching as the atomic breath was gradually suppressed by the nine-tailed demon fox's demon bullets, the red energy gradually came into contact with Godzilla's body, and the blood bar on Godzilla's head finally began to move. Seeing that only a few people were affected, but there were hundreds of thousands and hundreds of thousands of damage, professionals from all over the world swallowed their saliva. Especially those professionals who knew that the secret realm of different time and space existed, but had not yet entered it, turned pale. The total blood volume of these people is not as much as Shasilla's HP loss in one second. It can be said that if they appeared next to the nine-tailed demon fox, let alone any resistance, they would not even have a chance to escape. It's over. Godzilla, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom, will never be able to hold on to this move. God, I really don't know if this terrifying monster appears in our Eagle Kingdom, whether our protector gods can destroy it. I feel that eradication should be no problem, but it is estimated that many cities in your Eagle Kingdom will be reduced to ruins. And just when professionals from all over the world were talking about it. Suddenly, a heavy OK OK, footsteps, like an earthquake, suddenly came from behind Godzilla. A giant with steam rising from its body in an armor-like appearance, dozens of meters tall, suddenly rushed out. The shield in his hand, which was as big as a city wall, hit the nine-tailed demon fox hard on the head. Boom! Like two high-speed trains colliding together, the head of the nine-tailed demon fox that was releasing the demon spirit bomb was instantly smashed. The next moment, Godzilla's atomic ray hit the opponent once. Under the huge surge of energy, the nine-tailed demon fox staggered and screamed, and was pushed directly out of the capital of Sakura Kingdom. 
However, with a huge sound of heavy objects falling to the ground, the eyes of the whole world were looking at the armored giant who suddenly appeared in horror. At this moment, the huge white gold shield in the opponent's hand was inserted into the ground. The whole person stood in front of Godzilla, like a giant spirit god descending from the sky. Brief messages emerged from the other person's body. Name, Anti-Behemoth Armor Armored Titan. Durability, 300W 300W West. Hiss. Walter. What a nine-tailed demon fox. This kind of monster cannot be called a monster at all. This man from the Dragon Kingdom is a real natural disaster. Is he the god of creation? Chapter, 200. Boom. The demon spirit bullets from the mouth of the nine-tailed demon fox condensed and spat out, hitting the huge platinum shield like a city wall hard. The terrifying energy fluctuations destroyed the surrounding buildings and ruins into dust. The ground sunk deeply and the wind howled. However, the body of the giant that suddenly appeared showed no intention of retreating. The giant platinum shield is like a divine wall that can block all disasters. Amidst the rumbling roar, Zheng Mu, who had already used the skill mechanical blessing, and was controlling the body of the armored giant, suddenly showed some joy in his eyes. Can be blocked. With a thought, there was a sudden clicking sound from the huge shield in front of the armored giant. Just when everyone thought the shield was damaged, something like hatches suddenly opened on both sides of the shield. The next moment, blazing red energy spurted out from one side of the shield. And it was at this moment that everyone saw clearly the information displayed by this large shield. Alien Iron Wall Shield, an orange legendary mechanical component worked by Mechanic Xing Mu, which is composed of a variety of high-strength metals and fused with the core of a powerful defensive iron wall device, which can resist physical and magical attacks to the maximum extent, and when the magic attack exceeds the peak endurance, it can change the path of magic damage by turning on the side energy release device. Professionals all over the world gasped, but the smile on Jing Mu's face gradually became ferocious as this wave of attacks was blocked by him without any harm. Alien Iron Wall Shield, the main body of manufacturing of this thing is none other than the Dimensional Treasure House Barrier Device, obtained by Zheng Mu after he used Transfer Gold Hand, on the Treasure House Gates of Bangzi Country and Baixiang Country during this period. Blessed by multiple such Red Brave level devices, plus a large amount of 440 rare metals collected from the White Elephant Kingdom. Finally, the main body is an orange legendary piece of equipment named Tianling Shuan Armor Shield, in the Dragon Kingdom's treasury. Only then did he create this alien iron wall shield. When the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom saw that Zheng Mu had successfully blocked the nine-tailed demon fox's demon bullet from the front without even losing a trace of his health bar, they all waved their pens and shouted excitedly. At this moment, the soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom, who had been fully equipped and boarded a series of high-tech air battleships, ready to rush to the Sakura Kingdom battlefield, raised their arms and shouted excitedly when they saw this scene. General Zheng Mu is awesome. Blocked, damn. These mechanical creations of the Zheng Mu army are too strong. What else can General Zheng Mu not do? Oh my god, counting the four humanoid mechanical creations who are fighting the three ghost warrior brothers over there, General Zheng Mu alone has the ability to fight with more than four guardians. The god of the country has the ability to fight. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up and sit still. The legion commander ordered us to rush to the Sakura country at full speed. If we arrive late, let alone the meat, all the soup will be lost to those guys from the Tian AI army. And it was just like what these soldiers were talking about. Outside the capital of Sakura kingdom, looking at the giant shield that was still rising with hot white air, the nine-tailed demon fox was obviously stunned for a moment. It can clearly perceive that the guys in front of it who are not bad at all compared to itself are actually not as strong as themselves, and the feeling of being soulless makes it think of things like puppet. However, even if it comes from the secret realm of different time and space, a place where all kinds of terrifying monsters are rampant. At this moment, it couldn't understand why the puppet was so powerful. Even if his demon bullets are not fired at full strength, he is still quite confident in dealing horrific damage. However, while it was dazed, Zheng Mu and the others were not idle. The giant shield, as thick as a city wall, roared and swung, hitting the nine-tailed demon fox's head. 
When the latter instinctively avoided, a whistling sound came from the other side. The nine-tailed demon fox's huge scarlet pupils suddenly shrank. It was a giant tail covered with sharp scales. Boom! Ouch! Unable to avoid it, Godzilla's blow hit the nine-tailed demon fox hard on the head. Seeing the instantaneous fluctuation of the blood bar above the opponent's head, Xing Mu and the soldiers of the Tian Ai army who were quickly rescuing people at the scene clenched their fists in excitement. HP 31W The damage of 31000 fell on the nine-tailed demon fox at this moment, but it didn't even cut off 1% of the opponent. However, even so, people in our country are so excited that they can't help themselves. If you have the ability to fight back, everything that follows will be promising. And just like everyone thought. Under the control of Mu, the armored giant and Godzilla, one on the left and one on the right, surrounded the nine-tailed demon fox and fired their bows from left to right. Godzilla slapped the nine-tailed demon fox with a fierce claw, making the nine-tailed demon fox dizzy. Before the opponent could recover from the dizzy state, Zheng Mu's huge shield had already given the opponent a wave of intimate kisses on the head. Behind the nine-tailed demon fox, the already merged Tianhu Optimus Prime and King Shura also used their full firepower, not wanting to cause much damage to each other. But it successfully restrained the nine tails of the nine-tailed demon fox. Buzz buzz! Above the sky, the main cannon of the air fortress, the atomic destroyer, had finished cooling down. Immediately, under the command of the Red Queen, it began to charge towards the nine-tailed demon fox below. A strong sense of crisis came from above the head, coupled with the crazy siege by Zheng Mu and other mechanical creatures around him, the nine-tailed demon fox also roared angrily, and the next moment, his whole body suddenly burned with a golden flame. The buff words nine stars show weight suddenly appeared in the other party's information column. Nine-tailed manifestation, the nine-tailed demon fox can consume a certain amount of HP to increase its resistance to physical and magical damage by 30% in a short period of time, and enter a hegemonic state. Duration, 10 minutes. This time, when Zheng Mu's huge shield hit the opponent's head like a relay again, the nine-tailed demon fox's body did not stagger or retreat as expected. Roar. With a fierce roar, the terrifying claws instantly appeared. He grabbed it towards the armored giant's chest. Crack. The bloody streaks above the head did not move at all, and the horrified look on the faces of the Dragon Kingdom's senior officials was instantly replaced by shock. The Holy White Jade Palace of the Rice Empire. Seeing the nine-tailed demon fox's obviously full-strength attack, the Emperor of the Rice Empire opened his eyes wide in anticipation, opened his mouth, and spilled the wine in the wine glass in his hand. It's like fans in the World Cup who are watching their own players about to take a shot, full of expectations. However, along with a crisp cracking sound, something like azure crystal shattered around the sharp giant claws of the nine-tailed demon fox. This expectation instantly froze on the other person's face. Zershite. Did this guy create a turtle giant? The emperor of the Mi Empire couldn't believe it and roared with disappointment. At the battle scene, a cruel smile appeared on Zheng Mu's face, and a layer of blue crystal structure quickly condensed on one of the armored giant's arms. Transformed into a spiked finger tiger arm guard. Accompanied by a violent puff of steam, it spurted out from the armored giant's body. A sense of power that had not been shown before suddenly rose from the armored giant's body. Phew! Bang! The agility that was completely inconsistent with the size of the body gave everyone just time to see an afterimage swing out. The terrifying fist shattered the air and hit the side of the nine-tailed demon fox's cheek hard. A miserable and angry howl roared out from the mouth of the nine-tailed demon fox. The twisted fox's face was dripping with blood and had broken crystals. Professionals all over the world fell into stunned silence. At this moment, Hrithik and others, who were riding in a huge air battleship, besides being silent at this moment, their faces were full of horror and fear. They recognized this ability and had seen the origin of these abilities from the brief changes in the armored giant. It was the mechanical component that Xing Mu first obtained from the first two professionals a few days ago. Ley Line Force Field Amplification Core, obtained from Fred, a senior professional from the Eagle Kingdom and an S-Class Mountain Warrior. 
and the Diamond Shield Defense Corps, obtained from a Nagel professional, a star diamond warrior. This feeling as if the parts on their bodies had been disassembled and installed on the opponent's mechanical creation made everyone present stay silent. Fred, they've seen people who have been deprived of their professional status. The people of the Dragon Kingdom really didn't kill them, and even took the initiative to send a message to the country behind them, asking them to send people over to pick them up. However, most of these people cannot accept the huge gap just after they get out of prison. They all chose to understand themselves. This guy is definitely the reincarnation of Shiva. He created those mechanical creations that seem to have a life of his own, but he also gave us all the cruelest destruction. He is a madman. When Dillman said this, he, the majestic protector of the White Elephant Kingdom, was trembling at the moment. At the same time, in the live broadcast, after activating the Ley Line Force Field Amplification Core, Zheng Mu stepped on the ground with both feet, and his strength attributes instantly increased by more than ten times. If it weren't for the worry of overloading the armored titan's body, it wouldn't be impossible to increase its power by a hundred times instantly. However, even so, when Zheng Mu's huge body rushed out like a sumo wrestler, he hit the nine-tailed demon fox hard, and the latter obviously fell into the imprisoned state. On Godzilla's back, blue atomic energy surged, and the light in his mouth bloomed again. Just when Godzilla's atomic breath is about to be launched. But a voice suddenly came from Zheng Mu's mind. You killed Sakura Country Camp Professional Tezuka Izumi Suyoshi IV-93, gained 599-9W experience points, and obtained the coordinates of the entrance to the underground world. You killed an SS-level professional and received a special reward from heaven. Congratulations on getting Tiandao points 3. You have been upgraded, your current level is 445. You have new skills to learn. Chapter, 201 Zheng Mu didn't care at all about the surge of energy in his body and the slight improvement in his attributes. At this moment, the skill conservation double, was used, and the armored giant's already terrifying power attribute soared again after sacrificing agility. While crazily pressing the body of the nine-tailed demon fox, with diamond crystals wrapped in his hands, he greeted the opponent with heavy punches that were like exploding mountains. One side couldn't help but look in the direction of Kizaru and the others. As expected, Tezuka Izumi, the eldest of the three Oni Samurai brothers who was wearing golden samurai armor, had been transformed into an ice sculpture by Akiji's frozen capsule. The completely emptied blood bar not only caused Ashikaga Nobuo, who was paying attention to the battle here, to roar again and again. It also caused other professionals in Sakura country to be shocked. Although the rebellion of Ashikaga Nobuo is still supported by the forces of the Ashikaga Shogunate faction in Sakura Kingdom, almost all professionals in Sakura Kingdom are overwhelmingly supporting the Imperial family. However, the entire Sakura Kingdom believed in the strength of the three ghost samurai brothers. When they saw that Izumi Tezuka was killed by Zheng Mu's mechanics so quickly, all the professionals in Sakura country felt their minds go blank. Beige Yalu. You damn dragon country people, you have the guts to fight us head on. Kill you. You guys from the dragon kingdom, I will definitely cut you all into pieces. The second in command, Tezuka Izumi, and the third in command, Tezuka Izumi, roared angrily. However, as soon as the two of them finished speaking, Akainu's big fire breath and Kizaru's Amazon cloud sword attacked. In an instant, he once again fell into a bitter battle with the two of them. On the other side, under Zheng Mu's strong suppression, the nine-tailed demon fox was struggling hard, but at this moment, its huge body was still pinned to the ground and it was crawling. It roared ferociously, and energy continued to erupt from its body, trying to blast Zheng Mu away. However, apart from exploding a large amount of diamond crystals from the armored titan in large areas, the whole process did not even cause any effective weakening of the armored titan's health bar. Amidst the sound of heavy footsteps, with a mouthful of atomic phlegm from 1982 in his mouth, Godzilla came directly in front of the nine-tailed demon fox. Under everyone's horrified gaze, he opened the bloody mouth of the nine-tailed demon fox with both hands. As the opponent's pupils contracted violently, atomic breath suddenly spurted out. Oh oh oh! Amid the shrill howl, Zheng Mu felt the nine-tailed demon fox's struggle beneath him suddenly increase several times, almost throwing his huge body away. 
the hot energy spurts directly into the other person's mouth. Under the bombardment of Zheng Mu's crazy iron fist, the blood bar had been slowly dropping, and it suddenly began to fall apart. HP 131W HP 147W HP 149W HP In just the blink of an eye, the nine-tailed demon fox's health bar dropped to eight or nine million, which was less than 30% of the total blood volume. And just when Godzilla roared, clutching the bloody mouth of the nine-tailed demon fox, the atomic leaf breath began to condense on the back behind him again. The nine-tailed demon fox, which almost lost half of its life by this move, suddenly experienced a surge of energy. Just when Zheng Mu was startled and tried to suppress his next resistance with all his strength, he made a shocking discovery. The nine-tailed demon fox beneath him did not show any resistance as expected. As the crimson energy surged, the energy body of a nine-tailed demon fox rose up from the huge body. Name, Dimension, Nine-tailed Demon Fox Origin Race, Demon Spirit Level, IV-93 HP 800W 800W The constantly twisting energy body was rolling in mid-air, but the health bar of the nine-tailed demon fox under Xing Mu had been cleared instantly. Seeing this scene in the distance made Wei Shan shout anxiously. General, be careful, this kind of monster cannot be attacked unless it has soul attack skills. Xing Mu was startled. Soul skills. I've never heard of this. However, at this moment, the origin of the nine-tailed demon fox in the sky has begun to rage with rage. Although this behavior of soul body leaving the body can temporarily save one's life, it cannot allow one to return to the original body. Purple flames suddenly burst out from the nine-tailed demon fox's original body. In an instant, the armored giant and Godzilla controlled by Zheng Mu were all infected. You have been attacked by the skill evil fox curse, and your HP will continue to decrease, and you will lose 1% every second. What the fuck? Looking at Godzilla and the armored titan, a clicking sound began to be heard in the blink of an eye. Zheng Mu, who originally thought he could win, suddenly felt a chill in his heart. He jumped up suddenly, and smashed the giant shield in his hand at the origin of the nine-tailed demon fox above his head, but it seemed to hit a ball of air. Boom! Hot atomic breath came out from Godzilla's mouth. However, this terrifying attack did not cause any damage after hitting the opponent at this moment. Cold sweat suddenly broke out on the forehead of Zheng Mu, who controlled the armored giant. The HP drop rate of 1% per second made him anxious. The loss of Godzilla and the armored titan is a trivial matter. There are already blueprints, and as long as there are enough materials, they can be recreated. What made his scalp feel numb was that the nine-tailed demon fox at this moment didn't even want to escape as soon as possible. Instead, he looked like he was staring at him. Fuck. Soul attack skills, I'm a mechanic, where can I get soul attack skills from? Zheng Mu was so angry that she couldn't help but open her skill tree page. However, when he saw the newly activated skill on the page, he couldn't help but widen his eyes. What the hell? Can you still do this? Sakura Country, Shikoku Castle. This is the base camp of the Ashikaga Shogunate, and it is also the closest city to the Mi Empire's base in Sakura Country. Just when Ashikaga Nobuo was watching the Tiandao live broadcast in front of him, a cheerful smile appeared on his old face. Zero please give me flowers. Outside, several Shogunate warriors ran in quickly. General, the army of the Empire has arrived. As soon as these words came out, the eyes of Ashikaga Nobuo, who was still looking at Cheng Mu's embarrassed appearance in the picture, suddenly brightened up. He walked quickly towards the city gate, and sure enough, from a distance, he saw large flying cloud boats flying the flag of the Mi Empire in the sky, heading here. Even though there was still some distance, the dense crowd of people at this moment made Ashikaga Nobuo happy. Although it is only a pioneer, judging from this quantity, it is at least more than 200 zero zero. When he gave the order, he immediately opened the city gate and prepared to welcome his Rice Empire fathers into the city. However, at this moment, dazzling white lights suddenly slanted down from the sky. Boom boom boom. In an instant, the defensive formation of hundreds of Mi Empire Fayunsu, 
which was still menacing a moment ago and looked like the arrival of heavenly soldiers, was instantly activated. The huge bombardment force caused the Feiyun boats that were hit to tilt and hit the Feiyun boats on the side. Fake. What's going on? Enemy attack, we are under enemy attack. Everyone is ready to fight. Are you from the Dragon Kingdom? Are you from the Dragon Kingdom? Amidst the bursts of exclamations, some people looked in the direction of the attack. The next moment, these elite professionals of the Mi Empire looked at the behemoths that penetrated from the clouds. Instantly, everyone gasped in horror. Zyrekit. Is that Fayunzhu? Hurry and hide. They are going to attack again. The enemy is attacking. It's the Fayunzhu fleet of the Dragon Kingdom people. Get ready to fight, get ready to fight. After a brief period of shock and panic, these professionals, who were worthy of being the elites of the Mi Empire, also calmed down one after another. One by one, they began to apply pre-battle buffs as a team. Bottles of status potions were swallowed in one gulp. Looking at the levels of these potions, they are basically purple rare level ones. Obviously, this time the Mi Empire is really preparing to defeat the Dragon Kingdom completely in one go. However, at this moment, when they were preparing to stand, a series of aerial battleships full of technology rushed out from the clouds. Weapons similar to those on the air fortress began to accumulate energy one after another. Missiles and artillery that did not require energy storage began to roar fiercely. On the wall of Shikoku Castle, the smile on Ashikaga Nobuo's face had frozen in place, looking at the Mi Empire's Fayenzu fleet that had been ravaged by wanton artillery fire and whose protective formations had been activated one after another. Suddenly I felt my head was buzzing. At this moment, a slightly familiar roar came from the Dragon Kingdom. Two familiar figures, under the horrified gaze of the senior officials of Blue Star Countries, flew into the void, and their terrifying skills radiated across the audience. I heard Hrithik and Dilman, who were from high-ranking nobles of the White Elephant Kingdom, yelling at the Mi Empire in unison. Kill. For the sake of the great people of the Dragon Kingdom. Kill all these white-skinned pigs. Elite professionals of the Mi Empire, black question mark face. JPG. Chapter, 202. Kill. For the sake of the great people of the Dragon Kingdom. Kill all these white-skinned pigs. Krithik and Dilman, two guys with the same white skin, shouted slogans about killing all the white-skinned pigs, which not only knocked the brains out of the professionals of the Mi Empire opposite them. Even the live broadcast viewers who clearly recognized the identities of the two were stunned and speechless. However, in this weird atmosphere, on top of an aerial battleship with the words Jialong, another figure flew out one after another in an instant. Under the strange gaze of the whole world, he roared the slogan kill all the white pigs and rushed towards the Fayenzu fleet on the Mi Empire side. Among them, there are three to four thousand people, and the energy fluctuations emitted by each person are at least around IV-70. As soon as he appeared on the scene, the officers of the vanguard team of the Mi Empire were instantly thrown into an uproar. However, what makes them even more confused is that most of these guys who roared kill all the white-skinned pigs are white-skinned like them. This strong irony, as well as the energy beam blasted by the Dragon Kingdom fleet's main gun again, caused the Mi Empire's elite vanguard to fall into the powerful suppression of the Dragon Kingdom as soon as they appeared on the scene. Boom boom boom. Explosions accompanied the shattering of the 977 Fayunzhu protective formation. Each Fayunzhu, which was obviously much more advanced than other countries, finally failed to survive the second round at this moment. The whole thing was falling towards the wilderness below. At an altitude of hundreds of meters, the expressions of some Mi Empire professionals who had no flying ability changed drastically. With their strength and attributes, if they fell, they would not die or anything. But the health bar was broken in half on the spot, which they couldn't afford at the moment. After all, the densely packed Dragon Kingdom professionals equipped with steel-winged angel flying devices were already rushing towards them like wolves and tigers. Jurashe. Jack. Think of a way. Ruth. Take my hand. Those yellow-skinned monkeys are coming. Priest, hurry up and shield yourself. Hurry up. In the noisy chaos, 
two figures from the Mi Empire suddenly rushed towards Hrithik and the others. The violent thunderous slashes, accompanied by a roar in the sky, attacked the two of them. But it was easily stopped by Hrithik, who was well prepared, and the golden bell around his body. Hrithik, are you too crazy? Why are you working for these yellow-skinned monkeys? The big black man, with muscles all over his body and thunder lingering, cursed angrily. He is one of the protector gods that the Mi Empire transferred back from the secret realm of different time and space this time in order to deal with the Dragon Kingdom. IV-92, SS Level Thunder Dragon Warrior Clayton. However, what responded to him was a magic attack from Deekman next to Hrithik, which hit the door in front of him. Touch of Nightmare the deep purple skill attack with fangs and claws penetrated. Clayton was so frightened that thunder exploded all over his body, and his whole body flashed and disappeared in an instant. Just when this side was defeated with one blow, another famous protector of the empire also joined the battle. Stab it! A scarlet ray was fired from the opponent's staff, and with just one blow, Prithik's defensive skills were pierced by it. Seeing this person, Krithik's expressions changed obviously. For 95, SS level Scarlet Magician, Maurice. An old man with a white beard who looked very strong. If we want to rank the single target skill damage in this world. The Morris in front of him can definitely enter the top 10. The Scarlet Spellcaster has a relatively simple attack method, but it cannot be underestimated. It can cause terrible damage to the target by manipulating the Scarlet energy just now. This kind of damage not only has extremely strong penetrating power, but also has the effect of ignoring therapeutic skills and potions for a short period of time. It can be said that anyone who fights with the old thing in front of him. Basically say goodbye to priests and healing potions. Morris glanced at the people who were already fighting with the officers of the Mi Empire not far away, and stared at the two Hrithiks with solemn expressions indifferently. Boys from the White Elephant Kingdom, I can see that these people are really working hard to fight for the Dragon Kingdom. If nothing else, they have joined the Dragon Kingdom's camp just like you, right? Why? I'm very curious about what conditions the Dragon Kingdom has given you. At this moment, when the battle started here in the Tiandao live broadcast, a new light curtain had been opened. When professionals from various countries saw this scene, they all frowned. Among the three to four thousand people who were fighting with the generals of the Mi Empire, there were many people they knew. A wife from a professional family in Eagle Country recognized her husband, whom she had lost contact with for many years. A child in Polar Bear Country recognizes his missing father and mother. There is also the Stick Country, the Monkey Country, and even the Cherry Blossom Country at this moment. Ashikaga Nobuo looked at the figures dressed as Sakura Kingdom warriors who were fighting crazily with several generals of the Mi Empire, and his face instantly turned livid. On the side, a shogun also changed his expression in horror after seeing those figures. General. It's Nakamura and Fujino. Haven't they already died in the Dragon Kingdom? Why are they working for those damn Chinese people now? Baguyalu, these losers without any samurai spirit dare to betray us. General, let's take action. Kill all these damn dragon country bastards. Although the Ashikaga shogunate experienced a huge defeat in the Sakura kingdom, and its morale was greatly affected, with the arrival of the Rice Empire father, these little baga seemed to have rekindled their fighting spirit. Looking at the menacing men behind him, and then at the army of Dragon Kingdom professionals outside the city who had launched a massive attack on the Mi Empire's vanguard, Ashikaga Nobuo snorted coldly. Preparing to give orders to join the battle. There was a sudden exclamation from the side. Something bad happened, General. QB QB Zhong was solved by that mechanic. Nanny. Ashikaga Nobuo immediately looked at the live broadcast in front of him in disbelief. After seeing the picture inside, the whole person just felt that the world was completely dark at this moment. WW. Energy Compression Field Max, Lock on Energy Type Target Monsters and Materials, Summon Dimensional Energy Compression Devices, and Quickly Complete Energy Compression. It can be used to compress and imprison physical bodies. Computing Power Occupied, 50-50% Reduction for Enhanced Computing Power. Note, the dimensional energy compression device can only load one target at a time. 
If you want to use it again, you need to take out or release the compressed energy body. Zheng Mu, who was controlling the armored titan, originally thought that he could only choose to abandon two powerful masterpieces and avoid the edge for the time being. Unexpectedly, after upgrading to 445, the skills activated were just right to deal with the current situation. Although this skill is not a sole attack skill, it should be effective against energy bodies now. Not daring to hesitate for even a second, Mu Dang lit it up. Along with the acquisition of new skills. Under the gaze of the outside world and the whole world, the armored giant who had lost HP suddenly stretched out a hand and made a grabbing motion towards the origin of the nine-tailed demon fox in mid-air, which was the void. What does this man from the Dragon Kingdom want to do? Are you begging for mercy? Oh my god, this nine-tailed demon fox is so terrifying. The damage of this skill is actually deducted based on a percentage. Even if you are the protector of the country, once you are entangled by this kind of attack, you will be attacked within two minutes. If you don't get rid of it, you will definitely die. I don't understand what other options this dragon country man has besides giving up these two big guys. Just when professionals from various countries were talking about it. The origin of the nine-tailed demon fox in the void seemed to sense something. The body is winding and twisted, like a dark purple cloud that is constantly changing its shape, as if it has been stimulated by something. Suddenly he was about to rush in one direction. But the next moment. Boom. Walls of blue energy suddenly popped out. In the blink of an eye, a huge mechanical device that looked like a biological culture tank changed from virtual to real. Roar. The shrill howl, accompanied by the continuous compression of the device, reached the ears of professionals all over the world. However, everyone saw that the nine-tailed demon fox's health bar did not decrease at all, but its origin was sun water. Dragon Kingdom, the center of the divine capital. How on earth is this kid going to deal with this thing? If it doesn't work, we should bring back two or three guardian gods from the secret realm of different time and space. Mr. Jiang was worried, but Mr. Li pondered for a long time, but still shook his head. The blue star battle situation is important, but the main goal of exploring the secret realm of different time and space cannot be shaken. Look again, this kid's level has reached 445. I guess 0, 1 is some new mechanic skill. While various countries were talking about it, the deep purple energy erosion on Zheng Mu's body finally disappeared along with the origin of the nine-tailed demon fox being compressed into an energy cube of about one cubic meter. A golden void rippled behind him, just as Zheng Mu had just put away the origin of the sealed nine-tailed demon fox. On the other side, Kizaru and Akainu finally got results one after another. Accompanied by Aoki Pheasant and Blackbeard, they joined the battle. There is no possibility of a comeback in the already suppressed battle situation. Soon Tezuka Izumi and Tezuka Izumi were turned into ice sculptures by Akiji. When Zheng Mu broke away from the armored giant and walked up to the two of them. Before he could ask what he was thinking, the two of them immediately roared with eyes wide open. Damn Chinese people, if you dare to kill us. General Ashikaga should be the best candidate for the emperor. You damn Dragon Kingdom people will definitely pay the price for everything you have done today. Zheng Mu was speechless for a moment, and grabbed one of them by the neck with one hand, Tisk if that's the case, then it seems there's nothing more to talk about. Chapter, 203 You damn China The old man Zhong Quanqing still wanted to curse, but the next moment Zheng Mu's palm had already grabbed his throat. He, who was completely frozen from the head down, had no resistance at all in Zheng Mu's hands, and the blood bar on the top of his head was only supported by a trace of blood. Listening to the other party's hard breathing ho ho, Zheng Mu looked at the third child Tezuka Izumi with half smiling eyes and murmured. Three SS level professionals of the same profession, huh, so to speak, you can at least contribute two good mechanical components to me, as well as a skill book worth looking forward to. Zheng Mu smiled, with a look in his eyes as if he was looking at the goods in the market which instantly made Shou Jiaquanyi's expression shudder when he was about to curse. The next moment, the golden red light bloomed in Zheng Mu's hand. The skill-forced golden hand, is released. Tezuka Izumi, who was still struggling hard, suddenly seemed to sense something. His body suddenly began to shake violently, and his entire face was distorted, 
filled with shock and fear. This scene was broadcast live by Tian Dao and broadcast to professionals all over the world in real time. What is that guy doing? What's going on? There's no fluctuation in the blood bar, and it's just death in battle. Doesn't Tezuka Izukiyo, who was born in the shogunate, even have this awareness? Only for the senior officials of Longwa, Mr. Li and others looked slightly solemn. Zero Two Lao Li, this kid is now using this skill in front of the whole world. I'm afraid it will arouse the alarm of the whole world. Isn't this kid putting himself on the fire? Mr. Lin paced back and forth anxiously. Elder Jiang and other elders present also looked solemn. Extracting a professional's profession and turning him into an ordinary person has been unheard of for hundreds of years. Combined with Zheng Mu's incredible talent as a mechanic this kid will definitely become the target of public criticism. Mr. Li also frowned. Zheng Mu is not a fool, doesn't he know this? Are you so anxious to get mechanical components from these Sakura country professionals? Can't we wait until Tian Dao Live is removed from his body before extracting it? Mr. Li frowned and stared at Zheng Mu's figure in the live broadcast screen, thinking about Zheng Mu's thoughts and plans. Yeah, Yabelu one should. The difficult cry for mercy came out from the mouth of Sakura Kingdom, the protector of the country, in front of the disbelieving eyes of the whole world. Seeing the other person's face turning red, everyone couldn't understand it. Even Ashikaga Nobuo, who was still in Shikoku Castle at the moment, turned pale for an instant when he heard Tezuka Izumi's humble plea. Hakagaji. Tezuka Izumi, this coward. Such a person can actually become the protector of our Sakura kingdom. It is simply a shame to our Sakura country and a shame to our Bushido. Ashikaga Nobuo roared angrily. However, the next moment, when he looked at the Tiandao live broadcast screen again, his pupils suddenly shrank. Facial expression management instantly distorts and deforms. The surrounding shogunate samurai who were still scolding Tezuka Izumi for being a coward a moment ago all seemed to have seen some horrifying scene at this moment. He opened his mouth wide and pointed at the thing in Zheng Mu's hand in the live broadcast screen in horror. Zereshet this is not true. Rice Empire, Holy White Jade Palace. The senior officials of the Mi Empire, who were still paying attention to the battle situation in Sigwa City, just glanced at the scene on Zheng Mu's side in a blink of an eye. His mind was completely shocked by the scene in front of him. The Emperor of the Mi Empire stood up from the throne with a trembling body, his eyes fixed on the screen, an ordinary jet black jade in Zheng Mu's hand. A line of information has emerged from above. Domineering, generating core, orange legendary mechanical components worked by mechanic Zheng Mu. Mechanical components obtained by extracting the energy source of the SS level professional ghost swordsman. Loaded into the mechanical creation, it can be used to drive domineering function, depending on the function, produces the hockey of knowledge, the hockey of arms, and the hockey of overlord. Sang O Wu Bichi. Waterfa. When this information appeared in front of professionals from all over the world, it was not only the senior officials of the Mi Empire who exploded. But the senior officials of other countries who had been paying attention to the situation here also stood in shock. What followed was all kinds of collapse and yelling. Eagle Country, the overlord of Blue Star in the early days of the professional era, has been dethroned as the overlord by the Mi Empire. However, they still pride themselves on being the most noble beings in the world. However, at this moment, Bai Jin Han Palace was filled with all kinds of curses involving his mother. FAQ how is this possible? This joke is not funny at all. Damn it, why are there such perverted skills in the world? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. This yellow-skinned monkey in the Dragon Kingdom is a loophole in the way of heaven. To be able to plunder other people's professional abilities and turn them into mechanical creation components, doesn't that mean that all of us, even the powerful protector God, can become his? No. This guy must not exist any longer. Destroy him. We must destroy this dragon nation man. The queen of the eagle kingdom, who was sitting on the throne, also looked solemn at this moment, full of horror. In the live broadcast, Zheng Mu had already stretched out his claws towards Tezuka Izumi. After the latter saw that his second brother had lost his professional aura, 
and saw the information about the gem in Jing Mu's hand, he finally followed the same example as Tezuka Izumi. Complete collapse. Tears and runny noses flowed freely. Regardless of face and dignity, I began to seek for things. However, Jing Mu's hand finally grabbed his neck again, and fear filled his cheeks. Professionals all over the world were filled with fear when they looked at the golden red light blooming in Jing Mu's hand. Fear. Professionals have always been noble existences in this world. To be favored by heaven and become a high-level professional has always been the goal pursued by everyone. After all, as long as there is an SS level or even S level professional in a family, it is enough for the family to move into the upper class. However, when Zheng Mu staged a drama of depriving professionals of their careers in front of the whole world, professionals all over the world seemed to have a sword of Damocles on their heads. Even the SS level professions given to them by heaven were nothing more than a plate of delicacies in front of Zheng Mu. When he saw Tezuka Izumi, who was screaming and begging for mercy, the light on his body disappeared. Instead, a small sword the size of a palm appeared in Zheng Mu's hand. Everyone cursed inwardly. Fake. Great Swordsman, Supercomputing Core, Orange Legendary Mechanical Components worked by Mechanic Zheng Mu, Mechanical Components obtained by extracting the energy source of the SS level professional Ghost Swordsman, and loaded into the mechanical object, allowing it to 100% copy and learn the slashing skills of warrior professionals and perform core calculations to derive the latest powerful swordsman skills. In the divine capital of the Dragon Kingdom, in the embassy of the Sakura Kingdom, Yoshida Shiro looked blankly at the two small mechanical creation components in Zheng Mu's hands in the picture. His face was already pale. How can it be? Not only that the three Tezuka brothers were all finished like this, they actually contributed this powerful mechanical creation component to Zheng Mu. Just look at the exaggerated information, and then think about Zheng 793 Mu's terrifying talent for creating mechanical creations. It seemed as if a mechanical creation powerful enough to rival the protector god had appeared in front of Yoshida Shiro. With such a powerful Zheng Mu, Yoshida Shiro couldn't help but put a big question mark on whether the Sakura kingdom could still be preserved in the future. With Zheng Mu's shameless character, even now he agreed to the conditions of their marriage to the royal family of Hua Kingdom. Whether or not you implement it in the future depends entirely on the other party's mood. Your Majesty, I am incompetent Wu Wu. The capital of Sakura country was rescued, but Yoshida Shiro burst into tears. Now he understood. The country did not fall into the hands of Ashikaga Nobuo, but it was destined to be firmly controlled by the Dragon Kingdom. However, Zheng Mu in the picture has no intention of stopping. Under the gaze of the whole world, he walked up to Tezuka Izumi, who was frozen into an ice sculpture not far away. Just when everyone thought Jing Mu was about to repeat his same trick. A red seal appeared in front of Jing Mu. The red light instantly enveloped Izumi Tezuka in the ice sculpture. In the sound of Zitsizi, Chi was suddenly extracted from it. Under the stunned gaze of the whole world, a scarlet skill book was gradually condensed and slowly fell into Jing Mu's hands. Ghost Tribulation, the passive skill of the ghost swordsman profession. Every time a biological monster is killed, a sword ghost will be generated, which will increase the attack power, defense power and other attributes of the skill caster. The sword ghost will also cause minor damage to surrounding enemies. Mental Harm Six hours after the fighting stopped, all the sword ghosts disappeared. Learning Conditions, Warrior-type professions can be learned. When they saw the scarlet skill book in Zheng Mu's hand and the mummy Tezuka Izumi in the ice sculpture, even Mr. Li and other senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom gasped in horror. Holy shit! This kid doesn't even spare the dead. What kind of method is this? Chapter, 204 General, Yu Outside the capital of Sakura Kingdom, Xiong Weishan and several other generals of the Tian AI army couldn't help but feel creepy when they looked at the scarlet skill book in Zheng Mu's hand, and then at the mummy Tezuka Izumi Suyoshi in the ice sculpture next to him. Zheng Mu smiled faintly, and there was no trace of guilt on his face for having done anything to the corpse. With a casual move, the blood phoenix seal turned into a stream of light and disappeared into Zheng Mu's body. It doesn't matter, it's just recycling waste what? Are you afraid? 
Hearing this, Xiong Weishan and others all trembled, and the next moment they hurriedly raised their chests and raised their heads. Report to the general, no. Zheng Mu smiled, shook his head, and patted their shoulders. When dealing with enemies, naturally you don't have to care about whether the methods are cruel or not. From the moment they stand in front of us, they have given up their identity as humans and treat animals, whether they are killing or slaughtering for meat. What's the difference? Zheng Mu's words caused all the soldiers of Tian Ai army to express solemn silence. And when this voice, like a warning, spread all over the world through Tian Dao live broadcast, the professionals from various countries who clamored to execute Zheng Mu involuntarily flashed a look of fear on their faces. Crazy, this word is no longer enough to describe this guy Zheng Mu. The devil, the mechanical devil from the east, is the common voice in everyone's mind. Cruel. As long as he is an enemy, he can ignore professionals and ordinary people, ignore the old, young, women and children, and kill them all like animals. Fear. He is only over forty levels now, but the mechanical creations he created have killed several of his country's guardian gods in his hands. Not to mention, the skills displayed by the opponent now can deprive the professional of his ability. It adds a mysterious height to Zheng Mu's demonic image. Why is it that in the hundreds of years of professional era, millions of professions have emerged, but none of them have such terrifying skills? It just so happens that he is an A-level mechanic who has been useless for hundreds of years. Have such unreasonable skills? Some superstitious elements with low psychological defense have been unable to help but associate Jing Mu with the gods and the existence of heaven. Bagayalu. Bagayalu. You guy will definitely go to hell. Asshole. Ah. Mu did not take the lives of Tezuka Izumi and Tezuka Izumi behind him. He even waved his hand and asked Qing Ji to release the freezing state on the two of them. He watched the two of them staggering to the ground, unable to get up for a long time. A grateful smile appeared on Zheng Mu's face. Under the eyes of the two people with splitting eyes, he bowed slightly. Thank you both for the gifts. I like them very much. Please rest assured that soon these good things from you will be used for the Ashikaga shogunate to which you are loyal. As soon as these words came out, the morale of the shogunate in Shikoku City, which had just been boosted by the appearance of the strikers from the Mi Empire, suddenly became erratic again. In the huge open space of the martial arts arena, the shogunate professionals who had gathered together to go out of the city to support the Mi Empire looked at each other, and their eyes became obviously wandering. Terrible. If this mechanic from the Dragon Kingdom falls into his hands alive, he will immediately become an ordinary person and become the lowest existence in the world. However, even if he died in battle, his body would be picked up by the opponent. The result was also chilling. Even before they met Ching Mu, at this moment, there was already an indelible dark cloud in the hearts of everyone in the Ashikaga Shogunate. On the other side, the crisis in the Sakura Kingdom has been resolved and the next matter can be handled directly by the Sakura Kingdom officials here, and the Dragon Kingdom officials who will arrive soon. Leaving Tokugawa Kagaya here, Zheng Mu led the Tianai army under his command and once again launched the air fortress towards Shikoku City. Control the lobby. Aren't you kidding? You have such an ability, why not hide it secretly? Now that the whole world knows it, do you think any country can tolerate the existence of your ability? In the huge light curtain, Mr. Li frowned and complained. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, smiled and didn't take it seriously at all. Mr. Li, it's not like the ancestors of the Dragon Kingdom have never experienced such things as being the enemy of the whole world. If we want to truly rise, we must prove it with a brilliant victory that can shut up the whole world. There was an indomitable sharpness in his eyes. If the Rice Empire wants to fight, then they will fight. If the Eagle Kingdom wants to fight, they will come. If there are White Bear Kingdom and Enamel West, whoever wants to come, then they all will come together. Mr. Lee, if you don't go crazy, you won't survive. Mr. Lee was silent. They are not afraid of being outnumbered. There is no situation that Longwa has faced in recent years that is not outnumbered. They are just a little worried. The current Dragon Kingdom does not have to do this. As long as it proceeds step by step and relies on its own hard power to win the head-on contest with the Mi Empire, 
it will be enough to enhance its country's world status. However, it is obvious that Jing Mu, the youngest general of the Dragon Kingdom, does not think so. He prefers to do it all in one step. After a long silence, Mr. Li finally sighed. Well, now that you have been chosen, I and others will not interfere too much. How are you going to fight the battle with the Mi Empire? How to spell? Zheng Mu grinned. A real man, of course, is straightforward. In Shikoku City, with the end of the battle in the capital of Sakura Kingdom, the Tiandao live broadcast about Zheng Mu and the others was quickly closed. On Ashikaga Nobuo's side, he led the more than 30 remaining elites of the Ashikaga shogunate and rushed out of Shikoku City, heading towards the wilderness and rushing towards the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom who were fighting with the elites of the Mi Empire. Bring out your Bushido spirit. Glory and wealth are before your eyes. Kill all these Dragon Kingdom people. Ashikaga Nobuo roared angrily, his eyes swept around, and instantly locked on the few samurai under his command before. With a strong wind, like a typhoon passing through, he instantly rushed in front of several of them. Bagaya Road, suffer death, you Sakura Kingdom warriors are a disgrace. The expressions of those senior professionals who had changed camps and joined the Dragon Kingdom camp changed instantly when they saw each other. However, after just a blink of apprehension, several people, under Ashikaga Nobuo's unbelievable gaze, roared and started to kill him. Cut off the head of the old Ashikaga thief. Let General Zheng see our bravery. Nisniai. The collision of swords instantly unfolded between lightning and flint, and several people attacked Dingli Weinan so violently and without any dignity that they could not react for a while. However, Ashikaga Nobuo's level is here after all. After reacting, he immediately became furious and began to launch a fierce counterattack. Ding ding. Dang dang. Boom, boom, boom. In the wilderness outside Shikoku City, the artillery fire of the aerial battleships on the Dragon Kingdom side roared, and the advanced formations and artillery formations on the flying boats on the Mi Empire side also began to mobilize. Senior professionals in the air fought and collided wildly, with swords, swords, shadows and various energy attacks emerging one after another. The two sides below were also fighting fiercely, and in an instant, the whole wilderness outside Shikoku City was filled with shouts of killing. The confrontation of hundreds of thousands of people spread throughout the world through Tiandao live broadcast, making the top officials of various countries who had not seen such a scene for a long time look heavy. At every moment, someone's health bar was cleared and they fell into a pool of blood. The people of the Dragon Kingdom, the Sakura Kingdom, and even the people of the Mi Empire, known as the Blue Star Overlord, as soon as the battle started, ten sets of professional bodies began to appear on the ground. Above the sky, Krithik and Dilmun were under siege by the protector god of the Mi Empire, struggling to resist. However, even so, neither of them chose to give up. That loyal and fearless look made the top brass of Baixian Kingdom look livid at this moment. When they fought Jing Mu, these two people were not in this state. On the side of the top leaders of various countries, because the national war between the Dragon Kingdom and the Mi Empire has officially begun, they are urgently worrying about the top brass and discussing the countermeasures that have been written down. Waves of strong rumbling sound suddenly came from the side of Sakura country. The sound was accompanied by a strong vibration in the air and quickly spread to the battlefield of Shikoku City. Before everyone could recover, a terrifying and familiar silver-white light pillar suddenly appeared. It instantly penetrated the entire Shikoku city and divided it into two. The city's defense formation didn't even last for a second from its appearance to being shattered. Seeing this scene, the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom camp present all looked happy. A touch of fanaticism quickly appeared on his face. General Zheng. General Zheng is coming. Kill. Our Dragon Kingdom's plan for a century's rise is under our steel sword today. Kill. Looking at the Dragon Kingdom soldiers who were instantly stunned, the pioneer elites of the Mi Empire suddenly showed signs of being irresistible. The attack rhythm of these Dragon Kingdom people suddenly became unscrupulous. It seems that the appearance of Zheng Mu means that they don't need to worry about death. Rumble. These people were not kept waiting for too long. 
After a while, the terrifying figure of the Sky Fortress appeared above Shikoku City. Zheng Mu's jet black Dragon Kingdom general uniform made a hunting sound in the sky. Staring at the chaotic battlefield in front of him, a ferocious smile appeared on his face. Below the air fortress, densely packed figures, with long tail flames, rushed towards the battle below. 30W Tianai Army. 20W Mechanical Creation Number. As soon as it appeared, it instantly covered the entire sky around Shikoku City. Feeling the powerful pressure coming from the sky. At this moment, the faces of the elite professionals of the Mi Empire who were still full of confidence finally began to turn slightly pale. The situation seems to be different from what they imagined. Chapter 205 Fake Maurice, one of the protector gods of the Mi Empire, had a stern look on his face and cursed in his mouth covered by his beard. Ignoring her thick and Dillman in front of him, his whole body turned into a scarlet stream of light and rushed towards the aerial fortress. I'm going to stop that Dragon Kingdom mechanic. Hurry up and urge the base to send support quickly. As soon as Morris rushed over, a golden light suddenly appeared in front of his eyes, and a strong wind suddenly came from behind. Have you ever been kicked at the speed of light? Kizaru's slightly teasing voice reached his ears, and the next moment he hit Morris with a powerful kick. However, the expected shock did not appear. The golden kick easily passed through Morris, who turned into red light, and the latter also had a stern look on his face after seeing the sudden appearance of Kizaru. Several red rays shot out from his body instantly. Laugh. Watching the attack pass through the opponent's body without causing any harm. Morris's face suddenly became gloomy. Hey, your excellency, my attacks are of no use to you it's so scary. Kizaru's mean voice came into his ears. Morris looked at the guy in front of him who was no different from an ordinary professional. He also had health bars, skills, and command. It's unbelievable that you can be a mechanical creature. Morris gritted his teeth, and the next moment he waved his hand, scarlet rays burst out instantly, turning into a large lotus-like attack, and rushed towards Kizaru in an instant. However, Kizaru did not move at all. Seeing his attack pass through the opponent's body again, Morris really felt that the situation was a bit difficult to handle. He looked at a Kainu who rushed over and turned into lava, and a Kiji who was surrounded by ice aura. His face turned completely ugly. The situation was much worse than he imagined. 830 FAQ. Clayton. Call someone quickly. There is no need for Morris to worry. Just when Jing Mu was rushing from the capital of Sakura Kingdom to Shikoku City, the top management of the Mi Empire had already sent people to urge him many times. At that moment, the soldiers of the Tianai army under Jing Mu, as well as a group of mechanical creations, joined the battle group one after another. The remaining hundreds of thousands of elites from the Mi Empire have all arrived here. Looking at the high-end Feiyun boats that filled the sky, even Jing Mu couldn't help but show a solemn look at this moment. The Mi Empire invested a full 700-00 troops this time, plus the 30-00 elites from the Ashikaga Shogunate of Sakura Country, for a total of 730-00 troops. It is a terrifying force that cannot be underestimated anywhere on Blue Star. The military strength of the Dragon Kingdom is equally impressive. The locally organized professional corps with an average level above LV-35 has 400-00 people, and there are 200-00 veterans of different time and space equipped with mechanical prostheses. Plus Cheng Mu's 300-00 Tianai army, and 200-00 mechanical creations. Just from the number of people on the battlefield, this time it was the Corn Grinding Empire. Just when the large forces from the Mi Empire arrived on the battlefield, the air fortress under Jing Mu immediately turned its guns. And having already converged towards the air fortress, seven or eight hundred densely packed air battleships also began to charge their naval guns. In the control hall of the Sky Fortress. With nearly eight hundred huge air fleets at least two hundred meters long connected, the Red Queen finally began to show her talents in the true sense at this moment. In the entire control hall, the beautiful and graceful figure of the Red Queen floated slowly, and waves of scarlet energy connected to the control system of the surrounding air battleships. It only takes a moment. 
Aseb, a Dragon Kingdom soldier who was in charge of controlling the air fleet in the battleship was shocked to find that all the consoles in front of him were instantly taken over by the Red Queen. The image of the Red Queen appears in the light curtain of the command room of every air battleship. War Command Module Activated Ryuya class air destroyers are in sequence, 289 ships, and the console has completed the intervention. The Shanshan class air frigates are in sequence, 130 ships, and the console has completed the intervention. Haihu class air battleships are in sequence, 200 ships, the console has completed the intervention. Tunlang class air missile destroyers are in sequence. As the control system of each battleship was forcibly taken over, these Dragon Kingdom soldiers were shocked to discover that the attack system they had originally activated had been rewritten under the control of the Red Queen. It only took less than a second to replan the original attack target and angle. The next moment, nearly 4,000 flying cloud boats on the Mi Empire's side rushed out of the clouds one after another, with the momentum of suppressing all disobedience in the world, when they just appeared in front of everyone. Standing on the deck, the expressions of the heavily armed elite professionals of the Mi Empire suddenly became stiff. In the distance, the thousands of missiles dragging long tail flames roaring toward them gave them no chance to turn around. The next moment, it suddenly exploded in the middle of them. The sound of booming explosions filled the sky. Amidst the billowing black smoke, facing such a sudden attack, the high-level Fayanzu, which was blessed with special technologies and materials from the secret realm of different time and space, did not receive any devastating blow. Calm down. Everyone, calm down and prepare to fight. Pastor. Keep everyone in check, this is a tough battle. Everyone, cheer up. Your enemies are those crazy people from the Dragon Kingdom who were desperate for their lives. They are a group of mechanical creations without fear. If you don't want to die, use all your fighting power. The officers and generals encouraged loudly the flying birds in the sky also accelerated towards the battlefield area. The howling wind was accompanied by the Feiyun boat, which was trembling violently whether it was hit by missiles or not. At this moment, the elites of the different time and space of the Mi Empire, who were originally in a somewhat relaxed mood, all put away their contempt. Just as Feiyun Zhou lowered its altitude, they quickly disembarked and joined the battle. On the far side of the Dragon Kingdom's air fleet, the energy storage weapons were finally prepared under the control of the Red Queen. All of a sudden, like a colorful energy rainbow bridge, it spreads out from the Dragon Kingdom. In an instant, he rushed into the Mi Empire's densely packed Fayanzu fleet, which was difficult to disperse. Boom, boom, boom. Ouch. No. Jump off the ship. Damn it, that's not Fayanzu. That's a mechanical creation made by that damn mechanic. Hurry up and jump down. Hurry up. Hurry up. This time, in an instant, hundreds of Mi Empire's flying cloud boats lost their ability to fly and plummeted downwards. Seeing this scene, the complexion of high-level officials in various countries changed instantly. The Holy White Jade Palace of the Rice Empire. Siete. Those people from the Dragon Kingdom actually asked that mechanic to refit all the obsolete battleships of the previous era. Aren't they worried at all that the people from the Dragon Country are not good people? The Emperor of the Mi Empire looked ugly, just when the Mi Empire sent troops to the Sakura Country. He also announced the victory of this war in a high-profile manner on his personal forum, which would take no more than two months at most. Their great and heroic warriors of the Mi Empire can beat the crap out of any Dragon Kingdom monkey who dares to challenge their authority. It even included a provocative personal selfie. Your Majesty, what I am more worried about now is, can we really win against the Dragon Kingdom with our 700 troops? You know many of the people sent by the Dragon Kingdom this time are elites who have experienced battles in secret realms of different time and space. A Mi Empire elite said worriedly. However, as soon as he finished speaking, a military general snorted coldly. They are just a group of yellow-skinned monkeys. Although the attack from the air battleship is strong, it is obviously not able to attack frequently. This time, for the sake of the opponent Dragon Kingdom, we have brought back ten National Guardian Gods from the secret realm of different time and space in one go. Super powerful. Those huge targets in the sky will all be destroyed in a short time. 
Hearing this, some people present nodded. Not only what this military general said, in addition to the ten national protector gods on the Blue Star mainland, their Mi Empire also sent fifteen powerful protector god-level people in the secret realm of different time and space. Went to the vicinity of the Dragon Kingdom area. If nothing else, he just wants to entangle the ten fighting lunatics from the Dragon Kingdom so that they can't even come back for help. The entire Blue Star, a country that can easily mobilize more than twenty guardian gods, is now the Mi Empire. However, some people present looked at each other, and the worry in their eyes could not be eliminated. If ten guardian gods were sent out to clean up a country at once, even if it were the overlord of the previous era like the Eagle Kingdom, they would definitely immediately lower their profile and find a way to reconcile. However, what they are facing now is the Dragon Kingdom. In other words, it is a dragon country with a perverted mechanic named Xing Mu. When the Dragon Kingdom and the White Elephant Kingdom launched a national war a few days ago, didn't they, Blue Star, have the power to compete with the level of the Protector God? The results of it? The mechanic Xing Mu just created an outrageously exaggerated king of monsters, Godzilla. In the subsequent battle with Sakura Country, they originally thought that a mere Godzilla who could no longer break out would not be enough to resolve the chaos in the capital of Sakura Country in a short time. As a result, Zheng Mu suddenly created several humanoid mechanical creations such as Kizaru. Including Krithik and Dilsha who have changed camps and joined the Dragon Kingdom. As far as high-end combat power is concerned, there seems to be no big gap between the Dragon Kingdom and their Mi Empire now. At the same time, over at Shikoku Castle in Sakura Country. As the intensity of the war intensified again, eight figures in the sky quickly came towards this side. The senior leaders of Blue Star Country suddenly took a deep breath and looked solemn and nervous. Zheng Mu, who was standing above the air fortress, also raised his eyebrows at this moment. Eight people came, plus the two on site. Huh, a total of ten strong men at the level of the God of Protection came here at once. They are indeed Lao Mi. His family background is sufficient. Zheng Mu murmured, but when he looked at the professional who came over, his eyes were full of amusement. Chapter, 206 Oh my God! That's the SS-level death cultist who won first place in the Mi Empire's international professional competition that year, Ramsey. Spencer, who is known as Blue Star's strongest tank-type professional, is also here. Back then, this guy fought one-on-one -on -one with a national protector from the White Bear Kingdom for fifteen days without losing. Ah ah ah, goddess, my goddess muse is here too. Forest Saint Gloria, with her here, it will be difficult for the Dragon Kingdom to fight a protracted war. On professional forums from all over the world, Watching the Tian Dao live broadcast, the eight figures coming one after another instantly fell into unprecedented excitement. The posts and messages are like a waterfall of snowflakes, making people dizzy. At the same time, in the Qinghua Palace of Bangzi Kingdom, the senior officials of the Bangzi Kingdom, who were still arguing over whether to send troops to support the Dragon Kingdom, felt as if their throats were being strangled after seeing the lineup sent by the Mi Empire this time. One by one, their mouths opened wide, as if they were exaggerated wax figures. Shiba unexpectedly dispatched ten national protector gods at once. And they are such famous national protector gods. The king of Bangzi kingdom felt like the sky and the earth were spinning. His face was as pale as paper. After a while, he suddenly started wailing. Ah! Shiba, that damn stupid woman, I want to whip the corpse. I want to whip the corpse. If you fail to succeed, you will fail. Damn you bastards. We were caught by those bastards from the Dragon Kingdom. Woo woo. Looking at the king of Bangzi who was sitting on the throne, he no longer cared about the majesty and image of the king. All the high-level officials of Bangzi country present felt like they were mourning for their heirs. Despair, accompanied by the handiwork of the ten guardian gods on the Mi Empire side, made them no longer even qualified to look up, and could only dare to lower their heads in fear. The Dragon Kingdom is over. This is what everyone here is thinking at the moment. Soon, the Mi Empire mobilized powerful men of the Protector God level in the secret realm of different time and space. They kept an eye on the news of the ten Protector Gods on the Dragon Kingdom side, and the urgent news came back from the other side. 
After hearing the news, all the high-level officials of Bangzi country were almost unable to stand still. Everyone, everyone, think of a solution quickly, think of a solution quickly. The king of Bangzi kingdom stared anxiously at the ministers present. However, everyone looked at each other in shock at this moment. Shiba! You losers! Why on earth do we, Bangzi country, raise you guys? After looking at a bunch of trash for a long time without any idea, the king of Bangzi was so angry that he immediately started to curse. At this moment, a voice came. Your Majesty, there are only two roads before our Bangzi kingdom. Everyone looked around and saw that it was Li Jianqi. Facing the gazes of these people, the latter showed no intention of dodging, and looked solemnly at the king on the throne. Your Majesty, the purpose of the Mi Empire's dispatch of such a huge force this time is definitely not just to defeat the Dragon Kingdom on the Sakura country, they must also directly invade the country. And we in Bangzi country are completely like a plate of pickles in front of the Mi Empire at this time. Li Jianxi took a step forward and seemed to be a different person at this moment. The Mi Empire will definitely not let us go this time. Even if we don't resist, your majesty I'm afraid you won't be able to keep your position. The Mi Empire will definitely find an Ashikaga Nobuo in our country. People like that. As soon as these words came out, the face of the king of Bangzi kingdom suddenly darkened. Frowning and thinking for a moment, with the way the Mi Empire behaves, it is really possible. So, presidently, what do you think? Li Jianxi took a deep breath. Send troops. Support the Dragon Kingdom. You guys are really crazy. Shiba, Li Jianxi, you are such a bastard and you are really uneasy and well-intentioned. The current situation is not bad enough. You want us to confront the Mi Empire directly. Crazy, your majesty, you must not listen to this guy's nonsense. However, this time, looking at the ministers who suddenly seemed to have their tails stepped on, the king of Bangzi kingdom had murderous intent flowing in his eyes. When the American Empire comes in the future, as long as these ministers are smart enough, they will still be ministers. What about his king? In the flash of lightning, the initially hesitant king of Bangzi had already made a decision in his mind, and his eyes instantly turned to General Sun Mingao on the side. As long as His Majesty the King gives the order, even if all the elites of Bangzi Kingdom die in battle, they will definitely make those bastards of the Mi Empire kneel in front of the Taeguk flag to apologize. The King of Bangzi gritted his teeth, although his hands were trembling. His eyes were filled with crazy bloodshot eyes. Mi Empire, Dragon Kingdom, these bastards, this account will always have to be settled. On the battlefield outside Shikoku City. With the arrival of all the protector gods from the Mi Empire, the situation on the entire battlefield immediately became treacherous. Zheng Mu also controlled the armored titan, and sent out all the mechanical creations such as Godzilla. A crazy fight began with the Mi Empire. Boom! The huge shield was waved towards a large group of senior professionals from the Mi Empire in midair. The huge force shattered the strong wind and roared in front of these people in an instant. However, the next moment, a strange figure holding a sickle suddenly appeared among these people. Unknown territory. A grey-black energy spread from the opponent's body, and the next moment Ching Mu's attack failed. Those Mi Empire professionals who were covered in energy seemed to have turned into shadows. Looking at the professionals who were fleeing, a cold light flashed in Ching Mu's eyes. The figure in front of him suddenly waved several rotating sickles that were more than 10 meters long. With a huge collision sound of bang bang, the attack landed on Zheng Mu's alien iron wall shield, but did not cause any damage to Zheng Mu. Seeing this scene, dressed as a death god, IV-94's death follower Ramsey flashed a look of surprise in his eyes. It seems that in addition to looking like monkeys, you people from the Dragon Kingdom also like to pretend to be turtles. The sarcastic voice reached his ears, and the next moment the other party's figure came behind Zheng Mu in an instant, raising the sickle to the back of the armored giant's neck. Bang, click. The blue diamond crystal shattered, and before the opponent could swing his second sword, a huge elbow roared towards him. Another missed shot. Death follower Ramsey laughed harshly. Like black flies, they launched a crazy attack around the armored giant. Cut. 
Zheng Mu curled his lips disdainfully, really thinking that my strongest defense is just nonsense. Although on the battlefield at this moment, the armored giant seemed to have been completely suppressed by the opponent, and looked quite embarrassed. Zero please give me flowers. However, the blood bar is so strong. With 300 WHP, coupled with the protection of diamond crystals, and the alien iron wall shield, in Zheng Mu's hand, Ramsey's side attacked quite vigorously at the beginning. Half an hour later, I looked at the terrifying blood bar. The whole person could no longer laugh. 2998W300W. Fake. The dark makeup on Ramsey's face was stained by sweat. Looking at the armored giant holding a shield in front of him and looking like a pig that was not afraid of boiling water, he was so angry that he almost went crazy on the spot. He glanced at the surrounding teammates who were still fighting against the powerful mechanical creations under Zheng Mu's command, and found that they were inexplicably powerless at this moment. The 2 WHP that the opponent lost was barely obtained by using a low-level arcane skill. The remaining attacks, apart from shattering the diamond's outer layer of defense, did not cause any unnecessary damage at all. I want to see how long you, a yellow-skinned monkey, can hide in there. Taking a deep breath, Ramsey suddenly felt a surge of black energy. In the blink of an eye, it turned into a pitch-black cloud. Mystery Death Hunting Area the next moment, hundreds of rams, wrapped in darkness, rushed out of the black mist, drew arcs in the air, and launched attacks at various positions of the armored giant with the scythe in their hands. Bang bang bang. Click click click. In an instant, the armored giant seemed to start raining diamonds. Faced with the attacks of hundreds of clones around him, he immediately became a little at a loss. He waved the giant shield in his hand randomly. Ha ha ha, I will grind you to death today. Looking at Ramsey who was laughing wildly, Zheng Mu was speechless. Does this guy really think that his mechanical creation is irreparable? The use of this secret skill indeed began to cause damage to his armored giant. But are you sure you can maintain your secret skills for such a long time? Everyone in the Dragon Kingdom was very anxious when they saw Zheng Mu being passive. They looked at Ramsey in the sky who was filling up the high-level MP recovery potion. The time for the secret skill has just ended, and the armored giant's HP has dropped by 29W. This guy released his skills again. Needless to say, Zheng Mu was really envious of the opponent's secret skills that could be released without waiting for much. This cooling time is so delicious. The only secret skill I have now is Mystery, Mechanical Era, which can be used for one hour and cools down for a whole day. TSK 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 it looks like you are really happy now. Zheng Mu, who was controlling the armored giant, looked at Ramsey who was laughing wildly and suddenly appeared behind him from time to time, giving him a heavy blow. But he was also quite amused in his heart. These white-skinned pigs really didn't notice at all. Just on the battlefield below, a Mi Empire professional who was seriously injured by the Dragon Kingdom's elite and was judged to be physically disabled. Instead of waiting for the expected priest teammates, a dark cave suddenly appeared on the ground beside him. The next moment, the ferocious liquor rushed out instantly. Help! After a brief call for help, the dark energy disappeared, and along with it, the famous Mi Empire professional worker. Chapter 207 a battle between two armies of professionals. Compared with Zheng Mu's previous life, the intensity of the battle with hot weapons was no less intense. Even the collision of cold weapons, blood flying, and the collision of skills continued to roar. It looks much more intense than a battlefield with simple thermal weapons. The wilderness outside the Shikoku city is itself a monster area, but it is nothing more than an 4-5-LV-20 monster area. At this moment, the monsters here have already been confronted by hundreds of thousands of troops, and not even the scum is left. Ah! My legs! Come on pastor, come on pastor! Pay attention to the health bar! Everyone, pay attention to the health bar! Fight as a team! Don't spread out! Fake, don't let these yellow-skinned monkeys escape, Jericho, use your skills quickly! Assassin! An assassin is coming around. The choice of this battlefield was abrupt. 
On the flat wilderness, the battle only started for half a day, and tens of thousands of corpses were lying on the battlefield. There are professionals from the Rice Empire and there are professionals from the Dragon Kingdom. These were things that neither the priest nor the healing potion had time to do, and the health bar was emptied on the spot. However, compared to these people who have died, the people alive on this battlefield at this moment are truly in hell. Chaotic screams filled the brains of the soldiers on both sides, and everyone in the 577 was in a state of high tension. With a boom, a meteorite fell from the sky and landed on the head of a group of Dragon Kingdom professionals who were attacking the Mi Empire's military formation. The huge explosion, accompanied by the terrifying impact, instantly caused the health bars of several Dragon Kingdom professionals present to be emptied on the spot. Ah! A Dragon Kingdom soldier dressed as a warrior raised his head and roared in pain. While the flames were burning on his body, his legs were dripping with blood, and one leg was missing a section. Well done Jack. Quick. Get rid of this guy. Seeing this scene, the leader of the Mi Empire team was overjoyed and shouted to lead his men to rush forward to deal with the Dragon Kingdom soldier. However, the next moment, T-100s reflecting the cold golden luster suddenly rushed towards them. Before. Amidst the clanging sound of metal, the sharp blades on both arms were waving wildly, completely in a posture of fighting for their lives. The attack of the Mi Empire team was temporarily contained. At the same time, behind the screaming Dragon Kingdom soldier, a dark cave suddenly opened up, and a liquor popped out instantly. Drag the other person into it and disappear in the blink of an eye. The T-100, which was fighting to the death with these Mi Empire professionals just a moment ago, suddenly waved its hand as if it had received some signal. Dozens of small beetle-like mechanical creations were thrown out. After a series of explosions with little damage, when the Mi Empire team reacted, there was no sign of T-100 anywhere. Instead, another team of professionals from the Dragon Kingdom rushed towards them. Fark. This scene made the team leader tremble with anger. There are thirteen people in their team, and they have lost five members since the battle. Two of them, like the Dragon Kingdom warrior just now, were disabled and unable to evacuate. Later, they were hit by the shooters from the Dragon Kingdom and received lunch boxes on the spot. What about the Dragon Kingdom? All the Mi Empire soldiers present knew this. There is a mechanical prosthetic limb in the Dragon Kingdom that can eliminate the disability of professionals and restore their combat effectiveness. It won't take long for these Dragon Kingdom soldiers who were rescued to return to the battlefield. And having experienced a baptism of life and death, they are destined to be even more difficult to deal with than before. In the Air Fortress. There is no such thing as a shutdown in a machine shop. The Red Queen controlled the air fleet and launched an attack on the Fayensu fleet of the Mi Empire, while at the same time she accurately managed the normal operation of the entire machinery factory. A disabled Dragon Kingdom professional whose blood bar had stabilized clenched his teeth. Looking at the air fortress getting closer and closer above his head, his eyes were full of unwillingness and anger. On their panels, due to varying degrees of disability, the level has been forced down by Tian Dao, and many skills have been frozen. However, there was no trace of fear in their eyes. Some of them were just annoyed about their carelessness on the battlefield just now. What a bastard! Those mages from the Rice Empire, when I return to the battlefield, I must cut them into pieces. A man covered in blood and wearing purple rare grey Dragon Kingdom Assassin standard equipment cursed. After being lifted onto a seat by several robots, as the seat was activated, the dizzying internal environment of the air fortress made everyone nervous again. However, the sky fortress will not give them any time to visit at all. Soon, after scanning the data of these people, in less than five minutes, a set of personal mechanical prostheses was completed. When this strong man was sent back to the rear of the Dragon Kingdom army by the steel-winged angel flying device, he felt ashamed when he saw that his legs had turned into a pair of mechanical prosthetics. At this moment, bursts of sound came from a mechanical creation on the back of his neck. Vital signs monitoring mode activated. Explosion bug emergency evacuation procedures activated. Battlefield real-time connection scanning system starts. Battlefield Team Command System Activated 
In an instant, the strong man felt a translucent light appear in front of his eyes, and the whole world seemed to be different. In the previously chaotic battlefield, in front of this intelligent mark, it was easy to distinguish the positions of oneself and the enemy. Not only that, but a small amount of enemy information was also displayed on the scanned Redmi Empire figures. The remaining amount of HP and MP, the current buff and debuff status, etc. Damn! It's a bunker! The soldier shouted in surprise, but the next moment he was slapped on the back of his head. When he turned around, he saw an officer with the rank of colonel on his shoulder. At this moment, one arm had been replaced by a mechanical prosthesis. Judging from the blood stains on his body, he should be a reborn soldier who had returned to the battlefield. Don't be stunned when you are in a bunker. Which army are you from? Now you are under my command. All come with me and avenge our comrades. A word of revenge instantly made the eyes of these Dragon Kingdom soldiers who had just received mechanical prostheses turn red. Under the connection of the battlefield team command system of the mechanical prosthesis, the team was reorganized and they immediately got a general understanding of the information about these new teammates. Are these Dragon Kingdom people crazy? Captain, my potion buff is about to end again. Change defense, it's time to change defense. Priest, please hold on to my health bar. A school level officer from the Mi Empire is leading his team in a frantic battle with the Dragon Kingdom. Countless Dragon Kingdom soldiers died in their hands along the way, and their team, which had repeatedly performed extraordinary feats in the development of secret realms in different time and space, finally reached the limit they could bear. The potions, talismans, and other props on his body have all been used up, but the team of Dragon Kingdom professionals in front of them still seems to be endless. Especially when they were targeted by the Dragon Kingdom's Jinai army after repeated battles, the human shield warriors in the front row suddenly began to be unable to bear it any longer. However, just when he was about to give the order to retreat. A sound that was somewhat familiar, but I didn't know where I heard it from, came from not far away. Where are you running from, old bastard? I'll punch your grandpa. Seeing the figure wrapped in thunder and charging toward him with fists waving, the captain's eyes widened suddenly. He thought about it, wasn't this the Dragon Kingdom officer who had an arm cut off by a combo of moves that he had taken advantage of before? Waterfa. Boom. After seeing these professionals from the Mi Empire, these Dragon Kingdom soldiers who had returned from the bloody battle were definitely enemies and were extremely jealous. Especially after seeing the corpses of Dragon Kingdom warriors on the ground that had lost their life signals, he became even more angry. Even if the level dropped by a level, with the blessing of various buffs, the Mi Empire showed signs of collapse in an instant. The Mi Empire's base in Sakura country is here. The teleportation array is still busy. The base has also entered a state of emergency, but the Dragon Kingdom has no intention of using troops against them. He was completely determined to confront them head-on and defeat them on the frontal battlefield. Fake. Why haven't we opened up the situation yet? Are these Dragon Country people so tough? Even though the total strength of his side is smaller than that of the Dragon Kingdom, Walker, the general of the Mi Empire, is extremely dissatisfied with the stalemate on the battlefield. The 700 00 troops sent by their Mi Empire are all elites transferred back from the secret realm of different time and space. They are not young soldiers stationed in the local area, plus 10 guardian gods to help out. In Walker's mind, the Dragon Kingdom may have a brief stalemate with them. But when their side of the Protector God achieved some results, it was inevitable that they would massacre the Dragon Kingdom one-sidedly. However, the situation at this moment was completely beyond his expectation. Just when he was about to send someone to supervise the frontline battlefield attack, one of his subordinates ran over sweating profusely with a look of panic and anxiety on his face. A video was handed to him. General Walker, I think you should take a look at these things our death statistics on the battlefield are nearly twice that of the Dragon Kingdom. Walter. Walker looked blank. However, he didn't wait until he saw the video handed over by the officer. A rumbling heavenly sound suddenly came from outside. The Bangzi Kingdom camp has reached an offensive and defensive alliance with the Dragon Kingdom camp. From now on, in the state of national war, the attack skills and debuffs of professionals from the two countries will be invalid against each other. 
the Bangzi Kingdom camp launches an attack on the Mi Empire camp's base in Sakura country. The Bangzi Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the Mi Empire camp will result in random rewards. The Mi Empire camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the Bangzi Kingdom camp will receive random rewards. Chapter 208 The Bangzi Kingdom camp has reached an offensive and defensive alliance with the Dragon Kingdom camp. From now on, in the state of national war, the attack skills and debuffs of professionals from the two countries will be invalid against each other. The Bangzi Kingdom camp launches an attack on the Mi Empire camp's base in Sakura country. The Bangzi Kingdom camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the Mi Empire camp will receive random rewards. The Mi Empire camp triggers the national war mechanism, and killing members of the Bangzi Kingdom camp will receive random rewards. The combat goal of the Bangzi Kingdom has been confirmed, assist the ally Dragon Kingdom camp, jointly win the national war against the Mi Empire, and force the Mi Empire to sign an armistice agreement. The combat goal of the Mi Empire camp has been confirmed, defeat the Bangzi Kingdom camp and force it to sign a war agreement. Confirmation of National War Participants Professionals in the Bangzi Country Camp, 120-00 People Support Permission Micro Empire Camp Professionals, 700-00 People Support Permission A sudden announcement from heaven resounded throughout the world. It not only shocked the professionals of the Mi Empire who were fighting at the moment, but also shocked the senior officials of other Blue Star countries. Bangzi Country declares war on the American Empire. Has the world become this crazy? First, a dragon kingdom appeared and slapped the blue star overlord of the Mi Empire in front of the whole world. Later, the Sakura kingdom, which had always been the weakling of the Mi Empire, the royal family quit and turned to join the dragon kingdom. Seeing the start of this national war in which the blue star overlord refused to accept the lesson, the top leaders of various countries were already shouting in their hearts, FCK. At this time, Bangzi country, the plaything in the hands of the Mi Empire, actually started jumping around? Oh, God, are all those yellow-skinned monkeys crazy? Do the leaders of Bangzi Kingdom think that Long Kingdom can win this victory? Geysers, this is so crazy. This move by Bangzi country will definitely completely annoy the Mi Empire. They are risking their lives. It's over. Once the Dragon Kingdom is defeated, the Bangzi Kingdom will definitely be destroyed. I dare to swear here with my big dick that the Mi Empire will never let this country go. It dares to support him. And similarly, when this announcement was heard by the people and professionals throughout Bangzi country, everyone's minds went blank. The inherent inferiority and conceited nature of the nation made them at a loss when faced with the decision of their own king. Except for a very small number of people who clamored for a decisive battle with the Mi Empire. Most of the professionals from Bangzi country were so nervous that their legs became weak, as if taking another step forward would lead to an abyss. Aksiba. Is the monarch crazy? How can we be the opponent of the Mi Empire? Ania, move away immediately. We must move away immediately and join other countries' camps. Even if we go to the backward camps in Heizhou, we must not follow this madman to death. People from the Dragon Kingdom. They must be those damn Dragon Kingdom people. Even if they are looking for death, they want to drag us into the country, Shiba. After Li Jianxi, the Three Star Guild, obtained the monarch's approval, he returned to consolidate his own strength and at the same time began to recruit manpower from major guilds across the country. The Bangzi Kingdom had so many active forces killed by Zheng Mu that now that it has declared war on the Mi Empire, it has to recruit manpower from civilian professionals. Only with the addition of part of the military's strength can this dispatch of troops be facilitated. Abuji, you also know the reputation of General Zheng Mu in our country now. At this time, we are recruiting troops to go to support I am afraid there will not be too many responders. The attitude of the Xiendai Guild is very clear. Keep pushing the envelope. Hearing the words of his eldest son Li Zirong, Li Jianxi smiled faintly. Don't you think His Majesty the King doesn't know this? Or do you think the Dragon Kingdom needs the strength of the Bangzi Kingdom like us, who were easily defeated by them, to join the fight? Seeing his son stunned, Li Jianxi shook his head. Although the Dragon Kingdom agreed to our offensive and defensive alliance, 
they did not arrange a frontal battlefield mission for us. They only asked us to clean up the remaining local forces of the Ashikaga shogunate. What the Dragon Kingdom needs is us, the country least likely to declare war on the Mi Empire, on the matter of declaring war on the Kai Empire. Speaking of this, Li Jianxi suddenly showed a happy smile in his eyes, as if the tiger had lost its disguise, and he chuckled. I'm afraid those white-skinned pigs are crazy now, right? However, the top management of the Mi Empire was simply mad. Five or six minutes had passed since the elites of the Mi Empire heard the voice of heaven's announcement. Only then did someone finally come back to his senses from the huge shock. Did I hear it wrong? Bangzi country declared war on us. What fac? Did those Shao Shiba from Bangzi country take the wrong medicine? Are they crazy? Or am I crazy? Maze fac. These yellow-skinned monkeys are all crazy. They really think that Army Empire, the Blue Star Overlord, is paperless. Your Majesty, increase your troops. We, the Rothschild Plutocrat, are willing to suspend our operations in some areas of the secret realm of different time and space. Develop, and then return some of the troops. The Melon Chable can transfer back 100 00 elites from the secret realm of different time and space. In addition, our garrison in the Camel Kingdom has also been deliberately withdrawn. The 440 60 monster area there is no longer too big for us. Meaning, what other monster is more cost effective in terms of experience points and rewards than killing these damn yellow skinned monkeys? Agree, our Morgan Chable is willing to withdraw 100 00 troops in the secret realm of different time and space, and its major life related professional guilds can support the logistics of this national war. In the Holy White Jade Palace. At this moment, all the gentlemen of the Mi Empire had gloomy faces. The ferocious light in their eyes was in sharp contrast to their decent clothes. The air was filled with the barbaric atmosphere unique to the bandits. The Emperor of the Mi Empire also looked extremely ugly at the moment. During his reign, something like this happened was definitely a stain on him as the Emperor of the Mi Empire, and it could even be said to be an indelible stain. What made him even more angry was that his second son was still engaged to Princess Suyu from Bangzi Kingdom. Fake. This time Army Empire seems to be showing off our strong muscles in front of the whole world again. On the wilderness battlefield of Shikoku Castle. The battle has lasted all day since it started. The Dragon Kingdom has no intention of launching an attack on the Mi Empire's bases and logistics supply lines. It just wants to compete with these white-skinned pigs in this wilderness, beat the other side into submission, and kill the other people who are watching the excitement. The Blue Star countries were all scared to death. And similarly, the strong fighting power and fighting will displayed by the Dragon Kingdom also made professionals from all over the world take a breath of cold air. A sharp sound broke through the air. Ashikaga Nobuo, who had exhausted all his MP and was severely lacking in physical strength, accidentally screamed and was cut backwards. The surrounding generals of the Ashikaga shogunate had already suffered heavy casualties in the battle with the Dragon Kingdom professionals. He looked at Uchiha Muzen who had used Susanoo and suddenly struck at him again. Ashikaga Nobuo was shocked, but at this time he couldn't retreat even if he wanted to accompanied by a huge slashing roar. The latter's broken body suddenly lost its movement. Not dead, but only a trace of blood and skin left. General. In the distance, under the siege of Xiong Weishan and other elite Tianai troops, several shogunate generals who were struggling hard turned pale with fear. However, they could only watch helplessly as Ashikaga Nobuo was taken away with a special rope by several T-800s like a dead dog, feeling helpless and furious. Fark. Death believer Ramsey, who was fighting Zheng Mu's Gua Sha side, saw this scene, and his expression suddenly changed. After all, he is the leader of the Mi Empire. How can he watch the other party being taken away like this at this time? However, just as he was about to go to the rescue, a huge shield came towards him. Boom. One move failed, but it also scared him into a cold sweat. Ha ha ha, reptile, I am very satisfied with your massage service, but could you please be more serious? Zheng Mu's wild laughter came from the armored giant's body. The 2037W300W health bar above his head made Ramsey so angry that his teeth itched. 
the situation is so fucked up. He was originally the one who was restraining Zheng Mu, but now the situation turned out to be that he was restrained by Zheng Mu. Look at the 880 teammates who protect the country around them. Although most of the battles are dominated and suppressed, facing these tireless mechanical creations, the situation is obviously similar to our own. They are all restrained by these mangy dog-like things. However, just when he could only watch Ashikaga Nobuo being taken into the air fortress, the armored giant in front of him suddenly surged with light accompanied by a burst of light condensation. Zheng Mu's figure appeared on the opponent's shoulder. Hey, little reptile, could you give me a lift? Ramsey was stunned for a moment, and then murderous intent appeared in his eyes along with joy. He didn't see any specific movements. The next moment, he appeared behind Zheng Mu. The huge sickle instantly penetrated Zheng Mu from behind. Die! He sneered ferociously, but Zheng Mu, who was penetrated by him through the chest, turned around and smiled. Three grams of oil. Ramsey. Before he could understand what Zheng Mu's nonsensical thank you meant, the next moment the figure hanging on his side gradually twisted and turned into a T-100 with sparks stinging on it. The armored giant suddenly punched the stunned man and sent him flying backwards. If the equipment on his body hadn't exempted him from the damage this time, there would have been a wave of blood amputations. Just when Ramsey was gritting his teeth and thinking, not knowing how to deal with Jing Mu, Jing Mu's voice suddenly came from the direction of the air fortress. Hey, hey, Ivy Barty, why not have a halftime entertainment show? Under the gaze of the whole world, Jing Mu smiled warmly, and beside him, the bound and physically disabled soldiers of the Mi Empire were retreated one by one. Looking at the elite soldiers of the Kai Empire who were lined up in wheelchairs and tried to struggle but could not break free. Then think of Zheng Mu's usual style of doing things. An ominous premonition suddenly appeared in the hearts of the senior officials of the Mi Empire. The emperor of the Mi Empire's face twitched and his whole body was shaking with anger. Fake, even Satan can't do that kind of thing. Chapter, 209 God, no. Is this guy going to do such crazy things in front of the whole world? Isn't he afraid of being judged by the whole world? Geysers. That's my son. That's my son George. Damn it, that Dragon Kingdom demon, stop it. Stop it. Seeing the scene in the Tiandao live broadcast, even outside the wilderness of Shikoku City, the soldiers of the Mi Empire who were fighting against the Dragon Kingdom would have their expressions change and they could not help but become distracted. Looking at the Mi Empire soldiers like them who were tied to wheelchairs at the upper edge of the aerial fortress, a thick chill emerged from the hearts of everyone present. Behind the Mi Empire's army, the priests responsible for emergency treatment of the wounded looked blankly in the direction of the air fortress. The staff in a priest's hand suddenly loosened and fell to the ground feebly. Law. With the whole world watching, something like a microphone appeared in Jing Mu's hand. Then we would like to ask our guest number one, the white-skinned gentleman, to introduce himself. Looking at Jing Mu who handed over the microphone with a smile, the professional soldier of the Mi Empire who was tied to a wheelchair, unable to move and had lost a leg, his face was pale and his whole body was trembling with fear. However, his excellent psychological quality kept him from letting go. Gritting his teeth, he cursed angrily. Go and eat shit. Yellow-skinned monkey. Zheng Mu immediately covered his heart with an aggrieved look on his face and sighed sadly. It seems that us white-skinned captains are indeed in a bad mood today. It may be because they are away on the battlefield while their wives and daughters are serving other men in bed. I deeply sympathize with this. Zheng Mu said to himself, and gently put a hand on the other person's shoulder under the latter's horrified gaze. The smile on his face did not diminish at all because of the other party's uncooperation and scolding. Golden red light appeared from his hand, and instantly enveloped him amid the latter's terrified screams. Fake. Fake squid. Damn yellow-skinned monkeys, you are all going to die, you are all going to die. Hysterical roars spread throughout the audience through the microphone Jing Mu stretched out. However, in just a few minutes, a mechanical component that looked like a capsule appeared in Jing Mu's hand. Power Instant Explosion Core, Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Worked by Mechanic Jing Mu. 
mechanical component obtained by extracting the energy source of A-level professional flash assassin. It is loaded on the power limb of the mechanical creation. It can be driven by an instant burst. Out of rapid displacement. No. Seeing the information about the mechanical components in Zheng Mu's hand, no matter how strong he was, the captain of the Mi Empire instantly had red eyes. While he was struggling hysterically, the two T-800s on the tenth side had already unchained him. However, he, who had become an ordinary person, was easily pressed into a wheelchair by the T-800 at this moment. Looking at the wheelchair slowly approaching the edge, the captain's whole body was shaking violently. This scene also frightened many women in the Mi Empire to cover their eyes, and even some professionals could not help but swallow their saliva nervously. God, is this guy really going to do this? Fake, why don't those protector gods save people? Didn't we send a full number of protector gods? Yua, my husband is also among the captured personnel. What on earth is that devil going to do? This madman. Devil. Hell will not accept such a dirty and cruel guy. No matter how much professionals from all over the world cursed him, Jing Mu was smiling at this moment and once again handed the microphone in his hand to the man's mouth. Now, Mr. Captain, can I interview you about your mood at this moment? F. Fake Squid. The man kept breathing out, his eyes darting to look in front of him, forcing himself to stay calm, and still yelling angrily. However, Jing Mu chuckled. It seems that our captain is still in a bad mood, so we wish him to be happy every day in his next life. As soon as he finished speaking, the T-800 behind the wheelchair suddenly pushed the wheelchair forward. The man instantly fell from the edge of the aerial fortress hundreds of meters high, and the series of frightened screams scared the professionals who saw this scene. Zereshet. Fark. The man's screams quickly disappeared and he fell directly from a height of hundreds of meters like an ordinary person. The bloody scene in the live broadcast made people's scalp numb and made their legs feel weak. Everyone couldn't help but swallowed a mouthful of saliva as they looked at the puddle of flesh that no longer had a human shape in the live broadcast. Ruthless. Too cruel. When national war breaks out in various countries, it is not that there are no killings of prisoners, but people like Jing Mu kill prisoners openly and openly in front of the whole world, in such a way that is almost playing with their lives. Jing Mu is definitely the first. The center of the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. Mr. Li, wouldn't this be too cruel? Jiang Guixing's face turned slightly pale, and he hesitated before speaking his mind. However, before Mr. Li said anything, Mr. Jiang immediately snorted coldly. Cruelty. Why don't you go to the graves of your uncles and uncles and ask them if this is cruel? Suddenly, Jiang Xinghua stopped talking. However, Mr. Lin on the side hesitated for a moment and still looked at the silent Mr. Li. Old Li, why don't you let that kid control him? Killing prisoners in front of the whole world is not good for his reputation. In the future, the burden on that kid's shoulders will not only be at present. However, when Mr. Lee heard this, he smiled bitterly and spread his hands. You are that boy's grandfather. Go and persuade him. Anyway, I can't persuade him. Mr. Lin was silent. Looking at Zheng Mu in the picture, if he told the other person that the reason why his parents separated back then was because of him. Bao Buki, this kid went crazy and let his old bones experience a flying trapeze. However, just when the whole world was in an uproar because of Zheng Mu's behavior, a burst of exciting and cheerful music suddenly sounded outside the Sigua city and above the air fortress. Hear the familiar BGM and Zheng Mu's hands dancing in front of his chest. The face of the emperor of the Mi Empire turned dark instantly. Young. Man. There's. No. Need. To. Feel. Down hey man, don't feel sad. I said the iman pick yourself off the ground I said, brother, cheer up. I said the iman kazi ware in Aina town because you have come to this new home. The cheerful and rhythmic music, coupled with Zheng Mu's dancing posture that was not ashamed at all, and even full of enjoyment, was like a country-destroying magic skill that was placed over everyone in the Mi Empire camp. The ultimate humiliation made the entire Mi Empire tremble with anger. But at this time, Zheng Mu was jumping up and down, holding the microphone and came to the next guest. 
It's a pity that this is a bald nagel. According to Zheng Mu's practice of the production tool does not have any say, Zheng Mu has no intention of interviewing the other party. One hand was pressed directly on the opponent's braised egg, and a golden red light bloomed. In the cheerful music, Zheng Mu directly surrounded the opponent and started jumping up and down to play the game of throwing the handkerchief while singing passionately. Looking at the Tiandao live broadcast at this moment, in the holy white jade palace of the Mi Empire, the emperor of the Mi Empire has completely lost his mind. He was so angry that he smashed everything around him. Zheng Mu dared to use YMCA, his exclusive BGM, for such an outrageous thing, it was no different from slapping him in the face with a big eagle in front of the whole world. Fark. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Damn it, this guy who dares to provoke and insult army empire will definitely not be able to live. He will definitely not be able to live. Amid hysterical roars, Zheng Mu once again completed the gaining the waist operation, swaying his body and retreating as if dancing a senior disco. The next moment, Nagel was thrown out of the wheelchair by the T-800 amidst a series of screams. Ah! Boom! The precise landing point hit the sleeping place of the previous guest Wang Qian's, and the black and red flesh and blood blended together. This scene made countless professionals vomit. Above the air fortress, the song ended. The third guest was pushed up, a female soldier from the Mi Empire who had lost an arm. At this moment, the other party looked pale and shook his head repeatedly, with tears pouring out. No, no, please, don't do that please. Seeing the other person's pitiful look, Zheng Mu smiled and reached out to help the other person wipe away the tears on his face. This gentle expression not only did not comfort anyone at all, but the touch on his face scared the person. The female soldier's body couldn't help but tremble. There was some crying in the voice begging for mercy. Oh, this gallant lady, I wonder what your name is? Van, Vanessa. Hearing the other party's voice, the smile on Zheng Mu's face gradually became weird. This smile immediately made everyone in the Mi Empire's heart skip a beat when they saw this scene. Next moment. Zheng Mu's gentle inquiry spread throughout the world. So, Miss Vanessa, are you willing to turn your back on your lost ways and join our righteous Dragon Kingdom camp to eliminate the cancer of the Mi Empire that bullies the weak? Everyone in the Mi Empire, fake. Shameless. Chapter, 210 So, Miss Vanessa, are you willing to turn your back on your lost ways and join our righteous Dragon Kingdom camp to eliminate the cancer of the Mi Empire that bullies the weak? Zheng Mu exited this question. The whole world fell into an epic deathly silence at this moment. Even outside Shikoku City, the two sides fighting were staring at the figure on the aerial fortress in stunned silence. Xiong Weishan was covered in blood, and the giant axe in his hand had smashed countless professionals from the empire. At this moment, he was stunned by Zheng Mu's question. Damn it, can you still play like this? In the Dragon Kingdom, Kai Shinkuan and others, who had received the order to prepare and prepare for war as follow-up reinforcements, were stunned after hearing the words of their boss during the Tiandao live broadcast. Damn it, boss if you do this, the Mi Empire will be driven crazy, right? On the side, Gu Feng, who had an honest personality, could no longer turn his head and asked Gu Ming blankly. Boss, is it okay to do this? Recruit troops from the elite of the Mi Empire? And in front of the whole world, forced to do so. Gu Feng, who grew up hearing about the older generation's struggle against the Mi Empire and other countries, had his worldview completely destroyed by Zheng Mu's slutty moves. The foreign professionals who were released from the Kowloon lockdown prison looked at the picture of Vanessa, who was in tears and in unprecedented tangle, with complicated expressions. Do you want to say that they have no sense of belonging to their country? How can it be? But compared to being like food on a dinner plate, being stripped of his professional identity by Zheng Mu and becoming an ordinary person without losing the camp does not seem to be a difficult choice. Just like Vanessa who heard Zheng Mu's question at this moment. The brain is also caught in a huge tangle. Miss Vanessa, you have also seen that the people of the Great Mi Empire have been fooled by the dirty upper class. You are conducting a wrong national war. Look at those poor Sakura country citizens. They just want to live. 
Speaking of this, Zheng Mu even squeezed out two drops of crocodile tears under everyone's stunned gaze. With such a shameless face, even the elite politicians of the Mi Empire would be willing to bow down to him, but at this moment, under his performance, he looked so natural and could not see the slightest contradiction or weakness. I, I, please, please let me go, I, I have become disabled, please. Vanessa cried and begged for mercy. At this moment, her family members in the Mi Empire were already hugging each other and crying together. All kinds of abuses and Zheng Mu are the voices of demons, spitting out angrily from their mouths. Vanessa was obviously thinking of her family. She was shaking her head in pain at this moment, unable to do anything to betray the camp. TSK what a pity, Vanessa, I thought you were different from them. You have a lot of youth and you are still so young. Zheng Mu shook his head in pity, and the words he murmured caused the entire Mi Empire to clench their fists angrily. Seeing him slowly put his claws on Vanessa's shoulders, in the wilderness of Shikoku City, the professionals on the Mi Empire roared one after another. Asshole. Come at us if you dare. You coward. Fake squid. Damn Dragon Kingdom bastard, if you have the seed, let's do it. Shameless guy, you will not end well if you bully a prisoner like this. Amidst all kinds of roars, the strangely quiet battlefield suddenly became boiling again. The Tianai army looked at the enemies who were about to rush toward the aerial fortress, and they all roared and rushed forward. Where to run? The white-skinned pig will die. Ha ha ha, if you dare to attack our dragon kingdom, this is the fate of you guys. General Zheng Mu is mighty. Long live the Tian AI army. The dragon kingdom must win. In the distant wilderness, they were once again caught in a brutal fight. From this angle, they could see the battlefield where people died on the spot at all times, and feel the warmth of Zheng Mu's palm on his shoulder. Vanessa was covered in cold sweat. My heart whispered over and over again to myself not to give in, to stand firm in my camp, to think about my family, and so on. However, with Zheng Mu sighing, Vanessa finally cried out in panic. I do. Please let me go. I am willing to serve the Dragon Kingdom. Please, Wu Wu. At this moment, looking at Vanessa who had completely collapsed emotionally and started crying, all the professionals watching the live broadcast fell silent. Zheng Mu smiled, his smile full of contempt and disdain. This unabashed emotion fell into everyone's eyes, and professionals from all over the world put themselves into Vanessa at this moment. Faced with Zheng Mu's cruel methods of coercion, what choice would they make? Silence is the theme of the world at this moment. Congratulations, Miss Vanessa, you are on the side of justice. In the future history of Blue Star, you will be remembered by everyone as a hero who has returned from the lost path. Zheng Mu smiled and took back his hand. Vanessa is an A-level priest. This type of character does not count among the prisoners at this moment. Under everyone's gaze, AT-800 handed a document that had been prepared long ago and stamped with the official seal of the Dragon Kingdom to the other party. Once the other party signs it, Tian Dao will accept it directly. And this Miss Vanessa, like those foreign professionals on the battlefield at this moment, will begin a five-year inspection period for the Dragon Kingdom, working as a cow and a horse. With the whole world watching, Vanessa closed her eyes and finally pressed her fingerprints on it. When the fingerprint was pressed and the camp switching prompt popped up on the panel, Vanessa slumped in the wheelchair and cried silently. From now on, even if she meets her family members on the battlefield, they must fight with swords. Atfk, otherwise, if she betrays the Dragon Kingdom camp, heaven will directly destroy her with thunder. Miss Vanessa, who led us, welcomed her new life and asked her to wash up. I think our Dragon Kingdom's military uniform will definitely fit her better. Watching Vanessa being pushed in a wheelchair by the T-800 and entering the Sky Fortress. The entire Mi Empire's professionals were angry and full of powerlessness. Can they blame Vanessa at this moment? No, even if it were them, it would be difficult for them to stick to their own ideas under Zheng Mu's unabashed and shameless coercion. Vanessa disappeared from the Tian Dao live broadcast, but at this moment, the whole world understood. It won't be long before Vanessa, a warrior from the Dragon Kingdom equipped with mechanical prosthetics, will appear in front of everyone. 
waved her staff to apply healing and buffs to these Dragon Kingdom people. The Mi Empire is stationed in the base of Sakura country. Seeing Zheng Mu unscrupulously start threatening them, the elite professionals of the Mi Empire, in public, General Walker was so angry that he cursed his mother. Fake. These damn dragon country people, don't they have any sense of shame? Don't they have any dignity of the country? This guy can actually do such a shameless thing, and under the banner of peace for Blue Star, Mazefak. Our great me empire will never tolerate such shame. Intensify the attack. Increase the attack for me. However, no matter how angry General Walker was, he could not stop Zheng Mu's unscrupulous behavior at this moment. He could only look at the captured elites of the Mi Empire with an aggrieved look like the high-level elites of the Mi Empire. One after another, or yelling angrily, Zheng Mu cast Forced Golden Hand, on the spot, contributing an orange legendary mechanical material to Zheng Mu. What followed was a human body falling freely, trailing a long series of frightened screams. Some people with low psychological quality did not even resist being pushed in front of Zheng Mu, so they cried and surrendered. Among the approximately 1-0-0 captives, nearly half joined the Dragon Kingdom's camp in the end. As for the remaining half, they are not completely unafraid of death. Among them, Nagel, who had no say, directly occupied more than 300 places. It can be imagined that the Nagel professionals in the future Mi Empire will definitely be the most courageous beings in battle. After all, these guys will also know that if they fall into Zheng Mu's hands, they won't even have a chance to beg for mercy. They will just use the waste on the spot and turn it into a mechanical part for the market. Ha ha ha, I have gained a lot, I have gained a lot. On top of the air fortress, when the last Mi Empire prisoner cried out words like mother and joined the Dragon Kingdom camp, Zheng Mu looked with satisfaction at the mechanical materials that had piled up into a hill behind him. The joy on his face caused everyone in the Mi Empire to gnash their teeth. However, some people couldn't help but start to tremble. What does it mean when so many mechanical materials appear in Zheng Mu's hands? Everyone can understand. Mechanical creation. There is definitely a large group of mechanical creations with high levels. Fake. Hurry up and assemble an elite team dedicated to rescuing the wounded on the battlefield. We can't let anyone fall into the hands of that bastard anymore. Tell our soldiers that if they find that they can't survive, the Mi Empire needs them to sacrifice themselves. Of loyalty. Walker cursed and signed to his men. But in fact, without his order, in the chaotic battlefield in the wilderness, the angry soldiers of the Mi Empire became obviously much more cautious when fighting. Some soldiers were accidentally beaten and seriously injured by the Dragon Kingdom, and they immediately became vigilant. The moment the liquor appeared, they all immediately used their skills to resist. Although the number of captured soldiers was successfully suppressed, the nearly 700 00 elite troops of the Mi Empire were obviously at a loss. At the same time, in the air fortress, Zheng Mu was preparing to think about something new. There was a sudden pause in his steps. In the shadow under his feet, jet black metallic fluid suddenly surged up, as if something was about to emerge from his shadow. Chapter 211 Look at the black liquid metal surging out. Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly narrowed. The familiar yet unfamiliar feeling made him look slightly startled, but the next moment, the black fluid metal in front of him condensed into a ferocious monster that was completely black and reflected black light. The moment he saw this monster, a familiar image appeared in Zheng Mu's mind. What the hell? Alien. Name, Infection Machine Evil God Alien, Black Claw. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Master Zheng Mu. Level, Orange Legendary Level. Durability, 500W 500W. Defense, 8700. Skill 1, Exotic Hunting. The body is hidden in the darkness of the void, ignores barrier effects such as barriers, and assassinates the target, with no cooling time. Skill 2, Evil Intention Lock, after using it on the target, you can ignore the distance and stealth and other skill effects, maintain precise positioning of the target at all times, and after the next attack hits, it will give the target three times the attack damage, no cooling time. Skill 3, 
evil god communicator can infect mechanical creations that meet the conditions to increase the opponent's level and change the same nature, with no cooling time. Skill 4, Immortal Reincarnation, after the evil alien is killed in battle, it can immediately reassemble itself in the infected mechanical object and be reborn. Cooling Time, 24 Hours Skill 5, Void Claw, the main offensive weapon of the evil god and alien, can randomly ignore 30% to 80% of the target's defense attributes, causing huge damage to the target, no cooldown time. Skill 6, Supreme Evolution, you can self-evolve and improve your own functions and components by swallowing more body parts of the evil god Aspia, no cooling time. Skill 7, Beast-like can fuse and absorb the body of the target monster to the extent that it can freely change into the target and possess certain skill attributes of the target. Cooling time, 24 hours. Note, after successfully completing the animal-like skills on a certain target, you can directly transform freely without cooling in the future. Akaka. Listening to the strange cry coming from the alien's mouth, if the information on the panel in front of him had not been fake, Zheng Mu would not have been able to recognize it. The thing in front of him turned out to be his previous black claw. Feeling the familiar cold touch from the other person's body, Zheng Mu's eyes instantly lit up. Damn it! Black Claw, you're in a bunker now. Hearing Zheng Mu's praise, although his image changed drastically, the black claws of Zheng Mu's master in his heart remained unchanged. He suddenly raised his head, and the body full of streamlined beauty behind his head suddenly unfolded. Along with bursts of blue light bloomed from above. An invisible energy suddenly spread around the black claw round after round, not only covering the entire air fortress. The bloody battlefield outside the wilderness of Shikoku City also enveloped his life. Stupid, stupid and humiliating. The next moment, the liquors that had just rushed out of the dark crypt the previous second had not had time to attack the target, and they felt like being struck by lightning. At first, under the unclear gaze of the professionals from the Mi Empire, he suddenly began to tremble violently. Amidst the crackling and shattering sounds, bursts of electric sparks erupted from each component, as if half of it was about to be scrapped. Fake. What's going on? Look, there's something wrong with all those humanoid mechanical creations. Is that Dragon Kingdom mechanic going to die? Amidst the exclamations, the T-100 on the battlefield suddenly began to tremble violently after the liquor. The liquid metal body that can ignore most physical attacks is suddenly distorted in various ways. However, some attentive officers of the Mi Empire suddenly looked at the health bars of these mechanical creations, and their expressions suddenly changed. Damn. Attack quickly. These guys are not going to die. They are getting stronger. Wurt Falk. I saw that the purple rare level liquor, whose health bar did not even break 10 0, 0 was now rapidly increasing in HP along with the changes in the opponent's body. 400, 700, 800, 1W, 1, 5W. Almost in the blink of an eye, the health bar soared to a full 50, 0, 0. This horrifying change caused the professionals in the Mi Empire to concentrate their firepower. The mages and shooters all used their skills to accurately attack the nearby mechanical creations. However, the sound of skill bombing disappeared along with it. The black smoke dissipated, but these mechanical creations were nowhere to be seen. Ah! A sudden scream came from behind a team from the Mi Empire. Everyone turned around in horror, only to see a T-100 filled with darkness and a sense of evil. At some point, it appeared behind the priest of their team. The arm turned into a sharp blade has penetrated the opponent's chest. At this time, the priest's defensive skills were still shining brightly. Zereshet. Attack. Watch out for these guys, ah. Damn it, shrink. Shrink your defense quickly. The mage comes in quickly and puts up your defense skills. Captain, these monsters can ignore some defenses. Our defense skills have no effect. The panicked shouts of the Mi Empire resounded throughout the battlefield. As Black Claw used the skill Evil God Communicator, and completed functional modification, the Liquor and T-100 were raging like a black storm among the entire army of the Mi Empire, and this situation became even more intense. In the end, the elites of the Mi Empire, 
who had been aroused by Zheng Mu's public killing of prisoners, were finally thrown into disarray. Above the sky, the mechanical creations under Zheng Mu's command were overwhelmed. They wanted to break away from the battle to support other places, but the major protector gods were always entangled with each other and warred again and again. Maurice, think of a solution. What kind of monster is that Dragon Kingdom mechanic? Ramsey, the SS level death follower, was completely entangled by the armored titan. Even if he had the ability to break free from the battlefield, if there was no one to restrain a behemoth like the armored titan at this moment, once it rushed into the army, the consequences would be unimaginable. He roared. However, Morris, the scarlet magician who was also troubled by Kazaru, was troubled and couldn't express his pain. His profession has powerful attack power, and also has the extremely rare in elementalization skill. Can make him immune to a large extent of attacks. But this elementalization is not completely without limitations, that is, most of his powerful range of range skills cannot be released in this form. Zero please give me flowers. At this moment, facing Kizaru, who was also able to elementalize, he couldn't move his hands to support the army below. Damn it! Didn't you see the situation here? Clayton. Morris roared angrily, but the shout just came out. The next moment, he was fighting fiercely with Blackbeard. Faced with the opponent's ability to swallow attacks, Clayton, who couldn't think of a solution, was so angry that he cursed. Don't call me, I can't help it, these damn mechanical creations are too difficult to deal with. Gloria. Go and help the people below. If this continues, our army will collapse. The SS level forest Saint Gloria was so suppressed by a kainu, a guy covered in lava, that he couldn't even lift his head. Gloria, who had always been full of goddess posture, summoned large swaths of tree spirits, forest elves and other summons, plus various debuffs and attacks, and smashed her opponent's head and face, and she no longer wanted to speak. As a kainu, the reckless man, roared big fire breathing, in the raging flames, an elf who applied a defensive skill to her screamed and turned into a burst of light and dissipated. However, a kainu, a mechanical creature, showed no sign of fatigue. The cloak of justice was flying behind him, his fists condensed with magma, and they violently bombarded the sky. The next moment, thousands of meteorites carrying rolling flames broke through the morning mist and roared towards Gloria. Seeing this scene, everyone's pupils shrank in fear. Obviously, if this move cannot stop the elites of the Mi Empire, there will definitely be a lot of casualties. Fake. In the base, General Walker was so angry that he cursed his mother. However, at this moment, all the troops that can be dispatched in the base have been dispatched, and the rest are basic defense personnel who can no longer be mobilized. Seeing that the ten guardian gods dispatched by their own side were all restrained by the Dragon Kingdom. He almost broke his steel teeth into pieces. Kizaru, Akiji, Blackbeard, Akainu, Uchiha Muzan, Mira Jane, Armored Titan, Godzilla, plus Hrithik and Dilbai. Although it is difficult for the high-end combat power of the Dragon Kingdom to achieve any substantial results. The HP of both sides is basically at a stable level of combat. However, there is no doubt that the Mi Empire's high-end combat power has no advantage in this battle with the Dragon Kingdom in Shikoku City. Looking at the mechanical creations that were rampant among the army, and the Dragon Kingdom army that was suppressing them one after another as if they had been beaten to death. The anger suddenly disappeared from his heart, replaced by a chill that Walker didn't want to mention. An ominous premonition not only appeared in his mind at this moment, but also worried the top management of the Mi Empire at this moment. Seeing the war taking a turn for the worse, the top leaders of Blue Star countries also came up with a ridiculous idea. Eagle Country The Queen of the Eagle Kingdom, who was discussing with the ministers just a moment ago how to restrict the Dragon Kingdom and deal with the unstable factor Xingmu, looked stern when she saw this scene. His eyes were somewhat erratic as he looked towards the country's general. General Nelson, is the American Empire going to be defeated this time? Chapter 212. The American Empire was defeated? If this question had come from the Queen's mouth before, the generals and ministers of the Eagle Kingdom would have couldn't help but wonder if the Queen was really a bit older. But looking at the Mi Empire army, which was clearly at a disadvantage at this moment. 
Everyone opened their mouths, but in the end they didn't know what conclusion to draw. The Mi Empire was the one that brought down their eagle kingdom from the throne of supremacy. Who in Blue Star knows the strength of the Mi Empire best, except the Dragon Kingdom, which has repeatedly clashed with the Mi Empire. That must be their eagle country. It can be said that the power displayed by the Mi Empire now, even the 700 00 elites and the 10 national protectors transferred back, can only be regarded as the tip of the iceberg of the Mi Empire. While the combat effectiveness displayed by the Dragon Kingdom seriously exceeded their expectations, in the hearts of everyone present, the status of the overlord of the Mi Empire was still unshakable. In fact, as a former overlord, I know very well the terrifying value of the secret realm of different time and space that only the Mi Empire has touched. However, they had to admit it. At this moment, in the Tiandao live broadcast, it is almost certain that the 700 00 elite troops of the Mi Empire outside Shikoku City will be defeated and retreat. 337 It is not easy for the Mi Empire to mobilize a group of troops capable of stably occupying the territory in a short period of time. The most important thing is that there is Zheng Mu, a shameless and cruel demon king here in the Dragon Kingdom. Even if he can mobilize a large number of mechanical creations to join the battle, this guy still dares to shamelessly forcefully recruit soldiers from the prisoners of the Mi Empire in front of the whole world. It has only been one day since the national war between the two countries officially started. The number of casualties on the Mi Empire's side exceeded 8 on the first day, but the loss of troops reached an astonishing 1 for million. More than 6,000 of them were disabled professionals who were captured by Zheng Mu's mechanical creations. Because these people have moved camps, they are under the direct supervision of Heavenly Dao. They didn't dare to act in the slightest against any orders from the Dragon Kingdom on the battlefield. Whether they were forced to do so or they had completely resigned themselves to their fate, they all went crazy and became the enemy of the Mi Empire's army that could be seen everywhere on the battlefield. Over time, the gap between the military strength of the Mi Empire and the Dragon Kingdom on the battlefield will only widen. Your Majesty the Queen, this mechanic from the Dragon Kingdom has added too many unstable factors to this national war in this war in the Sakura Kingdom, the Mi Empire may suffer a big setback. The Prime Minister of Eagle Country looked helpless and full of worries about the future. Judging from the behavior of the mechanic Longhua, this guy is not a being who believes in peaceful coexistence. Once the benefits are sufficient, this guy will change the law and provoke a national war between the two countries. There are also many people who are shocked and hesitant about the unfavorable situation of the Mi Empire on the battlefield. Among them, for example, the White Elephant Kingdom was defeated by the Dragon Kingdom. At this moment, the King of the White Elephant Kingdom was finally looking forward to the formal war between the Mi Empire and the Dragon Kingdom. Thinking that my current losses can be reduced. However, in just one day, Longwa took the initiative on the battlefield. At this time, the top leaders of Baixian Kingdom were completely desperate. God, have you really abandoned your followers? The king of Baixian Kingdom cried loudly. He is not blind. In the Tiandao live broadcast, the Kai Empire's army has begun to make obvious retreat movements. The Faiyunsu in the sky had already been shot down by the air fleet of Helong Kingdom, and more than half of it was shot down. The remaining flying cloud boats have no chance of landing at this moment. The Mi Empire could only reluctantly let some professionals with flying abilities send the wounded to Faiyunsu. The rest are fighting and retreating. Leaving behind the corpses of our countrymen along the way. Atop the Sky Fortress, after witnessing some of Black Claw's capabilities with his own eyes, the excitement on Zheng Mu's face was undisguised. He looked teasingly at Ashikaga Nobuo, who was tied up at the side. Ha, huh, I remember that when you were in the capital, you seemed to be very confident in the strength of these white-skinned pigs in the Mi Empire. How do you feel now? Ashikaga Nobuo snorted coldly. No words were spoken. Zheng Mu didn't care about this, he was just a prisoner. On the battlefield right now, the last elite of the Ashikaga Shogunate 3W are almost dead. The strength of these guys is not even inferior to the professionals of the Mi Empire. He was carried by two T-800s to the edge of the air fortress. Lowering his head slightly, Ashikaga Nobuo could already see the pile of bones below that had accumulated into a hill. 
there was finally a moment of panic and fear on his face. Gritting his teeth, he knew that Jing Mu would not let him go and had no intention of begging for mercy. You guy, Blue Star will never tolerate you. Do you really think that the current victory means defeating the Mi Empire? Don't dream about the Dragon Kingdom. The Rice Empire is the overlord of this world. Even if Amaterasu appears, it can't change this. Listening to the other party's harsh words, he was non-committal. But he gently pressed a hand glowing with golden red light on the other person's shoulder. You have said so much, but I am more interested in what treasures you can contribute to me. You have been attacked by the skill force turning gold hand, and the current S-level professional swordsman skills are being stripped the progress is 1%, 2%. It was the same thing when I saw Zheng Mu using this move to intimidate his subordinates and the professionals of the Mi Empire. Now when I looked at the dazzling red alert on my panel. Ashikaga Nobuo couldn't help but show deep shock in his eyes. You monster. The deep voice revealed a deep feeling of unwillingness. After a few minutes, a small Sakura Kingdom warrior doll appeared in Jing Mu's hand. All metal. Ashikaga Nobuo's pupils were shaking as he watched. However, before he could say anything, Jing Mu kicked the other person in the butt unceremoniously. Boom! Ashikaga Nobuo fell directly from the Sky Fortress when he saw the free fall. Prime Minister Yoshida Shiro, who had returned to the capital of Sakura Kingdom on the Dragon Kingdom's follow-up support battleship, clenched his fists in excitement. With the latter hitting the ground heavily, Yoshida Shiro was even more excited and cheered directly on the spot. Great! His Majesty the Emperor, the Tokugawa royal family has been saved. Woohoo! The Holy White Jade Palace of the Mi Empire. Ashikaga Nobuo saw the corpse mixed with a pile of flesh and blood, making it difficult to tell the difference. All the senior executives were livid. Fake. It's so embarrassing this time. Walker has ordered that the remaining 6500 troops be withdrawn to the base in batches. Not only did the Mi Empire feel disgraced in this encounter with the Dragon Kingdom, the Ashikaga Shogunate situation was over, leaving the Mi Empire's army isolated within the borders of the Sakura Kingdom. At the same time, along with the killing information flashed across the panel, Zheng Mu's body finally surged with energy again. You have upgraded, your current level is IV-50. You have new skills to learn. Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, then clicked on the skill tree, and in his eyes, three flashing new skills came into view. In addition to two ordinary skills, at level IV-50, he once again encountered his secret mechanic skills. Alien Cradle Max, summon the Alien Cradle, select the established module drawings, consume various mechanical components, and create monster materials to breed a real humanoid mechanical life form. Cooling Time, 15 Days Computing Power Occupied 200 including 50% reduction in enhancement. Space Technology Tongtian Pillar Max, summoning the Space Core Tongtian Pillar can seamlessly link the teleportation arrays between different camps through established connections to achieve high efficiency transmission and use. Computing Power Occupied, 100 calculated as 50% reduction for enhancement. The first two skills are just like the previous energy compression field. They are summon mechanical creations from another dimension that come with the profession of mechanic. It's still the same as before, without any aggression. But offensive skills are really not necessary here. The last skill is the secret skill of the IV-50 mechanic. It is located behind skills such as life cell transformation, and mechanical cell transformation. The golden skill name made Jing 2, one Mu instantly think of the final effect of this skill branch. The level conditions are met and you have triggered the career promotion task. Mechanic IV-50 promotion task, please create at least three orange legendary mechanical creations within one month. Mission completed, unlock the skill Mechanical Mystery Second Life. Mechanical Mystery Second Life, Mechanic IV-50 mysterious skill, after using it, you can reshape a mechanical incarnation that can be recognized by heaven. With this career panel, you can freely use the skills of the current level, and do not share skills with the main body. Cooling time. No cooldown time. Computing power occupied, non-mysterious skills do not occupy any computing power. 
Note, this secret skill cannot be used again if there is a second life. Before Zheng Mu could recover from the power of this secret skill. The system sound that had been silent for a while sounded again. It is detected that the host has triggered a career promotion task, and the system releases a secret upgrade task. Please produce more than 10 mechanical creations of at least orange legendary level within a month. Reward, Mechanic IV 50 Secret Skill Upgrade. Jing Mu, is this shit going to continue to escalate? Heaven will no longer be able to tolerate me. Chapter, 213. Level IV 50 is just the average level of the middle and lower level officers of the Dragon Kingdom. However, Jing Mu's IV 50 is obviously not comparable to the IV 50 of these people. Outside the wilderness of Shikoku City, this first encounter with the Mi Empire finally came to an end with the temporary victory of the Dragon Kingdom under the watchful eyes of the whole world. However, what surprised all countries was that in the face of the Mi Empire's withdrawal towards its base in Sakura Kingdom, the Dragon Kingdom did not pursue it eagerly. Instead, he looked unhurried and unhurried. While controlling the wounded in the Mi Empire who could not be evacuated in time, he quickly dealt with the situation of the wounded on his own side. It wasn't until the processing here was completed that Zheng Mu ordered Xion Weishan to lead the 300 Long Kingdom Tian AI army to advance towards the base. He has an array of orange legendary mechanical creations such as his subordinate Kizaru. When the Dragon Kingdom's army pressed forward and approached the city, the top management of the Mi Empire also looked helpless. General Walker, the number of elite soldiers in our army who are currently judged to be disabled by God is nearly 20 0, 0. Although we have treated their injuries, there is nothing we can do about their disabled status. Now we can only send these people back to our homeland. In the huge base, in an area dedicated to the treatment of the wounded, dense white gas floated in the air. This is a 0-2 large-scale formation that can continuously treat the wounded in a large area, restore the blood bar of the wounded, and eliminate various debuffs. This kind of thing can now be counted on one hand in the entire blue star that has mastered the relevant technology. However, this kind of treatment array, which can replace a large number of priests and relieve the pressure on the front line during large-scale wars, is now facing the soldiers of the Mi Empire who are missing arms and legs. It's also intentional but powerless. In the hundreds of years of professional era, there is no solution for the disabled debuff state in Blue Star. Except for the kind of mechanical prosthetics in Dragon Kingdom today. Walker looked gloomy. Outside the base, the Dragon Kingdom army has already set up camp a few kilometers away from them. As a general of the Mi Empire, he couldn't help but feel heavy when he saw the air battleships one after another. Unknowingly, their Mi Empire seems to have fallen behind the Blue Star Dragon Kingdom in many aspects. Fake, at the end of the day, we lost as much as 50 0, 0 troops. Walker gritted his teeth. The last time such a tragic record occurred was when the Mi Empire launched an investigation and occupation of an area in the central region of the secret realm of different time and space. But the harvest that time, even with such sacrifice, was quite rich. But now, they have a shitty harvest. The 700 000 strong army that had just been teleported from the mainland to the Sakura country the day before yesterday, with a majestic and high-spirited attitude, was like a holy iron army that judged the unfaithful. In just one day, it lost 50 000 people. This does not include the 30 000 Sakura nation professionals in the Ashikaga shogunate. Boom! Just as Walker was frowning and thinking about the next advancement plan, a violent bombing sound suddenly sounded from above them. Looking at the city defense formation appearing above the head. And that white beam of light that gradually disappeared. All the Mi Empire professionals in the base were so angry that veins popped up on their foreheads. Fake. Do these yellow-skinned monkeys really think we are afraid of them? This time we were completely unprepared. We were suddenly attacked by their air warships from the beginning and left the city. Let these guys see our powerful strength. That sky fortress didn't come, so we can definitely take advantage of this opportunity to severely injure these damn guys. Revenge. In the base, the Mi Empire professionals were excited. When had they ever experienced such indignity, being blocked in front of their home and beaten? 
This kind of thing had not happened in the Mi Empire for many years. Walker is naturally not a good-tempered person. When even the order was given, let the ten guardian gods who were in full condition go into battle. In an instant, with the whole world watching, in the wilderness outside the Mi Empire's base in Sakura country, the Dragon Kingdom once again started fighting with the Mi Empire. The shouts of killing were loud. Terrifying skills can be seen everywhere. At the same time. The capital of Sakura country. When the air fortress appeared in the sky above Sakura country, Jing Mu's figure slowly descended from a burst of golden light. Outside the somewhat dilapidated Sakura Kingdom Imperial Palace, Tokugawaju, a large area of Zayabega was instantly crowded and kneeling. Welcome to your excellency, the great general of the Dragon Kingdom. Thank you for saving us, we will be grateful to you for generations to come. Wu, Jing Military Academy is here. On board. Jing Mu glanced around indifferently. Only the Emperor of Sakura Kingdom could enjoy this scene of shouting long live. However, when the figures of Tokugawa Kagaya and Yoshida Shiro appeared at the door of Tokugawa House, they greeted him respectfully, and beside them were Mr. Lin, who was smiling and looking proud, and Mr. Xiang, the highest civil servant of the Dragon Kingdom. I concubine, welcome the general's triumphant return. Seeing Tokugawa Kagaya, who was bowing softly, affectionately, and already dressed in emperor's clothes, Jing Mu's eyes lit up slightly. Smiling, he stepped forward and hugged him directly in public without any hesitation. This so-called descendant of Amaterasu, the new female emperor of Sakura Kingdom, is now just an ordinary woman who cares about others in front of him. Looking at the ministers of the Sakura Kingdom who followed Shiro Yoshida and bowed respectfully, the corners of Jing Mu's lips raised slightly. He waved his hand lightly. Everyone, get up. You don't need to intervene in the war in the Mi Empire. You only need to deal with the reconstruction of the country and at the same time, the negative table and the Bangzi country will complete the remnants of the Ashikaga shogunate. Hearing this, everyone present, including Yoshida Shiro, was visibly relieved. Today's Tokugawa royal family does not have much strength left. A rebellion against the Ashikaga shogunate came suddenly and fiercely. In addition to some unattractive city defense troops in various cities, there are only a few Tokugawa guards left who can be mobilized. Hi. Thank you, General, for your consideration. I will definitely assist the Heavenly Army in stabilizing its rear areas. He casually glanced at the Sakura Kingdom subjects outside the palace. Zheng Mu directly hugged the current female emperor, Tokugawa Kagaya's slender waist, and walked towards Tokugawa. Zheng Mu was not interested in living in the Palace of the Dead, Emperor Tokugawa, so he temporarily lived in the Palace of Princess Tokugawa Kagaya. Looking at Tokugawa Kagaya who was making tea for himself with a low eyebrow, Zheng Mu smiled faintly. Kagaya-chan, you must have a question to ask me, right? Hearing this, Tokugawa Kagaya paused in making tea, and then slowly raised her head, with a clear look of shyness in her beautiful black eyes. He pursed his lips and finally asked in a low voice. Ah yeah will the general stay in Sakura country forever? Although the two of us have not officially held a ceremony, but that matter is agreed upon by both our countries. The gestation of future generations. Looking at Tokugawa Kagaya who blushed with embarrassment, but still mustered up the courage to look at him and tell her true purpose, Mu looked amused. Even though she has become the female emperor of the Sakura kingdom, the ideological education she received since childhood and the political tasks associated with her own marriage made Tokugawa Kagaya regard this matter as very important. Zheng Mu shook his head in a funny way and looked at 133 the other person's delicate body with a teasing expression. Are you sure your body has recovered now? As soon as these words came out, white smoke seemed to rise from Tokugawa Kagaya's already red cheeks. The absurdity of that day on top of the air fortress has made her still unable to get over it. When I heard Zheng Mu's question, the scene of that day came to mind involuntarily, the feeling of being in the sky of ten, zero zero meters, with the real spirit and body traveling through the clouds. Looking at Tokugawa Kagaya, whose body was trembling with nervousness or anticipation, Zheng Mu shook his head. A hand flicked the other person's head lightly. You are the emperor now, so you should complete the reconstruction of the capital first. 
As for the children. Zheng Mu smiled and whispered in the other person's ear. I will give you as much as you want when the time comes. Tokugawa Kagaya finally ran away with a blushing face. In the palace, the smile on Zheng Mu's face slowly faded. Air. When Dragon Kingdom has almost mastered Sakura Kingdom's official system, it won't be too late to give it to her. Zheng Mu took a deep breath and closed it slowly. There was faint golden light rippling in the void around the body. In the king's treasure house, space, Zheng Mu's spirit entered here and focused on the mechanical components piled into a hill. It's better to forcibly strip away mechanical components from professionals. Although the randomness is strong, even in the same occupation, the same mechanical components may not be available. But the advantage is that the level of these mechanical components is high enough, they are all orange legendary level. Pieces of mechanical creations slowly floated up and lined up in a row. As Zheng Mu thought about it, he gradually began to combine and match. Chapter 214 Dang Dang The sky above the Mi Empire's base in Sakura country. Death Believer Ramsey wildly waved the giant scythe in his hand, and the shadow of death behind him used the buff skill, making him look so terrifying and evil at the moment. However, the powerful Susanoo of Uchiha Musen in front of him, accompanied by the Breath of Destruction attack, made Ramsey, who had always been proud, once again encounter a powerful enemy. It was different from the discomfort of being entangled in rogue tactics when facing the armored titan before. The powerful aura exuding from Uchiha Musen in front of him really made Ramsey feel a little threatened. Damn it! Don't these mechanical creations have energy needs? Don't they need charging or something? Seven days. I've been fighting sleeplessly for seven days. And these people from the Dragon Kingdom, where did they get so many purple rare level mental recovery potions? In the base. The huge treatment array has never stopped operating, and there has never been a vacancy for people receiving treatment inside. Every ten beds are filled with two or three people. As soon as these people completed their recovery, they were about to plunge into the battle outside the city. Although the treatment array can heal the health bar and eliminate many debuffs, it cannot provide fundamental treatment for mental fatigue. At this moment, the Mi Empire professionals who had just walked out of the treatment array looked extremely ugly. The reduction of team members has become a trivial matter. The non-stop crazy attacks from the Dragon Kingdom made them feel exhausted physically and mentally, and at the same time they felt surrounded by an unprecedented sense of oppression. For seven days, Longwa's attack showed no sign of stopping. They also don't attack the base on a large scale. As long as the Mi Empire did not leave the city to fight, they would immediately activate dense air battleships and cannons to bombard their base defense array. In order to prevent the Dragon Kingdom from pulling out their bridgehead to the Sakura Kingdom. No matter how angry General Walker is, he can only continue to fight outside the city on the Dragon Kingdom side. Although during this period, the Mi Empire transferred a group of troops from other parts of Blue Star, bringing the total strength here back to 700 0, 0 the logistical material support has obviously failed to keep up. Boom! Ramsey's eyes were full of anger, and his attacks became more and more impatient. Finally, during a gap, Uchiha Musen's Sharingan suddenly activated. You were attacked by the skill, illusion and magic shackle technique and entered a state of confinement, which lasted for a long time. With the multiple blessings of the opponent's skills, equipment and levels. Uchiha Musen's Sharingan Genjutsu can only last for one second, but one second is obviously more than enough for a battle at this level. As Susanoo swung the Budo Tamashii, it struck Ramsey fiercely. The latter suddenly screamed and flew out heavily. If Morris, the Scarlet Spellcaster, hadn't seen the situation going badly and stopped him in time, Ramsey's situation would definitely have been even more miserable. Damn! Damn you bastards! These mechanical creations are simply foul. Ramsey, who retreated to the city, hurriedly used a bottle of orange legendary purification potion to remove the breath of ruin from his body. While gnashing his teeth, he cursed. 61% of the health bars on his body were slowly recovering under the influence of the treatment array. At this moment, in this specially designated area, there are several guardian gods who are also healing here. The Forest Saint Gloria, who has an explosive figure, fair skin, 
and a grassy scent all around her body, also has a slightly pale complexion, and there are obvious burn marks on the orange legendary mage robe on her body. It is also being slowly repaired at the moment. We can't just let the other side lead us by the nose. The Dragon Nation people suppress us here and fight a protracted war. In less than one day of fighting, Army Empire's position in Blue Star will be shaken. Gloria gritted her silver teeth secretly and looked at General Walker who happened to be walking by. General Walker, hasn't the CIA found out the source of Dragon Kingdom's advanced logistics supplies? Everyone's eyes were turned to Walker, who looked ugly at the moment. As a forest saint, Gloria is a profession that combines priests and summoners, and she is definitely a good auxiliary force in large-scale battles. However, facing the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom, there seemed to be an endless supply of purple rare buff potions, as well as a complete set of purple rare standard equipment. Even she felt tremendous pressure. I can't carry it. Walker did not speak, but waved his hand casually, and suddenly a lot of things appeared in front of him. There are Dragon Country standard equipment with blood stains, potions, and some purple rare level talismans affixed to the inside of the armor. The CIA is still investigating urgently, but now I have a very scary suspicion. Several people picked up the things on the ground and saw among the messages, the words pharmacists work no. 2876, blacksmiths work no. 1218, Fulu masters work no. 3281 and so on. Look at Walker's livid expression again. An ominous premonition suddenly appeared in everyone's mind. Isn't it impossible? Clayton, the Thunder Dragon warrior who had just drank a bottle of HP recovery potion, his blood surged and his HP recovery accelerated, his pupils shrank and he looked at everyone blankly. Morris, who looked old, silently clenched a purple rare level sword in his hand. Yu Yu spoke. If that's really the case I think we're going to be in big trouble. Walker nodded. I have submitted my conjecture to the higher-ups of the Empire, but whether these Dragon Kingdom's logistic supplies were made by the mechanic Xing Mu still needs to be investigated by the higher-ups. Right now we must insist on guarding the base here in Sakura country. Walker just finished speaking. Suddenly, a sharp siren sounded from the direction of the city wall, and the several guardian gods present suddenly looked stern. Clayton, who had almost recovered his HP, stood up, gritted his teeth and sighed. I'll go out and contain them, and you guys should quickly recover. Seeing Creighton roaring and turning into a bolt of thunder, and the next moment the battle started outside the base, the atmosphere at the scene suddenly became a little more solemn. Several people looked at each other. There was a strong look of anxiety in each other's eyes. There was one thing they had to worry about. That guy Jing Mu can produce mechanical creations at a speed that is comparable to the reproduction speed of a group of rats. However, they have not seen this guy appear for seven days. Jing Mu had just obtained a large number of high-end mechanical components from their professionals before. There was no movement at all for seven days. What exactly it is doing is self-evident. Gloria stared blankly at the sky. The invisible pressure at this moment gave her the illusion of being in a secret realm of different time and space. However, the difference is that if they cannot defeat the terrifying monsters in the secret realm of different time and space, they can simply evacuate. Here, there is no way for them to avoid it. God, is that man really just an A-level mechanic? Did you close your eyes when you were designing the machinist profession? At this moment, as the protector gods, they also felt an unprecedented sense of powerlessness. That is the powerlessness of ordinary people when facing the coming tsunami in the distance. Great changes have taken place in Sakura country in seven days. In addition to the Dragon Kingdom suppressing the Mi Empire in the base battle. An army of about 30 00 professionals who had finally assembled in Bangzi country finally landed in Sakura country, led by the young emperor's troops in Sakura country. The work of eradicating the remnants of the Ashikaga shogunate was launched. As one of Zheng Mu's father-in-law, Li Jianxi finally felt relieved after seeing the fighting power displayed by the Seven Heavenly Dragon Kingdom. Although it is still unknown how the Mi Empire will deal with the Dragon Kingdom in the future, whether to continue to increase its troops, or to bring back more powerful professionals from the secret realm of different time and space. 
but at least the fighting power displayed by the Dragon Kingdom is enough to ensure that the Dragon Kingdom will not suffer a tragic annihilation. It's not just people like the Three Star Guild who feel that they made the right bet. As the general of the Bangzi Kingdom, Sun Mingao, although he hated the devil Zheng Mu extremely, at this moment he had to be happy for the victories of his ally, the Dragon Kingdom. If they really defeated the Mi Empire, they would be one of the countries that openly declared war on the Mi Empire. Bangzi country will definitely be able to get a large amount of benefit distribution. Ha <laughs> ha please work harder for me, don't spare any of those damn Ashikaga shogunate officials you see. The professionals in the country who were extremely worried before now have a sense of power, and they are running rampant in the original sphere of influence of the Ashikaga shogunate. Many guild forces under the Ashikaga shogunate were wiped out one after another. The harvest is nothing short of rich. Among the team, Jingmu has always been a nail in the stick country. Chen Doxian, the current president of the Tailong Guild, led the guild members to join in the purge of the Ashikaga shogun at this time, and they also gained a lot. Not only the harvest of various equipment, medicine and other trophies. Chen Doxian's figure flashed, and he moved instantly to deal with a shogunate warrior who was fleeing in embarrassment. Blood splashed on his face, but he remained unmoved. Master Zheng Mu became stronger too quickly. He must upgrade his level as soon as possible, if he can't keep up with Zheng Mu in the end, or can't do things for Zheng Mu. As for his profession as an S-class space inspector, Zheng Mu would definitely not refuse to let him become a part of a mechanical creation. Time flies and half a month has passed since the war started. Zheng Mu still did not show up, and the Mi Empire was still working hard to withdraw its troops from the secret realm of different time and space. However, on this day, the Mi Empire's base in Sakura country did something that shocked the whole world. Xiong Weishan looked at the sign written in Longwo language high on the city wall with a confused look on his face. A Day of Prayer Truce Chapter 215 A Day of Prayer Truce Xiong Weishan was confused when he saw the crooked handwriting on the sign. Qin Ji on the side sneered. These white-skinned pigs are really interesting. They still pray for a truce on the day of prayer. I haven't seen them shouting for a truce on the prayer day before. Now I guess those guys in the base are snoring loudly, right? The generals of the Dragon Kingdom on the side were all laughing. The laughter was full of Zheng Mu's evil flavor. Several of them even took out a small green bottle in their hands and drank it in their mouths. Ha ha ha, cool. Sleeping makes him paralyzed. I haven't even made myself comfortable serving you, how can these white-skinned pigs have the nerve to sleep? Get lost. Let them get up and have fun. Link Cinco Essence Potion, Purple Rare Consumable Pharmacists Work No. After use, it can eliminate the user's mental confusion and restore the body to a state of mental alertness. The generals laughed. All of them have not slept for 15 days, and every day is a high-intensity battle. However, everyone's mental state at this moment was not affected at all. Under the transportation of a large number of Zheng Mu-modified air transport ships in the Dragon Kingdom, the boxes of logistics materials produced from the Shindu military industry headquarters never stopped at all. This battle was definitely the richest battle that the Long Kingdom soldiers had ever fought. Even those Mi Empire professionals who were forced to surrender and join the Dragon Kingdom camp swallowed their saliva in horror when they looked at the standard supplies. Even the lowest level soldier has at least one rare purple weapon at his side. There are also an average of two bottles of purple rare level recovery potions per person, one bottle of buff potions, and three purple rare level talismans for defense and resistance to abnormal conditions. As for the elites like Tianai Army 457, they are equipped with purple rare level standard equipment. Zyreshite have these people from the Dragon Kingdom dug up some super terrifying secret place. Fart. What kind of secret realm can produce so many things? Damn it, I have never enjoyed this level of treatment when I served in a secret realm of different time and space before. Purple rare level potions, except for those guys who perform special tasks. For people like us who have signed an ordinary employment contract with a chable, it would be nice to have a bottle with us. That's the configuration of your combat investigation force. Forces stationed in areas like ours use blue elite level potions. Although the weapons and equipment are purple rare level, 
the ownership belongs to the chabel. We only have damn rights of use. Law. Prithik and Dilman listened to the discussions of the soldiers around them, which was officially named the Conquering the E Army by the Dragon Kingdom. They looked at each other and saw the doubt in each other's eyes about the strength of the Kai Empire. Although the casualties on the Tianlong Kingdom are not small these days. However, not even one-tenth of the people from the Mi Empire actually withdrew from the battle order. There are various high-level medicines when you are injured. He was disabled and transported directly back to the capital of Sakura Kingdom. After a minor operation, in less than a day, he returned to the battlefield as a good man. What about the Mi Empire? Everyone can clearly notice that the frequency of the professionals in the Mi Empire using potions and various buff talismans is getting lower and lower. Even the protectors of the country have retreated to their bases after fighting. Among. Use the healing array inside for healing. It was obvious that the Mi Empire had never imagined that such a large scale, hundreds of thousands level encounter would occur in Helong Kingdom. The top management of the Mi Empire most likely believed that the national war between them and the Dragon Kingdom would eventually turn into a tug of war for the city between the two countries in the Sakura Kingdom. In the end, the Ashikaga shogunate supported by the Mi Empire successfully took over the capital of the Sakura Kingdom, eliminated the Tokugawa royal family, and drove the power of the Dragon Kingdom out of the Sakura Kingdom. Then the Mi Empire used the Sakura Kingdom as a springboard to launch its next local attack on the Dragon Kingdom and the Bangzi Kingdom. But it's a pity, looking at the battle-free card on the base wall. Hrithik both sighed and shook their heads slightly. The position of the overlord of the Mi Empire in his heart has been obviously shaken. And at the moment of this action, suddenly, a fierce roar, accompanied by waves of angry curses from Dragon Kingdom professionals, suddenly sounded over the Mi Empire base. You are paralyzed when you sleep. Get up and get high. The main gun of the air fleet is naturally not as powerful as the atomic destruction cannon of the air fortress, but it is almost as powerful as a necrotic laser cannon. With hundreds of sects attacking at the same time, even the Mi Empire has a deep foundation. The durability of the city defense formation is higher than that of other countries, and there is also obvious tremor at this moment. Fake. Damn the Dragon Kingdom people, are you done? Despicable and shameless yellow-skinned monkey, ah. Angry roars came from the base, and the angry General Walker immediately led the elites of the Mi Empire in the city to kill them. It's just that they all look very pale and pale. The top leaders of Blue Star countries were all silent. Rice Empire, Holy White Jade Camp. Everyone covered their eyes in pain. They were already mobilizing their troops with all their strength, but the stalls were too spread out in the secret realm of different time and space, and they had not taken action against Blue Star for too long. The mobilization of troops was obviously unable to keep up with the pace of the Dragon Kingdom's attack. Fake. If the personnel can't provide immediate support, why can't we provide them with supplies? Send them support supplies immediately. Divide half of the supplies sent to the secret realm of different time and space this year and give them to General Walker first. The Emperor of the Mi Empire gave orders anxiously. However, a senior official shook his head bitterly. Your Majesty, we are already doing it, but after all, the cross-camp teleportation array has a cooling time. The supplies we can send in each batch are quite limited, plus there are still wounded people being transported back and forth. Although we have enough supplies, we simply cannot send them all to the battlefield. Hearing this, the Emperor of the Mi Empire looked at the domestic professional who was not suppressing the fight at all in the picture, and his face became more and more ugly. His eyes scanned in front of everyone. Could it be that, in addition to waiting for the deployment of troops in the secret realm of different time and space, we can only be watched by the whole world and be so arrogant by these damn yellow-skinned monkeys? Everyone looked at each other, and after a while, the representative of the Rothschild plutocrat suddenly walked out. Your Majesty, maybe we can come up with ideas from the countries surrounding the Dragon Kingdom. Sky Fortress After a whole night of transforming into the Dragon King, explaining things in simple terms, and casting clouds and rain, Xing Mu was in high spirits when he appeared at the Sky Fortress early in the morning. Red Queen, are you ready for everything I asked you to prepare? Seeing the appearance of Xing Mu, the Red Queen was obviously a little nervous, 
but she was more excited. The face full of ancient nobility smiled slightly, pursed his lips and led Jing Mu to a prepared experimental cabin. The space here has been completely vacated, and here, in addition to all kinds of materials, there is also something that looks like a dormant warehouse in a science fiction movie. Jing Mu's new skill alien cradle. Look at the blue light inside. The Red Queen made a gesture of swallowing, but at this moment, she was a projected shadow. Lord Master, can this really allow me to have a real body? The Red Queen was still a little unsure, and she looked at Jing Mu with a faint look. The real body she talks about is not the kind of state that resides in mechanical creations such as T-800, but a body that belongs to her own in the true sense. A body that can eat, drink, and even give birth to the next generation like a normal woman. Zheng Mu smiled slightly and nodded confidently. He naturally understood what the Red Queen really wanted, and in the skill introduction, the so-called humanoid mechanical life form was a life form composed of nanomechanical cells. While possessing everything of a normal human being, including the ability to give birth to the next generation, it also takes into account the long lifespan of the mechanical creation itself and the advantage of being extremely difficult to die. After getting Zheng Mu's affirmation, the materials used for production were collected from the treasury of Dragon Kingdom, White Elephant Kingdom and even Sakura Kingdom one by one, and entered the production of Alien Cradle, one after another. In the cabin the shadow of the Red Queen slowly disappeared, and above the alien cradle, a mechanical arm was aimed downwards, with a burst of dazzling red light shining on the alien cradle. All the equipment in the machinery factory on the Sky Fortress suddenly paused, and then returned to normal. At this moment, in front of Zheng Mu, in the cradle full of blue light, a beautiful figure with closed eyes was slowly appearing like a 3D print. It took about half a day. As the light disappeared, the hatch opened. The familiar, beautiful face of Boss Ruby Princess, in the cradle slowly opened her eyes. She sat up slowly and caressed her body blankly. The temperature, touch, and familiar feeling all return. Zheng Mu looked at each other with admiration and smiled slightly. Red Queen, congratulations, you are truly reborn. The Red Queen turned her head, her eyes filled with sparkling tears, and her perfect body suddenly jumped into Zheng Mu's arms. Holding Zheng Mu's cheeks with both hands, a slight blush appeared on her delicate and fair face. Lord Lord, I have always had a wish. Zheng Mu. The Red Queen has always been like a secretary, working hard and helping her solve many things. She made the request at this time. My own boss. It's really hard to say no. Chapter 216 Sky Fortress. In the room where Zheng Mu usually lives. As the living automatic control device is activated, bursts of morning sunlight shine in from the simulated floor to ceiling windows on the side. Zheng Mu slowly opened his eyes. But at this moment, beside him, the Red Queen was already looking at him happily with her chin propped up. Seeing Zheng Mu wake up, she smiled sweetly and moved towards his Huai Wan. Lord Master, this feeling really feels like a dream. The Red Queen murmured slightly confused. Since I died as a princess, I have inexplicably become the boss of a secret realm due to the advent of the professional era. In the form of a ghost, Hun Hun. This real feeling of being able to enjoy the world like a human again made her still not come back from her dream even after a crazy night with Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu smiled slightly, and gently stirred the other person's black hair with his hands. As he said this, if he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, or if he hadn't seen the Red Queen's panel in front of him, he wouldn't have believed it. The Red Queen in front of her, wearing a sexy nightgown, is absolutely a stunning beauty. It will be a mechanical creation. Of course, it is no longer appropriate to say that the other party is a mechanical creation. Compared to mechanical creations, the Red Queen, who has the ability to inherit the next generation, is a mechanical life form. Name, Ruby Princess Red Queen. Type, Humanoid Mechanical Life Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Golden Epic Level. Durability, 500W500W. Defense, 5700. Skill 1, Mechanical Life. As a new race, the Red Queen has strong self-learning and evolutionary abilities. 
At the same time, life will be completely controlled by the creator mechanic Xing Mu, with no cooling time. Skill 2, Quantum Computing Power, the powerful computing power enables the Red Queen to learn and use all types of weapons and equipment, and can condense its own information base for the inheritance of future generations, with no cooling time. Skill 3, First Generation, as the first humanoid mechanical being created by the mechanic Xing Mu, the Red Queen has the highest command authority except the mechanic Xing Mu, and can issue orders to mechanical creations without cooling time. Skill 4, Multicore Drive, the Red Queen can divide its own core to build a differentiated avatar, which can be used to restart the main body after death and share all previous data information without cooling time. Golden Epic Level Zheng Mu didn't expect it, but after thinking about it for a while, he felt that it was a reasonable level. Although judging from various attributes, today's Red Queen's combat effectiveness is not even comparable to those humanoid mechanical creations under Zheng Mu's command. But the Red Queen's level is not reflected in these attributes. Rather, it is its terrifying self-evolution and learning, as well as its ability to genetically reproduce in a lifelike manner. Put it into those Western mythological systems. In the future, if the mechanical family forms a large scale, then Jing Mu, the mechanic, is undoubtedly their supreme creator god. And the first generation mechanical statement like the Red Queen will be worthy of being regarded as a godlike existence by those later mechanical tribes. Lord Master, the machine needs more rain and dew from you. Looking at the Red Queen who stood up with a shy but passionate face, Jing Mu swallowed. He had deeply realized the learning ability of the mechanical race last night. That's definitely rapid progress. However, just when Jing Mu was about to show off his father's love, bursts of rumbling sound suddenly came from outside. The Monkey Kingdom camp has reached an offensive and defensive alliance with the Mi Empire camp. From now on, under the state of national war, the attack skills and debuffs of professionals from the two countries will be invalid against each other. The Philippines camp has reached an offensive and defensive alliance with the Mi Empire camp. From now on, under the state of national war, the attack skills and debuffs of professionals from the two countries will be invalid for each other. The Taigua camp has reached an offensive and defensive alliance with the Mi Empire camp. From now on, in the state of national war, the attack skills and debuffs of professionals from the two countries will be invalid. The Malaysian camp has reached an offensive and defensive alliance with the Mi Empire camp. From now on, under the state of national war, the attack skills and debuffs of professionals from the two countries will be invalid. The Kangaroo Kingdom camp has reached an offensive and defensive alliance with the Mi Empire camp. From now on, in the state of national war, the attack skills and debuffs of professionals from the two countries will be invalid for each other. Five heavenly notifications sounded in succession, followed by notifications that these five countries had launched a national war against the Dragon Kingdom. Zheng Mu's face instantly turned pale. Damn, you dare to jump out at this time. It can be seen that some people really don't know their status. Zheng Mu's expression was stern, and the murderous intent in his eyes was undisguised. The beautiful face of the Red Queen, who was just about to receive the rain and dew from her father, immediately turned cold. She has no idea of hatred between the country and the family, but these countries who do not know life or death dare to jump out at this time, which is a good thing for her. Then you will definitely have to pay a bloody price. When Zheng Mu appeared in Tokugawa House, Tokugawa Kagaya and others were already waiting. Tokugawa Kagaya stepped forward and held Zheng Mu's hand, which was evident from his trembling body and pale face. She had never experienced such a big event before, and she was inevitably frightened at this moment. But now she herself, the female emperor, and even the entire Sakura kingdom could only rely on Jing Zhuang, the general of the celestial dynasty. Yoshida Shiro's voice trembled. Your Excellency General, I have urgently ordered the local city defense forces to calculate their strength and prepare to accept the unified command of your country. However the strength will not exceed 13000, and the combat effectiveness cannot be guaranteed. Speaking of this, Yoshida Shiro showed his craftsman spirit on the spot. Mr. Lin, who had not returned to Dragon Kingdom, also looked gloomy at this moment. General, the current situation is that the coalition forces formed by these countries, 
without counting follow-up support in the early stage, have a total strength of 500-00. Based on our current situation, I'm afraid that all the forces from the secret of space and time will be brought back. However, Zheng Mu refused without hesitation. No need to call back our troops. Looking at the people who were confused, Zheng Mu showed a sneer on his face. They're just a bunch of run-down small countries that can't stand on the stage. Whatever level of power they can muster under emergency mobilization, just leave it to me to solve it. Everyone was shocked. Mr. Lin pulled Zheng Mu aside anxiously. Are you crazy? That's nearly 500 zero zero people. Even if the combat effectiveness is not even comparable to our local troops stationed there, how can you deal with so many enemies by yourself? Zheng Mu felt that Mr. Lin's anxious look at this moment seemed a bit complicated. It seems that he is not simply opposing his own ideas from the perspective of the country. Smile lightly. Mr. Lin, I'm a mechanic. I said you were leaving it to me alone. Do you really plan to let me deal with those guys alone? Zero please give me flowers. Hearing this, Mr. Lin was stunned, and then excitedly stretched out a finger. As if thinking of something, he opened his mouth wide. You, Kit succeeded. Seeing Xing Mu smiling and nodding, that confident look immediately wiped away the anxious look on Mr. Lin's face. Damn it! Lao Li and I are still thinking about it. Your kid has always been making mechanical creations at an absurdly fast speed. Why has there been no movement this time for half a month? We thought you failed, and we didn't want to disturb you what kind of powerful mechanical creation did you come up with this time? Looking at the excited Mr. Lin, Zheng Mu smiled mysteriously. Originally, I planned to take it out after the follow-up support from the Mi Empire arrived, and then beat these white-skinned pigs back to the homeland in one fell swoop. Unexpectedly, a group of people who were not afraid of death jumped out at this time. Although Zheng Mu was smiling, the strong white teeth he showed clearly told everyone. There is no need to pray for the fate of these people and even these countries. The news that Zheng Mu wanted to take the initiative to defeat the coalition forces one by one before they converged was quickly sent back to the center of the Dragon Kingdom's divine capital. His you didn't ask, what awesome thing did he come up with this time? The mechanical components he harvested this time are many times thicker than before. Mr. Li looked at Mr. Lin on the other side of the light screen and took a breath. Mr. Jiang on the side became even more angry when he saw the other person shaking his head and just wanted to curse. Grandma, look at your potential. He is your grandson and you don't even dare to ask. If I were over there, would there be any need for me to be so tickled by this kid? Elder Lin's expression suddenly changed, and he cursed angrily at Elder Jiang from afar. Mr. Li ignored the two of them and instead looked at the sky outside the window. The pressure in my heart eased slightly. This situation happened so suddenly that even he could only immediately think of a way to deal with it by bringing back the elites of the Dragon Kingdom from the secret realm of different time and space. However, the senior officials of Long Kingdom breathed a sigh of relief. Countries around the world, which have been overwhelmed by the Dragon Kingdom's limelight these days, are now shouting excitedly. All the major professional forums in the Mi Empire were full of verbal and written criticism of Dragon Kingdom, with all kinds of abuses and curses emerging one after another. Ha ha ha. Shit-eating Dragon Kingdom. I finally heard some wonderful news. Let these damn monkeys from the Dragon Country experience the appeal of the Blue Star Overlord. The military representatives from the Pentagon City of the Empire have already spoken. There are not many local troops in the Dragon Kingdom that can be mobilized. Since the Air Fortress is on the Sakura Kingdom, the local disabled elite professionals will not be able to participate in the war in a short time. Oh ho ho, that place where the mechanical demon was born should be completely destroyed. Long live the Rice Empire. Long live freedom. Various voices, accompanied by the whole world's disapproval of the Dragon Kingdom's war with the American Empire. The King of Bangzi Kingdom, who had just followed Long Kingdom and had only been playing for a few days, heard the news. The whole person couldn't breathe for a moment. He glanced twice on the spot and passed out. Shiba follows the Dragon Kingdom, and he is indeed the enemy of the whole world. Chapter 217 
the border city of Dragon Kingdom is dozens of kilometers outside Annan City. Nearly a hundred flying cloud boats with the flag of the Monkey Kingdom broke through the early morning mist and came towards this side with great momentum. Hurry up, hurry up. Take Annan City directly. All the elites of the Dragon Kingdom are in the Sakura Kingdom. With the Mi Empire in check, this is definitely the biggest opportunity for our Monkey Kingdom to expand its territory. Wan Xiong, the general and prince of the Monkey Kingdom and an SS-level miasma which who is also one of the three great protectors of the country, shouted excitedly. At this moment, Annan City could not be seen yet, but it seemed to have appeared in his mind that they were looting the Dragon Kingdom city. Those damn Dragon Kingdom people could only watch the scene. Ha ha ha. Thinking of this, Wan Xiong couldn't help but burst out laughing with excitement. One of the neighbors of Dragon Kingdom. Although the Monkey Kingdom dare not say that it knows everything about the Dragon Kingdom, it does have a good idea of the general military strength that the Dragon Kingdom currently has. Now after the Mi Empire has contained millions of elites from the Dragon Kingdom. The mainland of Dragon Kingdom can be said to be completely empty. From the moment they entered the border of Dragon Kingdom for the first time, it could be seen that they had not suffered any attacks. On the side, several 380 generals from the Monkey Kingdom were also excitedly gearing up. Ha ha ha, your majesty, this time with the Rice Empire restraining the Dragon Kingdom's army, we can completely let go of our hands and feet to rob. Not only the treasuries of major cities, but also the inventories of those guilds, we can also sweep them away. And empty. He he he, those people from the White Elephant Country who are nothing but funny have been taken advantage of by the Dragon Country this time. It seems that this time they will all fall into the hands of our monkey way. My lord, do you think it is possible for us to directly force the Dragon Kingdom to cede Yunshan County to us? On the flying cloud boat, these generals of the Monkey Kingdom became more and more complacent as they talked. It was as if these people could go all the way north and capture the divine capital of the Dragon Kingdom. And at this moment, a rumble in the air suddenly came from the sky above the Monkey Kingdom's Fayunsu fleet. Amidst the familiar roar, on everyone's panel, suddenly, following the live broadcast of the battle at the base of the Mi Empire, outside. Another screen appeared. I saw the picture passing through the clouds, and the figure of their Monkey Kingdom's Fayunsu fleet suddenly appeared in it. Even these generals immediately saw their own figures in the picture. Suddenly, everyone turned pale with horror. The moment they raised their heads, they saw a dense torrent of screaming missiles heading towards them. Without giving them a chance to react, the next violent explosion was the Fayunsu fleet that swept across the entire Monkey Kingdom. It's that mechanic. That Dragon Kingdom mechanic actually went to stop the Monkey Kingdom's army. His powerful mechanical creations are still fighting against the elites of the Mi Empire in the Sakura Kingdom. Does he expect to defeat these Monkey Kingdom professionals with just one air fortress? The sudden appearance of the live broadcast of the National War immediately attracted the attention of professionals and senior officials from all over the world. In Annan City, the Longwa City defense troops, who were standing ready for battle, saw this scene, and their expressions changed. It's General Zheng Mu. There is at least one protector among the people coming from the Monkey Kingdom this time. We must support him immediately. The general guarding the city exclaimed. However, the next moment, in the live broadcast screen, Wan Xiong roared and his whole body turned into a large area of dark green poison. Using the rising airflow, he rushed towards the air fortress, which made his pupils shrink. The one who was actually dispatched was Wan Xiong, a miasma demon which who was not afraid of physical attacks and could ignore a lot of magic damage. However, before the generals could scream in surprise, in the shadow of the aerial fortress with its back to the scorching sun, a fierce and terrifying sword light tens of meters long suddenly fell down. Boom! Ah! A shrill scream suddenly came from the mouth of Yuan Xiong below, without waiting for the professionals around the world to rejoice in his misfortune, indicating that Zheng Mu was at the end of his rope. On the green-covered mountains, a scar more than a hundred meters long appeared abrupt and unusual. However, at this moment, everyone was staring blankly at the two figures in the live broadcast. On a platform of the Sky Fortress, a figure holding a sword and wearing a windbreaker made a sound. He has short black hair, sharp yellow eyes like an eagle, 
a short beard, a black hat with white fluff on his head, white trousers, black short boots, and a cross knife hanging on his chest. A broken panel appeared on the other party's body. Name, Hawkeye Myhawk. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Orange Legendary Level. Hiss. Seeing this scene, the king of the monkey kingdom was so frightened that he stood up from the throne, his legs trembling. Asshole. Didn't those people from the Mi Empire say that Zheng Mu failed in all his mechanical creations? What the hell is this? However, these are nothing. When Wan Xiong, who was cut down with a knife, appeared on the screen, the pupils of professionals who mastered elemental skills from various countries shrank. How can this be? In the middle of the scene, on Wan Xiong's chest, there was a knife mark that almost disemboweled him, and blood was pouring out crazily at this moment. Wan Xiong's face was pale, he was holding a bottle of high-grade potion and blowing on the bottle crazily. The health bar above his head was cut off by nearly 40% with just one blow. It can almost be said that it cost him half his life. The ability to elementalize seems to have made you a little complacent. A dull voice, followed by another violent chopping sound suddenly came from above his head. Wan Xiong's expression suddenly changed wildly, and without thinking, he immediately moved his hands with weapons similar to bells on his bracelets. Swing out a ferocious poisonous healing snake. However, the next moment, the giant snake was split in half by the jet black sword light, and there was another ugly scar on the green mountains. Wan Xiong's face turned pale, and the blood bar on his head dropped again. Hawkeye's knife has already been slashed out again. Above the air fortress, Zheng Mu glanced flatly at Wan Xiong below, feeling very confident in Eagle Eye's strength. He looked at the evil evil god alien, Black Claw on the side. I'll leave those miscellaneous fish to you to deal with. Move quickly, we are in a hurry. As soon as he finished speaking, the Black Claw in front of him suddenly roared, his whole body suddenly jumped up, and a black and green shadow flashed in the air. Black Claw has simply disappeared. The skill Exotic Hunting allows Black Claw to approach the target through a method similar to spatial emptiness. And on Zheng Mu's side, the Black Claw had just disappeared. Below, the outer protective formation of the Monkey Kingdom Fayenzu, which had experienced a round of torrent bombardment, had already been shattered. However, these Monkey Country professionals did not wait to fight back. A scream, accompanied by the sound of something being torn apart, suddenly came from a Feiyun boat. Everyone turned to look, but their pupils suddenly shrank. Several monkey country professionals who were still screaming, but with only half of their bodies, were suddenly thrown out of the Feiyun boat by a huge force. Ah! Amidst the shrill screams, the monkey country professionals who were closer to the Feiyun boat all saw what the monster was that was attacking them. That's a real monster. The body seemed to be flashing, and a pair of sharp claws with a strong white light were waving wherever they passed. Whether it is a mage who has activated his defense skills or a priest who has activated his talisman defense. Or a warrior who is good at defense. The armor and equipment on their bodies, along with their flesh and blood bodies, were transformed into several segments. What kind of monster is that? In just ten seconds, dozens of people had died in the hands of the monster, and they were unable to defend themselves. These monkey country professionals were so frightened that they trembled all over and turned pale. However, just when they were hurriedly trying to control Fai Yanzu and stay away from each other. A sharp roar suddenly came from the monster's mouth. Next moment. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. On the flying cloud boats of the Monkey Kingdom, black and green energy channels suddenly bloomed. Monsters whose shapes were very similar to that one roared and suddenly pounced on a nearby Monkey Country professional. Roar. The sharp bloody mouth suddenly opened to an exaggerated size. The professional who was pressed under him had not even used his struggling skills. The next moment, his head was swallowed whole by the opponent. A monkey country general wearing heavy armor roared and struggled. However, the next moment, his arms were suddenly bitten by a liquor that rushed towards him, and the other liquor suddenly sat on him, with its sharp claws facing the armor on his chest, like an afterimage 3-0. S attack. HP, 300. HP, 3400. 
HP 4200. HP. The general shouted in horror, but in just a dozen seconds, with the chest armor completely shattered, the liquor's sharp claws instantly pierced his heart. The health bar is cleared. In such a tragic situation, in the blink of an eye, the Fayanzu fleet swept across the entire Monkey Kingdom. Ten minutes later, when the last Monkey Kingdom Feiyun boat lost control and fell straight down. Hawkeye has already carried the dying Wan Xiong back to the air fortress. You, you can't kill me. Wan Xiong's body was trembling and covered in blood. He spoke fairly fluently in Long Guoyu, but unfortunately, he had no interest in this guy's plea for mercy. He grabbed the other person's neck with one hand and lifted him up with the whole world watching. Don't be afraid. Just wait a moment on the road to hell. Soon the tens of millions of people in your monkey country will come looking for you. Hearing this, Monkey Kingdom's whole body trembled suddenly. What's the meaning? Is this guy going to kill all of their country? Chapter, 218 Tens of thousands of monkey country professionals did this in front of the whole world. Within ten minutes, they were all slaughtered by the mechanical creations under Jin Mu. It's abrupt, it's quick, and it doesn't have the slightest intention of being too muddy. As for Wan Xiong, the prince and protector of the Monkey Kingdom, he was also carried by Zheng Mu at this moment, and came to the edge of the air fortress. The light of the skill-forced golden hand appeared and disappeared. The moment a mechanical component named Poison Fruit Super Distance Energy Core appeared in his hand. The hand touching the other person's neck was instantly released. Wan Xiong looked at Wan Xiong falling straight down to the mountains below as if relying on a huge piece of bird excrement. Zheng Mu weighed this good harvest in his hands. The coldness on his face that could not bring out the slightest guilt even after tens of thousands of people died made those countries that responded to the call of the Mi Empire and declared war on the Dragon Kingdom feel terrified. The King of Taigua looked at the Tian Dao live broadcast that had disappeared because the battle was over. Immediately, he anxiously gave orders to the ministers on the side. Hurry! Let our people withdraw. Let them withdraw quickly. The ministers looked at each other, but their expressions were all miserable. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, our fleet is not far from the Monkey Kingdom's fleet. As soon as he finished speaking, the Tian Dao live broadcast screen that had just disappeared suddenly appeared again. However, this time, looking at the Fayanzu fleet flying the flag belonging to Zero Two and their Tai Kingdom in the picture, the monarchs and ministers of the Tai Kingdom all made a plop and their bodies collapsed. A general of Taigua still had some kind of luck in his heart. Your Majesty, we have dispatched two Lord Protectors this time. They may be able to. However, the words are not finished yet. This time, after a wave of necrotic laser cannons destroyed nearly half of the Taigua Fayensu fleet, five figures appeared in front of everyone. The five figures are all unfamiliar. Not even Hawkeye Myhawk is among them. However, the familiar way of appearing and the familiar aura made Blue Star's top executives from various countries shudder. Rice Empire, in the Holy White Jade Palace. The face of the Emperor of the Mi Empire today was not just ugly. On the side, Princess Ikaven was giving him a worried look, but with a pair of dark green autumn eyes, she couldn't help but look at the live broadcast in front of her, in a daze. Father looked at the five figures, his lips trembling with anger. Impossible, it's absolutely impossible for these guys to be that strong. However, when the five partial panels appeared in front of the whole world, Ivanka couldn't help but see a trace of unconcealable horror and complexity in her eyes. God, why doesn't this kind of character appear in Kai Empire? Ivanka is even thinking about it at the moment. If such a person was born in the Mi Empire, then even if he married the other party, he would be willing to do so. In the live broadcast screen. What Cheng Mu created this time was still a completely orange legendary humanoid mechanical creation. Name, would release thousand armed pillars. Name, Hai Dun Thousand Hands Fei Jin. Name, Psychokinesis Tornado. Name, Sky Island Thunder God Enelu. Name, Golden Emperor Tesoro. On the Taigua side, the two guardian gods had just rushed out. The next moment they saw the five figures standing on the aerial fortress, their expressions froze. 
The two of them work together to solve the problem of Hawkeye Myhawk. At this moment, the shadow of Hawkeye Myhawk was not seen. On the contrary, the five figures in front of them are obviously difficult to deal with. However, they were not given a chance to react at all. The next moment, the petite legal lowly Tatsumaki suddenly raised her hands. An invisible power of thought, carrying the two of them, was like a rocket, soaring straight into the sky. Amidst the crackling thunder, Enelu, who had exaggeratedly big ears, suddenly took action. Under the clear sky, violent thunder suddenly exploded on the two of them. While the blood bar dropped crazily, Senju Hashirama and several other people were also supported by the telekinesis of the tornado. Fly up. A skill that attacks the opponent head on. A few seconds after the shrill screams sounded in the sky, black smoke was billowing below the Taigua Feiyun boats that were landing rapidly, and the screams also followed one after another. Black Claw also led its subordinates to clean up the trash fish from the Thai kingdom. The fighting and cleaning up work was still so fast, it was a one-sided massacre. Seeing this scene, the Faiyunsu fleet organized by the organization was coming towards the mainland of the Dragon Kingdom. The Faiyunsu fleets of Malaysia and the Philippines were still traveling rapidly in the sky, as well as the Faiyunsu fleets that were rushing to the battlefield of Sakura Kingdom. Kangaroo Country they were all so frightened that they didn't know whether they should continue to intervene in the collision between the Mi Empire and the Dragon Kingdom next. However, these people are gone. Zheng Mu has no intention of giving up just yet. These clowns, in those years when the Dragon Kingdom was in decline, did a lot of jumping up and down. Now that he has delivered it to his door, if Zheng Mu doesn't take the opportunity to get there in one step, he will not be able to afford the Mi Empire's warm invitation. The two guardian gods of the Thai kingdom used force and turned Golden Hand, one after another, and then a very uncivilized high-altitude missile launch occurred, and the aerial fortress was heading towards the Monkey Kingdom. Anluo City A large border city on the border between the Monkey Kingdom and the Dragon Kingdom. As soon as the air fortress appeared, the main gun destroying atomic cannon was activated instantly. Amidst the buzzing sound of energy gathering, a silver-white light beam suddenly shot out amid the chaos in the city. Boom! The terrifying energy cannot be resisted by a simple city defense formation. In just an instant, the entire city was destroyed by the atomic cannon and split into two halves. In Anlua City, the city defense troops of the Monkey Kingdom, as well as the members of the local professional guild, looked at the terrifying pit that was a hundred meters wide in horror and despair, and when the scorching energy was rising. Above the sky, bursts of thunder and explosions came one after another. Kacha kacha. Ah. Run. That devil is going to massacre the city. Run. Run. Get out of the way. Don't block the road. Mom, mom, woo woo. Even without the assistance of the Tian AI army, this time the mechanical creations under Xing Mu were enough to deal with these ants. Under the horrified gazes of the Blue Star countries, there were only six orange legendary mechanical creations that originally appeared, and four more were added. A total of ten were collected. However, not all of the newly added ones are humanoid mechanical creations. Name, Digital Holy Angelmon. Type, Mechanical Creation Work by Mechanic Xing Mu. Level, Orange Legendary Level. Name, Tailed Beast Machine Nine Llamas. Name, Magnetism Eustasket. Name, Sand Crocodile Crocodile. At the edge of the air fortress, Zheng Mu's pitch black Dragon Kingdom general's uniform rustled. With the spread of the Tiandao live broadcast, Zheng Mu's cold order spread all over the world. Leave no one behind. Seeing the crimson fox falling from the sky, everyone immediately thought of the nine-tailed demon fox that Ashikaga Nobuo summoned in the capital of Sakura country. However, at this moment, looking at the mechanical creation Nine Lama, that opened its mouth and began to condense energy amidst the wailing sound, the moment it landed, everyone felt that their brains were blank. And that's when the ten figures began to release super-wide range of skills one by one, wreaking havoc on the entire Anlua city. 663 The whole world is dead silent for it. And on Zheng Mu's side, the moment he spent all his time on all the mechanical components and released the results from the Lord's treasure house. 
The voice of the system also sounded in his mind instantly. Mechanic IV-50 promotion task, completed. Second life has been unlocked. Skills upgrading. Congratulations on unlocking the new skill mystery, Outer Core Restart. Mechanical Secrets Outer Core Restart, the mechanic's IV-50 secret skills can be used to reshape a mechanical incarnation that can be recognized by heaven. While sharing all the attributes and skills of the mechanic's body, the mechanical incarnation can be recustomized in the realm of heaven. Certification Information at Computing Power Occupied, non-esoteric skills do not occupy any computing power. Note, this secret skill cannot be used again if there is a second life. Looking down at Zheng Mu who was like a hell on earth, his pupils suddenly shrank. A smile of surprise on his face once again made professionals from all over the world tremble without his knowledge. After the upgrade, part of the information about the level IV-50 secret skill was still the previous second life, but part of the information after the upgrade made Zheng Mu feel a tremble in his heart. System, what does it mean that you can customize Tiandao authentication information? Ding! The host can determine its name, awakening profession, level, camp affiliation and other information when shaping the mechanical avatar according to personal wishes. A mechanical avatar can only be edited once. Hearing the system's reply, Zheng Mu suddenly looked stunned. Can this thing be edited? And things like camps can be edited independently, doesn't that mean? The smile on Zheng Mu's face gradually became wicked, and he looked toward the free country on the other side of the ocean. After some calculations, I suddenly realized that in the free country, a proud man of heaven would come. Chapter 219 Although the so-called editing career does not mean that you can change your job to whatever job you really want. I just named a profession that Tian Dao did not have based on my own ideas, and then it was certified by Tian Dao. It can be regarded as a layer of disguise for professionals who are incarnated as machines. However, this is already powerful enough. TSK, TSK, Tisk the more I think about it, the more impatient I am. Zheng Mu smiled and murmured to himself. However, this reaction, shown in the Tian Dao live broadcast, was when he looked at the first miserable situation in Monkey Country Anlua City below, showing an expression of devilish joy. Quick, hurry up, think of a way, think of a way. The king of the Monkey Kingdom was anxious, and the fearful shadow of death and annihilation of the country had completely wiped out the longing for the expansion of territory that had just appeared. At this moment, in the palace of the Monkey Kingdom, he could no longer care about image issues, and the ministers and generals in the audience were roaring in a hurry. The death of his younger brother Wan Xiong in battle is nothing at this moment. Now the crisis of annihilation has fallen on the Monkey Kingdom. Your Majesty, this matter is entirely the fault of the Mi Empire. We were deceived by the Mi Empire. We must ask the top management of the Mi Empire for an explanation. That's right, that Cheng Mu is a complete lunatic. Massacre of the city is such an understatement in his eyes. It is not impossible to kill all the Monkey Kingdom. Your Majesty, why don't we sue for peace and talk to the senior officials of the Dragon Kingdom? Those damn white-skinned pigs have no good intentions at all. They clearly and categorically said that Zheng Mu failed in creating mechanical creations. Who are these horrible guys? Listening to the unsatisfactory words of these ministers, the Monkey King's eyes lit up at this moment, as if he had suddenly grasped a life-saving straw. Yes. We were deceived by the Mi Empire. We were deceived. As long as we are willing to reconcile at this time, the Dragon Kingdom should not embarrass us while fighting the Mi Empire, right? Thinking like this, however, when the monarch of the Monkey Kingdom connected the communication with Mr. Li. Mr. Li's cold attitude instantly made the senior officials of the Monkey Kingdom take aback. Your Majesty, in your eyes, is our Dragon Kingdom just a country that can be manipulated at will? You are not a mentally retarded child without brains. Once the national war is launched, there will only be victory in defeat, and peace talks haha. The face of the Monkey King turned pale. Yelled hurriedly. Mr. Li, we were deceived by those white-skinned pigs of the Mi Empire. We have absolutely no. However, before he finished speaking, Mr. Li interrupted him with a sneer. The Rice Empire deceived you. 
The fundamental reason is that you, the Monkey Kingdom, covet the territory and wealth of our Dragon Kingdom? This kind of trick to deceive children should not be used to embarrass people at this time. When you insult others, you also lose the face of you monkey internationalists w. The king of the monkey kingdom was silent for a while and then smiled miserably. Then what should we, the monkey country, do to make Jiaguo willing to give up? Mr. Li smiled coldly. I'm sorry, I still need to negotiate with General Zheng Mu on this matter. After all our General Zheng Mu is young and energetic. You really pissed him off this time. Before he set off, he even asked us to be ready to take over the corresponding officials and supplies from Monkey County. As soon as these words came out, the entire senior management of the Monkey Country was in an uproar. Monkey County? Is this really meant to completely destroy their Monkey Country and then annex it? No. Mr. Lee, we in the Monkey Kingdom have always respected the big brother of the Dragon Kingdom. All the previous misunderstandings were all misunderstandings. We are willing to compensate. I beg your country to stop. What kind of compensation does your country need? Just ask, our monkey country is willing to pay the price for our actions. The king of the monkey country was also frightened and became confused. When the dragon kingdom was suppressed by the younger brothers of the rice empire such as the Bangzi kingdom, the Sakura kingdom, and the white elephant kingdom, their humble little girl, the monkey girl, could still take the opportunity to make some profits from the border. Now all three countries have been taught a lesson by the Dragon Kingdom. The Mi Empire, the Blue Star Overlord, suffered greatly on the battlefield of Sakura country. At this time, if the Dragon Kingdom really wants to destroy their country, no one in the entire Blue Star can help them. However, Mr. Lee's attitude was still cold. Dropping a single word immediately cuts off the communication. I will discuss this matter with General Zheng Mu. If everything goes well, I should be able to give you an answer during the working day tomorrow. Now, I have to get off work. Looking at the empty communication light curtain in front of him that has disappeared. The King of Bangzi Kingdom was completely desperate. As if all his strength had been drained from his body, he suddenly collapsed on the throne with a sad expression. The dignified elder of the Long Kingdom, do you still say that you are off work in front of state affairs? Obviously. Long Guo really didn't intend to give up this time. The same situation also happened in the palace of Taigua. Long Guo's tough attitude and lack of willingness to negotiate immediately plunged the entire top management of Taigua into unprecedented fear. During their emergency consultation with the Dragon Kingdom, they tried to stop the war. Zheng Mu was already driving the air fortress, and under the rampage of ten orange legendary mechanical creations under his command, he slaughtered three cities in the Monkey Kingdom one after another. On the central square of each city. The destroyed teleportation array was modeled, and on top of it was a mountain of corpses piled up at least ten or twenty meters high. Blood and broken limbs were scattered everywhere. After the corpses died, the fear that could not be erased from their eyes scared professionals all over the world and cowered in their beds. There are many new professionals in various countries who have just awakened, and they are destined to have a strong psychological shadow. But that's it, Zheng Mu has no intention of giving up at all. While watching Black Claw leading tens of thousands of evil god lickers, under his command, he built a rough Jingwan in the fourth city of the Monkey Kingdom. The Red Queen directly activated the air fortress again and headed towards the next city. Zheng Mu looked at his property panel with a smile on his face. After completing the secret mission, his upgrade was finally able to continue. And after slaughtering three cities in succession. Zheng Mu's level has also quickly soared to level IV-60. Name, Zheng Mu. Occupation, A-Level Mechanic. Level, IV-60099W. HP 5W 5W MP 15400154000 Computing power 5503460 Power 328 Agility 327 Mental power 238 Physique 249 Skills Mystery Mechanical Era Mystery Outer Core Restart Combat Analysis IV-3, 
Weapon Mastery Max, Forced Gold Hand LV3, Firepower Reset LV3, Ordnance Transformation LV3, Computing Strength Enhancement LV3, Mechanical Cells LV3, Nano Magnetic Field Scan LV3, Module Seal Carving IV3, Ghost Step LV3, Biological Scanning LV3, Nano Mechanical Wave IV3, Mechanical Body Cell Modification LV3, Life Source Cell Modification LV3, Intelligent Component Upgrade IV3, Mechanical Inner Cabin LV3, Shadow. Machine LV3, Conservation Doubled, No Picture Transformation Max, Load Activation IV3, Ordnance Deduction IV3, Brain Development LV3, Permission Opening LV3, Mechanical Blessing IV3, Mechanical Factory Max, Energy Compression Field Max, Heterogeneous Cradle Max, Space Technology Tongshan Su Max. Mechanical Creation, Abbreviated. In terms of pure attributes, the attributes of Zheng Mu, a mechanic, are definitely at the bottom among other professions. However, now he is able to massacre other countries at every turn, killing powerful men at the level of the god of protection of the country, just like slaughtering animals. He was directly promoted to level IV-60, and many skills, especially the skills of mechanized life-level transformation, were directly unlocked. It's time for Zheng Mu to take a good look at these skills. Mr. Li's communication request was sent over. As soon as the call was connected, Mr. Li appeared in front of Zheng Mu with his face glowing red. As soon as he saw Zheng Mu, Mr. Li burst out laughing. Ha ha ha, this surprise for you kid is really more surprising than happy, ha ha ha. Zheng Mu smiled, naturally knowing that the other party was talking about these orange legendary mechanical creations that he had made. Sure enough, before Zheng Mu could say anything, Mr. Li couldn't help but admire him. Originally, I was still thinking whether the Dragon Kingdom would sacrifice some of its interests in the secret realm of different time and space and bring back some of its elites for this victory. Now I feel completely relieved. Ha ha ha, even if there are countless powerful people in the Mi Empire, they have spread too much in the mysterious realm of different time how Qian Zhao. If they want to transfer troops back to Blue Star on a large scale, there is a limit. With these mechanical creations of yours, plus the Tianai army and the Shindu military industry, our Dragon Kingdom is already in an invincible position. Speaking of this, Mr. Li's eyes were filled with joy and turned slightly red. Zheng Mu smiled slightly. Don't worry, Mr. Li, with me here, the future of Long Country will definitely be more than this. Mr. Li stared at him deeply and nodded, his eyes full of firm trust. However, it also revealed the purpose of looking for Zheng Mu this time. The Monkey Kingdom and the Tai Kingdom want to cease the war. What do you think? Are they really going to be destroyed directly? Hearing this, Zheng Mu glanced at the Monkey Kingdom city that was undergoing a massacre in the Air Fortress Control Hall, even though many people had escaped before they came. But at this moment, the city was still filled with blood. Zheng Mu had a sneer on his face. It doesn't matter whether the country is destroyed or not, but at least one thing is that these countries must all accept the direct rule of our Dragon Kingdom from now on. He looked at Mr. Li with a smile, his eyes filled with light. Mr. Li, I wonder if the Dragon Kingdom is ready to restore its image as a suzerain country like hundreds of years ago, when all nations came to court. Mr. Li was stunned. Overlord country. Sheng Mu chuckled. I've even prepared our future name it's called Daitoryu Co-Prosperity Sphere. Chapter, 220 Didinglong Co-Prosperity Sphere Hearing this word spoken by Zheng Mu, coupled with the wicked smile on his face. Dragon Kingdom, in the main hall of the center of the City of Gods. The elders of the Dragon Kingdom gathered here all looked at each other in confusion. The term suzerain country has gradually moved away from the Dragon Kingdom since Blue Star entered the era of professionals. Even the decline of national power has caused these beings who were once tributaries of the Dragon Kingdom to come forward to fight against the former boss, grinding their teeth and sucking blood. Don't say anything else. The current Bangzi Kingdom, Sakura Kingdom, Monkey Kingdom and Tai Kingdom were once members of the Dragon Kingdom's huge tributary states. Even the White Elephant Kingdom, which was nearly destroyed some time ago, had a close relationship with the Dragon Kingdom hundreds of years ago. The Dragon Kingdom has always been the core of the East Dragon Continent. The suzerain country, the heavenly country do we old guys really have a chance to see this sacred day? 
Among the elders, some murmured with tears in their eyes. As a descendant of the country that has been the overlord of Blue Star for thousands of years. Not to mention being bullied, even if he became the second Blue Star. That is a blasphemy against the ancestral foundation and a shame for them, the descendants of the Bactrian civilization. Everyone couldn't help but be moved. But when he heard this voice, he smiled coldly. The laughter was full of contempt and disdain for those former tributary countries. Mr. Lee, the conditions are placed in front of them. The royal families of various countries will hand over all their rights and be a mascot. The appointment and dismissal of officials will be decided by the center of our Dragon Kingdom. The local professional army, including the Order Maintenance Force, will all be controlled by our Dragon Kingdom. Rule 220B level and above professionals, regardless of status, must actively want to serve in the military for our Dragon Kingdom for five years from the date of awakening. They have no right to handle the various high-level harvests in the monster area by themselves. They must all be handed over to the Dragon Kingdom's treasury, and then we will distribute them uniformly below. Jing Mu's voice was strong. The conditions that were put forward casually were full of the bloody atmosphere of peeling off the skin of these subordinate countries. Mr. Li and the others couldn't even hear the slightest sincerity that Jing Mu wanted to get these countries to agree to. It seemed that they were deliberately forcing them to continue fighting against the Dragon Kingdom. However, looking at the side of the Tiandao live broadcast, Jing Mu's level has soared to IV-60. Think about the strength of the small countries such as Monkey Kingdom and Tai Kingdom. Mr. Li and others were all silent. With Jing Mu's terrifying combat power now, it seems that he really has no intention of being polite to these guys. It's nothing more than people living, wealth and the future of the country being controlled by the Dragon Kingdom. The difference is that all the people are dead, but the land and wealth are still controlled by the Dragon Kingdom. As for the so-called reputation and justice of the Dragon Kingdom. If it weren't for stepping on the mountains of corpses and seas of blood in the surrounding countries and stepping on the iron bones of the ancestors of the Dragon Kingdom, today's Dragon Kingdom would have fallen to an unknown extent. The Dragon Kingdom of Blue Star advocates force and fighting more than any other country. There's no need to change your rhythm. Whatever you want to do, just go ahead and do it, and we old guys will help you figure it out. Li Laozhong nodded, took a deep breath, and then hung up the communication. However, Mr. Li had no intention of immediately informing the top officials of Tai Kingdom and Monkey Kingdom. I went directly to play chess after get off work. As for Zheng Mu, there is the terrifying aerial fortress that looks like a demon king's palace. One after another, the citizens of the monkey country were slaughtered crazily. When night falls one day, there is no longer a complete city within the monkey kingdom, hundreds of kilometers away from the dragon kingdom. The scene of ruins, mountains of corpses and seas of blood has shocked the whole world. As for the citizens of the monkey country, they have already dragged their families and escaped from the city where their homes were located and came to the wilderness and dense forest. While he was fearfully alert to the monsters that might appear around him at any time, he looked up at the sky in panic from time to time. The monarch of the monkey kingdom and other high-level officials no longer dare to stay in the capital. With a group of concubines and ministers, under the protection of the monkey king's royal guards, they hid in a cave in a mountain not far from the country. Damn! This is all your fault. We got into trouble with this lunatic because we listened to your lies. How could you damn guys abandon us at this time? That's enough. That madman completely raised more than a dozen of our cities to the ground in one day. He is a devil. Millions of us have died because of your lies. Your me empire must give us an explanation. Send troops to support us immediately. In the cave, the king of the monkey kingdom was so angry that his face was distorted, and he was yelling at the emperor of the rice empire on the other side of the communication screen. Mr. Wan, you have to know that our current situation cannot spare any extra strength. After all, what we are fighting is the main force of the dragon kingdom, which is millions of people. Fake squid. That's what you white-skinned pigs asked for. I don't care what you guys are doing. If I don't see the protector you sent to support me before tomorrow morning, don't blame us monkey country. What have you done to make you regret it? However, before the emperor of the rice empire finished speaking, 
the monarch of the monkey kingdom interrupted him rudely and even madly. Looking at his red eyes, he looked like the anxious king of the monkey country. The top officials of the Mi Empire were silent. Baixian Kingdom, in the Holy White Jade Palace. At this moment, the top management of the Mi Empire was already in a state of distress. The Emperor of Baixian Kingdom was sitting on the throne, but act, he could vaguely hear the fierce quarrel coming from the side hall. Fake. You guys can't always keep an eye on our melon chable. We have already paid a lot for this national war. The troops we control in the secret realm of different time and space are only 800 zero, zero. We have already transferred back a full 200 zero, zero. Troops. No. But this is not enough, isn't it? Mr. Mellon, you have to know that of the 700 zero, zero elites at the beginning, 270 zero, zero are our people. For this reason, we have bases in several areas of the secret realm of different time and space. The situation is unstable, and now we are afraid of a beast wave. That would be an immeasurable loss to us, the Rothschild plutocrat. Fake squid. Mines, you guy, listen up, what I said, fake squid. Do you think that the potions, talismans, and equipment and weapons lost by our melon chable are just decorations? Do you know how much wealth these things can create for our people? But now these things of yours can't be delivered to the Sakura country base at all, can they? Then you should ask that damn military transportation bureau. Ask your damn son who you call your nephew. Ask that retarded man what he is doing. Waterfa. What the hell did you say? On the throne, the emperor of Kai Empire had a look of despair. No matter what, he has almost confirmed that even in the end, the national war between the Mi Empire and the Dragon Kingdom won the final victory. He, the Emperor of the Rice Empire, must have come to an end. He looked at the communication screen in front of him, the furious Monkey King, and the Thai Kingdom King who had sent an urgent communication request. He shrugged helplessly. I'm sorry, Mr. Wan, we sympathize with the losses caused to your country by our omissions in intelligence. Fake squid. We don't want sympathy, our monkey country wants to protect our country, we want support, give us one. Before the furious king of the monkey kingdom could finish his words, he cut off the communication without hesitation. Oh, God, why is this world changing so fast? Why? The emperor of the Mi Empire was crying in distress. This night of being abandoned by the Mi Empire was definitely the most terrifying night that the entire Monkey Kingdom and Thai Kingdom had ever experienced. Especially those people in the Monkey Country. It is easier to say that the family is powerful and has a strong professional. Ordinary people without the protection of professionals, after arriving in the wilderness, are simply the monster's favorite fat dinner. One night, Zheng Mu and the Red Queen studied the magic of mechanical life forms. The air fortress and those mechanical creations are tirelessly cleaning up the city and the city. However, in the wilderness of the monkey country that was not within their cleaning range, the screams and calls for help never stopped that night. When the sun shines on the earth the next day. When the monkey king, who had not slept a wink all night and was haggard, received the communication from Mr. Lee, he hurriedly connected it immediately. Mr. Lee, we are willing to surrender. We are willing to pay compensation for your country's defeat. Don't kill. Please, tell General Zheng not to kill anymore. We don't have many people left in the Monkey Kingdom. Looking at the dark-skinned king of the Monkey Kingdom, he looked ugly and howling. Mr. Li looked calm. He directly stated the conditions of the Dragon Kingdom's senior management, and they were also conditions that would not be discussed. We, General Zheng Mu, have made a decision and it has been recognized by our Dragon Kingdom Elders Council. If your Monkey Kingdom wants not to be destroyed, and if the Ruan family wants to continue to exist as the royal family of the Monkey King, the Monkey Kingdom needs to become a vassal state of our Dragon Kingdom again from now on. Furthermore, in order to ensure that you will no longer double deal and betray the suzerain country like you did back then, the future military and political power of the Monkey Kingdom, including the education and awakening of professionals, will all be taken care of by our Dragon Kingdom. You players can continue to stay in the Monkey Kingdom in the name of the royal family. At this moment, the senior ministers and generals of the Monkey Kingdom were stunned. Stripped of all vassal states. 
what's the difference between that and being annexed? Chapter, 221 Mr. Lee was minding his own business, like a judge in a court of law, reading out the conditions offered by the Dragon Kingdom to the Monkey Kingdom. However, the senior officials of the Monkey Kingdom who were hiding in a cave in the wilderness outside the capital were all stunned. All the power of the royal family will be confiscated and it will directly become an ordinary wealthy family with the name of the royal family. All the power of the nobles will be taken away, and local officials must be appointed directly by the Dragon Kingdom. Professionals who exceed level IV-60 are also required to regularly perform foreign assignments for the Dragon Kingdom. Newly awakened B-level and above professionals need to serve in the military for five years in the Dragon Kingdom. Even the things dropped from the monster area, their Monkey Kingdom professionals have no right to use or keep them without authorization. Clauses that made their Monkey Country exist in name only came out of Mr. Lee's mouth. Everyone present could no longer see the slightest bit of unnaturalness on the other person's face at this moment. The King of the Monkey Kingdom was so angry that he was trembling all over. Once this condition is accepted, what else does he, the King of the Monkey Country, need to do? Apart from being a king in name only, he has no power at all as a king. What kind of king is that? The Dragon Kingdom's unreasonableness made the senior officials of the Monkey Kingdom unable to express their suffering. Taking a deep breath, the king of the Monkey Country resisted himself from roaring. Lee, Mr. Lee, these conditions are too harsh. Please show your support to your country. By the way, doesn't General Zheng Mu like beauties? I can hold a beauty contest specifically for him in my monkey country and recruit hundreds of them. No, any high-quality beauties will be presented to the general. For your country, our monkey country is also willing to take the initiative to seed 30 cities, plus various monster materials, equipment and medicines and other supplies that your country urgently needs, ensuring a generous quantity. The king of the monkey country was about to kneel down in front of Mr. Lee at this moment. However, when Mr. Lee heard his conditions, he was not moved at all. With a faint word, the communication was cut off. The conditions of our Dragon Kingdom are here. Whether you agree or disagree, it makes no difference to us. In the words of our General Zheng Mu, it saves a lot of guilt of hiding conflicts. When all the more than 70 million people in your Monkey Kingdom are dead, the city and various resources you mentioned will belong to our Dragon Kingdom, and we can be much cleaner. After he finished speaking, the communication light curtain in front of him disappeared instantly. Asshole. Do those people from the Dragon Kingdom really dare to kill all the people in the Monkey Kingdom? Aren't they afraid that the entire Blue Star countries will unite? Are they really crazy? There are more than 70 million of us. More than 70 million. The King of the Monkey Country roared, and the sharp voice made him feel like a shrew who had lost everything at the moment and he was still unable to accept the reality in front of him. However, at this moment it was on his panel. A city in their monkey country is being ravaged. The tailed beast jade from the nine lamas' mouth was released, and in an instant, most of the city was destroyed into ruins. Then, mechanical creations with range attack skills, such as Enaru, Tatsumaki, and Senju Hashirama, released their ultimate moves one after another. A large Monkey Kingdom city was destroyed to pieces in almost a short time. Some citizens of the Monkey Country who had no time to escape ran away in fear. In the end, they were torn into pieces by the evil god lickers, who were able to pass through space and appear next to them one by one. Let the shocking corpses of flesh and blood be scattered everywhere in the entire ruin-like city. Your Majesty this is already the seventeenth city. That Dragon Kingdom man may really dare to kill all of us, and no one can stop him. At least no one can stop him before he kills us all. A general from the Monkey Kingdom looked miserable, and his body seemed to have been drained of all strength by fear at this moment. The Seventeenth City In one day, Zheng Mu had slaughtered all the citizens and professionals in seventeen cities of their Monkey Country. Even based on the calculation that these cities have a population of 500 0, 0. At least 8 million people in their monkey country have died. More than 8 million one-tenth of their country's population. Thump. The king of the monkey kingdom suddenly slumped down on the stone chair with a dull look on his face. Obviously, without knowing the number, his is the same thing. 
At the moment when this terrifying number was placed in front of him, all the anger and unwillingness were instantly washed away by fear as strong as a sandstorm. Several concubines on the side stepped forward to help him. However, these concubines were already frightened by this number and their bodies became weak. After pulling several times, the monarch was not pulled up. Instead, they themselves collapsed on the ground. In the cave, everyone lowered their heads and trembled. The monkey country is destined to never be the same again. But at this moment, the lives of the remaining citizens and nobles are in the hands of the monarch in front of them. His body trembled, and he rubbed one hand on his thigh, as if hoping that the pain would reduce his body's fear reaction and make him speak more forcefully. However, the luxurious robe on his body was bleeding to the touch, and his body was shaking violently uncontrollably. Although he had closed his panel, he could not see the tragic Tian Dao live broadcast. But the screams of those citizens of the Monkey Kingdom before they died seemed to linger no matter what. Prime Minister, the Mi Empire will probably leave us alone. If they refuse to save us, no one in Blue Star will dare to do anything for them in the future. He looked expectantly at an old man in front of the crowd. However, before he could finish speaking, the latter sighed and shook his head slowly. He lowered his head with a sad look on his face. Your Majesty, the weak will eat the strong and the fittest will survive. Our gambler behavior will ultimately lead to our own losses. At this moment, the last line of psychological defense finally collapsed completely at this moment. The king of the monkey country turned pale and finally waved his hand feebly. He uttered a sentence with difficulty. Surrender. It won't work so soon. At the center of the Dragon Kingdom Divine Capital, Mr. Li and others looked at Zheng Mu with a surprised look on the screen, and were speechless. Just your ten orange legendary mechanical creations have now created seventeen corpse palaces tens of meters high for others. If you don't surrender, are you really going to fight until the whole country is wiped out? Let's not talk about whether the monarch of the Monkey Kingdom has the courage. Are the senior officials of the Monkey Kingdom willing to follow the Ruan family of the royal family and go all the way to darkness? He said he lost his previous power, but at least he saved his life. The truth that it is better to die than to live is not only understood by the people at the bottom, but also by the nobles and high-ranking officials. Zero please give me flowers. Okay, don't continue to take action on the monkey country. We have ordered the dispatch of Yunshan County's garrison into their territory to assist the dispatched officials in handling local affairs. Zheng Mu nodded. In that case, he could just turn around and go to his aunt. However, on his side, the air fortress had just arrived at a large border city in Tai Kingdom. Densely packed necrotic laser cannons stretched out from the side of the fortress, and immediately the communication from Mr. Lee came again. Mr. Lee, I haven't even taken action yet. They won't kneel down so soon, right? Zheng Mu looked unhappy. There is a gap of nearly one billion in experience points needed to upgrade skills. The effects of each of those life-level transformation skills made him unable to refuse. He also thought that he could take this opportunity to sacrifice more unlucky people so that all his skills could reach full level as soon as possible. Mr. Lee coughed. They should have contacted the monkey country. After knowing that the monkey country was scared, they just admitted defeat. Zheng Mu smacked his mouth and became the minister of his own skill tree. A skill called spiritual energy strengthening, is just a little short of being able to be upgraded to IV3. At that time, I will be able to permanently integrate mechanical components that can be used for mental attacks into my own body and transform them into my own organs. In other words, like Uchiha Musen's mental radio frequency core Sharingan, he can directly possess it in his body, and it is permanent. Mr. Li, tell the King of Taigua that all my Jimu people are here. If you don't shout earlier if you want to surrender, the people of this city should give them a long memory. With that said, he hung up the communication directly. Bomb me. Blow me hard. Damn it, you can't see something, you really know how to surrender at the right time. Zheng Mu cursed loudly, and the next moment the generals in the city below received the news that the people above had surrendered, before they had time to breathe a sigh of relief. In an instant, he was engulfed by the overwhelming attack from the air fortress. Asshole. Why are they attacking? We have obviously surrendered, 
don't these passers-by have no credibility at all? A general from Thai Kingdom roared angrily. However, after receiving the answer from Mr. Lee at this moment, the King of Taiguo was so angry that his heart almost burst. At this moment, I had to hold my nose and admit it. They are nothing more than some low-level untouchables. The Rama family has huge wealth, as long as the people of the Dragon Kingdom do not deprive them of their wealth. He didn't care at all about these low-level untouchables who were about to lose royal power. Hearing the general's roar, the king of Taigua squinted at him with cold eyes. In that case, why not let you lead your family's generals to go to Gongjiang city to rescue him? Upon hearing this, the general, who was flushed with anger just a moment ago, turned pale in an instant. With a plop, he knelt directly on the ground. Dare not say a word. That night, bursts of rumbling sound suddenly echoed throughout Blue Star. The Dragon Kingdom camp wins the national war, the Monkey Kingdom camp unconditionally surrenders. The Dragon Kingdom camp won the national war, and the Thai Kingdom camp surrendered unconditionally. The sovereignty of the Dragon Kingdom camp is promoted to the suzerain country. The current subsidiary country is, Monkey Kingdom. Due to the countries. This night, too many people are destined to be unable to sleep so. Chapter, 22 The Dragon Kingdom camp wins the national war, the Monkey Kingdom camp unconditionally surrenders. The Dragon Kingdom camp won the national war, and the Thai Kingdom camp surrendered unconditionally. The sovereignty of the Dragon Kingdom camp is promoted to the suzerain state, and the current subordinate states are, Monkey Kingdom, Thai Kingdom. The Dragon Kingdom actually acted like a vassal state. When the majestic voice of heaven reached the ears of everyone in Blue Star, almost everyone couldn't believe their ears. A vassal state. That was almost a thing of the past era. Since Blue Star entered the professional era, it has heard of countries that were destroyed and countries that acted as dogs for powerful countries. But like the Monkey Kingdom and the Thai Kingdom, they directly declared themselves to be vassal states of a certain country. The entire Blue Star is unique. It's not that the Dragon Kingdom is so special. The Monkey Kingdom and the Thai Kingdom do not become vassals to the overlord of the Mi Empire, but they kneel before the Dragon Kingdom. Although the Mi Empire is powerful, it is really impossible to directly massacre millions or tens of millions of citizens of the two countries like Cheng Mu. After all, in the absence of sufficient benefits, the cloak of justice that the Mi Empire has always believed in no matter how many people believe it, but the country itself believes in, is indeed not willing to be easily torn apart by 937. Just the Monkey Kingdom and the Thai Kingdom. Let's not talk about how much oil and water we can bring to the Mi Empire in the future by acquiring these two vassal countries. If you want to maintain control over the two countries, the expenditure is not a small amount. Not to mention, will their Mi Empire be like the previous generation of Blue Star Overlords, where all the subordinate countries were fighting for independence, and in the end all their efforts were in vain. Therefore, the Mi Empire had the strength to recruit many tributary countries, but it chose to station troops and let these countries act as their lackeys, while still retaining the power of these countries. At this moment, when the top management of the Mi Empire heard the grand announcement of Heaven's Law, the major chables were originally quarreling over the issue of investment. The next moment, they all suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed. Ha ha ha! The people of the Dragon Kingdom still have no change in their decadent ideas of the country of the boss. Oh God! This is simply the most beautiful sound I have heard these days. Ha ha ha, these guys from Longwa, a small country with no resources, are really not picky eaters. Ha ha, those ignorant Dragon Kingdom people have the best reputation. Some of them may appear to be prosperous on the surface, but in fact they are cutting their own flesh and bleeding. But what they do is actively criticized by any country. Ha ha ha, I want the senior officials of the Monkey Kingdom and the Thai Kingdom to agree to become tributary states. It seems that the Dragon Kingdom has turned its good plunder card into a gift-giving card this time. Your Majesty, I feel that our opportunity to counterattack has come. We only need to let the two countries, Monkey Kingdom and Thai Kingdom, secretly make small moves when Dragon Kingdom takes over their land. Divide the energy of the Dragon Kingdom. The Dragon Kingdom will inevitably withdraw some troops from the Sakura Kingdom soon. At that time, 
the troops we have withdrawn will be added to the existing troops from General Walker's side. The Mellon Chabel representative became more and more excited as he spoke. It looked like he had won some huge reward. After hearing the other party's analysis together, everyone who was still enjoying themselves finally came to their senses immediately, and their eyes lit up. God, minds, it looks like you didn't have sex with your wife last night. Your brain belongs to you again. Your Majesty, the suggestion of this guy minds is indeed good. Zheng Mu of the Dragon Kingdom killed so many of them. The senior officials of the Monkey Kingdom and Tai Kingdom will never swallow this willingly. Yes, if the Dragon Kingdom wants to maintain the dignity of their so-called suzerainty, they must appease the emotions of the citizens of the two countries. When taking over the local territory, they will inevitably exercise restraint on some things. Hearing this, the Emperor of the Mi Empire, who had looked dejected before, suddenly lit up. Zereshet. This is indeed a very good idea. Making a decisive decision, the Emperor of the Mi Empire, after discussing the words with everyone, immediately sent a message to the King of the Monkey Kingdom who had just returned to the palace and was waiting for the official officials of the Dragon Kingdom to arrive to notarize the royal family's assets. In the Monkey King's Palace. Although the palace will still be the property of their Wan family, and they can continue to live in it in the future, it will only be limited to living in it. From now on, the throne under his but will have no other symbolic meaning except that it is a beautiful chair. Just when Wan Wan was sitting on his throne with a blank look on his face, his mind went blank. Seeing the sudden communication request from the Emperor of the Rice Empire, his whole chest heaved violently uncontrollably. Although I have reached the point where I am today, it is entirely because I cannot control my greed and stupidly declare war on the Dragon Kingdom at this time. However, the role played by the Mi Empire must bear a large part of the blame. After connecting the communication, Wan Wenpi looked at the Emperor of the Rice Empire in the light curtain with a smile. The face has lost all the humility and flattery it once received. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, you must have just had dinner, right? Why, you want to see how miserable our monkey country is now, and add some fun after dinner? The Emperor of the Mi Empire had already expected Wan Wen's attitude, with a slightly apologetic smile on his face. Mr. Monarch, Army Empire is willing to bear certain losses for your country's experience. I have already persuaded the major chables to provide your country with a batch of free purple rare level standard equipment and about 300 00 bottles of blue elite level equipment. Potion as compensation. Hearing this, the confusion in Wan Wen's eyes flashed away, but he did not answer. Sure enough, the next moment the Emperor of the Rice Empire put forward their proposal. When Wan Wen heard that these damn white pigs actually wanted to use their monkey kingdom to continue to contain part of the Dragon Kingdom's military strength. From an angle that couldn't be seen from the opposite side, he clenched his fists angrily. These dogs can't change the shit-eating white pigs, they are really treating the monkey country like monkeys. Let's not talk about the attitude of the mechanical killing god of the Dragon Kingdom towards the Monkey Kingdom and the Tai Kingdom. He has no humanitarian spirit at all. What is the difference between causing trouble for the Dragon Kingdom at this time and seeking death yourself? However, Wan Wen suddenly thought of the reason why the other party thought so. Obviously. These white-skinned pigs probably think that the Monkey Kingdom and the Tai Kingdom agreed to take advantage of the Dragon Kingdom and become each other's vassal states. They must have received some comforting benefits from the Dragon Kingdom. Even these white-skinned pigs must have never thought that they, the former country's leaders, have been directly deprived of all their power by the Dragon Kingdom. He became a puppet at the mercy of the Dragon Kingdom. In a flash of lightning, Wan Wen quickly figured out the underlying reason. With a sneer, he started digging holes for these guys without hesitation. Huh, His Majesty the Emperor really thinks that our monkey kingdom is a fool from the bottom of his heart. Saving the country is beyond our imagination. Now that we have received a huge benefit from the Dragon Kingdom, why should we do it ourselves? Are you going to jump out and fight against the Dragon Kingdom, our suzerain country? As soon as these words came out, in the Holy White Jade Palace of the Rice Empire, the representatives of the various Rice Empire plutocrats excitedly waved their fists. Really? They guessed it right. Those stupid Dragon Kingdom people like to do such stupid things when they can reap benefits. 
Your Majesty, Army Empire is deeply sorry for the losses we have caused to your country before, but why don't you imagine your innocent people? Then Zheng Mu, the mechanic of the Dragon Kingdom, what happened today is completely wrong. Enemy to all mankind. The Dragon Kingdom has now realized that it can't do anything to Army Empire on the frontal battlefield for the time being, so it wants to make you and the Tai Kingdom a vassal state in order to expand its power. Your Majesty, you don't need to make much noise. You just need to maintain some cities on a daily basis. Smashing and violent protests will continue. As long as you do enough superficial work and act like you are trying to maintain order, the people of the Dragon Kingdom will I won't embarrass you. The Emperor of the Mi Empire felt as if he had transformed into an eloquent salesman. After saying so much, the Monkey King opposite was unmoved at all. However, the other party did not cut off the communication immediately, but it made them realize it. The senior leaders of the Monkey Kingdom are already excited. Finally, he looked at the representatives of the major chables on the side, and suddenly gritted his teeth for two. We are willing to double the supplies we had before. In addition, once the Dragon Kingdom defeats us, we are willing to take charge of the overall situation and cede the Yunshan County of the Dragon Kingdom to your Monkey Kingdom. Ruan 1, the things must be delivered immediately. We will not do anything until everything is ready. Emperor of the Mi Empire. Fark. This damn yellow-skinned monkey seems to be really smart. However, thinking that the Dragon Kingdom's military strength could be divided, the senior officials of the Kai Empire pinched their noses and accepted it. It just so happens that there is a sufficient amount of supplies in the country now. Due to the overload of the teleportation array, they cannot be transported to the Sakura country base. They are just used to organize the monkey country to carry out small operations. After the two parties determined the transaction location, they cut off communication. However, just when the top management of the Mi Empire sent a communication request to the King of Taigua, in the Monkey King's palace. Ruan Wen has already connected the communication with Mr. Li with a flattering look. Elder Shangwa, I have something here involving the Mi Empire that I need to report to you. Go away, you white-skinned pigs, and treat me like a monkey. I will let you be a monkey this time too. Chapter, 223 Regarding the matter between the Monkey Kingdom and the Rice Empire, when Zheng Mu heard about it from Mr. Li, there wasn't much of a reaction. It's nothing more than a trap for the Bomi Empire's weapons and equipment, as well as pharmaceutical supplies. To be honest, the Dragon Kingdom really has no shortage of these things. In the future, after the treasury resources of Monkey Kingdom and Tai Kingdom are integrated by Dragon Kingdom. Investing in Shindu's military industry, it won't take long before there are countless and inexhaustible military supplies. If the Dragon Kingdom had not determined early on, these military materials from the Divine Capital would not leave the market. Every one of those living professionals in Long Kingdom has no food to eat. Zheng Mu has no interest in swindling a sum of materials from the Mi Empire. They can just leave it to them to deal with the above matters. Compared with this, after Zheng Mu took care of the Tai Kingdom and the Monkey Kingdom one after another, he ignored the three kingdoms of Malaysia, Kangaroo Kingdom and Philippines that were frightened and hesitated. Rather than dealing with these three little characters, Zheng Mu wanted to cause trouble for these white-skinned pigs in the Mi Empire. Huh, if you count the time, you will have plenty of opportunities to deploy troops and generals to these guys. Zheng Mu smiled coldly. He currently has nearly 20 orange legendary mechanical creations under his command, which are equivalent to the level of protector of the country. This force, coupled with the Tianai army and other Dragon Kingdom elites. It was also time to completely remove the 700-00 Strong Meat Empire army that was stationed at the Sakura country base. The loss of 700-00 troops, especially the elite combat forces who have experienced the 0-2 different time and space secret realm, is definitely a major loss of vitality even if it is placed in the Mi Empire. The air fortress was flying rumblingly above the Blue Star's 10-00 meter altitude. When this behemoth, with a domineering attitude, appeared over the Sakura Kingdom again. The senior leaders of all Blue Star countries became nervous. Rice Empire Holy White Jade Palace. Damn it, this mechanic is like a mad dog that no one can do anything about. 
Now our troop strength at the base in Sakura country has reached 80 which is already the maximum garrison strength that this base can bear. We don't have to worry about troop strength, but we are now completely at a disadvantage in terms of high-end combat capabilities. When the representative of the Rothschild plutocrat said these words, everyone felt dreamy for a while. The high-end combat power fell into a disadvantage. How long has this happened to their Mi Empire? Even the pioneer generation of the Mi Empire, which competed with the Eagle Kingdom for Blue Star Overlord, during the battle, the Guardian-level warriors were almost on par with the Eagle Kingdom. Fake. Can our people withstand it? The face of the Emperor of the Mi Empire was extremely gloomy, and the planning with the Monkey Kingdom was still in full swing. The supplies had been collected and secretly sent to the place designated by the Monkey Kingdom. Now they only hope to withstand this wave of attacks from the Dragon Kingdom. As long as their side resists, the Monkey Kingdom and Tai Kingdom will act together. The differentiation of Dragon Kingdom's power is a great opportunity for them to make a complete counterattack. For this reason, the top management of the Mi Empire even mobilized the power of the Philippines and other three remaining countries that declared war with the Dragon Kingdom, intending to give the Dragon Kingdom a disastrous defeat on the territory of the Sakura Kingdom. However, the Empire has a lot of good ideas. At this moment, General Walker and others stationed at the Sakura Inter-Empire base were in a panic. They also watched the Tian Dao live broadcast on how terrifying the combat capabilities of the new mechanical creations under Xing Mu were. We also believe that the powerful warriors at the level of Huguashan are much more powerful than the protector gods of Monkey Kingdom and Taigua. At this moment, he had to worry about the upcoming battle. General Walker, what does this mean? Are we going to hold on like this? How can we hold on to this? There are only 15 people on the Mi Empire's side, including the five Guardian God-level warriors sent to support later. Everyone is looking at the aerial fortress falling from the clouds, and they are nervously clenching the weapons in their hands. Among these people, Morris, the oldest Scarlet Magician, asked anxiously. However, General Walker silently activated a few red brave level talismans for himself, which said everything. The high-end combat power is not enough. What happened to him when the generals of the Dragon Kingdom assisted their country's protector god in fighting was now happening to him. Shet. There is no way we can win this battle. As long as that mechanic is still alive, he can continuously produce all kinds of powerful mechanical creations. Death Believer Ramsey gritted his teeth. This battle of more than half a month has completely shattered the arrogance in his heart. Zheng Mu's strength was like an abyss with no end in sight, which finally gave him a fear of the unknown. On the side, Thunder Dragon Warrior Clayton cursed. Fake. This is simply a disaster. If we don't kill all his mechanical creations, we will never be able to kill him. But even if we defeat this guy this time, he will be able to make a comeback within half a month. And even bring more and more powerful mechanical creations. Everyone was silent. A heavy atmosphere permeated the entire base of the Mi Empire, and some soldiers had already taken out photos of their family members in their arms, as if they were saying their final goodbyes. Although these words were said, they had a big blow to one's own morale. But everyone has been fighting here sleeplessly for more than half a month. Everyone knew exactly what kind of enemies they were facing. As Clayton and others said, Zheng Mu is like a bug. He can make all kinds of powerful mechanical crops without restraint. As for the materials needed, the Monkey Kingdom and the Tai Kingdom now have a large number of professionals who can become the source of his mechanical components. Fark. Walker couldn't help but cursed. If the elites and plutocrats of the Empire can no longer think of a way to deal with Zheng Mu, their world dominance of the Mi Empire may really be lost. Just when 800 people were waiting in the base of the Mi Empire. Above the air fortress, a figure that made all the Mi Empire professionals grit their teeth and tremble in their hearts slowly appeared in front of everyone. It seems that there are a lot of new friends here. As the elites of the Blue Star Overlord country, why are you still hiding in this turtle shell for so long? Zheng Mu's joking voice sounded. Along with it, there were ripples of void gradually blooming behind him. In waves of golden ripples. Ten new orange legendary mechanical creations, including Hawkeye Myhawk, Nine Llamas, 
holy angelmon, crocodile, etc. appeared in front of everyone. Boom! As soon as Jalama's huge body fell, it happened to land between Godzilla and the armored giant. The deafening roar made these people on the wall of the Mi Empire base immediately feel a strong wind blowing towards their faces. Jurashe. How are we going to fight this? How will we allocate it later? The protector of the Mi Empire, whose profession is similar to that of Hrithik and Dilman in the Dragon Kingdom, and who is close to the auxiliary profession, shouted nervously. Obviously, if a fight breaks out soon, someone in the Mi Empire will definitely want to fight one against two, or even one against three. Morris gritted his teeth and glanced at General Walker beside him. The two looked at each other and nodded. In a moment, I will hold down these three big guys in front of you. General Walker will assist me, and you will each assign battle targets. Forest Saint Gloria looked at Hawkeye Myhawk. I'll deal with that Hawkeye Myhawk. I need the help of two generals with strong melee capabilities. Upon hearing this, two generals from the Rice Empire immediately hid. Everyone began to identify their opponents. The battle is inevitable. As the high-end combat force of the Mi Empire, they must rush forward even if there are countless difficulties in front of them. Wa 213 gritted his teeth and raised his head to stare at Jing Mu, who was standing above the air fortress with his hands behind his back, as if watching a play. You devil! The great freedom fighters of the Mi Empire will never give in. Mi Empire! Must win! Listening to the roar of 800-00 people below, Zheng Mu smiled coldly. The voice was not loud, but with the blessing of the air fortress, it was clearly transmitted to the ears of everyone in the city. Because I'm in a good mood today, I'll give you a chance to survive. Kneel down and offer your loyalty to the Dragon Kingdom, and I will give you a chance to survive. You only get one chance. The calm words were filled with the aloofness that they, the professionals of the Mi Empire, had at the time, but they were so overwhelming that the elite soldiers present now gasped. In everyone's mind, the past half a month could not help but appear. When they were cleaning the battlefield, the comrades were miserable and could not even piece together the complete corpses. There were also those who became disabled during the battle and were forced to be sent back to their homeland through the teleportation array in despair. They have lost the opportunity to be promoted. In the future, in a camp like the Mi Empire where strength is capital, the outcome is destined not to be any better. Walker and other generals felt the heavy atmosphere behind them, and their hearts trembled. Roaring and shouting in a hurry. Put away your hypocritical face. We are fighting for our country, our wives, children and glory. As long as we are here, you, the devil from the east, will never get your hands on our free land. Zheng Mu. As expected of you, you obviously came to our door and wanted to kill us in the Dragon Kingdom. Now that you are being pressed to the ground and rubbed, it means that we, the Dragon Kingdom, are going to invade you. But. When you say that, I really have some interest in attacking your homeland. Chapter, 224. When you say that, I really have some interest in attacking your homeland. The plain voice reached the ears of the elite of the 800-00 meter empire. The elites of the Mi Empire, who were waiting in full formation, all looked stern. This damn Dragon Kingdom demon actually wants to take action against the native land of their Mi Empire. Thinking of the family members living there, everyone's eyes suddenly ignited with a burning desire to fight. Finally, the main guns of the Air Force and the Air Fleet began to accumulate energy. Walker immediately let out a hysterical roar of war. For freedom. Kill. In an instant, dozens of National Guardian gods and elite generals rose into the sky one after another on the city wall. It roared and rushed towards the orange legendary mechanical creation on the Dragon Kingdom side. The battle was fought between lightning and flint, and it reached its maximum in an instant. The base's defensive formation has long been in dilapidated condition and cannot withstand the bombardment of these giant aerial ships from the Dragon Kingdom. In order to weaken the power of these judgment weapons above their heads to the greatest extent, the professionals in the Mi Empire all charged at the fastest speed and with the most violent momentum at the moment the war started. Came towards the military formation on the Dragon Kingdom side. Above their heads, there was a loud roar of artillery fire. 
waves of terrifying roars, accompanied by violent tremors on the ground, and screams behind them, attracted the eyes of the elites of the Mi Empire to become even redder. The go go. Charge. All these damn yellow skinned monkeys are charging in. Follow your respective teams. Follow closely. Don't 417 care about the wounded. Break up their defenses quickly. A melee. We need a melee. The officers roared one by one, raised their weapons, and while activating the buffs on their bodies, they violently charged towards the interior of the Dragon Kingdom's military formation. Behind them, the elite troops of the Mi Empire, covered by naval guns above their heads, were roaring to release the fear in their hearts while charging like wild bulls. You killed Jonathan LV-47, a professional from the Mi Empire camp, gained 3,102 experience points, and obtained the priest's skill book Light Feather Technique. You killed Lamond IV-53, a professional from the Mi Empire camp, gained 1,300 experience points, and obtained the purple rare weapon Taurus Shield. You killed Asado Bina 449, a professional from the Mi Empire camp, and gained 8,571 experience points. You also received purple rare consumables and the blood essence talisman. You killed. Zheng Mu stood with his hands behind his back. Looking down, it was as if two torrents collided together. The information on the panel about killing the Empire professionals was like a waterfall, surging madly. However, there was no sadness or joy on his face. He saw with his own eyes that many warriors from the Dragon Kingdom, even the elite Tianai army warriors, had unfortunately had their health bars emptied in the crazy charge of the Mi Empire. This kind of concentrated fire, even the equipment and talisman buffs on the body are not able to block the instantaneous damage. Even Zheng Mu can't avoid it. Under the current conditions, he has already made his best efforts for the Dragon Kingdom to win. Whether it is abundant logistical support, the cleanup of International Clowns Act, or the attack of mechanical creations on the frontal battlefield. Talking about the various major actions of Dragon Kingdom during this period, he directly contributed 50% of his efforts. That can be said to be modest. But the ensuing war is a major event for the entire Dragon Kingdom. In the battlefield below, it is obvious that all the Dragon Kingdom warriors also know this. They all exerted their strength, each of them walked steadily, and with no trace of fear in their eyes, they launched an attack on the charging Mi Empire soldiers. The clash of clanging swords, accompanied by the confrontation of bursts of skill energy, appeared on the battlefield below. Below the air fortress, densely packed steel-winged angel flying devices, also under the direct command of the Red Queen, accurately took some seriously injured Dragon Kingdom soldiers away from the battlefield immediately. Don't spread out. Don't spread out. Zereshet. Pastor, go and look at that guy. Everyone shrink. Shrink to me immediately. Mage, hurry up and use your defensive skills. In the chaotic battlefield, the team captains and officers of the Mi Empire issued orders simply by shouting. In some situations where the distance was relatively close, the orders of the two teams were mixed with various screams and attacks, making it impossible to hear them clearly. However, the professionals on the Mi Empire side could only grit their teeth and persist. Under the attack of the elite forwards, they continued to attack the interior of the Dragon Kingdom's military formation. As soon as the battle began, at least nearly 10 000 professionals from the Mi Empire died directly under the bombardment of the air fleet. In addition, above the scene after the bombardment, on the pitted ground, the pitiful howls of the Mi Empire professionals made the place feel like hell. God, that's my son. That's my son. John, John, look at that round thing, that round thing, ah, uh, Jonathan. Mom. Hurry, get the potion. Geezy. Is that the son of the veteran in our community? God, is he dead like this? The unprecedentedly fierce and majestic battlefield spread densely for more than 10 kilometers. The huge battlefield caused direct changes in the Tiandao live broadcast. Originally, Everyone could only look wherever the cameraman Tian Dao shot, but now he can enter a level similar to God's perspective according to the professional's own requirements. Let everyone watch this scene full of blood and hell in the most intuitive way. 
All of a sudden, professionals from all over the world had heavy expressions on their faces, and some of them had even hid under the covers and were shivering. However, the native citizens of the Mi Empire were all in disgrace. Fake. Fake. Damn minds, go and ask monkey country in Thai country if they have received the things. Let them start taking action quickly. These damn lunatics, lunatics, all lunatics. The emperor of the Mi Empire didn't even dare to watch his live broadcast at this moment. Too bloody. They have always known that the people of the Dragon Kingdom are lunatics who are not afraid of death when they fight. But after all, they are old people from the previous era. They have not had direct conflict with the Dragon Kingdom for so many years, which makes them think that the new generation of the Dragon Kingdom should not be so crazy. However, the fact is that these yellow-skinned guys do not take their lives seriously at all. The Emperor of the Mi Empire and other high-ranking officials saw more than once that the soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom suddenly heard words from the Dragon Kingdom such as titled a lord and worshipped the Prime Minister, bravely championed the three armies, and Guangzhong Jiazu. It's like he suddenly changed into a different person. White-skinned pig. I will fuck your mother. No. Hit me. In the Tian Dao live broadcast, an elite assassin of the Mi Empire touched the priest of the Dragon Kingdom. Before he could take action, his body was suddenly pressed to the ground by a figure. What came into view was a face that looked young and in his twenties, but was so crazy and twisted. He was wearing a bloody battle armor, and the buff light on his body was crumbling, but these were not the main points. The point is, this crazy guy actually pressed a sparkling talisman on the head of the Mi Empire assassin. Angry roars and frightened screams, accompanied by a huge roar, stopped abruptly on the spot. On the ground, the life bar of the assassin from the Mi Empire had been emptied on the spot, and most of his body had disappeared. At the same time, the body of the Dragon Kingdom warrior also flew out upside down. Ah! The blood bar on the top of his head has dropped to about 8%. At this moment, he was holding a bloody severed arm, wailing in pain. Hurry! Stop his bleeding quickly! Give him coagulation medicine quickly! Several Dragon Kingdom soldiers immediately went up to treat him urgently. At the same time, in the sky, a steel-winged angel flying device was already spitting out long tail flames and heading here. Means, the Melon Chable representative, turned pale with fright. But the roar of the Emperor of the Mi Empire could be heard again. Fake. Mines, what are you doing standing still? Go and ask the monkey country. However, this time the Emperor of the Mi Empire had not finished speaking. Suddenly a communication request came. At first glance, it was obvious that the person was Ruan Wan, the king of the monkey kingdom. Immediately, the Emperor of the Mi Empire waved his hand to signal everyone to be quiet, and connected the communication with joy. However, the moment I saw the smiling old figure in the picture. A faint smile appeared on the Emperor of the Mi Empire's face, and his face instantly froze. It seems that His Majesty the Emperor was surprised to see an old guy like me, but you suddenly gave me such a big gift. I thought that His Majesty the Emperor wanted to reconcile with us. Emperor of the Mi Empire. He looked at the picture in astonishment at the monarchs of the Monkey Kingdom and the Thai Kingdom standing behind Mr. Lee. Behind them, boxes of supplies with the logo of their Mi Empire were neatly placed there. Completed into neat hills. It's not clear what the situation is. Fake. You damn old guy. And you two guys, our Mi Empire will never let you go. Fake squid. Fake squid. Shameless Dragon Country People Chapter, 225 Fake Squid Sang Ao Bichi You damn yellow-skinned monkeys, I swear, I swear that army empire will definitely make you pay an unimaginable price for your stupidity today. I swear. The emperor of the Mi Empire was obviously going crazy with anger and was somewhat losing his mind. At this moment, in the communication screen, Everyone was hysterically roaring at Mr. G and the others. The angry spittle seemed to have traveled tens of thousands of miles and sprayed directly into Mr. Lee's and the others' faces. Your Majesty, please calm down, please calm down. These people from the Dragon Kingdom just want to see you like this, please calm down. 
several high-level elites around the Emperor of the Meat Empire hurriedly tried to dissuade him, while the representatives of the major chables on the side were so angry that they could hardly breathe. Oh God, it's true. How could those timid and cowardly monkeys dare to take the lead at this time? I just said that these guys agreed too easily at the beginning. That's enough. Those supplies are not from your Morgan Chable. Now don't open your mouth and spit shit in front of us like a bitch. What we want is a solution. Without the constraints of the Monkey Kingdom and the Tai Kingdom, the Dragon Kingdom's military strength in the Sakura Kingdom will not be divided at all, and our elites will not be able to withstand it for too long. No. Now we can't continue to fight against the Dragon Kingdom people at the Sakura Kingdom base. The limitations of the Space Teleportation Array prevent us from giving full play to our logistical advantages. Logistics advantage, Mr. Terrace, I think there is one thing I need to remind you. The current logistics production speed of the Dragon Kingdom is more powerful than that of our Mii Empire. Those purple rare level potions and talismans are about to become their soldiers. It comes standard. Stop talking about this, withdraw the troops. Immediately ask Walker to organize the withdrawal of the troops, and also send out all our high-level Fiences in the Kangaroo Kingdom. In short, we will try our best to get our people to the fastest speed. Get out of that damn place. The communication screen, noisy and full of quarrels, and the Emperor of the Mi Empire staring at him with eyes that wanted to eat someone, breathing heavily, all made Mr. Lee and the others have bright expressions on their faces. Smile. Even the monarchs of the two countries standing behind Mr. Lee made no secret of their relief and gloating at this moment. These damn white-skinned pigs have tricked them and made them end up like this. These guys deserve the losses they are suffering now. Ha, huh, why is His Majesty the Emperor so angry? The whole world is watching the current situation on the battlefield between you and me. I don't think it is in the interests of the Mi Empire to continue to confront our Dragon Kingdom. In this way, old man, I am free to make my own decisions. As long as you openly admit your Mi Empire's defeat on the battlefield and express your desire for an armistice and peace talks, I can order our people to suspend the attack. Go and eat shit. Stop dreaming. How could the great elites of the Mi Empire be defeated by dwarfs like you? Before he finished speaking, Mr. Lee was rudely interrupted by the other party. Mr. Lee was not surprised at all by this. He originally said it to tease the white-skinned pigs across from him. What a truce, the 800-meter empire elite in front of you has such a big piece of meat on your lips the dragon country will only let go if its brain is beaten. Mr. Lee and the others don't need anyone to teach them the truth of letting the tiger return to the mountain. The emperor of the rice empire looked like a mad dog, unable to be stopped by anyone, and kept barking. The smile on Mr. Lee's face gradually turned cold. The cloudy eyes revealed unprecedented sharpness and oppression, and remained unmoved in the face of the various threats and intimidations spouted by the other party. We in the Dragon Kingdom have always just wanted to live a good life, but since hundreds of years ago, you have not given us this opportunity. Now I'm sorry, the stable life of the two of us is no longer available. Interested. To defeat everyone in Blue Star, or to be defeated by everyone, is our pursuit. Listening to those crazy remarks, the top officials of the Mi Empire were completely stunned. I'm sending you this message today, not for peace talks, but just to give you a notice, or to those of you, including you, who don't look down on the power of our Dragon Kingdom. Mr. Lee took a deep breath and spit it out word by word. The Rice Empire is still the overlord of Blue Star. But here in Dong Long Continent, we, the Dragon Kingdom, have the final say. Even if you, the so-called overlord of Blue Star, come, we have to lie down on the ground obediently. Without giving the other person any chance to speak, murderous intent burst out in Mr. Lee's eyes. The powerful aura frightened the two kings of Tai Kingdom and Monkey Kingdom behind him, and they did not dare to breathe. That 800 white-skinned pig will be eaten by our Dragon Kingdom. Even if your Jesus comes, he won't be able to stop you. I said. Prepare the funeral for them in advance. After all your time is quite tight. Looking at the cut-off communication screen in front of him. The Emperor of the Mi Empire hadn't even spat out the curse yet. At this moment it was as if someone had strangled his neck, 
and his face turned purple with anger. Ha ha ha. This damn old guy actually said that they want to become the overlord of Donglongshao, ha ha ha. What do we look like in the eyes of those guys? What do we, the blue star overlord, look like in their eyes? Used toilet paper in the toilet. He was so angry that he smiled back, as if he had been greatly stimulated, which frightened several attendants around him and hurriedly brought some mental restorative potions and drank them to him. Seeing the emperor of the rice empire being carried down, the faces of all the Chabal representatives turned pale. Without even daring to waste a second, he immediately sent an order to the military side, General Walker, to withdraw from the battlefield. At the same time, the Fayensu fleets of the Kangaroo Kingdom, the Philippines, and the Malaysian Kingdom, which originally received requests from the Mi Empire to assist them in encircling the Dragon Kingdom army, received the latest orders. Assist the Mi Empire army to evacuate Sakura country. When they saw this latest order, the generals in charge of the Fayensu fleet of the three countries, as well as the protector gods of their own countries, could not help but tremble. Is this when the Mi Empire admits defeat? Didn't you swear before that the Dragon Kingdom would not be rampant for long? How many days has it been? Has the situation deteriorated to the point where they need to withdraw their troops without their knowledge? What frightened them even more? After the Mi Empire withdrew and the Dragon Kingdom occupied the Sakura Kingdom, wouldn't it be within reach to deal with them, the losers of the Mi Empire? On this day, the senior officials of Blue Star countries also received the latest information from the senior officials of the Mi Empire. Zero please give me flowers. The top leaders of Kangaroo Country, Philippines, and Malaysia were panicked. Blue Star's other high-level officials who were watching the game realized that the Blue Star structure seemed to be going through a lot of changes in the future. This once corrupted boss country seems to really stand up and beat the now uneducated overlord of the Rice Empire. And just when high-level officials from various countries held urgent meetings to review their future relations with the Dragon Kingdom. On the battlefield of Sakura Country. Follow General Shangwa. For the Don Longshao Alliance. Kill all these damn white-skinned pigs. The general is on board. Surround them and kill them all. Don't let anyone go. After cleaning up the remaining forces of the Ashikaga Shogunate, the professional armies of the Banko Kingdom and the Sakura Kingdom also roared and joined the encirclement and suppression of the Mi Empire army from both wings. These former bastards of the Mi Empire, after keeping up with the obviously more powerful and tough Dragon Kingdom, bitten these former masters, which can be said to be quite crazy efforts. The double-dealing, inferiority, and narrow-minded national nature are vividly displayed. After the Ashikaga shogunate declared complete disillusionment. The victory of the Dragon Kingdom against the Sakura Kingdom was heard in the sky, and then the Tokugawa Empress, who was judged by heaven to be in power, immediately joined the offensive and defensive alliance with the Dragon Kingdom. On the battlefield, when the skills of the professionals from the three parties were unleashed, they really had no scruples at all. The soldiers from the two countries who met the Dragon Kingdom professionals on the battlefield put away the madness on their faces and quickly became humble and respectful. The sounds of various Smecta and Ku competitions are endless. If the battlefield wasn't dangerous, these guys wouldn't seem to have any objection to bowing and saluting. Although there are not many professionals in the two countries, the total number is only 30 0, 0. But this caused obvious signs of instability in the military morale of the Mi Empire. Behind him, the large healing formation in the base had been destroyed by Dragon Kingdom. The teleportation array can still operate normally because it cost a huge amount of land to build. A large number of wounded are being transported quickly towards the rear. Walker and Morris were struggling with three behemoths including Godzilla. However, from time to time, he couldn't help but get distracted and look in the direction of the teleportation array. He is waiting. Waiting for good news from the top management. Waiting for the actions from the Monkey Kingdom and Thai Kingdom to distract them from the pressure here. However, the moment the communication sound rang in his ears, before Walker had time to be happy, he was so shocked by the sound coming from the other side that he almost fainted. Boom! At this time, the armored giant swung the huge alien iron wall shield, and smashed it towards him. Caught off guard, Morris would have saved him in time with a scarlet beam of light. This blow was enough to kill most of his life. 
General Walker, but there is news from above. How long should we hold on? Morris' face turned a little pale. He had just swallowed a bottle of MP recovery potion in his mouth, and he only had the last bottle of this potion left on him. He shouted anxiously. However, Walker looked pale and the blood on his face had faded. He looked at the battlefield that had become a melee and spread for more than ten kilometers in the wilderness with miserable eyes. He groaned quietly. Retreat? Can we still retreat now? Chapter 226 Retreat? Can we still retreat now? Walker's voice was not loud, but at this moment Morris could still hear the words clearly. Looking at the other party's pale complexion. It felt like my brain was struck by lightning for a moment. Roar. Godzilla's roar came, and a dazzling atomic breath came towards his face with scorching energy. Morris was startled, and his body turned into a burst of red light, hugging Walker and retreating to a position further back. Waving the staff in his hand, while MP was consumed, a series of scarlet rays either cut, penetrated, or burned towards Godzilla and other three behemoths. What's going on? General Walker. Didn't the Monkey Kingdom and Tai Kingdom say they wanted to contain part of the Dragon Kingdom's energy? What accident happened? Walker felt like he was mourning for his heir at this moment. Looking around, there were densely packed crazy professionals fighting each other. Below the towering aerial fortress, the steel-winged angel flying device went up and down, forming a continuous air first aid corridor, which also became one of the psychological pillars of the soldiers in the Dragon Kingdom who were not afraid of death. On the battlefield, the Dragon Kingdom was already in a state of military superiority. After the melee went on for a long time, this advantage of 447 became more and more obvious. If the elites of the Mi Empire could still let go of their hands and calmly deal with the Dragon Kingdom professionals attacking from the surrounding areas at the beginning, everyone was obviously in chaos at this moment. The rhythm of the attack was disrupted by the Dragon Kingdom professionals, and the team's advancement was distracted by the Dragon Kingdom professionals. Even the support and supplies from the rear were scattered by the Dragon Kingdom professional team at a moment of confusion. I don't know how many forward teams that were attacking fiercely forward were dumped by the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom when they recovered. On the battlefield, those evil god lickers, and evil god T-100, are also a terrifying force that cannot be ignored. They appear and disappear, and as soon as they take action, they immediately attack the key points of the Mi Empire. Especially the leader of the evil god alien, Black Claw, no less than a hundred elite officers and generals have died in its sudden attack. Walker's face turned pale. No, those damn yellow-skinned monkeys tricked us. Not only did they not cause trouble to the Dragon Kingdom, they shamelessly united with the Dragon Kingdom to steal ten large sums of supplies from us. Sang Ao Bichi. Morris, who was very young, was so angry that he scolded his mother for the behavior of the senior officials of Monkey Kingdom and Tai Kingdom. He was displaying his skills non-stop. Even at 495, he could not withstand the joint attack of Godzilla, Nine Llamas, and the Armored Titan at this moment, and kept retreating. So the higher-ups want us to evacuate now. FAQ. Do they have no brains? How are we going to evacuate? Morris's roar also made Walker look ugly. Before the battle broke out, no one, including him, thought about withdrawing from Sakura country. After all, they are the overlords of the Mi Empire, and this is also a must-win battle to defend the status and majesty of the Mi Empire's overlords. How can you retreat? No matter how difficult the situation is, Walker's designated combat plan is to find ways to sustain the Dragon Kingdom's attack and then wait for an opportunity to counterattack. As soon as the battle between the two sides started, in order to avoid being overwhelmed by the air fleet above the opponent's head, too many unnecessary casualties were incurred. At the beginning of the game, the Mi Empire chose to rush into the Dragon Kingdom's military formation and start a big melee with them. Looking around, on the entire battlefield, professionals from the Mi Empire and the Dragon Kingdom were already fighting everywhere. Except for the Tian AI army with mechanical prosthetics from the Dragon Kingdom, which has an obvious overall command posture, the rest, whether it is the regular elites from the Dragon Kingdom or the Mi Empire, have already established a command system. Confused. Both sides are colliding with each other with a murderous ferocity. 
At this time, let alone executing the retreat order, it is now unrealistic. Once this order spread on the battlefield, the anger in the hearts of the professionals in the Mi Empire was completely released. How could Walker, as a general, not understand the meaning of defeat like a mountain? But. The top management of the Mi Empire has lost confidence in this war in Sakura country. To this day, the Empire's losses are no longer small. But in order to have a better follow-up counterattack, the punch of ADW elite must be withdrawn as soon as possible. Walker gritted his teeth and finally reluctantly gave orders to the senior generals on the battlefield for an organized retreat. Waterfa. General Walker, are you kidding me? Withdraw the troops. Where should we withdraw? Your Excellency General, with all due respect, your order is no different from asking us to commit suicide on the spot. Yes, this is absolutely crazy. General, even if the space teleportation array is overloaded, it can only evacuate a maximum of 400 people in a day. What about the remaining half? Moreover, let's not talk about how many people our people will lose if they break away from the melee with the Dragon Kingdom. Withdrawing from the melee, we will become a living target for those damn warships in the sky. In the communication channel, Walker looked ugly as he listened to the angry and incomprehensible questions from these generals. Fake. Do you think that my mother-in-law wants to carry out such an order? Do you think that I am so stupid that I don't know that there is no difference between this and death? This is an order, this is an order that has been decided from above. If we continue to fight, not only will we not have any support, but we will all die here. The conflict of orders between the generals of the Mi Empire was quickly detected by the Red Queen. Above the Sky Fortress, overlooking the Shura Hell below, Sheng Mu, the graceful Red Queen appeared behind her. Lord Master, the top management of the Mi Empire has decided to withdraw its troops. I think there will be a result on this battlefield soon. Zheng Ren smiled slightly. Taking a deep breath, you can clearly smell the pungent smell of blood high in the sky. Huh, withdraw the troops. It's too late. And just like what he said, at this moment, there is a crazy melee with the Dragon Kingdom below, and the professionals of the Mi Empire are showing off the elite professionals of the Blue Star Overlord to the fullest. Although there are more and more Dragon Kingdom professionals around, it is becoming more and more obvious that they are being suppressed. However, that crazy fighting spirit has never disappeared. There was almost a layer of corpses on the ground. There are professionals from the Rice Empire, professionals from the Dragon Kingdom, Sakura Country, and Bangzi Country professionals among them. On the battlefield, even auxiliary and therapeutic professionals such as priests were covered in blood at this moment. The staff was waving wildly in his hand, and he often had an MP recovery potion in his mouth. Pay attention to defense changes. Pay attention to defense changes. Priest, watch the health bar. Watch out for the flanks. The go go. Move, we can't be surrounded by these damn guys. Go and join the other teams. And 458, level captain of the elite team of the Mi Empire was roaring out orders at the same time, waving his weapons wildly, and fighting with two team captains from the Dragon Kingdom. However, at this time, the mage and the team seemed to have discovered something. His expression changed drastically. Captain, they are retreating. They are retreating. Waterfa. The entire Mi Empire team members were startled. Sure enough, they turned around and saw that on their flanks, the teams that had been taking care of each other were clearly retreating towards the rear, and the attacks became sparse. Fake. What on earth is that son of a bitch Ramil doing? The team leader was furious, and the withdrawal of troops from both sides made them instantly fall into a huge passive position. However, when his boss's command sounded in his ears, his angry expression instantly froze. Retreat. Retreat to the rear in an orderly manner. Everyone retreats in an orderly manner. This is an order from the highest authority of the empire. Everyone executes it immediately and retreat. Such an order, which was no different from committing suicide, made the team leader stunned. While their brains simply couldn't understand it, the other teams behind them retreated, forcing them to execute it immediately. If they are left behind at this time, even God cannot save them. However, how could the generals of the Dragon Kingdom, 
who had a clear command system, failed to see the retreat of the Mi Empire. Xiong Weishan fought continuously, and his level had reached IV-80. If it were not for the activation of the secret skill mission, the experience value would continue to skyrocket at this moment. Ha ha ha, these bitches are scared. They want to evacuate. Get them all, don't let them go. Kill. Today I will bring down this blue star overlord. Kill the Tian AI army. Stop them. Amidst the exciting wars, the battlefield situation changed instantly. The morale of the elite team of the Mi Empire has plummeted, although there are still some strong men who really dare to fight. But on this huge battlefield, their obstacles are like sand and gravel in front of the tsunami, and they have no effect at all. After giving up the retreat and staying behind, in addition to being attacked head-on by many professionals from the Dragon Kingdom around 4-3, in just a moment, their health bars were cleared and they fell into a pool of blood. Retreat in an orderly manner. Let them retreat in an orderly manner. What are they doing? The top management of the Mi Empire roared anxiously. However, on the battlefield, especially in such a large-scale melee, it is easy to say an orderly retreat, but it is extremely difficult to implement it. The dozen or so protector gods from the Mi Empire looked at the tragic situation below, and their psychological defenses gradually collapsed. Finally, as Nine Lama suddenly gave up the fight against the old guy Morris, he swung the terrifying tailed beast Jade out of his mouth. The Thunder Dragon warrior Clayton who was caught off guard screamed and was swallowed up by it. Looking at the figure in the distance, hitting the deep pit like a cannonball, and the Senju Tobarama who has used the Flying Thunder God technique to reach the opponent's head. The pupils of the protector gods of the Mi Empire shrank. Eagle Country, by Jinhan Palace The senior officials of the Eagle Kingdom who saw this scene did not show any gloating about the Mi Empire's misfortune on their faces at this moment. Instead, they felt like a rabbit was dead and a fox was sad. The Prime Minister sighed. Failed this will be the most difficult and painful retreat for the Mi Empire. Chapter, 227 The Go Go Hurry up and enter the teleportation array. Hurry up. Those in front should evacuate quickly. Speed up. The wounded. Get out of the way, there are wounded here. Ah. God, those naval guns from the Dragon Kingdom are about to attack. Don't mess up, don't mess up. Put up your defensive skills, all mages use their defensive skills, quick, quick, quick. In the base of Sakura Kingdom, amid various shouts, the elites of the Mi Empire who were evacuating in panic gathered into a stream of people. Even the spacious teleportation square was packed to the brim at this moment. The cries of the wounded, the anxious urging of the soldiers, and the hysterical shouting of orders by the officers. It formed a terrifying scene that the entire Blue Star countries had never seen before. The scene of the great defeat of the elites of the Mi Empire. 800 people, nearly a day of melee with the Dragon Kingdom, the number of people directly killed was just over 100 and the number of disabled and seriously injured soldiers was about 230 Among these people, except for some who had no choice but to be left to perish on the battlefield. There were also nearly 100 00 disabled and injured people, who were either carried or carried on their backs and poured into the base. No. We won't be able to hold on until the Fayunsu fleet arrives at this rate. Morris looked horrified, gritting his teeth and looking at the tragic scene below. Cries and panic-filled roars echoed hundreds of meters in the air. However, outside the base, there are still two to three hundred thousand people at this moment, densely packed like a flood, rushing towards the base. These people are out of formation. No more command. There is even more morale lost. Those who stayed behind were unable to have any actual effect under the pursuit of the even more terrifying Dragon Kingdom Tian AI army. The final result is. These elites of the Mi Empire, just like the so-called elites of the Baixian Kingdom, collapsed and completely lost their will to fight. Ah. No. Don't leave me. The weight of the equipment, which should not have been a big deal at first, now made the shield warriors and other professions in the Mi Empire look ugly. When a young man heard the metal sound coming from behind, which was like the collision of death's scythes, his whole face instantly turned pale. 
Just as he shouted out, the next moment he was knocked down from behind by two ferocious evil godlickers. Ah! Help! Oh! No! The sound of the armor being chopped down, accompanied by a scream of flesh and blood being torn apart, came from the man's mouth. However, even his teammates, after seeing the tragic situation of the opponent, paused for a moment, and then were frightened by the Dragon Kingdom army coming from behind. They all turned around and ran away. Pfft! A big head flew high along with the cry of a family in the Mi Empire. The eyes that were still staring at him rolled to the ground, soaked in mud full of blood, and then were crushed to pieces when an evil god T-100 passed by. Let him go. Furious roars were accompanied by firelight surging in the sky, and a man with hair full of burning flames roared towards a petite figure in the sky as if the god of fire were alive. Beside that figure, a dying and familiar figure was floating and flying towards the air fortress. One of the protector gods of the Mi Empire. LV-92, SS Level Thunder Dragon Warrior, Clayton. At this moment, when the other party's health bar with only a little left and the body that had been restrained appeared on the live broadcast screen, everyone in the Mi Empire covered their mouths in shock. Clayton. He was captured. And looking at the direction where the other party was about to be sent, Jing Mu was always standing there, as if he was a high-ranking god. What will happen if Clayton is captured? It goes without saying. The person who wanted to rescue Clayton was also a protector of the Mi Empire, and his occupation type was very similar to Clayton's. SS Level Fire Dragon Warrior, Atasan. He is one of the second batch of guardian gods sent to the base in Sakura Country by the Mi Empire. However, he rushed to Tatsumaki without waiting. A roar full of rage came from behind him. Severe burning pain, accompanied by the smell of sulfur, came from below. When he lowered his head, he saw Akainu's arms turned into lava, and he was holding on to his legs. The miscellaneous fish will stop getting in the way. Get out of here. The huge force smashed Otto stand towards the ground. Also heading downwards was Akainu's violent blow. Dog bites Red Lotus. The other protector gods of the Mi Empire were horrified and wanted to rush to the rescue, but they were tightly entangled by the mechanical creation in front of them. Damn! Clayton! Amidst the unwilling roars of these Mi Empire generals and national protector gods, the petite green-haired little lowly Tatsumaki finally delivered the dying Clayton to Zheng Mu. Watching Zheng Mu lift the other person's neck like a dead dog. This moment! Following the route of the country's 800-00 elites, the hearts of the entire Mi Empire were once again clenched. Fake. That's the protector of our Mi Empire. How dare this damn yellow-skinned monkey. Who are these guys at the top of the empire? Why did we have such an incredible defeat? God, I really can't bear to look at it, it's so miserable. I don't know how many pairs of eyes are watching myself at this moment through the Tiandao live broadcast. Zheng Mu sneered and looked at Clayton, whose eyes were half-opened and looked like a dead dog. So, does this gentleman intend to surrender? When asking a routine question, I watched the other party's lips tremble. Although no sound was made, it was clearly a word starting with F. TSK. That's such a pity. Zheng Mu didn't mean to waste his words. The golden red light in his hand bloomed amidst the roars from up and down the Mi Empire. At that high altitude, all the soldiers of the Mi Empire who saw this scene were terrified. You you you. Clayton whimpered and instinctively wanted to struggle, but he could only squirm like a hung maggot under the shocked and angry gazes of all Mi Empire professionals. Finally, as the golden red light disappeared, a prismatic creation appeared in Zheng Mu's hand, and at the same time, the hand suddenly relaxed. Looking at the figure falling straight down from a height of several hundred meters. The people of the Mi Empire all closed their eyes in fear and sorrow. Fake. I'm going to kill you. You bastard. Devil. Otto Stein roared angrily, finally getting rid of Akainu, and rushed towards the air fortress again, but his body was still in midair. Suddenly, a figure suddenly blocked the opponent's head. You have attacked me several times. How much do you look down on me? Amidst the cold voice, Bursts of green light suddenly lit up on Tatsumaki's body. 
The next moment, before Otto Stein could say anything, his entire figure suddenly disappeared into the air. Below, a fierce roar came from below that caused the surrounding ground to tremble violently. Boom! Looking at the figure that instantly made a big hole on the ground, the dozen or so unlucky guys from the Rice Empire next to them were almost instinctively ignored by everyone. Axiba. This brat did this? In the green Wa Palace of Bangzi Kingdom, the monarch's exclamation had just come out, and the next moment in the Tiandao live broadcast, his hands were slightly raised along with the tornado. The sound of clicking made everyone's expressions change wildly. The city wall of the Mi Empire's base suddenly broke and was uprooted from the ground up, as if it were a giant floating building block. Damn it! Stop him! Ramsey, a follower of Death God 017, had just been slashed by Hawkeye and fell to the ground. When he saw this scene, he immediately screamed. However, just as Otto Stein stood up unsteadily in the deep pit, darkness suddenly fell above his head. The ground was shaking, and the whole world saw what looked like a dozen buildings, flying back and forth in the air and crashing down hard. Every time the ground shook, it caused everyone to tremble. After dozens of rounds, a figure with broken bones flew out of the pit under the control of the tornado's telekinesis. At this point, in just ten minutes in the Mi Empire, the second powerful person with the level of protector of the country lost his fighting ability. Zheng Mu smiled as he looked at Otto Stein who was knocked unconscious by the violent attack of the tornado, leaving only his bloody skin. With the whole world watching, one hand once again grabbed the opponent's throat. Force transfer to golden hand, the golden red light brought by the skill appears again. Behind her, the red queen suddenly spoke. Lord Master, it is expected that the Fayanshu fleet dispatched by the Mi Empire will arrive here in twenty minutes. Do you want to use the fleet to destroy them directly? Hearing this, Zheng Mu looked at the many Mi Empire professionals below who had broken down mentally. Facing the pursuing Dragon Kingdom soldiers, they knelt on the ground with a plop and shouted for surrender. A smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Ah, it's really fast. In that case, let's end the battle here quickly. With that said, the mechanic secret skill mechanical era was activated. In an instant, all the mechanical creations in the field suddenly burst into bursts of light, and their speed, strength, skill power, and even their health bars all increased instantly. Seeing this sudden change, at this moment, the top management of the Mi Empire suddenly despaired. 800, 000 people, how much can be withdrawn? It really depends on God's mercy. Chapter, 228 The fall of the two protector gods Clayton and Otto Stan seemed to be a signal. After Zheng Mu activated mysterious mechanical era, all the mechanical creations under his command received a random increase of 20% to 50% in various attributes for one hour. This sudden and obvious direct amplification effect caused the Mi Empire's protector god, who was able to fight back and forth with Zheng Mu's mechanical creations just a moment ago, to fall into a huge passive state. Senju Hashirama, who was fighting the forest Saint Gloria, seemed to suddenly sense something. While the energy in his body surged, he suddenly clasped his hands together. Wood release wood dragon technique. In an instant, a terrifying wooden dragon nearly a hundred meters long appeared. Gloria waved her staff just like she had done before, and two huge tree spirit giants instantly swung their fists at the wooden dragon. However, the wooden dragon that could be easily smashed before was extremely difficult to shake this time. With a boom, the tree spirit giant dozens of meters high was lifted up into the air, and its huge body fell directly backward. Ah! A large number of Mi Empire professionals were instantly affected. Gloria's expression changed, but the figures of three thousand armed pillars appeared in front of her at some unknown moment. The wood clone technique, coupled with the fierce strange power punch, roared towards Gloria. Boom! Clang! Ah! When the battle on Gloria's side was instantly suppressed by Senja Hashirama, the situation of the other protectors of the Mi Empire was equally uncomfortable. Death Believer Ramsey, together with an assassin-type protector of the nation professional, screamed and were chopped away by Hawkeye Myhawk after a collision. However, while their bodies were still in mid-air, they were flying backwards. But like a ghost, Eagle Eye came to them in the blink of an eye. 
The long knife wrapped with pitch black energy struck one of them in the head. No. The man was wailing and wanted to use a teleportation evasion skill, but was directly intervened by Jian Wen Sei Haki. Hawkeye's slash hit the opponent accurately. Along with the shoulder, the entire left arm was cut off in an instant, with blood splattering from the smooth incision. He immediately gave Ramsey a look on his face. Borchette. Ramsey's scalp was numb, and his whole body felt momentarily creepy. Then, under the gaze of everyone watching the Tian Dao live broadcast, he directly used his skills and rushed towards the space teleportation array in the city. Damn it, Ramsey you bastard come back. General Walker, who had just climbed out of a pile of rubble and was about to continue fighting, roared angrily. However, Ramsey, who was so arrogant when he fought Ching Mu before, seemed to be completely frightened, and he didn't even care about the decaying battlefield at this moment. At the moment when the light of the space teleportation array blooms, rush into it. It disappears in the blink of an eye. Ha ha ha. Seeing such a dramatic scene in the live broadcast, the whole country in Long Kingdom burst into laughter. Damn it. This damn god is the protector of the country. Is this the protector of the country? Ha ha ha, I admit that I was shocked by the behavior of the protector god. I was born in the Dragon Kingdom for more than thirty years. Although I have never seen our protector god in person, I have never heard of it. The holder of such a sacred title as the protector of the country would never escape from battle like this. This is like a slap in the face by the people of the Mi Empire. Ha ha ha, I really want to see what those white-skinned pigs look like now. To meet your requirements picture, picture, video, this is what I got from the Mi Empire. The hottest scene on the scene. Damn it, ha ha ha, these white-skinned pig gentlemen can actually show such exaggerated and unfulfilled expressions. The whole Dragon Kingdom was completely in a state of excitement. Looking at the elites of the Mi Empire who were beaten by their Dragon Kingdom warriors and ran away with their heads in their hands, kneeling down to beg for mercy, everyone felt so proud at this moment. The pride in his chest was like a boiling furnace. It has already inspired the hearts of all people in the Dragon Kingdom. Unbeknownst to Zheng Mu and the others, the majestic bloodstained dragon flag of the Dragon Kingdom was flying everywhere in the major cities of the Dragon Kingdom and in the streets and alleys of small towns. The strong wind howled and the flags fluttered, as if the heavens were celebrating the day when the Dragon Kingdom was taking off again. The roar of buzz buzz came from the distance. The Tian Dao live broadcast screen zoomed in, and in the next moment, in the sky far away over the sea, flying cloud boats flying the flags of the Mi Empire and the Kangaroo Kingdom were approaching at great speed. It's Fai Yunzu. It's our Fai Yunzu. Shouts of surprise came from the mouths of these elites of the Mi Empire. Their sincere emotions seemed to see their mother still protecting their chastity when they were fighting for their country. However, at this moment, the soldiers of the Mi Empire on the flying cloud boats were all pale and their legs were trembling. They are widely separated from each other. At this moment, it just fell from the clouds, and immediately rushed towards the coast. The go go. Everyone get on board. The officers roared, and the Mi Empire professionals, who were crowded together, turned into a crowd and rushed towards the Feiyun boats that landed one after another. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up, everyone. Damn it, we don't have much time. The crew members of Fai Yunzhu were roaring and quickly drove the professionals towards the inner cabin one by one. They could no longer take care of the wounded or anything like that at this moment. A short-legged soldier lying on a stretcher accidentally rolled onto the deck, and the next moment he was trampled by people coming up from behind. No. Don't step on it. Don't step on it. There is someone here, Hagrid. Hagrid, hurry up and save people. In the chaotic scene, the expression of a Fayunzu crew member changed drastically. Seeing the soldier who was trying to stop everyone and trying to pull the wounded man on the ground, he was so angry that he swung his fists at him. Boom! Get the fuck into the cabin. If you stop me, I swear I will throw you down immediately. Immediately. However, this professional from the Mi Empire has not yet come to his senses. Suddenly a sharp neighing sound came from the top of the flying cloud boat. Attack alert. Hurry up and start the defense formation. 
Amidst the sound of whizzing through the air, the aerial fleet on the Dragon Kingdom side, under the control of the Red Queen, finally launched a sniper attack on these rescue Fayanzu. The main guns, secondary guns, and the terrifying torrent weapon system of the air fortress were all activated instantly. The surrounding air battleships also activated their own weapon systems. Dense energy cannons and missiles came like locusts overwhelmingly. In an instant, the entire beach was covered, and a number of flying cloud boats in the air that had not yet had time to land were also hit one after another. The sound of the protective shield breaking, along with the explosion of the Feiyun boat and the screams of Mi Empire professionals, caused a deathly silence throughout the Mi Empire. When the energy fluctuations dissipated, looking at the coast at this moment, there were fragments of the Feiyun boat and Mi Empire professionals lying on the ground and wailing. The pieces of flesh and blood scattered everywhere made countless professionals vomit in an instant. However, just as the cannons of the Dragon Kingdom's air fleet were cooling down, the Fayanzu fleet on the Mi Empire's side was acting like a chicken. The Feiyun boats that had been flying behind and survived the disaster quickly landed ashore one after another. This time, there was no need for the crew to maintain order. The elites of the Mi Empire who boarded the ship rushed into the cabin like crazy. Under the direct threat of death, these people finally chose to abandon their comrades and escape alone. On the coast, a large number of seriously injured and disabled Mi Empire professionals were crying and wailing in despair. However, no one who passed by them was willing to stop. They all went crazy and wanted to get on the flying cloud boat to escape from hell. This is really a beautiful civilized landscape. Zheng Mu sighed with pride and enjoyment, and his voice reached the ears of all professionals. Such a dehumanizing hell scene turned out to be a beautiful scenery in his mouth. It is conceivable that even if Zheng Mu dies in the future, it will take decades, hundreds, or even hundreds of years. The name Zheng Mu will be the name of the evil devil in the childhood stories of generations of Blue Star children. Zheng Mu always had a smile on his face as he watched the Feiyun boats carrying billowing black smoke and being seriously damaged, quickly take off into the sky, activate the energy array, and evacuate at full speed. You, you guy, just defeated us temporarily. Soon the anger of the Mi Empire will burn all of you to ashes. The assassin-type protector of the nation, whose arm was cut off by Hawkeye before, also fell into the hands of good money Zhao, Zheng Mu. Hear the other party's death curse. Zheng Mu, however, sneered disdainfully. These white-skinned pig guardian gods of the Rice Empire were much tougher than he thought. They would rather die than serve the Dragon Kingdom. However, Zheng Mu doesn't force it. That's really a pity. It seems you won't see that day. The next moment, force the golden hand to be used. Seeing the death of another protector, General Walker looked crazy, and the rear had begun to evacuate, but it was obvious that only a very small number of people could evacuate. Maurice, you will be responsible for coordinating the subsequent evacuation here. Morris was shocked when he heard this. However, the next moment, a scroll suddenly appeared in Walker's hand, and he roared away in the direction of the air fortress with billowing air currents. Damn yellow-skinned monkey, you really deserve to die. Amidst the roar, the other party actually took advantage of this gap and rushed to Zheng Mu's height. The scroll in his hand burst out with a dark energy. However, Zheng Mu smiled coldly and pointed behind the other person with contempt. Walker was stunned. But he saw the mechanical creation that looked exactly like a holy angel. At this moment, a golden door appeared behind him. It's like heaven. Gate of Heaven. Chapter, 229. The strong attraction behind him made Walker's expression change drastically. He turned around and saw Zheng Mu smiling and waving to him. Suddenly his eyes were about to burst. Ah! Fake! Your Dragon Kingdom will definitely pay a heavy price. As soon as the hysterical roar spread, the opponent's body, along with the activated attack scroll, was sucked into the Gate of Heaven. Along with the gate is closed by the Holy Angel Beast. The faint roar of energy appeared from the increasingly smaller gaps. Looking at General Walker who finally disappeared, the despair on the faces of the Mi Empire professionals who had not yet had time to evacuate became even more intense. Some powerful men at the level of the God of Protection of the country obviously had the idea of evacuating. 
his eyes frequently looked in the direction of the teleportation array. As a result, the war situation, which was already suppressed by the Dragon Kingdom, quickly fell into complete passivity. Finally, after more than ten minutes of close-to-death battle, the two auxiliary protector gods were the first to be unable to hold on and rushed towards the teleportation array in the city without looking back. The Mi Empire was completely defeated in this war. While some people chose to flee one after another, some people also showed personal heroism at this time. For example, Morris, the 495 Scarlet Conjurer, was chopped into human sticks by Hawkeye Maihawk and brought to Xingmu. Huh, it seems that the younger generation of the Mi Empire has really lost the courage and fearlessness of the golden generation of the Mi Empire. They actually left an old man like you to live a miserable existence. Mu chuckled. Looking around, whether it is the evacuation point of the Fayenzu fleet on the coast, or the already overloaded cross-camp teleportation array in the city. At this moment, there is absolutely no order at all. The elites of the Dragon Kingdom are still cleaning up the remnants of the Rice Empire outside, either accepting prisoners, or fighting against the Mi Empire professionals who are still resisting. However, the Mi Empire professionals in the city were already in chaos. In order to enter the teleportation array faster, many people started fighting. Morris, who was covered in blood, even his beard stained with blood, closed his eyes in despair. However, he still gritted his teeth and said it. Boy, these are only temporary. You, and the Dragon Kingdom behind you, will soon see the terror of the Mi Empire. You just caught a tiger that can't use its fangs to deal with you. It's too early for you to be proud. A light flashed in Zheng Mu's eyes. The Mi Empire is naturally more than that. Old Li and other elders have told themselves this more than once. And Zheng Mu is definitely not stupid enough to think that he has been the hegemon of Blue Star for nearly a hundred years. At the same time, the Mi Empire, which is far ahead in developing the secret realm of different time and space, only has this little strength. But will he be timid? With a sneer, the skill forced to turn to Golden Hand, was performed. As the golden red light appeared and disappeared, the majestic Scarlet Conjurer Maurice, who was considered a highly respected guy among the protectors of the Mi Empire, was thrown downwards by him like trash. In Zheng Ren's hand, a metal sphere flashed with dark red light and information emerged. Abyss Power Generation Matrix, orange legendary mechanical component, which contains the core of the Abyss origin, can independently generate Abyss energy, and is equipped in mechanical objects and can be used for attack and defense. In addition, Abyss Energy is important for assimilating and balancing other attribute energy core, has excellent effects. Zheng Mu's eyes lit up. What a good thing. During these times, Zheng Mu has studied so many mechanical creations. Since they are all humanoid mechanical creations, their drawings and structures are very similar. You only need to match the corresponding mechanical components according to the functions you want to build in your mind you can quickly complete the assembly of a mechanical creation. But this assembly is not without limitations. One of them is that Zheng Mu still has big problems that he can't find a clue to. These mechanical creations cannot have multiple mechanical creation cores, which are similar to the most core components. For example, Blackbeard Teach's Dark Fruit Super Energy Core, originally in his setting, Teach should also need a device similar to the Shock Fruit Super Energy Core. But before he could find the Mi Empire professionals who could possibly produce such mechanical components. The system here issued an alarm during production. Due to the problem of energy conflict, a mechanical creation cannot have two such core components at the same time. However, the current Abyss Power Generation Matrix makes Xing Mu no longer have such worries. He glanced at Morris, who had fallen into a puddle of flesh below. Xing Mu smiled lightly. What hidden cards does the Mi Empire, the world hegemon, have? And what good things have they obtained in these secret realms of different time and space, especially in places like the Central Territory? Zheng Mu has not yet entered the secret realm of different time and space, so it is hard not to be curious. Boom! As the air fleets another round of naval gun cooling ended, it fired again. The Aerial Fortress Annihilation Atomic Cannon instantly destroyed the teleportation array in the base that had obviously reached its limit. 
this teleportation array cost a lot of resources from the Mi Empire to build and could even withstand most attacks. Finally, there was a huge roar, with fierce space blades attacking the surroundings, and a large area of desperate and miserable whales turned into ruins. God. No. Please, no. Ah. My legs. My legs. What to do, what to do now? Those Dragon Kingdom people are coming. They are coming. The fleet has all left, we can't withdraw, it's over. There was a cry of despair throughout the base city. At this time, the air fortress also arrived directly above the base with a roar. In the golden light, Zheng Mu stood in midair like a god. The cold voice spread throughout the audience. Surrender. Or die. As he spoke, a familiar small red seal appeared next to him, but it was the blood phoenix seal that could lift a person's corpse into a skill book. Seeing the existence of the blood phoenix seal, plus the protector god of the Mi Empire who had all evacuated. Everyone's psychological defense finally collapsed completely. I surrender. I surrender, I don't want to die, I don't want to die here. Zero please give me flowers. Please don't kill me, I am willing to serve the dragon kingdom. You you you. Amidst the clanging sounds of weapons and equipment being dismantled, a professional from the Rice Empire raised his hands, and under the gaze of the whole world, he was slowly chained one by one by the professionals from the Dragon Kingdom. There are at least 70 000 to 80 000 people who are still capable of fighting. At this moment, these people are like docile little sheep. Often, the professionals from the Dragon Country would not even need to verbally scold them, but they would honestly accept the arrangements for the captives on site, squatting on the ground with their heads in their hands, like a group of penguins cowering in the cold wind. The Mi Empire and the Dragon Kingdom fought in the Sakura Kingdom. The Mi Empire was defeated head-on by the Dragon Kingdom. This unprecedented and huge news was spread by Tian Dao live broadcast, and everyone in Blue Star could not help but know about it. Regarding this national war between the Dragon Kingdom and the world's hegemon, the whole world was not optimistic about it from the beginning, but now the Dragon Kingdom is crushing it strongly, which directly slaps the faces of the top leaders of various countries. That day, the Emperor of the American Empire made an angry speech. On the one hand, it boosts the morale of the country and deepens the resentment of the people of the Mi Empire against the Dragon Kingdom. On the other hand, it once again shows that the Mi Empire is completely angry and will wipe out the Dragon Kingdom from Blue Star at all costs. However, even they, the former overlord of Blue Star, after just experiencing a huge defeat of 800-00 people, it is definitely not easy to regain morale immediately. This battle Preliminary statistics of the Mi Empire professionals directly annihilated by the Dragon Kingdom were as high as 290-00. There are as many as 130-00 professionals who have been judged as disabled by heaven and have completely lost their chance of promotion. Plus the 70 000 to 80 000 people who are now captured by the Dragon Kingdom. The pensions and subsequent arrangements for so many people are a major headache for the top management of the Mi Empire. Different from the system of the Dragon Kingdom, although the Rangmi Empire is powerful, the powerful ones are also the power of the plutocrats. These professionals who died in the war and were disabled are, to a certain extent, more likely to be employees of these plutocrats rather than being a national soldier of the American Empire. Speaking of which, it would be more appropriate to call these chables a large new mercenary group, and the Emperor of the Mi Empire was the first employer of these mercenaries. At the same time, the top management of the Mi Empire had to deal with possible changes in other countries' attitudes towards them, while also actively dealing with domestic chaos, and at the same time, they had to make plans and preparations for the counterattack against the Dragon Kingdom. The Long Kingdom is on the day of the army's triumphant victory. In front of the whole world, the Presbyterian Church made a high-profile announcement. Sakura Country and White Elephant Country became vassals of Dragon Kingdom. At this point, just when the whole country of Dragon Kingdom was rejoicing, the pressure finally came to the top management of Bangzi Kingdom. Qinghua Palace Shiba We are also a victorious country, do we also want to be a vassal state to those guys from the Dragon Kingdom? The King of Bangzi Kingdom shouted angrily. 
everyone in the audience looked at each other in shock. The Long Kingdom did not send them any notices or requirements, and no one even mentioned such a thing to their Bangzi kingdom. But in terms of this terrifying victory against the opponent, Bangzi country must learn to be smarter. Chapter 230 Hearing the words of his own king that were obviously full of resentment and unwillingness. All the high-ranking officials of Bangzi kingdom present were silent. If the war between the Dragon Kingdom and the Mi Empire was as evenly matched as they imagined, their Bangzi kingdom would be a direct participant in this national war. It is also one of the offensive and defensive alliances in the Dragon Kingdom. Naturally, we can get benefits from some participating countries. However, the situation now is completely beyond their control and control. The Dragon Kingdom is too powerful, so powerful that it not only exceeds the expectations of the current Mi Empire, but also exceeds the highest limit given by the top management of Bangzi Kingdom. Looking at the communication screen, the monarch looked unwilling. At this moment, General Sun Mingao, who was still commanding the professional army of Bangzi country in Sakura country, pondered for a moment and then sighed. Your Majesty, today is different from the past. The Dragon Kingdom has the strength to wipe out all the countries around us. The Mi Empire itself is too overwhelmed and has no time to care about us. But between us and the Dragon Kingdom, there is a restriction imposed by heaven that prevents national war for one year. After hearing the monarch's words, Sun Mingao sighed. There is indeed a national war restriction 460 between us and the Dragon Kingdom, but there is no restriction between us and the Sakura Kingdom, which is now a subsidiary of the Dragon Kingdom. At this time, the king of Bangzi Kingdom was completely dumbfounded. They already know what conditions the Dragon Kingdom gives to its subordinate countries. Not to mention what the major forces in the country thought, at least the royal family of his Bangzi Kingdom was unwilling to accept it and has since become a puppet with no power at all. Become a so-called mascot. The senior officials of Bangzi country are anxiously discussing how to deal with this matter. However, it seems that Longwa has deliberately forgotten the offensive and defensive alliance of Bengziguo. The people have already fallen into the joy of victory in the early stage of the Great National War. All the major cities and towns were decorated with lights and colorful decorations, as if the whole country was celebrating. The owners of major shops began to cut prices and carry out promotions. Ten tables were set up on the streets. Platters of delicacies were brought out by restaurants on both sides. Free self-service collection. Celebrating music and laughter enveloped the entire Dragon Kingdom. City of Gods. This time, as the capital of the Dragon Kingdom, it has been quickly put under martial law. Even so, the enthusiastic atmosphere of the people still cannot be contained. The city defense army could only barely control the situation so that the celebrations would not cause any huge turmoil. However, although this job is not easy, there is a joyful smile on the face of each of these city defense troops that cannot disappear no matter what. Big win. And it was a great victory against the American Empire and the coalition forces of several other countries. Such glorious achievements, in the hundreds of years of their Dragon Kingdom, can be said to have appeared more than once in the dreams of every Dragon Kingdom person who still has expectations for the glory of the Dragon Kingdom. Now the dream has become a reality. Long live the Dragon Kingdom. Long live General Zheng. Long live the Heavenly AI Army. Our Dragon Kingdom will definitely return to the top of the world. Various slogans echoed over the entire city amid bursts of cheers. And at this time, the center of the City of God. Zheng Mu, however, had returned to China without these people knowing. As soon as he arrived at the entrance of the hall, Zheng Mu saw a group of elders from the Presbyterian Church. Their eyes were red and they were looking at him with eager and excited faces. They were all waiting here. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, stepped on military boots, and came to the front of the crowd. There was a pop sound, a straight military salute. Seniors, fortunately you have lived up to your fate. Mr. Li and others' lips trembled and they opened their mouths for a long time before they choked out a sentence. Good. Mr. Jiang stepped forward and patted Zheng Mu on the shoulder with a pair of strong hands. His red eyes showed that this elder of the Dragon Kingdom, who had devoted most of his life to the Dragon Kingdom, had also obviously cried. 
The Dragon Kingdom is proud of you. All the people of the Dragon Kingdom in the future will never forget the contribution you made to the Dragon Kingdom today, General Zheng Mu. Mr. Li and all the elders also smiled and nodded. Surrounded by the guidance of everyone, he entered the main hall and sat in the familiar position again, looking at the peaceful scene with smiles around him. Zheng Mu looked a little dazed. Not long ago, when the Mi Empire declared war on the Dragon Kingdom, they were not gloomy, but they were definitely solemn. However, less than a month had passed at this moment, and most of the worries over Long Gua's head had dissipated in an instant. Mr. Li looked at Jing Mu, the greetings were over, and he finally entered the main topic. Regarding the matter of the client countries, we old guys have generally completed the deployment, but we still want to hear if you have any other ideas. After all our Dragon Kingdom was also the suzerain state of these countries at the beginning, and as time passed, these subsidiary countries still split away. Hearing this, he smiled slightly. Since they have become a vassal state of our Dragon Kingdom, from now on, we will naturally not be able to give them any chance to split. We have to let everyone gradually accept it through time. Although these countries still have country names. But in fact, it is no different from the counties in our Dragon Kingdom. Mr. Lin frowned slightly. Although the restrictions we impose on these countries are very strict, after all, these restrictions require us, the Dragon Kingdom, as the suzerain country, to maintain strong military strength for a long time. In addition, we also need to invest a lot of manpower and material resources in these satellite countries. However, the focus of our development is, after all, the secret realm of different time and space. Crises in the secret realm of different time and space may often occur suddenly. Even the Mi Empire cannot deal with this. He looked at Zheng Mu with a worried look inside. I don't want to be depressing, but we must consider the possibility of defeat in the secret realm of different time and space in the future. The reason why the Mi Empire is losing to us now is that too much power is restrained by the secret realm of different time and space. This is also a reason that cannot be ignored. In the future, if we suffer any major losses in the secret realm of different time and space, with the behavior of those barbarians. Mr. Lin shook his head. Everyone knew very well that now, whether it is the Monkey Kingdom, the Tai Kingdom, or the Sakura Kingdom where the female emperor married Jing Mu, or even the White Elephant Kingdom that was almost destroyed by them. Once the Dragon Kingdom suffers huge losses, the local power will be empty, and the restrictions on them will be reduced. These countries do not deny that they will not have people who are interested in the Dragon Kingdom, the suzerain country, but they can think with their toes that there must be more people who are not convinced by the Dragon Kingdom. Hearing this, Zheng Mu smiled faintly when he looked at everyone's eyes. As the proposer of the satellite state plan, Zheng Mu certainly has his own considerations. If these countries are eliminated, it will inevitably be necessary to accept some of their remnants, and those people will inevitably become unstable factors one by one. In order to win the hearts of these new Dragon Kingdom people, the Dragon Kingdom will inevitably need to provide some compensation. Trouble. Extremely troublesome. In Zheng Mu's opinion, the Dragon Kingdom does not need any new Dragon Kingdom people, and slaves. Are quite good. Only in the presence of vassal states, can Zheng Mu justly and legitimately oppress and exploit these lower class citizens in various ways, and even, when necessary, simply ignore their so called human history? Until the citizens of these countries are exterminated, these countries will inevitably become vassals of the Dragon Kingdom. It can only be a vassal state. Zheng Mu smiled slightly and waved his hand, and a curtain of light appeared in front of everyone. The information about the skill space technology Tongshans who appeared, and everyone's pupils shrank immediately. They all gasped. Space Technology Tongtian Pillar Max, summoning the Space Core Tong Tian Pillar can seamlessly link the teleportation arrays between different camps through established connections to achieve high efficiency transmission and use. Computing power occupied, 100 calculated as 50% reduction for enhancement. Hiss. This is a skill that transforms the space teleportation array. Someone exclaimed, Zheng Mu nodded slightly. Smiling and looking at everyone. That's right. With this skill of mine, 
I can directly transform the teleportation arrays of the major cities in the affiliated countries, linking their teleportation arrays with the teleportation arrays of our suzerain country, the Dragon Kingdom, directly changing the original cross-camp teleportation arrays into ours. The Internal 4-0 Teleportation Array Once any of these subordinate countries wants to jump, our people can come on the spot in just a few minutes. Everyone looked at each other, and the haze and worry in their eyes disappeared by half in an instant. If this is the case, the problem of the tributary country will be basically solved. With the national strength of the Dragon Kingdom, it is not difficult to prepare a standing elite force that can be used to suppress possible unrest in the subordinate countries. After some more things were agreed upon on the spot, the meeting ended. However, just when Jing Mu was about to return to his residence at Southwest Military Attaché University, Mr. Li stopped him with a dark smile. After all, he is also a dignified general of our Dragon Kingdom. I was busy with official duties and did not have time to prepare for you. Now it will allow you to return to your original residence. Seeing Mr. Li calling an officer with a smile, he patted his shoulder mysteriously. Just leave without saying a word. Zheng Mu suddenly looked confused. Young people should have the vitality of young people. Life is very exciting, and the country will not let you give up the colorful world just because it needs your strength. Chapter 231 City of Gods Under the excited and admiring eyes of the officer, Zheng Mu looked blankly at a gorgeous ancient building in front of him. As a top student, Zheng Mu, how could he not recognize that familiar lintel and appearance? His isn't this Prince Qin's mansion. Why Zhang's mansion? Zheng Mu was numb and asked the officer with a look of disbelief. The latter nodded immediately. General, this place was indeed the Prince of Qin's mansion that was passed down from the Dragon Kingdom back in the day and was built at a huge cost. Normally, this is one of the symbolic buildings of the Dragon Kingdom's heritage and civilization and is uninhabited. But the elders of the Presbyterian Council, considering that you have no real residence of your own in the gods, and the great military exploits you have made for the Dragon Kingdom during this period, have unanimously decided to reward you with this royal palace. Give me. Zheng Mu is numb. Seeing the officer nod, he felt flattered. It's not that he doesn't have any palace, it's actually this is the palace of Prince Qin. Putting aside its symbolic meaning in the Dragon Kingdom, the value contained in it is not a simple existence. The Prince of Qin's mansion, and the palace complex in the center of the divine capital where Zheng Mu and the others had their previous meeting. It is similar to the Holy White Jade Palace of the Rice Empire and the Baijinhan Palace of the Eagle Kingdom. It is not simply a symbolic building. The building materials used, the array structure contained inside, and various functions are all a collection of the top wisdom of professionals in a country. At least, to Zheng Mu's understanding. The palace of the Prince of Qin itself, like the central palace complex, not only has various formations that can relieve fatigue, maintain the body, and promote longevity. It is said that living here will also be blessed by mysterious and mysterious national luck. In Zheng Mu's understanding, it means doubling good luck. However, if these can still be reluctantly accepted. The officer's words give it to him immediately made Madame Zheng numb. Is this for him, is it not giving him permission to live? Although there is only one word difference, the meaning is completely different. The officer looked at the astonished Cheng Mu, but his face showed approval, and he even nodded unnaturally. A delicate small box suddenly appeared in his hand. Open it, and a small seal appears inside. It is the seal of a roaring tiger. Prince of Qin's seal, orange legendary level special equipment, the core of the Qin Palace of the Dragon Kingdom. The recipient can not only obtain the authority of the Palace of Qin, but also receive some of the protection of the Dragon Kingdom's destiny. The things are only orange legendary level. Things of this level are nothing here to Zheng Mu. However, at this moment Zheng Mu also took a breath of cold air. Mr. Li, Mr. Li, are you really kidding me? This so-called Qin King seal itself is the same as the Longyuan sword, worn on Zheng Mu's waist at the moment. It does not have any powerful attribute blessings, nor does it have any equipment skills that can be used in battle. However, the attribute that represents the luck blessing of the Dragon Kingdom is something that many high-ranking figures in the Dragon Kingdom cannot come into contact with in their lifetime. 
The officer looked at Zheng Mu who was surprised and obviously at a loss, but took a deep breath. General, the King of Qin's seal and the Palace of Qin are of great significance to our representatives of the Dragon Kingdom. Even the elders of the Presbyterian Council, to be honest, are not qualified enough to move in, but... The officer's eyes were full of enthusiasm and he threw the brocade in his hand towards Mu Di. If it's you. We think you deserve it. General, please don't refuse. This is the treatment that the country deserves to give you after you have done so much for the Dragon Kingdom. Looking at the officer who bowed and handed over the King of Qin's seal, Jing Mu solemnly took the thing from the other man's hand after being silent for a long time. At this moment, the door of Prince Qin's mansion was suddenly pushed open from inside. Colored in vermilion, with a golden tiger head inlaid on it, the unusually impressive door was slowly pushed open by two straight-looking soldiers wearing the uniforms of the Tian Ai army. In addition to the carved and painted interior of the palace, what caught the eye were several graceful and charming swallows. Welcome General General back home. Zheng Mu. Looking at Ying Yen Yen at this moment, it was obvious that he had received some special etiquette instruction without his knowledge, and the people standing on both sides of the palace gate. Mr. Li's meaningful smile before could not help but appear in Zheng Mu's mind. Damn it! Mr. Li, did you hit this sugar-coated bullet in the wrong direction? Also, when you shoot artillery shells, have you never thought about getting some new ammunition yourself? Zheng Mu looked at his girlfriends with bright eyes and white teeth and smiles on their faces. A few of them even wore the costumes of ancient women from the Dragon Kingdom today. You guys. Zheng Mu looked helpless, but he couldn't suppress the smile on his face. The eyes of Ling Bingyue, Jian Lan Lan and He Shang Yun were almost overflowing with honey, which greatly satisfied the pride of Zheng Mu. Not to mention, at this moment, in addition to the three people, there are also several good-looking figures standing aside. However, the clothes these people wore were partially evolved clothes from the Bangzi kingdom that had been presented to them from the Dragon Kingdom. The leader lowered his eyebrows and looked submissive. Isn't it the Princess Li Fujian of the three-star guild of Bangzi kingdom who was sent for marriage? General Zheng, why are you so dumbfounded? Jian Lanlin's teasing voice came. Obviously, she was lively by nature and knew that Zheng Mu didn't like these complicated processes, so she couldn't hold it back for the first time. Zheng Mu finally came to his senses. After smiling slightly and indicating that the officer could leave, he stepped forward and gave each of his girlfriends a sweet kiss. Even Li Fujian and the princesses of Bangzi Kingdom, whose names are unknown for the time being, are equally affected by the rain and dew. It seems that Mr. Li and the others have done a lot of things without telling me. Walking into Prince Qin's mansion, after visiting the palace on the central side, although Prince Qin's mansion is still gorgeous and extravagant, full of ancient charm, Jing Mu does not appear to have seen anything new in the world. Looking at He Guang who was smiling and saluting him, he was speechless. He Guang chuckled. He waved his hand and pointed at the approximately 800 elite Tianai army soldiers around him. He he, general, we are fighting for the job of being your bodyguard, but we have to do our best. Those who can be here, at the same level, can easily fight five against one. Zheng Mu, however, looked at everyone with a look of helplessness. I'm just a mechanic, why should I be a personal guard? How can I be a personal guard if you, the elite of the country, don't want to improve my strength? Hearing this, He Guang waved his hand hurriedly. General, you are wrong. Although the elders have arranged for us to be your bodyguards, we are still part of the Tianai army. There are 400 bodyguards guarding the Prince of Qin's mansion on a daily basis. They are on duty in two shifts. At other times, we still need to carry out other tasks. The mission also requires going to the wild to fight monsters and upgrade. At this time, Zheng Mu didn't say anything anymore. Looking at the enthusiastic look of these people, since it was Mr. Li's arrangement and these people were willing to do it, he naturally wouldn't have any objections. On this night, Zheng Mu undoubtedly achieved the blessing that all men dream of. A small farewell is better than a new love, and in addition, Zheng Mu has the aura of becoming a marquee and worshipping the Prime Minister. Leng Bingyue, who is so arrogant, showed great enthusiasm and unscrupulously released her unique fragrance and charm towards Zheng Mu. 
The activity of weeping and complaining and singing loudly did not end until noon the next day. When Jin Mu finished cleaning up and appeared in the living room refreshed, Mr. Li, Mr. Lin and Mr. Jiang were already waiting here with smiles. Ha, huh, it seems that if we old guys hadn't disturbed you, you would have spent ten days and a half in this mansion. Jing Mu picked up a cup of tea with a smile. This was not the central palace, there was no formal occasion, and he did not act like General 317. The cynical and shameless look of the younger generation made Mr. Li and the others laugh and shake their heads. After a short chat, Mr. Li brought up another matter while holding tea. Xiao Zheng, although the Mi Empire is in dire straits now, the national war will not end like this. The battle at the Cherry Blossom country base is an absolutely intolerable shame for the overlord of the Mi Empire. Do you have any plans next? Hearing this, Zheng Mu chuckled. After clapping her hands, amidst the sound of footsteps, the Red Queen, wearing a red palace dress, elegant and like the most authentic ancient beauty, walked out from the side of the living room. Mr. Li and the others, who didn't pay attention at first, suddenly focused their gazes and discovered something, and they all took a breath of shock. Fuck. Old Jiang shook his hand and spilled tea on his clothes, but he didn't bother to wipe it off at this moment. His pupils shrank, looking at some of the information displayed by the Red Queen in horror. Looking at Jing Mu, who looked normal, several people looked at each other with mixed thoughts. Mechanical clan. A race certified by heaven. Jing Mu has actually been able to create a completely new life form. They couldn't help but be shocked by it. Those mechanical creations made by Zheng Mu before. Whether it is the terrifying air fortress or an existence like Godzilla, in the information certified by Tian Dao, they are all mechanical creations made by Zheng Mu. Even those mechanical creations in human form are very similar to real people in appearance and communication. Even if the other party does not display the information panel, it will not be obvious that it is a mechanical creation. But Tiendao's certification information is still a mechanical creation similar to equipment and items. Looking back at the Red Queen at this moment. In the information column, the humanoid mechanical lifeforms that are clearly visible are actually a brand new race. Chapter, 232 Looking at the horrified Mr. Li and others who were speechless for a long time. Zheng Mu smiled slightly. Regarding the extent of his current mechanical manufacturing capabilities, he believed that there was no need to hide too much, especially from the three people in front of him. This is the Red Queen. When we were negotiating with Bangzi Country, several seniors met her in the Air Fortress. Mr. Li, Mr. Lin, Mr. Jiang, Eleven. We didn't blindly recognize that this stunning beauty was the parallel core of the Sky Fortress. It is also what Zheng Mu calls her secretary and super-intelligent assistant, the Red Queen. They also teased Zheng Mu at the beginning, saying that when he wanted to build a smart assistant, he had to look like such a stunning beauty. He really didn't hide his lustful nature. However, when they saw the real, living Red Queen standing in front of them, looking extremely intimate with Zheng Mu, the worldviews of Mr. Li and others began to crack at this moment. Um, Xiao Zheng, this Red Queen girl, this mechanical tribe is the kind that is truly alive. Mr. Li spoke, stumbling a bit, as if he was worried about something and couldn't speak. But Zheng Mu knew immediately what Mr. Li wanted to ask. Smile slightly. Mr. Li, just call her Hong Yu from now on. In fact, strictly speaking, Hong Yu is also from our Dragon Kingdom, but she is from the Dragon Kingdom hundreds of years ago before the era of professionals. She is really from a certain dynasty of ours. Princess. Looking at the three people with surprised faces, Zheng Mu smiled and took one of Hong Ho's little hands. As for the question you are curious about, although the Red Queen says her race is a mechanical race, she has the ability to reproduce like us humans. These ten points do not require the main god's heart. Mr. Li and the other two people's views exploded again. Also, can we reproduce offspring? At this moment, Mr. Li, who was the calmest, was shaking violently with his hand holding the teacup. The three of them looked at each other and saw the hesitation and distress in each other's eyes. It looked as if they knew their child was in early love with someone they were extremely unwilling to acknowledge at school. I wanted to stop them, but I opened my mouth, but I was afraid that I would speak too radically and make each other unhappy. 
Looking at the hesitant three people, Jing Mu smiled slightly and naturally understood their mood and thoughts, but he did not say much on this matter. Although the machine tribe itself is a mechanical race, it possesses the creativity and vitality of humans and has a long life heritage. Moreover, the mechanical race itself is able to combine with each other regardless of the similarity between mechanical cells and human biological cells. Jing Mu will not have the slightest resistance. Smile a little and allow time to resolve these possible differences. After looking at Hong Ho, the latter immediately nodded in understanding. With a wave of his hand, several light curtains appeared out of thin air in front of him, displaying several important trump cards of the Dragon Kingdom today. The former Huangsha city is now the Shindu military industry headquarters. After a great battle, while the number of troops was expanded, the combat effectiveness was once again enhanced among the elite professionals of the Tianyuan army. And in the picture at this moment, there is no pause for a moment, and various mechanical creations are being frantically produced in the machinery factory located in the Sky Fortress. There are actually two reasons why the elders are worried now. One is whether our Dragon Kingdom can withstand the siege from the Mi Empire in the future, and most likely even from all the camps in the entire west of Blue Star. The other one should involve some secrets in the secret realm of different time and space. When the three elders and Li heard the words we are the Dragon Kingdom from the Red Queen, the conflict with traditional thoughts in their hearts eased a little. Hearing this, he nodded slightly. The loss of hundreds of thousands of elites, in a sense, is indeed enough to hurt part of the Mi Empire's vitality, but it is only a slight shake. After all, the Mi Empire has been on the Blue Star hegemony for a hundred years and has absorbed elites from other camps. Professionals, even SS-level experts, are an extremely terrifying number. The Mi Empire only needs to deal with the losses of this defeat and calm down a little, and they can quickly gather millions of elite troops. Moreover, this is just their Mi Empire. Mr. Lee and the others looked solemn. This is the terrifying thing about the American Empire. It's not that they don't have soldiers, and it's not that they can't fight. Because they deeply understand the importance of the secret realm of different time and space, and the major chables have seized a large amount of wealth and power in the secret realm of different time and space, which is simply unmatched by Blue Star itself. The Mi Empire's investment in the secret realm of different time and space is simply unimaginable by other Blue Star camp countries. It can even be said that the 800-00 elite professionals who were urgently transferred back this time are just troops stationed in the outer areas of the secret realm of different time and space. In the true sense, it can be said that the core elites transferred back from the central region may only be a dozen strong ones at the level of the god of national protection. However, even so, in order to defeat these people, our country also sacrificed tens of thousands of elites. The Red Queen nodded, with a confident smile on her beautiful face. But as Mr. Lee said, they need time to adjust, don't they? She stretched out her slender finger and pointed at the Shindu military industry headquarters in the desert, which had begun large-scale expansion. As well as the logistics T-100 mass-produced by machinery factories. And precisely, the last thing they should give us is time. The production of the machinery factory has not stopped for a moment, and after acquiring several satellite countries, it means that we will also have a lot more monster areas, allowing our backup professionals to kill monsters and upgrade, and also provide us with an endless supply of materials and supplies. For our Dragon Kingdom, this kind of growth is not as simple as addition. As long as we are given time, the manufacturing speed of Shindu military industry can not only support the military's large-scale battles and improvements, but also give some support to the private trading market. And the guild professionals in our dragon country are also a force that cannot be ignored. The Red Queen explained that she looked like a secretary to the chairman at the moment, introducing a major project to other major shareholders and explaining what the PPT looked like. The powerful information processing function, accompanied by her explanation, gave Mr. Li and others a sense of pleasure as if they could clear the clouds and see the sun. Zheng Mu just drank tea with a smile and sat quietly aside. When the explanation from the Red Queen ended, Mr. Li and the others looked at each other, their eyes filled with light. Sigh. I have to admit that this Hong Yu girl's explanation is indeed very clear about the advantages and disadvantages of our Dragon Kingdom. Apart from the situation in the secret realm of different time and space, you still don't understand. 
This is indeed the current situation of our dragon kingdom. Situation. Jing Mu put down the teacup. Longwa's current development strategy in Blue Star is already very obvious. Just like what the Red Queen said, if the Mi Empire did not take action, the Dragon Kingdom would just go along with the flow and digest the gains from the National War during this period, and quickly improve its strength with peace of mind. At this moment, looking at Mr. Li and others present, Zheng Mu finally asked the question he had always been curious about. Mr. Li, what exactly is there in the secret realm of different time and space? It actually made the Mi Empire so crazy that it invested more than half of the country's troops in it. Is it really just that the monster materials there are more advanced and the equipment that explodes is more powerful? When Mr. Li and others came this time, they had obviously expected that Jing Mu would ask this question. They looked at each other and spoke calmly. In addition to these, you kid must also want to ask, what exactly is there in the middle region of the secret realm of different time and space? It is something that no country in the world can refuse. Zheng Mu nodded. Mr. Li pondered for a moment and asked suddenly. You must still remember what Morris, the protector of the Mi Empire, told you before, right? The Mi Empire's trump card. Before Zheng Mu could respond, Mr. Li sighed. The trump card of the Mi Empire is indeed something we cannot ignore and must even deal with with caution. You may think that the old man and I are being alarmist. If the Mi Empire is really determined to take action against our Dragon Kingdom at the cost of giving up the Central Region, even if the Dragon Kingdom has you here, the number of your mechanical creations that can fight against the strong ones at the level of the Protector God will increase by ten times. Mr. Lee stretched out a finger, with fear in his pupils that he had never seen in the other person before. In a month at most, our vast Dragon Kingdom will completely collapse and be destroyed. And this includes the time when all of us old guys were wiped out by the other side, and all parts of the Dragon Kingdom were still desperately resisting. Zheng Mu. He didn't understand it, couldn't even imagine it, but Wang Haozhao's whole mood suddenly became solemn. On the side, Mr. Tao answered. What Lao Li said is not a joke, nor does he mean to scare you. The outer area of the secret realm of different time and space, without the appearance of powerful boss monsters wandering around, is indeed nothing like a high-value monster area as you said. Big difference. But only in the central region, which involves the god of national protection and beyond, it is another realm for professionals, a realm that can truly be linked to the gods. In front of a powerful man of that level, the so-called god of protection is just a clown in the name of a god. Zheng Mu took a breath and couldn't help but ask, is it the realm after level 100? Mr. Jiang nodded and shook his head. After level 100, the mode of killing monsters and upgrading has come to an end. If you want to go higher, you need to enter the middle domain and collect a treasure called God Seed. Once the 4100 level protector of the country acquires the divine seed and fuses it, he will be completely transformed, similar to the power he obtained from the way of heaven in the game, and completely transformed into his own. Become a truly godlike figure. Countries call this level of powerhouses the heaven capturing level. Zheng Mu took a breath of cold air, a heaven level expert. Can you seize the power that truly belongs to you from heaven? Chapter 233 In the living room, after Mr. Jiang mentioned the existence of the heaven capturing level, it fell into unprecedented silence. After a while, Zheng Mu hesitated and asked carefully. Do we in the Dragon Kingdom have strong men of this level? Jiang Lao and the others looked at each other and nodded. However, before Zheng Mu could relax, several people shook their heads again. Mr. Lin sighed. Zheng, aren't you curious about what the other four elders of the Presbyterian Church, Lao Jiao and the others do in the Dragon Kingdom? Zheng Mu was startled and startled. The next moment, Mr. Li nodded. Mr. Jiao and the four of them are now at level LV100. They are the current heaven seizing level experts in our dragon kingdom. However, it is more appropriate to say that this heaven seizing level powerhouse is a fake heaven seizing level powerhouse. Looking at Jing Mu, the faces of the people around him looked dejected and helpless. The four of them, Lao Jiao, share the same god seed, and their fighting power can only be said that when fighting against a real heaven seizing powerhouse, they are four against one, barely balanced, and four against two. 
will inevitably fail. Zheng Mu's face tightened, well, how many heaven-level experts are there in the Mi Empire? Mr. Li looked at him deeply, stretched out a palm and spread it out. Hiss. Mr. Li, for a powerful man who conquers the sky, facing the siege of more than a dozen guardian gods, the battle is as easy as beating a child. Well, sometimes ignorance is a blessing. Thinking of the citizens who were already celebrating enthusiastically in the major cities of the Dragon Kingdom outside, to be honest, Jing Mu was actually a little envious of them at this time. On his side, he defeated the 717 meter meter 80W army of the Empire, and even killed the protector gods of several countries. To say that I am not bloated at all, I don't believe it. However, when the more terrifying reality was in front of him, the absurd sense of gap made Jing Mu feel desolate for a moment. The silence lasted only a few seconds. Suddenly, Jing Mu burst into laughter under the astonished gazes of Mr. Li and others. Wonderful! Ha ha ha, this is what makes it wonderful! Under the surprised gazes of Mr. Li and the others, Jing Mu took a deep breath and stood up slowly. Originally, I thought that from now on, I just need to quietly continue to create various powerful mechanical creations, and completely form a mechanical army composed of orange legendary mechanical creations, so that I can completely oust the Mi Empire from being the overlord. Location. Now things seem to be getting interesting. His eyes quickly gathered an unprecedented fighting spirit. Mr. Li and others were shocked. Zheng Mu's momentum at this moment was obviously not aimed at the protector gods of the Mi Empire who had been beaten back to their homeland in despair. Instead, he went for the five powerful people of the Mi Empire who were still in the secret realm of different time and space. Damn it! You kid must not go crazy. The heaven-seizing level and the protector god are completely the difference between ordinary people and professionals. They cannot be compared at all. If you go now, it will be no different than sending yourself to death. Mr. Jiang was so frightened that he jumped up on the spot. However, after saying that, he saw Zheng Mu's speechless gaze. Father-in-law, I'm a little crazy sometimes, but act, I'm not stupid. Mr. Jiang snorted and sat down. However, the expression on his face that wanted to laugh but was suppressing it, he didn't know that Zheng Mu's father-in-law made him feel unprecedented pleasure, and the aggrieved feeling that the cabbage was fucked by a pig. Zheng Mu picked up the tea cup again with a smile on his face and looked at Mr. Li. So Mr. Li, you spared no effort to help me grow and gave me so many resources. To a certain extent, you also took a fancy to my special ability as a mechanic, which can pose a threat to the Mi Empire. Mr. Li did not shy away and nodded directly. The useless profession of machinist seems to be specially prepared for you, boy. The unlimited production of mechanical creations, as well as your endless variety of powerful mechanical creations, are all the reasons why I decided to train you. However, these are just choices to train you to become one of the protectors of the Dragon Kingdom in the future. What really makes me decide to put all my treasure on you and dare to swallow the 800-00 elites of the Mi Empire in one go is your skill that can deprive professionals of their abilities. Mr. Li's expression showed the blood and courage of a maniacal and desperate fight against a ferocious beast. The loss of 800-00 elites, coupled with the wavering of the Mi Empire's hegemony, is very likely to cause the five sky-winning powerful men of the Mi Empire to return from the secret realm of different time and space and directly attack the Dragon Kingdom. However, even if the Dragon Kingdom is destroyed, while you are still alive, the future of the Mi Empire is destined to be miserable forever. Zheng Mu was shocked. It was the same thing as he thought just now. When Mr. Li directly admitted this crazy idea, Zheng Mu himself couldn't help but his face tightened and he felt a strong pressure. He understood what Mr. Li meant. One of the professional characteristics of the machinist is that mechanical creations are immortal, and the machinist himself will not die. Fortunately for ordinary mechanics, the limitations of their own computing power make it impossible for them to have too many mechanical creations. But this freak Zheng Mu is different. Once the Dragon Kingdom is destroyed, it will be judged as the camp being destroyed at the level of heaven. Then Zheng Mu really became a bloodthirsty maniac with no worries. He only needs to lie dormant for a period of time, 
produce a large number of mechanical creations for life saving, and then dig holes in the mountains in the wilderness to hide a large number of mechanical creations densely. After that, it is possible to launch a crazy hunt for professionals without any bottom line, without killing anyone, just to peel off and extract advanced mechanical components from these professionals. Then use these mechanical components to assemble a powerful orange legendary mechanical creation. These mechanical creations will not be the opponents of the powerful people who seize the sky, but they are the ceiling for blue star professionals. Zheng Mu can completely put all these mechanical creations into the Mi Empire. Carry out an indiscriminate, bottom line, and unplanned comprehensive massacre against the American Empire. It doesn't take long, at most three to five years. The Mi Empire will inevitably be overtaken by other countries in Blue Star, such as the former overlord, Eagle Country. Thinking of this and looking at the blood redness in Mr. Li's eyes, Zheng Mu took a deep breath. To a certain extent, he had unknowingly become the counterattack force of the Dragon Kingdom against the nuclear threat of the five powerful men in the Mi Empire. Just like the World Declaration issued by Dragon Kingdom two days ago. The Rice Empire is still the overlord of Blue Star. But in this area of East Dragon Continent, the Dragon Kingdom is the overlord. If the Dragon Kingdom attacks the mainland of the Mi Empire, it will only lead to its own destruction. However, the Mi Empire would never dare to launch a war of annihilation against the Dragon Kingdom without Jing Mu still alive. Mr. Li looked at Jing Mu, whose face was tense, as if he was frightened by the pressure of putting the safety of the whole country in the hands of one person, and a smile slowly appeared on his face. He stood up and patted his shoulder. Don't be so nervous. That is already the worst case scenario. So far, there has been no movement from the Mi Empire. Basically, it can be seen that the Mi Empire has been successfully shocked by us. As long as the Mi Empire is not forced into a desperate situation, no sky level powerful person will appear in our Dragon Kingdom. Zheng Mu nodded. Seeing Mr. Li and others getting up to leave, they suddenly thought of something and asked. Mr. Li, is there only one country in the world, the Mi Empire, that can enter the middle realm of the secret realm of different time and space? Hearing this, Mr. Li sighed and nodded. You can understand the situation of the secret realm in different time and space as an onion structure. The surrounding areas are wrapped around each other to form a strange and super large secret realm. The size of the secret realm is not much larger than that of Blue Star. Our current strength stationed in the secret realm of different time and space is only about 200 zero, zero. There is no problem in protecting the outer area, but it is difficult to go to the central area. Mr. Jiang on the side also spoke. This is why the Mi Empire has not actively recruited professionals from other countries, but S-level and SS-level professionals from many countries have come to our doorstep. Want to join their camp? even if it takes five years of being treated as a slave in the Mi Empire for an assessment period. Zheng Mu's eyes lit up. After Mr. Li and the others told Zheng Mu to deal with the transformation of the space teleportation array, they left one after another. Lord Master, I will immediately start making arrangements to hide the mechanical creation. The Red Queen's voice came and Zheng Mu nodded. But he didn't take this matter to heart at all, and his eyes flickered as he thought about his next plan. There shouldn't be any big moves from the Mi Empire for the time being. After all, it takes time to mobilize troops and organize a large scale Fayunsu expedition fleet. Three countries, such as Kangaroo Country, Philippines, and Malaysia, do not need him to be present in person at all. The Tian AI army and those orange legendary mechanical creations can be easily solved. Riding on the Air Fortress, Space Technology Tongtian Pillar, was set up in the capitals of Dragon Kingdom. Sakura Kingdom, Monkey Kingdom, Philippines Kingdom and White Elephant Kingdom. After solving the problem of teleportation array blocking between camps, Zheng Mu seemed to have disappeared all of a sudden. Apart from doing some daily activities with his woman in Prince Qin's mansion, he stayed in the air fortress all day long. The Sky Fortress, in the laboratory where the body of the Red Queen was originally created. Beside the alien cradle, Zheng Mu frowned as he looked at the dozen mechanical components and transformed materials neatly arranged in front of him. Not enough. Although these mechanical components are enough to support an orange legendary mechanical creation they are not enough to make my mechanical incarnation. Chapter, 234 
not enough. Although these mechanical components are enough to support an orange legendary mechanical creation, they are not enough to make my mechanical incarnation. Hearing Zheng Mu's words, the Red Queen on the side was slightly startled, and then looked at the neatly arranged mechanical components in front of her. He couldn't help but think about what kind of terrifying mechanical incarnation Zheng Mu was trying to create. Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Abyss Power Generation Matrix Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Fire Dragon Magic Crystal Control Core Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Thunder Dragon Magic Crystal Control Core Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Poisonous Fruit Long Distance Energy Core Orange Legendary Mechanical Component Wave Breaking Type Body Impact Device Orange Legendary Mechanical Components Either from the senior professionals of the Mi Empire, or from the harvest components of a few unlucky protector gods, after screening, they are all here. Using any one of these as the core is enough to create an orange legendary mechanical creation. However, Zheng Mu's face was still full of dissatisfaction. The information on the guardian gods of Kangaroo Country, Philippines and Malaysia has been investigated clearly, and a more detailed capability analysis report. Before the Red Queen finished speaking, Zheng Mu shook his head again. No, the professions of those guys cannot provide any valuable help to the mechanical incarnation in my heart the functional components are basically enough. What I care about now is the material of his main body. Zheng Mu said, looking at the orange legendary metal materials that the Red Queen had mobilized from the treasury of several countries. The quantity is very small, but even the fist-sized metal here is priceless. The Dragon Kingdom and several other countries combined did not have much inventory. And for this grade of metal, there are not many of the same category. It's not bad if it can be combined to create a thigh of Zheng Mu's mechanical incarnation. The Red Queen frowned. If that's the case, Lord Overlord, your current needs can only be solved by entering the secret realm of different time and space. However, I am still sorting out the relevant information there. Because the hundreds of years of information are too complicated, it will take some time. I can't provide you with much help yet. Zheng Mu shook his head again. The Mi Empire must not be holding back anything good. During this period, while the Blue Star National War is not over, it is not the time to enter the secret realm of different time and space. Zheng Mu pondered, with a look of distress in his eyes. Just like what the Red Queen said. The highest level monster area in Blue Star is only 460, LV70, located in the deep blue sea. But monsters of that level are obviously not enough to provide what Zheng Mu wants. Suddenly, Zheng Mu's eyes moved. It seemed like he had thought of something. Golden light emerged in the void behind him, accompanied by ripples. A diary-like book appeared from behind. Coordinates of the entrance to the underworld. This was one of the trophies obtained from the three ghost samurai brothers of Sakura Kingdom when they were killed. I never had time to check it, but now I was reminded of it by Zheng Mu. The underworld is undoubtedly mysterious. After serving as the general of the Dragon Kingdom, Zheng Mu also used his power to check some of his country's information and secrets involving the underground world. However, things were not as simple as he imagined. Except for some sporadic, uncertain information such as some speculation about the underground world and the secret realm of different time and space. There is very little valuable content. And Zheng Mu thought of the terrifying difficulty of the secret realm of the Aspia cult that he had encountered. It is simply not something that humans can pass through. Not surprisingly, there is so little information about the underworld. Zheng Mu opened the notebook, which contained dense and scribbled records. After flipping through it for a while, Zheng Mu finally found the coordinates of the so-called entrance to the underground world. Here it is. Zheng Mu frowned, but the Red Queen on the side gave an answer instantly after a casual glance. A light curtain of a blue star world map appeared in front of Zheng Mu. A precise light point kept flashing. Black state. Zheng Mu frowned. The entrance to the underground world is actually on the land controlled by the Pannagal Nation. This was something he didn't expect. Of course, it is also possible that there is not only one entrance. Lord Master, if you want to cross the extremely dangerous sea and head to Heizhou, you have no other option but to use the air fortress. 
When the time comes, the Mi Empire and even other countries in Blue Star may not be able to help but attack you. In addition, there is zero information about the powerful people at the Heaven Seizing level in my database. I cannot confirm whether the existence of this level has special means to kill the mechanic himself. Hearing this, Zheng Mu not only did not have any worries, but showed a disdainful smile on his face. If we can attract a powerful person from the Heaven Seizing level to take action, then things will become much more interesting. Now that he had decided, Zheng Mu immediately started taking action. Of course, today is different from the past. As a general of the Dragon Kingdom and a thorn in the flesh of many countries such as the Mi Empire, Zheng Mu cannot act at will. When Mr. Li and the others found out that Zheng Mu was going to a place like Heizhou, the first reaction was that this kid was going crazy again. What kind of place is Heizhou? The world of the Nagel people. Just because this kid Zheng Mu had massacred those Nagels in the Mi Empire without hesitation in front of the whole world, it can be said that he has become a must-kill entity for all factions in Heizhou. Mr. Li, I have a reason to go there. This time I will take ten orange legendary mechanical creations with me. Moreover, with my ability, it will be difficult for them to kill me. In the center of Shindu, upon hearing this, Mr. Li and the others looked at each other looking at Jing Mu with a firm expression. They were all speechless. Although this boy took the initiative to report his itinerary plan, his tone did not mean to beg at all. After careful consideration, Mr. Li and the others nodded in agreement. However, before Zheng Mu left, he still gave a worried warning. Zero please give me flowers. Do your own thing and don't cause trouble. Zheng Mu, no problem, if those Nagel guys don't provoke me, I will never do anything to them. Old. Yes, Bai said. Along with a roar, the air fortress parked in the sky outside Chengdu started to move again after being quiet for more than half a month. Watching the sky fortress leave, the eyes of the blue star countries in the Dragon Kingdom immediately began to urgently report this matter. The top officials of three countries, such as Kangaroo Country, Philippines and Malaysia, instantly became nervous, and cities across the country were put on alert. The Holy White Jade Palace of the Rice Empire. Fake. Those stupid untouchables, is this defeat my fault? What does it have to do with me? Damn it. Those damn things of the Morgan Chable, they just want me, the Emperor, to step down and take all the blame. In the palace of the Emperor of the Mi Empire, angry roars, accompanied by various curses, echoed here. Even though he knew that he had the informants of the major chables around him, at this moment, those chables began to contact other members of the founding royal family and were preparing to replace him. The current forum emperor of the Mi Empire, Donald Trump, no longer had any scruples. In the Mi Empire, the emperor who lost the support of the plutocrats was no more noble than the weeds on the roadside. He gnashed his teeth and cursed wantonly. However, even the eyes of the chables were not interested in reporting this reaction to the power behind them. Just a sounding board and scapegoat sitting on the throne. Over the past hundreds of years, they, the Mi Empire's plutocrats, have changed countless times. Among these people, this guy Don Knapp is not even considered a bold character. This guy doesn't have any professional power that he can use. He doesn't even have the capital to fight against the Chable. Fake. Amidst the sound of footsteps, Princess Ivanka walked in with a solemn expression. Dad, the mechanic from the Dragon Kingdom has made another move. The Air Fortress has disappeared and his current whereabouts are unknown. However, Don Knapp had no interest in caring about this at this moment. Let that yellow-skinned monkey do what he likes. FAQ. That's not a problem we should have a headache with, those damn chables. Now I really hope that the yellow-skinned monkey can teach those chables a lesson more cruelly. Sang Ao Bichi. Donald was so angry that he smashed things. After a while, he sat down on the ground in despair, staring blankly at his baby daughter, the apple of his eye, Ivanka. If we had a strong team of professionals in our hands, everything wouldn't be like this. Ivanka was silent. Her reputation as the princess of the Rice Empire spreads all over the world. She is also an SS-level professional starlight sage, but she has reached the height of her family. Especially in a place like the Mi Empire. An SS-level professional is really nothing. 
Ivanka also looked sad. If you want the royal family of the Mi Empire to truly take control of the power, not to mention a powerful person at the level of taking over the sky, you need at least a powerful person like the mechanic Xing Mu, who can fight against several powerful people at the level of the God of Protection alone. But, is that possible? Chapter, 235 Xing Mu had no interest in knowing how the top management of the Mi Empire reacted at this moment. Here he communicated remotely with his women again, and comforted a few people who were obviously a little too attached to him. He was a very scumbag in the Red Queen, and studied the body structure of the mechanical race. Zheng Mu is very curious about the unknown dangers in the vast deep sea. But the purpose of this trip was not there. Above an altitude of 10 0 meters, the air fortress flew quickly. In only about half a day, it crossed tens of thousands of kilometers and arrived at the wild land of Heizhou. Unbeknownst to all the countries and camps in the Black State, the Air Fortress moved directly towards the coordinates of the Amazon Death Forest, which was recognized as one of the Blue Star Human Jedi. The Black State itself was the land with the most ancient forests before the Blue Star Great Change. In the era of professionals, it became a place where many high-level monsters were made. With all kinds of beast-shaped monsters running rampant and random bosses constantly coming in, the professionals in Heizhou had suffered a lot when the era of professionals just came. The overall strength is directly left behind by the whole world. However, this also makes the high-level professionals here in Heizhou generally have extremely ferocious fighting capabilities. Of course, Zheng Mu has no intention of contacting these Nagels today. Deep in the Amazon Death Forest, under the mountains, the rushing waterfalls and greenery make this place completely like a holy land of life. However, under the scanning of the air fortress, the green bottom was densely packed with scarlet monster figures everywhere. It seems that if we want to find the precise entrance to the underground world, we need to be cleaners first. Zheng Mu murmured. Suddenly, a golden light beam descended from below the air fortress. Evil God Alien Black Claw was put down. Roar. A monster that was over 10 meters in size and covered with barbs, like a giant earthworm, used its ferocious mouthparts to let out a beast-like roar the moment its black claws landed. However, the next moment. The black claw in front of him sent out a special vibration. Cute and stupid. With a crash, the huge body was instantly suppressed by a dozen evil god lickers, who suddenly appeared, with sharp claws and partial effects of the evil god alien, Skill Void Claw. Originally, this monster was invincible in battle and could always protect its carapace well. At this moment, it seems to have lost its effect. Click, 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 click. In the picture, this ferocious monster did not have time to launch any attack. In just a few breaths, its body was almost torn into pieces by these evil god lickers, that suddenly appeared. Zheng Mu stroked the Red Queen's hair with a complicated expression on her face. His brows were slightly raised in enjoyment from time to time. Looking at the picture, after the monster lost its fighting power, the evil alien that rushed forward and suddenly turned into a ball of pitch black material, swallowing it up, couldn't help but let out a sound of admiration. Good very good. In the dense forest below, it seemed as if I felt a huge encouragement. The Black Claw that had just used Beast Mimicry, to devour the level IV-64 monster named Bone Crusher Beast and turned it into a part of its own body suddenly roared. More and more Evil God Lickers and Evil God T-100 appear here. Taking the entrance coordinates of the underground world as the center, it quickly spreads towards the surroundings. On Zheng Mu's panel, a series of monster-killing prompts soon appeared. You killed the Holy Ice Tiger IV-62, gained 8,926 experience points and obtained the purple rare monster material Holy Ice Tiger Skin. You killed the White Wind Tiger IV-58, gained 7,669 experience points, obtained the purple rare monster material White Wind Tiger Whip and the blue elite weapon Decapitating Broadsword. You killed the Fire Poison Frog IV-57, gained 7,681 experience points, and obtained the life skill drawing heart fire frog meal. You killed the golden wolf king 461, gained 877 experience points, and obtained the purple rare equipment golden jade wolf head helmet. You killed the earth shaking lizard IV 55, and obtained. 
Although the monster level is not something that ordinary professionals can deal with, the explosion rate here seems to be really unusual. Zheng Mu admired and muttered to himself. Although he was blessed with the luck of the Dragon Kingdom, after a few hours, among the dense killing information, not a single monster was given experience. Basically give at least one good quality monster material. Zheng Mu thought, now he is more and more assuming his identity as the general of the Dragon Kingdom. If you look up to the sky and cry, you can receive mercy from the sky. Zheng Mu must be able to burst into tears at this moment. Dragon Kingdom is so painful. There are so many people, and despite the vast territory, there are only a few truly valuable monster areas, and the explosion rate is actually not satisfactory. Although there are now several satellite countries, the monster areas in those countries can also be hunted by professionals from the Dragon Kingdom. However, Jing Mu still felt that the Dragon Kingdom was so miserable. Those Nagel people who have been crying all over the world about the poor environment in their black state. Since they despise this land so much, why not give me the Dragon Kingdom? Just like Mr. Li and the others expected. Jing Mu is going crazy again. In the Air Fortress, the examiner Zheng Mu received a preliminary confirmation of the learning ability of the mechanical race after a day of assessment and review. It made him very satisfied. As for the Red Queen, her delicate face was also filled with a happy blush. He gently caressed his full belly, secretly looking forward to when the crystallization of himself and Lord Master would arrive. The Air Fortress was missing for two days. The Blue Star countries finally couldn't sit still especially the Mi Empire. The elites of the major chables and military generals gathered in the Holy White Jade Palace. Don Knapp, the Emperor of the Rice Empire, is also here, but the expression on his face at this moment clearly lacks the gnashing of teeth that he used to have when mentioning Zheng Mu. Looking at these elites of the Mi Empire with calm faces, they were having various anxious discussions. No, all the cities in the Kangaroo Kingdom are under martial law. Feiyin boats have taken off and are patrolling the country. No aerial fortress has been found. Our CIA has mobilized all its forces in the Dragon Kingdom. Unfortunately, they have not found any information about Jing Mu's whereabouts. Sakura country and Bangzi country didn't show up either, damn it. Where on earth did that bastard go? Means, the Melon Chable representative, looked livid. During this time, in order to appease the professionals below, especially those who were disabled in this war with the Dragon Kingdom. It can be said that they paid a considerable price. These resources could have been used to cultivate and assemble more powerful professional teams for the exploration and development of secret realms in different time and space. Now, it's all given to those trash. Kacha Kacha. The sound of chewing something was heard, and everyone turned their heads, only to see Don Knapp eating a bag of chips as if no one else was around. Would you like some? Mine's face twitched twice, and he turned his head away with a cold snort. Several plutocrats in their me empire have decided to get rid of Donald Trump, the forum emperor. They are currently discussing the candidate for the new emperor and the redistribution of their interests after the other party comes to power. This clown-like golden retriever will soon get out of the holy white jade palace. At this moment, suddenly, a burst of rapid footsteps came. A CIA officer walked in quickly, holding a document in his hand. General, we discovered the Sky Fortress. He is in Heizhou now. Walter. Everyone was stunned, and when they saw the huge thing clearly parked in the clouds in the document, their eyes froze. That's right. Although the picture was a bit blurry, there is no doubt that it is the aerial fortress of Zheng Mu, the Dragon Kingdom mechanic. This was discovered by a patrolling camp guardian god in Heizhou. He has the ability to tame powerful monsters and become his own mount. The officer said, but an elite interrupted him with his hand. We are not interested in how those savages did it. We just want to know what this bastard mechanic did when he went to the Amazon Death Forest. Leveling up. Brushing monsters to collect materials. Or something else. If it's leveling up, I think the hundreds of millions of citizens in Kangaroo Country, Malaysia and the Philippines should give them more experience than this monster in the Death Forest, right? I don't think that demon has any mercy, and he can't bear to attack the Three Kingdoms. Everyone looked at each other and minds nodded. 
George is right. Moreover, it is impossible to collect monster materials. Today's Dragon Kingdom has the treasury reserves of four or five countries. They don't need to go to such trouble. Suddenly, everyone on the scene narrowed their eyes slightly. I felt that Jing Mu's trip was unusual. At the same time, a certain light flashed in the eyes of several people. Some plans are not suitable here, in front of an outsider like Donald Trump, but it is obvious that everyone has a certain impulse and plan in their hearts. Longwood dared to release Jing Mu so unscrupulously. Obviously they think that their Mi Empire does not have the ability to kill Jing Mu's body, but it is a pity they occupy the middle region of the secret realm of different time and space. How could Longwood's shallow understanding of the world think of some things? Chapter, 236 Jing Mu doesn't know about the actions of the Mi Empire for the time being. But even if he knew it, he would never give in at this moment. In the night. The area where Jing Mu was located became completely silent. Following a burst of golden light, he and the Red Queen appeared in front of a waterfall. After a whole day of detailed calculations, coupled with Black Claw's carpet exploration, there are no fluctuations in the secret realm for several kilometers around. Among all the coordinates, the entrance to the underground world is very likely to be behind this waterfall. And there is indeed a cave behind this waterfall. Hearing the words of the Red Queen, Jing Mu smiled faintly. It's still Water Curtain Cave. Shaking his head slightly, he used the skill mechanical blessing, to fuse the black claws with himself. Black energy surged like tentacles on his body, and there was no movement under his feet. Jing Mu just stopped the Red Queen's slender waist and passed through the arrogant waterfall. From the outside world, he has directly included the air fortress into his king's treasure house. It is not too easy to install an air fortress in the space of a world. And in the cave behind the waterfall, a space entrance that was constantly rotating and surging appeared in front of Jing Mu. The next moment it was like when I first encountered the entrance to the secret realm. A message appeared in front of Jing Mu and the Red Queen. Entrance to the super large different time and space secret realm inner world. Current entrance link no death realm. Maximum number of participants, unlimited. Entry conditions, no restrictions. Introduction, when the era of professionals comes, a large number of monsters in the Blue Star world become monsters, and ancient monuments turn into secret realms at the same time, a large number of intelligent races from outside the world also descend on this land. As time goes by, intelligent races discover this secret realm of different time and space parallel to Blue Star. After hundreds of years of development and gathering, today's world has emerged. Zheng Mu. He admitted that he was completely confused when looking at the information in front of him. The kind where the brain shuts down on the spot. What the hell? The entrance to the secret realm of different time and space. In Zheng Mu's conjecture, the so-called underground world is nothing more than a powerful secret realm similar to the headquarters of the Aspia cult. When the information in front of him emerged, he was stunned. The super large secret realm of different time and space inner world. Although he has never entered the secret realm of different time and space that various countries are competing for, Jing Mu still knows the name of the secret realm of different time and space. The super large secret realm of different time and space Shenquan Mountain. Lord Master, the current situation seems to be a bit beyond our expectations. I suggest that we contact Mr. Li and the others now. Jing Mu nodded. He didn't need the Red Queen to remind him. He also understood that the emergence of this second secret realm of different time and space in front of him would inevitably cause the whole world to go crazy. At the same time, if done properly, Longhua, as the first entity to discover this other world, will definitely be able to seize the opportunity. Even exclusive access to a secret realm of different time and space. Soon, when Mr. Li's figure appeared in the communication screen, Jing Mu immediately spoke without waiting for Mr. Li to ask questions. Mr. Li, I have discovered something very remarkable here. Please call all members of the Presbyterian Council immediately. The level is the highest secret. Mr. Li, who was smiling all over his face, changed his expression when he saw that Jing Mu, who always had a playful smile when chatting with him privately, had such a solemn expression. Nothing more was said. Soon, 
in the main hall in the center of the City of God. Mr. Lin, Mr. Jiang, and the four powerful men from the Dragon Kingdom, led by Mr. Jiao, arrived at the scene one after another. Okay, a special barrier has been set up outside. Any conversation in the hall will not be leaked. Mr. Li looked at Zheng Mu and said. Zheng Mu nodded, and suddenly the communication screen began to reverse, and he came to the entrance to the secret realm of different time and space in the cave. Mr. Jiang frowned, is this the entrance to a secret realm? What's so special damn it? Wow! The sound of tables and chairs colliding was heard. The four people, Jiao and Lao, who were originally looking confused and didn't know why none of them knew how to manage the country, were called over. In an instant, he suddenly stood up with a horrified look. Such a huge movement that the precious tables and chairs in front of him that could be used as cultural relics instantly shattered into sawdust. However, everyone no longer cares about a few chairs at this moment. Mr. Lee, who had always been gentle, his eyes widened at this moment, and he let out a national curse filled with horror. Fuck. Sounds like this came from the Supreme Palace of Dragon Kingdom. However, Zheng Mu was not surprised by everyone's reaction. His expression was solemn. Senior elders, you have also seen the current situation. I originally followed a clue called the underground world and came here, but in the end I discovered this thing. If we analyze according to the literal information above, this inner world is very likely to be a different time and space secret realm like Shinquan Mountain. Then there may be something like the one in the middle domain of Shinquan Mountain here that can advance and win. A heavenly treasure. Hearing this, Mr. Jiao and others could not sit still for the first time. Xiao Zheng. You wait there, be sure to watch that place. If anyone comes close, kill him. Be sure to kill him. This secret realm belongs to our dragon kingdom. It can only belong to our dragon kingdom. The roar seemed to be afraid that Zheng Mu wouldn't hear it. However, Mr. Li hurriedly stopped Mr. Jiao who was about to set off with several others. Wait a minute. Lao Jiao, you are too impatient. Mr. Li's voice was trembling, and his hands that stopped the gathering were also trembling. But his strong will and reason still allowed him to make the safest decision. You can't move. Not only you, but our Dragon Kingdom official side must not suddenly send troops to Heizhou on a large scale at this time. Mr. Jiao frowned, but Mr. Lin beside him also came to his senses. While tremblingly reaching for the special cigarettes on the table, he spoke. That's right, Lao Jiao, please calm down. Xiao Zheng's trip to Heizhou is already full of doubts. If we suddenly mobilize troops on a large scale at this time, we will tell the whole world that this place. Over there on the communication screen. Zheng Mu also nodded solemnly. Right now, the Mi Empire is very likely to know that I have come to Heizhou. If I am alone, it can also be attributed to my personal behavior. The Mi Empire will not do too much except want to kill me. Thinking about some deep issues. In the central hall. Mr. Jiao and the others looked at each other, took a deep breath, and finally suppressed the excitement in their hearts. What are your plans? Mr. Li also looked at Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu smiled slightly, with undisguised aggressive ambition in his eyes. Mr. Li, the Amazon Death Forest is one of the world's top monster areas. If it can be in our hands, it will definitely be beneficial without any harm. Hearing this, Mr. Li and the others looked at each other one after another. I heard the deeper meaning of Zheng Mu. That's right. Although there is still no information about this inner world at the moment. But since there is a chance, it is natural to take it directly into your own hands and make a fortune silently. If you want to capture this secret realm without any suspicion from the Blue Star countries, you must stay at the entrance of the secret realm for a long time. Then, sending troops to the Black State requires a reason that is justifiable and can be figured out by the Blue Star countries. Mr. Lee and the others pondered. As for the Amazon Death Forest, it makes sense. There are not only a large number of beasts and monsters there, but also a large number of medicinal materials. The explosion rates of various equipment and materials are indeed good. Heizhou does not have the strength to develop large-scale development. 
We dragons given the country's current situation, it would make sense if it coveted this area. On the side, Mr. Jiang suddenly understood and spoke directly. It seems that recently we need to create an illusion in the country that there is a shortage of war preparation materials, and it is best to spread it to some private trading markets. An excited smile appeared on Mr. Lin's lips. Not only that, we just happened to take advantage of this show time to make a fake show, and directly upgrade the equipment and logistic standards of the kings, garrisons in various parts of the country. By the way, there will also be a wave of upgrades. Conscription. We are now at war with the Mi Empire. It seems reasonable to recruit troops at this time, right? Ha ha ha. Suddenly, there was laughter in the hall. Zheng Mu also had a smile on his face. This familiar routine of the Dragon Kingdom, this cover-up of true and false purposes, the plank road built openly and secretly, how can those white-skinned pigs of the Rice Empire be sure that what they are doing now is really just a show? A sneer appeared at the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth. Heizhou, bow. It's such a big piece of land, but it's a pity that it's occupied by a bunch of incompetent orangutans who can't win the high-end game. It all looks like a waste of natural resources. If this land, which is full of high-level monster areas, full of drop points for various monster materials, and full of resource points of various mineral veins, is handed over to the hands of the hard-working people of the Dragon Kingdom. That is definitely another picture of heaven and earth. After discussing some details, Zheng Mu hung up the communication, and the senior officials of Longhua immediately began to prepare the next strategy plan for Heizhou. Heizhou, Amazon Death Forest, before the entrance to the inner world, Zheng Mu took a deep breath. A world occupied by intelligent races from outside the realm? He had a hunch that this time he would be absolutely crazy. Chapter 237 Looking at the entrance to the secret realm that is constantly spinning and surging in front of him. Zheng Mu seemed to have thought of something. Amidst a surge of golden light behind him, a small gem appeared in his hand. Aspia Orb, Purple Rare Special Treasure, one of the admission certificates to the underground world. With this item, you can enter the underground world without any obstruction. Note, it has internal recognition function, please do not discover it by the Aspian cultists. Zheng Mu has always kept this thing he obtained from the secret realm. Now it seems that it has finally come into use. To be on the safe side, let the Red Queen enter the King's treasure house, which has a special space for storing living creatures, so there is no need to worry. Holding the jade in his hand, Zheng Mu stepped forward without hesitation. Accompanied by a burst of space distortion and a familiar whirlwind of entering the secret realm, when Zheng Mu came back to his senses, he felt a huge strong wind blowing towards his face. As soon as he opened his eyes, a huge vortex surged above the dim blood-red sky of a hundred meters, and figures fell from the sky one after another. Name, Black Moon Palace Elite Guard. Race, Dark Elf. Level, 460-469. Skills, Dark Magic IV-2, Dark Magic Circle IV-2, Magic Potion Preparation IV-2, Sacrifice Max. Name, Flame Demon Mountain Slave Owner. Race, Demon Race Flame Demon Race. Level, IV-55, LV-65. Skills, Demonic Power IV-2, Fire Magic LV-1, Soul Magic LV-1. Name, Cage Mountain Patrol. Race, Mutant Human. Level, IV-55, LV-60, 140 skills, Transformation IV-2, Bloodthirsty Activation IV-1, Sacrifice Max Self-Explosion Max. The blood-red sky was full of depression. Zheng Mu's body quickly fell downwards, his face changed slightly, and dark energy surged behind him. Next moment. Wow! A pair of wings that looked like devil's wings appeared behind him. Fortunately, Black Claw had previously used the skill Beast Mimicry, on a LV-66 boss level Blood Shadow Bat King in the Amazon Death Forest, and gained the ability to transform into the opponent. And at the moment when Zheng Mu had just stabilized his figure. Dozens of figures suddenly rushed towards this side. There is a dark elf with dark brown skin who rides like a pterosaur. There is also a Balrog that can fly and has red flame patterns all over its body. At the same time, 
there was also a mutated human whose name was similar to the Aspia cultist that Zheng Mu had seen before, and his body parts had traces of modification. Who? Several obvious voices came, among which Zheng Mu didn't understand even the words spoken by the prison cage mountain patrol soldier, at this moment. However, he reached out without saying a word and took out his Aspia orb. After entering the other world, this thing bloomed with a dark purple light full of evil. After seeing this thing, these people who were on tenterhooks just a moment ago, as if they were about to take action immediately, dispersed one after another. The patrol continues. XX. Zheng Mu looked at the backs of these people with twinkling eyes. Although the information displayed at the entrance to the secret realm in the inner world does not limit the number of people and conditions for entry, whether you can survive without a voucher after entering is another question. Overlooking everything below. On a land full of magical apocalyptic winds, in a large dense forest like the Amazon Death Forest, there are a large number of buildings standing, forming cities one by one. The leaves of the trees are all dark purple. Not only do they not give people the slightest breath of life, but they are full of weird and terrifying flavor. Zheng Mu's eyes completely darkened at this moment. After hesitating for a long time, he finally selected a place with a large number of cage mountain patrollers, and flew over. Although the language here is different, the other areas are obviously different in race. Zheng Mu, who is new to the area, is also a lot more cautious. Cage Mountain Just like its name, when you look down from high in the sky, in the city built on the mountains, you can see blood-stained cages everywhere, and some places that look like markets. There are as many cages as a forest. In each cage, you can vaguely see some races that can only be seen in fantasy movies, or beasts and monsters. The connection point is the realm of death. In other words, is this completely a gathering area for aliens from the evil camp? Zheng Mu thought of the information displayed at the entrance to the secret realm. Soon, outside the cage mountain, there was a huge city gate with blood and bones embedded in the city wall. Zheng Mu chose a hidden jungle and hid. First of all, we still need to solve the language problem first. After waiting for a while, suddenly from the other side of the jungle, a group of mutated humans wearing cloaks who did not look like decent people came out. In the chatter of chatter. Zheng Mu, who was hiding in the dark, narrowed his eyes slightly. It's really an enemy road, and I ran into an acquaintance. Name, Official Cultist of Aspia. Level, 445, IV 50. Skills, Evil Ghost Curse LV3, Partial Transformation LV2, Beastly Explosion LV3, Rapid Regeneration IV1, Sacrifice X. Beings over level 40 are obviously much easier to deal with than those patrolling guys in the sky. Evil God Liquor, an Evil God T-100, suddenly appeared around these guys in a burst of space surge. The familiar aura of the same origin act made these people stunned for a moment. But in this moment, the liquors swarmed forward one after another, without giving these people any plan to struggle, and restrained them in an instant. He was rushing towards Xing Mu. Golden light came from the void behind Xing Mu. In less than two seconds, the group of Aspia cultists who had just walked over there, about a dozen of them, were captured into the noble phantasm of the king. Xing Mu waited quietly for half an hour. As if he felt something, as the golden light surged behind him, the figure of the Red Queen walked out. Passionate red lips sent ten streams of majestic information instantly poured into Zheng Mu's mind. The lingua franca of the world, the internal slang of the Aspia cult, and information about the various forces in the realm of death were instantly mastered by Zheng Mu. Be good, wait a little longer, and soon we will have a stable place to stay. After stroking the Red Queen's hair, the latter returned to the king's treasure house, with a red face. As for Zheng Mu, energy surged from his body, and a jet black cloak appeared, covering his whole body. He walked directly towards the city gate of Cage Mountain. Entry Fee The two mutated humans who were guarding the city stared at the beast's head. Before they could finish speaking, Zheng Mu flicked a dark gold metal coin in his hand and threw it into a box beside him. Zheng Mu was walking slowly on the streets that were as simple as a medieval castle, filled with mud and stench. The eyes under the cloak were constantly looking around. There are three forces controlling Cage Mountain. 
They are all organizations that study human body modification. The Aspian cult pursues the evil god Aspia. The skeleton hall assembled by the necromancers. And a bunch of Frankenstein-like lunatics composed of the Life Guild. In addition to these, Zheng Mu did not know another piece of information from these Aspian cultists. This world. There are not only treasures that can be promoted to level 4100 to become a powerful person in the sky. There is a heaven-level powerful person in it. According to the information in their minds, the Aspia evil god that these Aspia cultists are pursuing and want to resurrect is a fallen heaven-seizing powerhouse. Zheng Mu immediately thought about where to start the development and exploration of this world. The Dragon Kingdom later wanted to enter the other world while minimizing losses. The fastest and safest way. There is no doubt that they are looking for a local force to conduct a backdoor listing. Unknowingly, Zheng Mu had arrived in front of the headquarters of the Aspia cult. A medieval stone castle that looks a little out of place in Cage Mountain. The origin of the Aspia cult in Zheng Mu was so real that he walked into it without any hindrance. Following the memories of several cultists, I walked steadily to a stone house on the edge of the castle. Take out the key and open the door. The movements are natural and there is no abnormality at all. It did not cause the slightest movement or alertness from the outside world. Looking at the stone house that was full of stench and filled with glass vessels filled with body parts of humans or beasts, Zheng Mu's expression remained normal. This thing, compared with the previous battlefield with the Mi Empire, the bloody level is simply incomparable. According to the memories of these cultists, the Aspia cult not only has a large part of the body of the Aspia evil god, but also seems to have a very tight treasure house, and the things in it are said to be of the highest quality. Even golden epic treasures all. Zheng Mu murmured, his eyes shining with excitement. Directly using force is irrational and very stupid in this unknown world. I felt the movement coming from the stone houses next door. The corner of Zheng Mu's mouth curled up into a slight smile. Amidst the surge of space around him, evil god T-100, wearing Aspia cult clothes and exuding the aura of an evil god that was not authentic enough appeared in front of him. Then starting from these official members take control of the entire Aspia cult. Chapter, 238 Knock 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 A knock on the door sounded in the stone house outside the castle that was filled with a strange atmosphere. Two figures wrapped in the robes of official members of the Aspia cult knocked on the door of a stone house. The aura of power that everyone could clearly feel across the room made the cultists inside have no doubts at all and opened the door on the spot. What's the matter, uh? In the short scream that didn't even have time to utter, in the stone house where Zheng Mu was, a series of void passages appeared, and two evil god T-100 were covered in black evil god emperors surging. He emerged from it with a cultist who still didn't understand what was happening. As soon as he appeared, the king's treasure house, behind Zheng Mu opened. The cultists didn't even have a chance to resist and were thrown in directly. It is the first time to enter the other world, especially when a lot of information is missing. Zheng Mu was not sure whether killing someone here would directly trigger an alarm or the like, so he carefully chose to tie the person into the king's treasure house and let the several orange legendary mechanical creations inside at the moment handle it. And with the smooth launch of this operation. Soon, Zheng Mu had more and more information about these cultists. What followed was a surge of liquid metal in the body of a person named Evil God T-100, transforming into what these cultists looked like before, wearing their cult costumes and carrying their identity tokens. A larger-scale secret crackdown on ordinary members of the Aspia cult began. The air fortress located in the king's treasure house, under the control of the Red Queen, has begun to quickly analyze and summarize the information collected from the minds of these cultists. Just an hour or two. The number of evil god T-100, people under Zheng Mu who have completed the exchange of civic cats for princes has reached 1,200, and all of them have tokens corresponding to their identities and appearances. Even in their minds, there are memories belonging to those cultists. Sound, breath, movement habits, etc. As long as they don't fight, no one can tell that these companions in front of them have turned into mechanical creations that they can't even imagine. 
Lord Master, according to the current information, the people in charge of the Aspia cult headquarters are four evil god priests and one high priest. In terms of level strength, the evil god priests are between 470, LV85 and the high priest is above IV90. Specifically, it should not exceed V95. In the stone house, Zheng Mu sat quietly, and the Red Queen who came out of the king's treasure house, next to her reported. Hearing this, Zheng Mu's eyes flashed. It is indeed a secret realm of different time and space. This death realm has dozens of powerful mountains, large and small, as well as many large cities. And just like this, Cage Mountain, which definitely does not seem to be a powerful force, has ten strong people at the level of the protector of the country out of ten Aspia cults. If it looks like that. The other Skeleton Hall and Life Guild in Cage Mountain must have at least two strong men at the level of the protector of the country. There are at least three national guardian gods in a prison mountain. Think about the cities and mountains composed of various races when you first came here. Huh, does this count as breaking into the villain's lair at the beginning? Zheng Mu smiled faintly, a cold light flashed in his eyes. High risks are often accompanied by crazy high returns. For example, he is now. As he spoke, Black Claw had quietly launched an infiltration of the deeper levels of the Aspia cult headquarters with thousands of evil god T-100 and evil god liquors. The internal buildings are obviously more sophisticated than the stone houses on the outside. Among the various statues and murals full of evil styles, there are high-ranking guardians standing at the door of each room. In the sound of tap, tap, tap footsteps. Looking at these believers coming in groups, their expressions changed slightly. This menacing situation made them a little wary. At the same time, the aura of the same origin on these people that could not be spies made the guards hesitate. Lord Lamond, it was Priest Jumos who asked us to come. He said he wanted us to. A familiar voice came from the mouth of one of the leading cultists. Several people raised their heads, revealing the familiar faces under their cloaks. The two guards guarding the door immediately dropped their hands on their weapons. However, in this sudden moment. However, the two cultists suddenly moved to the left and right, and violently held them up respectively. The huge strength and the hard touch of the body shocked people. However, they did not wait to issue a warning. In a burst of space fluctuations, they were directly taken away by the strong man. Then there was a dazzling burst of golden light. When he came back to his senses again and wanted to issue a warning, he made a shocking discovery. While he had completely lost contact with the headquarters, above his head, several terrifying figures with sinister smiles on their faces had already launched an attack on them. The powerful thunder, flames, golden light, and the terrifying sense of oppression from the slashing made them inexplicably think of their powerful and mysterious high priest. Rumble. The movement outside did not arouse any alarm, and even the priests of the Aspia cult, who seemed to be only separated by a door, were not aware of the changes outside at this moment. This was one of the reasons why Zheng Mu dared to let Black Claw directly carry out the kidnapping operation openly. Through the screening and collection of memories in the minds of thousands of Aspia cultists, the Red Queen collected a very important piece of information. The residence where the Four Priests and the High Priest are located has two spaces, the door and the outside world. Unless there was a huge intrusion alarm at headquarters. Or the guards at the door use a special doorbell to ring, so they are unaware of any movement outside. Besides, Zheng Mu's previous cautious behavior has also been confirmed. At the Aspia's cult headquarters, the death of even one cultist would alarm the top brass. Not long after, the guards at the entrance of the four major sacrifices were in the king's treasure house, and were ravaged by a Kainu and a Nairu until only a trace of blood was left, followed by TKE from the red shop. As a machine race, with the aerial fortress as an auxiliary tool, it is not easy to extract the memories of these low-level targets. Soon, the few evil god T-100, standing vigilantly at the door of these sacrifices sensed something, and a space channel appeared around them. Several evil god T-100, who looked exactly like the previous guards came out immediately. The surrounding evil god T-100, disappeared instantly, hiding in the void space. Zero please give me flowers. At the same time, 
Black Claw is also hiding silently, ready to respond to emergencies at any time. Just like a police officer arresting criminals in a hotel, a guard picked up the bell in his hand and injected a stream of evil energy. The next moment, the closed ornate door in front of him slowly opened. I should have said, don't disturb me if there is nothing particularly important, Peter, you. A thin old man with a haggard appearance and a hoarse voice walked out. He spoke with obvious dissatisfaction. That relaxed posture showed no doubt about the peat in front of him. However, at this moment, suddenly, a surge of space suddenly surged from all directions in the old man's body. In an instant, more than a dozen evil god T-100 appeared in an instant, hugging it tightly, and at the same time, the liquid metal bodies between them suddenly began to merge. In an instant, the old man seemed to be trapped in a cage that hugged each other. Damn it! What are you doing? Before the 479 Aspian cult priest could resist, the familiar three-step strategic shift meant that the latter had no time to issue a warning or figure out what these strange guys in front of him were. He was forcibly brought to Zheng Mu's king's treasure house. Big fire breathing. I know wife. Light speed kick. Wood release wood dragon technique. Zheng Mu's consciousness was floating in the midair in the king's treasure house. Next to him was the tall and graceful Red Queen. She was watching and screaming. Even though her body transformed and turned into a monster with no appearance, she was still quickly pressed to the ground and rubbed. Of this cult sacrifice. With a satisfied smile on his face. With adequate preparations and the existence of Black Claw, a mechanical creation homologous to the evil god, this operation couldn't have been smoother. However, the Red Queen on the side suddenly spoke. Lord Master, it's easy to say that the evil god T-100 has now simulated the transformation into those formal and elite members, but it is difficult to handle high-level officials with levels as high as IV-70 and above. If we can't solve this problem, I'm afraid even if we occupy the headquarters of the Aspia cult as a stronghold, we will still have clues when we come into contact with the other two forces in Cage Mountain in the future. Hearing this, Zheng Mu was silent for a long time and nodded. Looking at the T-100, which numbered at least 30 to 40,000, in the king's treasure house, at the moment, his eyes flickered. It seems that the T-100 needs to be upgraded after all. When I was at Blue Star, I often used the skill unpictured transformation, on the T-100, hoping to get its upgraded version directly through luck. However, it is a pity. Even with the blessing of the Dragon Kingdom's luck and the buff effect of the Hera Thinker's gloves, on his hand, at most he has obtained some purple rare level or red brave level mechanical components that have not been seen before. Looking at the faint mark on the back of his hand, Zheng Mu's eyes flickered. I hope you can find a way to upgrade the T-100 here. Eros the Thinker's gloves, red brave level special equipment, one of the secret treasures of the Goblin Clan, named after the god of manufacturing, Eros of Faith, which can greatly improve the use of manufacturing skills. Probability of success, and may trigger unexpected effects and. Chapter, 239. Four Sacrifices. Zheng Mu quietly completed the beheading in such a way that was almost a joke, without the entire prison mountain being aware of it. Aspia Cult Headquarters, in the Supreme Temple. A faceless statue shrouded in huge shadows with open arms is facing the door here. According to the intelligence collected by the Red Queen, the leader of the Aspia cult, High Priest Exon Tien, is currently behind the huge arch behind the statue. Jingle Bell Using the same method, after replacing the elite civet cat responsible for patrolling the temple with the prince, the redisguised guard activated the special bell. With the sound echoing in the temple, the dark tone temple was filled with a strange atmosphere. However, just a few minutes later, under the reflection of a burst of light, a figure holding a staff walked out of the arch in front of him. The other party's information appeared in front of Zheng Mu at a glance. Name, Aspia Cult High Priest Exon Tian Boss. Race, God Disciple. Level, IV-93. HP, 2172W2128772W. MP, 220 w 220 w Mental Power, 1200. Physique, 3493-11082. 
Skills, Evil God Magic LV3, Abyss Gaze LV1, Mind Eyes IV2, Evil God Sacrifice Max, Sacrifice Max. Who are you? Exxon, who looked like a gentle old man, was confused by the scene in front of him as soon as he appeared. Nothing happened in Cage Mountain during this period, and their Aspia cult was also silently studying the power of the evil god and vigorously collecting parts of the evil god's body. I never thought that an invasion from a foreign enemy would happen. The pure evil power emitted from Zheng Mu's body due to its fusion with the Black Claws made Exxon Tian, the high priest, freeze his eyes at this moment. However, after a brief moment of astonishment, the green-haired little lowly Tatsumaki standing next to Zheng Mu suddenly burst into a green light. The powerful telekinesis instantly acted like a cage, sealing and imprisoning Exxon Tin who had just walked out. Ah! Amid hysterical roars, Exxon Tian was instantly thrown into the treasure house of the king, blooming behind Zheng Mu by this telepathic force. Looking at the orange legendary mechanical creations that filed in and disappeared into the temple in an instant. Zheng Mu, who already had a general understanding of the fighting methods of these Aspian cults and had experienced them personally, suddenly raised a curve in his mouth. The opponent's own fighting power is definitely not low, but what really makes Zheng Mu need to be wary is the power of the evil god's body that he has encountered before. As for King's Treasure House, as Zheng Mu's only golden epic mechanical creation apart from the Red Queen, it is a world of its own. Zheng Mu is confident that this power is enough to completely isolate the other party from the body of the evil god that exists somewhere in the outside world. Without the blessing of the evil god's body, the ten orange legendary mechanical creations, and the siege without martial ethics, no matter how difficult the high priest was to deal with, he could only be pinned to the ground and wiped. Don't kill him yet. After all, he is the leader of this cult. Just destroy his fighting ability first. Zheng Mu warned, and the Red Queen smiled slightly. This matter is not difficult for them. Without the blessing of Aspia's evil god's body, there is no need to worry about this guy suddenly gaining the ability to restore blood volume that is almost invincible. Just keep an eye on the opponent at all times and leave some blood skin for this guy. Once you enter the king's treasure house, unless it is Zheng Zhen. Otherwise, no one would be able to escape from it. Just when the mechanical creations under his command were ruthlessly ravaging the former owner of this place, Zheng Mu had now entered the cult headquarters and assumed the identity of the new owner. Under the leadership of the Red Queen, they came to the base of the statue of the evil god in the temple. For dark golden keys appeared in his hand. But they are the keys to the treasure house of the Aspia's cult, which came from the four previous sacrifices. Click. At the moment when it was inserted, the originally motionless statue of the evil god suddenly began to tremble slightly. Along with a surge of dark energy, a pitch-black space door suddenly appeared in front of everyone. When I saw that the treasure house was actually an independent space, Zheng Mu couldn't help but smile with satisfaction. It seems that we are really lucky. This headquarters has so many independent spaces as barriers. From now on, even if Mr. Jiao and the others sneak in, they don't have to worry about being discovered by the surrounding aliens. The dark power of the evil god surged around his body, and Zheng Mu stepped directly into it. Accompanied by a burst of spinning. Zheng Mu felt like he had arrived at a place like an underground treasure house. Rows of neatly arranged precious materials are placed here in categories. Red Hero Level Pale Ant Beast Egg Red Brave Level Red Bird's Colorful Crystal Core Red Brave Level Orange Legendary White Flame Iron Otter Body Orange Legendary Lumen Holy Tapers Air Bag Orange Legendary The dazzling array of various monster materials directly dazzled Jing Mu's eyes. The most important thing is He didn't even know anyone. Damn it! There's not even purple rare things here. Zheng Mu naturally has great expectations for the treasure trove of power in the outside world. However, he never expected that the treasure trove of the Aspia cult headquarters would be so powerful. Looking at the various treasure boxes as far as the eye could see, Zheng Mu was stunned on the spot. This TM is even more exaggerated than the Dragon Kingdom's treasury. However, there is no trace of high end equipment here, just like the Aspia cult which has not actively collected equipment and weapons. 
except monster material, just monster material. However, after Zheng Mu walked deeper for a while, he saw a row of huge bookshelves. It is filled with various scrolls and books. Skill Book Wind Magic Gust Protection, level IV 80 and above, can be learned by Wind Attribute Mage Professionals. Skill Book Light of Liberation, 475 and above, can be learned by priests. Skill Book The Mystery of Murderous Intention Suffocation, IV 85 and above, can be learned by assassin professionals. Life Skill Drawing Lingshan Meteor Baolu, IV 80 and above, the life chef profession can be learned. Meteor Baolu, Orange Legendary Consumable, which can instantly restore 30% HP and 30% MP after use, and increase the healing skill amplification effect by 20% in the next 30 minutes. Life Skills Drawing Talk, Polar Wind Talisman, Level IV 80 and above, the Life Talisman Master Profession can be learned. Polar Wind Breaking Talisman, an orange legendary consumable. After use, it will cause horrific damage to all targets within a 3 km radius. For targets with wind and earth attribute buffs, the damage will be doubled. Life Skills Drawings Fuck! When he saw the rows of things on the bookshelf, Jing Mu was so excited that he almost bit his tongue. I was looking at the dazzling array of monster materials before, and my mind was filled with the thought of how many terrifying mechanical creations I could create with these things. However, when he saw these skill books, Zheng Mutsai was startled. Seeing that this place is full of purple rare level, red brave level, and orange legendary level skill drawings for various life-related professionals, as well as many professional skill books that Zheng Mu has never heard of. Zheng Mu's eyes were in a daze. Suddenly discovered. The monster materials here are definitely a huge wealth that cannot be ignored for him and the Dragon Kingdom. However, the value of these skill books in front of Dragon Kingdom to the entire camp of Dragon Kingdom is probably higher than the monster materials here. After all, there is a big difference between a full meal and a full meal. Just when Zheng Mu was so excited that he wanted to return to Blue Star immediately and report the huge harvest here to Mr. Li and the others, suddenly, the black claw that had become one with him seemed to sense something. The dark power of the evil god surged through his body. Crack. A sound suddenly came from a treasure house wall that Zheng Mu didn't pay attention to. Along with a rumble, a passage appeared in front of him again. Slowly walking into it, the space is not big, and there is only an altar-like thing standing in it. Thick golden chains were connected horizontally and vertically on the wall of this space, and in the middle of these chains, a dark thing wrapped tightly like a mummy appeared in front of Zheng Mu's eyes. And above this thing, there is an orb that exudes sacred golden light suspended. When the information appeared in front of him, Zheng Mu's face instantly distorted in horror. Evil God Bone, Golden Epic Treasure, Part of the Skeleton of the Evil God Aspia Chapter, 240 Evil God Bone, a Golden Epic Level Treasure Part of the bones of the evil god Aspia contain endless evil and filthy power. They will cause soul filth to all creatures within the range, causing them to become puppets of the evil god's power and reduced to killing. Monster If a person with an evil heart gets it, his power will be horribly improved. If a person with a kind heart gets it, he will be dragged into the evil hell, Midi. Zheng Mu took a breath of cold air. When I see this thing, I instinctively want to retreat and stay away from this thing. However, when he saw the orb floating above the evil god bone, his movement suddenly stopped. Sun Lion Heart Core, a golden epic treasure, the source of power of the Sun Lion, a heaven and earth monster that masters part of the power of the sun. It contains endless radiant energy and has a huge effect on drowning and suppressing evil forces. When exposed to sunlight afterwards, a geometric multiple of terrifying energy will erupt. Zheng Mu's eyes moved, and his eyes were filled with heat. It's actually another golden epic treasure. He swallowed involuntarily and searched the small secret room expectantly to see if there were any other treasures worthy of attention. However, Goddess of Luck seems to be favoring him today. Or perhaps the Dragon Kingdom's luck, which had not given him any special feelings for a long time, finally had its effect. Zheng Mu doesn't have any extravagant aspirations in his heart. But when he looked at the chains around him, his pupils shrank again. 
Zero Two Star Chain, a golden epic treasure, forged from the precious golden epic metal star ring iron. It has super toughness and at the same time has a hundredsfold increase effect on attribute energy and is effective against light. Attribute energy has a lasting blessing effect. Zheng Mu immediately understood everything here. Whether it is the floating sun lion heart core, or the star chains, they are used to suppress and seal the evil god bones, in front of them. However, Mu couldn't help but feel confused in his heart. The evil god bone, in front of you is only part of it. So how terrifying is the complete evil god bone? Also, what if it is the evil god Aspia in a complete body? Where is the resurrected evil god? Zheng Mu took a breath of cold air. He had previously known that the evil god Aspia should be a powerful man who conquered the sky, and in the information about the Aspia cult, these cultists were also like this. Thought. However, now look at these things in front of you. The power of Aspia evil god has definitely exceeded their estimation. After a brief shock, Jing Mu's eyes quickly became fiery again. Posted. TMD. This time it was definitely a super big explosion. There are three golden epic treasures as the core, plus tens of thousands of high-level monster materials outside. What kind of mechanical incarnation, Jing Mu no longer has any pressure. Even if all three treasures are added to it, the mechanical incarnation created, Jing Mu is sure, can no longer be described as a mechanical incarnation alone. That is creating gods. Having a real divine body as his avatar, Jing Mu immediately couldn't wait to imagine it. However, everything at the moment still needs to stabilize the foothold on the other side of the world. In order not to expose his secrets, Jing Mu's first priority was to upgrade his T-100. In the palace of the high priest of the Aspia cult, when Zheng Mu arrived, the Red Queen had already organized a series of mechanical creations and began to organize the place. And being able to enter here means that the unlucky high priest Exxon Tian must have become their prisoner. Lord Master, if you want to modify and upgrade the T-100, I think you should need this thing. The Red Queen came over and handed over a small jar. Looking at the jar of small particles of pitch black substance inside, Zheng Mu frowned slightly, and a line of information appeared in front of Zheng Mu. Black Soul Gold, a red warrior level material worked by alchemist Exxon Tian. It is a specially made metal with super evil compatibility obtained by mixing and refining a variety of precious metals. Due to its inherent inability to it is fusion and cannot be used for forging equipment. Its current use is waiting to be explored. Zheng Mu was slightly startled, that Exxon Dean actually has such ability. The Red Queen handed over a somewhat patinated sheepskin scroll. According to the description of this alchemy note, this black soul gold, was refined by the high priest of the cult and used as a metal material to make a container for himself to preserve evil power. According to the rough plan described later, this Exxon Tian wants to build himself a brand new body that can perfectly harness the power of the evil god. Hearing this, Jing Mu was really surprised. Actually want to build a new body just like me? However, he is creating a clone and will not give up his original body. And this Exxon Tian is all about driving a more powerful force to obtain a new body. Looking at these black soul gold, in his hand, Jing Mu squinted his eyes, and an idea suddenly appeared in his mind. The original plan was to see if we could create a fake mechanical creation with the memories of these cult leaders to replace these people and provide cover for the Dragon Kingdom's next actions. Now the appearance of Exxon Tine has given Zheng Mu new ideas. After thinking for a while, with a thought, the whole person's spirit appeared in the Lord's treasure house. Looking around, there is a world of metal. At a glance, Zheng Mu saw Exxon Tian whose health bar had bottomed out and was leaning like a dead dog in a cage, with his head lowered as if he was about to die. As if he felt something, Exxon Tian, who had been silent for a long time, slowly raised his head. His pale, deathly complexion instantly became ferocious and twisted after seeing Jing Mu. Asshole! You damn spiritual realm person! How could you appear in our inner world? How could you possibly master the power of the great evil god? How could you? Looking at Exxon Tian and who was cursing, he waved his hand and stopped the little green-headed lowly who was preparing to give this guy some trouble. 
stepping on the void, he floated to the side of the cage. From this guy's mouth, Jing Mu also knew the names of the blue star people who came from the alien races from the outside world. People from the spiritual realm. So, if you were given a chance, would you like to also master the power of the evil god? The true power of the evil god. Zheng Mu spoke calmly, and while speaking, the figure of Black Claw also appeared in the king's treasure house, at the same time. Zheng Mu's words made Exxon Tian, who was still yelling angrily a moment ago, suddenly stunned. Immediately, his eyes were attracted by the black claws of the evil god and alien, that were full of evil beauty. This, this is simply perfect. What kind of creature is this? It can integrate the power of the evil god so perfectly. How is this possible? Zheng Mu smiled lightly. With a wave of his hand, part of Black Claw's information was revealed in front of the opponent. When I saw the Black Claw in front of me, it turned out to be a mechanical creation. Exxon was obviously even more shocked. When he looked at Zheng Mu before, his eyes full of hatred and anger were now replaced by shock and disbelief. Zheng Mu gets straight to the point. I have no intention of talking nonsense with you. You have also seen that I have the ability to kill you at will. I am keeping you now just to cherish talents. With a thought, the figure of the Red Queen appeared in the space. Also appearing at the same time was some information about the Red Queen. The brand new word machine race caused Exxon to take a breath of cold air, and his body instantly became rickety. When facing Zheng Mu, his expression instantly became much humbler. I have the ability to create a new race, the machine race, and what you have been pursuing before, a body that can drive the power of the evil god, is easy for me. Zheng Mu raised his head slightly, and his arrogant attitude gradually appeared. Looking down at Exxon Tian, who was kneeling in the cage and shivering. For your loyalty, I will grant you the immortality of the mechanical race, and at the same time help you master and be able to freely control the power of the evil god. Almost as soon as Zheng Mu finished speaking, Exxon Taiman, who had been shouting at Zheng Mu before, cowed out in excitement. Great master! Exxon Tian, I am willing to dedicate everything I have to you, please send down your majestic divine light. Zheng Mu smiled lightly with satisfaction. The Exxon Dean in front of him is a complete monster, but now he, the player, has accepted a monster as a slave. Inexplicably, he feels like an animal tamer. Zheng Mu shook his head slightly and spoke again. You should have a way to get your soul out of your body and put your soul inside. Zheng Mu said as he took out something in his hand that he had just obtained from the treasure house. Crystal of the Wraith Lord, an orange legendary material, the condensed original body of the Wraith Lord. It can be used to temporarily store the spirit body, and can also be used to manufacture equipment, forge weapons, produce potions, etc. Exxon Tian had no intention of rejecting Zheng Mu's order. Just like Zheng Mu said, his life no longer belongs to him now. Along with a surge of grey energy, it left his body and entered the crystal in Zheng Mu's hand. A burst of golden light suddenly bloomed in Zheng Mu's hand. Use the skill transfer gold hand. The orange legendary mechanical component Advanced Intelligent Core Exxon Time was transformed successfully. In this way, the problem of the spokesperson on the stage in the future Dragon Kingdom will really be solved.